My name is Lin Sin. Today is the one month anniversary of me and my girlfriend. His face was bright and smiling. He held a bouquet of roses in his hand and called out. Lu Cheng, I like you very much. Later, where else should we go to celebrate? A blonde girl with red lips looks very beautiful but her voice is extremely deep. Lin Sin. Then, she said, let's break up. Look you I stand tall and noble. Standing sideways and speaking with an arrogant expression. Wearing a tight black dress with diamonds that shows off my hot body and long legs. From that moment on, I knew I was abandoned. I'm not willing he reached out and called the name. Lu Cheng, don't go, see if you can hold on to any feelings. Then from somewhere, a luxury car passed him quickly. Startling him, the car parked in front of the woman. The woman just dumped him. Looking at it, it seemed to be some rich guy. Wearing a watch, he slowly took off his glasses and opened his mouth to say to the other woman. Lu Cheng, happy birthday, I'm late. Then I saw that girl jumping up and hugging him and making fun of him. Disgusting, why did you come now? It's causing me to be entangled with him. It's so annoying, I look like a cat and a chicken. Without waiting there, the other guy continued. We went to the National Gold Center and took you to a high-end restaurant and bought you a gift. I blamed the guy named Lin Sin for having to watch them make love. And that guy stole his girlfriend away. The glue guy showed off his smug face to provoke him. My friend, if you want to flirt with a girl you have to have money. Look at yourself, do you think you're worthy? His hand on the other girl's hips. Lin Sin stood there, clutching the bouquet of flowers. Still unable to believe that he had a cuckold on his head. Many whispers around were taunting the young boy. Look, that's not Lin Sin, our school's famous liar, in pursuit of Lu Cheng. Leaving early and coming home late to work part-time. Saving money to buy gifts for people. Two people whispering, the other talking, the other listening. It's so funny, lost. Watching Lin Sin try so hard for so long. The result was snatched away by the newly appeared rich man. After all he has money. Lin Sin's emotions are now very chaotic. His legs fell to the ground. Why is it like that? Just because I'm poor, I'm a foolish girl. So, my sincere heart is trampled like that. Negative emotions are surrounding my mind. All these years. Because of pursuing what did I do to her? He gritted his teeth in unwillingness. Angry because he had wasted all his effort with an ungrateful person all these years. Because he was so miserable, he silently swore to himself that he would never be honest with her. Become like that again. Then a voice rang out in his head. Ding ting. Activating the billionaire counterattack system. The system was binding. Then appeared on his personal board. He suddenly exclaimed. Counterattack money. Trillion. System system. Before he could calm down, the system spoke up including trillions of assets, inviting the host to freely spend. No matter how much you spend, 1% can be converted into your personal assets. After listening to this, you are still in surprise. Trillion, I can spend as I please. The system continues. Yes, but please pay attention. Counterattack assets can only be used to counterattack. Work, spending for female students. All personal expenses not related to this will be deducted from my personal account. He shouted in panic, my personal account is only 138. That's a refund return the money spent. As long as you spend more money, your personal wealth will increase faster. Now you are very excited. The counterattack now, begins, at the billion dat commercial area, the reserved area for the upper class people. I came here, thinking in my head, but, first I have to find a tester. There are really many people at this milk tea party. Suddenly I realized something. Huh, is she? Luo Yaxi Lu Cheng's roommate. She was wearing a figure flattering halter dress. Just looked at the woman three seconds later the system opened up that girl's information. He went to say hello but okay this girl's feelings don't seem to be very good. Can Luo Yaxi bother you a little? She replied with a surprised look on her face. Lin Sin, why are you? Come to me to help pursue Lu Cheng. Haven't let you spoke up. She interrupted. Don't think anymore. Advise him to give up. Now she has a boyfriend who is a wealthy rich man. His face looked disinterested then said. Ha ha. You misunderstood okay. I just wanted to invite you to have a cup of milk tea. Then he thought to himself. Experimenting with you first. She showed a surprised look on her face. Invited me to drink milk tea. Then flatly refused. No need. We're not close. And this isn't ordinary milk tea. 
Look carefully, a cup of milk tea costs the same as your 10 days food. Can you invite me? She sat on the chair proudly, smiling, incontinence on the lips, behind the long line waiting to buy milk tea. They kept jostling each other and pointing at Lin Sin, in front. If you want to buy, hurry up, we've been in line for a long time. A girl standing next to me also replied, yes, I still want to take pictures to post on Weibo. Don't delay, my face is looking forward to it right now. Everyone calm down, wait for me a bit. He slammed his hand on the table and asked the employee, the milk tea seller, how many cups were left. The employee turned around and replied, there are still 180 cups left. Okay, he shouted loudly, I bought all of these 180 cups of milk tea. Shocking both the employee and the other girl. He also said that everyone he met had to have a share. It was like Luo Yaxi invited everyone to drink. Luo Yaxi was completely shocked and just wanted to tell you clearly that he was afraid that because his girlfriend had just broken up with him. He couldn't think clearly, what, the entire 180 cups of milk tea are tens of thousands of yuan. Lin Sin, think carefully, don't do anything wrong, I still pretend I didn't hear anything. Little sister, swipe your card. A ding rang out, you had successfully paid 39.800 yuan. He stood there arrogantly waving his hand bothering to pack for everyone. Don't make people wait too long. The employee replied, regaining her composure. Yes, yes. Everyone around them had happy faces and eyes as bright as headlights. Praising Lin Sin. Wow, I didn't expect him to really buy it. So handsome. This brother is too strong. Could it be that he takes it seriously? Luo Yaxi. At this moment, Luo Yaxi's favorability has increased. Speechless. Lin Sin spoke up. Luo Yaxi. I still have something I want to ask you for help with. What's going on? Help me spend some money. At a certain shopping store, gelled hair spoke up. Lu Cheng, I have long wanted to buy this bag for you. It's just that my mother said I was wasting my money before. And today I bought it like that. That's enough. He looked annoyed, showing an unwilling face. That bad boy said, Lu Cheng, if you want to pass the test of your future mother-in-law, you must have a good performance now. I understand, then don't buy it, she thought to herself, I'm sorry, the things I bought today add up to a few zeros for this bag, but to marry into a rich family, I have to be patient, suddenly she heard her roommate's voice from afar and immediately turned around to look, Lin Sin, how about this bag, this is a limited edition, and it's also a store item of this store, worth 38w, I do you mind taking this, at this moment, Lin Sin was thinking, let me see, then that girl spoke up. Lin Sin, Luo Yaxi, why are you two here? I know, it's just stalking, I was kicked out. I begged Nanha High to come and act to annoy me. Didn't I already tell you clearly? We broke up, why do you deserve it? How disgusting. His face darkened and he opened his mouth to say, who is following you? I came here with someone else to buy handbags. She continued to scream at him. He went to Hermes with someone else to buy handbags. Can't you find a better excuse? Don't puff your cheeks and pretend to be rich. Suddenly a system voice rang in his head. Opening a counter-attack mission. Now he could see her information before his eyes. Lu Cheng. If we broke up then it wouldn't matter anymore. It has nothing to do with you where I want to go. Don't wave your arms and legs like that. Do you think I'm still the same person as before? She laughed contemptuously. I'm dying of laughter. It's only been a few hours. Could it be that he's gone from being a poor guy to a second generation rich guy? According to her head, minus 25% of his favorability level appears on her head. That guy's face also looks smug. He laughed and said, dude, don't talk nonsense. If you have the courage, buy that bag. Lin Sin smiled cunningly. Let me think. The other two still didn't give up. Ha ha. As expected they couldn't buy it. Knowing it would be difficult to leave. At this moment he had a radiant face. Only bought one bag. As expected that's not enough. He called the nearby employee to come over. Please bother me a bit. Then he raised his hand to announce. Everything in this store was packed for me. Making Luo Yaxi's face. That woman the ex-lover and the employee both exclaimed in surprise. What? I bought him all. Lin Sin closed the order in front of Luo Yaxi's admiring eyes and the stunned bewilderment of Lu Cheng and the young master she had just captured. The god of wealth is coming. The god of wealth is coming. 
Lady the officer smiled warmly and quickly handed the payment card machine to Lin Sin and announced the amount. Sir, a total of 11,32,000. Wang Xiao was indescribably shocked when he heard the price. But he couldn't lose it. If you have that ability, I will stand on a banana and eat soy sauce. Hey friend, don't be so quick to bet alone. Especially with the main male lead. More stories. A minute of silence for Wang Xiao. Not only him, Lu Cheng also exclaimed in disbelief. Lin Xin, are you crazy? A gentleman only needs to act without words. Lin Xin takes unlimited card for quick payment. The machine signals, ticks, and swipes the card successfully. Paid 1,132,000 yuan. All store staff were happy and happy to thank the golden owner for today's completion quota for the store. Lin Xin held the powerful card in front of Wang Xiao and provoked him. I didn't expect that Wang Xiao had such talent. Just in time, it opened my eyes. What a laugh at the person from the other day. The next day you laughed. I would like to ask Wang Xiao. Do you need a technician to film you performing handstands? I'll get a cheap price. Speaking of Luo Yaxi, now in her eyes, Lin Sin is truly a god. Her heart suddenly also a bit shaken. It's a bad thing to eat. Wang Xiao panicked when he learned that Lin Sin actually had the ability to pay that huge amount of money. Lu Cheng didn't have to think about how he would react. His eyes were oh and his mouth was a looking at the ex-girlfriend he once despised. He now has such bravery. She must be very sorry. Wang Xiao wondered how Lin Xin had that much money. The system continuously pinged ding notification that Luo Yaxi and Lu Cheng's favorability index had increased rapidly. Luo Yaxi's total favorability score was currently 42%. She happily jumped into Lin Xin's arms and said, Unlike some people, on the outside they are affectionate towards their girlfriends. But on the inside they don't want to waste even a little money. Looking at Luo Yaxi getting a bargain, how could Lu Cheng let himself lose to his friends? Turning to ask for the young master's boyfriend, Wang Xiao sweated all over his head, quickly playing cards with Lu Cheng. Lu Cheng, we don't agree with them. Only the newly rich go around showing off their bodies. Now, doing such a meaningless job like this, a genuine second generation rich man like you, acting humbly while he was preaching moral songs. Two women passed by in front of the store and saw. Yes, seems like he encountered someone he knew. Indeed, Wang Xiao, the loud call came from a middle-aged woman, who was wearing designer clothes and looked very rich. Wang Xiao turned around and almost saw her. Her soul flew away, her face drained of blood. She stammered in response. Sister Wen, why are you here? What are you doing here? The woman named Sister Wen shouted as she gave it to Wang's mother. Xiao slapped her hard. It turned out that Wang Xiao had betrayed her. She cursed again. I bought you clothes, shoes, watches, even lent the car to drive. You could secretly secretly looking for a mistress behind my back. You're a damn thing that's not as good as a beast. Damn it Wang Xiao. It turns out he's sister Wen's gigolo. A woman who's both rich and fierce. Wang Xiao after that slap then he was lying around in the middle of the store. One pair of shoes missing. An unimaginably pathetic scene. Extremely scared, he quickly sat up, kneeling neatly in front of Sister Wen. Sister Wen you were wrong. You were really wrong. It was all because this bitch seduced you. Said Wang Xiao as he spoke, pointing to Lu Cheng who was standing there stiffly. In my heart there is only you. You must trust me. Wang Xiao hugged Sister Wen's leg while stroking it to please her and swearing. Lu Cheng heard Wang Xiao blaming it's my fault that I'm numb. I can't say anything else but call Wang Xiao's name. The scene around the store is currently very bustling. There are people eating melons. Some people are laughing, joking that this brother his taste is really strong. Some people openly criticize the guy who dresses well but is a boy who kneels and licks rich ladies. I thought that normal people would not believe Wang Xiao's fake sweet words. But Sister Wen is a special woman. She seemed confident and pointed straight at Lu Cheng. Ordering Wang Xiao, I believe so much that you don't dare. Give you a chance. Slap her in the face twice. I will forgive you. If not from now on, we will cut off our relationship. Wang Xiao heard that and completely changed his eyes. No longer affectionate. He looked at Lu Cheng as an enemy. Don't understand also understand. Without hesitation, Wang Xiao slapped Lu Cheng hard in the face. She fell to the ground. Held the place where she had just been beaten. Looked at Wang Xiao and said. You have broken up but also asked for a gift. 
Wang Xiao grabbed the necklace around Lu Cheng's neck and shouted, What are you, you materialistic woman seducing someone else's boyfriend? The necklace around her neck belongs to her. I, Paul Lu Cheng turned to look at Lin Xin, hoping he could help. She jumped up and walked quickly in Lin Xin's direction, calling out to him, hoping to rekindle their old love. But Lin Xin is no longer there. It's licking dog again. You didn't say anything just turned around and left Lu Cheng alone. Lu Cheng called Lin Xin's name but only saw your Lin's cold attitude. Disappointed, she ran out of the store crying. Surprisingly, Lu Cheng's liking towards Lin Xin increased by 1%. He couldn't help but wonder, since I was already so cold, did her liking towards me increase? On the contrary, the woman's thoughts women are also quite complicated. So you just take it slow and feel it. As for Wang Xiao, he was just pathetic. Sister Wen grabbed his ear and pulled him out of the store. He couldn't resist. Luo Yaxi had witnessed the entire incident earlier. She gently put she gently placed her hand on Lin Xin's shoulder and said. But she didn't expect that Wang Xiao would be such a person. Lu Cheng is so pitiful. Having said that, she was actually quite worried that Lin Xin would be soft-hearted in the face of such a situation. Lu Cheng's carpet. Looking at Lin Xin's expression. You probably don't have a soft heart at all. So calmly, with a slight smile said to Luo Yaxi, a money-hungry woman, not worthy of sympathy, don't let what she means to. See if there's anything else you want to buy. Luo Yaxi secretly rejoiced when she heard that. Her friend seemed to have completely lost all hope with Lin Sin. She shyly looked at Lin Sin and asked, He was you are so good. I don't know how to repay you. Usually in this part of the movie, the main character will demand to repay this with his own body. Lin Sin, what do you think? So, should I repay with my own body? Lin Sin said while teasing Luo Yaxi. She heard Lin Sin teasing her and her face turned red. She used her small fist to swing at Lin Sin's body and scolded her. Love, hateful, you're talking nonsense. What's wrong, you bastard? The system now jumps the notification ting ting plus twice the favorability of 10%. Currently Luo Yaxi's favorability is 62%. Luo Yaxi happily grabbed Lin Sin's arm and pulled him away, while pulling and saying, it would be rude to come without going to see. In exchange let me spend some money for you. Lin Sin was so surprised by her suggestion, to spend money on me. Lin Sin asked again confirm. Looking at the beautiful shirts hanging on the rack, Lin Sin couldn't help but exclaim after looking at them. After choosing the shirt, Luo Yaxi continued to pull Lin Sin into the men's changing room, asking to help him try on pants shirt. The store employee's eyes widened as he watched this strangely behaving customer, unable to stop it in time. In the dressing room, Luo Yaxi said while buttoning Lin Sin's shirt, look, it's not knows how to dress a little. No wonder some people look down on her. After scolding her lover, she took her card to pay for all the selected outfits. The machine swiped the card to notify. Check. Successful payment. Spent the fee. 3,888 yuan. Saved. Paid successfully. Spent 3,399 yuan. Accumulated. Paid successfully. Spent 2,888 yuan. Total three items. Lin Sin just came out of the dressing room wearing clothes. Looking like an actor stepping out onto the fashion show floor. A grey turtleneck shirt paired with trousers over a long light brown vest. Overall helps Lin Sin increase his aura. Luo Yaxi really has eyes. Look fashionable. Lin Sin's new appearance attracted the eyes of all the female customers around the store. Everyone was admiring how handsome he was. Not only them but also Luo Yaxi was surprised. How good her feelings now increased by 10. A total of 72%. She thought to herself. She didn't expect him to be so handsome. This guy is definitely a treasure. If Lu Cheng doesn't appreciate it, then it's okay. I doubt myself. Lin Sin looked at his appearance in the mirror. He was also surprised, silently exclaiming. He did not expect that he would become this beautiful. Moreover, when he used to spend only counterattack money to flirt with girls. Luo Yaxi really spending 7 or 8 thousand for herself. The current scene has changed. Luo Yaxi returned to the girl's dormitory. She happily opened the door to room 504 while humming a song to celebrate the day she found treasure. Party in the room was Lu Cheng, wearing pajamas and just drying his hair. Luo Yaxi saw the red mark on his roommate's cheek and suddenly asked. Lu Cheng, is your face okay? 
Lu Cheng looks like quite calmly. She smiled and replied, I'm fine. Luckily Lin Xin helped me expose Wang Xiao's true face. Otherwise I would still be confused about being led by someone else. Luo Yaxi nodded in agreement love. Gently reminded her roommate. Yes. Fortunately Lin Xin was there. So in the future she must be highly vigilant. Don't meet that kind of person like Wang Xiao again. This bag. Luo Yaxi just asked Lu Cheng just held out the expensive bag that Lin Xin bought. Lu Cheng's expression did not change at all. He replied faintly, Lin Xin bought it for you. Just take it. Get the right answer. Luo Yaxi happily hugged Lu Cheng and said, Then I won't be polite anymore. I'm still worried that you will take it to heart. She said, How is that possible? We are good sisters. Lu Cheng replied with a smile to Luo Yaxi. Good sisters. A very pleasant scene. Both of them hugged and laughed. But in their hearts everyone had their own plans. Lu Cheng thought that Luo Yaxi was just an outsider and so not worthy of being involved in a three-year love affair. Of her and Lin Xin. In that atmosphere. Luo Yaxi laughed at Lu Cheng's blind eyes and couldn't see that Lin Xin was a rich second generation so now he was hers. Changing the scene again. Now in the boy's dormitory. Lin Xin is tired after a day of flirting with girls. Scratching his head thinking. Phew. Walking with his sister all day. I'm so tired. Not every time I want to flirt every girl has to repeat it once. But she still has to change her method. While busy with thoughts, Lin Sin saw an acquaintance. His senior and a group of friends. Lin Sin said hello. The person being greeted was called Wang Jin. His face didn't look like a good character. He saw Lin Sin in the new outfit and immediately scoffed. Oh class Lin Sin. This outfit seems to cost a lot of money. Meanwhile, his group of friends also silently agreed with Wang Jin's words, secretly thinking that Lin Xin pretended to be poor and wanted to study abroad. Wearing fake clothes to make himself a rich second generation, Wang Jin was suddenly excited and wanted to find something to do. He put his hand on Lin Xin's shoulder and advised, Lin Xin, I've heard about today's story. Open your eyes. Lin Xin pursed her lips in boredom as she listened to Wang Jin's incessant words. In my opinion, you spent so much money pursuing Lu Cheng, and yet people ignored you. It's better to go to the livestream room to give gifts. Girl MC was at least obedient towards him. He still hadn't stopped teaching Lin Xin. You were with Wang Jin and excitedly followed along. The guy in the yellow shirt with the hat said, Freely give thousands of gifts. The goddess will also please us. But it is not at the expense of ordinary people. The guy the other one with straight bangs laughed at him. A student like that. It's okay to play around with girls. As he finished speaking, he picked up his phone and saw a notification coming in. He happily said, the goddess answered and broadcasted. He got whatever he wanted. He was trying to flirt with a new girl when someone came to point him out. Lin Xin didn't care at all about the taunts of Wang Jin and the gang. He excitedly opened his phone and thought, that's right, I can go to the live stream room to give gifts. Having a plan to spend money to flirt with girls. Lin Xin smiled and patted Wang Jin's shoulder in bewilderment. Thanking senior, after finishing speaking, he turned and left in front of the senior's questions. He was clearly being lied to, but he still thanked me. As expected, no matter how foolish a girl is, there are problems. The guy with bangs because of the plan, scoffed unsatisfactorily, said boredly, it's so boring, let's go watch Cha Cha livestream. He suggested to Wang Jin, hey Mr. Jin, Young Master Zhu has appeared. The guy with the bangs reminded him. Wang Jin was excited when he heard that. Really, I'm coming too. In her room, Lin Xin lay on the bed and opened her phone to download the livestream app. After downloading, the app screen immediately displays a notification to register an account name. Lin Xin was originally watching the livestream for the first time. He thought, id, set it as, too poor to have money. The id name sounded modest. Right Lin Sin, after setting the account name, he wondered again, let's see, where is the list of female streamers? Why is there only one chart? All of them are not broadcast yet. He immediately remembered what Wang Jin and his group had said, mentioning the name Cha Cha, and immediately searched for that name on the app. After pressing the enter button, the screen appears as a live stream room of an extremely beautiful girl. With a fiery body, lovely face, truly a little beauty. Currently she is dancing a lovely dance to serve the livestream viewers. 
smiling and saying, love everyone. A series of praising comments appeared on the screen. Wow, this is great. The screen is dirty. Stop shaking. I am dizzy. Let me turn off the comment storm. Enjoy my Char Char's beauty. Char Char's beautiful legs. Let me protect them. Someone swears. Today I will stay until I die in the livestream room. Hey. Looking at the livestream screen, Lin Sin blushed. Her mouth opened wide and exclaimed. Wow, she's so full of energy. I wonder if this screen separation state can unlock the counterattack mission. Boy thinking. The system is also quite responsive. Quickly reminds. The object of the counterattack. The appearance needs to be above 80 points. Otherwise there is no way to unlock the counterattack mission. The system continues to kindly remind. Livestream has the influence of a special beauty filter. There is no way to judge. Unless we meet offline. Lin Sin nodded satisfied with the service and understanding of the system. Then thought more and felt this Cha Cha has over 9 points. After turning off the filter it probably won't be bad. No, what's the matter with her? Anyway, I have so much gold that I can't use it all. He thought. Back to livestream of Cha Cha. Who has a popularity rating of 5.20.000. The screen suddenly announced that she was given 5 golden leopards by young master Zhu. The tycoon just left the army. Cha Cha looked at the notification. Smiled and waved. Thanking young master Zhu for giving gifts. There are comments praising young master Zhu for his generosity. Giving gifts of up to 10,000 yuan. Young master Zhu is holding a cigarette in one hand and a phone in the other. Looking like looks somewhat arrogant. This must be quite a formidable person. Young master Zhu account commented. PK between Cha Cha and Shuang Shuang is about to start. Are you brothers ready? Jin Wang account replied. Ready. This account could be senior Wang Jin. Lin Sin thinking about the gift to give in this live stream. Young master Zhu proposed a PK plan. The opponent will definitely play some endless strategies used. Trying to bring rhythm or something. But I told everyone, while young master Zhu spoke. Jin Wang account commented. Young master Zhu spoke. Everyone else was silent. Lin Sin saw so I secretly laughed. It turns out you are a flatterer of young master Zhu. Big brother, first of all, we don't need to care about what tactics our opponents use. Nor do we need to keep our strength. As soon as we just started. Attack me with full force. Young master Zhu suggested a strategy. The too poor to have money account typed a comment at this time. It was our male lead wondering. Cha cha, how much money do I need to get to the top of the rankings? Should I buy a gift first or buy a sign first? Someone showed off more than mine. Young master Zhu couldn't help but comment in front of this account's arrogant words. The Jin Wang account of course had to quell the rebellion on young master Zhu's behalf. He arrogantly said, damn, who are you? So, what is young master Zhu interrupting in his conversation? Young master Zhu was irritated by the person who dared to show off in front of him. So he immediately texted a comment. Cha Cha, kick him. Cha Cha fell into an awkward position. Thinking secretly, math, PK still has to rely on young master Zhu to win. This whiteboard account is clearly new, and has never given me a gift. On the contrary, the tone is quite loud. She assessed and thought about it. Worse yet, Cha Cha told the room manager to kick Lin Sin's account out. Boom, the account too poor to have money was kicked out. Lin Sin was surprised and thought, am I being kicked out of the room? After a while some time ago, Lin Sin decided he would go to Shuang Shuang's livestream room to see what happens. The confrontation between the two livestream beauties Cha Cha and Shuang Shuang has officially begun. Cha Cha opens with a provocative move. Little sister, you there is no top big brother. I'm very worried about you. Little sister, or should you surrender now? I will let you receive a lighter punishment. Cha Cha scoffed. Shuang Shuang is not the type it's easy to play. You respond strongly. Is it so formidable to be at the top of the rankings? My brothers have many strengths. Don't threaten. Take advantage of the fight. Shuang Shuang declares war. On the PK match screen, the two beauties continuously launched moves to defeat their opponents. The storm of gifts came again, and the comments continuously danced praising the performances of the two beauties. It was difficult to determine who would be the winner. The screen displays a reminder message. The first stage is about to end. Everyone come together, up to now, Cha Cha seems to have the upper hand. 
Her score is more than double compared to Shuang Shuang because of her water drinking technique while Shuang Shuang only performs and sings. In the comment area, the Shuang Shuang team members continuously called for gifts to be given to her. Some even asked to borrow money to help her successfully, ignoring the ridicule of Cha Cha's team members, especially young Master Zhu. Shuang Shuang saw that his score results were not very optimistic, and was also mentally prepared to be punished. Punishment. The comment section also gradually emptied of support. More suggestions of punishment for her appeared. It was hard to hear. Suddenly, the PK screen announced. Too poor to have money to donate Shuang Shuang Dragon Gold. A size L Golden Dragon. Flying majestically in front of the screen. Making Shuang Shuang's eyes go into an O shape and mouth into an A shape. Off the screen, young Master Zhu sat up straight in surprise and scolded. Mother, who? So, now you can get a golden dragon worth 15 yuan. The opportunity to turn the tables has come. Shuang Shuang happily expressed his gratitude to his brother's golden dragon, too poor to have money. The familiar account name, it wasn't just now. Cha Cha suddenly remembered the person just now I kicked him out of the room just now. Lin Sin was silent from the beginning of the match. It turned out to be to find the most expensive gift in the app. He was quite surprised because the system's card could remotely top up the livestream platform. Now you just need to leisurely swipe. The money is there, now it's time for me to show off. Lin Sin thought. Another golden dragon appeared on the screen. Everyone was wide-eyed because they hadn't seen such a huge gift for a long time. Some people were curious. Who was the boss? Next, the screen went blank. Account notification too poor to have money gift Golden Dragon X5. X10, X20. Needless to say Shuang Shuang's PK score increased very quickly, almost catching up with Cha Cha. Shuang Shuang. After being scared, he quickly remembered something and said out loud. Wait, wait, brother is too poor to have money. For a moment, I was so scared that I forgot. Now surfing the Golden Dragon is a bit of a loss. It's better to wait until the siege time has doubled and then surf. Hearing this, young Master Zhu immediately commented and laughed. Thinking about it, aren't you the blank slate that Cha Cha kicked out just now? A newbie is still a newbie. The PK rules are not understood obviously. It will only be a loss of capital. Jin Wang immediately followed suit. Is this worrying too much? Student. Hey, little brother, you are using your parents' savings to spend. You like to play but he's not good at playing. The comment area is full of taunts. Obviously wanting to provoke the male lead to have a chance to appear stronger. Do you regret it already? It's too late, little brother. The taunts about Lin Sin continues to appear. Suddenly, the screen flashes with a gift notification from the account too poor to have money. It's a golden dragon. Count it. X80. X160. X200. X240 x320 oh no count what was the total number the live stream screen seemed to explode due to the appearance of so many dragons the young men who had just ridiculed lin sin especially young master Zhu, saw that scene and was stunned bewildered by the non-stop appearance of golden dragons the golden dragon giving program has not ended yet the screen continues to jump numbers non-stop with the number reaching more than a thousand times Lin Sin looks at the screen and is proud of my show off money couldn't be more spectacular. The announcement screen just ended. Young Master Zhu trembled and tried to calculate. He watched Cha Cha livestream and spent more than 3000.00 a year. Yet someone surpassed him by only after a livestream. 1600 golden dragons. A total of 2400,000 yuan. A terrible number. Cha Cha got goosebumps looking at the livestream screen. Shuang Shuang benefited. She was extremely happy, constantly thanking the dragon his brother's gold is too poor to have money. The members of the Shuang Shuang side now have the opportunity to counterattack the opponent's side. The comment section continuously appears with ridicule and praise for Mr. Qian's greatness. Celebrate it's over, now it's time to retaliate. Shuang Shuang raised his voice. Little sister Cha Cha, what are you still sitting there for? Are you peeing in your pants? If you pee then immediately stand up and accept the punishment. Big pendulum, bending over, spinning, separating horses, jumping all in one song. She gave the punishment. It was quite severe. If you play then you have to suffer. Cha Cha started jumping as requested, apologizing while dancing Lin Sin. Brother too poor, Mr. Kian, 
I was wrong, I shouldn't have kicked you out just now. After dancing for a few minutes, Cha Cha was exhausted, she had to lean on the table to continue. Dancing while angry, I was angry to death. If it weren't for that young master Zhu, then those 1600 golden dragons would have been mine. Cha Cha kept complaining that he was tired but the people around him didn't seem to understand. Some people even asked for more punishment time. From a whiteboard account jumping straight to level 27 king, spendthrifter. Lin Sin issued a decree about three paths. One is Cha Cha kicking young master Zhu out of the room. Two is young master Zhu leaving the room himself. Three it was young master Zhu who came to attack the city himself. There was still 20 seconds left. Mr. Kian spoke up. All over the comment area were full of praise and flattery. On the live stream screen a notification appeared. Level 24 Jade, Zhu Xiao. Leave the live stream room. One match caused the famous young master Zhu to voluntarily leave. Everyone around was surprised by Mr. Kian's prowess. The final match ended. The winner was of course Shuang Shuang. The Shuang Shuang's members continuously commented to congratulate their idol. Shuang Shuang made a cute pose to thank Lin Sin. Thank you brother Too Poor. Thank you for helping me win this PK match. Thank you. At this time, the screen the notification image coming from Lin Sin's phone rang continuously. Our male lead has become a celebrity. The account has many fans. Notifications. Hearts. Comments are no less than 100. There are a few people sent him private messages. Like Wang Jin quickly betrayed young master Zhu and apologized to Lin Sin in order to make friends with him. Shuang Shuang both thanked him and asked for revenge. She even sent her phone number. To add BX, Cha Cha also texted to ask Lin Sin for forgiveness, and said that he was preparing to kick young master Zhu out of the room just now. But he was one step ahead. Cha Cha took the opportunity to propose to Lin please. Brother too poor, the documents show that you are in Yan Jiang city. Coincidentally, in the next few days, you happen to go to Yan Jiang to take a photo shoot. Can I invite you to an apology meal by the way? Father Father had already thought about a backup plan. It didn't matter if PK failed. In terms of appearance and figure, she considered herself better than Shuang Shuang. So as long as she could connect offline with Mr. Kian then she believes that in the future Lin Sin will probably spend money on her. Lin Sin heard that and immediately thought. Okay, sad because a few tasks. Not enough refund. Isn't this like falling asleep and meeting the pillow? Thinking so, he immediately texted and replied agreeing with Cha Cha. So see you brother too poor in the next few days. Looking forward to it. Cha Cha was very happy. She texted back to Lin Sin while kissing the message screen. A day passed. Dawn came again. The light the sunlight gently shined into the boy's dormitory. Lin Sin sat up comfortably. He hadn't slept so comfortably in a long time. The phone screen rang signaling that there was an incoming message. The his roommates had also woken up. The guy wearing big black glasses invited Lin Sin to go have breakfast with him. Lin Sin picked up his phone to show off. He smiled and said, you guys go, there's a girl carrying breakfast for me. Peanut, what is this shocking news I just heard? The people in the room gasped. All three people gathered together and spoke softly. Of course they didn't believe Lin Sin. Someone said, unexpectedly, just early in the morning, he started talking nonsense. The person wearing glasses began to speculate. I heard that yesterday Lin Sin was abandoned by Lu Cheng. Last night when I saw his expression so relaxed, I thought it was nothing. What? The other guy heard that and immediately followed. How could there be nothing? Chasing for three years. Finally we all concluded that tonight we would invite Lin Sin to drink. Get drunk and cry. It would be okay. Lin please ignore everyone's nonsense and leisurely put on your coat and walk out of the dorm room. It was early in the morning and there were already a number of people standing in line in front of the girls dormitory. It wasn't clear who was waiting. Everyone was holding a bag of things. Taking the time to ask each other questions. It turned out that everyone went to the girls dormitory to give breakfast to the goddess. Some gave it to Lu Cheng. Some gave it to Luo Yaxi. As for the reason why everyone is so excited, we must mention the two Weibo posts of these two beauties. While Lu Cheng said goodbye to the past to look forward to a new future, Luo Yaxi blinked. Green light that someone she has been looking for is behind her. Now she is single. I heard that Lu Cheng was abandoned by that young master Wang. This is the weakest time. If I had could give her a warm embrace, 
she spoke up as a unilateral guy, and the person who liked Luo Yaxi said, Luo Yaxi must have discovered that I was silently paying the price for her in the background. That's why, posting like that, everyone thinks that they are the person the goddess mentioned. Oh how pitiful those guys are in love. While everyone was arguing, Wang Jin appeared with an arrogant look. He also had a box of food in his hand. He smirked and said, Do you know the difference between people and people? What is licking dog? Look at Lin Sin's ending. There's no future in being licking dog. There was a listener who didn't know who Lin Sin was. So he turned to quietly ask the person next to him to update the drama. Yes, people wonder. Senior, didn't you also bring breakfast to Luo Yaxi? True to Wang Jin's trick. He held up his lunchbox to show off. Can your food be considered breakfast? This is a breakfast bought at Leeds French restaurant. Sweet macaroons. 600 yuan for a portion. 600 yuan for a meal. Enough to make the bystanders both admiring and curious. Do you really have to invest that much for a meal? Hearing this, Wang Jin gently stroked his hair and spoke up. Just tell me the secret. You know the fart. Flirting with girls is all about spending money. A few dozen dollars a day. You give it for a year and she only finds out you're good. A few hundred dollars a day. A week and I can having her. This knowledge has been absorbed. One guy replied, Are people really that easy to fall for tens of thousands of yuan? How disappointing. They are gone. Someone announced when saw the familiar silhouettes of two great beauties. From up the stairs, the two girls of dormitory room 504 were dressed and made up beautifully. Beautiful smiled and walked down. The scene was like a fashion catwalk. The whole group of boys saw their goddess and quickly ran over praising and handing out the breakfast they had prepared. Wang Jin introduced an expensive cake box from a French restaurant, hoping Luo Yaxi would be moved. Luo Yaxi took the cake box and gently thanked the giver. The boys gave food to Lu Cheng on the opposite side. Pathetically, she refused to accept it on the grounds that she had ordered food. In the end, among those who donated, only Wang Jin succeeded. He immediately became a shining example worth learning from the crowd. Wang Jin on his face. He was very proud of his achievements. While having fun, Wang Jin glanced at Lin Sin walking by with a group of roommates. Hey, Junior Lin Sin, have you just arrived? Wang Jin called out. He must be planning something. Indeed, after calling out to attract attention, he started to mock. You were also planning to buy breakfast for Lu Cheng. You still haven't given up after being abandoned yesterday. The guy wearing glasses next to you heard it and gritted his teeth and said. It's Wang Jin again, but with the perseverance of the past three years. A little bit of it's not a big deal. He's rambling on about Lin Sin's past. Someone was happy and chimed in. Lu Cheng said he'd already ordered food. That's right. It looks like it's not going to work today. Man, Lin Sin, come a little early tomorrow. Wang Jin continued to mock. From afar, Luo Yaxi held the box of cakes that he had just received from Wang Jin towards Lin Sin and said with a smile. Lin Sin, I still haven't breakfast. Right, no, didn't you text me early in the morning to invite me to breakfast? He leisurely responded with a winner's smile. There was actually a girl who gave Lin Sin breakfast. And what's more is Luo Yaxi. The group of roommates were extremely surprised to learn that he was not talking loudly in the morning and is still a famous beauty. Lightning struck the ears, hitting the faces of Wang Jin and the people from the morning who had been waiting for the black Luo Yaxi. The whole group froze, indescribable shock when they saw what was happening before their eyes. Lu Cheng was secretly angry when her roommate dared to fight for a guy in front of her. While annoyed, the shipper ran back to deliver the breakfast she had ordered early. Luo Yaxi looked at Lin Sin with sparkling and seductive eyes. Her favorability increased by 7%. She invited him to taste the expensive macaron milk cake from the famous Leeds French restaurant. Cake, milk cake. Lin Sin went from surprise to surprise at the complexity of a girl. He didn't understand how his favorability could increase when he was the one who was given breakfast. After Lu Cheng received the items, she also ran back to Lin Sin. She lightly nudged Luo Yaxi, whispering and apologizing. Lin Sin. Try this, Tian Yuan Mujia, breakfast set for 368 yuan that I specially bought for you. I was wrong yesterday, let me make it up to you. Okay, he replied. How could he refuse in front of the beauty's eyes and soft voice? Luo Yaxi next to him was also angry as he witnessed it. Glared at Luo Yaxi, when Lu Cheng received his consent. 
he immediately took the opportunity to lean into his arms and continue. I understand that you have paid a lot these past three years. Bringing me breakfast every day, I am really touched. It's just before that, I was so naive that I was tricked by people. You will forgive me, right? Hearing that, Lin Sin's whole body had a hateful expression. He secretly thought, it's this trick again, in the past three years. Every time I was disappointed and tried to let her go, she coaxed me like that. I continued to pursue and serve her, but she immediately distanced herself from me. Do you think I will still be psychologically manipulated by you like before? You secretly calculated, of course you won't. Back to licking dog life again. Thinking clearly, Lin Sin waved his hand and left Lu Cheng behind. He reminded, you dare to get close to me like that. It won't be good to be seen by your suitors. Where? This statement from Lin Sin unexpectedly changed the liking level of both girls. Lu Cheng increased it by 50% because he thought that Lin Sin's statement showed his care and love for her. Buddha and Luo Yaxi increased by 10% because he thought that Lin Sin's rejection of Lu Cheng showed that he was acting for her. So he couldn't save the brains of these two. Lin Sin saw how favorable the two were. Their bodies increased at the same time. Their faces full of questions. Wondering if they had seen something wrong. The people around all this time had to witness the story of three people with angry and tearful faces. Why were there two beauties fighting over Lin Sin, and the two of them were originally close friends? In on this side, the fight has not ended yet. The two beauties are still fighting to invite Lin Sin to eat their food. Too tired, he sat down on the stone bench next to him. Lin Sin suddenly turned pale when he saw Lu Cheng crawled onto the chair, holding a cake to feed him. Luo Yaxi became more and more angry at her actions. Poor Wang Jin, until now he still can't accept the fact that Cheng his god went to compete with his best friend for Lin Sin. His eyes were filled with blood, angry because he didn't understand why Lin Sin was treated like that. What was it based on? Last night he pressed the phone number 1600 repeatedly. Times. My fingers were cramped. Fortunately, someone else fed me. Lin Sin responded to Wang Jin with a raised middle finger her eyes full of confidence. An embarrassing scene appeared. Two people beauty is now showing a seductive pose to Lin Sin. Lu Cheng gently asks to see his sore finger. Luo Yaxi is even more terrible. She squats in front of Lin Sin. She takes the cake and intends to feed him. A spring scene the sudden rush of color made Lin Sin blush. The group of boys on the other side held their heads. Some were so angry that they gritted their teeth until they bled. Some held their phones and filmed the unique scene. While filming and assessing the situation, Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi feeding Lin Sin together, especially Luo Yaxi, wearing such a short skirt and squatting. From Lin Sin's perspective, isn't it visible? Damn. Big news. Our conclusion. Damn. Eyes eat dumplings. Mouth eats macaroons. I'm so jealous. Another guy exclaimed. Luo Yaxi finished feeding and happily asked Lin Sin's thoughts. He immediately replied, Okay, but I don't like red. Oh my god, what line is this? Luo Yaxi listened and wondered. Red, these macaroons are pink. As she spoke, she looked down at herself. You hateful thing. She shouted shyly and gave a few light blows to Lin Sin who was sitting on the chair laughing. Lu Cheng quickly stopped Luo Yaxi. Lin Sin is having breakfast. Don't bother her. Luo Yaxi stopped shouting. She whispered into Lin Sin's ear. I will change to another color soon. The words made both the speaker and the listener blush. Phew. A mouthful of blood flowed from Wang Jin's mouth. The surrounding brothers were also kind enough to call for him to be the school nurse. On one side, Lin Sin was still enjoying the devoted care of the two beauties. While on the other side, the nurse brought a stretcher to pick up Wang Jin in a dead state. The event that the language major of the literature department and her best friend both fed Lin Sin breakfast was posted on the school's bulletin board, causing quite a stir in the comment section. Some people had their own opinions. Some had their own opinions. Some people regret losing the goddess. Some people suspect Photoshop. Some people want to be anti-Luo Yaxi. The rest begin to curiously hypothesize about Lin Sin's identity. The melon-eating crowd had not yet finished making a stir because of the first news panel when the second news appeared. The female live streamer of the newspaper Teeth received 24 million gifts from the first panel in the PK. People continued to question whether Lin Sin is he the tycoon mentioned on the news board. 
There are still people who suspect that he is rubbing his temperature to attract attention. Some people left comments saying, some beauties do appear in the news. In the end it's just overnight Lin Sin became a celebrity in school. He was so surprised that he vomited when he heard his roommate inform him that he had been listed on the school's website and that soon someone from the journalism department would come to interview him. Running away was the best policy. Lin Sin immediately ran as fast as he could, ignoring the screams of the two beauties. The target was gone. The two beauties now had no more respect and blamed each other. Luo Yaxi scolded because Lu Cheng caused big news that made Lin Sin unhappy. While Lu Cheng blamed the opposite, she made Wang Jin vomit blood so it became a big problem. From afar, Lin Sin was hiding from the journalism department by hiding behind a corner of the wall. He secretly observed them and realized that the journalism department probably wouldn't be able to catch up with him. The message came. On the phone screen was a picture. Cha Cha was playfully sucking on ice cream with a rather seductive look. She told Lin Sin that she would land at Yanjiang City Airport at 7.30 and asked him if he would come pick her up. Lin Sin looked at the content text message, smiling and thinking, the person who helped spend money plus one, looking forward to meeting her so much. In the lobby of Yanjiang City Airport, the flight attendants have started to leave the cabin, the passengers must have left soon. Outside the plane, Lin Sin waited for Cha Cha for a while. He thought, she said she got off the plane, why hasn't she seen it yet? Isn't it like some streamer with a thick filter on? Her biological mother can't even see it. While thinking, he suddenly heard the name of a familiar person. Cha Cha, where do you want to go? I will take you. I drive the jeep. The blonde guy pulled the girl while saying. Cha Dad tried to pull his hand away from the other guy while saying no need. Really no need. Don't be polite to me. The blonde guy still insisted on taking her away. Seeing a familiar figure, Lin Sin recognized the person I was supposed to meet. A cute girl with a short striped dress. Even Cha Cha's expression didn't understand why. Brother, you should go get your glasses remeasured. Lin Sin just ran between the two of them and said to the guy wearing glasses. Who are you? I gave them a lot gift for Cha Cha. The guy wearing glasses asked again. Cha Cha. After realizing who the person in front of her was. She was overjoyed. She held up the phone and said brother Keon, is that you? Your shirt is the same as what you're talking about on WeChat. It's me. Lin Sin confirms. You're Mr. Keon. The guy wearing glasses is startled. Hearing Mr. Keon's name, he quickly bowed his head respectfully and apologized. Bothering you. Cha Cha took Lin Sin's arm as she walked and said that luckily brother Keon came in time. That person said he was my fan. As soon as he came up he hugged me. I didn't know him at all. But in her heart thought of just giving me a gift of a few hundred yuan. Driving a tattered jeep but also wanting to take me out. She smiled and looked at his face and complimented him. He was also a successful businessman in his 40s. He didn't expect you're so young and handsome. Lin Sin also responded and called me Lin Sin. Okay, I didn't expect you to be more beautiful than when you broadcast live. She smiled and complimented Lin Sin. Brother is very well spoken. Ding. Opening a counterattack mission, the system opens a new notification. On the notice board, personal information appears. Name. Lu Zhu Ya, 21 years old. Height 170 centimeters. Weight 48 kilograms. Her current liking for Lin Sin is 30%. From a distance, a man wearing a vest with blonde hair ran up and waved his name Cha Cha. Mr. Zhao, why are you here? Brother Keon, this is Mr. Zhao. He gave me a lot of gifts in the distribution room. Live broadcast, of course he came to pick me up. How could he let me call a taxi service? This is Mr. Zhao wondered. Cha Cha smiled and held Lin's hand tightly. Introducing, this is too poor to have money. Brother Keon. Mr. Keon became famous in battle. I didn't expect that he was so young. I already knew that Mr. Mr. Zhao humbly introduced his car. While asking Lin Sin again. I drove a small electric donkey. He remembered his electric motorbike and spoke leisurely to the surprise of Cha Cha standing next to him. Oh, this. I'll take you a little way. Mr. Zhao politely invites you. Okay, thank you. Then my little electric donkey. Lin Sin wondered. So the luxury car was driving on the road with a small blue motorbike on its roof. Mr. Zhao drove the car while glancing at Lin Sin through the rearview mirror while praising Mr. Keon for his modesty. Surprising him, 
He asked him if this was the avenue leading to the restaurant. In his heart, he silently evaluated this male student. He really looks like he's just over 20 years old. His clothes are all tens of yuan. Is it really possible to give him a gift of more than 24 million? Cha Cha affirmed that he doesn't mind riding Mr. Kian's electric donkey. But Cha Cha carries so much luggage. It's still relatively convenient to ride in my car. Mr. Kian, are you right? Mr. Zhao asked you. Mr. Zhao said it was reasonable. Lin Xin smiled leisurely and responded to him while he was admiring the beautiful scenery of Dean Jiang City. Next to Cha Cha was also listening to silently evaluate Lin Xin. This person is really Mr. Kian. She thought suspiciously. Finally, the car arrived at the restaurant. Cha Cha happily walked in with a bright smile while greeting everyone around. The restaurant's VIP room door opened. The people in the room saw her silhouette as she greeted warmly the main character has finally arrived. Cha Cha looks better than the last time I saw him. One man complimented. Three drinks fine for being late. Another person was excited. This one is brother Kian. The same person who beat Young last night. Master Zhu lost and had to leave. She raised her hand and introduced Lin Sin to everyone in the room. Hearing the familiar name, everyone gathered around excitedly asking, What are you Mr. Kion? Is it real or fake? Isn't he too young? He has been admiring for a long time. The middle-aged men were extremely excited to look at Lin. Please confirm your identity. In a blink of an eye you immediately realized Cha Cha's true intentions. You I know she only invited me to apologize in name. But in reality, she asked the bosses to give her big rewards on livestream. This is a party to invite Cha Cha's bosses. As expected, the newspaper's famous female streamer Hey, not a little bit of mental vision. Lin Sin silently assessed the girl standing in front of him. In the round table, a man spoke up before Mr. Zhao. He said, Mr. Kian drove a small electric donkey to pick up Cha Cha. The above news made the people around excitedly provoke and laugh. Some people pretended to say this must be Mr. Kian's joke to Cha Cha. Because how could he have the ability to donate more than 20 million on livestream without money to buy a car? A bearded guy thought, resting his chin and wondering, if 20 million is just pocket money, Mr. Kian's total assets are definitely not less than 1 billion. I know a lot of people in Yan Jiang City, but Mr. Kian said his surname was Lin. That person continued to approach Lin Sin's people and interrogate him. He continued to assert that among the rich people in Yan Jiang City, there was no one named Lin. Lin Sin only heard it silently. The rest of the people were just waiting to hear that and quickly scrambled to speak up. What? President Chen said it was true. Cha Cha don't be fooled. Mr. Zhao also followed suit and scolded him. It was indeed fake. And even let me carry your little electric donkey. Cha Cha have you ever seen him? Of Mr. Kian before. Another bearded guy asked her. Cha Cha from this side was not in a hurry to respond. But her favorability had decreased by 10%. She silently recalled the scene just now. On the way to here, I confirmed on his cell phone. He is indeed so poor that he only has money left. Is he still angry with me? She thought, it is true that the personalities of some rich people are a bit special and perverted. But it doesn't matter, no matter what kind of man it is. It's just my ATM. She concluded, the only thing I'm worried about is that he doesn't have money for me to spend. Cha Cha thought to herself. She moved towards Lin Sin and gently grabbed his thigh, thanking President Chen for worrying about me. But isn't T there is a Lin family among the three major families in Shanghai. Lin Sin brother, you a young master Lin family in the major, right? She replied President Chen on the other hand asked him again to confirm his identity Lin Sin's truth. You of course know all too well about her thoughts. He silently commented. She looked like she was helping me talk but in reality she was verifying my identity. A Lin family in the major. Don't know. Anyway, I don't have as much money as me. Lin Sin held a glass of water and replied leisurely with eyes full of confidence. Little friend who colors too much. Be careful of being struck by lightning. I guess. Mr. Kian didn't buy a lottery ticket and won more than 20 million. It all fell on the lobby. And then he couldn't even make an appointment with Shuang Shuang. Just could run to trick Cha Cha. The guy in the yellow vest pointed and laughed and said. Mr. Zhao excitedly followed along. Yes. After all, he could still take advantage of this reputation to set up a date with Cha Cha to cheat on him one night. 
Is that right, Mr. Keon? You said your money is more than a Lin family in the major. Then I want to ask, what car do you usually drive? You keep a few supercars at home. The bearded guy asked about the quality. Asked Lin Sin. Lin Sin heard this and just pulled Cha Cha close to his chest. Smiling on one side of his mouth, he said car, I don't have any car. Cha Cha, what kind of car do you like? I will buy it for you right now. Lin Sin looked at her and asked. Seeing this, the crowd continued to cheer and say hey, that guy, where are you putting your hands? Now go shopping. Do you think you're buying food at the market? Do you want to pretend to pee to hide? The nouveau riche is indeed the nouveau riche. President Chen said one sentence and already revealed his true form. Little friend, pretending to be a rich person is not like that. Everyone is laughing in the same way to bring down Lin Sin. Really, thank you Lin Sin brother. I like Ferrari Fago. If you give it to me, will you pay me an equivalent gift? Cha Cha leaned her head on his shoulder and whispered at the same time her favorability has decreased by 15%. Loi Loi appears enthusiastic and cheerful on the outside, but in reality her favorability has decreased. With these acting skills, not acting is a waste. Lin Sin evaluate her. So that's it. Lin Sin leisurely walked out the door. Cha Cha smiled slightly and waved goodbye to him. A while later, specifically half an hour, everyone in the room had finished their meal. They walked out the door and chatted loudly. That kid named Lin had indeed run away. He was just a clown. Okay, Cha Cha, shall we go to karaoke? She agreed with them. She silently assessed. This Lin Sin is really a fraud. Still holding a glimmer of hope. Before she could finish speaking, a bright light emitted from a boxcar blinded everyone. Everyone around. What's going on? Mr. Zhao wondered. Lin Sin appeared in that light like a god. Not just one, but a series of luxury cars standing blocking the entire lane in front of full eyes. Surprise and curiosity of those around. Oh, general managers. It's so embarrassing. I'm blocking your way. Mr. Niu is too enthusiastic. I said I wanted to buy a sports car. He insisted on driving the whole thing here to show it to you. I choose to accept. Lin Sin smirked when he glanced at the wide eyes of the people who had just laughed at him while talking to the man next to him. The man named Mr. Niu clasped his hands and warmly replied that it was the right thing to do. Well, our store's service is famous for being attentive. Not to mention, young Master Lin's assets are verified by the Dragon Bank Black Diamond card. What? The Dragon Bank Black Diamond card. The assets must pass when I just got it. It's not fake. You can rent these cars to color it. Right, the bearded guy was startled and verified. The rest of the people also had wide eyes. Not understanding what was going on. That's not right. I know Mr. Niu. There is only one reason to be able to make him so respectful. The guy in the yellow vest confirmed. This Lin Sin is really a rich man. That guy spoke up. You came at the right time. Now I know. The Ferrari Fago you chose is only over 15 million. Too cheap. I can't give it away. Lin Sin looked at Cha Cha and spoke gently to her surprise. Too cheap. When she heard that, she got chills down her spine and broke into a sweat. Mr. Niu said that people who like Ferrari Fago will also like Ferrari LF. So I decided for you. Give you Ferrari LF. Lin Sin said as he turned his head and laughed at the guys who laughed at him. Lin Sin leisurely handed the powerful black card to Mr. Niu. He bowed his head to take it. Spending 32 million yuan. That's the amount of money you just spent. Really bought it. Ferrari LF. More than 30 million. Bought it. Cha Cha blushed and was surprised by Lin Sin's generosity. The people around turned pale and shouted. 30 million is still not the entire fortune property. In less than two days. He spent more than 50 million. Moreover it was just pocket money. Is his finances so terrible? It's over. Just now we were laughing at him. The yellow vest guy worried afraid to speak. President Chen, look at yourself. Don't pretend if you have little knowledge. Talk nonsense and make people misunderstand. We've been hurt by you. One guy questioned. Most of us forgot how I supported President Chen just now. Mr. Lin, you bought a gift for your girlfriend. So do you want to buy one? Mr. Niu invited. No, my car is the most expensive and only has one. Hey, I want to buy a more expensive one. Lin Sin replied. Young Master Lin is indeed very spirited. I am extremely sorry to disappoint you. Mr. Niu respectfully replied. Lin Sin brother, 
Thank you. This Ferrari LF is really my dream car. I never thought. Cha Cha was shy, looked at him with sparkling eyes apologetically. Lin Sin humbly smiled softly. He explained that he just had too much money, didn't know where to put it, so he spent it everywhere. Cha Cha's favorability shot up by 50%. After witnessing the scene, Lin Sin's glory and historical reputation, I thought to myself, he didn't get angry because of my request even gave me a step. Everyone bowed their heads, respectfully before Lin Sin. I'm sorry, Mr. Kian was all a misunderstanding. We, oui, Mr. Kian, I'm so sorry, I really have blind eyes. I dare to doubt you. Please forgive my ignorance. The whole group spoke in unison as if rehearsed. A guy who probably had a car for sale took the opportunity to introduce himself. That's it. I heard he planned to buy a more expensive car. Right now the city's first class car dealership, Yan Jiang, there are many luxury supercars that are much more valuable than President Chen's car. Although I don't know if they can catch your eye. If you can come visit, I would like to give you the biggest discount. To show the sincerity of my apology, Cha Cha happily pulled Lin Sin's hand and asked him to go test driving with her. Lin Sin immediately asked in confusion, I can try it myself. Hearing that, she leaned close to his ear and whispered, people have already thought. Of course the thank you gift must be returned. It's just that your gift is too big. I can't pay it all at once. I can pay it in installments. No, this first time has to be paid when it's just the two of them alone. She expressed to Lin Sin's surprise. Of course he was a bit shocked when he thought about it. As expected of a famous streamer, his acting always aroused his curiosity. After thinking about it, the two of them got into a red supercar and left. The sound of a luxury car was no joke. Okay, enough to scare the people left behind. The Ferrari car running down the road looks so outstanding. Lin Sin brother, can you sign my foot? Cha Cha started to open the auditorium. Lin Sin complied with her and gently lifted her short skirt. He suddenly saw something and his face gradually turned red like a tomato. Brother Kian sorry, it turned out there was an apology written on Cha Cha's thigh full of coquettishness and a bit of charm. This is the number of times I pay in installments. Each time I pay a part, I will clearly write down each amount. Is brother Lin Sin satisfied? Cha Cha lightly touched his lips and looked towards Lin Sin and said. Lin Sin responded to her. He was also quite satisfied with this thank you episode 1. The scene changed to the Carrotton Hotel. Hello everyone, I've arrived in Yan Jiang City. I didn't expect Mr. Kian to not say two words the gift of a car to me was really touching. Cha Cha stood in front of the supercar and live streamed. Many comments quickly appeared on the screen, most of which seemed to recognize the appearance of the Ferrari LF. The crowd discussed the value of the car. Some guessed more than 2 million. Some more knowledgeable said the car must be at least 30 million. Some other comments were curious about the relationship between the two. Some speculating whether Mr. Kian intends to support Cha Cha. There are many comments refuting the idea because they believe that Cha Cha is not someone who can be supported by tens of millions. At least one billion. The comment section became noisy because of this incident. While Cha Cha was sitting in the car live streaming. On the other side Lin Sin was talking to a man wearing a grey vest who seemed quite old. He also extremely respectful to Lin Sin. Smiling and saying, Mr. Kian, it's like this. In Yan Jiang City there is a group of rich people. Inside are all number one and number two rich people. They are all very hopeful. I hope to get to know Mr. Kian. You see. Okay, drag me into the group. Lin Sin immediately agreed, making him very happy and quickly thanked Mr. Kian for being so respectful. Lin Sin's pants pocket suddenly made a sound. It was you getting a call. Hello, Lao Li. You opened your mouth. The person named Lao Li immediately said. Lin Sin, I just received the news. Our high school class is holding a class reunion on tomorrow. Just in time in Yan Jiang City. Aren't you also studying at university in Yan Jiang City? Will you come? Lin Sin immediately agreed to come because he had nothing to do anyway. Heard that Chia Yu Xuan is studying literature at Yan Jiang University, and will also go to the class reunion. Lao Li announced. Lin Sin over here. The image of a beautiful girl with blue hair but looking he looked very cold and thought. Even though we were classmates in high school, the two of us basically didn't talk. We only knew that her family was very rich. Thinking about it, 
he agreed with Lao Li that he would definitely come to class reunion. The next morning, Lin Sin and his little blue electric donkey drove to a high-rise building. He thought to himself, this is the five-star Maladen Hotel. It's so luxurious. In front of the building there was a group of people. The guy in the red shirt seemed to recognize him and said hello. He also recognized him and asked, Hey, Lao Li, Co Zhang, where did you park? Lao Li answered. He said, he didn't know because he was on a high-speed train to arrive. Lin Sin sat on his electric donkey and revved the engine. The car made a sound indicating the approaching destination. Sure enough, not only did the car not work, but then the car also emitted a black smoke that made him startled and scream. Damn it, why is it broken? He immediately remembered the scene last night. Mr. Zhao had just lifted his car off the roof of the luxury car and said, being able to carry Mr. University student, really humble, looking forward to having the opportunity to do business with Mr. Keon. There is also Cha Cha. Before saying goodbye, she drove a Ferrari and told him she was busy because tomorrow she has to go take photos. When she's free, she'll come find him to hang out. Thinking back a bit, Lin Sin gritted his teeth and realized that Mr. Zhao was definitely not paying attention and damaged it last night when Mr. Zhao unloaded the car. So he had to make him compensate. Lao Li next to him heard what he said. Silently guessed. Mr. Zhao. Probably a porter named Mr. Zhao. Suddenly, a young man in a black shirt wearing glasses who looked quite cool drove a luxury car with the same color as his shirt. He also said hello, guys. Long time ago, then no see. Brother Lian, long time no see. Everyone around is quite excited about this new character appearing. His name is Peng Billion. He also looks like he has money. He arrogantly took off his glasses and curled his mouth. Smiled and asked, Lin Sin, is the car broken? Yes, probably last night. Before Lin Sin could speak, this guy burst out laughing. He interrupted, my bad, my bad. I forgot the Maladen Hotel doesn't have parking for electric cars. When I chose the location I didn't taking into account that my classmates will take the tram. I will pay more attention next time. After laughing, he arrogantly threw his car key to the security guard. That person grabbed the key and said hello. Welcome, Xiao Peng. Peng Billion became the subject of flattery around him. Xiao Zhang saw that, immediately asked admiringly, Brother Lian, is this Porsche worth several million? The woman with purple straight hair said he was ignorant, then introduced to Xiao Zhang that this is the luxury Maladen hotel that belongs to him. Brother Lian's family, the above information made Xiao Zhang extremely surprised because he knew Peng Billion had money but did not expect him to be so rich. The cost of building the Maladen alone was more than 3 billion. Clearly having such money, being so modest, and thinking for Lin Sin, I don't admire anyone, just admire brother Lian, Xiao Zhang said while laughing, said while Lin Sin still leisurely took his electric car to look for a parking space. While driving the electric scooter, the phone in Lin Sin's pocket rang again, notifying her of an incoming call. It turned out to be Luo Yaxi calling. She was wearing a cool looking nightgown to paint her toenails. While clipping it, shoulder phone to talk to Lin Sin. Lin Sin, where are you? Today is Saturday. Do you want to have dinner with me? Not today. I'm going to a class reunion with my high school friend's study. Or maybe tomorrow. Lin Sin replied to her, thinking that he only had more than 2.00 on his body right now. He just wanted to have a meal. Tomorrow was fine. These two days were not too convenient for me. She warmly replied, if it's not convenient, maybe my aunt will come. Lin Sin speculated that while he was saying something to Luo Yaxi, telling her to pay attention to her health. Drink a lot of warm water. Yes, she responded to his words and said that her favorability had increased by 2%. At this time, the system pops up a notification. Luo Yaxi's favorability plus 2% has reached 91%. Completing the first phase of the counterattack. Spending 11.359.800 gold coins on Luo Yaxi. 10% refund is copyright.135.980 money transferred to the boss's personal account. Who said drinking a lot of hot water is useless? Not very effective, but the money is still spent too little. Only 1.13 million. Seems like a lot of money spent more money to counterattack. Lin Sin smiled slightly thinking. The notification system has turned on the personal attribute interface. Name Lin Sin, 22 years old. 
one force, one agility, one physicality, one intelligence. Achieve bonus one level for all attributes bonus one lucky draw. All of Lin Sin's attributes have now been added to level two. His body suddenly lit up. He clenched his fists while thinking. It was like warm water spreading all over my body. So comfortable. He smiled and lightly pressed the button in the air while saying that after that. The lucky draw for a miracle prize would appear. Randomly drawn three skills. Requires the host to choose one of three skills within a limited time. Countdown 7.59.59. A. Skill level, appreciation of cultural relics. C. Skill level, five whips of lightning. D. Level skills singing and dancing rap. Lin Sin's face darkened when he read the system notification. He shouted, what the hell are these skills? They basically can't be used every day. Never mind, go to class reunion before. He wanted to buy a car, but he couldn't spend the money on himself. He scratched his head and thought as he walked towards the hotel. Opening the door, inside was already full of people sitting at the round table. Everyone was dressed beautifully, while gently pulling the empty chair. Lin Sin asked Lao Li, Chia Yu Xuan hasn't arrived yet. Peng Billion pulsed there are a few girls sitting around. He's laughing at you, what does pain have to do with you? Lin Sin, Chia Yu Xuan are beauty queens of the literature department. And your family background is not simple. And you, Chia Yu Xuan's family has a lot of money. Lin Sin Am Tan asked Lao Li. Lao Li immediately replied, it's not surprising if you don't know. Her family is a scholarly family with strict family rules. So she is very low key. The crowd discussed the family background of the girl in question. I recently learned that the museum in the city was opened by her family. Wow, isn't that very rich? Someone heard immediately exclaimed. So Lin Sin and Chia Yu Xuan are not at all from the same class. To be honest, in this city of Yan Jiang I only see brother Billion who has the qualifications to pursue Chia Yu Xuan. The two girls next to Peng Billion the constant flattery made him proud. Lin Sin silently held a glass of red wine and clicked his lips in response to the previous scene. The door opened again, a girl with long blue hair appeared who looked extremely noble and elegant. She gave her a purple flared dress with expensive sparkling jewelry on it. Seeing the person inside, she opened her mouth and apologized for being late, because there was a bit of traffic on the road, her appearance causing all the men to blush and bewildered while looking at them. Lin Sin silently commented, as expected of a beauty queen, even without makeup, she is still so beautiful. The girl's beauty notification system was 94 points. Lin Sin exclaimed that it was amazing. The system gave such a high score. Peng Billion smiled red-faced and quickly invited Chia Yu Xuan to sit next to him. While inviting him, he silently winked at the girls who were accidentally blocking the way because of Chia Yu Xuan's beauty. He gritted his teeth to signal. They moved aside. Meanwhile, Lin Sin waved and smiled at Chia Yu Xuan. There is still this place here. He pointed to the empty chair next to her. She followed the call and looked towards him. She walked towards as soon as she sat down on the empty chair. She greeted Lin Sin, long time no see, she said in a gentle and affectionate tone. I thought you forgot me. Lin Sin smiled shyly and said, I still remember everyone's names. Classmate, she replied gently. Opening the counterattack mission, the system notified the next girl's personal information. Chia Yu Xuan, 22 years old, 1.68 meters tall, 50 kilograms weight, perfect current feeling 0%. Yeah, the first step was successful. Lin Sin thought happily. Chia Yu Xuan sitting next to Lin Sin made all the others both surprised and angry. They silently thought, Lin Sin dares to call a beauty queen to sit next to him. How dare you, damn, Lin Sin is so bold. On the other side Peng Billion glared at him with red eyes. He gritted his teeth thinking that someone dared to surpass him. He suddenly called your name. I heard that you had a girlfriend after three years in college. Why didn't you bring it to the end? We are all very curious. He arrogantly said poking fun at Lin Sin's past. You replied leisurely, just broke up the other day. He heard it and quickly shouted. Broke up, pursued for three years. No, I saw you wanted to pursue Chia Yu Xuan that's why you said that. The people around him followed him and mocked you. This kind of lie can only deceive children. Your appearance is too unsightly. Lin Sin, originally thought you were an honest person but did not expect that when he went to college and became a man. 
They laughed scornfully, and he explained that he was just telling the truth. Chia Yu Xuan next to her didn't react. But at this time her favorability had become negative 1%. Lin Xin saw the notification about her favorability. He didn't understand why. Peng Bilian saw the reaction the surrounding response was exactly as he wanted. Then he smirked with satisfaction. Being in high spirits, he changed the subject to Chia Yu Xuan. He introduced her, suddenly remembered. Chia Yu Xuan, you seem to be very excited I'm interested in art and literature. Recently I bought Daphic's Maria painting from a collector. He continued to invite. Do you want to enjoy some? Chia Yu Xuan looked at the Maria painting in the back. True to her hobby, she suddenly felt interested in the painting and immediately left the chair and walked closer to the painting. Peng Bilian also left the chair. He walked towards Lin Sin and whispered to him. Knowing clearly take your identity. You scumbag. Try attracting Chia Yu Xuan's attention again. I can make you even graduate and not be able to find a job in Yanjiang City. After threatening him, he walked towards by Chia Yu Xuan to brag. Chia Yu Xuan you don't know how much I like this painting. In two days, there will be an auction in the city, including a painting of the same blessing angel the author will be auctioned. Also, he pretends while over here Lin Sin is secretly preparing for some strategy. I didn't expect you to also be interested in Renaissance artists. I have can I come a little closer to see, successfully to learn about her interests. Even though he found these things really boring. Uncle Feng, I'm also interested in Daphic's work. Lin Sin suddenly said loudly to the surprise of two people are looking at paintings. Can we watch together? Lin Sin said with a smile. The system now informed that selecting the skill to appreciate literature has been activated. Of course he can. Peng Bilian replied arrogantly, silently cursing in his heart. Lin Sin is stupid, taking the initiative to embarrass himself. He originally believed that Lin Sin himself was not qualified to appreciate works of art. Art. While Lin Sin was holding the painting to look at it, Chia Yu Xuan was also a bit surprised, thinking, do you like Daphic as much as I like it? Take a look too. Let us know your unique assessment of this painting go. Peng Bilian stood next to challenge. That's not right, Lin Sin suddenly said. The system has activated the literary appreciation skill. Daphic's late works all like to use the dyeing method. The opaque glaze mixed with a small amount of pigment and a large amount of parachute oil. Each stroke has a blurred effect. The color of this painting is not correct. Because there is so much pigment. In addition, Daphic often likes to hide the lines near the corners of the character's mouth and eyes to achieve a soft, delicate feeling. Lin Sin's eyes seemed to be bright with Google. His mouth quickly read out the details about the author of the painting. That line in this drawing was a bit stiff. Lin Sin commented, surprised and surprised, a little admiration at this guy's understanding of Chia Yu Xuan. Master Peng, it's a pity, this painting of Maria is fake. He bought it, right at the highly simulated painting. Lin Sin's eyes lit up and he spoke firmly. Peng Bilian heard it and felt like a bolt of lightning struck him. He couldn't believe what was happening before his eyes. Even though he was shocked, he still had to pretend to be calm on the outside. He tried to provoke him. People outside the profession who were deceived by you like that would probably believe it. But as soon as I looked, I knew if you had learned a few tricks or not. The orthodox wanted to prove himself. He said with a sneer. The people around him also followed him. That's right. Lin please stop pretending. Are you as professional as brother Lian? Purple-haired woman questioned. Lao Li also told Lin Sin to be quiet. Lin Sin heard his questioning and did not bother to explain further. Suddenly Chia Yu Xuan suddenly said. Wait, I have learned about Daphic's works. Lin Sin is right. This is a high-quality imitation. She said while carefully examining the painting. What? Everyone in the room shouted in unison. Having finished speaking, Chia Yu Xuan looked towards Lin Sin. He also looked towards her. Four eyes met each other. Was there about to be a spark? Chia Yu Xuan was a little shy and asked Lin Sin, Why are you knowing such specialized knowledge? Since I was a child, I was very upset when foreign countries robbed many of our country's cultural treasures. So I learned a lot about enjoying literature and art. My goal is to buy back all the artifacts to return to the country. Lin Sin calmly showed in front of her. I was almost deceived by you. Those antiques can be bought back with money. Peng Bilian laughed and teased. Lin Sin just smiled slightly and delicately boasted. As long as there is a certain amount of money, 
there is nothing that cannot be bought. Having a lot of money to a certain extent. Are you an elementary school student? Everyone else in the room laughed loudly. They simply did not believe that Lin Sin's finances could pay so much. Like that. Thinking you're bragging. When I was a child, I also had such unrealistic dreams. The faces of the people in the room were indescribably shocked. Their heads were full of question marks. Before they could eat or drink anything they wanted to spit it all out. Saying it's a dream is too far away. This is a goal that I will definitely accomplish. Lin Sin's eyes were full of confidence and affirmation. Peng Billion saw that Chia Yuxuan had returned to the seat next to Lin Sin and was furious. He rolled his eyes until they were red, gritting his teeth until he was about to spit blood. Damn it, Lin Sin, dare to act in front of me. Even want to compete with me for Chia Yuxuan. I will humiliate you, make you understand our distance. He looked at Lin Sin thinking. He seemed to want to strangle Lin Sin. At the end of the conversation, the chef brought up a series of high-class dishes. Truly expensive food. The dish in front of everyone seemed to shine. Wow, so fragrant. Some people exclaimed, I have never eaten such high-class food before. Lao Li held his head and exclaimed, Why are our dishes so different? Xiao Zhang looked at everyone's dishes and compared. I don't understand okay, this is a meal without a menu. It's up to the chef to decide what dishes to serve. It's just that this chef used to work in a three-star Michelin restaurant. His personality is quite special. When cooking, everyone helps. Depending on the mood, Peng Billion lightly tosses his hair and brags. Looks like Lin Sin's luck is not very good. Someone said when they saw the meal on Lin Sin's table it was not a luxury dish but just is a dumpling and a few unattractive looking side dishes. Ah, oh, this is a dumpling. What happened? Xiao Zhang wondered. Is it a culinary molecule? Michelin chefs on the internet are all like to make these dishes. Such as Longyan strawberry or something. Lao Li also tinkered and predicted. Sure enough. Ordinary dumplings and mustard greens were not surprising at all. He had already guessed that Peng Billion would cause trouble. Lin Sin didn't say anything. He just thought to himself as he rolled up a piece of dumpling to put in his mouth. Lin Sin, what do you think? Is the dumpling that Michelin chef makes delicious? If it doesn't suit your taste, I'll tell someone to put away the dish so the chef can make another dish for you. But that chef makes a dish that's quite delicate and can't be cooked within an hour or two. Purple-haired woman, following him, he said that if you can eat the food that a Michelin chef cooks, then waiting two hours would be worth it. He happily continued, after all, if you don't wait and go to karaoke on an empty stomach, it wouldn't be very good. Right, Peng Billion just seemed to care about Lin Sin. In reality he just wanted to taunt him. The woman heard him say that he was going to karaoke soon and was so excited. Having finished bragging, he looked over to Lin Sin's side just waiting seeing his reaction became ugly. However what he saw was Lin Sin and Chia Yu Xuan talking. Laughing and talking to each other, making him gasp in frustration. The patterns on both sides of the nose of the face the gold mask is both beautiful and has the function of removing the folds of the mask. The wisdom of the ancients always makes me admire. Lin Sin continues to demonstrate her understanding to the admiration of Chia Yu Xuan while listening. She increased her liking for him by 2%. Smiling while responding, I felt that his specialized knowledge had almost caught up with my teacher. This time, when I have a chance, I will invite you to enjoy it with me. I invite you. Damn it, Peng Billion felt like a clown when he heard it. Because just now he used all his heart and soul to mock him. But it didn't work, so his goddess even invited him to meet again next time. President Chen invited you to join the group, Yan Jiang Prince Daughter. Lin Sin's phone notified. Lin Sin saw and remembered that President Chen invited her to join the group Yan Jiang Fu to die last night. The group currently has 23 members. The message screen announced, too poor to have money, to join the chat group. This made many people in the group excited and texted continuously. Golden Boy said, damn, it's Mr. Keon. President Chen actually brought Mr. Keon into the chat group. The others half believed and half expectedly asked if they had confirmed their identity. President Chen immediately spoke up to assure him. The person who just joined the group was Mr. Keon. The store's price is real because last night he gave Cha Cha a supercar. Lin Sin looked at the messages and thought, is it good to send a gift to meet you just now? The counterattack money can't be used on men. Just find a girl. This person seems okay. 
It's her. Lin Sin silently made a decision as she pressed the button on the phone screen. The message saying, too poor to have money, was sent to a smiling Yan Bao. 1888,000. At the same time his message arrived with the content, WX couldn't send big red envelopes. I transferred money to a random person. Here was to invite everyone to drink tea. Lin Sin spoke up. The girl who received the money quickly thanked Mr. Kian, while Yan Jiang exclaimed that this was equivalent to half of her pocket money for half a year. Yet just to invite everyone to drink tea. Xu Emperor replied, This is Mr. Kian, real product, real price. Who dares to doubt? The account is just an airplane seller who apologized profusely for daring to doubt unexpectedly questioned Mr. Kian. Some of the remaining people kept texting to thank Mr. Kian for inviting him to tea. Account, high profile, Prince, sent a text message inviting Mr. Kian. Do you want to come hang out at Maladen? Account, too poor to have money, replied. You are in Maladen. The account, wealth ad wealth insurance seek, said, coincidentally, I am also nearby. Wanted to come to see Mr. Kian's demeanor. Accounts when other people saw the news. They were also excited and wanted to go to the Maladen to celebrate. Lin Sin texted back, agreeing and saying that the more people there are, the more exciting it will be. Account, high profile, Prince, private messaged Lin Sin and said Mr. Kian, I am the Grandmaster of Maladen, Peng Billion, today Mr. Kian's expenses at Maladen, I will cover all, Mr. Kian can take whatever he wants. He texted and smiled as if he was about to achieve a goal. Some scheme, too poor to have money, replied. That's not very good. Lin Sin looked at the message screen and smiled thinking isn't this too much of a coincidence. Account, high profile, Prince, continued texting. Mr. Kian doesn't need to be polite. I also have nothing but hospitality. Peng Billion texted while looking at Lin Sin and smirked thinking he was dead Lin Sin. I have met a powerful rich man. Even more I have many broader relationships. But you wait until the rich people come. I will casually complain a few words. Then this is his plot. A dream image appeared in his mind. He invited a person named Mr. Kian and a group of rich people to drink. The imaginary Mr. again. It's nothing but a lower class high school friend with no eyes or brains. Frowning at me. It continues to be an image in my imagination. In which a person named Mr. Kian captured living Lin Sin had just threatened that he would not let him stay in Yan Jiang City anymore. The remaining rich people in Peng Billion's imagination also excitedly scolded Lin Sin for daring to offend young Master Peng. They will tell the HR company to completely kill a person named Lin Sin. Associating with Mr. Kian, trample Lin Sin underfoot, show off a wave of relationships, kill three birds with one stone. I'm too smart with that in mind. Peng Billion was secretly proud of his seemingly perfect plan. He opened his hands and said loudly that everyone is almost done eating. Right, go take everyone to the theater room on the top floor. I made an appointment to meet a few of the top rich people in Yan Jiang City. So that everyone could meet a little bit of the upper class. When the people in the room heard that, they excitedly said that Brother Lian's connections were really beneficial. Harm. In the glorious golden lobby, a bar space with shimmering purple lights appeared. Everyone was currently sitting on a long red sofa that looked very luxurious. Peng Billion shook hands with someone. Tall man wearing a brown vest that looked very expensive. The man also greeted the first meeting and complimented young master Peng for looking so young. Peng Billion smiled back and asked about Shudi's business. The greeting scene the seeming closeness just made his group of high school classmates praise and exclaim because they felt that brother Lian was handsome but clearly not in the same world as them. Xiao Zhang excitedly announced, brother Lian but he took us to get acquainted with the rich man. Later I will go with brother Lian. Peng Billion quickly introduced the person named Xu Di to Chia Yu Xuan. He told her this was Mr. Xu, the owner of the estate number one product Yan Jiang, and at the same time introduced her as Chia Yu Xuan, the golden daughter of the Chia family. Mr. Xu saw the beauty and immediately spoke up to greet her warmly. It turns out, Chia family, acquainted with her father, Miss Chia held a glass of wine and gently smiled in response to Mr. Xu's greeting. He had long heard that miss her graceful beauty. This side there is a waiter quietly whispering young Master Peng. Bother you. Your classmate wants to order a bottle of Oloriso Sherry wine. I'm not sure if I should give it for him. The waiter said, pointing at Lin Sin who was waiting at the bar. Lin Sin, 
Do you want to order Oloriso sherry wine? Peng Billion heard it with wide eyes and asked again. His friends around everyone around was also surprised by this incident. Lin Sin is crazy. This wine costs thousands of dollars. Brother Lian sees us as old classmates. Invites everyone to dinner. Sings karaoke. You don't either shouldn't you take advantage of the opportunity to order such expensive wine. Some people criticized it. It's probably just a misunderstanding. Lin Sin didn't know this wine was so expensive. Lao Li will tell you for you. Yes, that's what sherry or something. It's okay, someone invited me. Lin Sin smiled lightly in response to the group's words. Really, it turns out Lin Sin also knows rich people. So let's open it. Peng Billion thought this was a good opportunity to completely dethrone Lin Sin. He said while laughing with a sly face. Pong, the cap of the expensive wine bottle was opened. People around began to discuss. Wondering how Lin Sin could know such a rich person. Some people were curious about the price of Lin Sin. Wine bottle, Lin Sin. A bottle of Oloriso cherry wine costs 25,000. It's already been opened. It's too late for you to regret it now. Peng Billion stuck out his tongue, picked up the bottle of wine and said loudly in Lin Sin's face. If your great friend your family can't pay this money, you have to pay even if you go to Tae Sun to dig coal. But my uncle is a coal mine boss. He can help you arrange a position. He threatened with a rude tone. The size just mocked. But Lin Sin just listened silently. Lin Sin was disappointed and thought that the longer the wine name, the more expensive the wine. Thinking and scratching his head in agreement. He really didn't know anything about wine. You were really handsome when you got dressed. I hope in the future when you pay you won't be so pathetic. Peng Billion said arrogantly. In his heart he must also believe that in the near future Lin Sin will definitely meet with disaster. Everyone are all gathered. Isn't it mister he is in the glorious golden hall? Peng Billion was surprised to hear that. Is he here? As soon as he finished speaking, the door opened. A man was about to enter. It's President Chen. Are you here? Looks like I'm here. At the latest, President Chen greeted everyone in the room. Someone in the group spoke up. President Chen also arrived. Only Mr. Qian remained. Peng Billion was about to extend his hand to shake hands with President Chen. But he swiped past him and quickly ran back in another direction. President Chen warmly held Lin Sin's hand with both hands. Smiled and shyly said Mr. Qian, I'm late. Sorry, turns out you were already here. I've made Mr. Qian wait for a long time. I'm really going to punish myself with three cups. Money. President Chen's words made the people in the room so stunned that they didn't know how to react. At this moment, Mr. Xu just started to react. He shouted loudly Mr. Qian. You are Mr. Qian. Lin Sin is Mr. Qian. Someone shouted. The only person in the room who remained calm was Chia Yu Xuan. Because she was the type of person who did not watch bullshit news. Peng Billion was struck by lightning again. He stammered what to say. No, that's impossible. He tried to deny the truth that was happening before his eyes. Yes, it's me. Lin please confirm with a smile on your lips. Simple words but enough to cause great power to many people. Mr. Kian is so young. Handsome and polite. Also very handsome. Does Mr. Kian have a girlfriend? I let me introduce you to my little sister. The people in the chat group were now able to react. They began to surround Lin Sin. Smiling and speaking very warmly. The group of high school classmates with him were equally surprised to see this. Is Lin Sin really that rich? The pink-haired woman was suspicious, feeling like a group of rich people were surrounding him to flatter him. Xiao Zhang exclaimed, The attitude just now towards brother Lian is completely different. Lao Li compares, Impossible, I don't know what tricks Lin Sin pulled. You all have been fooled. I know Lin Sin's parents are just workers hired worker. He's just a poor tatted person, absolutely can't be Mr. Kian, Peng Billion said occasionally, pointing at Lin Sin and talking nonsense. Peng, you immediately shut your mouth for me. You are the most trash in the Yan Jiang Prince daughter group. President Chen shouted back at him. He started to criticize. His academic performance is the lowest. His ability is at the bottom. Every month except for spending hundreds of thousands of money from his parents. He doesn't know how to do anything and has never been successful in investing. He said, making Peng Billion's whole body feel like he was shot and seemed like he was about to be unable to stand. Firmer, the stocks were all at a loss, not earning a cent. It was really embarrassing for our group. 
he said. The people in the chat group listened silently, while the group of high school friends who used to be very supportive for him. He was extremely surprised by the recent information. Lin Sin sat there just leisurely sipping a glass of wine. Originally, he didn't need to take revenge on anyone because President Chen did it for him. He continued to scold him. Peng Billion Mine, you still dare to scold Mr. Qian. Mr. Qian is someone you can insult. Kick him out of the Yan Jiang Prince daughter group. A person in the chat group suggested. Don't. Me. I. Peng Billion panicked and tried to explain the situation to myself. Now he no longer looked cool but looked like a wet mouse. Lin Sin only then stood up and spoke up like a victim. Main object. Okay, didn't young master Peng say that it covers all my expenses today? Bartender, make the most expensive wine. For everyone in the hall, drink until satisfied. You holding the wine glass high in his hand. Everyone around in unison praised the generous Mr. Keon. Damn it, Peng Billion realized that his fate was bleak and hopeless. His tears flowed like a river. He doubled over and lay down on the floor, silently cursing. The party was over. Everyone walked out of the hotel lobby together. Some people texted to thank Mr. Sin and Brother Lian. Some said see you next time. Chia Yu Xuan said goodbye to everyone to leave first. She walked towards a long white luxury car and someone was waiting. Rolls-Royce long version. One person exclaimed. Xiao Zhang was openly jealous. Lao Li exclaimed. Chia Yu Xuan is so rich humble, but if it were you, you would show off your wealth everywhere. Lin Xin saw that and immediately thought that she is a young lady. From a young age she has been in contact with the upper class. And has no expression about her status as a money boss. Showing any surprise. Even the level of sympathy did not increase at all. This person is difficult to attack. Lin Sin silently evaluated her. She is truly a super good money maker. Lin Sin laughed loudly as he thought to himself, determining that she was his next key target. Money boss, didn't you say you couldn't see those 30 minus 40 million cars? I found a car, 80 million, only 10 in the world. Not even anyone in the country knew him. President Chen quickly took the phone and ran towards Lin Sin to introduce the product. Lin Sin's eyes looked at the information on the phone lit up. He responded to President Chen's words. It didn't look bad, take it. He didn't hesitate to close the order immediately. President Chen was excited when he heard that. His legs seemed to grow his wings flew up. He quickly ran away but was able to say goodbye to Lin Sin. As expected of a rich boss. Quick, quick, I go to work right away. Maybe I can come back in a few days. Some people saw President Chen close the order and secretly admired his speed. In just a moment he had discussed a big deal with the boss. Lin Sin took his phone to check the balance. The total was 113.870. He silently calculated that he had to earn more money. The sky is now completely dark. There are white lights turned on around for people around to light the way. Lin Sin was walking when he saw Lu Cheng holding his legs and bowing his head in a corner. He called out to her. Lin please, you're finally home. She raised her face and said to him in a somewhat pitiful tone. My father's heart disease suddenly relapsed. Now in the hospital, surgery costs 800,000. But my family can't take out that much money right away. Can you lend it to me first? She walked towards Lin Sin while whispering and begging. It's been three years. Do you think I don't even understand you? You've used this excuse that your family member is sick five times. And now you borrow 800,000 to buy branded goods online. I won't lend you even one dong. Lin Sin replied sternly. On. She's extremely strangely surprised by Lin Sin's strange and cold reaction. She questioned him. Lin Sin you spent more than 10 million on Luo Yaxi. Are you not willing to give me 800,000? Lin Sin is blunt. Say my money. How do you want to spend it? Who do you want to spend it on? She can't control it. You. Are you so unloving? Lu Cheng said desperately. We haven't even been broken up for a week. She tried trying to hold on while Lin Sin bluntly turned around and left. Leaving her there, as he left, he said, thanks to her blessings, I have finally lived a few good days. Tomorrow I will meet someone else. Eat dinner, don't talk to you anymore. Goodbye, Lin Sin, you can't treat me like that. Lu Cheng said while crying. Her sympathy level was reduced by 20%. Going through this of Mr. Wang, he still thought she would change. As expected. He thought too much. His sympathy level dropped. After all, 
He did not intend to make money on her. He silently thought about what had happened. Another day has passed. The sun is shining again. At school there are already silhouettes of many students passing by. Lin Sin looked at the phone while walking and thinking. Luo Yaxi sent a location, asking me to come there to eat rice, and said he wanted to invite me. What are you kidding, girl? Don't try to block my path to getting rich. Lin Sin made a decision in his mind. Ting Ting, the cha cha you follow is live streaming. Ting Ting, hello I'm a little assistant who can make exclusive gifts for you. The app on Lin Sin's phone kept ringing with notifications. Exclusive gifts. Lin Sin thought about something and smiled slightly. Room. The live stream shows up on the yellow notice board. King's return. Level 26 King. Poor with only money left enter the live room. Seeing the notice of VIP guests. Cha Cha happily greeted. Her money man has arrived. Not just her but the surrounding people were also excited to say hello to the boss. Currently, Cha Cha was doing a split pose in yoga. Her whole body was already drenched in sweat. She offered to dance for Lin Sin to see and said that he can only show her movements. One commenter saw this and excitedly said he wanted to see her dance. But was immediately rejected by another commenter. Because he thought that only the boss with money was qualified to watch. Because he gave it to his father. Dad must have a supercar. The live stream screen suddenly lit up. Showing the message that poor with only money had given the streamer a god of wealth. An image of the god of wealth wearing dark glasses appeared. It turned out that this was an exclusive gift made specifically for Lin's account. Please. And it costs 880,000 yuan each. Seeing the value of the huge gift made the comment section cry. One person exclaimed that the gift made specifically for the most outspoken hero was only 500,000 each. Cha Cha was surprised and said thanks with both hands covering his mouth Mr. Tn gave her a generous gift. History repeated itself with a glorious appearance. The screen continuously flashed the notification that Lin Sin gave her an exclusive gift with an exponential amount. After a while, the screen still did not clear. Reported that the account was so poor that there was only money left to give away x50, x100, x200 gods of wealth. Finally, the screen stopped when the number reached 341 gods of wealth. 341 gods of wealth. 300 million yuan. Cha Cha silently calculated and scooped it up. Unable to stop panicking, her sympathy level with Lin Sin quickly increased by 20%. She blushed and said to the screen Mr. Tien, you can assign any talent. I perform 1.1. Suddenly, the system announced a message that the Supreme Emperor at level 30 is so poor that he only has money left. Leaving the live broadcast room, Cha Cha had not finished inviting but saw Lin Sin's account leaving. There seemed to be thousands of question marks in his mind. Spent 300 million. At that time the refund will be 30 million. Wonderful. Lin Sin silently calculated the amount of money he was about to receive and was overjoyed. Talking about Cha Cha's side. She is currently immersed in her sweet speculations. That he just gave her a supercar. And now she is giving 300 million to herself. If she says buying a supercar is to slap the old people in the face. That old man can understand but I haven't asked him yet. He gave me a gift. Not PK. Why did he give me so much money? He doesn't even want to see me perform anything. Maybe he likes me. If he does. No. She was so absorbed in her thoughts that she blushed. Pop. She slapped herself in the face to calm her thoughts. Be a bit more alert. Be fierce. Men are not trustworthy. Remember. He is just a dispenser it's just my money. I absolutely won't like him. She clenched her fists and silently said. Thinking like that, right after a moment, she opened her phone and stared at the extremely handsome photo of Lin Sin was silently shy. Back to Lin Sin, he was still holding the phone while checking the meeting location. Arriving at the school gate, the name was, he thought. Suddenly, a man's voice the man was cursing loudly. Motherfucker, wearing a mask, you think I don't recognize you? He said as he snatched the girl's mask and said where he wanted to run. The girl was being attacked by a group of men. Surrounding the bully is Lu Cheng. Lu Cheng suddenly saw a familiar figure. It was Lin Sin. He was also observing her. Just looking for a moment. Lin Sin turned to leave. Lu Cheng sadly thought he probably wouldn't come to help her anymore. Now I don't have money now. Give me three more days. Lu Cheng tried to delay with the man standing in front of her. 
but he didn't seem to trust her because she had already used this excuse once. Now now I'm going to borrow money. She's trying to make peace with them. Didn't you say yesterday that your boyfriend would lend you money? Where is your boyfriend? The man I asked. I did it for him hurt his heart. Lu Cheng bowed his head and replied. I'll translate. You can't borrow money, right? That guy loudly confirmed. The person who refuses to lend is definitely a scumbag, still a coward. What? She called him to come here. The men around him continuously threatened her. I didn't. She heard but could only hesitantly bow her head and hug herself. Stammering. Okay, don't waste any more words. Those men said while holding her hands tightly, as if they wanted to drag her away. What? Where do you want to take me? Lu Cheng asked in panic. Going somewhere. Of course he used her to pay. One guy covered her mouth and told her. The others also joined in and enticed her. No, she weakly resisted. Besides there was also a passerby who had already entered. Love saw the scene before her eyes. To save her life, she looked after the passerby trying to signal for help but that person ran away out of fear. Still want to call someone? I tell you, we I've arrested people many times. No one dared to come forward before. The men laughed while explaining the situation to her. Lu Cheng heard it and cried in despair. Lin please I don't blame you. All of this I brought this on myself. If it weren't for my love of money and vain glory. She cried quietly, remembering the person she hurt. There wouldn't be the end of today. I'm so regretful. I hurt you at that time. I'm sorry Lin Sin. She thought in despair before being dragged into the white car. Bang. The driver suddenly received a strong punch on the cheek like heaven. The car door was opened. The guys inside were cursing. Fuck. Whatever. The person who opened the door was Lin Sin. He forcefully chased everyone out of the car. Realizing that the person who saved his life was Lin Sin. Lu Cheng tears of joy filled her eyes. Her sympathy level quickly increased by 40%. The two guys in the car cursed Lin Sin for being a brat who wanted to die. And wanted to punch him. Bang. A pile of red money the stick became a weapon to disfigure one guy's face. The other guy was hit directly in the head with a pile of money. Almost injured. Hurt by money. The two guys sat on the ground and looked at the money flying in front of them. My eyes. Take this 800,000. Get out. Lin Sin looked at those two guys and said. Are you her boyfriend? The two guys were gathering money into the basket while asking you. Lin Sin shook his head and said. I'm not. Why are you talking so much nonsense? Once you take the money. Get lost. Lu Cheng lost his effectiveness and was thrown out of the car. The remaining two guys grabbed the money and ran to the car. One guy turned around and looked at Lin Sin and scolded him. You kid, don't even think about paying. Then it's over, the debt you owe to our brothers will be returned to you. After the threat, the driver closed the car door and left, leaving Lu Cheng and Lin Sin here. Before he could stand up, Lu Cheng shyly apologized to Lin Sin. If you really know what's wrong, then don't hang around me in the future. Lin Sin is extremely cold, he said as he put his hand in his pocket and left her alone. Her current sympathy level has increased by 10%. She thought to herself, Lin Sin I know that the current me is not worthy of you. But I will use actions to make up for the hurt I have given her in the past three years. Brother, a yellow taxi driving fast on the road. Thank you for your gift of money. I'll dance my ass for you. Lin Sin sat in the back seat and looked at the voice message Cha Cha just sent you. Brother, you do you also like to watch live streams? What platform do you watch it on? The driver asked curiously, I'm just looking for some gifts. Lin Sin looked at the phone and replied leisurely, I usually watch Leopard's Teeth, but it's all about Mr. Keon. Right, the mysterious tycoon just gave another 300 million to the host. Yes, I also saw it, Lin Sin replied casually while he was sitting typing something on the phone screen. A sound came from the phone, does Mr. Keon like this? The screen on the taxi announced an incoming message, New Wolf, guess you like it. The content said, the mysterious rich man made another move. He was so poor that he only had money left, and paid 100 million to the female anchor on Do You Live. So poor that only money is left. Ran to play with fish. The driver saw the content on the screen and silently wonder. Be happy. Let's go to the sound. Lin Sin's voice on the phone screen rang out. That just attracted the driver's attention. He thought, just watched Do You for a few minutes went to watch the sound again. 
probably logging in every day to earn some free gifts to give to the streamer. He secretly despised that you were clearly just a poor person, going on a mission to donate gifts. He's not that stupid. He's never spent a penny watching the livestream before. He's never given anyone a gift. Behind the car, Lin Sin is still diligently tapping on the phone screen. The sound on the phone comes out with a happy voice. The look of a girl. Wow, sir, you're here, I'm so happy, thank you for your gift. The driver suddenly had an itchy mouth and spoke up. Brother, don't blame me for too many things. Watch the live stream for fun. Absolutely don't be fooled by the live streamer. Lin Sin only heard a few sentences through the speaker to show that he understood. The screen on the taxi continued to announce incoming messages. Mysterious rich man struck again. So poor that he only had money left on the livestream platform the sound donated 100 million to the streamer. This news made the driver's eyes widen. He wondered again. He continued to be bewildered when he heard the voice coming from the back of the car again. Quick hair, recording the beautiful life. Immediately the screen on the car continued to announce. The mysterious rich man was so poor that he had only Kuai show like platforms livestream money donated 100 million to the streamer. The driver's bewilderment lasted forever. He was both confused and could not explain what coincidence was happening right in his car. Which caused him to lose concentration and the car became wobbly. Driver, please drive steady, Lin Sin reminded. Arriving at the destination, Lin Sin stepped out of the car proudly and comfortably to the driver's surprise. He I just looked at him and thought, he's definitely not the money boss. Right, Lin Sin leisurely stroked her bangs and smiled, thinking, making appointments with each person is too troublesome. Anyway, all this money can't be spent. Spread the bait everywhere. The main goal was to cast a wide net. It was arbitrary. He was satisfied with what he had done, which was to spend 300 million. Looking at the scene before him, Lin Sin wondered, this place is not Nan Ting village next to Yan Jiang University. Many students rent rooms to live here. Moreover because the main spenders in the stores here are students. So the prices are very high. Commoner, is it Luo Yaxi who asked me to dine here? Lin Sin silently assessed the scene and surrounding situation. Arriving at the meeting place, Lin Sin knocked on the door. As soon as the door opened Luo Yaxi appeared to greet her. Laughing and talking to him in the form of wearing a tight black short dress enough to display all the feminine beauty of a mature woman. Seeing her, Lin Sin opened her eyes and blushed. Come in quickly, she grabbed his wrist and pulled him into her house. Lin Sin looked around Luo Yaxi's house. He suddenly felt shy and didn't know how to say it. Like it, Luo Yaxi asked for advice Lin Sin's view of his room. Like, Lin Sin responded. He covered his mouth with his hand to not show that he was having a nosebleed. While speaking he gave a thumbs up praising her clothes. This it's the food I cooked. He tasted it. Luo Yaxi invited him to sit at the table. In front of him was a table full of elaborate dishes delicately decorated. Lin Sin quickly took a bite to try. He was surprised when he saw that Luo Yaxi's dish was unexpectedly delicious. He felt in his heart that this sweet and sour meat dish was amazing. Being praised by Lin Sin, she was very happy and continued to laugh and say, great. This room I've been renting for a long time. On Saturdays and Sundays, when I don't go to school, I live here. He is the first male student to come to my rented room. And also the first male student to eat the rice I cook. Luo Yaxi affirmed, while Lin Sin dumbfounded at her information filled with such scent. Really, I'm so honored. He replied with a fake smile. The flower pot on the balcony is lilac. He quickly found another topic to talk about. Avoiding the information just now, Luo Yaxi continued to express in shyness. Yes, because he liked the smell of clove flowers. I bought a pot. In her heart she secretly remembered what Lu Cheng had told her. What's the situation? Luo Yaxi is a bit wrong today. Aren't you a girl who loves money? You should think of a way to coax me to buy it for you. Right, here, she cooks rice and buys flowers. Such a gentle lady. What is it? Lin Sin's face suddenly turned to stone. He thought while looking warily at the girl in front of him. Suddenly thinking of something, Lin Sin quickly approached her. He put his hand on her forehead. I asked, are you okay? Do you have a fever? Contrary to what Lin Sin guessed, Luo Yaxi held his aunt's hand on her forehead and expressed, I am a very insecure person. When I was very young, my parents divorced. 
She gently hugged his hand and put it on her cheek and whispered. So since I was a child I have felt that the world and people are becoming very fast. So fast that I can't keep up. Only money can give me the most basic sense of security. But I didn't expect that maybe from your body you could feel the feeling of security that I always craved. Me, the feeling of safety, Lin Sin asked in surprise. Luo Yaxi he gently leaned into his arms and continued to express that he had pursued Lu Cheng for three years. Proving that he was a very loyal person. Furthermore, he had spent so much money on me and had never asked me for anything. Completely, different from those male students who have great goals. Although I have been in love a few times, I also protect myself. So, she shyly looked towards Lin Sin. Her smiling eyes looked at him full affectionate and seductive. She moved her face closer to his. Their lips seemed about to touch each other. Lin Sin was about to film a romantic movie when he suddenly realized it. He was startled while thinking about it. Away from Luo Yaxi. Oh I remember, Luo Yaxi's sympathy level towards me is 91%, which is already the level of love. No wonder he completely turned into another person. I just thought it was a complete mission. Then you can get a refund. Forget about this. She wanted to fall in love with me. I certainly wouldn't refuse. A man is really scared. He thought while smiling crookedly looking at her body. A certain physical collision occurred. Causing Luo Yaxi to suddenly fall backwards. She blushed and cried out. Sorry, did I use too much force? It turned out that the culprit was Lin Sin. He blushed. Ask her opinion. No, it's okay. Do what you like. She also blushed and responded to his words. Um, she exclaimed. The two people's current verified location has moved to above a certain table. The distance between the two of them also moved. The two blushed, sweating in the rather hot atmosphere. Their clothes were a bit stuck. Lin Sin said while breathing heavily. Um, he, it, she replied. Nana, you're wrong. Don't go okay Nana. Someone's voice rang out outside. Lin Sin suddenly recognized the voice of an acquaintance. Joe Tong's voice. He thought to himself is that my roommate's voice. Lin Sin stopped playing with Luo Yaxi and walked towards the window where the voice had just come from. Outside a young man was chasing a girl in a blue dress I'm sorry. As he said that he was holding on to her. It was really Zhou Tong. Lin Sin confirmed. Pop. The left cheek of the person named Zhou Tong received a strong blow. Causing his face to deviate completely to the right and his glasses were also thrown out of their original position. Why are you shouting so loudly? Isn't it humiliating enough for you to criticize? The girl in the blue dress questioned in the surprise of Passersby. He continued to sing, singing until tomorrow so that the whole school knew him. She continued to scold loudly. The crowd around gathered to watch the drama and at the same time enjoy the feeling of being a judge. Some people exclaimed, why was the slap so strong? Some people were wondering if he was a scumbag to be beaten. Joe Tong didn't chase the girl anymore. He bent down to the ground and groped for the broken glasses. Dropped mine. Lin Sin picked up the glasses and brought him to him to ask what happened just now. Zhou Tong heard a familiar voice so he spoke up to confirm Lin Sin. He put his glasses back on and told the story. He also knew Nana. We had been in a relationship for half a year. Originally, he shyly told, while Luo Yaxi had finished fixing his clothes and ran back. Towards where the two people were standing. Seeing her. Zhou Tong suddenly called out to confirm. Luo Yaxi, suddenly being called out loudly. She was a little shy and hid behind Lin Sin's back. Lin Sin shyly scratched her head and explained to her. Roommate, she invited me to dinner. You continued to say, NANA and I was supposed to go see a movie today. I came to pick her up. She said after watching the movie she would go to the Chanel store to buy anti-wrinkle set. I just saw that it must be better than 8,000 yuan so I said I don't have money now. I didn't expect her to immediately get angry. Stop watching movies. We were always on good terms before. I don't know why she suddenly became angry. Sir angry. Joe Tong told him the truth of the story. Are you Chen Nana's boyfriend? I heard that she has recently met a rich boyfriend. Luo Yaxi heard the familiar name and poked his head out off Lin Sin's back and said. This information surprised Lin Sin and Zhou Tong. He couldn't believe it while Zhou Tong quickly spoke up to refute. No way, Nana can't betray me heard by. Luo Yaxi, just calmly replied, believe it or not, it's up to you. After all, the information in our sister group has never been wrong before. 
impossible, impossible, I don't believe it. Zhou Tong suddenly learned the truth about his girlfriend but couldn't accept or believe it even though his heart was shaken. Lin Xin patted his friend's shoulder to comfort him. Like that, Zhou Tong, you call Chen Nana said he would buy her makeup. He suggested asking Luo Yaxi, have you or anyone in the sister chat group ever seen that man? Let's go see her real face. Lin Xin smiled. He had already come up with a strategy to avenge Zhou Tong satisfactorily. In the room with the yellow light a puff of smoke rose into the air. It was Peng Billion, he was smoking a cigarette medicine in hand with a sad look. Next to him there was also a woman with purple hair. Both of them sat on the bed in a semi-naked state. The girl leaned on his shoulder and kindly asked about the situation. He then lamented, I don't know, my life may be irreversible. In his mind, a terrifying scene appeared that he had never experienced before. He thought to himself that at that moment he was almost killed. Pedal, fortunately Lin Sin helped me say a few words so I could stay in the Yan Jiang Prince daughter group. But now no one cares about my voice in the group. Just like that. He thought imagining his future was like falling down a flight of stairs. From the upper class being pushed down to another lower class. This was clearly hell. He thought and was afraid. Suddenly, his phone lying on the table. Suddenly a notification rang out. He picked up the phone and looked at it. He was startled. He forced his mouth to say that this was his chance to turn over. He raised both hands straight up to the sky and shouted happily. The woman next to her saw this strange action and couldn't understand it. It turned out that there was new information in the Yan Jiang Prince daughter group. Lin's account asked for help to see if anyone would be kind enough to give it. He borrows the shopping center tomorrow to support his roommate. The richer he is, the more conditions he has. Everyone in the group is racing to show that they have a shopping center ready for the manager. The money can be used at any time. Among them Peng Billion's account introduced that he has the Yin Yue Plaza near Yan Jiang University. He is welcome to borrow it to use. Lin Xin replied to the Yin Yue the plaza was also very good because it was close so he agreed to use it. Which made Peng Billion happy and he promised to do it as well as possible. This incident made the rest of them voice their admiration for his name. The Peng family had the opportunity to help the money manager a little. Some people hurriedly took advantage of the next appointment hoping the money boss would pay attention to him. The next day, Peng Billion drove a black luxury car to carry the woman purple hair went to pick up the director to discuss today's plans. He told her that it was convenient for her to know, but his real intention was to take her along to make it clear to her. Lin Xin said that he would no longer dare to have thoughts of not settling down with Chia Yu Xuan anymore. The purple haired girl was very excited when she heard that she was about to meet her boss. The car stopped next to the road. Next to it were the tables of the restaurant arranged in an outdoor style. Looking very civilian, he turned and said to the girl, I'm here, the deposit director's location is here. Here, the girl excitedly grabbed his shoulder and smiled. Where is the legendary director of money? He smiled and looked in the opposite direction and replied, Ah, oh, that's the person. Following his gaze, Lin Sin is currently sitting with his feet up eating at a restaurant on the sidewalk. He is dressed quite casually. T-shirt, shorts, flip-flops. It is the money manager. The girl was startled to confirm. While Peng Billion looked at Lin Sin again with bright eyes full of admiration. He praised him. So handsome. Depending on the surrounding environment he is very low but he is like a firefly in the dark. Very outstanding. Outstanding. The girl continued to be shocked by what she heard. He pulled the girl's hand and ran towards him and greeted him warmly. Mr. Sin offered more than 100 million but he sat and had breakfast and it's a common place like today. What should I do? It's amazing. Lin Sin also smiled and said hello back to him. I'm here. This restaurant's tripe dish is both fast and delicious. Highly recommended. Let's go. Come to the Yin Yue Plaza. The details are in the car. Lin Sin told him. Yes. Mr. Sin. Peng Billion listen to what you say. Out on the street. The warm rays of the bright sun shining on the tall buildings look so splendid and luxury. At the Yin Yue Plaza, which is a long and wide central area, people walking around is quite crowded and bustling. Peng Billion mentally rehearsed the plan. According to Mr. Tan's plan, I'll make an appointment with Chen Nana come and wait at the front door first. Then there will be sisters on Luo Yaxi's side who will arrange to trick that man into coming here too. Then we'll wait for them to meet. 
to see if it's really a love relationship. He I finalized the plan. In front of the square, Lin Sin's roommate Joe Tong also appeared. Joe Tong's ex-girlfriend was also here. She arranged to meet her acquaintance. A fat old man who was busy with a wearing a grey vest but still trying to maintain a youthful style by dyeing her hair green. Joe Tong's ex-girlfriend suddenly kissed the middle-aged man passionately on the lips. His hand he placed it on her waist and replied, No, it's true, how could it be like that? Joe Tong witnessed the whole incident and exclaimed. From afar, he was filled with murderous aura and ran closer. If she gets jealous, Chen Nana, you, you dare to betray me, and even flirt with an older man like this. The other man saw that but was also quite calm, not like a young man. He even loudly dominated you. You are the poor boyfriend that Nana said. You get out, this is between me and Nana. You responded loudly, he didn't give in but even smirked tell you what to use to make him go away. Otherwise he can make you go away. Saying that, he called a nearby guard. The guard respectfully greeted Mr. Yu and asked what was going on. He immediately said, here is someone here causing trouble, affecting my shopping experience. Joe Tong suddenly fell into a vulnerable situation. Shin please leave here. The security guard looked at Joe seriously Tong said because after all the customer is king. I didn't cause trouble, this person is with my girlfriend. You weakly explained to the security guard. At this time, the girl named Nana spoke up. She hugged the man and told him that he was my boyfriend. Those words made the man feel satisfied and smile. Nana, why did you have to do that? Our six-month relationship can't I compare to this old man who ran from nowhere? You're trying so hard to hold on to Nana's feelings. Seeing this security guard, I still don't understand why. I'm just a VIP customer of this shopping center is the only place to get such treatment. To be his girlfriend, to suffer, everyone has to think about their own future. I'm sure you can understand. She brazenly told him clearly. The reason for the breakup. The man hugged her while accompanying her. Young man, at your age don't think about love. Go make money first. When you're 40 years old, find a 20-year-old girlfriend. Understand no. Joe Tong was surrounded and bullied by three people. He was angry but also weak and didn't know how to fight back. Like a hero saving a handsome man. Peng Billion's black luxury car drove up and stopped right in front of the center. As an acquaintance, Mr. Yu smiled lightly and introduced the new character to Chen Nana. The person in the sports car was young Master Peng, the grandmaster of the Maladen Hotel, and also the boss of the Yin Yue Plaza. You cooperated a lot with him. Wow, Mr. Yu is really good. Nana listened and was proud of the man she just caught. She told him that young Master Peng was here. He was about to say hello with you. Of course. He was convinced. Young Master Peng. Before he could finish his greeting, Peng Billion passed by him and warmly hugged Joe Tong, asking after him continuously. Director Joe. Director Joe came to inspect the condition. Star Shopping Center Operations. Director Joe. What is that? Joe Tong couldn't understand when that young man called him by a strange name. And even put his arm around his shoulder and chatted. I hope he can think about this investment matter. Later. Hey, we also have two shopping centers about to open. Do you know how much I look forward to cooperating with you? Peng Billion's words sound like a duck hearing thunder and sweating. And Mr. It was like being struck by lightning. Director Joe, investing in young Master Peng. This information made the couple startled. It's not over yet. The purple-haired woman continued on the stage. She said in a coy voice. Director Joe, how disgusting. Making people wait for you for so long. The purple-haired girl gently leaned against Joe Tong in his surprise and said, I once agreed with you as long as Bala World has a new handbag model. You will buy it for them. Bala World has just released a spring collection. You will buy it for them. Right? Joe Tong hummed in agreement. I mean because you don't understand what's going on in front of your eyes. Chen Nana heard that and quickly objected, saying that Joe Tong couldn't possibly have that much money, even several thousand yuan in cosmetics. She also didn't have the money to buy it. So the purple-haired girl took a quick glance and mocked that with this face. How is it worth letting director Joe spend money? Having a Samsung body made Chen Nana even more angry. Joe Tong looking from behind. Far away, Lin Sin was leaning against a corner of the wall. Watching, Lin Sin winked at him. Joe Tong immediately understood that these two people were the people Lin Sin called to help him. 
he rushed after the javelin and returned it. Mr. Yu, I was originally inspecting the operation of the shopping center, but this man's face affected my inspection experience. He seemed to say he was a VIP customer or something. He put one hand in his pocket and said loudly. Peng Billion danced his lips along and scolded Mr. Yu. This idiot is a VIP customer of my shopping mall. He really lowers my entire shopping mall. Security, call the director here. Cancel this idiot's VIP membership. Pay him 2000.00 contract cancellation compensation. Let him go away. Yes. Young Master Peng. The security guard obeys. His head was full of sweat as he received the information he had to receive. He thought to himself with fear. It's over. Because of this woman, if I offended young Master Peng, then my business dealing with construction materials will be a lot less. Thinking clearly, he pushed Chen Nana aside and tried to defuse the situation. Director Zhou, young Master Peng, misunderstanding, just a misunderstanding, I really don't know. Director Zhou, I'm sorry, can you just pretend that I'm farting? He lowered his self-esteem and apologized to Zhou Tong. Why do I keep smelling something rotten? It's you. Zhou Tong scoffed. At this time the center director whose name was called also ran over. Peng Billion immediately ordered him, the director, to remember the faces of these two people, put them on the blacklist, and never be allowed to go, entered the Yin Yue Plaza. The other two suddenly became small and frightened. Chen Nana tearfully begged Zhou Tong's forgiveness. Pay attention to your health. At such an old age, you can fall if you fall I can't get up. You kindly remind him. What to do Mr. Yu? Now, Chen Nana said in panic. The other guy gritted his teeth to control the situation. My building materials industry is in the city Yan Jiang also has a bit of a reputation. Just a peng billion. If he doesn't cooperate then he won't cooperate. I still have a lot of business to do. Go. He boldly announced. The two people had not yet left. Then the next one after nearly a dozen cars approached and surrounded. A group of people opened the car door and greeted everyone around. It was fast. You are no less. Miss Yan, don't fight with me. Everyone is bustling, making the scene look like an intimate party. Looking at the people who had just arrived and the other two standing on the spot. Mr. Yu wondered. These people were all the children of the top and second richest families in Yan Jiang City. Why did they all come here? The group of rich people all moved quickly towards Zhou Tong and Lin Xin. They surrounded Zhou Tong as if he were a celebrity. Miss Yan was curious about the person's name Young Master Zhou. Mr. Xu said that Young Master Peng could not take the good position alone. The other man in the blue suit demanded that he must give him the next chance. Peng Billion proudly said to Lin please. It's my honor to be able to help the director. Today's matter is mainly about that person. How dare he? After the discussion, everyone simultaneously looked in the direction of the two criminals. That guy with affectionate eyes like a bullet. He was looked at like he was shot. His whole body became unbalanced. I'm done. I'm completely done. He thought with tears in his eyes before collapsing. Lin Sin and Zhou Tong stood and punched each other. Thank you. Lin Sin immediately said. What do brothers thank each other for? What's important is this story. However, Zhou Tong wondered why Lin Sin knew so many rich people so he asked. Why do you know so many rich friends? Lin Sin just saying that I didn't expect Zhou Tong to believe the marshal. They're the merry-go-rounders they do a lot of work, including acting. Zhou Tong truly believes. Then he said goodbye to Lin Sin and went back to sign. Before leaving the dormitory, he asked, Sir I'll go back to school first. Do I need to bring you dinner from the cafeteria? Lin Sin quickly agreed. Okay, okay, don't add duck necks. There are currently four. The person who was watching the whole scene that had just taken place immediately chatted excitedly. That was Director Tien. He was truly humble and unpredictable. Director Tien, what was he doing? Why was he in charge of so much? Director, Governor Tien's actions must have had deep intentions. Jiang Shi Yan looked at him a little thoughtfully. This person. Then he turned back to thank those who helped him and wanted to give them a drink. Thank everyone for their kindness to help. I invited everyone to eat spicy hot pot. They were very happy when they heard it. But when they heard the name of the dish they froze. Okay, okay, thank you manager. Huh, spicy hot pot. Peng Billion quickly put his arm around his shoulder in a friendly manner. The money manager really knows how to joke. Just come to my bar right on the 7th floor of the shopping mall. Other people quickly chimed in. 
then as said, must let director Tien cover it. Right director Tien, Lin Sin agreed without saying anything more. Sure, but in fact he thought in his heart. I have never been to a high class bar before. It's so expensive. Move to the Yin Yue Plaza scene. In a luxurious room with people from the upper class constantly trying to create a relationship with Lin Sin. Last night director Tien received over 100 registrations in just one day. Platforms have surpassed the total volume of the first quarter. Compared to director Tien, I feel like I'm too poor. Two people, a man and a woman, were chatting without paying attention to Lin Sin's face who was also there here. I always feel that Mr. Qian must be the son of an invisible rich man in the imperial capital. A woman who wants to become a parasite. In general I hug this thigh for sure. Mr. Xu looked at Jiang Shi Yan and she drank the wine asked worriedly. Yan Yan, why didn't you say anything and just sip the wine? He also knew the reason why she was in such a mood so he quickly explained. It wasn't that I didn't help you. It was that your other project was burning too much money. No, it wasn't just burning money. It was basically causing chaos. That's a difficult problem that even a domestic technology giant can't solve. Just relying on your small company with a few people that was established less than a year ago can solve it. Really, in my opinion, there's no need for you to stubbornly start your own business. We're not the ones who lack money or bow to your father or hang out with director TN and hug your thighs in the group. This is the real deal. I have more and more money. In the future I can live comfortably just lying down. Traveling more and buying more handbags. Don't you like it? However Mr. Xu's words touched Jiang Xian's pride. She put the glass of wine down on the table and shouted. There is no word in my dictionary like giving up. Jiang Shi Yan doesn't have faith in her friends anymore. She waved. Our walk to find Lin Sin. Okay, long time friends. You are all afraid that my father won't lend me money so I can only find director Tien. Your friends also know you very well but I don't have the courage to invest in this project. Yan Yan's personality is so resilient. But even if she is director Tien, when she does something beyond her imagination, she can't spend money, right? She must have been disappointed. And on Lin Sin's side, many people did not stop at nothing but tried to get to know this billion dollar tycoon. Director Tien, the big hot nightclub that I opened every night. There is a special performance, especially in the distinguished guest area. I will definitely remember it forever. I sincerely invite you to come and experience it. The nightclub is too noisy. My luxurious billion dollar private yacht is the enjoyment. The highest tomorrow can I send a car to pick you up. Director Tien is interested in gambling. I have an extremely stimulating casino. Everyone is trying to invite Lin Sin to drink to shorten their relationship with you should be very exciting and noisy. But you don't pay attention to the things they offer. It sounds very interesting but in comparison I still prefer to spend money. You simply consider this as a game. The players are spending real money. Lin Sin's sentence just now was very attractive to Jiang Shi Yan. So she immediately went to ask. Does director Tien like to spend money? So that's just right. She put her hand on his chest and wanted to entice him to invest in her project. Can you invest in me? The others heard that and were afraid that she would steal this big boss. So they shouted to stop him. Jiang Shi Yan said, started doing something wrong. Didn't the last time in the group director Tien gave her more than a million stars. She spent it all so quickly. Director Tien, don't listen to this girl. She's doing something beyond her ability. Imagine, anyone who gets involved will end up bankrupt. Jiang Shi Yan this is not the average person. She punched them into the clouds. Shut them all up. Lin Sin seemed to also recognize her so he immediately asked identity. You're Yan Bao in the group. Right, do you have something you need me to spend money on? Suddenly the system notification pops up. Checking that a girl with a high beauty value has opened a play mission. Along with that is a complete list of Jiang Xian's height, weight, and attractiveness. Named Jiang Shi Yan, smiling Yan Bao. Age 25, height 1.72 meters, weight 49 kilograms. Sympathy for the host exceeds 90%. Return 10% of the counterattack money, spent to become the host's personal property. When the affinity for the host reaches 100%. Change identity and change changing the dependent relationship between host and target. 10% post-affection with host. Lin Sin thought it was like winning gold. A beautiful girl and an opportunity to make money coming to the door can't be missed. 
Jiang Shiyan immediately introduced her business. I am working in the chip manufacturing industry. But others saw her project as an illusion of power so they strongly opposed him investing in it. Virtual it's true, it's an illusion, Director Tian, have you heard, she's clearly dreaming, she didn't pay attention to what he said and continued to explain. But as soon as she said a sentence, someone interrupted it, there is no illusion at all. In theory, this is well founded, my company has been researching for more than a year. Currently, this project only lacks a few unresolved technical problems. Must see if what you say is reasonable. You have already burned several billions. Right, what a small technical problem. If you can complete this technical problem, you can still get the Nobel Prize. He continues to be packed into the blue sky again. Get lost. Jiang Shiyan immediately invited investment but seemed to be betting on whether he was a knowledgeable person or like those people. So Director Tian wants to invest. She thought, or like everyone else started to laugh at me. However, unlike her expectations, Lin Sin immediately agreed in a split second. He also showed off show our patriotic spirit. The chip, the industry is very good. America always oppresses our country in terms of science and technology. If this chip project can be successfully researched, we will have many more capital to confront America. I will invest in this project. When others heard that, they were so surprised that even their faces were deformed. Her investment. Even Jiang Shiyan is no exception. But he has a mirror her face is still beautiful but she still can't believe that someone would invest in something so quickly. I agree. Don't you do a little investigation into my company. There's still a possibility of its success. This business startup project and the investment amount will most likely be an unrecoverable investment. And this is the working style of rich people Lin Sin transfer money first and sign the contract later. No need to investigate. I'll transfer the money to you first and then when I get back. You can send me the contract later. I'll transfer 500 million first. If you spend it all then come back to me for peace of mind. Even if you don't research it. It's okay. We're not here. Is it support for starting a career? Moreover, I don't know why I feel that Mu Yan Bao is very trustworthy. After all, there are many people at the scene, but she is the only one who talks about career with her. Am I right? She heard his words of encouragement and support for her ideology and immediately blushed. At this time, a notification appeared on her phone, having received 500 million. Then she believed it was him. Do it for real. Jiang Shiyan didn't think anyone would believe in him like that. So his favorability immediately increased. He really believed he could do it. Announcement. Favorability plus 20%. The people here have witnessed how rich people spend money without being speechless. Even though they are also rich. They are not as rich as you. Oh my god. Worthy of being a director of money. Rich people really dare to spend money. Arbitrary. This is 500 million. It's gone and it's all gone. Maybe director Tian saw Yan Yan using thousands of gold to buy a smile from her. At this time, Lin Sin played the card again. I suddenly remembered there's something else important. Say sorry next time. Try your best Yan Bao. Huh. Yes. Yes. The company director just go ahead and get busy first. Jiang Shi Yan held the phone blankly watching him leave. But at this time the waiter brought up the bill again. Well tonight's bill was 330.00 who paid. The rest couldn't help but wonder who paid for the meal but didn't pay and ran away. Huh, it wasn't Director Tian who said please invite us Director Tian to run. But at this time they think it's good for you and start fighting with each other. Pay attention to what you say kid. Director Tian conveniently spent a few hundred million and then you can escape unable to pay. Because a few hundred thousand was too little. Director Tian forgot about this. That's right, that's right. But few people know it's because Lin Sin finds it too expensive so she refuses to pay. It's so expensive I don't have money. Whoever invites guests is a dog. Moved to a scene in a certain villa. A ball blue plump sitting on the saddle. Jiang Shi Yan is exercising on a bicycle while chatting with a friend on the phone. So you really attracted investment. Just based on one sentence. Yeah until now I still can't believe it now. She told Chia Yu Xuan what happened the other day. He is truly a very different person. No matter what. Congratulations to you. Your biggest problem when working is capital the investment has been settled. Jiang Shi Yan also agreed. Yes. That's right. She immediately remembered the past when she raised her opinion to her father but was stopped by him. He hadn't even heard me finish what I said. 
can't deny it. Her father said, I don't need you to start a business at all, and to do something so unimaginable. The Jiang family's fortune is so big. Can you take over the family's business in the name of it? Okay, I'll close your card for a while, so you don't have to do random things. Even relatives don't trust aunts, uncles, and uncles, and say, Yan Bao, my father, I already told you guys. I said if it's necessary then you have to do it like that. Being obedient at home is enough. I'm just a girl who doesn't give to others too soon. How good would it be? But this time someone has put their trust in you. So you have to be even more determined. I will definitely succeed. My friend Chia Yu Xuan is always behind me supporting my friend. I believe in you. Chia Yu Xuan was reading a book and talking on the phone. Just talking about me. Xuan Xuan you said how you just attended the high school reunion. Chia Yu Xuan said a little happily. It was originally just a normal class reunion but I didn't expect to have a friend who surprised me. His knowledge can be said to be no less than my teacher's. It was the first time she saw her friend complimenting a certain male friend. So Jiang Shi Yan immediately took the opportunity to tease her. My friend was actually interested in a man. The sun rose in the west. And she immediately imagined a man. The man with thick glasses always carries thick books with him. That boy wouldn't look like this. But unexpectedly, she was also teased in return. Wasn't he also interested in a man? The man who trusted him unconditionally did not hesitate to give him a lot of money. Jiang Shi Yan felt shy, said, whoever said it was interested and obnoxious. A black-haired woman wearing a classic outfit entered the room and told Chia Yu Xuan. Chia Yu Xuan lets go. She didn't show any emotion, just let out a loud cry. Before leaving, her mother immediately took the opportunity to give her a few reminders. Story. Chia Yu Xuan, I still want to remind you again. Mr. Cao, the representative of the Cao family is the future shareholder of our museum. So you can be a little closer to him. You know, Chia Yu Xuan's eyes were a little sad and replied mom. Yes, mom. A bright morning in the dormitory campus. Lin Xin pushed the door and walked in when there was a voice calling. Lin Xin. Wu Ji was so sick that his face turned red and was bedridden. Lin Xin felt sorry for him so he asked. Wu Ji how are you? Wu Ji weakly asked Lin Xin to work for him for a day. He was also very responsible so all the money today's salary is all for Lin Xin. I'm feverish. Can you work for me for a day? I'm sorry. The salary of 150 a day belongs to you. For an underground tycoon like Lin Sin, it's like that it's not much. But he was also very kind and helpful. His friends said, it's okay, you should rest. Your work uniform is in here, right? And then the two of you will act out the father-son drama. Son, you keep it for yourself. Yes, I'm your father. Lin Sin while wearing a security guard uniform while thinking about today's work. Wu Ji does part-time work at the Wuxian Museum on shift, three nights a week. Because the two boys Zhou Tong and Zheng Hao were afraid of the dark. So when Wu Ji had an urgent matter and couldn't go to work, he would ask me to do it for him. Then he immediately left without forgetting to tease Wu Ji. Fat, I'm going to work, you just stay here and don't go anywhere. Wu Ji was so angry that his face turned red and said, Get out, right now at the Wuxian Museum. Lin Xin was on security duty, but she dialed the phone and thought idly. How leisurely, no one came to the museum today. Maybe the whole school was covered. Take this opportunity to give some money to the children. Streamer, his phone received sweet greetings from the female streamers so he didn't notice that there was a white car just parked in front of the museum. Director Tien is here again. Thank you for the gift director money. Love you. The one who wants to go down is a man wearing a brown suit. With a beard a youthful looking appearance and a woman who seems to be his secretary. Immediately the museum staff came out to greet him. Hello Mr. Cow. Director Chia's whole family had been waiting upstairs for many hours. He replied curtly, give instructions. They had to pass by the museum when they entered the museum. Lin Sin was sitting as a security guard. However, in the middle of the task, Mr. Cow refused to continue and called out. Hey, he immediately shouted at Lin Sin who was sitting on the phone. Did you hire a blind person to come to work? I don't know how to stand up and say hello. With the responsibility of being a guardian, Lin Sin also knew that he was wrong so he immediately stood up to apologize. Sorry, welcome. The museum staff also helped you. I'm so embarrassed. Mr. Cow. 
he's a student working part-time. However, Mr. Cow and his secretary despised him without knowing it. The student looked at that vile appearance and was afraid that his life's job was to protect him. Hey, the apology was not sincere. Didn't your school teach you to bend 90 degrees? Even though he provoked you, you still calmly said something that humiliated him. School taught me not to look down on others. Sir, when the other employee heard that, he was scared and wanted to stop. Hey, shut up, but maybe it was too late because Mr. Cow was angry and shouted. The supervisor lectured me, a poor, dog-mouthed guy, can spit out ivory, starting tomorrow I don't want to see him anymore, for some reason there aren't enough people in such a large museum. So the employee said, but Mr. Cow, now there is not enough staff, still needed, when he saw that his request was not accepted, he became so angry that his eyes turned red and he shouted, shut up, Principal Chia still has to listen to me, what is he, immediately fire him to me because of being a slave to the capitalists. The employee had to humble himself to serve this ancestor. You are right, Mr. Cow. Please go this way. Principal Chia is still waiting for you. Lin Sin again. I'm afraid of losing my friend's job, but it seems like the museum owner is an acquaintance, so I want to go the back way. Damn it. I won't lose Wu Ji's part-time job too. Wait. Chief Chia, this museum won't be opened by Chia Yushuan's family. You must quickly go in and find her to help. Inside the museum is an ancient, elegant and elegant space. Chia Kamal with his wife and daughter came out to welcome the distinguished guest. Mr. Cow, welcomed. Mr. Cow no longer had the overbearing expression on his face like before. He immediately greeted, Uncle Mao. Chia Kamal immediately pleased him. Mr. Cow agreed to contribute put a little effort into the Chia family's ancient artifacts. Very impressed. He immediately asked his daughter Chia Yu Xuan to be Mr. Cao's tour guide. Xuan Xuan, you take Mr. Cao to visit the museum. She said, yes, but maybe everything is not as simple as instructions. Because when he passed by, she immediately reminded him, Mr. Cao's investment is very important. This time you have to look at me. Chia Yu Xuan wants to fulfill his responsibility so I gave him instructions. Mr. Cao. Please come this way, I will introduce to you the museum's treasures. But he looked at her with despicable eyes and replied, Okay, okay. Chia Yu Xuan was very thoughtful when introducing the word painting. This is the only word painting of the Tang Dynasty's poetry. Preserved to this day, the entire poem has more than 200 words describing the feeling of not being able to part with a person. You are truly a person who loves her job. When she is focused like this, she looks very beautiful. She answers very meticulously and carefully. Enjoying this word painting, you can even feel the poet's emotions. When writing this poem in the word painting of divine poetry, perhaps her beautiful appearance awakened the eager wolf in Mr. Cow's heart. He reached out to touch her white, beautiful shoulders. So pretty. Chia Yu Xuan angrily threw his hand away and shouted, What are you doing? Cao Jun immediately extinguished the action just now. Sorry Chia Yu Xuan. Your appearance just now was so beautiful that I was suddenly moved. I couldn't help it. Chia Yu Xuan didn't like him from the beginning. Because he didn't pay attention to the objects on display and now he added this action. Which made her even angrier. Just now I noticed come on. You have no interest in these artifacts at all. Why do you still want to invest in a museum? Mr. Cow immediately revealed the cunning face of business people saying. You can make money. It's okay to get money. There's no need to be interested. Chia Yu Xuan disagreed with him and said, As long as you do a little research, you can understand that these cultural artifacts cannot be measured with money. My father actually let someone like you invest. Your innocence makes him even more interested. Young lady, you live in a fairy tale world. But because of that, you have a kind of temperament that other girls don't have that I really like. Mr. Cow immediately said his true intention when he came here. That's fine. Let me show Miss Chia what the real world is like. Uncle Mao, I'm a little dissatisfied with this museum but I will use 600 million to buy it. On the condition that Chia Yu Xuan must marry you. Chia Yu Xuan's parents worriedly said. Young Master Cao, this is also the case. Even she did not agree. I could not even dream of marrying him. She wanted to call security to take him away. But her father immediately hesitated when he heard that amount of money. Her parents called security. He muttered, but 600 million. Her mother said, Old Mao. At this time, Chia Kamau had to tell her daughter the truth. 
Xuan Xuan told her that until today, her father could only tell her the truth, having lost money for two consecutive years. Wuxian Museum was unable to continue doing business. Again, on the brink of bankruptcy, this time Mr. Cao came here not to invest but to purchase. Chia Yu Xuan couldn't believe it when he learned about the family's current situation. What? Mr. Cao added from the back. I know you guys have found a lot of investors and buyers. I'm your last hope right? Don't worry, your daughter will marry you in the future. She will live better. Chia Yu Xuan didn't think she would be sold by her parents like that. Mom, you two won't really sell your daughter too. Right? Her mother cried and begged. Sorry, sorry Xuan Xuan is a useless mother. But I will leave the decision to you. If we don't sell the museum to Mr. Gao, we will go bankrupt. Chia Kamau said again, most of these cultural objects will be forced to sell at low prices by merchants and collectors or will be lost in the market black. The most important thing is that you will have to suffer with your parents. Chia Yu Xuan heard about this. Now she doesn't think about herself but instead worries about antiques. No, don't want to. Chia Yu Xuan remembers herself when she was young small. Dad, dad, but these literary objects are so beautiful. Our Xuan Xuan is very good. At a young age he already knows how to appreciate them. Each object is the blood, sweat and soul of the artist. But the artifacts are divided into levels but they should be priceless. Since I was a child, antiques have been Chia Yushuan's hobby. I can see the artisans who create these artifacts. When she sees people who only collect them for money, she gets very angry. Last month I just bought an impressionist work that was sold from hand to hand for 600.00. And last year I bought a jade bracelet for several thousand at the market. This year's black price has been inflated by hundreds of thousands. These rich people do not respect literature at all, opening their mouths and keeping their mouths shut only to make money. Those who pursue her make her even more disgusted. Chia Yu Xuan, this neo perfume costs 5,000 yuan. I think only it can match your temperament. Chia Yu Xuan, can you sit in a supercar that costs 2 million yuan? I think they think that as long as they have money they can have everything. But in this world there are many things that cannot be bought with money. Chia Yu Xuan was silent. I always thought it was like that. The things she knew were too far from reality. But all of these things became small in front of reality. Mr. Cao immediately seduced. Rest assured. Chia Yu Xuan after getting married he will definitely treat you well. As long as you give me a son. I'll buy another museum for you. Looking at that painting Chia Yu Xuan silently resolved. For it. For everything in the museum. She immediately agreed. I understand. Her parents immediately felt happy when they heard that. Xuan Xuan. My good daughter. You're grown up. So now go sign the contract. The employee immediately brought up the contract. Then when both parties sign this contract. The law immediately takes effect and cannot be changed arbitrarily. Mr. Cao is very generous and does not have any opinions about this contract. Xuan Xuan will definitely come over. Very happy. Her mother immediately urged her. Good girl. Sign quickly. Mr. Cao immediately revealed his despicable appearance. She held up the pen and trembled as she thought. You sign. Putting down the pen to sign. She immediately shed tears. Suddenly Lin Xin stepped in to interrupt. Hearing that someone wanted to buy the museum. Chia Yu Xuan saw you coming in and shouted. Lin Xin. Mr. Cao saw you and scolded angrily. It's you poor guy again. God, God, where are you? Come and drag this poor guy out for me. But the employee came out and threw him a bucket of cold water. Mr. Cow, he is the night guard of the museum and he is the only one. Mr. Cow cursed angrily. Mother, and you didn't show any mercy and punched him and broke two teeth. He fell to the ground. He was bleeding from his teeth and shouted. Brat, you dare to hit me. I have to kill you. I have to sue you so you can go to jail. But he didn't pay any attention and went straight to cheer Yu Xuan. She looked up at him and shouted. You, you reached out to wipe away the tears from her beautiful eyes. That action made her eyes red. Her parents saw then they asked in unison. Xuan Xuan, do you know this person? Chia Yu Xuan immediately introduced. He is Lin Xin. He is my high school friend. Chia Kamau said, in high school. A boy of your age should concentrate. Studying, not dropping out of school to work as a security guard. You understand. It's because you don't understand the situation that I don't deal with you. Hurry up and apologize to Mr. Cow. Then compensate. But Lin Sin doesn't pay attention. 
just stared at the contract. You didn't say anything and then tore the contract. The people who witnessed it immediately screamed. The contract. Chia Kamau cried holding the torn contract. What are you doing? Lin let me say it clearly. I paid 1 billion to buy this museum. Kao Jun thought you were doing it so I challenged you. Stop dreaming. How can a lowly security guard take 1 billion out? If you can take it if I get out. I'll eat shit right here. And Lin Sin doesn't really believe this. Okay, okay, the person who lost before didn't eat poop. I won't believe you guys anymore. Her mother asked. Shwen Shwen, this classmate of mine, has a lot of money. But she herself doesn't know. And I don't know either. Mr. Cao angrily called his juniors. Hey Kiang Zi, there is a vagrant causing trouble in the Wuxian Museum. You bring a few people here immediately. Chia Yu Shwen thought worriedly. Lin Sin what do you want? You don't should come here. There is another big boss. Chia Kamau is not afraid to state the conditions. This way it is very clear that Mr. Lin is here for Shwen Shwen. Then I won't beat around the bush anymore. If you guarantee it if you can get 1 billion, the investment must not be less than 500 million. Then this museum and Shwen Shwen will all be yours. Kao Jun thought he was lucky. Chia Kamau, but Chia Kamau said, but... He also didn't forget Mr. Cow and took his daughter as a condition of exchange. If you can't get 1 billion, I will follow the original plan. Mr. Cow only needs to give 600 million about first. It's not less than 100 million. Then it all belongs to him. Mr. Cow was coaxed so he kept silent. Yes, it seems like he still knows what to do. The new contract was prepared and immediately handed to Lin Sin. Lin dude, this is a new contract. Besides changing the name and amount of money, the content is no different from the previous contract. Looking at the contract in his hand, he thought, this contract is written in many words but in reality there are only three the word, selling a daughter. Mr. Cow was afraid that he would run away so he threatened. I tell you, don't think that you can leave just by saying you don't have money. My people are coming soon. When that time comes, don't break the rules, they won't stop with your bones. However, he didn't pay attention and was lost in thought. Damn, I just feel uncomfortable. It's so annoying. It's so strange. What's wrong with me? Suddenly he noticed the word painting and read out the poem. It's annoying. It's weird. What's wrong with me? He looked intently at the painting and read. Tearful. Lin Sin reached out to touch the painting exclaimed. This is the spirit of literature. The words made everyone here freeze. Lin please immediately inform me. I want to amend the contract. Before anyone else has time to comment, please decide for yourself. Sir the guy wearing glasses was having a hard time. This matter, Mr. Lin, the contract cannot be fixed by you. But what Chia Kamau cares about is money. Don't even think about fixing the price by even a penny. He immediately added another sentence. One billion is just the purchase price of the museum, not including these artifacts. Those people were so shocked. What? Lin Sin's next words touched Chia Yu Xuan. This word painting and the artifacts in the museum are all priceless things that cannot be measured with money. So these artifacts still belong to the Chia family. He immediately chose her as manager. Chia Yu Xuan respected and I really love these artifacts. So the right to use and manage the museum's artifacts are all assigned to Chia Yu Xuan. And I am the largest shareholder with absolute decision-making power. Chia Yu Xuan is the owner of the Wuxian Museum. The contract is signed by her. You said again. If the museum needs money in the future, just call me. You can find me if you have any problems yourself. Good friend of Chia Yu Xuan added 20%. Lin Sin immediately swiped. The machine announced. Transaction amount 1 billion. That action shocked everyone else to the core. Paid off. Mr. Cow was confused. He could get 1 billion in an instant. How scary is his assets? Chia Yu Xuan went over and asked. You why did he have to do that? and the employee holding the camera was so shocked that his glasses broke. Lin Sin didn't want to do it for profit. So he said, remember, I once said I would collect all the existing literature. Wandering outside of China, these animals are treasures that belong to the Chinese people, not items that traders can buy and sell at will. Mr. Cao still hasn't learned any experience to challenge him anymore. You just bought a Wuxian museum to show off in front of me. The artifacts stored in this museum don't even cost 500 million combined. And you dare to say out loud that you want to collect them all. Literature in this world, if you have the courage, please attend the auction in Japan next month.
he immediately introduced some treasures worth over billions. China's long lost miles of mountains and rivers. Glazed goddess of mercy will all be there. All treasures are worth more than one billion. If you really have money, you can go there. Don't just stay here to show off. Lin please feel free to agree. Okay, just wait. Whoever doesn't go is the other person's nephew. Mr. Cao told the secretary. Let's go. As soon as he walked out, his juniors asked, Mr. Cao, are we still going to beat him? What are we going to do? If we fight, quickly retreat. He worriedly thought, who can easily steal one billion Cao Jun? I will admit defeat but. Cao Jun's phone rang. The voice from the phone rang. Cao Jun's commissar has the museum's acquisition been successfully completed. As the first step in the great Kamida Zaibitsu's East Asian Artifacts Collection program A, we cannot afford to fail. He said worriedly, Mr. Kamida, very sorry, capital of course everything went very smoothly. When it was about to succeed, there was an unreasonable kid in China who suddenly jumped out and robbed the museum. Mr. Kamida heard what Cao Jun said, but you can rest assured that I have successfully arranged for him to participate in next month's auction. Then you will have a chance to make him submit and apologize. Done. He burst out laughing. It's also very interesting. The Chinese water you guys have very good saying. Real dragons are not afraid of fire. What belongs to you still belongs to you in the end. Cao Jun corrected the saying. Real gold is not afraid of fire. At that time I will also go to the scene to witness Mr. Kamida's spirit. Returning to the room just now. There was still talk. The contract signing was completed. Now Mr. Lin is the sole shareholder and also the largest shareholder of the Wuxian Museum. Chia Yushuan's parents couldn't help but thank Lin Sin. They wanted to invite you to a meal as a way to repay the favor. Thank you, Master Lin, for the late Chia family. We will endure this disaster. Thank you, thank you, Master Lin. Xuan Mr. Xuan took Mr. Lin for a few drinks. We would like to invite you for a late night dinner at the Howard Marriott Hotel. But you refused because you wanted to return to work and your friend asked for help. No need. I still you're still on duty at night so you guys should go eat yourself. Ha, huh, Master Lin. When Chia Yu Xuan heard that, he laughed and his favorability was increased by 10%. Chia Yu Xuan followed him back and said to work as she walked and asked him. Lin Sin, do you really want to go to Janpan country next month? Lin Sin said, of course I am the type of person who likes to joke around. Chia Yu Xuan immediately asked to follow. When that time comes. Can I go with you? Return to university. Lin Sin tiredly yawned and walked into class. Last night, the night shift at the Chia Yu Xuan Museum talked to me until midnight. Chia Yu Xuan fell asleep in a position that Lin Sin had to be very determined to withstand. But she accidentally fell asleep. Right now your eyes are like a panda. I can only sit for another two hours and feel sleepy. Luo Yaxi and Lu Cheng immediately stood up to block his way. Lin Sin, what's wrong with you? Did you have insomnia last night? Lin Sin, the other people in the class were probably already familiar with this. So they had prepared melons to watch what happened. What's going on? It's here again. It's here again. Prepare to eat melon. Luo Yaxi caressed his face and said, Lack of sleep is not good. Why don't you skip class and come to my room to rest? Lu Cheng suddenly interjected. Luo Yaxi, don't give such bad opinions. Okay. It's more important to go to class. Lin Sin will sit next to you in a little while. She looked weak and said, You can rest your head on my lap like that so you can go to school and rest at the same time. But you didn't even bother to give her the face to speak. Why did you come here? It wasn't me who said it. She screamed, I remember, I remember, every word you said. Lu Cheng pretended to cry Locke said, But I can't control my feelings. I'm completely in love with you. I don't care if you have money. I just want. Lu Cheng brought out a homemade paper bead and wanted to reconnect. We can start over again. The yellow paper bead is very beautiful. Lu Cheng also promised to cherish you. This time I will definitely cherish it to make up for past mistakes. The others saw this public confession scene and immediately howled. Wow, public confession. Agree. Lu Cheng was convinced that he would agree so he thought. First I made you 999 paper cranes but you threw them away. I'm sure I'm very sad and very concerned about this. Your favorability is now 86%. Now you can definitely make the paper beads yourself. I was touched. If I were a normal person, I would have believed her words.
but her favorability level exposed everything. I believe you monkey. Your favorability rating is clearly 86 on your head. Percent. And dare to tell me that you completely love me. You turned around and walked away without paying any attention to Lu Cheng. Lu Cheng is definitely not the type of person that if people treat her well, she will feel bad. Move. Otherwise you wouldn't. Don't mock so many people who like you. She called your name, Lin Sin, but you didn't take it to heart. Now you want to keep me just because you're unwilling. Only mind. At this time the lecturer walked in. Told everyone to go back to their seats. Class has started. Everyone go back to their seats. While Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi glared at each other. Time passed quickly. After the end everyone in school was preparing to go home. Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi each held one of his arms. Luo Yaxi immediately took the opportunity to invite Lin Sin to come home. Lin Sin's room is very quiet and I sleep without fear of being disturbed. Lu Cheng acts like a good girl kicking Luo Yaxi. Luo Yaxi, you really haven't mentioned whether Lin Sin is your boyfriend, but it's not very nice of you to casually take a man back to your place to sleep. Luo Yaxi not average, talking nonsense about her. Lu Cheng you don't know. It's because my relationship with Lin in Hat is not normal that I invited him back. Because he is single and doesn't have a girlfriend. That's right. You are his ex-girlfriend. Right. So you can rest assured that you leave Lin Sin to me. I will take good care of him. Isn't that right? Lin Sin. Lu Cheng immediately said. We are just just being angry with each other. Is that right? Last time Lin Sin even helped me. Luo Yaxi said. Lin Sin is such a kind person. Even if it was a little cat on the side of the road that was injured, he would still help. But Lu Cheng, if a good horse doesn't eat it, it has already eaten it. If your ex-girlfriend takes care of it too much, it won't be good anymore. Right, thank you Luo Yaxi for your concern. I've also heard a saying that rabbits don't eat grass near the cave. If it's all grass then of course whoever tastes better is the right person to eat. They were standing in the middle of the campus so this scene was also seen by other students. Lin Sin said helplessly there was a some noises heard. Even if you guys are arguing, don't drag me in. I don't want to become famous all over the school because of this. A red supercar was speeding across the school grounds. The car crashed, going at too fast a speed, making everyone scream. By the time Lin Sin suddenly realized, he was resting his head on a girl's thigh. Cha Cha asked after him while driving. Lin Sin didn't touch him where are you? You woke up and cried. Cha Cha, the two of you sat on the supercar chatting. Now you sit up right away. No rush, just lie down for a while. Lin Sin rubbed Cha Cha's soft thigh. Feeling thank you, it's just the right time. Cha Cha smiled and said, this time I can repay the past. Right, Lin Sin agreed. Of course. She said, then please remember to help me there. Lu Cheng, Lin Sin was robbed by another girl without saying a word. Who exactly is that girl? dare to take Lin Sin away in front of everyone. When the other students saw this, they were talking loudly. The car just now seemed to cost 3.00.00. Who was that girl? It was so fast that I couldn't see clearly. Wasn't Lin Sin a crazy guy before? Why now, going back and forth with a rich lady and being so jealous? It's probably a rich lady or a young lady. Lu Cheng is so angry. Yet another one. Once these girls know that Lin Sin has money they will run away come over here to compete for hateful robbers. Yet Luo Yaxi still said bad things about her. Before she didn't care about Lin Sin but now Lin Sin is so far away that she can't be reached. Do you regret it yet? Unfortunately there is no more chance. Lu Cheng is not the type to talk back. Luo Yaxi, don't be proud. The person who picked Lin Sin up just now is a wealthy rich woman with a lot more money than you and me. If Lin Sin has a new joy then it's also her. Don't think that she can reach you. But Luo Yaxi said something that made her want to vomit blood. Lin Sin and I actually have progress that can't be compared. As expected predicted. As soon as she heard it, she panicked and said, What did you say? Lu Cheng couldn't help but rushed forward to force Luo Yaxi to tell the truth. What despicable tricks did you and Lin Sin use? How far has it progressed? Luo Yaxi doesn't want to say anything. If you want to know I just don't say it. Luo Yaxi laughed and left. Making Lu Cheng angry but couldn't say anything. This bitch. Is definitely threatening I don't believe it. But. In Lu Cheng's eyes. Lin Sin is no different from a weak scholar surrounded by foxes. Lin Sin is so simple. 
under this kind of attack. I don't know if there is anything else. How long can she hold on? She angrily crushed the paper crane. No, I can't be this slow anymore. However, Lu Cheng was very confident because the two of them had had a close relationship before. Is Lin Xin's ex-girlfriend who understands his preferences very well. Lin Xin you can only be mine. And for some reason Lu Cheng's favorability has increased by 4%. Smart sound the alarm rang out. Making Lin Xin want to fall off the bike. Lu Cheng's aversion level reached 90%. Completing the first phase of inversion. Spent 800,000 yuan to Lu Cheng. Return 10%. 800,000 yuan has been transferred to your account. He did not hesitate to swear. Damn. What is going on Lu Cheng himself me? And at the same time. Your strength has also increased somewhat. The bonus is plus 1 for all attributes currently at level 3. Increased strength. Increased flexibility. Increased physical strength. Increased intelligence. Lin please think. This feeling is really comfortable. Then the system immediately gives a new reward. The reward is to choose one of three skills within the specified time. The B-level skill informs endurance running. The skill level C, mastery of swimming. Level D skill mastery of jumping machines. He thought, the skill level this time is really low. Maybe it has something to do with the amount of play. When all the attributes increase, you can feel it. The whole person has become stronger and runs longer. No need anymore. After careful consideration, Lin Sin chose the swimming skill chose the swimming information, and after receiving the new skill, his body was a little different. A lot of knowledge related to swimming immediately appeared in my mind. And I also felt that the muscles in the abdomen, back and arms were greatly strengthened. Lin Sin did not notice that someone was using a tube, peeping to observe him and Cha Cha. A guy wearing a western shirt stood from above observing. That guy's secretary stepped forward to announce. The president, getting ready to start the meeting, and everyone in the meeting kept talking chatting excitedly about this morning. There was big news again. The main characters were still the previous three people Lin Sin, Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi. It was another battlefield. This time there was also Princess White Horse who suddenly appeared to save her. Male lead. What? What? Is that so special? What a pity I wasn't at the scene. Wei Zheng Tang thought angrily. It's this guy Lin Sin again. Then he started the meeting. Yan Jiang University has always been famous for his excellent learning atmosphere and good school youth lifestyle. The beginning is long, but his main purpose is still to bring down Lin Sin. But just now a male student and two female students caused trouble in school. Had a complicated relationship, and even knew people outside of society. Driving at a fast speed in the school, making everyone in the school know. The president of the literature department was immediately arrested. Wei Zheng Tang called out the names. Classmate Zhou. It seems like these people are from your literature department. Right. Classmate Zhou was called and immediately stuttered in panic. Yes. That's right. The boy's name is Lin Sin. The girl's name is. He also knows how to please people. Initially, he praised his classmate Zhou. The previous president always praised him in front of me saying that classmate Joe in the literature department worked very seriously and was very responsible. The speed of handling work is also very trustworthy. So I read that I have very high expectations of you. When classmate Joe received his praise, he immediately stood up to thank you. Thank you, President, for praising Lin Sin's behavior. Really very busy. I immediately went to discipline him. His goal was fulfilled but he still had to pretend to be a good president. There was no need to go to that extent. Our student council for the sake of serving the entire school's students. As long as he sincerely repented and did not do it again in the future. Then our goal has been achieved. Right. Classmate Joe was manipulated by him and immediately agreed. He said, very true now I go to work right away. The next afternoon right at the school swimming pool. Everyone was practicing and kept cheering come on. Come on. Wu Ji and Lin Sin went to the swimming pool to clean up. Wu Ji immediately said, this student council is too outrageous. Not only warning him but also letting him clean the swimming pool for a semester straight. Lin Sin also thought it was his fault so he also agreed to accept the punishment. It's okay, my friend driving fast in school is indeed violating school rules. Wu Ji seemed to want to say something more. But, Lin Sin interrupted again and said, punishment is not so bad. He looked towards the girls wearing swimsuits and said, there are many girls wearing swimsuits. 
My classmate COU complimented her. COU's figure is really beautiful. COU was busy warming up before swimming and told her not to touch her casually. That friend whispered to her. COU you look at Yang Li. Keep looking at you I've been chasing you for a long time. Right, but COU doesn't pay attention to that guy. So what's the matter? So her friend wants to know what her criteria for choosing a boyfriend are. COU's eyes are high. In the end, it's just what kind of guy a guy looks at. COU's standards are very simple. So she immediately said, swim faster than me. Her friend suddenly heard that and said, what? How is that possible? You were a level one swimmer in your school participating in the provincial competition in your school. Who can swim faster than you? Isn't this you not looking for? Lin Sin was cleaning but he was doing quite well. Ladies pay attention. Look it's Lin Sin. Lin Sin, a very famous boy recently has many beautiful girls chasing after him. But COU doesn't even care about people like that at first glance. It was a boring man. However, whether due to carelessness or the arrangement of the system, a professional swimmer like COU had cramps while swimming. His legs were cramping. How could that be possible? It was obvious that she had already warmed up properly. She immediately called for help. But this act of calling for help of hers in the eyes of her friends looked like she was diving. Look, COU is diving deep again. His technique. COU thought desperately. Gosh, am I going to drown? However, Lin Sin noticed her strange actions. That's not right. That girl is in danger. You immediately rushed down to call for help. COU. Lin Sin was like a fish swimming out into the middle of the lake. He quickly grabbed COU and pulled her up. I don't know if this girl was too cool or why people saved her and didn't let her touch her screaming. Let me go. Don't touch me around. Lin Sin shouted in anger. Shut up and breathe. He carried her and swam to shore and said, Don't struggle. I'll take you to shore. COU behind him kept going. Exclaimed. So fast. He even used one hand to support me. This girl really doesn't know how to choose situations. At times like this she blushes shyly. I've never been close to someone such a boy. Lin Sin brought her safely to shore and was breathing heavily. He raised his shirt to wipe the water from his face, revealing all six abs and warned. Next time to pay attention. COU's friend ran over in panic and asked visit you. COU are you okay? COU you are about to scare us to death. After Lin Sin finished saving, he walked away, leaving the people behind with questions. That guy swam really fast. He didn't break discipline as quickly as he did. I recorded a video of him saving people and will post it online now. Is handsome. His name is Lin Sin. Right. COU's friend immediately told her. Yes. He was that scumbag Lin Sin. But he looked very good to save his life. And swimming so fast was not very suitable for the standard. Are you ready to choose your boyfriend? Your face was so red that the friend was scared and shouted. COU. Why is your face so red? The guy chasing COU saw that and got angry. COU, you'll like that. The next day's headline Lin Sin saved the person immediately went viral on the internet. With the title of a heroic man saving a drowning female friend. A series of comments erupted. Isn't that Lin Sin, so handsome, I was at the scene and he swam very well. Quick, I pressed the timer and he broke the record. Is it because of your impatience that you're not being careful and you're reaching your potential? Wei Zheng Tang. I see that not only is he not a bad guy, but he's even more popular. So I became angry. Damn it, Lin Sin. He held something in his hand and thought cruelly. Should I make you completely in my life? A few days later at Lin Sin's university a prom was held. The students were all very excited to participate. The school's prom tonight was held with great excitement. I heard there was a secret reward. The student council spent money this time. Everyone dressed up solemnly invite you to dance. I want to invite Luo Yaxi. Don't think anymore. Luo Yaxi has somehow fallen in love with Lin Sin recently. There's also Lu Cheng. The two main characters in the conversation they just mentioned appeared. Look, they're here. Aren't they love rivals? Why are they so close? This is the friendship of girls we don't understand. What a fight between two girls. Luo Yaxi just punched just complimented Lu Cheng. Lu Cheng you are so beautiful today. But unfortunately Lin Sin's heart is not in you. You dress and make up beautifully. I'm afraid it's in vain. Lu Cheng had prepared in advance so he replied politely. Luo Yaxi, thank you for your concern. 
Enjoy tonight. After tonight everything will be different. Luo Yaxi looked at her leaving in confusion. She what are you trying to do? Luo Yaxi didn't pay any attention and left. Who cares? I'll go cut the steak for Lin Sin first. I'll be able to eat until he comes. Tonight I have to eat. Dance with him. Lu Cheng thought. Just follow the path of gentleness. Luo Yaxi a little bit of her thoughts of the day. I don't even know why. She is truly a rose of thorns that knows how to capture a man's heart. Just I thought that would capture a man's heart. But I didn't know that men are animals by instinct. But maybe tonight she won't do anything to Luo Yaxi because she has a new goal. But before that there's still an obstacle to clear. Why hasn't Lin Sin come yet? Co Yu wandered around the guild looking for Lin Sin to thank him. I just wanted to say thank you to him. Yeah, he probably will. I don't understand what I'm feeling, so I can conveniently ask for a contact method. She drank a glass of soft drink and blushed, thinking, at that time if it wasn't for him, I would have long ago. Lu Cheng appeared like a snake spirit appearing behind Co Yu. Little haven't you just been saved by Lin Sin? Why do you still want to climb up? She said happily. Co Yu was startled. Huh? Seeing a strange girl approaching her like that. She immediately asked. Who are you? Lu Cheng preemptively fixed a relationship with Lin Sin. I am Lin Sin's girlfriend. Lu Cheng. Have you never heard of my name? She also said more to make Co Yu lose her mind. Lin Sin I'm very enthusiastic and honest. So I often help others. Lu Cheng said, he had been pursuing me for three years before I reluctantly agreed to be with him. Really, what am I talking about? After all, we love each other now. She brought her plump buns closer and said, in general, if you want to say thank you to Lin Sin, there's no need. Lu Cheng got closer, said, because he's busy going on a date with me tonight. She made a cruel face as if she had said the wrong thing. Do you understand? Co Yu was scared and ran away in a panic. I, I know, she defeated a love rival and immediately became arrogant and fought with me. The system immediately notified her that her favorability increased by 1%. Lu Cheng's current favorability is 91%. Lin Tam is panicking in the dormitory playing games. Why has it increased? Why? Playing video games can still increase the favorability. Zheng Hao walked over and said, Lin Sin, the prom is about to start. Why aren't you ready yet? Lin Sin doesn't want to go and say, what is there to prepare for? Aren't I in charge of picking up trash? Student council, damn that guy was always arranging things for his class. Then the class president sent me away. Zheng Hao also thought about this so he immediately told him, in this matter, he might have offended someone. I, Lin Sin, immediately got interested and said, oh let's hear it. One night under a starry sky, Lin Sin was wearing a suit preparing to go to the prom and thought, it turns out the student council president is Wei Zheng Tang, in the past, has started to like to use his position to target people he doesn't like. Before, it seemed like Zheng Hao was also being disciplined like that. Interesting, let's go see him later. His phone he immediately saw the announcement from the class president. Lin Sin, you're going to the prom now. Because of the matter of saving people, the president said he wanted to hold a small award ceremony for you. Hurry up. Everyone is waiting, waiting for you. Lin Sin felt like she wanted to play. So she went to the ball. The awards ceremony. I thought it was more like a trap. People don't touch me. I don't touch people. Wei Zheng Tang will play tonight. Kidding with you. Yang Li looked at Lin Sin's back. Bitterly holding the brick in his hand and had a bad idea. I found you Lin Sin. That day it was clearly me who saved COU. Fame and beauty are both must belong to me. The hand holding the brick showed blue veins. He kept screaming in his heart. Clearly you just suddenly appeared on the street, but took the credit for saving my COU. First knocking you unconscious you, then cut off one of your legs. He raised the brick, preparing to go and hit Lin Sin. See how you stole my girl. But suddenly he dodged. Not only that he also grabbed Yang's head Li like a mother grabbed her child's head. Surprising him and let out a cry. He directly helped the other person kiss the ground decisively. Lin Sin clearly saw the person on the ground and said in surprise. You are, I remember I see, you're that girl's classmate. Then he questioned, why did he sneak attack me? Even though he was beaten, he still shouted loudly, you, you dare to hurt my face, and even robbed me, my merit and my girl. This makes you a little skeptical, your girl, because he was so bitter, 
Even though his face was swollen like a pig's head, that guy still tried to scream loudly. It's that bastard COU there. I've been chasing her for so long, but she doesn't like me. You don't even know her name, yet she's blushing because of you. This bitch usually acts nobly. I should have pressed it down directly. Before he finished speaking, the facade was stepped on by your loving feet. After throwing Yang Li into the landfill, Lin Sin waved his hand and muttered, Trash should still be thrown in the landfill. At the school dance right now, Luo Yaxi was excited to see him. The beauty chirped and asked, Lin Sin, why did you come here? He replied, because I heard there would be a good performance. Luo Yaxi coyly said, good show, waiting for you for so long. I thought you wanted to dance with me. Not resisting the charm of beauty with an endlessly good soul. Lin Sin hugged Luo Yaxi's waist and said, okay. She hugged his neck and praised, Lin Sin, so you dance so well. He thought to himself, after increasing all his attributes, has many advantages. Both danced back and forth, making the audience cheer. So handsome, wow, really beautiful dance. Suddenly a girl came up and asked, Marshall, I invite you to dance. Luo Yaxi quickly Vang responded, It's so embarrassing, I still want to continue dancing with Lin Sin. You can watch and wait. The other person will not respond immediately. Senior, you danced for so long. You should still it's better to rest a bit. Suddenly more beautiful women came and made Lin Sin turn into a main harem. They invited, Lin Sin Senior, this guy is so good. Maybe, Lin Sin, Senior dance with me. She was so jealous that the fire was about to burn in her head and the men were annoyingly talking. So jealous, isn't this saving someone? A good thing suddenly falls to her head. Hateful, what exactly is this brat doing? So, isn't Lin Sin a famous dog licker? Then these girls circling around him all of a sudden. They argued non-stop. The president even said he would give him a reward. Does he deserve it? That's right. The president is also good it's too much. At this time Wei Zheng Tang interrupted and said. You guys don't talk like that. Lin Sin really saved people. Right. He brought the water in front of him and politely said. Lin Sin. The school needs people an excellent student like you to set an example for us. I am the student council president Wei Zheng Tang, representing the student council and all classmates. Give you a glass. You silently look at the glass. Zheng Tang sees you ask silently. What's wrong? Those bitter people immediately added fuel to the fire. The president had a glass of wine. Don't you give him face. That's really not polite. Lin Xin quickly took it and replied. The president personally served the wine. How dare I not drink it? Lin Sin emptied the entire glass, making him excitedly compliment. It was great. While the girl group was worried and complimented. Good alcohol tolerance. Okay, the boy group as if he was hostile towards him. He snorted coldly, drinking a glass and pretending to act. Wei Zheng Tang smiled wickedly. He walked side by side with Lin Sin, then spoke up. Classmate Lin Sin, actually I have something to say discussing with you, related to the student council. Please come over here, he also politely replied. Okay, then I will interact with the president for a bit. It didn't take long to reach the conference room. You also looked inside. COU was sleeping on the chair. Lin Sin realized, wasn't this the girl at the pool? Her face was very red. With the kindness of an exemplary young man, he came to see the situation. It seemed like she was I have a fever and my head is a bit dizzy. So the young man collapsed into the beauty's arms. The president smiled evilly and muttered. Great, the camera works normally, everything is ready. Zheng Tang showed his uglier look than a dog looking at the key in his hand. Excitedly said, Lin Sin, this time you just take it slow and enjoy it. Returning to the hall, the audience was talking like a bazaar. Don't you want to give prizes? Why haven't you started yet? Zheng Tang walked up to the podium and said, Everyone take your seats. Classmate Lin Sin will be here soon. Well, it's almost time. My heart feels happy like a harvest. The medicine must be working. That medicine everyone can't stand it. Let alone you. By believing that the person you hate will wear pants. He called out. Because classmate Lin Sin wants to express his thoughts through the screen. Now please Lin Sin. The crowd looked up happily. Luo Yaxi shouted in panic. On the screen showed a male and female couple actively increasing in population. A classmate pointed up and raised his voice. The president quickly looked. Zheng Tang looked childish the golden deer turned back in bewilderment. 
Oh my god, Lin Sin what are you doing? He openly criticized. This is direct. I know you're quite comfortable, but can't you hold back a little? Everyone is also annoyed I'm sorry. This guy is so disgusting. Go to the conference room to arrest him. I really want to go blind. They are like cows with their noses. Constantly reflecting. I know Lin Sin is this type of person. His name is Lin please. My family has been poor since I was young. I'm a poor guy with no experience in life. This time I accidentally saved my classmate. Became famous and then did something wrong. This is the beginning of doing morally corrupt things. I look at his appearance I know he's not a good person. Isn't he still being shady with the female students? What a disgusting thing. Then they shouted in unison. Our school cannot accommodate corrupt people like Lin Sin. Wei Zheng Tang pretended to be emotional. Lin Sin, you really disappointed me. All the students shouted loudly. That's right. Quickly kick Lin Sin out of school. Make him drop out. Expel. Expel. Inner Zheng Tang smiled with satisfaction. That's right. Chen looked at his herd of cows and thought with satisfaction. This is the ultimate response. This is the ultimate pleasure. Suddenly he smirked and walked to the stage and spoke. Seems like I missed a good item. This makes Wei Zheng Tang's pupils shrink. Lin Xin looked lazy and continued. I just went to the bathroom. Why is it so bustling out here? Everyone is wanting who quit school. Lin Xin stepped onto a stage and asked in bewilderment. What's wrong? Why was the president so scared when he saw me? The others were also dumbfounded. What's going on? What's the situation? Wei Zheng Tang is scared blue. You here, so who is in there? He smiled as if he could see through people's hearts. Calmly continued. How do I know? Isn't this the performance that the president arranged? The screen showed age restrictions watch. Even the content is of a person with a model that terrifies the audience. Look, that person has turned over. Isn't this person Lin Sin? The strange guy in the video even stuck out his tongue to lick the doll and then perverted said. Are you comfortable? C-O-U. Won't you leave me again? Woman. It's finally done. Right? Viewers ask each other who this person is. I recognize him. His name is It's Yang Li. He has been chasing C-O-U for a long time. Why is he here? He smiled and remembered 10 minutes ago. At that time, the medicinal properties have been checked. The passive skill of level 3 physique has been activated to cure hundreds of poisons. The effect of the love potion has ended. The cooldown time for this passive skill is 12 hours. Lin Sin has woken up. Thinking in her heart, the girl is in a coma. Set up a camera, there is also a room locked. According to the hero saving beauty motif, he carried COU and kicked open the door, accompanied by anxiety in his heart. But with the strength of this level 3 body, this door is like glue paper. Looks like she was given a lot of anesthetic and secretly placed in the women's bathroom. So there's no fear that Wei Zheng Tang and his dog legs will find her. She won't be able to wake up in a short time okay. So you put someone else's daughter in there. Then Lin Sin found the loser at the dump. He was hugging the trash can and called out COU's name. He happily said, great, this is self-cultivation for me. Actor, his acting ability while in a coma is also perfect. Then Lin Sin threw Yang Li back in place. Happily saying, the actors were in position. The president spent a lot of effort arranging a scene so big for himself. How could he let him waste his heart like that? Lin Sin also kindly gave him a doll, waved off and said, the mannequin was transferred from the makeup room, and had the same hairstyle. You snap your fingers. It's so fun. The good drama begins. On the screen, Yang Li was still breathing out some cheesy and disgusting words. Aren't you brave C.O.U.? Look at how powerful this guy is. Lin Sin put her hand on Zheng Tang's shoulder and joked. This person's taste is really heavy. Yet he fought with a mannequin. His heart was still mocking. He even took off all the clothes on his body. This has nothing to do with me. He seemed to stutter and kept saying no. Then he screamed. No way. No way. I clearly saw you falling on top of COU. Zheng Tang when he received it. When he realized he was being set up. He covered his muzzle. He immediately asked. Oh. Why don't you confess? The hall was like a few neighbors waiting to talk. And the whole group was surprised. Lin Sin questioned. Come on, come on, tell me in detail how you saw me fall on COU. The dangerous look in his eyes made Zheng Tang scared and could only cry out. He asked. Didn't you talk a lot just now? Why are you silent now? 
teacher's son suddenly burst in and shouted. Being rude, these students breathed a sigh of relief. It was homeroom teacher's son. That's great. He was homeroom teacher's son of the literature department. He was the teacher who had been at the school the longest and was the strictest. He criticized Lin Sin. You are not even a student officer. You dare to question the student council president. A student like you who is not forward thinking. Is it really strange for the president to mistake the wrong person? Lin Sin sneered and objected, mistakenly admitting the wrong person. So he said that he saw me falling on COU. How are you going to be cunning? Teacher Sun angrily pointed at him and scolded him. President Wei worked hard, carefully, and devotedly, and even rewarded students like him. The white-eyed wolf was not responsible for not following the program's instructions. Presenting, lecturing in the conference room and even doing this disgusting and vile act, making the president lose face and destroying the educational environment. He must be disciplined so that he can speak to the teacher and students throughout the school. The other boys looked at each other and smiled meaningfully. Then they tried trying to scream to spread it to everyone, committing such a big mistake with just discipline. I don't accept it. I feel it's not worth replacing the president. I must let Lin Sin drop out of school immediately. I must I had to stop studying and vent my anger towards everyone. They all unanimously suggested dropping out of school throughout the hall. Seeing that all of his friends wanted Lin Sin to drop out of school. Luo Yaxi tried to argue. What's wrong with you guys? It's obvious that the president has harmed Lin Sin. Wei Zheng Tang he smiled meaningfully at the homeroom teacher. Then he whispered in his ear. The homeroom teacher has been bribed by me. The students down there, and the student council, are all my people. You fight me. What's going on? He shouted. Lin Sin wanted to run away. What set of techniques caught him? So those guys rushed towards him like a pack of hunting dogs. However, Lin Sin was as steady as a pillar, indifferently looking at his name and surname. Everyone can only complain a few times because they don't pay attention. The president rushed forward to challenge. Lin Sin, that's right. If you resist too much, I have a reason to beat you but don't think the flowers were blooming and spring was coming. He grabbed his face with one hand. He was also lifted into the air so Zheng Tang could only scream and struggle. He replied, what's the hurry? The important work is only starting now. The homeroom teacher saw that his favorite student was caught and immediately called security. This bastard has beaten someone. Security, gatekeeper, quickly restrain him. Lin Sin just watched indifferently. At the climax, someone shouted, Stop. Three men came, led by a middle-aged man with a cane. Immediately there was a loud call. The principal. Principal's son changed his face to a happy one and asked. Principal, why are you here? Here. He coldly snorted and said. If I were too late, something that couldn't be resolved would have happened. Homeroom son pointed to Lin Sin to accuse. Yes. 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 This student caused a big problem like that affecting the school's reputation, we decided to let him drop out of school. But because what he did had such a bad impact, we still needed to take him into custody. Suddenly the principal the leader raised his stick and tapped him on the head to question him. His influence was bad. After giving the opponent a stick, he criticized, whose influence was bad. It was because there was a teacher who accepted bribes but he was the one who smeared him. Dirty school. Seeing the harmful situation, Wei Zheng Tang knelt down and made excuses. Principal, principal, you were wrong. The ringleader is Lin Sin. Principal's son was just helping me. Zheng Hao went to launch one kick made him only cry out in pain. Then angrily said, there is no place for you to speak here. Principal's son showed humble advice. Principal, he is the young master of the Wei family. The court Wei Zheng's house at our school is Wei Zheng. His father donated to build it. He shouted, shut up, then decisively slapped the opponent again, causing the opponent to lie on the floor. Peng Bilian walked up to Lin Sin, opened his mouth to sarcasm. Why did Director Sun perform such a grand ceremony? He seemed to fall into a cowardly position, stammering, you, you are young Master Peng. The Peng family is one of the great leaders, shareholder of Wuxian University, you and Lin Sin, so that's it, that's how it is. Faced with the eagerness of the students to eat melon, the school principal grabbed his shoulder and announced, I now declare, the behavior Wei Zheng Tang's bribe to Dean Sun severely damaged the reputation of Wuxian University. The school unanimously decided to dismiss and expel two people as punishment. 
He looked at Lin Sin who was smiling like a fool. That victory with loving eyes. Affectionately said. Fortunately, our Wuxian University has an outstanding student like Lin Sin, who was able to attract the pests in the school. Returning the purity of Wuxian University, he is the light of our school. To two losers like Wei Zheng Tang and Homeroom Sun, he is like a giant shadow about to swallow them. Everyone was very surprised after seeing it. Why is it like this? We have been deceived. What is the meaning of this? The president and director's son are the bad people. Above the stage Lin Sin pointed back and raised his voice to the stage screen. Everyone the viewer on the screen understood it clearly. At this moment, a video image of Wei Zheng Tang appeared, helping Miss Cio Yu lie down on the sofa and saying, Hum, this girl without any doubt drank a glass of water mixed with medicine. Sleep. Then he turned back to the camera smugly, a perverted expression clearly visible on his face. Who said he was so perfect? The student council and this whole school can only be like subhumans. Before me, the audience below saw the whole thing and got angry. Some shouted, some whispered. It turns out he is that kind of person. It's really disgusting. This guy with a human face and a beast even dares to deceive me. People still kept cursing. They threw everything they had on hand while cursing. I always suspected he was a sinister villain. Sure enough, I was also harmed by him because I didn't have any evidence. Proof of patiently enduring for a long time. Do you like to pretend like that? Tear his face off. Expel him from school. Can't forgive. Go to jail and sit. If you don't beat him on the front, you won't be able to release your anger. All questions and items what they threw up made Wei Zheng Tang feel like he was falling to the bottom of society in despair. It's over. I've lost everything. It's all Lin Sin who hurt me. In a moment of despair he shouted, Lin Sin, I risked my life with you then pulled out the knife and ran towards you. His pathetic and stupid actions could not make Lin Sin's mind waver. Lin Sin lightly held the blade of the knife and raised his foot, causing him to slip, but fell and rushed towards the audience, screaming. You in a cool figure said sarcastically, President Wei, it's time to get off the stage. He was lying under the stage surrounded by angry audiences who kept making him pale. His feet were cold. Right immediately all the spectators rushed to him, grabbed the attacker's hair, and the person who tore his mouth kept talking. If he liked acting like that, it would be done for you. Tearing him apart, let's see how you do it, making him scream in confusion. Up, no. After a while, everyone stopped to look at the results. After being filled with onions, his hair was messy, his clothes were tattered, his mouth was foaming like a person at the bottom of society. Everyone still didn't know. Satisfied. You also have the qualifications to be president. It's not over yet. He dares to drug a female student. Send him to jail. At this time a female judge spoke up in the stands. The student council principal we need to quickly elect a new president. The school principal said in a low voice. A hum. Then he raised his hand and touched Lin Sin's shoulder with a bright face and said. Classmate Lin Sin. You are brave and kind and also helped the school remove two elements. Toxic. The position of the student council hall was given to you. What do you think? Everyone below was surprised. The school principal recommended it. It was a heavenly step. They supported him enthusiastically. I supported him. At this time, Lin Sin humbly reached out and put his hand on Zheng Hao and Peng Billion's shoulders and replied. Thanking the principal for his praise. This time also thanks to Zheng Hao promptly discovering the plot and young master Peng informing him. Come here, otherwise the effect will be unpredictable. Lin Sin reached out and introduced himself to the principal. The principal, the position of president, must be filled by a capable person. Zheng Hao, who was formerly in the student council, took on the position of head of the group. Position, it's just that he was forced out of the student council by the previous president. Zheng Hao is both talented and capable. I feel that the position of president should belong to him. That's what everyone says but no one knows it's due to laziness. I don't want to do such a difficult job. Everyone was surprised by Lin Sin's subtle refusal and said. What? Such a good opportunity to take advantage of it. So cool. Lin Sin is really a man. Sir, if anyone dares to say bad things about him in the future, I will stab him to death. In countless audiences. There are girls who are crazy about Lin Sin. Their faces red with sparkling eyes looking towards him. For example Lu Cheng. She said, Lin Sin is so outstanding. Worthy of being my man. 
At this time, Lin Sin walked down the stage thinking, everything is over, go see if Co Yu is in love. On the stage Zheng Hao shouted loudly, continuing the dance. Passing through the bathroom, Lin Sin scratched his head and looked at Co Yu who was still awake. He was too lazy to wake her up. Co Yu, Co Yu, how many drugs had he taken? Suddenly a hand came out from above the door sprayed something inside. Making Lin Sin's face start to turn red. Why does it feel a bit? Immediately he fell asleep and leaned on Co Yu's lap. Someone suddenly appeared behind him sprayed medicine into the bathroom where Lin Sin was. That was Lu Cheng. She smiled proudly, then grabbed the other person's collar and pulled him up. After adjusting to her direction, she boldly sat on Lin's lap Sin then tore her skirt to reveal her pearly white legs and said. The skirt was really cumbersome. Her face started to turn red and she said, Lin Sin, you're already mine. She leaned on Lin's shoulder please tremble with joy. Then raised his hand to lift Co Yu's chin without shame and pleasure scolding. You rotten whore, open your eyes and see clearly. Lin Sin is mine, you will never have it him. All day dreaming about being stuck with him. Dream away. Song she leaned closer to his lips. Touched his cheek with her hand and said. Lin Sin I won't leave you again. Right now he's cradling her causing her to suddenly exclaim. Lin Sin was still unconscious but it seemed to be the effect of the drug she used. It made him pant and throw her down with her back towards him causing she couldn't resist but screamed. Ah, oh, wait Lin Sin. Suddenly she screamed again. She thought, Lin Sin, he's not awake. Could it be animal instinct? Damn I want. She exclaimed. Wait, wait. Her face was now covered in sweat and she couldn't resist screaming. Right outside, looking into the toilet, the scene was gloomy, not knowing what happened inside. Suddenly Lin Sin woke up and opened her eyes wide. Looking at Lu Cheng, his foot stepped on her skirt. The scene made Lin Sin bewildered. What is this? Looking at her face that looked like she was falling asleep. And the bottle right next to her. He suddenly realized the situation and said. Lu Cheng, damn, this is a magic potion. This crazy woman. Lin Sin raised her hand and ruffled her hair while screaming. A slightly worried look appeared on her red face as she continued. Over and over again, her passive ability to detoxify hundreds of poisons. Haven't recovered yet. She's playing tricks on you. Damn it. Lin Sin put her against Co Yu's lap. Then spanked her a few times on her ass and said. Damn it. Give her a lesson. If not you kiss her. I love you so much that you don't know whether to live or die. Suddenly the phone in your pocket announced an incoming call. Lin please answer the phone. Captain. The other side spoke. Good evening Mr. Kian. I just saw the name Peng the kid boasted in the Yan Jiang Prince daughter group that he had just helped him with something. Yan Bao seemed to be participating too. Why didn't he call us brothers? Lin Sin immediately went to the group to look and saw a photo of Zheng Hao and Peng Bilian holding each other's shoulders and a text message saying their relationship with Mr. Qian had increased another level. Quickly admire me. Below was a photo of Yan Bao smiling. And in return, this time I also have a part. Lin Sin thought to herself. You brag it. As for the captain, he continued to say, Mr. Kian, do you remember the private dining party on the yacht that I strongly recommended to you last night? Tomorrow night it will be held in Yan Jiang. This time there will also be arranged a very special performance. Mr. Kian respectfully attended. Lin Sin replied, It's okay, I'm in a bad mood. Let's go on a cruise to relax a bit. Immediately the captain happily replied, Ah, oh, that's great. Welcome Mr. Kian to join. They all laughed loudly and clinked beer. The four young men walked back arm in arm, excitedly saying, the drinks at the ball were boring. It was better to go out and drink beer. Trin Hao agreed even though he was drunk. That's right. I'm the president now. Everyone can drink freely. I pay. Lin Sin helplessly replied, okay, you've said this hundreds of times tonight. At this time, Trin Hao's hands were shaking. He pointed to the bathroom and said, I want to go solve my sadness. With loving brotherly love, the rest of us also hurriedly suggested, let's go together. Lin Sin looked at the three ghosts swaying in the night and couldn't help but chuckle. After the physical attributes were enhanced, drinking alcohol was no longer easy to get drunk. Where did the loud scream come from? What do you want to do? Let go. Side not far away, a beautiful woman is being teased by the perverted F4. What's wrong? Don't let her move. Isn't she here to sell? Shen Dong weakly shouted. Get out. 
However, their mouths are still pouring out some dirty words. So white, ha I like people like you who are kicking. She waved her careless hands and said, let's just look, not touch. Seeing this, this perverted F4 immediately took one side and me and the other. Pulled Shen Adung's hand and smiled happily, saying, I can't hold it in anymore. Now I want. She stood right in the tiger's mouth, constantly reminding, no way, I'm not that kind of person. Here you guys is committing a crime. Don't, leave me alone. The blonde guy next to her looked at her with perverted eyes and shouted. Shut up, making the guys angry. I now have the responsibility to put out the fire. After a while of waiting suddenly Lin Sin was standing right behind them. He spoke up, hey, people didn't agree but you guys were still forcing them. They were stunned. Even Shen Dong was surprised. Soon the person standing in the middle moved into Lin Sin. They spoke bitterly and loudly said, how dare you come out alone? Do you want to be a hero to save a beauty? Have you watched too many movies? Right, he crossed his arms, looked around and replied, go away, I don't want to take action. With more blood than brain, they rushed forward, wanting to take the right and threaten. Still arrogant, go die. Lin Sin looked at him with a serious face. Shen Dong also ran in fear, spoke softly, be careful, but you step back again, causing two of the F4 group to accidentally punch each other in the face. Looking at their comrades lying at their feet, the blonde's mouth was wide open, speechless. Not stopping there, Lin Sin immediately joined behind to help. They leaned their heads against each other, so the rest of them also reeled in confusion and lay down on the ground. Shen Dong came forward to return the sword and said, they were all fainted. She asked annoyedly, do you know what you just did? Is it very dangerous? At the same time, the system also announces, pings, detects a beautiful girl, starts a naughty mission, 24-year-old beautiful woman, 172 centimeters tall and 50 kilograms in weight. When the target's favorability with the host exceeds 90%, she will refund 10% of the money spent by the rebel plus the host's personal assets. All rewards will be returned. Attribute plus one level three choose one skill. When reaching 100%, change identity and renew the dependency relationship between host and target. Lin Sin silently groaned in his heart, but started the counterattack mission. Unexpectedly he looked so pure. What a pity he was a girl selling flowers. As an exemplary young man, he waved goodbye and advised, Miss, although you look very beautiful, you should not do this profession. Listen to my advice and find a normal job. Go. Shen Dong was startled and said out loud when he was misunderstood. What? However, he could only scold in a low voice. Where did this name come from? Single-handedly learning how to act chivalrously. He almost died. Ruined my plan. The pervert was beaten so much that he trembled and called out to his mother. But then Shen Dong stepped under his feet. She adjusted her headphones and reported. The suspicious person was controlled and taken away, notifying Team 4 to prepare to collect the net. The other end of the line immediately replied, Yes Captain. The next day, he and his friend went to the yacht. He happily waved to the other person. Brother Kian played happily. I went to another boat to discuss previous business matters. He replied excitedly, Okay, go ahead and do your work. Inside the dining hall rich people's debauchery and girlfriends. Lin Sin looked at it and couldn't help but exclaim, Oh the atmosphere is great. There are also many girls wearing bikinis. Not far away is Shen Dong who has transformed into a waitress. Listening to her teammates talking through the headset, the captain asked, What's the situation? Have you collected the net? She said seriously, The target has been targeted by me. Prepare to act at any time. The other side yes an hour and then hung up. The beautiful woman carefully observed her surroundings reminding herself that there could be no mistakes in this action. There was absolutely no way a situation like last night could happen. Where she almost got called rudely. There, Lin Sin appeared from somewhere and called out. This is free, right? I'm just thirsty. As soon as he saw Shen Adung's face, he was surprised. Is it you? The other person was also surprised and asked. Why are you here? Seems like he successfully spread his ideals. He exclaimed. He changed jobs. He can be a waiter. He has better prospects than his previous job. Shen Dong was helpless and mechanically said, Welcome to the party. Enjoy the party. Please enjoy. Silently praying in your heart. As long as you don't ruin my plan. 
Suddenly someone shouted from afar. Hey waiter. Boss Jin waved his hands and said. Come over here. Shen Dong confusedly walked over and asked. Would you like some champagne? The purple haired girl next to him smiled and spoke up. Little sister, I'm an employee serving on this boat. Don't know how to serve. Today Boss Jin wants to play something new. Let's play with him. Boss Jin's strength is very strong. He won't be cruel to us Boss Jin. The guys around followed him in praise. It's still Boss Jin who knows how to play. He threw money at Shen Adung's face. Smiled pervertedly and said. He's been playing too much these days. Today I want to play pure. Yes. It's not bad to restrain the temptation. Take the money and come over here. Boss Jin licked his lips. Waved his hand and emphasized every word that came out of his mouth. Serve you carefully. Mu's his face darkened. He thought uncomfortably. If he wasn't inside right now. Lin Sin saw that women were being bullied and couldn't help but interrupt. It's so embarrassing. This mister. We do not provide special services. By the way. I remind you that this behavior is against the law. You don't deserve to be taken seriously. Boss Jin is a jerk. Feeling like he was humiliated. He shouted. The waiter is just like you also dare to show your face to me. Lin Sin was bewildered and reminded. Huh, I'm not a waiter. The owner of this boat called me here to play. The purple haired sister saw her sugar daddy being looked down upon and stood up to scold him. Aren't you a servant when you dress like this? You look poor but you're also a guest. We've been to parties many times. Yes, but I've never seen you before. What's wrong? Today I want to learn how to be a hero to save a beauty. Where's your invitation? Lin Sin took a grape from a nearby waitress to eat. Calmly replied, there's no invitation letter. The boat owner invited me. Or should you go ask the boat owner? The guys around heard that and immediately spoke contemptuously about you. If you want to participate in this party, you need a 100.00 entry fee per person. Man, you said you were invited by the boat owner. Who are you? You're showing off, right? You're a poor and coward sneaking onto the boat. If you're not a servant, you're a thief. Throw it straight into the sea. Boss named Jin held the beautiful woman in his arms and kept screaming. Today, no matter who you are, you must kneel down and apologize to me. Otherwise, before throwing you into the sea, I will have to break your legs. Your third, there is also that female waitress. She also knelt down, just kneeling in the same way. The others followed and ordered Shen a dong. Get on this boat and then why are you pretending to be pure? Furthermore, that rotten woman didn't even apologize to Boss Jin. She looked scared and hid behind Lin Sin. Boss Jin's group of people surrounded her, loudly threatening both of them. So we can teach you the rules of the game of powerful people. Money. Shen a dong secretly considered that the biggest target had not yet taken any action. If he retracted the net now, he would lose some of it. But right now, even though he had a few martial arts skills, he could not fight many. Such a person is okay. At this time, Lin Sin still calmly spoke with a confident demeanor. What you mean is, anyone who has money can play as much as they want. Right? Okay, now I will call Captain. Your words made me angry. Surprised everyone. Everyone looked at each other with eyes and mouths. Unfortunately, his phone rang again. The number you were calling was temporarily unreachable. The people around him silently cheered. He thought and laughed loudly. He thought to himself, Captain Tuan is discussing business with customers. He definitely doesn't have time to answer the phone. A few people standing near him spoke up contemptuously. You pretend more. Kid, make a call. Called Captain Captain. But I was actually scared by you. Not much. Scared for three seconds. At this time the waitress with long purple hair spoke up. Poor guy. You better buy the boat come on. Then we will all have to listen to what you say. Boss Jin pointed and continued. If you buy this boat, then this waitress will also be yours. Let me forgive you tonight. Her once. Just. Can you buy it? Huh? Lin Sin smiled back and replied. This is not a bad idea. Then Lin Sin turned to tell the staff. The waiter. To call your captain here. The staff member listened in bewilderment. About this. Boss Jin raised his hand and said. Go. Even though the boat owner not here but the captain can also decide to buy and sell. Give this poor guy a break. Act with him a little. Time flies. The captain finally comes. He raises his hand and returns say hello to Boss Jin. The director immediately reached out to Lin Sin and said. He wants to buy this boat. This is a big deal. 
Why don't you hurry up and entertain him? The captain replied in disbelief. Besides, Boss Jin kept joking. This boat of General Boat is very valuable. Even you said it was expensive. He could buy it, he said while glancing at him. Lin Sin immediately pulled out one the card was golden in color. Surrounded by sparkling light and he said, Don't waste your words. Bid. The others saw the card and exclaimed in surprise. That card seemed to be Long Han's black card. But it's a little different. It seems more high-end. Made just like the real thing. At this time, Shen Erdong started to hesitate and walked over to hold Lin Sin's hand. Or, oh, you can go ahead. There's no need that's not the case. She thought, she can't let him offend so many people because of her. If tonight's mission fails, she can only give up. Lin Sin looked back to comfort her. Rest assured, this scene increased her favorability by 5%. The captain came forward with the sales contract and showed it to him. It turned out that this gentleman really wanted to buy. Then, this ship, the price is 700 million, with 100 million being the money for the procedures. A total of 800 million. The paperwork for the procedures are all here. You sign it and it's okay. The captain finished speaking. Everyone started there's a stir. Please sign now. If that card really has 800 million, I'll immediately jump into the sea. Boss Jin, I see you shouldn't waste your time with him. It's very valuable. What about the card? This farce. You can play however you want. The captain asked. Sir, do you need to swipe your card? If you really want to buy, please swipe your card. Lin Sin picked up the contract and waved it. Signed. Of course I won't sign. Everyone immediately criticized. I know. I died laughing. I quit acting. What a pretender. Then he hugged Shen Adung's waist and said. But she signed. Everyone was surprised and unexpectedly said in unison. What? Lin Sin continued. I swiped the card. She signed. I bought this boat for her. Then he leaned closer to her ear and said. That's right. I don't know your name yet. She hesitated. Her face turned red and replied. I. My name is Shen Dong. Immediately he went to swipe the card with looked extremely cool then he said. Okay, this boat will be the first gift I give to Shen Dong. Immediately the card scanner rang. The transaction was successful. 800 million was deducted from the account. Seeing that, all the idiots who had just said bad things about Lin Sin were startled. Boss Jin spat out all the wine he was drinking. He actually bought it. No need to pay in installments. Just paid it all at once. Who is he? With this level of wealth, he is definitely not an ordinary person. He was actually invited by the captain. At this time the captain opened his eyes and bowed his head and said. This, Mr. Shen Dong, you two are the current owners of this ship. Our ship has a total of 100 employees. All serving you. The girls around are all bowing. Hello Shen Dong. Lin Sin turned his face towards Boss Jin and spoke. As he said, if I buy this boat, this waitress will be mine. Right? He could only answer correctly. The employee just lit a candle. The joke is that he has now turned his face as quickly as flipping rice paper and said. Not only her but all of us belong to you. May I ask what is the name of the boss? Who is both young and beautiful and rich like this? Can can we get to know each other a little? Shen Dong is still confused and wondering who he really is. And behind him are some guys who are deliberately trying to gain sympathy from him. That's right. Their name is Kim. That guy dares to offend you. It's ridiculous. I didn't look at him right from the beginning. Old man, your shoelaces are off. At this time, the big guy Boss Han came closer to Boss Jin and said. Boss Jin, you are mistaken. This kid is not ordinary. Right now, he has no choice but to hold on to the last straw. Boss Han, it was me who was wrong. But he dares to make me lose face and also make you lose face. If Boss Han can help Boss Jin relieve this anger, then I will give you all the business matters in Myanmar. Boss Han smiled triumphantly. Boss Jin's sincerity was hard to refuse. Okay, let me deal with him. The fat goat is at his mouth so he has to take a big bite first. He called out to Lin Sin. This young master is so generous. I am Boss Han. Everyone often calls me Boss Han. Not knowing how to address this young master, he asked with an evil face. Without hesitation he replied, My name is Lam. At this moment, Shen Dong suddenly remembered, Boss Han is the boss of the Black Tiger Gang, specializing in trafficking smuggled goods from Myanmar and Laos. He also built two underground warehouses to store smuggled goods. In recent months, 
the headquarters has continuously tracked his traces. The goal of tonight's action is him. At this time, Boss Han continued. The atmosphere tonight is very good. Lin Sin wants to play some games. He replied, I don't know how to gamble. And gambling is not legal. I won't play. He has no intention of letting go of Lin Sin and continues to encourage him. No, someone like the Lin Sin family who spends hundreds of millions has never gambled. So how can those 800 million be your entire capital? No, his subordinate was not inferior and interfered. Boss Han is so mean. Even if Lin Sin has no money, he is still the owner of rich people. How can he say that? He showed a very bad attitude. The provocation made him unable to help but say, of course there is money. But, he immediately sarcastically said, if you have money, then you are not brave enough. Lin Sin's eyes turned dangerous as he looked at him. Boss Jin also jumped in and said, stop it Boss Han, there are some people who have a lot of money but can't stand losing. Even if they lose a hundred or two yuan, they will be so upset that they won't be able to sleep. I'll play along, I'm fine, Shen Dong gently reminded him, don't let them provoke him. I heard that Boss Han only gambled thousands of billions. Even if I had one or two hundred billion, it wouldn't be enough to fight him. Boy, mumbled, losing two hundred billion, that's just beautiful. Lin Sin turned around and said with a very interested expression that made her unexpectedly gasp. Lin Sin pretended to be stupid and fell for the trick. Waving, hey, Boss Han, suddenly I felt like playing a little bit would be quite interesting. Shen Dong stood next to him and exclaimed in shock. You, Boss Han grinned triumphantly, I was fooled. He looked at Shen Dong, but recently I haven't been very lucky. Gacha can't draw SSS either, so you play for me. If I lose, I'll give you the money. If I win, it's all yours, but you're not allowed to say no. Your eyes are an O, your mouth is an A, ha. Huh? Lin Sin's mind immediately flew to cloud nine. I gave money, she bet, lost two billion and got back two hundred million. This earns more money than giving a gift to the female boss. Pressing the screen until her finger who can understand cramps. It's best not to be able to go upstream from now on. Even if you lie down, you won't spend all your money. Shen Dong worriedly shook his body. Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I said? Bet. With him you will lose miserably. Then the four people sat at the gambling table. Boss Han gave his opinion. Baccarat is too complicated, but considering that Lin Sin may not understand it, it will lose a lot of the feeling of participation. Then playing blackjack is simple. First, how? He agreed without hesitation. If he liked it, he moved. He put his arm around Shen Adung's shoulder, looking extremely confident, while she crouched and worriedly thought. As a servant, she had just been given a ship by a rich man, so she definitely couldn't refuse the rich man's request. In order not to expose his identity, he could only help him play. More and more people gathered together to watch the show. This time Lin Sin was miserable. How could a waiter be as good at gambling as Boss Han? A few gossipy people gathered together to chat. Having money can really make Boss Jin call him father, but even in the casino, even having more money will only enrich Boss Han. It seems that this Lin Sin is a the second rich man has a big shrimp brain. The purple-haired girl who is the hostess of the casino shouted and dealt the cards. Boss Han encouraged the general. That's quite lucky. Lin Sin, do you want more chips? Lin Sin immediately waved his hand without hesitation and threw the chips are out. I'm all in. It's up to you. The first match is over. This match Boss Han wins. You pretend to be a deer and cry out. Oh my god, what a pity. The name Boss Han just grabbed the chip and smiled triumphantly. It's okay, Lin Sin Jia, the next game is a win. You chill chill make another request. So next game I bet 200 million, by the way. What's the face value of this chip is so small? Give me 2 billion, the purple haired girl happily replied. Okay, Shen Dong looked at him again. This guy hasn't seen the coffin yet shed a tear. Several people gathered to watch also gasped. Two. 2 billion, such a big deal, his money is still not at the limit. Boss Han clapped and cheered. Worthy of Lin Sin, style, indeed a bit of encouragement but the mind of a rich second die has become confused. After winning 2 billion, then his illegal business relationships will quickly be restored. And after that, every game Lin Sin would win. The host continuously announced, Boss Han won, Lin Sin minus 200 million. Boss Han won, Lin Sin minus 500 million.
Boss Han won. Lin Sin minus 1 billion. Boss Han's big win is as impressive as a toad. Lin Sin, are you still going? Lin Sin didn't have time to finish speaking. Of course. Oh, Shen Dong grabbed him by the neck and dragged him away. Some viewers couldn't help but let out a few words joke. Oh, this waiter is too proactive. Don't fight anymore, just keep going like that. Shen Dong pressed you against the wall. You pick the number, are you crazy? Even if you have money, you can't waste it like that so. She scolded loudly, do you really think that if you just double each time, you can get back what you lost before? Stop delusional about your strength. There is no such thing as luck in the casino. No luck. The system informed. The favorability was minus 3%. Contrary to her reaction, he thought with amusement. Being so grown up, this is the first time being pressed against a wall by a beautiful girl. It doesn't feel right. Bad. He reassured her. It's okay. If you lose I won't let you. There's no need to get so excited. He told himself. He should still gently advise her. To avoid her being afraid of going home. After all, she doesn't understand that she lost to make money. Shen Dong turned away confused. I, I'm not excited at all. I just want to tell you. I have no chance of winning. In my heart I calm myself down. I almost couldn't control my emotions. I almost got exposed. Lin Sin again drew a full story. Why can't he win? Does Boss Han know how to turn his cards? Like in it's like that in the movie. Can it turn into the card you want? Should I report it? It seems like reporting gambling has a reward. She can only hold her head three parts helplessly seven parts are the same. It's all over the place. In the movie it's just a scam. That's the kind of trick at the bottom of society. She has full experience in catching his cards. On the table are all cards. Under the table are all sensors. When the cards haven't been dealt yet, the sensor already knows the number and order of the cards. Which cards will be dealt to whom? and the dealer knows everything before starting. The dealer gives reminders via Bluetooth. Boss Han knows this round should double the bet or surrender. Whether it is stealing cards will be detected immediately by sensors. Chips and sensors are in compliance with regulations and their function is to prevent players from cheating. The only cheating thing is the dealer's warning to Boss Han, but this action cannot be caught. She crossed her arms and explained. Sir I said, you don't have enough qualifications to win. You understand. Okay, he nodded. Oh, this knowledge has been absorbed. It's really a gamble for two people. Next he hugged Shen Adung's waist and aggressively came back. Knowing the principle is very easy. Let's go. I will take you to teach the gamblers a lesson. You sprayed glue. What? Returning to the discussion, he said with his hands on his hips. I suspect there is something wrong with the cards. I suggest checking a bit. Boss Han replied contemptuously. No problem. Check it out. Let Lin Sin lose his heart and listen. A few people who like to gossip are commenting to each other. He's starting to get impatient. Has he lost all his money? Still lucky I haven't done business with him yet. Another person continued. Sure, that's more than one billion. Now except for this ship. Has he become a poor person? The dealer girl tilted her head and teased. You, Lin Sin, you can check me however you want. Unfortunately you're a vegetarian. Thank you. I'll check this table first. It won't be too late to check your clothes later. Your level 3 strength take a look. Lin Sin scratched his head and pretended to be blank. It seemed like there was no problem. He shrugged. So let's continue. Unfortunately, the more I play, the more bored I become. You teased. Boss Han won so much money but every time he gave out chips. He was cautious, only daring to give out a few tens of millions at a time. Cloud the gossip monger the seller of cucumbers heard that and followed suit. Was he afraid of losing? Others whispered, a gamble of tens of millions is not small. So it remains to be seen who is the front man. Boss Han is at the top of society, pushing out a pile of chips. Every time Lin Sin plays hundreds of millions. In comparison, old Han is really stingy. Okay, then I play big with Lin Sin. One billion. He is determined to win it all. Shit. The dealer started a new match. Suddenly her hand froze. Boss Han realized there was a problem. Lin Sin waved her hand impatiently again, dealing the cards. She scratched her head in confusion, not knowing what to do. Not funny Boss Han is stressed. What's wrong? Hurry up. I'm anxious to turn the situation around. He realized the problem. Now I realized the sensor was no longer responding. He still decided to give me the copy. Going far away from home. 
stealing cards. I don't believe he's so lucky. The game ended. Everyone around him was all mouths wide open, shaking his head. Did he finally win? Won a match. All the capital recovery is over. Boss Han is not okay. He slammed the table and stood up screaming. You damn brat. You dare to play with me. Lin Sin stubbornly argued. What's wrong? You won so many matches no problem. Losing just one match and already venting. It seems the one who can't play is Boss Han. Right? He can't win and then kicks him down. Pointing at Shen Dong. This brat cheated earlier. I've been gambling for so many years. She can't be ignored. Where can I be? She is the expert you invited to come. Two young men who don't know where they come from jumped in and said the truth. Lin Sin. Cheating is not right. Although this is your boat. The gambling table is also there are rules of the gambling table. Cheating at the gambling table is not a small thing. Where did you get another green card? Lin Sin had a lot of money. But did it wrong. Shen Dong objected. We didn't cheat. If you don't believe it. You can check it out. At this moment Boss Han pulled out a knife. He stuck the knife down on the table. With the other hand pulled out a dangerous toy and pointed it at Lin Sin's body. According to the rules. Cheating must cut off a finger. And confiscate all bets. If you don't do it. Then eat my copper candy. Lin Sin became a star again. Not afraid of challenges. I'm also a little curious. Based on the hand speed I've practiced for many years. Is the gun fast or is it my hand that is faster? Shen Dong intervene. Don't provoke him. He will really let you go see your ancestors. Boss Han really pulled the trigger. But he was the one who fell because of being fertilized with onions. Someone shouted. What happened? Only Shen Dong witnessed the whole process. I saw it just now. He shot the chip in his hand. Hit it on the gun body. Dong that time he used three punches on Boss Han's stomach. Hitting him hard. This speed was too fast. The accomplice Boss Jin shouted again. Security. Quickly arrest this person. He cheated on the bet and even dared to hit someone. The two guards actually came but they were to control him. Lin Sin Ung Dung asked. Boss Jin, are you forgetting something? I'm the master of this boat. You said the guards will listen to someone. Then you kicked your foot at Boss Han who got hit a few times. Opened his mouth to reveal the cards in his body. The other guys didn't believe it either. Pretended to ignore it. Boss Han cheated. This guy's feet are cold. Shen Dong stuck his head out again and whispered. Strange. He I probably wouldn't do that kind of card stealing trick at Firefly level. How did you win just now? He revealed that when I checked the table, I secretly broke the sensor. The previous game was simple. It's a lucky bet. Then when I beat him, I conveniently put these two cards in his heart. She laughed. You're too bad. The system announced. Favorability plus 15%. At that moment, Captain Han hurriedly opened the door and asked loudly. Oh my god. What's going on? A few people excitedly responded. Captain Han is here. Just now boss Han cheated on the bet. With Lin Sin, still shooting, this one is beyond help. Hearing that, he immediately walked over to look at Lin Sin's body. Are you okay? Haven't been hit by bullets. Have you been injured by a knife? You smiled happily replied. I'm fine. Those people were horrified. Captain Captain said. Is Lin Sin the famous Lin Sin? While everyone was not paying attention, Shen Dong immediately contacted the outside. The biggest target has been subdued. Immediately take action. Captain officially announced. Okay, this person is Mr. Too Poor that I always mentioned. Tonight I specially invited him to visit. There was a lot of excitement around him. Mr. Too Poor, sir, you are truly humble. Let's meet again. My name is Tran. A girl was clinging to him and asked. Does Mr. Too Poor's younger brother lack a girlfriend? Mr. Too Poor, I have a super good project. Some even shamelessly said frankly. Mr. Too Poor, I know 48 types of positions. At this time, the mobile police came in to give orders. Everyone was quiet. No dispatch was allowed. Action. Now we have to catch the smuggling gang. Please cooperate. One of the team members reported to Shen Dong. Boss Han and his subordinates have all been taken away. The team can be withdrawn. She nodded. Yes. Collected the team. Then she looked sideways. Hmm. Where did that person go? He seemed to be helping to catch criminals. And his money had to be returned. Other people were surprised. Damn it. The servant this incident is again. Today is full of bad things. Lin Sin ran away. Phew. Luckily I climbed out the window during the chaos. 
If the police caught me gambling, it wouldn't have been ruined. Star. In the girl's dormitory, Luo Yaxi stretched out on the bed wondering, where did Lin Sin run off to? Why didn't he reply to my message? She thought about it, wanted to meet him at her rental house. I had dinner the day after tomorrow. After that, no no no, that's too direct. She put her hand on her chin, blaming it on being suddenly interrupted that day. She had to find another opportunity. Then Lu Cheng returned about. Her appearance is dull, but her face shows an excited expression like a call girl. I'm tired to death. Luo Yaxi shyly asked, Lu Cheng, what's wrong with you? It looks like someone was scolding you licked and put it on the plate. I have to protect myself. She sighed again, blaming Lin Sin. He looked normally polite and honest, but turned out to be so rude. Who is sticking to my waist? Me. It's just that such a roughness can make me feel a joy I've never had before. Luo Yaxi of course doesn't believe it. Is that so? But I feel like he's not rough. This dress you tore it yourself. Right? She opened her mouth to go out and show off her red hand prints. I don't have that kind of strength. Normally I can't even open a bottle cap. If you don't believe me. Look. Luo Yaxi was shocked. That is. The handprint. Such a big handprint. It probably wasn't because she hit it herself. That is to say, no, it can't be. Lu Cheng looked at the previous thing with disbelief. Luo Yaxi's eyes were sarcastic. Luo Yaxi, why are you shivering? Wear more clothes so you don't get cold. Finally, Luo Yaxi put on a thin shirt and ran out. Lu Cheng watched and laughed. Sinister, now I want to dedicate myself to Lin Sin. It's too late. It's too late. A man will forever belong to his first woman. Thinking of that, she bit her finger and drooled. Lin Sin, he is so amazing, especially when he hit me at the end. It makes people feel at ease. When can he continue? At this time, Luo Yaxi was outside the men's dormitory. She was extremely upset. There was no response to any messages or calls. Are you sleeping? She stared at the phone. It seemed like Lu Cheng is not lying. If it's true, I have to take it. She commented on Lin Sin's family background. The best quality with money, beauty, and muscles. The essence of a woman who loves so much like Lin Sin has never had. Girlfriend. Definitely the object of competition for many girls. She is determined. She absolutely will not give up. Luo Yaxi didn't pay attention. The other male students were drooling at her. What about that girl, wearing so little clothes, waiting for someone? The young man next to him guessed. Maybe he had an argument with his boyfriend so he ran here. Others exclaimed, those legs, so beautiful. Time passed quickly until morning the next day. Lin Sin leisurely walked and munched on cake. Last night I was playing cards and fighting. I was so tired, I had to go home and go to sleep quickly. Suddenly he noticed someone's figure that looked familiar. Er, uh, Luo Yaxi. The other boys were also talking loudly. Hey hey, isn't that Luo Yaxi? The guy next to him said, I also saw you yesterday he's here waiting for someone. Isn't that waiting all night? At this time, Luo Yaxi also ran to hug him and called. Lin Sin. She smiled happily and said, Lin Sin, you're finally back. He was stunned. You waited for me all night. She gently replied, It's okay. I'm so busy. I should just wait for you. I wanted to let you know. I know. You were confused. You know. You know what? Good girl obediently put my cheek on his chest. You're so amazing, I know the gap between us is very large. There must be many girls older than me pursuing you. So I volunteered, is a sensible person. Then Luo Yaxi suddenly became weak and fainted. Oh, suddenly so dizzy, Lin Sin quickly caught her. There, he picked her up like a princess and asked. Are you okay, I'll give her please go back and rest. Then I took her back to her room. Luo Yaxi spoke up, thank you for taking me home. Lin Sin was covering her with a blanket and suddenly stopped. I'm awake. She lazily took off her shirt and held his hand with one hand. Lin Sin, you are so kind to me. In front of this charming landscape. You hesitated for a moment. I. She sat up and asked for advice. Last night you I've been busy all night. Let me give you a massage. Lin Sin blushed and speculated. She waited for me all night. And even wanted to massage me. By the way, that's an unusual tactic. Are you sure it's it's still embarrassing to be addicted? But the meat is already at your mouth. It's free so why not eat it? Then smiled and asked. Do you know how to massage? Then lie down on the bed and let Luo Yaxi sit on his back. Of course you know. 
Just relax come out, rest. Lin Sin exclaimed with satisfaction. So comfortable. Luo Yaxi did not hesitate to use his feet to work. And this one is even more comfortable. He happily enjoyed this moment. To say it, this place is a bit far from school. In two days I'll take you to buy a room near school. A chance to spend money. But Luo Yaxi excitedly kissed him on the cheek. Oh my god, really, you are so good to me. I love you so much. Notification system. Favorability plus 4%. Luo Yaxi's favorability 95%. She intentionally lay on top of the naughty. Naughty hand below. Asked. From now on I will massage you every day. Is that okay? Lin Sin enjoys the blessings from heaven. Of course it is okay. Then a few dark sounds came out. Puff puff. After a while Lin Sin tiredly fell asleep. The lady sitting next to me texted Lu Cheng for advice but it was actually an underground flex. Lu Cheng, what should I do now? Lin Sin just said he wanted to buy me a house. Before he gave me over 1.00.00 to buy a bag. Now I'm buying a house again. I don't feel so good. What should I do? It's so frustrating. On the other end of the phone. As expected, Lu Cheng exclaimed in panic. What? Lin Sin bought a house for that bastard. Don't you deserve it? Even though on the surface she was bitter and gritted her teeth. Through text messages she was gentle. Cutely replied. Oh, is that so? He gave it to you. So you should take it. Anyway, Lin Sin has so much money that she can't spend it all. Raising this pet. Giving it to beggars. I'm fine with it can manage how he spends money. Luo Yaxi immediately replied. That's right. Then I'll agree with him. Lin Sin and I haven't been together for long. He gave me so much money. It's not very good. She sarcastically said a bit. Then said. I don't think I've ever heard of Lin Sin spending money on you. As sisters. You hide it very well. Right. This friendship is truly that of tree sisters damn. Lu Cheng was so mad at the text messages that he cursed. Damn it. But through the text messages. He changed into another personality. Money is just a vulgar thing. There's nothing to say. Lin Sin and I are united. Is important. Luo Yaxi he. Doesn't understand our feelings. Luo Yaxi lay happily imagining Lu Cheng's reaction. Dying of laughter. Waiting for Lin Sin to buy me a house. I'll take a selfie with Lin Sin there on the sofa in the living room and sent it to you. You continue to go crazy in anger. Close your eyes and open it in the afternoon. Lin Sin is fresh and full of energy. After the morning massage. It's so refreshing to sleep. The phone's bell rang continuously. He turned it on and saw. Who sent the message? The jar exploded. Yesterday there was Luo Yaxi. Lin Sin. Where are you? I have something to tell you tell me. Text message from Lu Cheng. Your waist still hurts. But it doesn't feel bad. When can we go eat? With a photo from a burning angle. Today's news is Yun Bo smiling. Mr. Kian, I have found a professional team and chip development is more stable. If I have time I want to meet you. Then Chia Yushuen. Today along with the teacher, I went to arrange the things stored at the museum and discovered that there were also Cha Cha and Lin Sin. I finished filming so I was preparing to go home. Before I left, I wanted to see you. You panicked. What the hell? Why are there so many messages? I haven't read the messages for just a day. Then I scratched my head sadly. Before it was all me texting girls. They didn't even reply. Now on the contrary. There are so many girls rushing around and it's miserable. How can you find so much time to talk to them? Suddenly a text message caught his eye. Mr. Kian, the car you ordered today has arrived. When can I give it to you? He sighed and sighed. Ah, oh, I've been so busy lately that I forgot about this. But now I still haven't saved enough money for the car. He texted back. It's been hard. I can pick up the car myself. He touched his chin and checked the schedule. There was nothing going on in the afternoon. Go there too. See if the car is as beautiful as in the photo. The day of the auto show Yan Jiang. The congress was held extremely big and magnificent. Each car had its own consultant on duty. Lin Sin leisurely walked and looked. The auto show is really big. President Chen is a thief cunning. I came to pick up the car. He conveniently used my car as a display item. Many luxury cars have not been given real names. By the way, it was my first time going to a car show. You observed the guests came to visit and exclaimed. Heaven forbid, there were also quite a few foreigners. A girl exclaimed. Boss Steven is here. Behind Steven were Che Meng Yun and Zhu Kun. Zhu Kun asked with concern. 
Che Meng Yun are you thirsty? I'll get you some water. She replied indifferently, not thirsty. He asked again, so are you hungry? I'll get you some food. She didn't care and answered casually, not hungry either. On the other side Mr. Stephen is listening to the report. Boss Stephen, today's business is not bad. Sold out. A waiter brought water to him. Do you want any drinks? He replied, no need. Thank you. Lin please call me by the way. Give me a cup of cola. The waiter's eyes looked at you not very well. You didn't care to take a sip. So refreshing. I didn't expect the car show there's also food and drinks. His vision collided with the ice cream counter. Mom, there was also free ice cream. And it was H.A. Agendas. Outside they were sold for 30 yuan a box. Then he happily came to call. Beautiful girl, give me an ice cream. The female employee criticized openly. This poor and ugly guy also ran to the car show. The short-haired girl smiled and replied. Really I'm so embarrassed. The ice cream has already been distributed. Hearing that, he regretfully left. Oh, it would have been nice if I came a little earlier. But right after you was a young foreigner arriving. Do you still have ice cream? The other two employees immediately turned over faster than flipping rice paper. Yes, yes, yes. The spoon is on the box. Please use it slowly. The foreigners left when three girls came. It was haagen -Dazs. Give me a portion. Those two turned around like Hollywood actress. Sorry miss. It's over. The lady in the pink dress left. Ah, oh, what a pity. The smiles on the two waitresses' faces seemed very satisfied. Lin Sin couldn't stand it anymore so she intervened. Wait a minute. He annoyedly questioned. Told me and these three girls. That we were out of ice cream. The foreigner just now. You said again. So what? This ice cream of yours is to judge others by their appearance. The three girls immediately exclaimed. Huh, there's also this. It's true. You see those two foreigners both had ice cream to eat. The girl from before was so tense. What is this all about? Two waitresses smiled awkwardly. Sorry, this is a limited quantity per day. Only provided to a few special customers. His mouth said so but in his heart he felt. It's so annoying. Lin Sin didn't just reply. Special customers are only people from outside the country. She was speechless right away. You repeat. Do you still have ice cream? Give us some. She still stubbornly said. It's so embarrassing. Just now it was the last part. It's over. You asked. I don't believe it. You open the trunk for me to see. The drama is so intense that it caught Stephen's attention. Who is making noise in my exhibition area? Zhu Kun said proactively. Mr. Stephen. It's these Chinese people who are causing trouble. I'll go solve it. He left and deliberately added more. Che Meng Yun is also worried that your brother President Chen's business will be affected. Don't be afraid. I'm here. Che Meng Yun doesn't care. This guy Zhu Kun is so annoying. If it weren't for his cooperative relationship with his brother, I really wouldn't want to pay attention to you. Ta. Zhu Kun walked over and asked. Hey, what's the noise? The female employee called. Manager Zhu. Lin Sin explained. Huh, are you the one in charge here? Just in time, these two waiters only giving ice cream to foreigners. People from our country are not qualified to eat it. Who would have thought that the answer he received was not what he thought? What's the problem? Foreigners have money. You don't. Why? Someone like you who specializes in car exhibitions, eats and drinks at temples, still has the face to be here causing trouble. These people are perched with a bit of seawater and thought they were high-class seafood. He replied, causing you're disappointed. I came here to pick up the car. The other three people immediately hugged their stomachs and burst out laughing. You don't understand. What's so funny? Zhu Kun has eyes and can't see Mount Tai Sun. Moving his mouth away. A poor and ugly guy like you. Take a car. Get a car worth 60 yuan. Don't even write a lie. In the Yan Jiang car exhibition there is no car worth less than 1000.000. Understand? The fragrant smell of drama attracted many people. What's wrong? What's so noisy over there? The other person replied. This person seems to be a poor and ugly guy who mixed in here to eat and cause trouble. People heard it right away. The judge was green. Mom, what kind of qualities is that? Quickly kick him out. Zhu Kun asked again. What's wrong? Why are you still standing there? Your skin is really thick. At this time Lin Sin pulled something out. Well, finally found it. The thing President Chen gave me this morning. He gently took out the black card. Everyone immediately turned their faces 180 degrees. I, I didn't see wrong. 
This is a full fire VIP card with only 5 cards from the Yan Jiang Auto Show. A full fire VIP card that people must have spent more than 100.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.00.
some people took the opportunity to get acquainted. I am the company that consumes Jian Bian. Others interrupted. Mr. Too Poor, long time admirer, I'm. At this time, Zhu Kun couldn't do anything but run away to tell Stephen. Mr. Stephen, I'm sorry, this problem was originally very easy to solve. But I didn't expect that the other person was Mr. Too Poor. The rich man, the second generation has been very popular lately. This guy has a little money and is boastful. Likes to go everywhere causing trouble. Definitely an anti-social guy. He pointed at Lin Sin who had put the thing to boil. This time it must have been intentional. Came to cause trouble, affecting the sales of our Bao Mu cars. Stephen replied, Okay, I'll go deal with him. He approached and asked, Mr. Too Poor, right. Then he crossed his arms and arrogantly asked, I'm Stephen, I heard that Mr. Too Poor is extremely rich. Spends money like water, why do I feel a bit fake? I smell the stench of a Ponzi scheme somewhere. Lin Sin wondered in bewilderment. Huh, what is a Ponzi model? Che Meng Yun explains. Mr. Lin Sin, a Ponzi model is a scam originating from abroad. Basically it is a white wolf's bare hands. Tricking investors. You use besides his face. It turns out that you foreigners invented it. Da Fan immediately raised his eyebrows. The biggest feature of the Ponzi model is that the fraudster is very superior. Always has the feeling of being present in upper class and act very generously. The main purpose is to trick more and more rich people to invest. Isn't this what you always do? Public opinion is manipulated after hearing what he says. It seems like he's saying that's quite true. Many times I looked for him to invest. Other people were also hesitant. It was scary. I almost went public. It turned out Mr. Too Poor was a scammer. Che Meng Yun spoke out against it. Stephen, do you have proof? If not, then shut your mouth. Old man, he hasn't seen the coffin yet and hasn't shed a tear yet. So does he have proof to prove that he's not a fraud? Lin Sin contempt I usually yawn and sleep. What about this? I'm so sleepy now. Go drink a cup of peanuts to wake me up. He wouldn't let you go so easily. These three girls are the ones you came to use as a background. Right, excited. Cooperate with each other. The cool girl from before exclaimed. No one did anything. No one touched anything. Da Fan threatened. If you don't honestly hand it over, I will call security. The river wants to be quiet. The wind never stopped. He raised his voice. Is it Stephen? He decided to follow him. Congratulated him on successfully returning to the lost box. Let me play with him. Che Meng Yun also chimed in behind. Unable to do anything, Lin Sin immediately went to bully the family's daughter. People, old people shouldn't be rude. So Fan, do it now, won't you run away? It's very simple, just prove that you have more money than me. I will believe you, but if you lose then announce it to me. The whole city you are a scammer. Che Meng Yun exclaimed indignantly. Mister, a few curious people are very interested. Mr. Stephen is one of the top five car dealers. Coming to Yan Jiang to advertise his business. New brand Bao Mu. Others laugh and bully people too much. Others speculate. This second generation rich guy can't have more money than Mr. Stephen. Lin Sin has pinned it. Okay okay, let's play what? So if you lose. You have to announce to the whole city of Yan Jiang that you are a businessman who specializes in bullying small people. Don't you dare to play. The conditions you proposed did indeed cause enough damage to him. Old man immediately crow loudly. You brat. You're arrogant enough. I'll make you fail miserably. Then point at a stranger. Hey, passerby, I'll give you a car worth 1.00.00. Young man will enjoy it. I'm so confused. Really, thank you Mr. Stephen. He arrogantly challenged, Mr. Too Poor, do you dare to play? Che Meng Yun shouted, this is not fair, you are the company director. The cars this was originally yours. The bossy old man approached, these cars are really the goods I paid for. Is there a problem, or Mr. Too Poor doesn't have the money to buy them? You're angry at yourself, Mr. You patted her head, it's okay Che Meng Yun. Then generously raised his hand. President Chen's 2.00.00 supercar at the exhibition is not bad. These three girls, each one to comfort the bullied spirit of them. The employee shouted, successful purchase, total 6.00.00 yuan. Viewers were surprised, the whole pot was really wasted. Directly paid in full, face didn't even change color. What a waste, doubting their resources Mr. Too Poor. I have never doubted before.
The three girls came and bowed. Oh my god, thank you Mr. Too Poor. This gift is so precious. We don't know how to thank you. He replied, don't take it to heart. Isn't it an exam? Can't lose to that foreigner. Che Meng Yun rested her head on his shoulder. Lin Sin is so stylish. I know you're not average. Usually, he waved his hand. Spend it like this and see how many cars you can buy. I'll give a car to that passerby. Do you still dare to compare? Lin Sin calmly asked. This, this R, this. The total amount deducted continuously increases. Minus 1.200.000. Minus 2.500.000. Minus 1.600.000. Minus 3.000.000. Minus 1.600.000. Minus 3.200.000. Zhu Kun nervously ran over to whisper. Mr. Stephen, we have given away all the cars worth 1.000.000 or more. Except for the first two. We actually gave away everything to Passesby. We have already lost several thousand thousand. He knows he is about to die. I really ran out of money. How is that possible? Every time he gives me a car two or three times more than I do. And he still pays it all off. Can't he use his money forever? You took the opportunity to tease him. Mr. Drip, why did you stop? Is it because the warehouse ran out of cars or the card ran out of money? So he played with you to death. Before, before that, it was all a small battle. I admit that this scammer has swindled a lot of money. He can spend it so wastefully but I will give him a Lamborghini. The Global Limited Edition LP74 is worth 4.000.000 yuan. Even if you have money, you can't buy it. How are you going to compare? You're so contemptuous that you don't even glance at it. Is that so? He saw you leaving and loudly strangled himself. What do you think? Do you want to run? If you can't find a limited edition luxury car, then you've lost. Che Meng Yun objected. Stephen, don't be grumpy. Lin Sin spent a lot of money just now. Better than him. He wanted to change the rules of the game. Put his pants on his head to avoid humiliation. The old man boldly said. Originally as long as he offered the same price as me. What does it have to do with him liking to spend a lot? Me. If you don't get a car. Then pay more. A lot of money is just cheating people to get it. Quickly find the authority to investigate him. The person next to him nodded. That's right. Mr. Too Poor is a loser okay. No need to compare anymore. Scammers can get the limited edition right away. At this time Lin Sin spoke up. Limited edition. Is it just this? The short-haired girl immediately ovulated. What? That is the ideal Rolls Royce car. Ghost. Old man de fan holding his head. This is only for exhibition. Not for sale. The person next to commented. Lin Sin pressed the self-destruct button. He replied without hesitation. Thank you. He laughed with tears in his eyes. The good drama is over. You should kneel down and admit that you are Mr. Two Paws fraudster. The old man was talking. Many people were watching. No need to pretend. Not finished speaking then President Chen ran over and smiled happily. Mr. Two Paw. Mr. Two Paw is here. Why don't you give me a shout so I can come pick you up? The people around shouted. President Chen. He holds your hand. Mr. Two Paw. This is the Phantom Rolls Royce that you ordered. Without your consent I placed it in the exhibition area to attract customers. I hope you don't notice. Now you want to try the car. Old man does suddenly bleeding from his mouth. A young man cried out. What? President Chen is right. This is his car. You don't even bother to look at Che Meng Yun. There's no need to try anymore. I believe you. Swipe the card. I gave this car to Che Meng Yun. She blushed and looked at him. The notification sound rang. The toll was collected successfully. Having collected 80.000.000, Stephen heard it and his internal injuries spurted out blood. He shouted in a daze. What? The people eating melons also had an explosion. Everyone held their heads in terror and cried out. That car. Stephen's is nothing compared to this. 8.000 thousand. More expensive than Stephen's limited car. Even more exaggerated is that such a car is said to be a gift. If someone gives me such a car, I volunteer to call him dad. Che Meng Yun gently hugged Lin Sin's neck, then kissed him on the cheek. President Chen looked at the two of them, then scratched his head and asked foolishly, Mr. Too Poor, he said really, really gave it to my sister. Che Meng Yun's eyes looked at him with trepidation. She gently said, Mr. Lin Sin, you are so kind. He awkwardly coughed twice, coughed, 
then changed the subject pay attention to Stephen. What are you talking about? Why are you standing there? Keep fighting, seeing that you still want to continue playing. He quickly bowed his head and admitted defeat. I, I lost. Hearing that, you don't force him, I'm just reminding you, so if you're willing to play, hurry up. His whole body began to tremble, secretly regretting, I was wrong, this guy is not a scammer but actually has money, spending so much without even blinking, really, I don't dare to imagine how strong the background behind it is. Scary, too scary, then, before the eyes of so many people, he trembled and opened his mouth to say, I, I was wrong, I dared to doubt Mr. Two Paws' identity, Lin Sin looked at him displeased, said the point, knowing I can't escape this fate, so he clenched his teeth and shouted, I am a dirty-minded capitalist, seeing that China was easy to repress and make money, I deliberately came to make money from the people, I am here, integrity, Passersby were immediately angry and shouted, each other scolded him, damn this foreigner, your mother will pay, support domestic products, never buy Bao Mu cars again, seeing him being so obedient, Lin Sin was tired of playing so he said, Okay, go away, he quickly replied, yes, I thought this would be the end of this matter, but who would have thought that the people would suddenly get agitated? They were like bees in a hive, scolding him and Zhu Kun, don't think it's that easy to get away, arrest him, this manager is also an obedient dog, return all the cars, still have to arrest him, compensate for the mental damage doubled, Stephen turned pale, risked his life and ran away, don't come here, on this side. Some people took the opportunity to surround Lin Sin. They both praised and drew closer relationships with him. Thank you Mr. Too Poor for helping us see the foreigner's face clearly. Is Mr. Too Poor missing jewelry? Mr. Too Poor is so cool. He helped us vent our anger. At this moment, suddenly my phone rang. He vibrated. He immediately went to the corner to answer the phone. Hello, Che Meng Yun was alone in deep thought. Mr. Lin Sin is so attractive. Even though it's our first time meeting, I really want to, thinking of this, her cheeks immediately turned pink. Then she said in a sweet voice, Mr. Lin Sin, I want to go on a date with you. She suddenly fell silent, because the person who should have been standing next to her was nowhere to be seen. She shouted in confusion, where was he? A kind person immediately pointed it out to her. He answered the phone and ran away. In that direction, she suddenly felt at a loss. Just now there was such a good opportunity. I shouldn't have hesitated, angry to death. Then she watched her brother become a punching bag and punched him. President Chen shouted in shock. Why hit him? At this time, Lin Sin had already left the exhibition room. Seeing you, Yun Bo was leaning against the car and waved. Mr. Too Poor. Here, he looked over, his tongue smooth and said. Yun Bo, I haven't seen you in a few days and you look so beautiful. She couldn't help but blush. Really, really, she secretly wondered, it's strange, other men complimented me on being beautiful and I found it offensive. Mr. Too Poor complimented me back, making me a little happy. The system displayed a notification, favorability plus 2%. Lin Sin shyly scratched his head and said to her, it's so embarrassing, the school requires us fourth year students to do internships. I can only trouble you to help me find a company. She quickly replied, no problem. So everyone else thinks that Mr. Too Poor has so much money that he doesn't need to earn these internship points. But I understand you, you are definitely like me, not agreeing to take over the family business but want to build a new career for yourself. That's why he went to practice to practice. Hearing that, on the outside he smiled brightly and followed her. Yes yes yes, but in his heart he thought, mainly that if he lacked this little point he wouldn't be able to graduate. The two of them quickly get in the car and continue chatting. Yun Bo said his plan. Mr. Too Poor, I will arrange for you a director position. Monthly salary of 600.000, plus five assistants. Lin Sin quickly refused. No, no, no. Lower, it's okay for an employee with a monthly salary of 5.000. She immediately agreed. Okay, worthy of being Mr. Too Poor. The next day, at a luxury building, in the office. A few female employees stood together gossiping. What did they hear? Among the new employees who arrived today, there was one who was arranged by the general manager. Wow, so we have to take advantage of this to strengthen our relationship. In the future I can advance one step further, hopefully become a handsome guy. At this moment, 
Team leader Yu Wu appeared to inform everyone. The manager is here. Quickly return to your position. A female employee looked the way she dressed. Then whispered to the person next to her. You see, Yu Wu is dressed especially hot today. Yu Wu glanced around disdainfully. A group of ugly people dreaming in the middle of the day. There was what am I doing here? It's your turn. Finally the manager came. He even brought two guys and introduced them. Everyone pay attention. These two are new colleagues. Come on, introduce yourself. A person wearing an elegant jacket. Wearing a dazzling gold watch. Stroking his hair to create a look said. Hello everyone, I'm Zhu Wenmang. The other person is Lin Sin. He said friendly. Hello everyone, I is Lin Sin. A fourth year student at Yan Jiang University. Yu Wu quickly concluded. One is a poor student. The other wears a Rolex. You can tell by looking that Zhu Wenmang is the general manager who arranged. The manager and Zhu Wenmang looked smiling meaningfully at each other. He thought to himself, Son, don't worry, the only person officially transferred this month must be you. Unfortunately, the company does not allow relatives to live in the same department. So it has to be done. A little humble. A moment later, Yu Wu brought a stack of documents and threw them on Lin Sin's desk and said, New guy, this is your job today. You didn't ask much but just replied. Yes. After that, she gently placed a thin file on Zhu Wenmang's desk. Then gently said to him, Zhu Wenmang, this is your business today. Lin Sin couldn't help but be surprised when he saw it. At this time, he asked her suspiciously, Wait a minute, team leader, why is my workload several times greater than Zhu Wenmang? She immediately became annoyed. I'm the team leader, you're the team member who has to follow orders. There's a problem what? Are you doubting my decision? Hearing that, he decided not to argue with her anymore. Okay, but in his heart he still lamented. Working as a hired worker is not easy. The first day was watched light. And Yu Wu glanced at him contemptuously, not looking back at what kind of poor person she was. Unfortunately, I am the bright moonlight that you can never reach. Then she walked next to Zhu Wenmang and said, Zhu Wenmang, if you don't understand anything, you can come and ask me. He held the documents in his hand, pushed the boat along and said, Team leader, I don't quite understand this part. She deliberately leaned closer to him and asked, Where anyway? He was interested in observing her at close range. This woman was okay, still very hot. Time gradually passed. In the blink of an eye it was already 6 p.m. Lin Sin took the stack of documents and handed them to Yu Wu. The team leader, the work was done, making her startled and surprised. She quickly opened it and looked even more frightened. The progress of completing the report was too bad. Cow, why is he so powerful? Thinking of this, she narrowed her eyes calculatingly. Then, she suddenly brought that stack of documents to Zhu Wenmang's place, smiling brightly and said, Zhu Wenmang, these I've finished helping you with this job. You give it to the manager to sign. He quickly takes it. Okay, thank you team leader. Lin Sin immediately fell backwards at their brazenness. He questioned loudly Yu Wu. What do you mean by this? The work I completed. He takes all the credit. But she's too old to be reasonable. A college student like you who hasn't even graduated yet should practice more. Many people don't even have this opportunity. He smiled faintly and asked. You're really skilled at this kind of brainwashing talk. Aren't you afraid of the director knowing? She retorted sarcastically. It's so funny. He still wanted to meet the director. He was too lazy to deal with this type of thing. So he turned around and left and said, Okay, I hope she can always maintain this stubborn and arrogant appearance. A moment later, Zhu Wenmang and Yu Wu left the company together. On the way, he flatteringly said, Team leader, today it's all thanks to you. My official status is solid. She said gently, Being polite to me what's the point? Just call me Yu Wu. He immediately complied with her. Yu Wu, can you have dinner with me? She covered her mouth and smiled shyly. This rich husband is 9 out of 10. Zhu Wenmang instructed. I'll go get the car. You're here waiting for me. Then quickly leave. At this moment, Lin Sin was leisurely getting off work. Suddenly he saw Yu Wu stood next to his car and lamented. It was so unlucky. Why did she always stand right next to my car? He approached and said. Please give up. She immediately turned to look at him. After there. She arrogantly turned around and walked away. I knew it right away. Just now, in the company, she argued with me in front of so many people because of her dignity. Now, 
she took the opportunity to run over and talk to me when there was no one around. I, Lin Sin, am speechless. She's still talking non-stop. You don't even look at your own appearance. A toad wants to eat swan meat. It's really ridiculous. I admit, you do have some ability. But it's a pity it's still an undergraduate student. She also helped him analyze his situation. Without money or support. In today's world there is no advantage. He's suddenly feeling embarrassed for her. I think she misunderstood. But she acted like she didn't hear. Continuing to compose herself. Want to be a spare tire. Sorry, you haven't reached my standard of being a spare tire. So tired of this crazy lady. He immediately pushed her away and walked to his car. Get out of the way. She was blocking my way to get the car. This action successfully made her stunned into silence. Suddenly a car horn sounded. Zhu Wenmang drove a red car back. He saw Lin Sin and said, Lin Sin, why are you driving this tattered car? Yu Wu immediately took the opportunity to regain his dignity. Like this let's go. I just found out that Zhu Wenmang is driving me to eat. Maybe I can give you a lift for a while. This is a rare opportunity to ride in a luxurious car. He immediately followed her. If Yu Wu said so, then I can give you a ride. Even though they acted like they had money. You still calmly sat on your motorbike. Making them confused. Then he suddenly accelerated and ran away. Yu Wu was startled and quickly turned to avoid it. But unfortunately she slipped. So she fell face down on the ground. Screaming loudly ah. Zhu Wenmang quickly got out of the car to help her up. Yu Wu. Are you okay? She angrily scolded. It's okay. That bastard. He immediately said. Hum. He's jealous of me. Stop it. But he even vented his anger on his sister. I can't forgive him. Yu Wu worriedly took out the mirror. Looked at it and scolded him. What a pitiful man. He didn't have me so he wanted to destroy me. It's disgusting. You I painfully touched my million dollar nose. Secretly feeling bitter. My 120.00 million nose. I must chase him away. At this time, Lin Sin was in a very good mood and thought. Just let the male dogs this woman dances for two more days. The more arrogant she is, the more painful it will be when she falls. The next day, Yu Wu comes to make things difficult for you again. Lin Sin, buy coffee for all colleagues in the department. Now immediately bought it. He was suspicious and asked her again. Why did she ask me to buy it? She immediately said it was natural. It's a rule for new people to buy coffee for their colleagues. Hearing that he immediately pointed at Zhu Wenmang and asked. Oh, so why doesn't Zhu Wenmang buy it? She started to lose patience. Today you buy, tomorrow he will buy, is there still a problem? Zhu Wenmang also interjected a few words. A student is a student, doesn't know anything about society, only knows how to study, doesn't understand human situations at all. Now the team leader is giving him a chance. Or is it saying that he doesn't want to have a good relationship with his colleagues at all? When the people around heard that, they looked at him dissatisfiedly. He looked at them and spoke meaningfully. Is that so? You two are really nice. Zhu Wenmang suddenly walked over and put his hands on his chair and said. Lin Sin, don't be acting weird in front of me. Then he suddenly lowered his voice and threatened. There's someone above me. After you finish your internship, it's up to me to decide whether you can stay or not. After hearing that, he immediately turned his nose in contempt usually. Oh, oh, oh what happens after that? He thought to himself. After finishing the internship, I already have enough graduation points. Who wants to stay here to work? He smirked and said, If you were my little brother then I can think of a way for you to stay here. Yu Wu immediately said, Zhu Wenmang, you treat him so well. Lin Sin, why don't you quickly say thank you? He suddenly smiled mysteriously, with deep meaning. Zar said, I think he should say thank you to me. The other two were startled and surprised when they heard it. His voice was full of provocation. I was your little brother. I was afraid your life would be ruined. That's why I advise him to give up this thought. He won't even be able to thank me soon. Zhu Wenmang immediately got mad and pointed at him and shouted. What are you talking about? He said lightly. I'm right. I'm a student so I don't have money. Then you preemptively attacked him. But waited for the salary to be paid. After finishing, I will definitely invite everyone to drink coffee. So this time let Zhu Wenmang buy it first. Zhu Wenmang has so much money, let alone a part. Even people in the entire company can invite it. Is that right? Hearing that, he couldn't help but answer nervously. Well, the whole company has at most 1,000 people. 
of course I can invite. I'm not you, he smiled and looked at him, then I want a cup of mocha, thank you, he was immediately angry, Mr. Yu Wu quickly put his arm around to block him, thank you Zhu Wenmang, only a generous person like you can make friends, unlike someone who just poor and did not understand the etiquette in the office. The surrounding colleagues also followed suit. Thank you Mr. Zhu Wenmang. The team leader was right. Satisfying his lust for vanity. His voice also softened. Thank you everyone. It is my honor to be able to buy you coffee. Lin Sin took the opportunity to say another sentence. That's good. Too bad. From now on all the coffee was covered by you. His heart immediately contracted. Good news he saw his father. The two of them exchanged glances. He secretly whispered. Dad. This kid is bullying me. He nodded to show he understood. Reassured. He also nodded as if responding. He suddenly spoke. Everyone paid attention. There was a big project. Everyone was immediately attracted to him. The manager is here. Order is gone. He stood in the middle of the office and announced that he had just received an item of 8.00 thousand. But they requested that the plan be delivered within three days. Whoever's plan is approved is usually 80.00. The time is urgent. The task is important. Everyone quickly divided into groups and made plans. Paying attention when choosing members. They must be people who know how to unite. Everyone immediately shouted enthusiastically. Yes. Then they quickly divided into groups. Group A included Yu Wu and Zhu Wenmang. Then Group B. Group C also quickly was quickly established. In the end only Lin Sin was left alone. Some people couldn't help but mock him. No one wanted to group with Lin Sin but you smile like it's nothing. That's fine. Is there a problem? Zhu Wenmang proudly left. You just go ahead and be arrogant. Let's see how many days you can still smile. Lunchtime. Lin Sin was busy eating alone, while he and Yu Wu were still focused on discussing the project. Blinking his eyes, it was time to get off work. He leisurely stood up to leave, and his colleagues around him had headaches and worked overtime. For this important project, Three days later, he looked at the commercial plan of Prosperous City Central Park on the computer screen, happily snapped his fingers, and finished, with level 3 mental attributes. He did it, this plan is as simple as nothing. Seeing him sitting there humming and loving life, Yu Wu couldn't help but be curious. He hasn't worked overtime in three days, and the meeting starts in an hour, so why is he still comfortable? With bangs like that, Zhu Wenmang said contemptuously, looking at his appearance, he must be lazy, there's nothing difficult to understand. However, when Lin Sin stood up to go to the bathroom, Yu Wu still walked to his table sneak a look. Then she opened her eyes wide and stared at the content on the computer. This, Zhu Wenmang was puzzled by her reaction. What's wrong? She replied in awe, his plan was very professional. The product positioning was very precise and the added perspective was also very fresh. She also added, better than the plan of our three groups. How can this really be done in three days? He heard that and said loudly, what? He must have paid for it. Hire someone to do it. She was sweating nervously and interrupted him. This is not important. The meeting is about to happen. Absolutely cannot let him do the report. At this moment, Lin Sin turned around and saw her standing right at his desk. He asked, team leader, what was going on, she quickly made an excuse to send him away, there was almost half an hour left for the report to start, and he was the only one free in the entire department, you go to the meeting room to clean up and prepare a bit, you coldly replied, oh, then turned around and left, Yu Wu looked at his back, silently plotting, Lin Sin, we are happy to accept this plan of yours, a moment later, in meeting room B Zhu Wenmang loudly presented, the pod urban space development model, increasingly prosperous, towards ecological infrastructure such as parks, water systems, mountains and hills. Man the image quickly shows a fresh ecological model. He continues to speak out. This model can help promote new consumption. New consumption hotspots of education, making surrounding areas level up. At the end, he suddenly saw a line of text on the screen. This sincere park project, the future scene is hard to predict. The person who worked on the project, Lin Sin, scared him to death. He quickly grabbed the thing that made him click back to the previous page. Seeing that no one was paying attention to his actions, he couldn't help but feel relieved. Oh shit, so dangerous. Fortunately no one saw. A man wearing glasses he praised the manager. Very good, 
Very good. This plan is much better than other plans. This employee of yours has a lot of potential. He couldn't help but laugh. It's too much praise. Director Zhang is satisfied with this project. It's good. Zhu Wenmang pretended to be shy and used the method of showing off his talent. After all, I graduated from Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT. I must have the ability worthy of the school. Yu Wu immediately clapped his hands and flattered him. Wow, Zhu Wenmang, so you have such high academic ability. So good, Director Zhang said extremely satisfied. So he is a talented student at Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT. With I have no idea about making any changes to this perfect plan. Hearing that, the manager immediately looked at his beloved son with pride. It was a success. Son, well done. Then he stood up suggestion. If that's the case, then this contract can be signed. Right, Director Zhang quickly replied. No problem. His face was filled with ambition. Thinking, if this contract is in hand, then I will be promoted to the next level. The director is also simple. Director Zhang took the pen and prepared to sign. Zhu Wenmang only felt his whole body boiling. The reward is 800.000. I can pay the last part of Rolex. Yu Wu secretly planned. Me and Zhu Wenmang divided equally. Can get 400.000. Immediately go buy Chanel's new spring bag collection. At this critical moment, Lin Sin suddenly pushed the door in. Stealing my plan. Other people, you are really shameless. The owner immediately exclaimed in surprise. Lin Sin, seeing you appear, Zhu Wenmang nervously signaled for help. Dad, quickly kicked Lin Sin out. He immediately scolded him angrily. Being rude, you dared to be late to such an important meeting, and even came to cause trouble while signing the contract. Get out of here, don't think that getting out will be the end of the matter. After signing the contract, I will settle the account with you. You calmly retort to him. Are you late? If you hadn't tricked me into going to meeting room A the one who signed the contract now would be me. Right. Next then he looked at the two thieves with a serious face and asked. Yu Wu, Zhu Wenmang, you two stole my plan without daring to admit it. The manager quickly shouted loudly. That intern should shut up for me. Director Zhang looked at him suspiciously. What was he talking about? But he ignored him and accused him. Everyone could see the leader's ability. Did he have to steal his plan? Dare to slander him. For colleagues. Immediately pack up and leave here immediately. Lin Sin decisively walked past him and asked Zhu Wenmang. Zhu Wenmang, do you dare to open the 11th page to show everyone who signed it? He was immediately scared stepping back in fear. Weakly protesting. Why did I have to open that page? Seeing that the situation was not good. Yu Wu immediately changed the white to black and said. Everyone listen to me. The story is like this. That day when I had a meeting to discuss the plan with everyone. Lin Sin naturally said something that was a bit constructive. So I wrote it down. And wrote this plan as his name. Then she strongly questioned him. This is considered to have given you face. You want to use this as evidence to say we stole your plan. Hearing that, the surrounding couldn't help but stir. Lin Sin. He's been off work for the past three days. On time. I haven't seen him working overtime a day. Who would believe that he could come up with such a good plan? Who would have believed that he was not only lazy but also wanted to steal the results that his colleagues worked hard for? Lin Sin smiled coldly. I can't help but say that the team leader does have some talent for dealing with emergencies. But it could be made up. But my computer still has a few draft plans. Team leader Wu will handle it like this. She was immediately speechless. At this moment, the manager suddenly smirked evilly. Then suddenly he shouted in panic. My watch is gone. Everyone immediately turned their attention to his side. He pointed at Lin Sin and asked. Lin Sin, are you the thief? Then he gave the order. Went to his seat to search. Zhu Wenmang did not say a word but walked very confidently. Go, without forgetting to answer. Yes, manager. In just a moment, he held up the Rolex watch and shouted loudly. Found it at Lin Sin's place. Sure enough it was stolen by him. Lin Sin looked at him coldly, diverting attention to the matter. You guys know how to play. The manager and Zhu Wenmang smiled deeply. He thought he was sure of it. His reaction was quite good. While he and Yu Wu were talking, he went up and took off his watch. Then asked Zhu Wenmang to pretend to look for him. But even if I guessed it, it would be of no use. Thinking so, he immediately put on a smug look and said, The evidence is clear to you. What else can you resist? 
but because I'm a good person, if you kneel down and beg me, I won't report to the police. But dismissal is inevitable. The employees who were led by him are still before he was satisfied. He scolded him repeatedly. The manager could not be merciful and had to report to the police and impose a fine. It was too scary to have this kind of person as his partner. Who knew when something would be stolen? Where? Lin Sin clenched his hands and endured to listen to everything. His face was gloomy. His eyes narrowed giving off a dangerous look. The owner shouted as the water encroached on him. Don't go away. Right. Okay. Protect. Pulled this person out. The two security guards immediately obeyed and quickly rushed towards him. Yes. Manager. Suddenly an angry voice rang out. Stop. The two security guards immediately froze and stopped moving. I saw the staff standing in two rows behind me, making way for a short-haired girl to come forward. One person recognized her and immediately exclaimed in surprise. She was the director's secretary. She stopped in front of the manager. He immediately bowed and asked, Why are you here? She didn't say anything, but leaned over to let Yun Bo appear. When he saw her, he couldn't help but shout in surprise. Up, director. Then he changed his flattering tone and said, Oh my god, why did the director come without saying a word? Let me have someone greet him. The secretary annoyedly corrected him. When do you want to come? At that time, he quickly followed suit. Yes, look what I said. Then he suddenly raised his voice and ordered the staff. Quickly bring the chair here. You, quickly go make my Tai Ho Longjing tea. On this side, director Zhang approached and wanted to talk to Yun Bo. The boss thought to say hello. I'm from Maisheng Real Estate Development Company. It's an honor to meet the boss. But she ignored him, went straight to Lin Sin. The secretary immediately answered him for her. Sorry, now the director still has something to deal with. On the other side, the manager had prepared everything, smiling brightly and inviting her. Director, the tea has finished brewing. Please sit down and say that I just negotiated a large project of 8.00.00 with boss Zhang, and I'm about to inform the boss. But surprisingly, Yun Bo invited Lin Sin to sit down on the chair. She even brought him tea herself, invited him to sit and drink tea. He calmly replied, Um, all the people who witnessed this scene turned grey. He pretended not to see and whispered. The tea was hot too much. Yun Bo quickly said worriedly, Sorry, let me blow. Then, she actually picked up the cup of tea and gently blew it for him. The people giving him trouble were like seeing lightning strike in the clear sky. They gasped, mouth full of horror. Huh, what's going on? Am I still dreaming? The staff also exclaimed with eyes wide open. I'm not dizzy, right? No matter how scared they were. Yun Bo still asked him gently like water. This warmth should be fine. He took a sip and said with satisfaction. It's just right. Thank you. She said softly. You go ahead and drink the tea. I'll handle this matter. Then she silently signaled the secretary. She nodded. She walked up to the manager and raised her voice to question. Zhu Daji, do you know where you went wrong? He stammered in panic. I I Lin Sin, he is the person appointed by the manager. At this time, suddenly an employee came with a stack of papers and respectfully said to her. Secretary, I found it. She immediately threw that stack of papers directly at Dai Chi. This is the copy. The draft plan was found at Lin Sin's place. See it for yourself. He obediently took a look then knelt down with a smile on his face. The plan. It was Lin Sin's doing. I blamed him. Employee hearing that. I was suddenly surprised. The secretary slowly listed the good things he had done. Colluding and colluding with subordinates to appropriate the fruits of others' labor. Taking advantage of his position to taking care of Yu Wu's subordinate. Promoting the uneducated Yu Wu to team leader will affect the department's performance. Zhu Daji and Yu Wu's faces are bloodless. Zhu Wenmang's expression is also unique. No less. The secretary continued to say. Violating the company's rules. Secretly bringing his son into the department. You did a lot of things behind the company's back. Right. This sudden turn of the car surprised everyone. What? All of this was done by the owner. She slowly added another sentence. Now. You offended Mr. Kian. Your luck I finished. His brain froze and couldn't load. He asked again in confusion. Wait. Boss. Mr. Keon, she kindly explained to him. Mr. Keon, who invested 500 million into the company, now the largest shareholder, is Lin Sin. The other three people sounded like lightning struck their ears. Blood and tears of sadness flowed in a stream. How? 
How could this be possible? It can't be, him, yet it was Mr. Keon. The secretary loudly announced the punishment for them. Zhu Daji, Yu Wu, Zhu Wenmang, expelled right here. He painfully scratched his hair and begged. Don't. Yu Wu's heart was frozen and he couldn't say anything. Zhu Wenmang looked at her viciously. Now he was completely engulfed by hatred. It was all because of this despicable woman. He grabbed her hand and said cruel. Despicable. She also has an ambiguous relationship with my father. She even came to the hotel with me. But she is not the average type. Immediately responded. What did you just say? I am the one. The one who suffered the most here. I thought you were the one arranged by the director. It turns out you are just the son of a manager. What are you pretending to be a rich second generation? Zhu Daji looked at them dumbfounded. Then he madly rushed over and grabbed her shirt. You scumbag. You even dare to seduce my son. Zhu Wenmang immediately punched him. Mom is working so hard at home. Dad is at the company. Flirting with his subordinates. He shouted in shock. Daring to hit me. This disobedient boy. He violently pulled Yu Wu's hair and cursed. And also this despicable woman. Die for me. And then he screamed at him. You dare to hit me. I will go tell your wife. There was no point in a melee. The secretary got angry and scolded. It was so noisy. The security guard dragged these three people away. The security guard immediately stepped forward and dragged him out. They all cried out helplessly. The staff knew very well which way the wind was going and hurriedly said, Mr. Keon, I'm sorry for my ignorance. It's all because of Zhu Daji who lied to us. I've been lying all along. Always disliked Yu Wu. Thank you Mr. Keon for venting your anger for me. I will always stand by Mr. Keon's side. Yan Bao asked you, Mr. Keon, are you satisfied with this result? You smiled slightly. Okay, go ahead let's do this. But when your company hires people in the future, pay attention and consider their character carefully. She suddenly said apologetically, before she wanted to let him be the director. But he didn't agree. Now that you're upset, I feel guilty. You laugh it off. I'm a person who likes to be modest. Daji and Yu Wu are struggling to scratch their hands on the ground and hear it but are speechless. Yan Bao dear the two of them walked and talked. Lin Sin, do you still remember what I said about finding a professional team? Their research has made great progress. Let me show you. He answered briefly. Okay, the employee who witnessed this scene muttered in disbelief. I didn't see wrong. The legendary strong female general manager also has a weak side. In Yan Bao's office, Lin Sin glanced around and exclaimed. Her office is so luxurious. She replied while typing on the computer. In fact, most of my time is spent at the engineering company. Technical. Haven't been here for a long time. Then she introduced to you. This is our latest achievement. He walked over and put his arms on her chair, then bent down to look intently at the computer screen. I didn't understand but found it very wonderful. Everything it's all numbers and codes and I don't know a single word. Then he happily took out his phone. In general, good job Yan Bao, I invested another 500 million in her. She couldn't help but look at him in shock. His hand quickly clicked to transfer 500 million. At the same time, the system suddenly displayed a notification favorability plus 10 percent she said with trepidation thank you i will definitely not disappoint you yes at this moment suddenly the chair she was sitting on shook a loud bang rang out she lost her voice and screamed looking at yan bao falling to the ground lin sin asked in confusion yan bao are you okay at this moment her whole body was stuck in the chair she awkwardly spoke mr keon i seem to be stuck I don't know why he suddenly thought of a cool image. A girl blonde girl wearing bodysuit was humming and singing. I'm doing laundry today. When she put the clothes in the washing machine, she was shocked to discover something. Oh no, oh no. Half of her body was stuck in the washing machine. She quickly asked for help. You and I are stuck. Just thinking about this made his heart feel restless. Stop, stop. Why do these thoughts appear in his head? Strange image. You awkwardly looking at Yan Bao. It's also my first time encountering something like this. What should I do now? It's urgent. At this moment she spoke miserably. Lin Sin, I can't move. Help me. You hurry I came closer. Grabbed her arms and pulled her up. I pulled her up. She immediately screamed. No, no, it hurts. He immediately said in confusion. Sorry, sorry. The secretary was standing outside the door and heard the movement inside and couldn't help but panic. 
She banged on the door and worriedly asked, Director, what's wrong? Do you need my help? What's wrong? Yan Bao immediately called out. No, I'm fine. She sat in the room sadly. If she saw this look of mine, the image I worked so hard to build would collapse. Seeing that Lin Sin immediately said softly, being a director is not easy. Let's do this. I will hug her on the sofa, change her position and maybe she can pull her out. She immediately agreed. Okay, I'm so sorry. You quickly wrapped his arms around her legs. Then he lifted both himself and the chair up, his mouth kindly asking if this hurts. Her heart pounding and shyly replied, it's fine. Next, he put her face down on the sofa again. Okay, she lies on her stomach. Lift her waist a little. I support her. She has a little patience. She blushes and does as he says. Then try to feel it a bit and say, well, in general, it's better than being stuck and not being able to get out. The secretary was secretly eavesdropping and immediately covered his mouth with a look of disbelief. The director is as brave as a man. Smart, talented, strong and proficient. Why, no, I must have been thinking wrongly. Lin Sin pulled the chair hard and finally got it out. He quickly asked, Yan Bao, are you okay? Yan Bao rubbed he rubbed his numb calf and replied in a mumbled voice. Thank you, looking at her sexy figure and her long white legs. He unconsciously swallowed his saliva. He quickly regained consciousness and helped her stand up. Kindly reminded her that her dress was torn. She said softly, it's okay, I have a dressing room. I'll go change into other clothes. A moment later, Yan Bao took Lin Sin to another room. As soon as the light turned on, he immediately saw two neatly arranged wardrobes. He couldn't help but blurt out, Oh my god, there is another room in the office. Changing clothes so lavishly, poverty has limited his imagination. Suddenly his eyes fell on a purple cotton dress. He immediately complimented, This dress is so beautiful. Yan Bao immediately looked over. Then she entered the dressing room and said, I'll change quickly, you wait for me. He briefly replied, Okay, but after Yan Bao went inside, he observantly discovered the ball. Her figure was printed on the door. It was like a slow motion movie, making it easy for him to see every move of her changing clothes. He couldn't help but be shocked. This. He suddenly had an idea. It was a good idea. When a gentleman encounters a situation like this, of course he has to take a chair and watch carefully. If he thought he would do it, he would actually take a chair and seriously sit and watch. But not long after, Yan Bao suddenly spoke asked, Lin Sin, are you there? He immediately felt guilty and answered nonsense. I didn't look, no, I did. She continued changing her clothes. I want to say my sincere thanks to you. In fact, my family did not approve of me starting a business. They all thought that my engineering company would fail. Only he believed in me unconditionally, not only investing one billion but also without any restrictions. Anything, so I can work comfortably. Her face is full of determination and hope. I swear, I will absolutely not let your investment fail. Lin Sin secretly thought to herself. I still wish you would fail. If your business prospers, you won't come to me asking for money anymore. Only when you lose money will I have a reason to invest more money. But on the outside he was still very gentlemanly and replied. It's okay, I don't care about money. If you want to repay me, just try to spend the money. Her movements stopped slightly trying to spend money, I understand, Lin Sin's meaning is, there is no need to save money, I want to spend a lot of resources to research and develop the chip industry, so that Hoa quickly escapes, from the oppression of America, this speculation made her feel that she was insignificant, that she had always only thought about money, and Lin Sin, so talented, this was her vision, the system displays a notification again, favorability plus 20%, Jiang Siyin's favorability increased by 52%. Lin Sin touches his chin I was so pleased with my thoughts that my affection suddenly increased a lot. As expected, trying to spend money is a romantic statement. At this time, Yan Bao had finished changing and walked out, wearing the dress that Lin Sin complimented when just now. The whole charming body sparkled and said, I finished changing, Lin Sin, can I invite you to dinner? Lin Sin blushed admiringly, oh, it's this dress. Jiang Shi Yan was extremely pleased with his expression. Shi Yan coldly asked the secretary to arrange a car to Ju Long Shan Hotel. The secretary replied, Yes, the director. Some employees saw Jiang Shi Yan wearing a sexy dress like that. 
I can't help but be surprised. Moreover, this is the outfit I just changed while talking to Lin Sin. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help but think that they were having an affair. The men saw their president being one when the other guy lost his racket. He was extremely depressed. On this side, Chairman Yan and Lin Sin were having a delicious dinner. Jiang Shi Yan opened his mouth. I've seen that plan before. It's so wonderful. I really can't believe this is your first time doing this job. Hey, Lin Sin replied humbly. It's okay. This project is relatively simple. Thanks to this humility, her favorability towards him increased by 15%. The favorability is now 77% already. That night, Chia Yushuan was taking a shower and also made a video call with his friend. Jiang Siyin's voice rang out from the phone. I really didn't expect that his working ability was so good. And he always kept calm and cool. Degree. Chia Yushuan was curious. So our arrogant president was finally moved. Chia Yushuan had just returned from dinner with him. She playfully replied, I don't know, but Yushuan. Don't you have to fly to Japan tomorrow? Why don't you go to bed early? What? Or maybe I went with my high school friends so I was so excited that I couldn't sleep. Chia Yushuan was so embarrassed that she became angry. What are you talking about? He and I are just normal classmates. Jiang Shi Yan continued to tease. A normal classmate would help you with such a big thing. Don't if you forget. It's like you've sold yourself to someone. Chia Yushuan angrily turned away and didn't want to talk anymore. Jiang Shi Yan just laughed and turned off the phone. Lin Sin went abroad. She suddenly felt like going on a date. Can move to another place. Kamida Kento is waiting for his assistant to report the amount of capital he has. According to this person's report, this amount of capital is enough for him to be able to buy anything he wants at the auction next week. Kamida is satisfied. So what about those arrogant Chinese people? Kao Jun said that person has already booked a plane ticket. Old Kamida heard this even more satisfied. If you dare to offend our Kamida consortium, first humiliate him at the auction, and then, let him stay here forever. Ten days later, sitting on the plane, Chia Yushuan suddenly saw the notification. Two days later, the largest auction held every four years in Japan officially opened. This auction also attracted the attention of collectors around the world. Lin Sin sitting next to her noticed that her face was a bit different and asked questions. She explained, very excited but also very nervous. Excited because she could see extremely precious archaeological artifacts. Nervous it's because, I heard that Kao Jun who was working for Kamida, a famous Japanese chaebol, when he provoked you, it was definitely not with good intentions. If you lose at the auction, I'm afraid he will. Lin Sin confidently reassured her, it's okay, whether I bet with him or not, I will buy all of the Chinese literature. At this moment, the two people's economy class suddenly heard a loud scream from the children. Child. Ultraman attacks. This boy noticed his beautiful sister and immediately ran over to mischief. The boy kept pushing hard on the back of her chair. Chia Yushuan gently turned down and reminded. Little friend. Kicking the back of the chair is that's not good. The boy burst out laughing. Sister. You are so beautiful. Let me see your body. Chia Yushuan was shocked after hearing this. She didn't understand how a child could utter such dirty words. Not achieving his wish, he immediately angrily punched her phone. Lin Sin angrily stood up and was about to chase after him and curse him but was stopped by Chia Yushuan. Lin Sin looked unhappy heart. You are too honest. When children are naughty without discipline, they will be even more naughty when they grow up. Their passenger compartment was silent for a few seconds when this boy came back. He was holding my toy I ran everywhere constantly shouting and joking. His superhero toy accidentally got stuck on her dress. The boy didn't pay attention and continued running so he fell to the ground. Chia Yushuan's entire dress was torn. This time Lin Sin couldn't hold it anymore. This kid was stealing and screaming. He screamed loudly and yelled in pain. Hearing his child's cry, his mother immediately ran to raise her voice. Who was bullying her? The boy quickly ran to his mother pointed at Chia Yushuan and said that she was the one who bullied him. The mother didn't bother to ask clearly, but instead blamed the two of you. Why do you bully my child? Lin Sin was about to say it clearly, but Chia Yushuan once again stopped him. She softly explained that she had misunderstood. It was her child running and jumping in the aisle of the plane. So his toy was hooked on her dress. I, after hearing this, this mother still shouted in a loud and arrogant voice. 
What's wrong with children running around for a while? Didn't you run when you were little? Are you crippled? Chia Yushuen is still gentle. It's okay for children to run. But this is on an airplane. She should have taught her children that they can't run and jump on airplanes. This lady still argues bluntly. What about airplanes? The plane is your home. If you say I don't know how to raise a child, then you definitely know how to teach it. You've given birth before. You slut. Wearing clothes that reveal your legs and arms. The son saw his mother say that and followed suit. Pointing at him, the face said she was a slut. It was true that she was spoiled because of her mother. This time it's too much. Chia Yushuen stood up and said again. What do I wear? Besides, whatever I wear is my freedom. Do you teach your child like that? I don't know how to teach. My son understands more than a slut like you. There's a lot of aunties. The boy standing below heard his mother say that and followed suit. I understand much better than that slut. Mom, I saw that slut wearing pants. Hearing this, she quickly covered her child's eyes. Her son still continues to talk nonsense. Now those sluts, if their clothes don't look good, they like to put holes in their pants, and they like to rip that dress off. She looked at her and smiled evilly. My family's spirit was affected by shameless women like you. Chia Yushuen was so angry that she couldn't say another word. This is when Lin Sin stepped forward to protect you. I wondering why there was such a brash child. It turned out that his mother was also like that. The ill-mannered child ran around on the plane. The mother did the same. Arguing loudly on the plane. Her face Chinese people's noses are all humiliated by you guys on international flights. She's still talking and fighting. You guys and girls want to bully us. I'll call the flight attendant to chase you off the plane. I'm not scared to death right now. It's okay to call the flight attendant. That's great. I was just about to tell the flight attendant about the crimes of this uneducated brat. Maliciously using a toy to ruin her dress. As a result, he couldn't stand up and fell to the ground. Then started to yell at her and harassed her with language. It was estimated that he was caught by the police and had to be educated for a while and then had to pay for it. Anymore, the little guy's face turned blue and he quickly ran to hug his mother's hand. Mom, please scold him, seeing that she was speechless. He then turned to ask if Chia Yushuen was okay. This type of person is the type of person who kidnaps her. Bullying the weaker and afraid of crime. If she had a tougher attitude, she wouldn't be able to do anything. Chia Yushuen blushed. Her self-conscious favorability increased by 5%. Being unreasonable, she continued to argue bluntly. Being mean to men and women, she could only be poor and poor in economy class. What arrogance. You guys don't have the money to sit in first class for the rest of your life. The other people in the same cabin had had enough. They stood up and told her that even if they sat in economy class, they wouldn't lose any of her money. After arguing with the two of them, she started arguing with the others. What the hell does this have to do with your business? Are these poor people colluding with each other? Looking at us. We thought we were easy to bully. Really. Lin Sin coldly called the flight attendant to take this mother and child back to the first class cabin. At the same time, in the flight attendant's lounge. Seo Ying is busy drinking milk tea and chatting online. Chun walked over and saw that she was wearing lipstick again so he kindly reminded her. Seo Ying saw Chun carrying the breakfast and wondered who she brought it to. The two of them quarreled just to please this guest. Seo Fang heard the argument and immediately ran in to remind her. She knew full well that both of these people wanted to target Mr. Fei. Mr. Fei is a famous second generation rich man in Yanjiang City. And also sells plane. He's still good friends with the president of Spring Airlines. Who wouldn't want to hook up with him? Even the captain threw away his driver's seat to run to flatter Mr. Fei. Hearing someone calling in the economy class. Seo Fang asked Seo Ying to come out and deal with it. But she didn't want to go down to the economy class at all. Just because there were passengers in the first class that needed to be dealt with. Seo Ying walked over, smiled warmly and asked if anyone needed any help. As soon as she saw the flight attendant, Chia Yushuen immediately pointed to the mother and daughter and reported. Is this lady okay, knowing good and bad, not staying in the first class cabin but running to this place to cause trouble? Affecting our rest. Seeing her boldly expose bad things without any stumbling blocks. Lin Sin is proud praising. She couldn't argue with her so she showed off her position. I'm the wife of the chairman of the board of directors of the Yanjiang Fortune Group. Do you believe me or believe this poor thing? 
Just heard about it here. Seo Ying immediately decided to defend her. Is there some misunderstanding here? Logically speaking, this lady bought a first-class ticket to enjoy the feeling of peace and quiet. Pleasant first-class cabin. You said she ran to the economy class to cause trouble. A bit unreasonable, right? Lin Sin frowned in displeasure. She meant, the first-class people are all highly qualified. It wouldn't causing trouble. So are we in economy class causing trouble? Seo Ying says with her mouth that she has no such intention. But in her mind she is constantly criticizing him for being in economy class and not knowing his identity. That old woman immediately laughed when she heard that. See, this is the gap between people of the upper and lower classes. Do you still want to chase me away? With my extensive connections, take you being on Summer Airlines blacklist is not a difficult thing. You will never be able to sit on Summer Airlines again in the future. Lin Sin picked his nose as if nothing had happened. I don't believe it. This attitude of yours once again angered her. At this moment, Mr. Fei also appeared in this place because of their noise. Seo Ying immediately bowed her head and apologized when she saw him. There was a guest staying. Economy class caused trouble, I have finished handling it all. When I saw Mr. Fei appear, she came over and asked me to be his last name. You're dead. This is Mr. Fei, a famous second generation rich family in Yanjiang City. Their family sells airplanes. The members of the board of directors of Summer Airlines all know that if you often fly on the plane to talk about business, I will tell him to put you on the blacklist. After saying that, she immediately extended her hand to greet him. Hello Mr. Fei, I am the wife of the chairman of the board of directors of Yanjiang Fortune Group. We met at the party last week. Just now it was these two dog men and women who caused trouble. I tried to dissuade them, but unfortunately these low-class people refused to listen to me. Seo Ying and Mrs. Fei were both waiting for Mr. Fei to give them a shouting match. But no, as soon as Mr. Fei saw him, he was so happy and shook hands to say hello. You're Mr. Kian, I can meet a real person. It's me, in the Yan Jiang Prince Daughter Group. I'm just one airplane salesman. Lin Sin finally recognized this person. Being remembered by him, Mr. Fei felt very honored. On the contrary, the other three people found Mr. Fei's attitude towards him extremely unpleasant. Unexpectedly, Mr. Fei actually turned into a junior before that younger brother. Only the stupid son blurted out wondering, Mom, why did that trash nod to that man? The consequences of his stupid words. This grandchild immediately received a slap from his mother's attorney. Mr. Fei turned around and asked the flight attendant to promote two people to first class. The money was directly deducted from his card. The other three people were even more shocked after hearing this moreover. I don't understand what kind of family background you have that you can receive such good treatment from director. Lin, thank you for his good intentions. But you don't want to go to first class. Because you don't want to look at this old lady's face again. It affects your mood. Whatever is difficult, Mr. Fei is worried. After your words, she immediately fell on the company's blacklist. Right at this time, she suddenly started acting again. She suddenly felt so dizzy. Her heart hurt so much. Mr. Kian, don't you see how pitiful we and my mother are? Her son dares to be rude to cheer Yushuen. You will definitely it's not easy to let go. A tiger father gave birth to a tiger son. The mother and child of their family threw tantrums. Cried loudly. People with money are bullying us weak mother and child. Mr. Fei saw this and shouted loudly. That's enough. The whole plane heard the noise you made. Disturbing public order. As soon as the plane lands, you will be punished by the security manager. Everyone else in the economy class extremely satisfied with the ending that this mother and daughter received. People began to spread the video of her cursing the entire economy class online. To see if she could continue to sit on the plane. Anymore. This side. After hearing everything, Seo Ying could only cry. After that stormy flight, the three of them finally arrived at Japan Neo Airport. Just as Mr. Fei said, the two of them, mother and son was escorted away by the security team. Lin Sin happily talked to Mr. Fei. I will come to attend the auction in two days. I plan to buy back all the cultural objects of the flower country. Mr. Fei was very impressed. Mr. Kian is so noble. Truly the pride of the flower country. Comparing with you is so embarrassing. But Mr. Kian must be careful Kamida Kento. He is a very famous Japanese tycoon. With a passion for literature. Especially those of our country. In every auction, 
as long as it is a literary object that he likes, no one has ever been able to win. This person is cunning, cunning, revengeful, and cruel. He will first use his financial resources to crush his opponents, then humiliate them. In the next few days, those people will be seriously injured unexpectedly, although there is no evidence. But in the words rumor has it that it was the ninjas and samurai he hired who did it. It's possible that this time Mr. Kian will have to face Kamida Kento in this auction. Chia Yushuen only then understood. No wonder Kao Jun used a trick to lure you here. It turns out his purpose is to want you to clash with Kamida. This Kao Jun is too cruel. Lin Sin, how about we go back? Okay, Lin Sin pretend to be determined. If I leave, the cultural objects of the flower country will fall into Kamida's hands. I will not let this happen, he thought to himself. Besides, he can also earn a bunch of counterattack gold in the auction. So it's a win-win situation for both sides. Mr. Fei admires young people with such a determined attitude. In the crowd suddenly a suspicious character appeared. In a corner without anyone paying attention, all three being followed by a woman. Last night, old Kamida called her and said, according to intelligence, Chia Yushuen appeared at the airport with a rich Chinese man. You know what to do yes. My best subordinate, Iris Saito, the dark shinobi, she bowed her head and accepted her order. This subordinate will let that stupid Chinese know what a Japanese tycoon is. Don't worry, master, I won't kill him, I'll just give him a warning. He must stay, live to go to the auction and kneel before him. Over the radio, Iris Saito announced that he had confirmed Chia Yushuen. At this moment, Lin Sin felt thirsty again so they separated the two to go by water. On the other hand, Iris Saito on this side put the ring on. Her plan was to pat him on the back with poisoned kakushi. The specially prepared poison could cause death. The target experiences weakness, vomiting, and diarrhea. Iris Saito slowly approached him, was about to make a move when she was startled by his scream. Damn, what kind of water is this? 80 yuan a bottle. This stuff only costs 2 yuan in the country. Japan are you crazy? Forced to sell water. Is it so expensive? At this moment he saw a public water tank. With the ideal of life. Saving is a national policy. Lin Sin rushed to do one sip of water. As expected, free food is always delicious. Looking at his attitude, she couldn't help but become suspicious. This is a rich country. Rich people bought a museum for 1 billion yuan. Couldn't believe it. Just like that. Iris Saito hadn't acted yet but followed Lin Sin outside. Seeing him appear, Chia Yushuen expressed shyly, I told Mr. Fei's car to go first. This time with you go out. I want to experience more different lifestyles. In fact she just wants to be alone with you a little more. Lin Sin didn't ask any questions and called a taxi for the two of us. After knowing the price of the national car was up to 152 yuan, Lin Sin immediately invited Chia Yushuen to sit on the airport bus. The ticket price was only 30 yuan. When you should spend, then spend. When you should save, then save. Anyway, there's no rush. By the way, you can also enjoy the scenery along the way. Iris Saito couldn't believe that these words could really come from the mouth of a millionaire. Star. She followed them both to the hotel lobby. This time, Lin Sin showed off her amazing saving ability by pulling out three coupons. Poor, stingy, taking advantage of the little things. From the above observations. Iris Saito is sure he is not a billionaire. Judging by his appearance, she guessed he was Chia Yushuan's assistant. She decided to ask for information about the millionaire herself through this assistant. At 10 p.m., Lin Sin was engrossed in her game when she suddenly heard a knock on the door. He ran out and looked through the cat's eyes to see who was coming. Outside, Iris Saito is wearing a cool outfit, holding a tray of food in her hand. She greets Lin Sin through cat eyes and introduces herself as a hotel waitress. Bringing dinner for her, older brother. Hearing that, Lin Sin happily opened the door to welcome her into the room. Just when he was also hungry. But he still didn't remember if he had booked this service in advance or not. Iris Saito pretended to stand next to him and watch him eat. Just after eating one piece, Lin Sin immediately received a notification from the system. Checking the truth medicine. Activating passive skills, eliminating poison, the effect of the truth medicine was disabled. Lin Sin chewed, wondering why there was truth telling medicine here. This medicine was originally only used in the military. At this point, 
he could be sure that she was the Kamida. Kento sent him, so he decided to have fun first. Lin Sin immediately stepped into the role. He held his head and complained of pain, while Iris Saito stood next to her and smiled with satisfaction. At this moment, the system notification appeared again, detecting a beautiful looking woman. Beautiful, start the mischief mission. Iris Saito shyly pulled back her hair. Tell me, where is the rich person surnamed Lin who accompanied Chia Yushuen to participate in this auction? Lin Sin's mind now has preliminary information about full name, age, height, weight, along with a warning, when the subject's affinity for the host exceeds 90%, 10% of the fee will be refunded. The counterattack money is spent on the host's personal assets. When the favorability reaches 100%, the identity is changed, and the dependency relationship between the host and the target is changed. Her current favorability is changed. With Lin Sin now it is minus 30%. Because of that mischief mission that suddenly appeared, Lin Sin reluctantly had to show her lustful face, looking at her breasts and saying, I, I like people with innocent faces and hearts. The soul must be full. Iris Saito immediately became embarrassed and quickly covered her speakers. However, she was not too surprised by this reaction, because as far as she knows, some people have extremely weak will. After taking medicine, if you tell the truth, you will lose your ability to control yourself and speak your heart's thoughts. No matter how vile and despicable the thoughts are, Iris Saito quickly caught up and followed Lin Sin. People are also very I like you, so can you tell me, where is that rich person? Lin Sin pretended not to know and then slapped her thigh. She was so hungry, she couldn't remember for a while. Fed me, then I told her. Of course it was okay. After that she immediately placed her butt on his lap. Then very skillfully fed him pieces of fruit. Lin Sin comfortably hugged me woman in hand. Constantly praising her deliciousness. Looks like a bad boy. He's not acting. After being fed, Lin Sin finally revealed it to her. That rich man said he would appear at the meeting. The auction officially started. Because that's the way to be majestic. Iris Saito thought thoughtfully. So that's it. Then it really fits the arrogant personality that Cao Jun said even though he already had the information believed what she wanted. But her next action was surprising. She calmly rode on Lin Sin's lap. She whispered in his ear, let's play something else. Then Iris Saito quickly grabbed his neck and used force to lock his arms. Lin Sin pretended to be stupid. Can you still play with love like this? Iris Saito turned the cards over to you. You have no use value. Sleep peacefully. Take a nap. Lin Sin then fainted just like she said. When you wake up tomorrow, you will forget everything about today. Having said that, she carefully put on her mask and left here. After confirming that the door was closed, Lin Sin just got out of her role. I have to admit, no is expected of a professionally trained person. Her leg strength was not light at all. If it weren't for the level 3 arm strength of the blocker, she would have really been knocked unconscious. Unexpectedly, the auction hadn't even started yet. That Kamida couldn't wait to deal with him. This made him look forward to this auction even more. Scene changed to the main auction hall. The silent hall suddenly became bustling probably thanks to the appearance of President Kamida. He appeared with Iris Saito and Kao Jun by his side. She whispered to the owner, If that person just appeared today then I can ambush at the door then directly kill him. No need. Confident Kamida. Perfume has a saying, the turtle retracts its head. Isn't it to visualize opponents like this one who don't dare to appear? He's hiding, showing the panic in his heart. In terms of momentum, he has already lost. Cao Jun continued, if he dares to appear in the auction today, this will be the day of his death. Iris Saito also follow along. That's right, the perfume people are all equally despicable and useless. Everyone is as cowardly as a mouse. Isn't Chia Yushuan's assistant last night an example? Was walking, suddenly she stopped and asked wondering why there were so many people in front. That was Chia Yushuan, and the person next to her was. Cao Jun suddenly shouted loudly. Damn it, Lin Sin. He also seemed to feel this surprise so he turned around and gave them a confident smile. Cao Jun couldn't believe his eyes. Hadn't he already arrived? Iris Saito was equally surprised. What? He was that rich man star. Lin Sin and Chia Yushuan walked up to the three people to say hello. They were all familiar faces. This fat guy with big ears and big face in the middle is the Kamida bastard. Right, 
Iris Saito panicked. Why did the medicine say it really didn't work? Could it be that he saw through my identity from the beginning? Old Kamida silently cursed the girl next to him for being so useless. Cao Jun was quick to speak and immediately responded to him. Full name Lin, you also dare to come here. You were indeed very brave. But in front of President Kamida, you were more or less a bit arrogant. Lin Sin smiled gently and invited him to go first. I will do it. How dare you be rude in front of me? Sir, I'm a junior here, so I still invite you to go first. Kamida then responded to him, welcoming the talented young man from Perfume, hoping that Mr. Lin would not disappoint me any longer. His tone full of gunpowder could not make Lin Sin tremble in fear. I guarantee I will have a surprise for this old man. On stage, today's auction will be run by a young girl. This will be the largest charity auction in the Kingdom of Japan, which is also a world-class auction. 90% of the auction amount will be donated to the World Relief Organization. The auctioneer begins to introduce the big names appearing in the auction today. Today, first is Mr. Kateto Kamida, president of Kamida Shoji in this country, followed by Andy John from the England country, Louisiana from the France country, Babic from the South Arabia country. Last is Mr. Lin Sin from Perfume. Lin Sin's name was just announced. Everyone around immediately started talking. They had never heard of this name before. They sat in the back and mocked him. There's no such person in the Lin family or group in China. Probably a nouveau riche who came here to broaden his horizons. Lin Sin turned black and said nothing. He suddenly stood up and walked towards the stage. Lin Sin took the auctioneer's mic and spoke. So shy, to bother everyone's time. I'm Lin Sin from Perfume. Originally our perfume is a country that values politeness in the East. I shouldn't overwhelm the host here, but in order to in the future, everyone can communicate more easily. I would like to say a few sentences to clearly show my attitude first. 1. Lin please I came here this time for the perfume literature. So just the perfume literature I look at if I win, I will definitely be able to auction, especially the perfume artifacts that were stolen and left outside, and finally appeared on the auction list. I will have to get it even more. Hi, if this is the auction, charity auction, I will play something interesting for everyone. No matter how much money I bid today, I will multiply the amount by two and donate to charity. 3. Kind reminder everyone please bid carefully, otherwise I'm afraid you will lose miserably. Am I right Mr. Kamida? Other people in the hall heard it and immediately started talking, thinking that this perfume kid is really arrogant. I don't know how high and how thick the sky is. But when I heard that I would double the donation amount, I'm still handsome. Old Kamida responded at this time, just showing off his prestige, jumping around like a clown. No need to be afraid. His assistant soon also reported. This time the John family brought 5 billion, and from the far kingdom and the Middle East brought 4.8 billion and 4.5 billion respectively. The 8 billion funds you have prepared are more than enough to sweep this entire auction. This auction is a step in implementing your plan for great East Asian literature. Now the front page of DJ newspaper has been prepared. After the auction, this auction, your heroic demeanor will be published in the press immediately, and will also conveniently announce to the whole world your great literary plan. By then, the shares of Kamida Group will surely be will definitely skyrocket. Mr. Matsumo who is supported by the Zaibatsu will have the ability to become president this term. Old Kamida immediately appeared extremely satisfied after hearing this. Very good. Conveniently killed an ant on the way forward towards my great future. The auction officially started. The first item was the incense burner of the same period. The starting price was 8000.000. Kamida's number 001 immediately bid 30000.000. Is there anyone else offering a higher price? Kamida quickly glanced around. This time, Lin Sin is studying the auction list with Chia Yushuen. Is this an Arhat statue sold in the perfume of the Dex dynasty of the Japanese kingdom? It is not suitable for the perfume culture at all. How can this be sold? She carefully explained to him. In ancient times there were many countries that made things to export to foreign countries. The style was a bit out of place. As soon as she finished speaking, she turned away confused I'm sorry. Your knowledge of literature is more profound than mine but I still want to explain it to you. He sincerely expressed that he really liked how focused he looked when talking about ancient literature. You, a person's appearance is always the most beautiful when they work seriously. 
Chia Yuxuan blushed and didn't know what to say. At the same time, her favorability towards him also increased by five points. The air was filled with the color of both of their love has flowed to the old Kamida's side. He seems to be discriminatory, a ridiculous patriot. Next is the auction of perfume artifacts. By that time I see you can still avoid a direct attack. How is my appearance? Immediately, the second cultural relic, the blue and white peacock plate from China. Starting price 1000,000. Lin Sin's number 008 slowly posted. The remaining four people are waiting to see the end how much money does this arrogant kid have. Didn't let them wait too long. Lin Sin confidently shouted. 300 million. Was not unexpected. The other three people couldn't believe their ears. They were bidding for the first time. Why are you so tense? Only Kamida seemed to look down on him, thinking that this was the hasty mentality of the weak wanting to show off. What a pity. His assistant was confused and wondered if he should compete. Kamida pretended to be erudite. This porcelain plate only cost 180 million at most. If he wants to buy at a loss then just let him buy it. No one bid higher. Then the Fan Hoa peacock plate belongs to number 008 for 300 million. Lin Sin took Chia Yushuan's hand. This peacock disc was given to her. Very suitable for her beauty. The couple next to him were also very surprised by his action. Depending on conveniently gifting documents worth up to 300 million to your girlfriend. Although seriously, it was a museum purchase for both of them. But Chia Yushuan also appreciated him very much. In contrast to the two people's euphoric scene, the other people in the hall had to listen to this lovebirds the sex is so irritating. Continue. The third cultural relic is an eight-foot magatama from the Sichuan and German era of our country. Starting price 800,000. Kamida personally bid 20 million. Lin Sin still Fong Tai is still calm but shouting the price up to 500 million. Kao Jun sounds annoyed. Damn, didn't he say he only bought literary objects from the flower country? This is definitely to anger the president. Kamida indeed was a bit uncomfortable. What a stupid way to do it. Spending that much money just to make me angry. So childish. The result was an 8-foot magatama was brought in by number 008 for 500 million. Lin Sin loudly declared, I'm giving this magatama to M. Saito Kite. Thank you for your massage service. Saito couldn't help but be startled after hearing this. Old Kamida angrily turned around and reprimanded her. She said the top secret name did I give it to him. She was scared and quickly explained. I didn't, master, I really didn't say, he must have used some trick to know my identity. Master, trust me, I, I will refuse that magatama. Kamida raised his voice, refuse, why refuse, this is a gift he gave you, I order you to accept it. Saito reluctantly accept this gift, your favor and you are now minus 10%. Lin Sin chuckled, using money as a tool to make people lose their goodwill is truly rare. And you can also enjoy that guy's twisted expression. It's too much hey Pepsi. On the other hand, Iris Saito is very angry right now. Not understanding what his purpose is. Giving her harmful things for no reason and being misunderstood by the owner. But besides being angry, she I'm still a bit in love. Because after all, this is the first time she's been given a gift by someone else. And her liking for Lin Sin has increased by 5%. Lin Sin couldn't help but be startled when she heard the announcement. Why did it increase? This side, because I remembered that the giver was a hateful person. So the favorability decreased by 3%. Women are really difficult to understand. Lin Sin felt extremely sad. Not because because the favorability is reduced. During the auction, her popularity kept increasing and then decreasing. Making him feel like he was being poisoned by notifications from the system which was still healing. Lin Sin suddenly said arrogantly, loud enough for the whole hall to hear. I thought the auction would be very fierce, but unexpectedly no one bid. Thank you for giving in. Thank you, many thanks. The following items are not from the Chinese nation. I'm not interested. Everyone can do as they please. Everyone felt hot after hearing this but there was nothing they could do about this brat. The auction continued to take place smoothly. The item was sold. Brought out at this time is a vase from the shameless era. Starting price is 5000.000. Andy John offers 8000.000. Louisian offers 1.000.000. Babic offers 3.000.000.
Kamida plays with the price of 8.000.000. The vase from the shameless era this finally belongs to Kamida. Others quickly applauded him. Kao Jun whispered to him. President, definitely don't let that rich guy fool you. On the surface they are flattering you. Really his eyes were always staring at Lin Sin. They were observing Lin Sin's movements. The reason why you were able to auction the artifacts just now was because Lin Sin slightly moved his little finger. They thinking that Lin Sin wanted to increase the money. Before he could finish speaking, this guy was given a slap by old Kamida. Shut up for me. Kao Jun humiliated L.Y. apologized to him. Lin Sin also quickly added more fuel into the fire. So you guys are always watching me. Rest assured. Rest assured. Next is the cultural heritage of the flower country. You want me to take action. Then satisfy you. Old Kamida was angry Ha won the fifth. Literary object was immediately brought out. A map of thousand of miles of mountains and rivers in late Tang Dynasty of China. Starting price 8000,000. As expected of a national treasure. Many plaques. The price was raised. Number 001 of Mr. Kamida also contributed shares with 800 million. Lin Sin yawned. Instead of increasing million by million like that, he decided to go big. 2 billion. This number of 2 billion immediately surprised many people. The number 2 billion was still surprising. 5 made everyone experience another shock. Old Kamida screamed out of control. I said 2 billion 5. Kao Jun was scared but still had to speak up to remind him. President, you forgot the strategy is it ours. This time we have to put all our effort into auctioning many items. If we spend money like this, Kamida seems to have really lost his reason. He gritted his teeth and ordered him to shut up. If you give in every time, then where will this Kamida's face be? If you want to play, then Lin Sin will also push to the end. 3 billion. Kamida angrily raised his number. 3 billion 5. Lin please enthusiastically respond to him with the price of 4 billion. The growing number that makes everyone gasp. This painting was only valued at 200 million. Now the price has increased 20 times. Here, obviously throwing money out the window. They weren't too surprised by Lin Sin. But they didn't expect that even President Kamida would spend money so uncontrollably. On the other hand, the servants and assistants who were with him when this guy is standing still before his excitement. Old Kamida suddenly showed a cunning smile. He put down his sign. I don't follow anymore. Four billion. This painting belongs to you. Mr. Lin Sin. This time the whole audience understood everything. It turned out that the president of Kamida deliberately appeared agitated and fought the bidding. All just to make Lin Sin spend a lot of money. Lin Sin's finances it can't be infinite. If he keeps raising the price like this, he won't be able to last for long. Although it's easy to think of ways to counter Lin Sin, he also needs the person raising the price to be patient and able to withstand criticism. With a strong mind when faced with danger, worthy of being the president of Kamida, he is truly extraordinary. Lin Sin did not feel bitter after hearing this. Okay, okay, is that the right way to play? He replied with one ironic words. I accept. Mr. Lin, auctioneer announced. Number 008 auctioned a map of thousand of miles of mountains and rivers in late Tang Dynasty of China for 4 billion. Just now it seemed like that. But Kamida now seemed to be sitting on fire. He quickly ordered his assistant to borrow money from Sanryo Shouju and Futu Shouji. Using real estate as collateral. To borrow 10 billion, he smiled evilly and revealed his plan. All the remaining finances after the auction of other artifacts were not enough to maintain my future plans. People like Lin Sin are arrogant and arrogant. He will definitely regardless of everything. Just like in the beginning. Collect all the cultural objects of the country in the hall. So the last item, the Guan Yin Lapis Lazuli, is the most important. As long as he has that Guan Yin statue. How can a perfectionist like him endure this kind of mistake? Then wouldn't it be a failure to establish a character that spends a lot of money right from the start? Has he fallen, so he will definitely not be able to endure this final defeat. He will definitely defy everything. As long as I can get that lapis lazuli statue, I can grasp the rope of control Lin Sin. After hearing this, his assistant couldn't help but admire. So it's like that. Mr. Kamida, the more money Lin Sin spent in front of him, the more unable he was to give up that last piece of Chinese culture. This is related to his stance and reputation. Kamida is sure that behind Lin Sin must be a group of rich and patriotic Chinese people. 
so that can explain why he has so much money. So, old Kamida has made up his mind. This battle, can only win, cannot lose. Iris Saito sitting behind heard everything and suddenly blushed. So he represents the flower country. On the surface looks like a joke, but is a representative of a country. Her favorability towards him increases by 5%. Iris Saito quickly adjusted her thoughts. Forcing herself to remember him is my opponent. Negative 2 favorability. This woman's mood continues to be unstable. Bad news for Lin Sin is again hit with a rain of system notifications. The sixth auction item has appeared. The flower country's banquet Buddha's head. Starting price is 100 million. Lin Sin raised the price 500 million. The old Kamida immediately followed with the price of 1 billion. This time the hall enjoyed another tense duel. Lin asked for a price of 1 billion 5. Still the same strategy. Kamida retreated. Others in the hall lavished praise on him. Able to grasp the price and time very perfectly. Mr. Kamida is truly right it's that the older the ginger, the spicier it gets. If Lin Sin continues like this, it will become hopeless. Very quickly, in a situation where people intentionally raised the price, Lin Sin auctioned off a lot of national cultural artifacts. The amount of money poured out has also reached a huge number. 6 billion 8. At this time, Kamida has auctioned off a lot of cultural artifacts that are not from the Chinese country. Plus borrowed finance. The remaining amount in his hand is now 12 billion 8. After a tense struggle, the relics have finally appeared. The lapis lazuli statue of the Yuan Hua dynasty era. Starting price 400 million. Just waiting for this moment. Old Kamida decided to pull out all his weapons to fight with you. This is the last cultural artifact of the flower country. It is also the thing that Lin Sin must swallow his hatred. Are you ready, Lin Sin? The sound of the auctioneer's voice interrupted his delusions. The Yuan Dynasty's Lapis Lazuli statue was officially auctioned. Starting price 400 million. Please bid. Lin Sin gently bid 1 billion. Anyway this is also the last document. With this you can go home. Old Kamida just offered 1 billion 5. Smiling triumphantly at you, kid. The good drama has just begun. The whole hall now only pay attention to the two of them. Because this time old Kamida decided to go all in with this item. It's no exaggeration to say that this fight is a battle of dragons and tigers. But they all think that perfume kid Lin Sin will soon lose. Lin Sin flirting back. I hope Mr. Lameda can always maintain this leisurely state. The whole time he just keeps his head down. It really suits his name yours. If you still lose in the end. Then you. Fear that you will be the laughingstock of the entire Japanese kingdom from now on. Right. After saying that, you raised your chin provocatively. Lin Sin Ra lightened the price of 3 billion. Old Kamida is still full of confidence at this time. Keep talking. You have already spent 8 billion 3. The remaining money cannot be more than me. After saying that he immediately offered 4 billion, Lin Sin couldn't help but smirk at his thoughts. Being teased by the little boy, his face immediately contorted like a monkey eating chili. The two people then seem to be playing a number game. 5 billion, 6 billion, 7 billion, when the number 9 billion was given, old Kamida started sweating profusely. Lin Sin still kept a relaxed smile and raised the number to 12 billion. This old man's face turned pale, gritted his teeth and gave the number 16 billion. Chia Yushuen immediately stopped Lin Sin. This amount of money is too much. On the other hand, old man Kamida's assistant is also sweating. President, our finances are only 12 billion 8. It's too much. Kamida is still stubborn and gritting his teeth. This regarding my reputation. It's just a few billion. I still have stocks and many manners. The people participating in today's auction needless to say how surprised they were. The auctioneer started shouting. 16 billion times 1. Anyone else follow? Kamida's heart was on fire. He was sweating profusely. But he still had to act to provoke him. Follow him. Boy, are you scared? 16 billion times 2 echoed in the hall. His assistant was even more panicked after hearing that. Chairman, those manners and stocks are your last assets. You really have to use those things to in exchange for just one literary object. This has already exceeded its original value. Even if you buy this literary object, you will go bankrupt. Ignoring the words of resistance, he still firmly believes that. As long as I can win against Lin Sin, his wealthy fortune teller will definitely think of a way to buy back this artifact. At that time, not only will I not have to spend a penny, 
but I can still get a lot of good things. From Hua Guo, there are dozens of other Hua Guo museums in the plan, all of which can be credited to me. This is my true plan. So it is like that. Cao Jun and his assistant exclaimed in unison. Iris Saito also spoke up at this time. What if Lin Sin no longer needs this document? Then isn't it the end? Before he could finish his words, he angrily turned down and shouted. Are you doubting me? Just wait. Lin Sin will definitely need it. He will kneel down like a dog, begging me to give up this document. For him, after speaking, he tried to force a smile that couldn't be more forced. Contrary to his expectations, Lin Sin calmly chose to give up. This great treasure had to be given to Mr. Kamida so. The decisive moment has come. Number 001, 16 billion, auctioned off the lapis lazuli statue. Record in the history of the auction world. In the next 50 years it will not be possible to break it. The audience clapped and cheered for the old chairman. But he was not as happy as they thought. Even though he was immersed in his words everyone's wishes. But on the contrary, he felt like he was sinking into a deep pit of despair. Kamida walked quickly in front of him and looked majestic. He laughed. Lin Sin, didn't you say you would buy all the documents? What's wrong with the flower country's goods? What's wrong? He only brought a little money with him. The most important lapis lazuli statue can't be bought. How should he talk to the perfume riches? Your patriotism is not worth money at all. He waved his hand and ordered Iris Saito to bring out the hot goods. He held the sword in his hand and declared, according to the martial spirit of our kingdom of Japan, failure like you can only cut off his hand to apologize. Finished speaking, he immediately threw the sword stuck in the ground. Lin Sin slowly picked up the sword, and he was still talking endlessly, but being greedy for life and afraid of death was special. Your points, definitely don't dare to accept such a glorious act. I can give you a chance. Now, you can borrow, borrow 19 billion 9, I will sell the Guan Yin Lu statue glass for you. You completed the task, there is no need to be humiliated and ashamed to death. No matter, no matter, you sneered and pointed straight at his face. I just want to see this look of him. Cao Jun angrily pointed back at him. After losing, are you still so arrogant? Are you still pretending to be a fool and trying to force the price? You can't miss even a single penny. Cao Jun and his boss just keep trying. Inspiration is ingenuity. Lin Sin suddenly stood up. He raised his head high and adjusted his tie to make it more formal. Then looked down at him again. By the way Kamida, this dog of yours, it's really not good at all. Kamida I don't understand why your attitude is like that. Lin Sin continued. Cao Jun told you that I would buy all the cultural objects of the country. I guessed right. Cao Jun quickly added, How, now are you afraid to change your mind now? Lin please remind him to remember the words you said at that time. Which were literary objects sold abroad in ancient times and perfumes? Cao Jun didn't even think twice and still opened his mouth to argue. At that time he said, he would collect all the documents of the perfume that were left abroad. So what happened? Old Kamida heard this and immediately understood everything. He immediately slapped he threw fire. Cao Jun suddenly fell to the ground. He covered his face in wonder. Mr. Kamida, he was panting at this moment. He just wanted to collect the artifacts that the Kingdom of Japan once plundered from perfume before. And the lapis lazuli statue is a product sold by the Japanese kingdom to ancient perfumes. To him, it has no value at all. Lin Sin sneered, and it cannot be said that it has no value at all. What? It still has the basic value of literature. But eyebrows and beard, since the time of perfume, this style of Guan Yin statue has not been popular anymore. It is because it has to be exported to you that we created this image. If he had had the correct information, he wouldn't have failed so miserably. Now he used 16 billion to buy a literary object with the highest price being only 400 million. A big loss. He was famous all over the world. But it's a pity that he's famous for his face slapping attitude. Lin please take the opportunity to be sarcastic. Aren't you going to ruin your family to buy this treasure? No, it's truly a Kamida. Old Kamida angry and trembling. He called someone to drag Cao Jun away. On the other hand, Chia Yushuan now understood everything. She blamed and threatened me to death. I thought he was going to fight over this Guan Yin statue with the Kamida. For a moment, he still couldn't react that this was an object. Export. Lin Sin laughed it off. Sorry, if you want to deceive the enemy, you must deceive your own people. 
At this time, the sound of footsteps is increasing day by day. Many people from different museums are surrounding two people and offer to invite him to our country. On the other hand, old Kamida had to endure their ridicule when he bought that Guan Yin statue for 16 billion. It didn't stop there, he was also pushed around by everyone. Sorry, where is the noble image of President Kamida anymore? At this moment, he suddenly felt a sharp pain. Kamida's face turned purple, he gasped, clutched his chest and collapsed. Yes at this moment, a pair of shiny leather shoes appeared in front of him. Mr. Kamida, what's wrong? You have to pay attention to your health. It turned out to be Lin Sin and Chia Yushuen. He looked at both of their backs. Eyes filled with hatred, enemy. He slowly took out his phone and ordered all the fighters and ninjas of the Kamida family to go into battle. He ordered them to take back all of Lin Sin's artifacts. He wanted him not to see tomorrow's sun. In another development, at the permanent embassy of the Flower Nation in the Kingdom of Japan, Lin Sin and Chia Yushuen was already here. There were many guards in the room. The Chinese embassy opened up. Mr. Lin, I already know everything. You spent a lot of money to buy precious documents. Wandering abroad in the country of flowers. I represent the embassy to express my sincere thanks to you. Kamida Kento's subtle tricks. I have also heard of it. For the most part we will definitely do our best to keep you safe. Lin Sin shook hands and thanked him. He asked this person to lend him a car. Chia Yushuen suddenly pulled his hand. Her tone was somewhat worried. Lin Sin, don't go. Okay, it's very dangerous outside, I'm afraid. Lin Sin smiled reassuringly. I guarantee nothing will happen where. Trust me. Chia Yushuen had tears in her eyes. She could only listen to him. A moment later, Lin Sin went to the parking garage. As he walked, he thought, if I didn't kill him this time, wouldn't I have gone on a trip in vain? Suddenly, a dart flew straight towards him from somewhere. Lin Sin calmly dodged the dart. That girl is none other than Iris Saito. Lin Sin didn't show any surprise. He came so quickly, why didn't he bring the Magatama I gave him? Iris Saito blushed embarrassedly, you, why did I have to bring it? Lin Sin laughed teasingly, I saw it matches her eye color. She replied in a cold voice, I don't know why you gave me the Magatama. If you want to buy me then it's useless. We Saito ninjas will only carry out the boss's duties. So it's a master-servant relationship. So it's easy to say. Lin Sin offered to hire all the Saito ninjas. How much does Kamida pay? You'll pay double. Iris Saito prepares to attack again. It's me as insulting our Saito family. Do you think we will arbitrarily cancel the contract and kill our master? Lin Sin still continued to act indifferently. Then it is only right that the master dies. The copper will disappear on its own. Right. Shut up. She shouted loudly and rushed in front of him. Lin Sin also bent his body to avoid her dangerous attack. Iris Saito wondered. He looked like he was completely helpless knowing martial arts. How could she avoid all her attacks? If that was the case, she threw another smoke bomb. Lin Sin didn't pay attention for a moment. The smoke cleared and no one was seen in front of. At this moment, Iris Saito appeared from nowhere. Her legs clamped tightly around his neck. The situation was hanging by a thread. Her sword was about to interact with his head. But fortunately, he still had enough reflexes to hold her hands. Iris Saito trembled. His strength was too great. Normally this position is the most difficult to exert force when attacked by someone. She decided to squeeze tight in your legs. Tighten your thighs around your neck. If only for a moment you will die due to lack of blood flow to the brain. Thinking she was the only one who knew how to do tricks. You quickly bit her thigh. Iris Saito was both hurt and surprised and jumped down. She didn't expect you to even have this trick. Lin Sin sighed. As long as he can win. The king of eight fists is also a strong fist. Now it's my turn. Lin Sin ran all the way in front of her. Iris Saito's face turned pale. She immediately raised her sword to defend. Lin Sin quickly grabbed her wrist and pressed it tightly against the car. Caught her. Iris Saito was about to knee his younger brother. Luckily he had guessed this trick. Lin Sin took revenge with an iron attack. Her two swords had now fallen. Lin Sin looked at her lying down I breathed a sigh of relief on the ground. It was finally done. The current level 3 attribute. Fighting one ninja can still barely win. But if you deal with many martial artists and ninjas you will definitely lose. Right think of a way. A moment later, Lin Sin put her on the car's hood and rummaged through all the toys on her body. 
He held the bottle of medicine and marveled. This was the real medicine. He didn't expect her to actually hide it in your chest. Really hide it well. Now, ninja girl, tell me the truth. Having said that, he immediately dropped the pill into her mouth. Iris Saito woke up dimly. The bewildered beauty had not yet understood what was going on. Was pressed close by the perverted Lin Sin. This position is really too offensive. The truth medicine has also been taken. Now is the time for your questioning. Iris Saito her hands were tied tightly and she couldn't move at all I, in the face of this situation. She still arrogantly said, I admit that I failed miserably, but to tell the truth, I have been professionally trained. Don't expect to find out any information, any news from me, it's useless. Lin Sin smiled and replied, that's right. Then a knife like the wind passed by and cut off the binding rope. Iris Saito the golden deer was stunned for five seconds. You just threw the knife while looking at her, calmly talking in disbelief. If that's the case, then it wouldn't be worth anything for me to tie you up. I'll take the weapons. I also have to deal with Kamida. Hearing that, she was surprised, bewildered, startled, couldn't help but question, did you accidentally let me go like that? Without asking anything, he quickly replied, I only have one question, one ultimate wish. The premise is no if I harm you. What must I do to make you give up chasing and killing me? But in your heart he silently added a fatal sentence. If you die, I can't spend money. Iris Saito no knowing people's hearts is as difficult to fathom as finding a needle in a haystack. She heard it as if honey was poured into her ears. Her face turned red and she quickly covered her face and turned away. Her heart pounded as if it wanted to jump out of her chest. She was embarrassed and twisted, thinking, why does he treat me so well? and even give me Magatama. Maybe, at the same time, Lin Sin received a notification from the system, adding 10% of favorability. Great. Yes you have to do it to the end. You are a hero. You get in the car and prepare to go to the meeting point. Iris Saito became a friend. Nervously couldn't help but rush over, clutching the car door, asking him, wait, why don't you just go alone and look for Kamida like this? His face was calm. He said it was okay. So what, if I can't get any information from you then I have to go ask another assassin. Right, Iris Saito and as a fish caught on the hook, boarding a pirate ship. She was worried about his safety so she revealed the information. Kamida was at Beach Villa number 2, Town 1, Higashiatami, even though she had sent a group of soldiers. Big assassins came to kill him, but in the villa there were still 8 gun-toting fighters and 6 ninjas. Thinking about him, her body trembled, Kamida. He was extremely cruel, whether it was towards his targets or subordinates. You don't know, damn it, I really wanted to escape. But the rules of the Saito family are very strict. Lin Sin gently placed his hand on her shoulder and comforted her. No need to worry, I will go and discuss it carefully with Kamida now. Believe my request, he will agree too. His eyes looked at her tenderly and said, just find a place and hide. Looking at the car that was gradually moving away. Iris Saito lowered her eyes. Her heart was in turmoil. Lin Sin, because why is everything he does beyond my expectations? I've lived through 18 pots of Ban Chung and I've never met anyone like him. Her liking for him adds another 20% to his liking. But don't see the flowers blooming and think that spring will come. Everything is not like a dream. In the midst of sublime emotions, she turned to panic when she saw that she was surrounded by three of old Kamida's subordinates. One of them used used the device to report to the old man. The target has escaped, came out of the east door of the embassy, sent people to follow. Iris Saito failed the mission, suspected of betrayal. The other end said angrily, bring her back here. Iris Saito saw that, her face fell, she froze, she broke out in a cold sweat. It felt like the sky was about to collapse. In another place, his mansion was on a bright island tonight. Security was pushed to the highest level. Patrol boats ran around the island like a pinwheel. In the room, Kamida stood looking out the glass window. He said to the person on the other end of the line. Lost track. On the end of the line the other party quickly explained. We thought he was coming here so we ambushed him along the road. But life was not like a dream. He seemed to be in our hearts and drove to another road. Waiting for us. When I found his car. The person was no longer in the car. Kamida heard that. His face wrinkled like a monkey's ass. He got angry and scolded through the walkie-talkie. A bunch of useless, 
useless people, sent a ninja from the embassy over there, turned around and found everything for me. Having finished speaking, the old man viciously looked towards Iris Saito who was tied to a chair. With electric wires plugged into her body, Kamida approached and grabbed her hair, questioned, said, where did Lin Sin go? Iris Saito said with difficulty, I really don't know, master, he took all my weapons, and didn't tell me any plans. It's strange for someone like him to believe what you said. He angrily picked up the remote and pressed the button, at the same time saying, do you think I would believe it? Dreaming that I would let you go unharmed like that. Iris Saito was electrocuted all over her body. She tensed up and screamed in pain. When the electric shock passed, she bowed her head, her body trembling in pain, unable to speak. Old man Kamida squeezed her chin and said in a harsh voice, I have many effective interrogation methods, but I won't use them on you. Do you know why? He continued, his face full of despicable, despicable lust because I have to make sure that this perfect body of yours doesn't have any wounds, so that I can sell it, got a good price, Iris Saito trembled and begged, don't, don't, at this moment, the alarm sounded, the urgent announcement came through the radio, there was an attack, there was only one person, I don't know where he infiltrated from, he killed several of our people, using ninja weapons, hearing that, he loudly ordered, damn it, it must be Lin Sin, turn on all the headlights. The ninja team set off. Today did you run into the sky? At this moment, you were like the wind dodging two passing enemy bullets. Then he held two swords in both hands and quickly cut a neck to kill one of them. But he was caught by the light, determined the location, discovered the target, he couldn't escape. At the same time, a group of ninjas from the nearby woods rushed out like frogs pouncing on prey. Just rushed straight to the point where he just threw a dart at don't wait to die, in front of a strong enemy, he quickly threw his body and escaped, coming to the cliff, Lin Sin did not hesitate to rush straight over, falling straight into the sea, the ninjas saw so at the same time jumped down to pursue, the person on the other side of the conversation announced that the target had already jumped into the sea, our ninjas also went down, old Kamida smiled sinisterly, thinking that jumping into the sea could escape, these six ninjas are all elites of the Saito family, their underwater assassination ability is also very strong. Lin Sin is sure to die. In the deep sea, taking advantage of a loophole, a ninja holding a hidden weapon rushed straight towards him, intending to attack, stab you, but that guy could not have imagined that your speed was so fast. In the blink of an eye you had moved behind that guy. In front of this guy's wide eyes, you were cold definitely give him a shot to visit his grandparents. The remaining ninja saw this and quickly shouted. He was swimming too fast. Don't disperse. Gather in one place. Under his pressure, several ninjas quickly turned their backs to each other, only raising their swords to passively defend. He quickly moved around, playing cat and mouse with them. Couldn't help but laugh coldly. On land I really can't defeat you guys. But in the water you can't use stealth. Okay, my speed is not as fast as mine. I can still hold my breath for about 10 more minutes. Lin Sin couldn't help but feel embarrassed, thinking that the sea of the Kingdom of Japan is not clean at all. Damn it, not even I don't know how long I'll be immersed in seawater before I mutate. I have to fight quickly to win. In front of his attacks, the ninjas couldn't even fight back an attack. They were beaten until they didn't miss a single shot. One of them, because there was not enough oxygen, he broke the formation and swam to the surface leaving his teammates behind, seizing the unique opportunity, Lin Sin quickly rushed forward, and with one quick strike, he ended that guy's life on the spot, the remaining guys couldn't stand it anymore and rushed towards the water to get air, looking back, they were scared to death, he was definitely not human, he had been swimming for three minutes, why is there still no need to get oxygen, in another situation, the old man with a jar of comida no longer heard the gunshots, Guessing the result, he laughed widely with joy. What a fool, he was alone, also dared to come here to deal with me. But unfortunately I couldn't see his desperate expression when he was about to die. Iris Saito was filled with worry, silently calling his name, Lin Sin. Right after that, he took out a glass bottle, stroked his beard and looked at her contemptuously, saying, the trouble has been solved, so now it's your turn. You realize what it is, don't be afraid of me. Damn it, she silently cried that something was wrong. 
but all resistance was useless. Kamida squeezed her mouth and then put a few drops of water in. Then he rubbed his hands, stuck out his tongue, and said vilely, wait until I get bored of playing with you and then sell Thailand. As for Saito family, as long as I tell you that you failed your mission and were killed by Lin Sin, the Saito family definitely doesn't care about a lost commodity like you. Iris Saito was heartbroken, tears falling, thinking bitterly, Lin Sin, when you said that, I truly believed that you were the one who could change my destiny. She silently prayed, God, if there is a miracle, please let the miracle happen. Kamida Tien came to squeeze her cheeks and smiled lewdly. There are no gods in this world, but I can take you to heaven. Suddenly a voice from behind answered his words, and I can kick you straight down to the 18th floor of the earth. Prison. Lin Sin jumped in from the window. The hero saved the beauty. Iris Saito was so moved that she cried and softly called out. Lin Sin. Notification system. Plus 50% favorability. Wonderful. He quickly explained. Sorry for being late. Those ninjas were so entangled. Old man Kamida took the radio and called but got no response. Unbelievable. How could that be possible? Then he cried out. He was so full of pain that he couldn't hold the radio because he threw a dart at his wrist. Not letting him recover, Lin Sin rushed forward and gave him a shocking blow to his stomach, causing him to squirt blood. Said coldly, sorry, those fighters of yours are still stupid on the shore. The ninjas are in the water. He knelt down at his feet, rolled his eyes, clutched his stomach and groaned. He said in boredom, he shut up, be quiet, don't bother people then went to cut Iris Saito's rope. He trembled and stood up. His heart choked up and asked, why, that's impossible, you're obviously dead, Lin please say it's okay, maybe it's because my swimming technique is good and God loves me. Then he held her up so she could lean on him, gently held out the sharp knife and softly said, do you want to deal with him yourself? Old Kamida with tears in his eyes and nose, he quickly knelt down, clasped his hands, trembling, and begged her, don't, I was wrong, I'm sorry, sorry, very sorry, please forgive me, without saying a word, she took the glass bottle, popped it open, then approached, grabbed the old man's hair, tilted his head up, and forced him drink the whole bottle to save, she stood up and looked at him, her face full of disgust, killing him with one knife would be too easy for him, this one bottle was enough to make him die miserably, he looked at him trying to hook him, his throat was full of vomit, his hands were in his pockets. His face was cold and he didn't speak. After that, the two of them boarded the yacht and drove away, leaving him moaning in the mansion behind. He couldn't help but exclaim, this medicine is really scary. Iris Saito blushed, exhaled hot breath, looked at his questioning expression, held his elbow and tremblingly said, Kamida just now forced me to drink that medicine. Without waiting for his response, she quickly rubbed it into her arms. You, as you said, sorry I couldn't bear it anymore. He looked eye to eye with Iris Saito sitting on his lap, blushing and said, let's go to shore first. Find a safe place first. She panted, it's okay. She replied, you drive the boat, I'll do it myself. Then she leaned down, put her legs on his shoulder, shyly moaning, if you can't hold it anymore, you're not worthy of a man. Suddenly, the boat collided one, making her tremble. He shyly spoke up, sorry, I'll drive slowly. Iris Saito suppressed her cry, embarrassedly said, don't, just, just drive at that speed. At the same time, the system announced an additional 10% of favorability. Time flew by, when the sun came out. Two people were hugging each other resting after a night of love on the yacht. He opened the flag in his stomach. I didn't expect to feel something new. Iris Saito lay in his arms and said softly, Kamida is dead. My master's contract was failed. I have to go home to Saito to be punished. He sincerely advised me, don't be a ninja anymore. Live and die. A girl isn't it good for a young person like you to live peacefully? She couldn't help but cry, choking up. But I don't know what I can do. We are ninjas are all orphans who were adopted by Saito from a young age. Ninjas are our only destiny. Suddenly, he held up a black VIP card in front of her. There was one billion in it. She could do what she wanted I want to do. Be the person I want to be. From now on I will only live for myself. I was so emotional when I held the card. Sparkling eyes looking at you. Lin Sin. Thank you. The two hugged each other deeply at the same time.
the system sounds continuously rang in his head, adding 45% of favorability. Saito Asuka reached 90%, completing the first stage of playing, spending 1 billion 5 in playing money for Saito. Asuka, 10% refund equivalent to 150 million Chinese yuan. Transferred to your personal account, plus a current all attribute bonus. All attribute level 4. Bonus one of three skills. Choose from time permitting. Mastery of piano skill level A. Mastery of hand dancing skill level D. Mastery of hexagonal dance skill level D. The next morning, the press reported that the company's president Kamida Kento Kamida last night died in his villa. According to witnesses, the scene was extremely scary, so much so that the descriptive words had to be obscured. His bodyguards also had many dead people. Preliminary speculation is that it was assassinated by a ninja, suspected that it was done by a rival tycoon. At this time at the airport, Lin Sin and a man shook hands with each other. That person held his hand tightly while saying thank you thanks. Luckily Kamida Kento is dead. You too can be safe. Thank you again for the dedication you did for the perfume. He replied with a smile. Thank you embassy for protecting us. That Kamida is considered evil and evil is rewarded. Death is well deserved. Stepping towards the plane, he clasped his hands behind his head and said to Chia Yushuan beside him. The matter has been resolved completely. Unfortunately it is rare to come to the Japanese kingdom. It is not possible to have fun like soaking in hot water. There, she replied gently, come again next time, in the form of exchanging literature. Looking at the plane carrying him in the distance, Iris Saito gently stroked her long pink hair. She smiled. Lin Sin waited after finishing some personal matters. I will go to Perfume to find you. Because it seems I have found my life's goal. At arrival Terminal B Chia Yushuan is leading the workers loading and unloading goods. Car, be careful, they are all precious artifacts. He was standing still to the side looking at it when he was suddenly startled by a prompt from the system. Counting down the time to choose one of three skills 1 hour 16 minutes 23 seconds. Mastering the piano skill level A. Mastering hand dancing skill level D. Mastering hexagonal jumping skill level D. He looked at the system board and couldn't help but exclaim. Oh my god, I almost forgot such an important matter. At that time he only focused on comforting Saito Asuka. He stroked his chin and thought. What the hell are the other two skills? Choose the piano, you can use it. System icon appeared. Had chosen to master the piano skill level A. Musical melodies suddenly appeared in his mind. Amazing. A large amount of knowledge about piano was automatically flowing into his brain. Suddenly there was a the voice called him from behind. It turned out to be Luo Yaxi. She walked over with her bag and said, I'm here to pick you up. Are you surprised? He put his hand in his bag and looked down at her. No wonder he asked me before when are you going to fly back home? You're really considerate. Luo Yaxi leaned into his arms and shyly confessed. I miss you, then stood on tiptoe and kissed him on the cheek. She shyly stroked his hair. I'll take him out to eat first. After that, we went to see the house. I chose a 90 square meter house for about 150,000. He smiled happily like he had found candy, holding his hand and talking like a newly rich man. That's right, buying a house, only 150,000 how can it be enough? If you give a gift, you have to give an expensive one. He hugged Luo Yaxi and prepared to leave. Secretly calculating, buying a house can cost a lot of money. Luo Yaxi's current favorability is 95%. Right, no, I don't know what it will be like when it reaches 100%. I'm curious. Suddenly Chia Yushuan turned around and saw him and asked. Lin Sin where are you going? He was startled, sweating like he was caught at the battle. He quickly turned his head to explain. Oh, that, me and my friends then turned around and didn't see Luo Yaxi running ahead, waving to the driver, making him stiffen. Chia Yushuan said gently, his soulmate said, your friend came to pick you up, must be a good brother. Before he could explain, she quickly stood on tiptoe and kissed him on the cheek, then bowed her head and said, this trip is to the kingdom of Japan, it's been hard for you. Despite such danger, having finished speaking, Chia Yushuan was embarrassed and quickly left him and ran away. Now leave the arrangement of these documents to me. You are lucky, touched his face, thinking to himself, do they count as an indirect kiss? From inside the car, Luo Yaxi waved at him. Lin Sin, get in the car. 
He looked at it and felt relieved in his heart. Oh my god, have you avoided a lifetime of heated disputes? Lin Sin and Luo Yaxi stood in front of the lobby of villa area. Luo Yaxi stammered in surprise. This is Dila Yipan's villa area. Lin Sin had the opportunity to show off to a pretty girl and said. Um, I asked a friend just now. He introduced me here. Mr. True happily answered the phone before. Mr. Kian wants to buy the most expensive villa. Come to my Dila Yipan. Dragon Court number one in there is the most suitable for Mr. Kian's identity. Luo Yaxi and Lin Sin walked in. She looked around and said. But I heard that the cheapest villa costs 100 million. The pretty staff member bowed politely and said. Sir, miss, hello, can I anything to serve for you too? Lin Sin calmly replied. I want to watch Dragon Court number one. The employee, on the outside, secretly thought in disgust. Bringing people who do live streams here to record videos. It's so annoying. Okay, let's leave them to another colleague. Then tell the two people in front of us. Yes, sir, this is Dragon Court salesperson number one. Please wait a moment. Can you see the introduction of the design board of Dragon Court number one first? The female employee turned away in disgust, leaving Luo Yaxi hesitantly saying, Lin Sin, this Dragon Court number one is 300 million. Isn't it too expensive? Lin Sin replied very stylishly, Yaxi, this is your first room. I don't want to be rude. If you want to give it, you have to give it the most expensive one. Luo Yaxi tearfully called his name. Lin Sin, the system shows up, plus 3% of favorability. Luo Yaxi's current favorability is 98%. Lin Sin smiled happily as if she was on cloud 9 thinking. I'm so strong, I have both earned money and increased my favorability. Suddenly a man and a woman walked in. It was Mr. Jin and a big-breasted beauty walked in. Mr. Jin said to the girl, Today take me to see how the flowers are arranged at Dragon Court number 1. The girl next to me flattered me a bit. Mr. Jin is so good. Do you want to buy that house? Mr. Jin replied, not sure, if it can make you satisfied. Buying it is just a matter of minutes. Big belly guy Mr. Jin came next to Lin Sin and asked. Who brother, did you buy a villa too? Lin Sin politely replied, um, I'm. Luo Yaxi eyes bright as headlights said. Oh my god, Lin Sin, look at this balcony and swimming pool. It's expensive but really very beautiful. Mr. Jin and his sister wearing a mane of hair next to him said contemptuously. What a coincidence. The brother also saw Dragon Court number one star. Lin Sin stupidly and happily replied. He also came for Dragon Court number one. So what a coincidence. Luo Yaxi next door is in a serious mood. Sorry you two, we have decided to buy Dragon Court number one. You can go directly to Dragon Court number two or number three check it out. Mr. Jin revealed his infamous eyes and replied, Really, my brother is still young. I didn't expect he was already a billionaire. If that's the case then of course we have to give in. Nini said let's see right. Beautiful girl Nini continued, Of course. Although we also want to buy it. Just consider it as a friend gift. Luo Yaxi was upset. Lin Sin left to ask the staff. Hello, please tell me it's a toilet which direction is it? The employee enthusiastically replied. Go this way then turn right. At the men's restroom. Lin please wash your hands after doing business. Suddenly Mr. Jin boldly walked in. He pulled out a pack of cigarettes Lin Sin. My brother, stabbed you so you had to follow me. Right. He lit the cigarette. Then continued. That girl of yours is so sour. I don't think you can control it. Lin Sin deliberately pretended not to understand. What do you mean? I don't really understand. Mr. Jin pretended to flex with Lin Sin and said, It's just that you act very fake as a second generation rich man. I also have to worry about you a little more how are you going to clean up the ending? Look at me, nouveau riche, is this acting without any flaws? Young man Lin Sin looked surprised, looking at Mr. Jin in front of him. He put his arm around his shoulder Lin Sin said, I think you're very pleasing to the eyes or I'll give you some free tips. Come on. Look at my Porsche and Lamborghini car keys. Lin Sin asked in confusion. These are expensive car keys. Mr. Jin smiled happily and said with a voice full of experience. Damn the key. These are all lighters. These are all my color props. Discrimination. The Nini girl out there is looking because of my Lamborghini key. He let me slip into my hand so easily. He confidently spoke repeatedly, causing Lin Sin to go out of his mind. 
This appearance of yours cannot scare people. The rich second generation must have a way. Dressed like a wealthy second generation. At first glance I knew you were a newbie. He took advantage of the opportunity to offer long posts. I also tricked Nini into talking about buying a villa. When I saw you say you wanted to buy it, I immediately borrowed this as well. Going into the water, the image of an emerging rich person who is not short of money and is happy to expand relationships has been formed. Isn't that very good? This is improvisation. Brother, there are many things you can do. Need to learn. I just had an intensive course in 30 days. Discounting the price for you to 998. Even if you are a beauty or a rich woman, you can easily get your hands on it. Please coordinate with me later so that you can have it. Excuse not to buy this villa anymore. Outside Luo Yaxi and Nini. The girl Nini looked down at Luo Yaxi's bag and said, This Hermes bag of yours also looks like the real thing. Luo Yaxi responds in style. This is real. Bought in Hermes store. Pretty girl Nini continued innocently. Little sister, don't misunderstand. I'm not your enemy. Our goals are the same. It's just you so bad. I don't know how to look at people. Luo Yaxi asked in bewilderment. Me, what is my goal? I'm a pretty and confident girl. Pretending to be a rich lady. We all have the same goal. She confidently held up the bag in her hand and said. Your qualifications are very high. Only can you be high? Mr. Jin, this nouveau riche who spends heavily. This genuine Chanel bag of mine was also bought for him. 120.00 each. Luo Yaxi was shocked. Nini's older sister patted Yaxi's shoulder. But it's okay, I'll expose his true face later for you. Nini energetically held Yaxi's hand and said. Back, my sister is too stubborn. Luo Yaxi turned to Lin Sin and said. Lin Sin, the more I look at Dragon Court number one, the more I like it. Lin Sin elegantly said to the staff. Hello, I want to buy Dragon Court number one. Now go check in for me. The employee asked in surprise. Don't you need to come in first? Yes, I'll go to work right away. Mr. Jin and Nini thought nothing of the same thing. Come here, look come on little brother. I will relieve you, let you escape. Come here, look little sister. I will expose this second rich fake for you. The sound of swiping the card. The transaction was successful except 300 million. Lin Sin pointed at Luo Yaxi and said, The name of this house should be in the name of this lady. Luo Yaxi held his face in delusion and thought, Villa of 300 million, is my home with Lin Sin. The employee and Mr. Jin and Nini were petrified on the spot. With great difficulty forcing out the words, what? The employee politely raised his hand and said, You too, please go this way, I'll take you to Dragon Court number one. Unlucky Mr. Jin and Nini were extremely enthusiastic. Unexpectedly the clown was himself. At the luxury villa area, Lam Tam held out his hand to receive the key from the employee. Mr. Lin, this is the key of you. Starting from now on you are the owner of Dragon Court number one. Lin Sin politely replied, thank you. The security guard of the villa was sleeping soundly. A footsteps rang out. It made me say the guard suddenly woke up. He seemed to be cautious and raised his voice. Who said, Dragon Court number one is a villa that unauthorized people are not allowed to enter. I kicked. The security guard took a full kick and ascended to heaven. General True after finishing he happily said. Luckily I arrived in time. I knew right away that the situation would be like this. Leaving Lin Sin and Luo Yaxi helpless too. General True waved his hand and watched the two enter the villa. I didn't do it. Please. Mr. Kian and the beauties enjoy their new home. I wish you both a happy life. Inside the villa, two rows of servants are neatly lined up waiting for their masters. Inside there is a room filled with wine. It looks like Crave. The outdoor swimming pool is filled with a luxurious feeling. The shiny gym makes people say oh my god. It's so pompous. Lin Sin said very naturally. The bathroom is just as big. Enough for 10 people to bathe. Moreover next to the bathroom is the steam room. Suddenly the shower faucet flushed. Lin Sin turned around in bewilderment to look. Luo Yaxi stood under the wet faucet and said embarrassedly, accidentally touching the switch. Lin Sin blushed and looked at the ring won by Luo Yaxi said. Then take a hot bath. Don't let it get cold. Saying then turned around and left. I'll go buy you new clothes. Luo Yaxi expressed shyness and held Lin Sin. Don't go. This villa is so big. I'm a bit scared being alone. In the end, my clothes were scattered on the ground. The spring scene was exposed. 
The two of them pressed their faces close together. Luo Yaxi gasped for a few words. Two people's legs, one big and one small, stepping into the bathtub to do adult things. A way of enjoyment. The two kissed passionately. Luo Yaxi's eyes filled with tears said lovingly, Lin Sin, I love you. The system suddenly showed up with 2% favorability. Congratulations to the host for another successful counterattack step and receiving the first 100% attack achievement. The submissive relationship between Luo Yaxi and the host has changed. From now on she will be single-minded. Never betray. Spend 300 million in game money. Refund 3000,000. Bonus plus one full level attribute. You can choose a skill below B level as you like. Do you have a choice now? Lin Sin looked at the words on the system with bright eyes and thought. Successfully practicing. He happily continued thinking. Wholeheartedly yes. Never betray. No matter how many other beauties she knows I know. She will not be jealous nor will her liking decrease. So fighting no longer exists. Hugging left and right is no longer a dream. Okay, great. I'm busy now. Wait for your free time skills. Then pick him up. Luo Yaxi threw herself at him, whining and calling his name. Lin Sin. The next day, Lu Cheng woke up dreamily. She was startled to see Luo Yaxi walked in dreamily and asked. Yaxi, where did you go last night? Luo Yaxi climbed into bed and said, I'm tired. You open it and see my post yourself. Lu Cheng picked up the phone and was startled. Luo Yaxi's post with the words. Words of love in his mouth. Sunshine on his face. Love in his head. Beside him. Accompanied by meaningful photos. Lu Cheng said angrily. Holding the phone tightly. She. He is Lin Sin. Luo Yaxi just returned to her room early in the morning. She lazily lay down and yawned. In this world besides Lin Sin. Can I see anyone else? It's convenient to say, the villa that's what he bought for me. It's our house. Lu Cheng said with a jealous frown. What house? Yaxi, don't blame me for so many things. You guys don't have any emotional foundation. Lin Sin is very good maybe it's just a joke. Don't get too deep. Luo Yaxi was sleepy. His eyes almost glued together. Reply, thank you for reminding me. But my love for Lin Sin is so much that you don't I can't understand. Even if other women fall for him. I won't be jealous, because Lin Sin knows that I will always be with him. Lu Cheng shouted. You're crazy. Sleepiness came Luo Yaxi didn't care about Lu Cheng anymore. Didn't talk anymore. Last night Lin Sin tormented me until my limbs fell off. I support you to continue to hold on to Lin Sin if you can do it. Lu Cheng silently cursed in his mind. By the way, you keep being arrogant. Your last plan wasn't perfect enough. But this time Lin Sin will definitely feel it. A few days later, while Lin Sin is sleeping, the phone rang. What is that? It's early in the morning. On Lin Sin's phone notification are dense message notifications. Luo Yaxi, honey today is my birthday. Let's go let's eat and watch a movie. Lu Cheng, happy birthday to you. I really want to say these words to you personally. Lin Sin, happy birthday. Fortunately Peng Billion said it in the group. Otherwise I wouldn't have I know. You are my major shareholder. It's not okay if you don't invite me to a meal. Lin please read the message. I'm happy. I forgot my birthday. I've never had a girl wish me a birthday before me. Lin Sin replied to Peng Billion's message. I was very touched but I already had an appointment with my roommates to eat together today so it'll be later. Lin Sin thought to herself. What a fool. At the same time dealing with so many women in one day is so annoying. I'm not a master of time management. The brothers in Lin Sin's dorm room laughed and said, Today is your birthday. Tonight now we invite you to dinner. Lin Sin replied excitedly, Guys, then I won't be polite anymore. After Lin Sin replied, the guys in the room looked at each other and smiled mysteriously. Early afternoon Lin Sin happily arrived at the hotel that her roommates had booked in advance. Lin Sin exclaimed, Those three kids invited me to eat at such a luxurious hotel. I came here to eat with Yan Bao last time. Lin Sin looked at his phone and saw a reservation on the third floor. The three of Zhou Tong and the others were sitting on the third floor. Lin Sin arrived at the third floor and immediately took a photo to inform them. I arrived at the restaurant on the third floor. Everyone. At this time a woman with a stiff face due to plastic surgery angrily came forward and shouted at Lin Sin. Hey, why did you secretly take a photo of me? Immediately delete the photo and apologize to me. Lin Sin hurry up explanation. 
Ha, huh, I didn't secretly take a photo of you. The smug woman said, do you think I'm stupid? I'll count to three and if you don't delete it, I'll call the police. What a nuisance. I it's just that he looks a little more outstanding. And everywhere he goes there are perverted men secretly taking pictures. Lin Sin immediately held up the phone screen with the text message for everyone to see. In the photo is Lin Sin. He texted me. I've arrived at the restaurant on the third floor. Are you guys here? After showing everyone around, he said, I didn't secretly take pictures of you. Open your eyes and see clearly. Woman when Lin Sin saw the photo on her phone, she was extremely angry and embarrassed, and the surrounding staff secretly held back their laughter until they trembled. Luo Yaxi stepped forward and called out, Lin Sin, you're here. Lin Sin looked puzzled, Yaxi. Luo Yaxi quickly pulled his hand into the restaurant. Lin Sin let's go in. Lin Sin was pulled in by Yaxi and scratched scratching my head but still don't understand what the problem is. Everyone standing around eating melons also died laughing. This person's girlfriend is also so beautiful. That's right. With such a beautiful girlfriend. How can you secretly take pictures of someone who touches you? Plastic surgery like this. When you're ugly, you like to beautify yourself. The woman who was criticized by everyone was so angry. She cursed crazily in her head. A bunch of blind people. Is there anything I can't be beautiful about? So beautiful but he didn't take a picture of me. This man is really blind. Entering the restaurant to the reserved table. Lin Sin asked. Why are you here? Where are Joe Tong and the others? Yak Si said softly. Today is your birthday. People want to spend your birthday with you. So they asked them for a little help. Lin Sin was speechless. How could those three people go to such a high-end restaurant? So, Yak Si happily said. When I told them, they agreed very quickly, worthy of being my best friends. At this time, Lin Sin's friends thought, Son, the fathers can only help I'm just here. I don't have to go anywhere tonight. I understand. Luo Yaxi took out a watch. Lin Sin happy birthday. Lin Sin received the gift. Thank you and thought to yourself. Luckily it's not a competition it's good to win. Lu Cheng walked up from afar. Lin Sin, happy birthday. She held out her gift to Lin Sin. Lin Sin was surprised. Lu Cheng, why are you here? Lu Cheng sit down next to Lin Sin, approaching him with a seductive look. Lin Sin, this is Versace's leather belt. I think this belt is worthy of your temperament. Luo Yaxi frowned and said, this belt it's only 50.000. Right, this gift is too cheap. Lin Sin this watch is Omega's newest one. 200.000. Lu Cheng counted. No Yaxi, Lin Sin gave you so many gifts so you only bought a watch for 200.000. Although my leather belt is only 50.000, but that's all the money I have. Lin Sin's attitude is not very happy. Give it back, I don't need your gift. Lu Cheng thought in shock. He actually asked me to return the belt. As soon as Lin Sin heard that I had used all my money to buy it, he immediately decided to thank me. Need that. Lin Sin really you still love me. Notification system plus 3 favorability. Lu Cheng's favorability is 94%. Hello everyone. Welcome to Cha Cha's livestream room. Fans excitedly commented. Cha Cha is so pretty. Cha Cha ranked 88th in the list of favorites. Let's see what I bring hey everyone. Shampoo combo. Original price 42 but I opened the benefit for everyone. Today only 38. Do you want it? If you want. Press 1 to go to the general chat screen. Comments from residents netizens. Want. Want. Now Cha Cha wash your hair. Such an old domestic brand. Bought two boxes. Children love to eat it. Can it be a little lower? Cha Cha feels awkward with these comments. She could barely respond. The logistics staff outside held up a sign. Expected very low sales. Invited a mystery guest. Cha Cha spoke up. It seemed people were not interested very good with our product or is it like this? I still have a way. I invited the mysterious guest. Who is very famous recently. Mr. Keon. Lin Sin wearing a mask. Wearing a very cool suit like a true tycoon. Hello everyone. Cha Cha immediately said in a coy voice. Mr. Keon spends money like water. Can he give benefits to our fans? Netizen's comments were hotly discussed. It's really Mr. Keon. Get in line quickly. Mr. Keon will give you welfare. It's okay. Lin Sin replied generously. No problem. We all know that Feng Fei is a long-standing domestic brand. From ancient times until now the prices are all very affordable. 
38 yuan is already the lowest price. It can't be reduced anymore. But with me, I compensate everyone with 10 yuan. In fact only need to use 28 yuan. If 100 combo sets are sold within 10 minutes, Cha Cha will perform his talent. Cha Cha happily shouted. Lin Sin and Cha Cha counted down. 3, 2, 1, order. The number of orders skyrocketed. 50 orders, 150 singles, 280, 340, 500 singles. Cha Cha was surprised and speechless. Lin Sin said, everyone is so supportive. Cha Cha, don't be dumbfounded. Immediately perform let's be talented. Cha Cha thinks and says well I'll ride my bike for everyone to see. Livestream fan speaks up. Cycling has been something for a long time. I want something newer. That's right. That's right. Cha Cha I was worried and didn't know what to do. Lin Sin reassured me. Everyone can rest assured about this. I came to this livestream room to provide benefits to everyone. If the old bike is too old, we'll make a new one. Cha Cha. Do the cycling position first. Cha Cha did the butt curl pose. Sexy and asked. Like this. Lin Sin shouted. Okay. Prepare to perform the costume transformation. Hey. 10. Cha Cha changed into a set of sexy tight clothes. A tight top and pants that accentuated her busty bust and butt. Combined with the cycling movements on the exercise machine that made the guys watching the livestream go crazy. Nosebleed. Comments flooded in with compliments. Wow. Mr. Kian is so cool. Never thought that cycling clothes are the clothes that suit Cha Cha the most. Lin Sin Ho. Wait. Location this can't be done. Director. Can you do it? Lin Sin immediately took the camera and put it behind Cha Cha. Highlighting Cha Cha's busty butt even more. Along with the cycling action. His butt bounced following the cycling motion. Cha Cha blushed embarrassedly. Lin Sin said. This is the right angle. Cha Cha said shyly, Mr. Kian, don't make the livestream room turn off. Then I put it in front of my face. So it's okay. Everyone text me. Dress normally. No dishonest behavior. Go on the chat screen. People watching the livestream comment. Dress normally. No dishonest behavior. Giving chicken thighs to Mr. Kian. At the same time, the livestream room next door. Kiao Luo Luo did not open the filter. Ranked fourth most popular in the entire table. Hello brothers, sisters, children, welcome to my livestream room. November 11th is shopping day. What should I buy on shopping day? Comments surfaced. I bought 5 sets. Can I join your VIP fan team? I bought 50 sets. Just asking for an account Luo Luo's Wikson. Luo Luo awkwardly said. Ordering loafers. Why isn't everyone buying anything? Only sold a few dozen pairs. Luo Luo's assistant came to whisper to her. Cha Cha's livestream room suddenly became hot. Many people ran over there to see. Kiao Luo Luo was surprised. What? In Zhu Tan Hua's livestream room. Zhu Tan Hua smiled shyly and ranked second most popular on the whole list. Date of purchase on November 11th. I am the representative of agricultural fruits. More than a thousand pounds of high quality kiwis were out of stock. Because in order to help the simple and hardworking farmers. Our team was not afraid of hardships. Bypassing middlemen. Directly transporting high quality fruits from the garden to consumers. Fan Zhu Tan Hua commented enthusiastically. Zhu Tan Hua. I love you. Let me give you all my retirement money. I'm coming here. Baby. Sweet fruit or sweet Zhu Tan Hua's mouth. Zhu Tan Hua sing a song. I'm wet for one night. I really like you. I want to hold your hand for the rest of my life. I want 10 boxes. The number of livestream viewers suddenly dropped sharply. From 10,000 to 9,008. Then down to 5,004. The assistant stepped forward and whispered. 30% of the fans in the livestream room were gone. Zhu Tan Hua quite panicked. Lee CG's livestream room. Lipstick boss. Top of the most popular list. Livestream opened. Good afternoon all ladies. Today is November 11th shopping day. Welcome everyone to my livestream room. Today I bring everyone a lot of good products. There are many big brands. Preferential prices. Ladies. Come on up. Lee CG said. Here it is. Four spring. Summer. Autumn and winter lipsticks from the domestic high-end brand Huayuzi. I tell everyone. This set of lipsticks is really extremely beautiful. I show it to everyone. Is it okay? Lee also want to buy Disney Runaway Princess. Now I count one, two, three on the order. 
all sisters. Buy it. Li CG thought to herself. At least sold 1,000,000. The closing numbers continuously increasing. 12,000. 24,000. 25,000. Assistant Le CG announced. Not good. Now 80% of the people in the livestream room have gone to Cha Cha's room. Li CG Yu said. A small stream. Selling cheap domestic brands. Stole my audience. That's right. They have a guest named Mr. Keon. Giving customers a huge discount. Assistant said. To the fans our girl also went there to buy it. What should we do now? Based on the current sales. I'm afraid we won't be able to achieve our expected goal. Lee CG silently signaled. But let me teach you. Or something. Find someone to enter her live room. Use the excuse that the goods are of poor quality and then denounce. Cha Cha's live stream room. Suddenly many people came to denounce. The live stream was vulgar. Proposed to be banned. Has denounce. Denounce lives for vulgarity. I bought five more sets. Cha Cha prepares to perform. I want to see Cha Cha riding a bicycle. Suddenly many people came to denounce. Just now the review room came once. Next time, I will be locked up. At this time, netizens again urged Cha Cha. Ten minutes have passed. Cha Cha, quickly show off your talent. Denounce live vulgarity. Denounce it quickly. Go away. Cha Cha quickly let's perform. I bought a lot of them. Cha Cha was awkwardly about to apologize to everyone. Then Lin Sin thought for a moment and said, Wait, I don't know what your purpose is in denouncing but you guys have control okay. I can manage what the audience likes to watch. Moreover, we are just showing the dynamism of youth. Exercising is very normal. Netizens support it. Mr. Kian said it well. At this moment, the assistant announced that there was a call from the oil brand. Saying that what you said was very good. Very correct. He wanted to use real actions to support you. Lin Sin happily said, very good opening the screen is on. Connected to the coconut brand live room. On the screen is an image of a gym group working hard with the slogan. Support Mr. Keon. Mr. Keon is great. Mr. Keon is great. Old brand boots supporting a long-standing brand. This time the two strong sides join together. In Lee CG's live stream room, the assistant quickly whispered, useless accusations. The boss of that coconut company spoke up to support them. Now now they sell a lot. The analyst said that Cha Cha's livestream room could easily achieve about 2330.00 transactions. The owner of the room immediately turned around. Angrily shouted at the motherfucker. System notification. Li CG. Zhu Tan Hua. Kiao Luo Luo want to fight with you. Do you agree or not? Cha Cha is worried. Why is this happening? Those three people are all big salesmen claiming to dominate one side. Why do they want to fight? To me, Lin Sin said. Why else? Of course we were not careful enough to steal their rice bowls. I agreed to fight them. The condition was that all three of them went up. Cha Cha screamed in fear. Mr. Keon, in Cha Cha's live stream room, three elders together connected PK with Cha Cha. Hello everyone. Netizens exploded, put on their sandals and sat waiting. Lee CG spoke up. Mr. Keon is so brave. Yet he peaked with three people. To be more fair, Mr. Keon should make the rules. You can say whatever you want to PK. The other two agree or not. Kiao Luo Luo and Zhu Tan Hua all agree. Lin Sin said, the rule is very simple. The three of you try your best to catch up with me. Welcome everyone to my bustling viewing team. Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi they brought the noodles immediately eat the family mart elephant. The three bosses were bewildered and didn't understand what was going on. Lu Cheng appeared. Normally I belong to Mr. Kian, but today I belong to everyone. Netizens are really exploding. Mr. Kian's ability to kill in the blink of an eye is so strong. I have to buy orders for Lu Cheng. Brothers today I want to bury myself in this livestream room. The wonderful Mr. Kian. It's Luo Yaxi's turn to appear sexy. Hello everyone. Happy November 11th shopping festival. Online community. I want to see Lu Cheng and Yaxi interact with each other. Cha Cha don't lose. Cha Cha also show off his skills. I'm an uncultured person. The PK officially begins. Cha Cha PK with the three salesmen. Li CG also gave up. Sisters, we can't lose either. Let's show them the power of girls. Huayuzi's liquid foundation only costs 388. 3. 2.1 let's do it. Zhu Tan Hua spoke up. 
It doesn't matter what PK sisters do, rescuing fruits is the important goal today. Kiao Luo Luo also called. Everyone hurry up and close orders. Leather loafers only have 3,000 pairs left. Well, if you're slow, you can't buy it. The PK ended. The final result was Cha Cha in the lead. The system announced Cha Cha's livestream room as the winner. Cha Cha and Lin celebrating the victory. Thank you, thank you everyone. At Lee CG's livestream room, the assistant announced. The livestream room was paused for five minutes. Lee CG's face was gloomy, angrily cursing. Damn, is it right to play like this? Okay, find a group of anchors to smear their products. Let me see if they die or not. A group of anchors immediately poured into Cha Cha's livestream room to condemn. Elephant instant noodles are so difficult to eat. Yet there are people who buy them. Isn't it? Isn't it? Fung Fei shampoo is so cheap. I don't even want to use the oil wash my hair. I don't believe the live room owner dares to apply Fung Fei's moisturizer. Cheap products have proven their quality is poor. Cha Cha explains. Everyone, don't believe what the anchors say. Domestic products everything I sell has been inspected eight times. There is absolutely no problem with the quality. Don't sell your conscience to defame me. There are comments asking, is it real or fake? I just bought 10 bags of noodles. If I eat an elephant right away, I won't dare buy it again. Cha Cha worriedly said to Lin Sin, the number of purchases has clearly decreased. What should Mr. Kian do? Lin Sin said confidently, the problem that money can solve is not a problem. That said, immediately picked up the phone and called. Hello Yan Jiang Prince daughter. If anyone has a relationship, please contact the bosses for me. I want to make a big deal out of it. Kiao Luo Luo's livestream room. Luo Luo turned to ask the assistant. What's going on? Isn't it just? The number of purchases has increased a bit. Why suddenly there are no more buyers? It's Mr. Kian again. He did something big. He cooperated with long-standing domestic brands such as Coconut. Hong Tin Ingredients, Recovery, etc. Let's go to Cha Cha's live room to sell. Moreover, directly reduce the price by half. Those domestic factories are crazy about everything. So isn't that a dead loss? Why, Zhu Tan who is live stream room? The assistant whispered. The fans also suspected the same. But Mr. Kian told the domestic brand to send the cost of the production line. Even the president of the domestic product also appeared, saying with Mr. Kian behind them, they only need to earn 30% to support the company. Those so-called high-end brands spend more than 79% of the profits, and the quality is not as good as other companies. That country works conscientiously, now more than half of our fans have run there. Some people even ran back to us saying the quality of our Huayuzi products were poor. The price was inflated. Fans watching the live stream all protested. CG quickly explained to me why Huayuzi stopped. So expensive. I support CG, but the Huayuzi lipstick he sells is a bit unbelievably expensive. Per gram it's more expensive than gold. No matter what, a lipstick selling for 179 is really expensive. Lee CG angrily said. It's annoying. It's so annoying. Where is it expensive? Where is it expensive? It's possible that the main reason is because people don't. How many years have you worked? Has your salary increased? Find the cause from yourself. Is that okay? The online community turned around and scolded him. He is blood-sucking demon. What an evil mouth. What a disgusting, truly disgusting. Oh my god. What are you talking about? Have you finally said what was on your mind? So disgusting. Trash. Go away. Zhu Tan who is live room. The online community requested. Zhu Tan Hua also sent the production line. Let everyone see how difficult it is for farmers. Yes, yes. Many long standing brands nearby have sent production lines. Zhu Tan Hua trembled and said, This, they are all farmers. So what do they mean by production lines? We are talking about the heart. Right. At this moment, a debunking comment appeared. Ladies, I found it. The product said to be from this farmer. His are all fake. Fake farmers. Fake stories. Even the fruits are fake. Is fake. Bitter. Very difficult to eat. You have disappointed me so much. Zhu Tan Hua, the scammer, selling fake goods. Have him assassinated. Zhu Tan Hua cried and explained but to no avail. No. You my sister listen to my explanation. In Luo Luo's lives room. Condemning comments began to spread. Good quality domestic goods. 
preferential prices, not as poor quality as these foreign goods. The slightest touch of foreign goods will break, so but they sell so well. Their head must be broken, leave it alone. These foreign brands also look down on us perfume consumers. Kiao Luo Luo counted, everyone stop arguing, stop arguing, give Luo Luo some face. I will definitely give everyone an answer. The online community has almost no explanation of Kiao Luo Luo. Why do you still buy low quality foreign products and want to be a licking dog? Sincerely love but don't argue anymore. Okay, the system announced an error. The filter was turned off. In front of the screen was a fat girl with many freckles and wrinkles. Netizens could hardly believe their eyes. Words. Oh my god. Who is this aunt? This is Kiao Luo Luo's real face. Mom I'm going to have nightmares. Horror movie. Old lady. Scare me and press the F key like crazy. Kiao Luo Luo screamed in despair. Why is my filter turned off? The scared online community saved me. In the live stream room. Cha cha. She excitedly reported the situation. Mr. Kian. The three big sellers the other stores are all closed. They can't sell anymore. Lin Sin said. Just can't sell the products. What's the point? Shi Yan. Yu Xuan. What's going on? Shi Yan reported the situation. I told the hacker under my hand to investigate clearly. The three people Li C G. Kiao Luo Luo, Zhu Tan Hua are actually all from the same MCN company. The bad story of the company's founder this company has many things. Including defrauding more than a hundred houses. The amount of money involved exceeds more than 300 million. There are many hotspots under his name. Lin Sin smiled proudly and said. Good evidence. I have enough. Now I can hand it over to the police. Yu Xuan said. I have already notified the police. I should have gone to the live stream room over there by now. The suspects have all been arrested and brought to justice. Cha Cha happily announced the good news. Mr. Kian, good news. Everyone's support has exceeded 3 million. Revenue is up to 23 billion 3. Lin please speak up. Thank you everyone for your support. The benefits we should give are of course it's indispensable. Including those who read in front of the screen. Everyone has a chance. Cha Cha spoke up. But our products are sold out. Lin Sin and Shi Yan and Fisherman launched the shirt new. This is it. Lin Sin quickly shook his head when he saw the advertisement. Why would anyone recommend such a product? Cha Cha, Lu Cheng, Luo Yaxi, everyone come up. Luo Yaxi, follow and comment SA666. Lu Cheng, remember to vote. The online community howled. So beautiful. Wife Cha Cha, Mr. Kian understands me so well. Mr. Kian is my good brother from another mother. Mr. Kian is great. Mr. Kian is the best. Mr. Kian is the best. Lin Sin said. Finally I will give everyone a song to end this live stream. Once again thank you everyone for your support. The trio of Cha Cha. Luo Yaxi and Lu Cheng sang the ending duet. Let the moonlight sway. The air began to become magical. Give me a magical summer potion. The scene changed back to Lin Sin's birthday night. He was surprised. What's wrong with this woman? I didn't accept her gift and yet she increased her favorability. Really speechless. Lu Cheng is like that rushed forward and hugged Lin Sin affectionately. Lin Sin you really like me more and more. Luo Yaxi next to him quickly shouted. What are you doing? Let him go. They were both so noisy that it took pictures affecting the atmosphere of the restaurant. Everyone around was watching the excitement. Lu Cheng took out another gift. Lin please don't need to say anything. I understand. Just like I understand you. Ministry I remember the bunny girl outfit you mentioned before. Lin Sin's eyes formed an O and her mouth formed an A. Lu Cheng was proud. What? Isn't that what truly loves someone? Luo Yaxi said angrily. Lu Cheng, why is your skin so thick? The woman's face was stiff. After seeing the scene of two people struggling with a man, she thought to herself, Oh my god. Two beautiful women fighting over him. This man is actually hugging left and right. It's unbelievable. Luo Yaxi stood up and said. Lu Cheng, do you want to go to the bathroom? Lu Cheng arrogantly said. Okay, that woman thought to herself. The opportunity has come. In the women's restroom, Luo Yaxi said. Lu Cheng, his attitude is already so clear. But you still hang around with him without mercy. How boring. Lu Cheng counted. Don't you see that Lin Sin is already shaken? You're the one who should leave. The woman stepped in to advise. You guys stop arguing. You beauties. Wake up. 
That man is clearly a poor and low-class fraudster. He doesn't deserve you. I'm really speechless. Luo Yaxi asked. Who are you? So, the woman continued. You are all high-quality girls. There are very long lines of men wanting to pursue you. Why are we arguing and fighting over a poor man? I'm speechless. We have to girls help girls. Luo Yaxi and Lu Cheng don't care about that crazy woman. Back to my story. Lu Cheng said, I seem to remember someone once said that even if Lin Xin had another girl, he wouldn't be jealous or something. As soon as he turned around, he would have changed. Luo Yaxi counted, if Lin Xin also likes it, I of course there's no problem. Lin Xin while they were going to the bathroom they were about to run away. They were just arguing next to each other. What else would they eat? Let's run away. Right at this moment Chia Yushuan met Lin Xin again. She called, Lin Xin. Lin Xin was also surprised. Suspiciously asked, Chia Yushuan. She asked him, why are you here? Lin Xin explained, I originally had an appointment with roommate. I didn't expect the other three would let me climb the tree. Chia Yushuan said, my family also eats here. Maybe it's fate. That's right Lin Xin. I've already arranged all those documents. The exhibition will open in two days. And the propaganda has already been arranged. Lin Sin said, that's great. That crazy woman just came out of the bathroom when she saw Lin Sin and Chia Yushuan entering the elevator. She was confused and didn't understand what was going on. It's unbelievable. This woman is more beautiful than the two the previous one. Why are all the beauties surrounding him? Male scum. I must expose him. Went down to the first floor lobby. Lin Sin asked. She said she was going out to eat with her family. Why did she come down here? Chia Yushuan said, I'm down here to pick you up. Lin Sin asked, is your friend male or female? Chia Yushuan smiled happily, she is female. She and I have known each other for many years. They are here. Shi Yan waved goodbye. Xuan Xuan. Chia Yushuan greeted politely. Uncle Jiang. Auntie. Long time no see. Auntie said politely, I even came down here to pick you up. This Yushuan kid is really. Chia Yushuan introduced. Shi Yan, this is the person I always told you about. Where are you? Lin Sin quickly avoided thinking Shi Yan. That woman always follows Lin Sin. What a scum male here. Right know how to run. But I took pictures of everything. You're probably dead. Lin Sin thought as he ran. This world is so small. I didn't expect Chia Yushuan and I thought Shi Yan were friends. Even though they and I weren't friends yet. There is no definite relationship with me. There is nothing to panic. But the thought of them meeting and arguing like Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi gives me a headache. I should still find a place to stay. Lin Sin was walking and met the piano player. Huh, isn't this a coincidence? Lin Sin came closer and whispered. Hey brother, shift change time is here. The manager told me to come. The piano player asked in bewilderment. Huh, shift change. Lin Sin added. I forgot to bring clothes okay. Let me borrow your clothes for a bit. I'll give them back to you later. That's right. The manager said it wasn't enough for a day and will also charge you a day's salary. The keyboard player happily said. Really? Then let's do it I'm sorry. I'll go first. Lin Sin proudly. Then no one will pay attention to me. Just play a song. Escape this time. I'm so smart. Lin Sin ran his fingers across the keys. He was surprised. This feeling, musical knowledge seemed to flow out. He immersed himself in the music passionately. Everyone in the restaurant stood up and listened attentively. Melodious music. While Lin Sin was passionately playing, the woman who was planning to record a clip denouncing Lin Sin also exclaimed in surprise. This is. Chia Yushuan said, this song is the golden hour zone. Everyone at the restaurant seemed immersed in the music. There was a guest standing listening and exclaiming, I remember the most beautiful memories with my boyfriend. This is the song come on. So good. Luo Yaxi and Lu Cheng standing in the crowd also recognized it as Lin Sin. Everyone almost couldn't resist this wonderful sound. I cried, but it's not a sad song. So magical, like being in a flower garden with bright sunshine, but with a bit of sadness. Lu Cheng exclaimed, this song is so beautiful. I didn't expect Lin Sin could even play the piano. Lin Sin it it's like being covered in sunlight. Dazzling, brilliant and emitting a mesmerizing sound. Chia Yushuan, Jiang Shi Yan, Lu Cheng, Luo Yaxi seem to be immersed in their thoughts. Dear, Chia Yushuan imagines her and him hugging each other in a flower field. Blue sky and gentle breeze. 
Jiang Shi Yan thinks of the day she will put on a white wedding dress and walk into the ceremony together sugar. I want to marry you. Luo Yaxi imagines herself at the beach. Blue sky, white clouds, golden sunshine, Luo Yaxi and Lin Xin playing by the beach. I can't imagine the days without you. And Lu Cheng thinks of Lin please and I are crazy on horseback in the vast green fields. Can't forget you behind me. The song ended. The exclamations continued. How lucky must I be to be able to become his person. He is so attractive. Can always surprise me. I really want to have him. Has money. Handsome. Humble. Responsible. Such an excellent man. I, I feel completely unworthy of him. The system sound. Chia Yushuen added 20% favorability. Current favorability is 74%. Jiang Shi Yan added 10% favorability. Favorability the current favorability is 87%. Lu Cheng plus 5% favorability. The current favorability is 99%. Lin Xin was startled. Oh my god. What's going on? Did I just get into my mind? Everyone the crowd applauded endlessly. You're handsome. You're so good. I can hear you crying. You're handsome. What's your name? I gave you nine pianos but it's just like carrying shoes for you. How do you practice? I want to marry you brother. I have never heard such beautiful music. Lin Sin thought to himself. It's over. I still want to be modest and not attract the attention of others. Now how will I retreat? As expected, they have already discovered it. And because of his song, Lu Cheng's favorability has increased. Even Lu Cheng is less than 1% away from successfully playing. After all, is this bad or good? Right now, a group of bodyguards created a huge noise. Give way a little. This is the most famous pianist Yan Jiang Li Didi. He boldly walked in and said, The person who just played this golden hour song is a trainable talent. If he follows my team, it is guaranteed that in just one year, he came back and did not see Lin Sin anywhere. He quickly asked, Where are you? After Lin Sin escaped, fortunately suddenly a pianist appeared and attracted everyone's attention. Let's go. Thank you, unknown pianist. Li Didi's heart was screaming right now. My piano prince. I love him. When will I see him again? Lin Sin thought. I probably won't chase him out here. At this moment a motorbike came. The person on the motorbike screamed. Be careful. A collision happened and pushed Lin Sin flying for a while. Lin Sin thought to himself. It broke and crashed into someone. He hurriedly ran away in panic too. Are you okay? Both of us said in unison it was you. It was me. Lin please ask. Can you get up? Shen Dong spoke. My leg is pressed on. Please help me up the car. In while Shen Dong was speaking, Lin Sin gently put the car up. Turned to tell her. Pick it up. Shen Dong was surprised. You. How could you do it? This car weighs 170 kilograms. Lin Sin scratched her head and said, Maybe it's because of my great strength. That you're injured. She calmly replied, It's okay. This little wound is common. Last time there was also a broken bone. Anyway, my profession. Shen Dong. Thank you that time on the yacht. After that I still couldn't contact you. That's right. Give me your yacht. I want to return it to you. Actually I is. Lin Sin quickly ran away and said, you can donate that money to children in the mountains or people in difficult circumstances. No need to thank me. I'm like a living Lei Feng. Shen Dong shouted up. Hey. Lin Sin thought as she ran away. Shen Dong has worked to the point of breaking her bones. Don't worry about such a poor girl. Run away quickly. When he got home, he remembered what Shen Dong said. Brother, how could you do that? This thing weighs 170 kilograms. Lin Sin thought to himself. What is the concept of having level 5 strength now? I'm a bit confused. Curious. Go to the gym tomorrow and see what happens. The next morning at the gym. It's early in the morning and there are already so many people coming to work out. The competition is so fierce. Wow that perky butt. From afar yes a fitness trainer came up and said. Very beautiful. Right. I can help you pursue her. Lin Sin said. No. I'm just looking. He laughed loudly. Everyone is a man. Fake why are you pretending? No need to worry. I'm not telling you to ask for someone's wikesen now. Because you can't ask for it now. Gym girls don't like weak men. Have to be like me hey hey. The good news is. I'm Wei Long. The gold medal coach at Wool Gym. I can make a study plan for you. Three months will definitely help you gain big muscles. Just 8,000 yuan. Lin Sin waved his hand said. 
no need, thank you, Wei Long added, don't rush to refuse, I can give you two experience lessons, after completing these two sessions, then decide, how about it, Lin Sin tried his best refuse, there's no need, I just came to practice tools, Wei Long saw that he couldn't be convinced then turned around and left, okay, I still have class so I won't talk to you anymore, if you think about it carefully you can come find me, he has an attitude, you poor family, can't pay for a gym course, you chicken, Lin Sin saw an exercise machine but scratched his head, wondering how this was used what's going on, just when a girl passed by, Lin Sin immediately asked for help, let me ask, do you know what kind of tool this is used for, the girl instructing Lin Sin, this is called a pedal machine, need sitting here, feet placed on this pedal, both sides are control pins, Lin Sin said, so that's it, thank you, ding, notification system detects high beauty value, start play practice mission, name Shi Luo Bing, 24 years old, height 167 centimeters, weight 49 kilograms, when the opponent's favorability towards the master exceeds 90%, 10% of the game money spent will be refunded, and added to the host's personal wealth, when the opponent's favorability towards the host reaches 100%, it will change its identity and change through the dependency system of the host and target. Favorability with the host is 0%. Lin Sin thought to himself, this system is really cool. Even if you wear a hat and mask you can check it out. This is a see-through function. Right. The system, just in close distance, you can check whether the other person has had facial surgery or not. Lin Sin said, then try the heaviest weight. Shi Luo Bing turned away and thought to himself. He is indeed a newbie. No is there any concept with 600 kilograms? Shi Luo Bing walked into the private gym. Good morning coach Wei Long. You're here, warm up first. Shi Luo Bing took off her hat and mask. She edited it a bit. Wei Long guessed. She's really beautiful, wearing a hat and mask. Could it be some star? While Shi Luo Bing was exercising to warm up. Wei Long looked at her intently. Very good. Sit a little lower. Wei Long's name came closer. Taking advantage opportunity to touch Shi Luo Bing. Yes. Move your butt back a little. Can you feel the force of your muscles? He took advantage of the opportunity. Groped Shi Luo Bing. Relax a little. I will stretch your muscles for you. Shi Luo Bing said angrily. Training. Aren't these actions of yours a bit too much? Wei Long said angrily. What do you mean? I'm focusing on warming up for you. Don't you suspect I'm taking advantage of you? Muz. Shi Luo Bing firmly said. If the coach continues to do this now, please bother the coach to change the teaching method for me. I am not in the habit of having skin contact with others. Wei Long said angrily. Okay, I'll change the way of teaching you. Wei Long thought. It seems I can't let you suffer a little. He asked Shi Luo Bing to stretch. Push-ups. Quick. Quick. Don't stop. Continue. Continue. One minute of jumping jacks. One minute of burpees alternating with one minute of walking lunges. Fast. Fast. Do it again. Fast. Fast. Shi Luo Bing stop and rest for a while and say. Train this level of training isn't that too big. Should we proceed slowly and orderly? Wei Long said arrogantly. You paid to take my class. I have to be responsible for you. If it doesn't work then you will it's a waste of money. Even my top training reputation is in tatters. Bodybuilding is all about suffering. Do you understand? You can't do this. You can't do that. Then you tell me. I how can I help you? Shi Luo Bing said. No need to say more. Continue. She said to herself. Isn't it just a little more tiring? Being hidden by the company for two years. I have to persevere. It's not easy what can you do to get an idle drama to air on the network? You must use your best form to act. Wei Long looked at the clock and chuckled, swaying, shaking, probably about to be unable to control himself anymore. Frequency of movements even if you're a female trainer. This is a very hard job. Quickly admit your mistakes and accept my first teaching method. Isn't that okay? This figure, it's been a year since I've seen a female student such high quality. The lamb is about to be on my table. Shi Luo Bing screamed and fainted. Wei Long said, this girl's physical strength can't hold it anymore. Wei Long ran to shake Shi's body vigorously Luo Bing. Call out. Hey. Hey. Lin Sin came over and saw. There. She's the girl who has a bondage relationship with me. Seeing that. Lin Sin immediately rushed in. 
What's wrong? Wei Long saw Lin Sin entering and shouted. This is a private room. You get out. Lin Sin rushed to check the pulse. Saw Shi Luo Bing still had a pulse and said. The person has fainted and still has a private room. What a monkey. Wei Long rushed forward to push Lin Sin away. Get away. I'll give her CPR. Lin Sin said angrily. Her heartbeat was too fast. She's still breathing. Are you going to do CPR? Do you have basic knowledge? Around the gym people gathered and whispered. At this time Shi Luobing's body was convulsing continuously. Wei Long angrily cursed. Damn, why is this happening? It's just exercise. Everyone shouted. Quickly call an ambulance. Lin Sin thought. The fastest ambulance will take another 15 minutes coming. I'm afraid it's too late. The system I want to choose a skill. System notification. Because the host has achieved 100% strategy. Can choose any skill from level C to level S. If you want started checking the skill inventory. Lin Sin said. Give me a skill that can save her now. Ding. Chose the skill of traditional Chinese medicine. Lin Sin hugged his head. Ah, oh, I have a headache. So much knowledge too. The whole knowledge is conveyed in the beginning. When Lin Sin activates the function. He can see the blood vessels running in Shi Luobing's body. The yang does not increase. The jaw qi decreases. The color does not transmit to the place. The divine spirit lacks nourishment. Lin Sin uses acupressure and acupressure methods. Bark Jang. Quan Nguyen acupuncture point. Nei Quan acupuncture point. People around are talking. What is he doing? It seems like he is pressing acupoints. He is trying to save this girl. Is it effective? He looks young to age. It's not like you have experience in traditional Chinese medicine. Don't press acupressure points and make people die. Shi Luo Bing slowly opened his eyes. Everyone was surprised by Lin Sin's acupressure talent. He said, his current condition you can't just lie down like that. I help you stand up and sit against the wall. Everyone in the gym gathered around to applaud him. He's really good. He looks so young but he's actually an expert. Seeing this girl convulsing, I thought it was over. Boy, very good. The noble hero can now go to the newspaper. Lin Sin politely said, thank you, but please don't crowd around anymore. Now she needs fresh air to rest. Shi Luo Bing sat against the wall and said, you saved me. Thank you. Notification system plus 15% of Shi Luobing's favorability. Lin Sin explained. Because her heartbeat was too fast. She fainted. Did she exercise very vigorously just now? Shi Luobing said. Um, just now when practicing. The coach said to exercise like that new effective. Lin Sin came back criticizing Wei Long. What level of physical fitness is suitable for the student to exercise? Shouldn't you be the most obvious as a trainer? Do you let her exercise so intensely that it exceeds her body's resistance? Are you doing it on purpose or is it true? Not so careful. Saw what Lin Sin said and everyone agreed. Isn't this way long a top coach? Why did he make such a mistake? Just now he wanted to do CPR. I don't even have basic medical knowledge. So how can I be a trainer? Wei Long heard some gossip and cursed angrily. You motherfucker. You dare doubt my professionalism. I has a certificate for advanced bodybuilding. What certificate do you have? Nothing at all right. I see you are the one who knows a little about traditional medicine. She fainted because of some illness. After fainting, he will wake up on his own. Shi Luo Bing stepped forward to intervene. Don't argue with this type of person. I will cancel the class at the reception desk. Immediately process the refund. Wei Long refuses to let it go. Wait already. You think you're done smearing my reputation. So you can go like that. I want to challenge you. Only then can I regain my reputation. If you refuse, you will never come to Wool Gym again. Lin Sin said. Okay, I accept this challenge. I don't care if I can go to this gym or not. Mainly I'm sad because I have no reason to attack you. At the boxing ring, everyone was talking. That kid over there actually dared to challenge Wei Long. Is really tired of life. Wei Long is not simply a muscle trainer. Is it possible? Does Wei Long have another identity? Wei Long once won the championship three times in a row in the underground boxing tournament of Yan Jiang City. Although he withdrew from the boxing tournament to come here to coach two years ago. But he practices every day. What he practices are all deadly fists. Wei Long asked, do I need to wear gloves? Lin Sin said, no need. I'm not used to wearing those things. Everyone in the audience exclaimed, stupid, you're dead for sure. Wei Long moved quickly. 
threw thunderous punches but Lin Sin dodged them all. So fast, the movements of a hawk at a distance distance. Easy to avoid, while boxing is more about close combat. Movement distance is very short. Without level 5 flexibility it is really unavoidable. This person is definitely not a group trainer normal image. Wei Long said with a proud face. Goodbye. Wei Long jumped up and threw a punch straight at Lin Sin. Everyone in the stands divided into two sides. One side cheered, the other side exclaimed, Oh my god, Shi Luo Bing shouted, No, Lin Sin actually blocked this punch. Wei Long couldn't believe his eyes. How could Lin Sin stand up and counterattack? Thank you for teaching me to fight right. I learned a lot. Lin Sin threw a series of punches that knocked out Wei Long in the blink of an eye. Everyone was surprised. What? He won. Wow. Wei Long's brothers exclaimed. Unexpectedly the ambulance had just been called to save that girl. But now it was used again. Shi Luo Bing pulled Lin Sin's hand. I have something to tell you. I have a request for you. It may not be very fair but I hope you think about it a bit. Lin Sin expressed that she should just say it. Shi Luo Bing continued. I will pay you 60 yuan. This is my thank you money. Plus the current state regulated gallantry bonus. Because my profession is quite special. So I do not I want this matter to be interviewed by the news and broadcast on TV. I know this amount of money is not much. But this is all the money I have accumulated. I just hope you can keep this a secret. Shi Luo Bing thought to himself. I fainted in this practice room. It will most likely turn into negative news that will affect my filming for the web series next week. Nothing can happen to my situation now. I just hope this person will be okay. I can be a good person to the end. Receive my money and pretend that nothing happened. I'm afraid he won't accept it and then turn around to find the reporter. Lin Sin happily raised the phone and received 60 yuan say. Don't worry, I'll definitely keep my mouth shut after receiving your money. Shi Luo Bing said emotionally. Thank you again, at Cha Cha's live stream room today. The live stream is over, thank you for the reward. Love everyone, bye bye. Cha Cha turned on the phone. Lin Sin didn't come today. Even if he didn't give a gift, it's okay to just come and say hello. Investment business people are definitely asking for a return. Lin Sin spent a lot of money like that on me, but he never asked me for anything. Could it be that he wanted me to take the initiative to bring it to the door? Men are all my ATMs. I didn't even bother to take the initiative to find him. Saying that but my hand dialed Lin Sin's phone number. Hello, Mr. Lin Sin. Next week I plan to go to your place. The filming area of Yan Jiang City to shoot a video. You will come to visit me. Right. One week later, Lin Sin appeared on the set. Cha Cha ran from afar and called. Mr. Lin Sin, do you remember me? Lin Sin said. Of course I remember. Seeing you, I was as happy as seeing money. Cha Cha happily said, wear this, then you can move around as you like in the filming area. The director shouted, Cha Cha started filming, Cha Cha said, come here, you perform a sexy part with a cooing voice, wake up you lazy bitch, a table came out and stroked your cheeks, the director shouted, okay, change to another outfit, Cha Cha thought to herself, I'm very welcome from a guy's perspective, the number of likes is over 100,000. He's definitely about to be fascinated by me. Wait. Cha Cha turned to see Lin Sin's expressionless face. Why? I'm so seductive. Doesn't he crave my body? Could it be that he doesn't like me doing that in front of everyone so he's angry? Possessiveness is also too strong. Obnoxious. Lin Sin thought boringly. So boring. There is absolutely no chance for me to spend money. But this filming area is really big. It really feels like time travel so... At this time someone from the film crew called out. Hey shirt boy, it's you, it's you. You act as a body double for the male lead for 100 yuan a day. Okay no, Lin Sin quickly refused. Ah okay, he added. How about this, just in time to urgently need someone today. You're lucky, an increase of 250 plus a box of lunch. Normally you wouldn't get such a good job. So, Lin Sin thought. Yeah, okay getting a lunchbox and also experiencing filming. Lin Sin walked into the studio and exclaimed. Wow, the feeling is here. Fighting in the hotel reminds me of the escort I like to watch the most. Suddenly a scream rang out. Ah, oh, it hurts. Quickly, quickly call the ambulance. What kind of business does the props team do? Do you know that if a prop breaks down it will be very dangerous? 
The assistant actor spoke up. On a wooden board and yet there are two thorns. This is a very serious mistake at work. I can make the props team not even have pants to wear. The crew and props team are so bored they can't say a word. The male artist's assistant ran up screaming. Where is the ambulance? Why hasn't it arrived yet? The director has no way to explain. It's like this. Today's filming hasn't even started yet. If you want to go to the hospital, what are the arrangements? Today and the following days must be adjusted. The assistant still tries to scream. What do you mean by director? Yi Fan is a top tier ID all. If something goes wrong with his body, you are responsible. Can I accept this responsibility? The director has to compromise. I know. A crew member brought Lin Sin. Yi Fan brother, I'll find a body double for you. Let him do the behind the scenes movements. Go. Yi Fan quickly agreed. Okay, quickly arrange these things. It hurts me to death. The film crew and props team said dissatisfiedly. What a bastard. Complaining that the iron sword is too heavy to lift okay. Let us make a wooden sword right away and then get stabbed by thorns and scream like we're going to be killed. The staff led Lin Sin to the dressing room. Come here to change clothes. You know the rules of this profession. Right? No. Don't talk nonsense. Wait a minute and sign a confidentiality contract. Lin Sin walked in and saw Shi Luo Bing reading documents. It was her. It turns out that it's no wonder the actress doesn't want to be on the news because of that. Okay, pretend like you don't know her. Shi Luo Bing looked up while reading the documents and thinking. Luckily I didn't see the wrong person. I can concentrate filming this movie. Shi Luo Bing remembers his capitalist side. Can't see it. Shi Luo Bing you have such charm. I'm starting to feel expectations of you. Here, sign this contract. I will immediately arrange for you. Shi Luo Bing hugged the contract thinking. I have to rely on this contract to transform myself. Unfortunately, Wu Yi Fan is playing the male lead. A high profile and troublesome idol who doesn't know how to act. Just hope it won't affect the quality of the work. Lin Sin just changed clothes and came out. Wow, so handsome. This beauty can be a male boss. Not inferior to those that little fresh meat. Wu Yi Fan doesn't like to despise. Lin Sin's martial arts action scenes are extremely skillful and beautiful. The director shouts. Cut. Very good. Once has passed. The co-stars all praise. When he took out the sword. There was also the sound of the sword. And he didn't even use post-production sound mixing. Had he practiced before. Lin Sin scratched his head shyly. This. The director praised. Was not bad. And still had some awareness and movement. The actor is very skilled. I have another movie that I need to be a substitute for. I can give you a chance to show your face. But the competition is also very big. If you want to act, you have to put in more effort. The crew called. Lin Sin. Why don't you quickly thank the director for training? This body double can be paid 500 yuan a day. The director is satisfied. I also had to choose very hard to find this body double. Shi Luo Bing thought. Not only did he use medical techniques to save himself, but he also had the moves of a professional actor. So powerful, and also slowed down the filming progress that Wu Yi Fan was slowing down. And the system notifies favorability. Increased by 8%. Wu Yi Fan said, gotta go greet the fans. Wu Yi Fan's fans shouted, brother, I'm here. Brother Yi Fan, quickly look over here. Brother Yi Fan, I love you. No, the atmosphere is extremely noisy. Yi Fan is so handsome. Yi Fan in costume is so handsome. I love you so much. Yi Fan spoke up. Everyone be a little more obedient. Yi Fan Fan screamed. Fell into my hands. Yu Yuan is so big sister awesome. Yi Fan Fan leader. Yu Yuan sister. Of course. As a big Yi Fan Fan. I still have this little privilege. We have to take a lot of photos. We must be able to filter. New song of Yi Fan has been released. It is arranged that each of us must log into the new super album every day. Each person must buy 10 copies. Then everyone must try to sell all the popular products. Like that. Our brother has only gone further. Rest assured sister Yu Yuan. I bought them all. This month's salary I bought all the albums. And borrowed a few thousand more. Sister Yu Yuan. It's your birthday big brother is almost here. What gift should we prepare? Sister Yu Yuan said. Oh, let the big fans contribute at least 100.00. I will be in charge of buying things. We trust Sister Yu Yuan Billion. Will definitely help brother Yi Fan have a wonderful birthday. 
others have it, our brother must have it too, we can't let him suffer. Returning to the filming location, the director said, seeing this is the male lead coming back from outside to visit his fiance, smelling a little and then having to leave. The two of them can't let go. Where is the light? Quickly prepare to go. In the 33rd act of Mirror Flower, Water Moon, the first encounter, Shi Luo Bing said, I thought I would never see you again. Husband, Lin Sin stood aside and watched and exclaimed, she can also act like that in front of a wooden guy. It's so awesome. Crowd Yifan's fans cheered. Yifan's eyes. I was so heartbroken. He acted so well. I cried. Lin Sin thought. He has acting skills. Where is it? Only fans can see it. Yi Fan read the dialogue. Haven't seen her in one month. She looks so lost. The director angrily ran over and shouted. Shi Luo Bing. Why is your expression so collapsed? Shi Luo Bing said. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. Because he said the wrong words. So I thought he would say cut. The director shouted. Am I the director or are you the director? When I say cut, cut then. Then shoot again to flatter Yi Fan. That. Yi Fan. That line is haggard. Not despicable. Yi Fan said with a frown. That's why I don't want to film this historical drama. It's so annoying. It's full of rare words met. It's hard to remember what it means to die emaciated. The director explained. That is. Emaciated is a person who is inconsolably heartbroken due to something that leads to his face and condition not being good. Very good. Yi Fan said again, isn't that tired to the point of being ugly? What is emaciated? Is it okay for a screenwriter? If you don't know how to write then don't write anymore. The whole crew was speechless. Yi Fan Fan shouted, that's right, the screenwriter is not qualified to write a script for Yi Fan brother. The director begged, otherwise this is it. Your lines say 1 to 6. Then re-record it in post-production and that's fine. Yi Fan spoke up. I still remember the scene in the background hugging Shi Luo Bing. He looked at Shi Luo Bing with longing eyes. So what about? In the 33rd act of Mirror Flower, Water Moon, the second encounter, Luo Bing said, Because why did you have to leave so quickly? I don't want you to go. Yi Fan with a despicable expression almost touching Luo Bing's breasts. Luo Bing quickly stopped him with his hand. The director called cut then shouted. Shi Luo Bing, what are you doing? Your hand is cramping. Luo Bing innocently explained. He, sorry director, go again. The director said madly, I tell you, I'm in a very bad mood right now. Don't make excuses anymore. Luo Bing said warmly, sorry. Yi Fan's fan spoke up. Oh my god, Yi Fan tried so hard. Sweat it all came out already. He acted so hard. It's all because of Shi Luo Bing that he had to be cut over and over again. Isn't Shi Luo Bing supposed to be shelved by Tian Huang Entertainment for two years? How did she suddenly come to film as the female lead? There must have been a secret transaction. We spread this news to Sin Lang Media, making her reputation worse. Yes, keep doing that. Support our brother. Lin Sin thought that if Shi Luo Bing was an actress, she would definitely have money. She couldn't spend money playing tricks. But now it seems like she has a lot of complicated situations that seem to have room to spend money at the resting place. Yi Fan, I thought Shi Luo Bing respected her career, but she avoided normal contact when filming. What kind of filming should I do? The historical lines are so long. I'm so annoying. I won't film anymore. Shi Luo Bing quickly bowed his head and apologized. Yi Fan, it's my fault. I'm not professional. I also know that these lines are very difficult to memorize. And these clothes are also very thick, very hot. Filming was really hard but. Yi Fan looked at her chest and asked again. But what? Luo Bing said. But his fans are all silently supporting him. Trying to create the best results to isn't repaying fans the most direct love we have with fans. Yi Fan smiled. Yes, I have tens of millions of fans. Moreover, they all think about me. I'm just afraid I'm tired so I rest a little. She tried like that. Then how many fans? Shi Luo Bing was speechless. But it's not like there's no way. Let the other person act for me. After all he's a professional. Such karma, isn't it? The director and Lin Sin both didn't know what to say. The director said, what are you kidding? Yi Fan bothers you to work hard. The assistant stood up and said, director, please keep your distance. Don't bother Yi Fan to rest. But, Shi Luo Bing said in fear, it's over, the contract. Lin Sin said, come to play the male lead. 
Let me, the director shouted. What the hell does it have to do with Passersby like you? Go away, don't cause trouble, go, go. Lin please ask again, why didn't Wu Yi Fan say it was okay on set? Let me say it just now male lead actor. I didn't hear that right. Right, the director shouted. Where did you come from? Get out, you won't be needed in the future. Yi Fan angrily said, wait, that's right, I told you to come play the male lead main. Lin please naturally say, give me the script, I'll learn the lines. Yi Fan smiled disdainfully, learned the lines. Do you really think you're the male lead? will turn your face. You stand there counting the numbers okay. The director said in disbelief. Yi Fan, this film was all included in the investment capital. Wasting it on a passerby like that. If the investors knew, it would be very difficult to speak. Yi Fan confident. Who said it was a waste of film? Do you think I'm stupid? Actually let him act in the movie. Look at those fans over there. The director just turned to see the Yi Fan fans burning with anger. It's really eye-opening. I really didn't expect that such a trash guy would even dare to show his face to our brother. Thereby taking a photo of his frontal face. Capturing his funny appearance when acting as the male lead. Sent to the group. Then sent to Sin Lang Media. Let everyone know him. Called him to bother him. Splashed red paint in front of his house. Yi Fan smiled evilly. At the same time Shi Luo Bing gave the script for Lin Sin. These are my lines. Including the male lead's lines. Surely you can understand the general emotions. Lin Sin said. Oh thank you. The director said contemptuously. It's true for look at the script instead. Come on Shi Luo Bing. You're just an 18th tier actor hidden by the company for two years. Don't think you can marry the female lead. Being able to act with Yi Fan is really a big character. Lin Sin I was reading the script and heard it. Soaking it in for two years. Shi Luo Bing's script is so detailed. He knows the female lead, the emotional turns, the pronunciation of the lines, everything has notes. This whole set, there are maybe she's the only one who truly wants to film this movie well. Fire up, I'll film this scene with you well. Lin Sin Ho, director start. The director scowled and shouted, Mom, are you the director or am I the director? The scene started, Shi Luo Bing said, This is the peace charm I prayed for you when I went to Guan Yin Temple a few days ago. He said, sunset is about to end. I should go too. Shi Luo Bing was surprised. He remembers the lines, but only the first line, which is not strange. She continued, afraid that the sunset would come late and then disappear. The shadow of a person would disappear. The new shadow overshadows the old one. Lin Sin continued acting. You this heartbroken person misses that heartbroken person. This spring has changed a bit. My husband. The two shared a sweet kiss. The romantic scene. Everyone was surprised. Oh my god. It's so beautiful go. The film crew said. Does this script have a kissing scene? The director said. No. There isn't. But emotions are high. The kiss isn't forced. The film crew discussed. Comparing like that Wu Yifan's acting is basically unwatchable. Don't talk nonsense. Wu Yifan applauded and read the lines very well. But in this script there is basically no kissing scene. He criticized and criticized. Now I suspect that you use the excuse of coming to film to harass the actress. Lin Sin pretended to be ignorant. Oh, then reenact a scene without a kiss scene. Yi Fan was so angry that he cursed. Mom, you don't understand the language. Why? Shi Luo Bing was embarrassed. Just now I was too deep into the role. I didn't expect to kiss each other. This scene just now was really very good. Thank you for acting with me. I have gained new understanding about this scene. Lin Sin said, me too, felt the joy of filming for the first time. Shi Luo Bing was surprised. What? I thought you were a professional actor. The notification system added 12% of the degree Shi Luo Bing's favor. Yi Fan said angrily, Shi Luo Bing, you mean to act with me? You don't have any feelings, do you? Did you deliberately find a substitute to come here and then praise me to trample on me? No, what I hate the most is those sarcastic people. Shi Luo Bing quickly waved his hand and explained. You misunderstood. I didn't mean it like that. Yi Fan said angrily. You can go away in this avatar. Besides the director, I want to change the female lead. Shi Luo Bing seemed to collapse. She quickly bowed down to apologize. No, I really didn't mean to tease you. What I said just now was wrong. I'm sorry. Yi Fan's assistant said sarcastically. Please I made a mistake so quickly. 
I'm sure you often offend others. I didn't hear any sincere apology at all. No wonder you got suspended by the company for two years. Stop filming. Go back to school and be a human being. Shi Luo Bing quickly said. No, I've already signed an agreement with the company. You can't change me so casually. The director immediately acted arrogant. It's so embarrassing. The person with the most power in the film crew is me. I can change whoever I want to change. Moreover, I am very clear about this agreement with you. After the release of Chen's Take of Flower and Moon, if there is an 800% return on investment, the company will allocate its top resources to cultivate Shi Luobing. If the target is not met, Shi Luobing will dedicate her entire life to the company without a specified period. Company in the event of a breach of contract midway, regardless of the form. A penalty of 100 million Chinese currency is required to be paid to the company. 100 million in violation of the agreement. Use the next life to slowly pay it off. Shi Luo Bing couldn't stand at this moment. Lin Xin quickly ran over to help. Be careful, Lin Xin said. It's true that bad money creates good money. Yi Fan sarcastically. Good money. Without money you're an idiot. She complimented you a few times. You thought you were a good actor. You're just that I'm just useless. His assistant added. Do you know what you need to live in the entertainment industry? You need money. If you have money you can do whatever you want. People like you who don't have money. Their whole life is just can just be a passerby. His brainless fans started to attack. What is wrong with this society? How dare a supporting role? Brother is our top star. This is also King Fap is not like that. Report to the police. Put him in jail. In this matter, he did not commit any crime. This is not a crime. In general, let's go to the station together. Put pressure on the police station. Murder. That means we have to put this guy in jail. Lin Sin said. Okay, then I won't pretend anymore. I'll turn my cards over. I'm not an extra, nor am I short of money. And the money for a violation is appropriate. Shi Luobing's coin I will pay. Everyone in the film crew laughed gleefully. A supporting actor said he could pay 100 million. Are you still filming? Should I slap him twice to wake him up? Impatient. He's impatient. Assistant director. Quickly get the POS device for him to swipe. Lin Sin didn't hesitate. Swipe the card in the blink of an eye. Ding. 100 million transaction. The entire studio was stunned. Lin Sin happily shows off. No matter how many times I hear it. This headline is still very easy to hear. In this situation I can't help but recite a poem. Dogs on both sides of the river bark non-stop. One headline everyone was silent. Good poetry. Good poetry. Shi Luo Bing who was quiet suddenly burst into tears. It's okay now. What's wrong with you? The director said. Shi Luo Bing from now on. You have nothing to do with the award entertainment Tian Huang Tu. Is an artist who violated the contract. Other entertainment companies will not sign contracts with her anymore. Yi Fan added fuel to the fire. I said Shi Luo Bing. It turns out you seduced someone this rich young man actually used 100 million to redeem her body. That's a really good trick. There must have been a lot of effort in bed. Right. His fans joined in to scold Shi Luo Bing. Right. So, is it good to have a few coins? If someone is dirty, he can't pretend to be pure even if he has a lot of money. Don't come close to Yi Fan. Prostitutes. He's young and talented, and he keeps to himself. Clean. Posted online. Shi Luo Bing violated the agreement and played hidden rules with people with money. Shi Luo Bing sat down and covered his ears. No, that's not true. Lin Sin smiled coldly. Thank you fans who don't know that name for reminding. Lin Sin took out his phone and pressed it. Brothers and sisters, I want information about Wu Yi Fan. To see how clean he keeps himself. Like there is real evidence. Money is not an issue. Worried fans, what is he doing? It seems he is calling people. Someone with money like him probably has a lot of connections. So what if they have connections? Yi Fan is so pure. No matter where they look, they can't find any bad news. That's right. In the Yan Jiang Prince daughter group, Mr. Qian, I am the director of a happy film and television company. I have bad news about Wu Yi Fan. Extremely shocked. If it's just for gossip then I can tell Mr. Qian. But if you want evidence to make him collapse, it's a bit troublesome. Why bother? Yi Fan is a top artist in the supercultural media. If you touch him that means kicking the rice bowl of the supercultural company owner. This trouble is very big. You have to use money to do it. 
Lin Sin said, just open your mouth with money, you have to pay double the price. Conveniently solved for me the reputation problem of an 18th line actress. Worthy of Mr. Keon, now I immediately go to work for you. Everyone gossiped. After he called, he sat down. What are you doing down here? Are you showing off so quickly? Shi Luo Bing appreciates it. Thank you for paying for the breach of contract for me. I will think of a way to repay you. At this moment everyone's phones rang simultaneously. Posted a message. Lin Sin said, here, on the message board is the information that Wu Yi Fan falsely accused Shi Luo Bing of being adopted by someone else. But dark news was dug up. He spent the night with many girls under age. On the video is a picture of him with a girl. Mine is very big. Try to endure a little. His team turned pale when they saw this information. Impossible. This is definitely fake. I don't believe. There was an observant girl who noticed. Wait. The tattoo on this girl's neck. Isn't it? His brainless fans rushing in. It's really you. You're like that. When did you do this? You scumbag. What right do you have to sleep with Yi Fan? I have to tear you apart. Ah no. Please forgive me. At this time, someone stood up and said. Wait. Someone took a picture of us and posted it to Sin Lang. The title was Wu Yifan's fans. The group beat the main character in his bad news. It was all on hot search. Okay, what? Who did it? The girl said, this angle is her. Moreover, the avatar of the person who posted this post is also Lu Han's fan light board. She intentionally mixed in here to get bad news from Lu Han. Yi Fan, this insider, ladies, don't forgive her. Another person spoke up. Wait, I actually uncovered an even more explosive piece of information. This Yu Yuan has embezzled a significant amount of funds. Every time money is raised for Yi Fan, she takes a big chunk for herself. Whether it's fan donations or contributions to the Hope Project in Yifan's name. It's all her illicit gains. She said nonsense. Moreover, even if they give a gift, it's a bit bad. These stars won't open our gifts at all. They'll throw them aside. If that's the case then I'll make some money isn't it hard work? Everyone shouted indignantly. Here's our money. Lin Sin said. It's even more special than the movie. Wu Yi Fan worriedly thought. No way. We have to run away quickly. First, take a plane to the Maple Leaf country. At this time the police were also present with arrest papers. Mr. Wu Yi Fan, follow us to the police station one trip. He shouted pointing to his assistant. She is also accomplices. Take them with you. Those videos are all fake. Someone used AI to change my face to harm me. I was wronged. Director cried in vain. The female lead is gone. The male lead is not either also. How is this movie shot? What kind of god is he? Just making a random phone call and the famous traffic idol was crushed to death like an ant by him. Before leaving Lin Sin turned around and said. That's right. Don't forget to pay the substitute money. There's also a boxed lunch that can't be stolen. Lin Sin patted Shi Luobing's shoulder. The good drama is over. Let's go. Shi Luobing exclaimed. Um. Disbanded. It's all over. Lin Sin thought. It feels like this girl is someone who loves acting immediately sat down in front of her and said, you know, someone with dreams and strength like you, if because of that agreement you can no longer film, then this society is unfair. I have won what a great way to spend money. I invested in her to open a film and television company. How she created her own filming crew. She Luo Bing immersed in joy. You really want to invest in her I opened a movie company. But I'm just. Lin cheers. Luo Bing, you have to have faith in yourself. My eye for people won't be wrong. You have a lot of potential. You remember Lin's words please tell me. It's true that bad money makes good money. You're surprised. I understand. You're the mysterious boss of the entertainment industry. Wanting to change this industry. Lin Sin thought. Oh my god. This girl's imagination isn't it a bit far. But on the surface it still says. Yes. It's time for the perfume entertainment industry to become more competitive. Shi Luo Bing said. Thank you boss. I will definitely come back to work best product. Sell the most tickets. I will try to return that 100 million to you as quickly as possible. Lin Sin supports. I will give you 500 million in advance. Your company can expand as big as you want. Much. Shi Luo Bing asked. I still don't know your name. He answered. My name is Lin Sin. Shi Luo Bing held out his phone. Lin Sin can we be friends with Weixin? Lin Sin replied generously, okay, 
Cha Cha just finished filming and came out to see Lin Sin with Luo Bing. Lin Sin said, Cha Cha, what a coincidence. Have you finished filming the video? Cha Cha asked, Lin Sin, this beautiful girl is. Luo Bing happily said, Hello, my name is Shi Luo Bing. Lin Sin and I just met. Cha Cha quickly hugged Lin Sin's arm. How about it? Lin Sin was really nice. When I was with him before we just met less than an hour ago and he already bought me a car for 3.00.00. Lin Sin thought, who asked you? Shi Luo Bing quickly said goodbye. Then I'll go back first. It's 500 million to invest. I'll immediately find a suitable contract to plan. Cha Cha panicked. 500 million. Lin Sin and she just got to know each other how long has it been? Why has he invested 500 million in her? Cha Cha spoke up. What's the hurry? It's already over 5 o'clock. Let's have a meal together. Lin Sin also spoke up. Let's go eat together I invited. Shi Luo Bing said. This is not very good. Right? Cha Cha replied. What's wrong? Eating with investors is also very normal. Isn't that right? How about telling Shi Luo Bing what's wrong that's inconvenient? 500 million for a meal is not respectful. Shi Luo Bing confused. No, no, then let's eat together. Sorry, it's because I didn't think carefully. Let's eat this meal let me invite you. Cha Cha doesn't think you're that simple. Investment cooperation, a beauty with a scam plan. Yes, where did you come from? If you want to swindle Lin Sin's money, you have to get past my eyes. Three people went to a luxury restaurant. Shi Luo Bing gratefully recounted. At that time I was really desperate. Fortunately I met Lin Sin. Cha Cha secretly stalked again. Shi Luo Bing. This name sounds very familiar here. Scrolled through her information. Probably an 18th line actress or something. She found her name was in the top three hot spots on the internet. A mysterious rich man paid more than 100 million in contract violation fees to Shi Luo Bing. Acting of 18th line small actress Shi Luo Bing. Entertainment Tian Huang speaks up to clarify Shi Luo Bing's contract violation. She is on the hot search board. This is what just happened this afternoon. Wu Yi Fan I didn't expect it to be someone like this. Cha Cha observed her closely. She actually graduated from the National Academy of Chinese Theater Arts. Because her beauty and acting were both very good. After graduating there were many competing entertainment companies. One wanted to sign with her. Her family background was not bad. But she relied on her own strength to become famous. So she signed a contract with Tian Huang Entertainment of Yanjiang City which is quite far away. She looked twice the person there laughing and talking very cheerfully. Looks beautiful. Has a good background. Is highly educated. Is currently on a hot search. Has a wide future. After evaluating Shi Luo Bing. Compare it to yourself. But I am just a small female streamer who is just a little bit hot. Suddenly she saw a title. Shi Luo Bing's special performance with that handsome actor. Under the hot search there was also a video that seemed hot. In the video was the acting scene Shi Luo Bing's kiss scene with another actor. She was shocked and bewildered. As soon as they met, she pulled someone from outside the industry to film the kissing scene. She changed her attitude 180 degrees. This woman is certainly not simple. She must have long heard that Mr. Kian was Lin Sin. What tricks did she intend to use while filming today to Lin Sin came out to help her? Gave her money to spend. Otherwise how could such a coincidence happen? She thought she was the official wife holding her hand tightly. No way. This can't be like this continue. If I keep soaking Lin Sin like that, sooner or later he will be taken away. Time passed in the blink of an eye. Lin Sin and Cha Cha said goodbye to Shi Luo Bing. He told her, so I'll go first. She'll hold on. Wait a minute. Then scream showing off her sultry fairy sister appearance. That installment payment. I want to pay it in full now. A fire of determination burns in my heart. I it's decided. If you like it, don't hesitate to move the stain. Lin Sin is really irresistible. So there's really some anticipation. Cha Cha just waiting so immediately pull your hand and go. I've booked a room. Let's go on the live stream. You've turned into a grain of rice. How can you still live stream if you pay in installments? And the chicken is none other than her. That's the live stream to pay. She instructed. Mr. Lin Sin, you sit here. Boy sitting on the sofa opposite the camera. But it's facing Cha Cha on the bed. What is this trying to play? She didn't explain. Press live stream. Cha Cha sitting on the bed. 
Hello. Good evening everyone. Okay the discussion kept jumping. Finally waiting for you. Cha Cha's wife. It's finally here. The week's accumulated salary can finally be spent on Cha Cha. It's best to talk about the salary upstairs. This scene it's a hotel. It's not. Cha Cha came to Yan Jiang to film a short video from your boyfriend's perspective. I don't know why. If I'm not at the hotel, I'm at your house. Cha Cha started to express his feelings. I have something very important to do I want to tell you. The time we knew each other was actually very short. When I first met you, I never thought I would like you. Because I always didn't believe in love. What she said it was very sincere. Until recently, I suddenly realized that my heart had been filled with him for some time. Lin Sin also blushed and realized. She was confessing her love to me. She changed her position a bit provocatively. Saying that is a bit embarrassing. Fortunately humans don't have tails. Otherwise every time I saw you, I wouldn't be able to help but shake my tail. You find it very exciting. Oh my god, I never thought that confessing love could be so seductive. As expected of you, he asked in a low voice. If you confess your love in front of your fans like that, aren't you afraid of losing fans? Cha Cha changed to a kneeling position again. Don't tell them, the comments are about to explode. Who is Cha Cha confessing to? It's me, Cha Cha's secret boyfriend here. It's a series of perspectives Cha Cha's boyfriend. Yet there is such a plot. Yes, it's the boyfriend's perspective. Okay, I won't tell them. This is our secret. I allow you to spend my salary I. Lin Sin was also impressed by her tricks. It was really great. Even her fans were a part of her jokes. The comments keep popping up. Cha Cha, please act more. Tonight I have to show you this boyfriend's perspective. Act more. He really likes it. Cha Cha winked very cutely. Okay. She crawled closer. This is my kiss. From the camera's perspective, it was truly a beautiful scene. The comments exploded. I was also the one head. Kiss. This angle. I'm dead. Cha Cha's first kiss is mine. Everyone. I really enjoy it. My mouth is watering when I see this. On the other side Lin Sin is having a delicious appetizer. Cha Cha asked again. Honey. What do you want me to do next? He made a request. He wanted to see her wearing stockings. She immediately obeyed as obediently as a kitten. Why do you like stockings? If you like them. Please indulge. The viewer will have a nosebleed. I want. That brother has been affected did the system cover up the important word. Is it possible that it's zero? Stockings aren't bad. I like watching Cha Cha wear stockings. I'm not like that. I like watching her take off stockings. She teased again on Lin Sin's thighs. Like a small fox. Then directly used his two feet to move technically on the wine bottle. Lin Sin's eyes widened. She couldn't run anymore. She was really great. So who could resist? Next. He rushed to pin her down on the bed. Cha Cha is very addicted. The live stream has been turned off. Mr. Lin Sin. Don't go tonight. The system keeps announcing. Plus 5 favorability. Cha Cha's favorability has reached reach 92%. Completed the first game play stage. Spent 332,000 play money on Cha Cha. 10% refund. Transferred to your personal account. Plus one point for all attributes. Currently, all level 6 attributes. Skill bonus in 3 options. Choose within the specified time. Level a skills mastery in control. Level a skills mastery in badminton. Level B skills mastery in sewing. And then they spent the whole night together. The next morning, Lin Sin was sleeping soundly. Suddenly a rustling sound came from somewhere. Waking him up. It was Cha Cha who was at his feet doing something. Cha Cha. What are you doing? What's going on? She sat up and licked the ice cream from her mouth. I'm awake. There's too much ice cream in this Sunday. I accidentally dropped it on the blanket so I wanted to pick it up. He smiled and said, look at you. You're so grown up and yet you still eat so carelessly. Let me help you. Suddenly his phone beeped notifying him of a text message. Lin Sin reached for the phone in annoyance. Who is it? President Chen's first message. Mr. Kian. The car you gave to Che Meng Yun. She said she wanted to let you go for a while to maintain the car. How do you feel? Che Meng Yun also I miss you very much. The second message is from Luo Yaxi. Lin Sin. I plan to move house today. Move all the things from the boarding house to our new house. Can you help them? He replied. Many if you don't have any clothes. I'll call the moving company for you. She replied. I still have some clothes. 
underwear, they want to wear them for you to see. Let me take a look. If you don't like it then don't need it anymore. Her mother shouted loudly. You are an unfilial child. I worked so hard to raise you. Do you know how much it costs to go to college? What do I mean? It's not that I hope you can if you marry into a rich family. Can you live comfortably and worry-free in the next half of your life? You've already calculated it. The free car is a waste if you don't use it. Calling for a car to move house will cost you money. You've already calculated it. The free car is a waste if you don't use it. Calling for a car to move house will cost you money. Next then you leave. Char char. I still have something to do first. She wholeheartedly came to see you off. Well, after filming, I will come to you again. Char char thought to herself. Then my relationship with Lin Sin is over. It's locked so tightly that it can't be broken. And last night he was really strong. Time passed quietly. Lin Sin arrived at Luo Yaxi. This place is everything, right? Just enough for two suitcases. Muz suddenly said. The doorbell rang. Who came? It was her three family members. Her mother called. Daughter, everyone is here to visit you. She suddenly opened her eyes wide. Mother, and uncle and aunt. Why, everyone is here again. Lin Sin looked at the three of them. Laluo Yaxi's mother. Her mother pointed at Lin Sin again. Daughter, he is. She explained. He is Lin Sin. Why everyone you didn't say a word to me but have already arrived. Today I'm planning to move house. He raised his hand to say hello. Hello aunt. Hello everyone. I'm here to help Luo Yaxi move house. Her mother gritted her teeth again. As expected there's no wrong guess. This girl's boyfriend is a poor country boy. It happened a few days ago. The two of them had a fight. I didn't go on a blind date. Luo Yaxi argued. I already have someone like it. Her mother immediately asked. What? Where is he from? Is he from the Beijing Shanghai or elsewhere? She stubbornly turned her head away. No, he is from Hua Jiang. She immediately slammed the table and shouted angrily. Hua Jiang, isn't that the poor and remote town next to Yan Jiang city on the fourth tier line? You're crazy, yet you like people from the countryside. She shouted loudly. Whoever you like is your freedom. The notification system, Laluo Yaxi's favorability has reached 100%. Laluo Yaxi's relationship with the host has changed. Laluo Yaxi is bound into the host's licking dog. Laluo Yaxi's way of thinking about all problems comes from the host's perspective. Sacrificing everything for the host. Her mother shouted loudly, You are an unfilial child. I worked so hard to raise you. Do you know how much it costs to go to college? What do I mean? It's not that I hope you can if you marry into a rich family. Can you live comfortably and worry-free in the next half of your life? She is angry. How much money can someone in the fourth tier line have? I thought you didn't know. I also I'm bored and don't want to listen. I flip my hair and leave. I don't need you to understand. In general, I only love him in my whole life. And he's very rich. He won't let me suffer. I basically can't understand my love for him. Mom, in your eyes there is only money. I love everything about him. Even if he has nothing in his hands now, I will still love him so. She angrily shouted orders. Immediately broke up with him. It's not like you've already been tainted by him. Mom hasn't finished speaking yet. I'm coming back. End of memory. Back to the present. Her mother sat opposite and questioned her. So, you are Luo Yaxi's boyfriend. I won't say much to you anymore. Immediately leave my daughter. You're dumb. You're not her boyfriend. She has a hot temper like ice cream. What? Luluo Yaxi. This is the boyfriend I'm looking for. I don't even dare to accept it. She hugged his arm again. I said Lin Sin is my boyfriend when was it mine? I'm not even worthy of him now. She was so angry that she wanted to put her eyes out. Then agitatedly grabbed her hand and pulled her away. She was bewitched by the devil. So what? With her conditions. Son, the second generation rich man is usually not worthy of you. How can he like this countryman? She cried out. Let go of your hand. And her uncle immediately stepped forward to mediate. Don't be so angry. Ask clearly first. Said. She brushed it off. What else was there to say? He took a look at Lin Sin. Looking closely. He was handsome and polite. It wasn't strange for Luo Yaxi to like him. There was no one which girl doesn't like a handsome guy. But everything has to do with the subject. Boy. Don't you mind letting us learn about you? You calmly agreed. No problem. Wanted to ask just ask. He seems kind but in reality every sentence comes out harsh. What do your parents do? 
ordinary workers, do you have a job now? Lin Sin also answered honestly. Still it's okay if you don't have a job yet. So do you have a stable source of income? He replied. Is it stable? Not yet. He asked. So your parents must have prepared a house and a car for you. Right? No. None. The old man immediately turned to mock Luo Yaxi's mother. Little sister, this boyfriend of Luo Yaxi's is really no good. Nothing at all. He's just giving it away. His wife next to him stopped him. Stop it. Don't say it anymore. Mother Luo Yaxi screamed. Don't say it anymore. She was so frustrated that she had to let it out. Immediately leave this lowly boy. Otherwise I will cut off your living expenses. She refused. You don't need it. I'm really not being reasonable. Is appearance that important? She forced me. You really want to be angry with me. Right? Bark Teep gently advised Luo Yaxi's mother. Stop being angry. She is still young. But your uncle is being pushed forward. Luo Yaxi. Don't blame me for saying that. Your cousin Ruo Ruo only two years older than me but much more mature than me. Bark Teep tried to stop her husband again. Saying that it's someone else's family business so don't meddle in it. He snapped again. When men talk. Women keep their mouths shut. I'm teaching my grandchildren. Me. Then he proudly said. Luo Yaxi. You still don't know. Right. Your Ruo Ruo's boyfriend is the only son of Mr. C. The owner of the flying motorcycle company. They've only met a few times. Ruo Ruo has already defeated him. They've only been dating for two weeks. He's given away a lot of things. What about this refrigerator? This air conditioner? This dishwasher? Luo Yaxi's boyfriend has never given anything to the house. Right? Lin Sin smiled and said. Refrigerators. Air conditioners. Dishwashers. Washing machines and water heaters should also be donated. They just fit into a new mechanical room. I'm so happy. Luo Yaxi refused. These things are in my family already has them. Why do I have to buy a new one? Besides, I like Lin Sin as a person. Don't say he's rich. I don't mind if I don't have money. Hearing that, my mother became even more angry. Son, she crossed her arms in defiance. As if you understood. Today your mother came here to force you to break up with Lin Sin. And you took the opportunity to show off your child. Even though no one asked. Muz Ruo Ruo and her boyfriend were also preparing to appear. He politely replied. Ruo Ruo must have come. Call you and tell you to pick him up. The shabby little rental house in Namting village isn't suitable for me at all. He deliberately turned on the speakerphone to annoy her mother. Ruo Ruo, where are you? Are you here so late? Did you buy a lot of gifts? Speak a little louder. I'm hard of hearing and can't hear clearly. But on the other end of the line came a man's voice. He is Su Ruo Ruo's father. His daughter is in my hands. Holding 100.000 to the foot of Yan Ming Mountain in one hour. Otherwise I will kill her. Believe. Everyone was startled. Karma hit him so fast. You. You. Is this a scam phone call? He answered that it was my daughter. Dad. Quickly bring money to save me. He shouted. Calling. Ruo Ruo. On the other side was Mr. Get the money quickly. There's not much time left. On Luo Yaxi's side. Everyone was in chaos. Her mother gave her opinion. Why was Ruo Ruo taken away? Quickly report to the police. Bark Teep immediately refused. No, don't report to the police. Otherwise the kidnappers will kill the hostages. Her uncle immediately raised his voice. So what should we do now? Do we really have to go get 1000.000? That's all our savings. Bark Teep asked miserably. 1000.000. Isn't it more important than the daughter's life? He made a mess. Why did this happen? Didn't Ruo Ruo come with the son of the president from Flying High Company? Why was he suddenly kidnapped? Lin Sin put his hand on his chin to think. Saying that, you guys have never met the president's son or something. Maybe this is actually the case. Before he finished speaking, he was interrupted by him. He shut his mouth. We've never met. But maybe it's because the chairman's son is so rich that he's implicated in Ruo Ruo's kidnapping. Yes. Quickly call Flying High Company. Maybe they have a clue. Maybe can ask them for money. Bark Teep took out his phone to call right away. But then she trembled and said. Can't call. His face is as green as a frog's ass. What? So don't we only get 1000.00 from ourselves? With short, long tears. Bark Teep questioned her husband. Daughter or money? Which was more important? Why couldn't he distinguish clearly? He just let out a sigh. 
In his heart he was thinking about the pros and cons. After choosing his daughter, she can marry into a rich family, worth more money. Lin Sin had already caught up with them. The sound heard during the phone call was the rumble of a motorbike and the sound of wind. Why would kidnappers leave hostages in a spacious place? There are people around. Motorbike, combined with Ruo Ruo's tone, there was no sign of being kidnapped at all. Luo Yaxi grabbed his hand. Lin Sin, I'm so sorry this happened today. I will compensate you later. Brother, you better go back first. You won't stay to watch the clown anymore. Oh, sir I'll take the car home first. Come and help you move another day. Lin Sin didn't forget to remind those people. I still recommend that everyone call the police. I don't want to get involved in your affairs. Bart Teep then hesitantly asked. Um, you drove here. She begged for help. Lin Sin, this guy, time is urgent. I have to call a car to the bank and Yan Ming Mountain is afraid it won't make it in time. Can you take us on a trip? Me, I can pay a lot of money than for you. You looked at her. He still regrets the money. Isn't he Le Luo Yaxi's boyfriend? It's okay to help a little. He still has to pay. Her mother also spoke up. Indeed, it's better to report to the police. Bark Teep I can't help but scold my husband. Can you just shut up? What time has it been? If you don't say anything, no one will tell you to shut up. Luo Yaxi will go to mediate. Auntie, I know you're very worried right now, but I'll just go ahead and hand over the money. It's very dangerous. We can't let Lin Sin take the risk. I still think you should report to the police. This is the most correct way to handle it. Bark Teep hugged herself and trembled. But if something really happened to Ruo Ruo, she would never forgive herself in this life. She only had one daughter. She was so good, so obedient. He also pointed his finger and shouted, reported to the police. If my daughter is no longer there then who is in charge? Huh, who is in charge? Absolutely do not report to the police. Lin Sin, right, you refuse it's okay to drive. I borrowed the car, I drove there myself. He smiled, this car, I'm afraid I can't borrow it. The arrogant old man pulled his wife's hand and dragged her away. If you don't want to lend it, just say so. He also said that you can't borrow it. This guy's a torn car. I despise it. Let's go down and call a car ourselves. Bark Teep hesitated, but the whole family went down to the street to call for a cab. Why wasn't there even a taxi? She explained, it's rush hour, it's very difficult to hail a cab. At times like this can you just shut your mouth for a bit? Borrow Lin Sin's car to use for a bit. He struggled. Who said he was a poor guy? The car was probably the grass that saved his life so he refused to let me borrow it. Petty. His eyes and Luo Yaxi's mother bumped into the supercar parked there. She looked at the sports car over there. If we could ride that car. With its speed we could definitely catch up. Drive that car must have a lot of money. As soon as I went upstairs I saw it. Luo Yaxi's mother agreed. This car is really stylish. It seems to be a limited edition. A car enough for me to live a whole life. Life. At this time, Lin Sin pressed the button to remotely unlock the car. He calmly walked over to open the door of the supercar. The old man's two sisters gasped and wanted to pop their eyes out. What is that? This is his car. Mrs. I've changed my attitude. Lin Sin, this car belongs to you. You twirled the car lock on your finger. It belongs to your friend. Keep telling me to ride it for two days. Is there any problem? She shut up silently guessing. This car must be at least several thousand thousand. How could a friend lend it? Then turn over faster than turning the cake to avoid whispering to Luo Yaxi. Good girl. Is your boyfriend some rich guy? Tell mom. She looked away. Lin Sin is very modest. Doesn't like to brag his identity. She inquired. So, where are you guys planning to move? Luo Yaxi replied. Dragon Court number one villa. At this time her mother was shocked. Crazy. That super villa costs 300 million yuan. Her uncle also came forward to ask. That villa cannot be rented. Could it be that he bought it for me? Luo Yaxi opened his mouth. What do you think? The couple's eyes were in shock. Who could buy the villa far away flower? Driving a supercar. Just now we treated him like that. Then we glanced at each other and turned pale. Then this is a beggar. The more money people have. The more revenge they have. Let's quickly go and apologize he. Next, they all pulled together to bow down and admit their guilt. Young Master Lin, we apologize to you. Young Master, don't be angry. Lin Sin replied calmly, angry. 
do you guys think you're so important? He tried to please. The bad words we said to you just now. We are truly sorry. It was not intentional. It was intentional. Luo Yaxi's mother also put you on her head. We, we I'm old so I'm confused. Suddenly Bark Teep knelt down. She cried and begged Lin Sin. Classmate Lin Sin, please take me on a trip. Take as much money as you want okay. I booked the car on all the apps but still can't book it and I'm afraid it'll be late. I'm afraid it'll be Ruo Ruo. Lin Sin had no choice but to agree. Okay, I'll take you there. Luo Yaxi is worried run over. Lin Sin, it's very dangerous to hand over money. I'm afraid. He patted her head to calm her down. I'll be careful. You obediently stay at home and wait for me. Thinking to yourself. After all, it's a fake catch. Maybe you can see the Central Circus for free. Before leaving, he reminded Bark Teep to prepare for departure and tighten his seat belt. Father Ruo Ruo and Mother Luo Yaxi still tried to run over and say more. Thank you, young Master Lin. You are truly a good person. Young Master Lin, have you accepted our apology? You don't want to listen anymore. The other two run after you. Breathing in the dust. Young Master. Young Master. Wait for me. We're really sorry. If you don't forgive me. How can I live? After walking a bit on the highway, there was a traffic jam. Bark Teep was scared. Why were there so many cars? There was no time. He smiled and said, no need to worry, there is another way. Then Lin Sin activated the skill. Choosing the control mastery skill. You give orders. Give directions. Find the road with the fewest cars. A little winding is okay. Notification system. Found the road with the fewest cars. Estimated arrival time is two hours. Bark Teep cried out. Two hours. He put his hand on her shoulder to calm her down reassure her, and be able to catch up. Next, turn the steering wheel and step on the accelerator. He let the car follow the itinerary given by the system. The supercar is worth the money. It runs so fast and delicious. So much so that a button on his white shirt broke off. He asked with concern, should we go a little slower? She put her hand on his shoulder and replied, no, I don't want the child the girl was killed by kidnappers. So, even though she was scared, she still tried as if nothing happened. Please go as fast as you can. Ah, later they arrived at Yan Ming Mountain. Lin please stop the car. He told Bart Teep who was holding the money bag was out of breath. Five minutes earlier than expected. She worriedly called out. Ruo Ruo, where is Ruo Ruo? Don't be afraid, I'm here to save you. There was a response. It's here. Both of them widened their eyes and looked at the person in front of them. Su Ruo Ruo is safe and sound leading the group behind. Arrived much earlier than I imagined. It was hard work. Bark Teep was surprised. Ruo Ruo. There was also Mr. Chia. The couple who was talking to her were really playboys. She laughed. What? Don't you know my boyfriend? Bark Teep was stunned as he remembered. It was true that the picture was for illustrative purposes only. She stammered. The person in the photo is clearly. What? Wait. Weren't you kidnapped? Are you okay? She didn't even bother to answer and went to take the bag of money from her hand. The foolish Ruo Ruo showed the bag of money to Mr. Look at you here. You win both the principal and the profit. Bark Teep doesn't believe that his daughter is so bad. Ruo Ruo, what is this? You are very good at home. Are you being bullied? Don't worry, you have a mother here. They don't dare do anything to you. The scoundrel replied, Miss, Ruo Ruo is not lying to you. She is good at home but she is rarely home. I actually opened a company. Ruo Ruo follows me without fear of starving to death. And there is also we can't enjoy the same excitement and speed together. She shrugged, waiting for me to go faster than her before she spoke. She revealed the explosive truth. Mom, now you understand, right? From beginning to end, I was lying to you. Bark Teep fell to the ground. She cried in frustration. I, what did you say? What? My parents worked hard to raise me. Why did I turn into this? Lin Sin comforted her. Auntie, don't cry anymore. Just call home. They're probably already waiting impatiently at home. Bark Teep looked at him gratefully. Thank you. Only then did Ruo Ruo pay attention to him. Hey, who are you? Lin Sin replied. I am the Luo Yaxi's friend. She realized. Oh, the person my father wanted me to insult today. The system displays the notification again. Ding. Beautiful girl detected. Starting the gameplay mission. Name Su Ruo Ruo. Age 23. 
height 164 centimeters, weight 47 kilograms. When the subject's favorability towards the host exceeds 90%, 10% of the game fee will be refunded and transferred to the personal account of the host. When the subject's favorability towards the host reaches 100%, it will change its identity and change into a submissive relationship between the host and the target. Current favorability, minus 10%. You are also helpless. System, you can even handle a will the wisp girl. She pointed her finger at him, saying that he was terrible if he could beat Luo Yaxi, but good-natured children like him should still be obedient in their mother's womb. Just as she finished speaking, someone else's voice was heard loudly. Shout, hey, when do you want to talk? It's Kai Zheng Sheng, the young master of the Kai group. The race is about to start. Get ready, show this intimate love circus for anyone to see. Ruo Ruo provoked him, are you in a hurry to lose? Then come. She confidently placed her hand on Chia Xiang's shoulder. Chia Xiang, I believe in you, this time I can definitely win. Stay away from the corner he went out a little. On the straight line he was ahead of him. His car's performance was better than his car. This brakeman showed off again. This time I've bet all my money. If I win I'll win it all. If you fall, you'll go to zero. The dispatcher girl shouted the announcement. The race is about to start. Get ready. The two people got in the car and prepared to rev the engine. Chia Xiang had delusions of strength again. Look I beat him. Girl the blonde shouted. Starting. Time passed and the long and storm hit Ruo Ruo. The race ended. The winner Kai Zheng Sheng. Chia Xiang collapsed. Unbelievable. Ruo Ruo sat next to comfort him. Chia Xiang. No it's okay. Isn't it just a small amount of money? Next time. At this moment. Kai Zheng Sheng pointed his finger at her face. The money, I thought it was hundreds of thousands as big as cartwheels. If I played with it, I would accept it. Su Ruo Ruo, you are mine now. Have you heard of Mr. Chia? I once touched her, right when I wanted to see if it was real or fake. Su Ruo Ruo immediately turned around. Still looking straight and not afraid to stand still. You were so stupid that you were hit by a car. What nonsense are you talking about? Kai Zheng Sheng's nature is definitely not a good person. Just seeing him laugh once is enough to scare the other person away. You don't know yet. He spoke again, this time successfully scaring people away. Ruo Ruo dropped the candy in her hand. Her boyfriend lost and gave her to me. Standing right behind the crowd. Bart Teep was so scared that his eyes widened. Panicking and covering his mouth with his hand. Even Lin Sin didn't think things would come to this level. Kai Zheng Sheng held his girlfriend's waist with one hand. His fierce appearance scared children. The juniors behind him looked no different from demons. Just like that. It's not like you don't understand the rules of the world. Right now you are my slave. If you dare to run away, that means breaking the rules. The consequences. You already know. Plan everything. Ruo Ruo didn't expect that the last person to stab her in the back would be her boyfriend. And yet he didn't have my consent taking me as a bet. Motherfucker, you're crazy. Being cornered, Chia Xiang completely revealed his nature as a weak and cowardly guy. He laughed loudly, the wrinkles on his face also gathered in one place, looking like a patient who had just escaped from prison. Just sell it. Why? This bet Kai Zheng Sheng also brought his girlfriend to the floor. I also feel it's unfair, because his girlfriend is much hotter than you. The more he talks, the more enthusiastic he is. The more he talks, the crazier he is. Don't even let me touch you. Do you really think you can sell for such a high price? Ruo Ruo right now probably wishes she couldn't go back to the past and slap herself. That girl might not be hotter. Her, but the bastard in front of her was probably much more despicable than Kai Zheng Sheng. While she raised her hand to give him a slap, Kai Zheng Sheng appeared like a ghost from behind. His bushy hands clenched tightly, taking her small hand. The owner now ordered her not to hit anyone. Turning his hand, he pulled her forward, laughing loudly enough to be rude. Ruo Ruo's future this time is not in the cave is also at the bottom of society. Come on, obediently get in the car and go. Call the owner and listen. No matter how strong your mouth is, you are still a girl. Facing strong and strong people you can only be helpless. Being dragged away, don't. Bart Teep was stopped by two tall guys. Panicked and said loudly, you let her go, you are breaking the law, I will report you to the police. Kai Zheng Sheng pressed Ruo Ruo on the supercar with one hand. 
still free to turn around and answer her. This aunt doesn't understand the situation, so she asked her daughter, does she want to report to the police? Ruo Ruo frowned uncomfortably, but I can't say anything. How can a mother let her daughter suffer, no matter how much she warns her? Let her go. Those guys who beat girls are all cowards. Clearly, the juniors and Kai Zheng Shung are a gathering place for cowards. A guy with a comb over hair slapped her hard. Looks like he's triumphant now really. He grabbed the back of Ruo Ruo's neck, curled his mouth and smirked. Don't be so angry, auntie. If you look closely, you look quite beautiful. How about you two come back to be my car model? Then come on. Ruo Ruo immediately got angry when he heard that, even though the back of his head was still being held tightly. He still tried to turn around and shout loudly. Don't touch my mother. Bart Teep was held tightly by two guys with blue dyed heads. Although he was scared, still trying to reassure his daughter. Ruo Ruo, don't be afraid. The two entourage simultaneously held both of them tightly. Opposite Kai Zheng Shung smiled complacently. I like these measurements. Don't hurry up and call the owner. At this moment, a calm voice rang out from behind. Lin Sin, who had been quiet all along, also spoke up. I'm sorry, it's a bit of a bother. He put his hands in his pockets, looking generous and confident. Perfect, the complete opposite of the other side. According to your rules, Ruo Ruo lost and gave you the right. But as for the aunt you also want to recruit, you should also do it according to the rules. Or, I'll compete with you. You fought. Suddenly a brat jumped out of nowhere. He spoke angrily. You, you motherfucker. Who are you? On what basis did you bet with me? Motherfucker, do you have any money? Lin Sin move away a bit. Revealing the black supercar behind you. You can set a price. Bet any amount. Having money is a person's nature revealed. Kai Zheng Shung's eyes darkened a bit. He glanced at him. Oh, is this your car? He put his hands in his pockets. Smiling fiercely. So, the whole car that limited edition sports car and this aunt both took it as a bet. I will fight with you. By then there may be both mother and child. Ruo Ruo was pressed. Screaming. Kai Zheng Shung. Bastard. He coldly called his junior to slap him. A group of bastards who didn't know how to hold back. A cruel sound rang out. Leaving a red streak right on the girl's soft cheek. Lin Sin's attitude was perfect. Completely disregarding this group of people. He let out a small laugh. Just maybe. You guys are too petty. The two juniors from before immediately jumped out. Their expressions as if they were about to pounce on him and tear him apart. Kai Zheng Shung slowly stepped forward. Wait a minute. How do you want to play? He freely presented the dazzling golden card. Sports car. Beautiful woman and also this. 2 billion yuan. This is money my bet. What about you? Do you have enough money to bet with me? It took forever to see something interesting. His eyes glowed, pointing towards the hot girlfriend behind him. That's interesting. Okay, I bet 1 billion. Plus Ruo Ruo and my girlfriend. Chia Xiang suddenly spoke up. All this time I thought this coward had already crawled under several layers of soil. He was already crowing but he was still stupid. What's the point in living like that? I don't know. Wait a minute. Me too. Me too join. No problem. Lin Sin didn't think this big fish would take the bait. Maybe. Just don't know what you have to bet on. As expected. Idiots often don't know what to stop. I will bet 40% of the company's shares. This company belongs to my father. He has already given the company's shares to me. It is absolutely worth billions. Kai Zheng Shung didn't expect this guy to be so bold. Your little brother. He lost all his money. In the end, he didn't hesitate to bet on the shares. That's right. After all, he 3 billion won. Dad, I'm really happy to have a good son like you. How could Chia Xiang's short brain have foreseen the hell ahead? You take care of me. The last few times were all your luck. It was all because of the unlucky woman Ruo Ruo. Not bringing fortune. This time I will definitely win. Not sure where Su Ruo Ruo got the strength from. Fiercely turned around. Chia Xiang, I will definitely kill you. Bart Teep looked in his direction with tears in his eyes. Timidly speaking, Lin Sin, this is what our family caused. You, you don't need to do that. If you lose, it's your money. As he predicted the outcome of the race would be in his favor. He responded confidently. Auntie, don't think about losing so early. What if you win? He smiled crookedly. In his mind he was running through a herd of deer. Constantly calculating in his heart. 
If he won this match, he would get a lot. 40% of the shares of Flying High Company, 1 billion yuan, a beautiful woman, debt to lover, save money scanner, all three are ready at the finish line. In front is Kai Zhang Shung's hot girlfriend elected to be the opening person. The journey will start from here, to the top of the mountain, then from the way down the mountain back here. No matter what happens in the process, just watch who finishes last. Bark Teep mother and daughter can only secretly wish from behind. No matter what. Thank you boy. Su Ruo Ruo clenched his fists. How could he be so confident? Drove an expensive car. Took out a billion at will. He was really like what his father said. My miserable poor boyfriend. What about Luo Yaxi? Lin Sin turned his head and smiled at her. I'll borrow your car to compete. No comments. Even though he was quite worried on the inside. On the outside Su Ruo Ruo remained calm. Do you really know how to drive? Be careful. Finally, she said loudly, you have to be careful of Kai Zheng Shung. He had won a few spots in that motocross championship, and he was also suspected of killing other competitors. Not to mention the unofficial race. On this mountain road, if you really can't do it, leave. Don't risk your life with him. He gave a thumbs up, expressing peace of mind. Rest assured, sister, I am the man known as the god of speed. The three looked seriously ahead. Lin Sin spoke first. It's a man. Don't step on the brake later. Kai Zheng Shung replied jokingly. If you're afraid then say it. You can still retreat. Cheer Xiang like an idiot next to me. This time I will definitely win. The countdown sound rang out. The crowd's expressions gradually became serious. With a loud bang, the girlfriend shouted loudly, Let's start. At that time it was also when the smoke and dust rose. When everyone regained their composure, Behind they could only see three figures passing by like lightning with piles of fine dust everywhere. The race had only just started a few minutes ago. Kai Zheng Shung couldn't help but play dirty. As expected of an experienced person, dirty driving can also be so professional. Only to see him turn the steering wheel slightly, causing the back of the car to collide with Lin Sin's car's chassis. Immediately, his strange green monster truck flashed forward, even though it wasn't clear. You could see his current proud expression. Lin Sin seemed to be enlightened with this subject for the first time. He smirked. Lip. It turns out it's so interesting. Flycam fluttering in the sky. Showing a scene of people frantically chasing. Lin Sin immediately turned on the throttle. Accelerating as much as possible. Suddenly to the point of breaking the car seemed to want to fly off the ground. This image immediately scared the two of Su Ruo Ruo. There was a curve ahead and he was accelerating. Lin Sin seemed completely unconcerned. He leaned down slightly. The car's tilt also decreased. His bangs flew strongly in the air, enough to see how terrible the current speed was. Su Ruo Ruo then realized something. She opened her mouth wide to look at the scene before her eyes. So nervous that she forgot to breathe. It's a perfect corner hug. No one would have expected a newcomer like Lin Sin to be able to create such a complete corner position. The knee doesn't even touch the ground below. Chia Xiang with Kai Zheng Shung everyone was surprised by that situation. Especially Chia Xiang, a weak guy who was always afraid of someone surpassing him. He immediately started a bad habit, raised his leg and kicked it in his direction, trying to make everyone angry. The car fell on the road, died. No one can play bad things with the main character. Just seeing Lin Sin gently lift the front of the car, avoiding his kick. That made Chia Xiang both surprised and jealous. Su Ruo Ruo excitedly complimented loudly. So great. He immediately rushed forward, perfectly causing him to inhale the car's fumes. Although Chia Xiang was spicy, he only had time to swear. Kai Zheng Shung only then felt a little powerful. Raped. He turned his head and saw Lin Sin's motorbike approaching. His expression serious, about to catch up. But after all, he had been wandering around this world for a long time. How many scenes remained? Haven't seen it before. A newbie brat still wants to pass him. Then send you to Tay Theme too. I only saw him flick the rear of the car causing it to sweep a long line blocking Lin Sin's way up. The harsh screeching sound kept coming out. As if it wanted to pierce his ears. Lin Sin's eyes glanced at that image. His eyebrows slightly furrowed. Wanting to block me. The wheel gently rose from under the lane. As if monsters keep moving forward. You block the road. I create my own road. Lin Sin rolls up the slope above. 
taking advantage of friction and body weight to balance the slope of the road. Car, then we have to see how he blocks it. Is this completely enough to scare Kai Zheng Shung? Just see him open his mouth wide. His expression stinks like he ate feces. What? Yet he can walk on cliff. Even though he was chanting thousands of impossible words in his heart. That image was clearly in front of him. He absolutely could not deny that crazy scene. Lin Sin took time to leave the wheel and rushed straight down the slope to block the car of the other two people. This is not scientific at all. The people on the other side of the screen were clearly also scared a lot. The juniors, stay silent and don't dare to cough a bit. Lin Sin is as comfortable as walking on a regular road. There is absolutely no feeling of weightlessness or anything. Why are you looking at me? Looking at the road. I saw the position you were rushing towards. Where he was going. He cursed loudly and quickly turned the steering wheel, leaving Chia Xiang behind, stupid and unable to keep up. With a bang, his car crashed into the cliff at the same time, colliding with Lim's motorbike, Sin. The whole body flew away from the previous position, fell forcefully from the air and rolled a few times. The wheel gently landed on the ground, then leaned on it and quickly flew away, the layer of soil and rock from the aftershock earlier still falling non-stop. Kai Zheng Shung was already furious to the extreme. His pupils narrowed, teeth clenched. Damn it, you forced me. Speeding up again, blue fire shot strongly from the side the engine of his car. Accompanied by the roaring sound of the engine, was so loud that it was deafening. Suddenly there was a strong sound. At this point it was completely impossible to keep up with the movements of the two. It was unclear who his motorbike was. Playing soccer or something. Both master and servant went crazy and rushed forward. His eyes flashed fiercely different from just now. I not only want you to lose but also want you to die. The front of the car fiercely rushed from behind Lin Sin. My own damage in his eyes just now was nothing. Stabbing you to death. Today was definitely a bad day for Su Ruo Ruo. Her emotions fluctuated up and down like a roller coaster. When Hei, she screamed loudly in panic. No, perhaps because of his grandparents' help. Lin Sin used all his strange skills. He adjusted the steering wheel slightly, causing the bike's saddle to spin around, blocking Kai Zheng Shung's path. He clearly didn't think he still had a trick. So, I applied the brakes hard but couldn't make it in time. The two wheels collided loudly, at a speed that could not be seen by the naked eye. Kai Zheng Shung's green motorbike soared into the sky like eagle. A green eagle. He bent his legs and handlebars in panic. Following that, it became lighter, itself floating in the air again. The loud scream continued. Whether it was racing or martial arts, no one knew. The white motorbike seemed to disappear on the track. Only a faint white streak could be seen. Blurred moving at extremely fast speed. Lin Sin leisurely driving below. Above his head was Kai Zheng Shung spreading his wings to fly. There are many roads. Safety is the first road. Driving does not comply with the rules closed. Relatives shed tears. The end of the sentence was also when he passed by the beautiful figure of the guide. The race was over. The winner, Lin Sin. The crowd immediately surrounded the winner one. Whispers of praise continuously rang out. It was so special. I couldn't even dream of doing that. Definitely a professional racer. I vow to call him a car god. System notification sound system rang. Plus 50 degrees of affection. The last thing that appeared in his eyes was the image of Su Ruo Ruo with red cheeks. Eyes clearly showing the shape of a dull heart. So beautiful, so handsome. An ambulance gradually appeared from on the side of the slope. The noise was loud all the way. The noisy crowd stood behind. Opposite was the doctor who was rushing to move the other two people to the car. Lin Sin moved forward first. Followed by Su Ruo Ruo. You were a little worried about the condition of those two people. Doctor. Your face is a little wrinkled. How are they? Are their lives in danger? The doctor realized that finally someone cares when he saw two patients. He immediately walked over. Are you a family member or friend of the injured person? They were very lucky. They were in such a serious car accident and only suffered broken bones and a mild concussion. But still, need to check further. Lin Sin breathed a sigh of relief upon hearing that. How about that? That's great. Immediately after. The real face was revealed. So sign your name and go. The appearance is so scary that Kai Zheng Shung also trembled. Are you a devil? Lin Sin now vaguely revealed his ears and tail. This is a monster, not a human anymore. You have to bear with it. 
This is not the rule of the world. What do you value most? Sign me. Holding the eye-catching contract in her hand, Lin Sin immediately became an angel in the eyes of others, smiling until her eyes narrowed. As for the matter of speeding and intentionally harming others, leave it to the police. Kill him and teach him. So happy that he ignored his pitiful screams because Su Ruo Ruo stomped on his hand from behind with a high heel. Trampling you two trashes to death. It's really convenient for you. Kai Zhang Shung and Chia Xiang were tortured until their souls left their bodies. The surrounding doctors also moved in panic. The patient lost too much blood. Quickly take him to the emergency room. Lin Sin sweat dropped looking at Su Ruo Ruo was so angry that she puffed her cheeks. Thinking to herself, this girl is really hot tempered. A soft voice suddenly rang out next to him. Mr. Lin and Bart Teep spoke timidly. Their cheeks turned red due to shyness. Very red. Thank you. I really don't know how to repay you for your great kindness to our family. Next to Su Ruo Ruo. He is completely cold on the outside and hot on the inside. Although talking is a bit uncomfortable, his cheeks are red. Don't worry, we won't owe you this favor. No matter what request you make, my mother and I will try to do it. Lin Sin feel free to answer. In your hand is a big bulging handbag. No anyway, I got it anyway. This 100.000 was originally yours. Take it back. Don't come here in the future. You seem to emit a bright aura. It's a clear race. Brought him a series of surprises. From a bank card plus 100 million Chinese yuan. To 40% of the shares of Flying High Company. His pockets became thicker and thicker. I had something to do so I should go first. The two of you call a car and go home. His back now seemed to radiate a sparkling aura. Attracting the eyes of mother and son. Ruo Ruo's goodness also slowly increased by 20%. Lin Sin. Really different. Daughter. What do you think? Su Ruo Ruo held a bag of money in her arms. Her eyes seemed about to turn into heart shapes and jumped out. You made up your mind. Your beloved daughter suddenly said no. The head without a tail made her a bit confused. What to decide? Su Ruo Ruo confidently clenched his fists. His eyes shining with determination. I will pursue him. Bart Teep seemed to realize something and spoke up. Huh, isn't he Luo Yaxi's boyfriend? In exchange for a girl's resolute attitude. I don't care. At that moment, at the snack street outside the university city. The aroma from the stall's food is constantly pouring out. Attracting the hungry stomachs of Passersby. Lin Sin's group stopped in front of a fast food restaurant. Quickly ordering fried chicken and sausages. A familiar figure stood behind the bushes tree. Mysteriously looking in the direction of the four people. The noisy sound of the young men immediately attracted her. Almost eating a bowl of noodles. Entering the restaurant all night. With a strong sound. The invading breath enveloped the word. Behind Lin Sin, he turned his head back. The speed was still not as fast as Su Ruo Ruo's chewing and swallowing speed. She opened her mouth wide, towards the beautiful sausage in his hand. One sip and it was all over. Su Ruo Ruo clearly knows how to take advantage of her cuteness. Today is a beautiful day. So is Su Ruo Ruo. She cheerfully used her hands to pose in greeting, her mouth still half closed on the sausage, making her voice sound like choking. Both funny and adorable. Hi. Lin Sin looked in surprise at the person who had suddenly appeared. In his hand was the wooden stick that had just pinned that sausage. Su Ruo Ruo. Why are you here? The three of Zhou Tong were still surprised by the image just now. The person, Beauty, came to find Lin Sin. Sticking out her tongue to gently lick the meat scrap still on her lips. Her eyes looked evilly at the person in front of her. Her whole body curved slightly down. Her jacket was tight on her body, with a long deep cutout, when she pressed her body, at the same time revealing her deep cleavage as if she wanted to blow away the other person's eyes. Guess what? You're going to the internet shop later. Can you take me too? Three people behind stood hugging clenched his heart, at the same time screaming loudly in jealousy. Yet another beauty ran to find Lin Sin. Yet Lin Sin could still be confident. Coldly refuse. No, women only affect the speed of pressing just mine. The answer didn't seem to please the majority. The crowd shouted loudly, refusing. Her eyes flashed with annoyance. Yet there was an idiot who rejected a beauty. You. Right now, Lu Cheng appeared behind her with her hands on her hips. She was wearing a tight jet black dress. Perfectly showing off her surreal body proportions. Which one is this? 
Lin Sin's sausage is something she can can you eat it? That's mine. So in terms of hotness. Maybe Su Ruo Ruo is a few points behind. She gave a light nudge. Two balls were enough to push her 10,000 miles away. Get out. But Su Ruo Ruo is not a soft persimmon that allows others to bully her. She quickly grabbed the other person's wrist. Turned around and firmly pressed her shoulder down. Completely restraining Lu Cheng. Making it impossible for Lu Cheng to move. Miss Dak he laughed loudly. Sticking out his tongue to reveal the piercing inside. Looking like a boss bullying someone's good daughter. Who are you to dare to raise your voice to me? When you are involved in gangs. You're still in school saying hello to the teacher. The little rabbit knows how to struggle when she's in a dead end situation. While Lu Cheng isn't a weak white rabbit or anything. She raised her hand and grabbed the end of her hair. Pulling hard. The two beautiful girls were completely oblivious to the situation around them. Just focused on pulling each other's hair and pulling each other's heads like shrewd aunties. By the way. Let go. Ah, oh, let go. Otherwise your arm will be broken. The rare scene made Joe Tong and the others look excitedly. And at the same time let out a surprised wow. The situation made the person being fought for like Lin Sin cover his face in shame. Had to stop them. The system appeared again. Lin Sin's eyes also flashed a strange yellow light. He muttered. Proficient in traditional Chinese medicine. Taking a step forward. Lin Sin quickly moved. The speed was so fast that the naked eye could not see it. Just two shots were enough to make Su Ruo Ruo and Lu Cheng stiffen. The two girls then immediately rolled back. Hugging his biceps tightly. Groaning. It's so numb. Lin Sin seriously looked at the two of you. Can you stop for a while Lu Cheng? You're secretly following me again. Lu Cheng heard you say that of course I felt she felt embarrassed. But she couldn't have a thick skin. She shyly reached out to hold the strap of her thin shirt. Trying her best to look pitiful. Her eyebrows were furrowed. Her cheeks were red. And the emotions in her eyes were about to overflow. Okay, Lin Sin. Don't you hate her so much. I'll chase that annoying fly away for you. I won't bother you. Su Ruo Ruo smirked. Her eyes filled with mockery towards her. I guess. Lu Cheng was furious when she was poked at her weak point. She put her hands on her hips. Glanced at her. And spoke in annoyance. What? Isn't that better than a self-centered person like you? The angrier she gets. The easier it is for Ruo Ruo number. If I had a girlfriend like you. I would have broken up in a hurry. In exchange for her increasingly unpleasant voice. A hooligan girl. No wonder she had to dress up and pretend to be a student. Lin Sin. I don't like people like you. Go away. Taking out her student card from her pocket. Su Ruo Ruo shook it in her hand. Her whole body radiating the aura of a winner. Pretending. I can't pretend to be like you. It's so embarrassing. I'm a university student Yan Jiang. This time everyone's eyes widened. Lin Sin couldn't believe that the girl who looked like a gangster was actually a student college. You really shouldn't look at your face to capture your image. Su Ruo Ruo took off her shirt. Gently draped it behind her. Her body proportions were so perfect that any girl who saw them would be jealous. What's wrong? I shouldn't be surprised. I just rarely go to school. Who doesn't like beautiful people? Pink heart balloons are flying everywhere. Drool is about to flow into a river. Wow, so pretty. It's the type one like. The guy who drools the most damn it. Aren't you secretly in love with Lu Cheng? However, there are still people who have some sense. Although they are very beautiful, they don't look good. The worse the woman, the more the man loves her. Su Ruo Ruo's only current purpose is Lin Sin. She winked lovingly, her pink lips curled up slightly. But knowing that he also studied at Yan Jiang University, I had the motivation to go to school again. This made Lin Sin helplessly sigh. Okay, look at it positively. Consider it a convenient money swiping tool. I just don't know what her relationship with Luo Yaxi is like. The phone notification sound rang out. Chia Yu Xuan's sweet voice rang out from the other end of the line. Lin Sin, are you here yet? Lin Sin was still bewildered. Asked again, where are you coming? Today at the hospital, museum held an exhibition. It's not like you forgot. Right? Lin Sin actually forgot about this. He was so panicked that he stiffened. He remembered. A few days ago she said that today was the first day the first exhibition of literary objects was the literary objects that were bought from Japan. I stammered an excuse. Of course I didn't forget. I've already changed my clothes and am preparing to go. Chia Yu Xuan immediately breathed a sigh of relief when he heard that. 
he seemed to trust him very much. That's great, you're a major shareholder, if you hadn't come, I wouldn't have known what to do. He shyly clasped his hands together and apologized to his friends. Guys, I'm so embarrassed, there's an urgent need to go on a trip. You guys go to the internet cafe, I'll pay for tonight. Wu Ji pouted and waved like a fly. Speaking up, let's go, newbie, don't beg the puppers to carry you in future matches. Lin Sin looked at the phone screen, calculating the distance to the museum. Time was limited, now was the fastest way to get there. Or ride a bike over that's right. Su Ruo Ruo noticed that he was stunned and excitedly suggested. Where are you going? I'll take you there on my motorbike. Immediately received a refusal. No need. I'll go by myself. She firmly pulled his arm, as if she wanted to use some force to make him change his mind. When will you teach me that acupressure trick just now? Lu Cheng put his hands on his hips, shouted in discomfort, and let him go. One person is already good enough. Two people really become a noisy market, taking turns shouting loudly, as if wanting to tear his eardrums, so loud that his head explodes. He can only be helpless. The voice stopped, teaching her acupuncture points. Okay, but we need to see if she has enlightenment or not. He firmly pointed with five fingers, completely breaking Ruo Ruo's will. She went to make up all her subjects, still lacking in education, passed level one in Mandarin, took the level four foreign language certificate exam, and then came to me, telling her to study rather than telling her to die. Su Ruo Ruo lived with a mindless attitude and enjoyed peace. Right at that moment, I can only cry loudly. Lin Sin immediately rode his bicycle and ran away. Out came Su Ruo Ruo with his arms wide open to chase, shouting loudly as he ran. Hey, hey, can you lower your requirements? Kids, the guy in the back looked at this scene with tears in his eyes. His voice was filled with jealousy. I also want to be chased by a beauty. That figure is truly amazing. Lu Cheng is so old. It's the first time he's been looked down upon by others. Even though it's bitter, he can't do anything. He can only stand from afar, clenching his fists angrily. The museum today welcomed a large number of visitors, all lining up in long lines in front of the museum. Stepping inside is a giant room covered with golden stone, two rows of banners extending to the end of the hallway. The atmosphere inside is both luxurious and cheerful. Chia Yushuen was now surrounded by a crowd of people. Compliments kept ringing out. More and more people approached the crowd on this side. Director Chia is truly promising at such a young age. Under the management of Director Chia, the Yan Jiang Museum was really prospering. She stood shyly in the middle of a noisy crowd. I really envy Lao Chia for having such an outstanding daughter. One of the group stepped forward, held out a business card in his hand and spoke romantically. My name is Yang. I wonder if Director Chia would have the honor to have a meal with me. Thank you. I've already eaten, and I've been losing weight recently. He smiled a sweet smile that pierced the girl's heart. It's okay. Dinner is fine. I've booked a table at Michelin Three Stars. A woman with a temperament like Director Handsome here I am. At the same time, Lin Sin appeared holding a small bag. Oh, here. He smiled and raised the black bag in his hand. Calling softly, Chia Yushuen, she immediately responded happily, Tai the complete opposite of him just now. Lin Sin, what are you holding? The fragrant aroma emanating from inside the small bag. This is the grilled sausage at the university gate. Do you want to eat it? Guy the man was a little angry at being treated like an invisible person. And then curled his lips sarcastically, dying of laughter, inviting Chia Yushuen, whose human value was up to thousands to eat grilled sausages for a few coins. Is this kid crazy? Just as he was still pleased, the girl's sweet sound rang out like a strong slap to his previous thought. Wow, I've never eaten this before. I've always wanted to taste it. Her eyes, sparkling, with each chewing and swallowing sound. His face became darker, smelling like eating shit. Oh, very delicious. Lin Sin looked very happy. After all, he liked it here much more than standing between those two troublesome people. Right, I often come to this house to eat. The stinky tofu restaurant next door is also very delicious. Chia Yushuan's cheeks turned red. She kept nodding her head. Next time you can take me to taste it. Try it. She happily held Lin Sin's hand and left first. This side is heaven. That side is hell. No matter how shiny that Yang was before. Now she can only regretfully stand behind and admire. Watching her shadow, the two's figures gradually moved away. 
They were both old and oily, thinking the CEO was a switchboard. You've seen everything here. Let's go to the West Hall's antique appraisal event and check it out. Lin Sin put it in his pocket, suddenly reluctantly pampering, striding along. What is the antique appraisal meeting for? The crowd in front lined up in a series of long rows, eagerly jostling with people coming to watch and appraise. On the opposite side was a group of people dressed politely, seriously examining the items on hand. This is a regular activity my father has organized in the past. Every month he will organize two appraisals of antiques for everyone, which is very welcome in the world of antique collectors. Neck. The man was dressed colorfully, holding a giant donut, smiling brightly at the camera in front of him, looking like a professional streamer. His energy was different from everyone else. The donuts were truly delicious. Everyone look where I've been. The Treasure Appraisal Association of Yan Jiang Museum. The phone screen is displayed in the screen. The comments keep jumping. The number of viewers is still pouring in insignificant numbers. I'm really jealous. Although I have never seen a museum in the United States, but definitely not just a fraction bigger than this. Looks like the man is a social media influencer. Named Hao Heng. Someone complimented his style. Great. Give me the camera Lee. He stepped forward and introduced. Early this morning I brought my treasure here for appraisal. There were famous experts at the scene. After the price was determined, they sold it at a good price. So there was money to be made. Going to the United States and living good days. My good friend buddy Sam in the United States even arranged a job for me in the United States. The announcement sounds continued to sound. It seemed like Hao Heng was next. The next person, number 174. Three people passed each other. He excitedly ran towards the appraisal counter. It was my turn. It was this. On the other hand, is Lin Sin and Chia Yuxuan. Two people sweetly holding hands. Very lively, isn't it? Indeed. The man standing in the corner slowly walked out. Looking at the aura, he was definitely not an ordinary character. They are all respectful and gentle. Thank you teacher Kong for your compliment. My father will be here soon. He smiled amiably, raised his hand in a cheering gesture. That's right, having such an excellent daughter. He can truly be blessed. Lao Chia really knows how to raise children. She replied shyly, Teacher Kong, stop praising me. I need to thank you for being able to come to the treasure appraisal organization. After talking for a while, he suddenly hugged his stomach and stepped back, waving goodbye to the two people. Big I'm old now. My stomach isn't good anymore. I'm going to the bathroom first. Goodbye first. Right now, the front suddenly became noisy. It seemed like someone was loudly upset in the examination area. I decided to call the number. Why is there no one? I've been waiting for half a day. I'm liking the streaming. It turns out the troublemaker is Hao Heng from before. He's holding the camera in one hand, the other hand on his hip, speaking up, uncomfortably. So many people are waiting. Is your museum appraiser like that? Chia Yushuen immediately stood up to mediate. She walked behind the desk, showed off her beautiful woman's communication skills. Her sweet voice gently scratched the other person's heart. I'm sorry, Teacher Kong has to go out for a few minutes. If you can't wait, I will evaluate it for you. He didn't seem very satisfied. Although his voice had softened a bit, it was still full of disbelief. She appraised her, looking at her appearance. It didn't look like she was an appraiser. It wasn't the first time someone doubted her. After all, she only looked like a young girl. So how much experience could she have? But Chia Yushuen still spoke softly, her tone full of confidence. He could give me a look. Anyway, there's no harm in believing a little. He took out a small luxurious box from his pocket. Inside was a pipe that seemed quite old, and looked stylish. It belonged to someone who issued it, often used. Okay, this is the pipe that the president founded in the United States used. Take a look. He turned the camera slightly, showing an image of a little girl seriously considering something. The whole face was wrinkled, completely the look of someone who had done so much to get used to it. The comment box kept jumping with messages. Everyone was stunned by the unbelievable beauty of Chia Yushuen. The girl is so beautiful. I also want to arrive at the scene. So young and already an appraiser. How Heng come a little closer. A moment of silence passed. She finally returned the pipe to him. Shook her head. I regret this it's a technological product. Not a literary object. How can Hao Heng accept this? He slammed the table and shouted loudly. What nonsense are you talking about? 
This is what a friend in the United States gave me. How could it be fake? Do you know he has a lot of money and is very sincere? He looked closely at the small writing on the pipe. Made in Huaguo, to be exact, a gadget company in our country. But he was a foreigner, completely unaware of what it meant. But still I refuse to find out. I just stubbornly believe that I am right. Have you seen these words? Do you know what they mean? How Heng smirked smugly, exactly the look of those guys who are both brash and stubborn. Although I don't understand, it probably means something like a declaration of freedom. In the United States, freedom is the problem, what not. The phone screen clearly recorded the scene at this time. Thousands of people continuously commented. A self-righteous idiot. Only Chia Yushuen patiently sat and explained to him. This foreign language means yes the origin of perfume. He still refused to believe it. Pounded the table and shouted loudly. It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. If you don't believe it, you can take a photo of this line and scan it into the translation application. He became more and more stubborn and finally pulled out a jade green ceramic vase from his pocket. The same shape and color. At first glance, I guess it was a selected product. But whether it's real or not, I don't know. What do you say? Is that so? Just by looking at it, I can tell it's a foreign product. Come on, today I have to compare highs and lows with you. How Heng, I'm sure I won this game. Where did this porcelain vase come from? It has many years of history. Please tell me. If you're right then I won't cause you any more trouble. Accurate judgment is quite difficult for people with many years of experience. Let alone young people, old like the girl in front of her. Sure enough, after a few seconds Chia Yushuen observed the ceramic vase. She lowered her voice. My knowledge is limited. I can only see roughly. This porcelain vase is really very perfect. His tone is filled with triumph. Like a male peacock who always thinks he is right but constantly spreads his tail to brag. Just admitting that his knowledge is limited. The pipe that his friend in the United States giving it to me cannot be. At this moment, she slightly squinted her eyes. White light flashed from her pupils. It seemed like the result was certain. But because it was too perfect. Glancing down at the beautiful ceramic vase in my hand. The smoothness to the touch. The strange scent that wasn't something an antique should have. The color and part of this feeling were new. So I guess. My fingertips felt it, recognizing the remaining tactile sensation. This is probably a fake. This time he completely exploded, angrily leaving the examination table. Maybe what? She didn't understand at all. As for the expert, could he have bought it or slept it? Maybe his anger had been swallowed. Not only his face and brain, but also the person who can't say such a stupid sentence. After all, Chia Yushuen is the first time meeting someone so easily excited. Speak up seriously, please pay attention your words. Otherwise I will call security to invite you out. The more the bastard talks, the more aggressive he gets. Spitting everywhere and he doesn't pay attention. Call security, it cost me 500 yuan to come here for an assessment. Can you believe I'm calling the police right now? That teacher Kong finally appeared. He called out to the noisy crowd. Panicked because something had happened just a little while away from his position. What's wrong? What's wrong? Director Chia, she replied innocently. This person was carrying a porcelain vase, completely ignoring the other person's anger that had reached its peak. Director, my medicine is fake. The more I talk, the crazier I get. Now the melody has become several times more aggressive. Everyone comes to see what is called unprofessionalism, what is called the ability of Yan Jiang Museum. So small and broken, I knew right away that I couldn't identify anything. I'm a celebrity with 30,000 fans. Do you know who you offended? Teacher Kong whispered softly into her ear. Each sentence and each word seemed to destroy the initial trust that Chia Yushuen had in this respected teacher. As an appraiser, you are still much worse than your father. An appraiser not only knows how to appraise objects but also knows how to appraise people. The type of item that has no obvious defects and cannot find evidence. If it's fake, just give him a certificate and let it go. His eyes darkened and he gave a smile that made her go cold. He looked like some pervert who liked to spy on others. If he did illegal business, one day he would be friends with bars. But if he didn't play recklessly, then when will you get better? Don't show such an expression. That year, my uncle and your father cooperated to make money. And being able to build a stall and reputation for appraising this treasure also depended on skill. And flexible. That guy's eyes are wide open. 
and you look like you're about to jump out. The more you laugh, the more confused you become. How can I say that my goods are real? Quickly apologized to him. It felt like the surrounding crowd gradually became quiet. All the criticism was now focused on Chia Yushuan. The feeling of oppression even though she had done nothing wrong made her breathless. It turned out that the place she had always wanted was a place. Is my face that dirty? A bunch of vain and greedy people. A bunch of field mice who only know how to whisper blame. A porcelain vase worth hundreds of thousands and yet you say it's a fake. Do you know how to appraise things? It's not like that. Now belongs to my family. Right at this moment, someone's voice rang out, like an angel coming to show her the way. What was so bustling about? You step forward. Protect Chia Yushuan behind you. Let me see who is bullying my director Chia. Unexpectedly, someone would stand up for him. His cheeks were red. Deep in his eyes was a strong love that was difficult to conceal. His light pink lips painted a faint smile. Calling softly, Lin Sin, Hao Heng's expression became even more more and more arrogant. Completely indifferent, those people all deserved to be at his feet. Leaning on his hips and scolding loudly. Who are you again? Lin Sin smiled with unknown meaning. As if looking at a monkey raised in a zoo. Confidently introduced. Me, I'm an expert among experts. Teacher Kong also excitedly introduced. Right, right. Don't see that Mr. Lin is still young. His appraisal ability is guaranteed. Mr. Lin's things are even better than mine. His eyes were full of calculation. His image was getting lower and lower in society. Lin Sin's eyes were scrutinizing him from top to bottom as if he wished he could strip him completely. Let's see if there are any more secrets. I just went to the bathroom and called Lao Si the bottom. You must make friends. Hao Heng jokingly put his hands in his pockets, bent down at a slight bend, facing Lin Sin who was sitting in a chair. Really? Then take a look at this porcelain vase of I'm going. Lin Sin looked excited, wishing she could jump up and punch that hateful face. Um, when does this porcelain vase come from? The other person immediately replied, Porcelain vase from the Song Dynasty. You seems to have seen something. Ironic. Song Dynasty. I saw this last week. Not sure if it was because he was lazy or deliberately not listening. He suddenly slapped his hand. Laughed excitedly. Is, is it from the Shang or Zhou Dynasty? That would make it even more valuable, wouldn't it? He seriously examined the antique vase in front of him. Touched it again and again but didn't see anything special. So he spoke up. Was this vase bought or picked up? He arrogantly puffing out his chest. Completely the look of a peacock who likes to show off. Talking without thinking. This is something my grandfather passed down to me. Our family heirloom. Suddenly, he shouted raised his voice. His grandfather immediately scared him back. The comment section kept jumping. Everyone voted that this moment was the funniest. He angrily scolded loudly. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? Lin Sin stood up. His appearance was not joking at all. He was also easily seduced otherwise he might be tricked into buying fake things later. So, tell me, how much money did you lose? The conversation became more and more tense. Dead pigs aren't afraid of boiling water. Right, your mouth is really hard. Okay, I'll let you serve. Pig has entered trap. He stupidly pulled out the proof of purchase and put it on the table. Like crazy but kept laughing. Open your dog eyes to see clearly. This porcelain was actually purchased from Master Fanguo Bao. There's also that person's certificate. Do you know its real value? Smirking, Lin Sin signaled the security guard to come in, glancing at the paper on the table and the bastard being controlled. Oh, wasn't it passed down by my grandfather? He had the certificate but he still came here for appraisal. He came here to find a feeling of consensus. Only now did he realize he was being set up. Stupid enough to accept it. Bitch. Why do you want to eat? Let me go. Teacher Kong has been silent all this time. Now he dares to come over and whisper to you. His attitude has also softened a bit. Mr. Lin, from the Fanguo Bao gang this means taking their artifacts everywhere for appraisal. The more certificates they have, the higher the price they can be sold for. Besides, Fanguo Bao is a very famous collector in Yanjiang. Heard today, also came here to visit the artifacts. We should still be a little more careful when talking. He spoke seriously, completely lacking his usual gentle appearance. No matter who he is. Holding a fake artifact come here to appraise. Want to take advantage of our appraisal association to increase the price. There is no way. 
Hao Heng shouted loudly, like a hero doing a righteous thing, completely unable to see his own mistakes. His mouth just kept going, loudly crowing. Okay, everyone has seen it, right? This is the consciousness of Yan Jiang's appraisal association, which has lowered the image of the whole country in the collector world. A patriot like me is indeed very heartbroken. The righteousness in his heart is about to explode. But it seems that people on the internet don't pay much attention. The comments section is constantly talking about other topics. I also like to eat donuts. Wants to eat donuts it's so American. I don't know if I can eat donuts when I go to America. But be careful if you get fat. This time I'll also evaluate this guy. Lin Sin seemed to be quite helpless with the stubbornness of the idiot in front of him. He waved his hand and shook his head with a disapproving expression. Okay, I'm too lazy to say more to you guys. If you want to refund the appraisal fee, then I will refund it to you. Take your fake literary certificate and go away. Next time find a trustworthy appraiser. Don't run around arguing all the time and get tricked into paying money. Nowadays, someone suddenly spoke up from the back of the crowd. Wait, the old man with white hair and beard, holding a folding fan his whole body radiating an extraordinary aura, but somewhere mixed with a vague fakeness. I am Fanguo Bao, I have been playing antiques for more than 60 years, and have always appreciated the value and respected history. If this young man was sure that the artifacts I had not appraised were fake, then wouldn't it be true? Is it worth slapping my face? If other professional appraisers say this, I'm afraid I will pay attention and think about whether I'm really old and dizzy looking at the wrong treasure. But the young man, he spoke vaguely, but everyone understood his intention at this time. His eyes deep in the black glasses were a dull yellow color. Without light, the wrinkles on his face also gathered together. Smile, although it looks happy, but in reality no one knows what's in the heart. It's just a lover, not even an appraiser's certificate. Right, the three words are a lover. He spoke louder, trying to use logic to crush Lin Sin at this time. Lin Sin was silent. His eyes were like a deep lake constantly swirling into the heart of the other person. The crowd immediately became noisy, especially the people who bought literary objects from Fanguo Bao. They were making noise and causing trouble like market vendors. That's right, that's right, they didn't even have a certificate. An outsider pretending to be an expert. Mr. Fanguo appraised it. State inspection. I also bought literary objects from Mr. Fanguo's place. They are definitely genuine, now they are worth the money. It seems like the current negativity is gradually surrounding the crowd. Teacher Kong is behind the inspection desk decided. Timidly spoke up. Mr. Lin, I told you, this Fanguo Bao cannot be offended. He once again acted polite. Spoke up. Everyone don't be hasty. We are all moral people. This young man is interested in appraising literary objects. I also understand very well. Not having much knowledge is inevitable and it is inevitable. Lin Sin stood in front of Chia Yushuen. His expression became darker with each passing moment. That old man's words. So, Director Lin Sin looked worriedly at the guy in front of him. Lin Sin. He laughed and asked again. I heard right just now. Many people here have bought Mr. Fanguo's artifacts. Fan Hoa porcelain vase. This girl's is the same. Don't you mind letting me take a look? The old lady put her hands on her hips and confidently said. You can go ahead and take a look. But be careful if you break it you won't be able to make up for it. Lin Sin seriously examined the porcelain vase carefully. Meticulous. The more he looked, the more proud the old man became. His eyes deep in the glass became darker and darker. Just depending on him, what could he see? You laughed. Fake. This immediately caused a stir. You're fake. Do you have proof? This is something I had to use all the money in the house to buy. Now the price has doubled. There are many people who want to buy it. Today I will sell it at a high price. The more he listens, the more excited and sarcastic he becomes. Yes, as long as it is tough. Young people are filial, won't give up. He stood in the opposite direction of the crowd, spoke up, and whose artifacts were bought from Fanguo Bao so bring them all up here for me to see. Led by his brother Hao Heng laughing, still stiff mouth right, is there any sense in delaying the time? But it seems like the people behind are very excited constantly jostling each other to bring up literary objects. Look at my Ming Dynasty vase. There is also a box of my era too. She stood behind worriedly, although these documents looked very new, but there was really no evidence of forgery. 
Could it be that including that porcelain vase I really had did you see wrong? The old man smirked. Is that okay? Everyone has a lot of time to wait for you. If you saw wrong, just admit it and you won't lose face. Or do you see that all of these things are the same? Is a fake? He held a rather old ceramic bowl in his hand and said seriously. Well, it's all fake, but this is a master of manufacturing techniques that can be said to have no flaws at all. As heard this what's so funny, the crowd suddenly became noisy. Everyone was laughing at Lin Sin. He said it like he didn't say it. He met someone with a hard mouth but never met a person with such a hard mouth. His brain was stuck in the door. Okay, are you back yet? I'm still live streaming. Definitely the funniest clown of the year. Chia Yuxuan bowed her head and apologized to everyone and admitted all her mistakes. Yet Fanguo Bao still refused to let her go. Director now it's not just a simple apology anymore. Chia Yuxuan was startled and asked again. So what do you want? He replied, this friend keeps insisting that my artifacts are fake. Then it must be taken out. Got proof. Hao Heng and a few others immediately followed suit. Yes, if we can't prove it then we have to buy my porcelain vase at double the price. That's right, if we buy our things at double the price then we won't calculate anymore. Fanguo Bao gave a cunning smile. I don't have any requests. But being treated like that at the Yan Jiang Museum, it really makes people feel cold. Before that too I've already told director you think you're smart. Just kneel down and sincerely apologize. Kowtow your head three times and you'll be fine. Chia Yushuen hesitated. That's too much. Before he finished speaking, Lin Sin quickly responded. Okay, but if I can get the evidence, what price can Mr. Fanguo pay? Actually you have already calculated it all. Now just waiting for them to take the bait. Mr. Fan replied harshly again. Have you made a mistake? Now you have to prove your words. Based on what conditions you told me, Lin Sin kindly explained to him. He really agreed that I will rush to prove something. Self-proving is a trap. The more you want to prove yourself, the easier it is to be brainwashed. If you want to bet with me then you have to take something out. If otherwise, on what basis should I bet with you? Oh that's right, it seems I haven't said it yet. I actually have evidence to prove that you guys are all fakes. Let's take a look. How Heng lost your peace calmly raised his voice to challenge. Come, bet, bet. Mr. Fan also decided to fight. He has lived to be over 80 years old this year and has never met such an arrogant person. He decided to bet half of the collectible. Yours. The people behind heard that and couldn't help but be surprised. Half of Master Fan's collectibles. So isn't that comparable to a museum? Fanguo Bao smiled confidently. The price of the collectibles my other budget is at least 1 billion. More than enough to buy this Yan Jiang museum. Lin Sin accepted this deal. Although there was a way to determine carbon-14 dating, that method was too slow. He decided to use a method that was both fast and less labor-intensive. Lin Sin called someone to bring him a hammer. The people below had the opportunity to chat again, using hammers to check the inside and cross-section of the artifacts. Thinking there was a good way, but everyone had probably heard rumors about counterfeiters. Antiques. Right, that's the rumor about the counterfeit master's mark. Lin Sin now had a hammer in his hand. He loudly declared, Now I will smash those antiques that I said were genuine. If this is a mistake, I will compensate you double. Chia Yushuan was worried, but he gave him a reassuring wink. She blushed and exclaimed, Lin Sin is truly magical. No matter what kind of adversity he is in, he can still face it calmly, as if there is nothing in this world that can be difficult. If he did, her favorability with him immediately increased by 8%. The favorability value is now 82%. Lin please hold the hammer and inform everyone. I'm ready. Everyone at this moment. I still don't dare to believe that he would actually have the guts to beat them. Mr. Fan is also secretly underestimating him at this time. This kid has some bravery but not much. He wants to use his cross-section to judge the truth and falsehood. What evidence do you have? If there really are some poor quality fakes in these documents, then he really might find unfortunate loopholes. However, these items are all mine. Do it yourself. How can you find a loophole? The most famous collector Yan Jiang is my external identity. In fact in the world of creating fake literary objects of perfume, I am the existence at the most famous. My counterfeiting technique is definitely without any loopholes. Even a national level expert cannot find a loophole. 
an amateur hobbyist like you still wants to challenge I was literally daydreaming. But if we talk about loopholes, there really is still one. That is, I intentionally left a mark. Every top counterfeiter, whose arrogance comes from the very bones, will leave a mark of their own. As for myself in the works I create, I am no exception. But if you think breaking things can be discovered so easily then you have underestimated me. My mark is extremely small. Just only I can know its location. Using a hammer to break it like this. The chance of finding it is only 5%. Moreover, I will smash all of your small abilities. While he is while thinking, he broke the first vase. Hao Heng burst out laughing excitedly. The porcelain vase I bought for 3,000 Vietnamese dongs. Fragments of the vase scattered everywhere. They just picked up the pieces up. Confident that I won't have to worry about my living expenses this month. Mr. Fan also picked up a piece of debris and said, Everyone look at the color of this cross section. The ash color is yellowish. And with this thickness, this is the real thing. How Heng was excited. This kid lost again. The market price of this item must be several hundred thousand. While the two were busy talking, Mr. Fan quickly hid a broken piece of the vase in his pocket. It didn't stop there. Lin Sin continuously broke the documents on the table. Other people saw that not only were they not sad but were even excited to count the amount of compensation they received. Like this it won't take long rich. Mr. Fan was trying not to laugh at this moment. I had picked up all the imprints. Only the last one was missing. While he was busy examining the fragment of the artifact, he approached again, approached the table and asked. How, have you found any evidence yet? Almost. Lin Sin smiled as if nothing had happened. He suddenly shot a fragment at him. Taking advantage of if you didn't pay attention, you put the last piece of the seal in your pocket. Fang Guo Bao raised his face confidently. It's over, the only loophole now, all the fragments are in my hands. When it's really easy, not difficult at all. When he was sure of victory in his hands, he confidently asked him, Friend, have you seen enough? Where is the evidence? Lin Sin scratched his head and laughed. These items are very well made. Even if they are cross sections there are no obvious flaws. It seems like you have met a master. Mr. Fan sneered so, you mean there is no evidence? Right? Pay money, immediately pay money, the crowd behind excitedly shouting in unison the slogan of paying money. Lin Sin still calmly walked in front of him. Master Fan, are these fake documents really worth that much money? As soon as the words fell, pieces of evidence immediately followed. You released it. Everyone didn't expect it but their eyes were wide open. Lin Sin calmly released the evidence. The whole hall fell into silence. Everyone then came together to look at the evidence. They wondered, what is this? Why does this fragment of Song Dynasty porcelain have a sealed script character? It's also found on fragments of blue and white porcelain from the Qing Dynasty. It's also on Tang Sankai. Mr. Fan rummaged around in confusion, stammering at a loss for words. Since when? Why? How is it possible? Lin Sin sneered, breaking into a cold sweat. Right, don't look anymore. I took it from your pocket just now. A bit of your reaction speed in your eyes. I'm no different from a sloth. These artifacts look very real but what they all have in common is that they have been preserved so well. There are some artifacts that wouldn't even be in the National Museum. So good, I think this is not something that the counterfeiter doesn't know. But because he is too arrogant, thinking that what he created cannot be assessed by anyone, he wants to enjoy the feeling. This noble man, combined with that confident attitude of yours, I guess that these literary artifacts were probably all created by you. Right, Fanguo Bao's face turned pale. He quickly explained, You, you're talking nonsense. It's not me, and even if I created it, how would you know about the imprint? Lin Sin explained, I don't know, I simply wanted to smash it to see what happened. Then observe his reaction, then as expected, he immediately became panicked and started picking up the pieces. It was also the first time I saw someone collecting evidence against himself. Mr. Fan was so angry after hearing that. You mean, if I don't pick up the pieces, you will lose. Those documents are worth several hundred million. Just because you proved your guess. Did you smash them all? No one should teach rich people how to spend money. Isn't it just a few hundred million? Just hit them. Let him out. Who told the old director to bully your director is fake? When Chia Yushuan heard this, she became even more flustered. She didn't expect Lin Sin to trust her so unconditionally. At this time, 
Fanguo Bao began to receive retribution. The people who had been deceived by him began to slander him and demand money. Luckily, Lin Sin still had humanity and advised them not to beat him to death. He still owed him a lot of things. That. Chia Yushuen didn't understand why he suddenly hugged you. Lin Sin, you really scared me to death just now. Don't scare me like that again in the future okay? Come to this point. Oh her favorability increased by 5% again. System notification. Chia Yushuen's favorability reached 90%. Completed phase 1 of the game. The 6 billion 8 game money for Chia Yushuen was refunded 10 parts 100. 680 million. Transferred to your personal account. All attribute bonus plus 1. Current all attribute level is level 7. The system gives the question 3 skills and asks to choose 1. Skill C level. Mastery of 3 subjects. SS level skills. Feng Shui fortune telling. B level skills. Horse riding expertise. Just hearing the number 680 million. His heart was as happy as opening a chessboard. With this amount of money. Use it if you save a little. You may not need to work in your whole life. This is your life's goal. Lin Sin is very happy inside but on the outside he still has to act calm and wipe away Chi Yushuan's tears. No am I okay? There's still important things to do. The scene changes to a villa. The two people are now standing in front of a fortune in antiques. Lin Sin does not hesitate to praise. As expected of Yan Jiang's top collector. There are many good things in here. Based on according to the agreement. Lin Sin will take half of it. Fanguo Bao knelt down and begged. Mr. Lin, these are all items I have collected for more than half my life. You can hold them up high and hit them softly. Lin Sin smiled darkly. When he saw that, he quickly knelt down and corrected what he said earlier. Asking Mr. Lin to choose whatever dish he wanted. Oh my god. Chia Yushuan's surprised voice rang out. This literary object is here. She happily invite Lin Sin to have tea with you later. A moment later, the sun had gone down the mountain. Lin Sin sat alone surfing the news. Hao Heng made the front page with the headline, Migrants arrested by police at the US border, now locked up in US jails. Lin Sin suddenly smiled. I heard that hype culture is very popular now. I wish you good food and good drink. Lin Sin has been waiting for a long time. But Chia Yushuan still hasn't brought the tea. As soon as I mentioned it, it immediately appeared. The sound of heels hitting the ground. Chia Yushuan was wearing a long dress with bold slits on both sides and brought tea to Lin Sin. Lin Sin looked at her appearance now and just wanted to have her nose bleed. She put the other artifact on the table and asked him if he knew the origin of this incense burner. What about the incense burner? He only paid attention to her slim waist. Chia Yushuan shyly turned away. This is the set I bought when I was in high school. Now it's a bit small. It's not easy to wear it. Lin Sin turned back to the incense burner. This is a modern incense burner in the past. Fanguo Bao's collection. Right. Because it's not far away. Based on the grade of the artifact. It's probably considered a grade 3 artifact. It has a very special background. 180 years ago. During an invasion by foreign forces. Captain Zhu Feng saved the daughter of a wealthy merchant named Qian Yu. The two fell in love at first sight. Unfortunately, the wealthy merchant looked down on Zhu Feng's commoner background, insisting that he must become a general before allowing his daughter to marry him. Zhu Feng left an incense burner as a token of their love for Qian Yu before heading into battle. Unexpectedly, Zhu Feng spent 10 years and truly became a general and later he finally married Qian Yu. This incense burner is also a testament to their love, passed down from generation to generation, until a hundred years later it was lost is that this incense burner can be found. The six characters, Long Love, Never Forget Each Other, were engraved by Zhu Feng with a knife. A very touching story, like the rich aroma of tea. Holding the beauty in his arms, Lin Sin exclaimed, You are very beautiful tonight. The beauty suddenly jumped up to give him a kiss. Lin Sin also quickly hugged her waist and responded, The scene at this moment looked hot what's wrong with her eyes. Calm and healing, for some reason, Chia Yushuan's dress suddenly ripped open. She embarrassedly tried to grab her dress and run away. But he quickly took off his jacket for her and picked her up. Chia Yushuan embarrassed she shyly allowed him to carry her to the dressing room. Two days later, Lin Sin was now at the Dragon Court number 1 villa with Luo Yaxi. 
Luo Yaxi told him to leave his things for the servant to carry and then went in with him. In the villa, looking at such a young Lin Sin was successful, and there was also a beautiful woman by his side. This employee couldn't help but admire. At this moment, suddenly a beautiful woman wearing a maid outfit appeared in front of him. She introduced herself as the new maid that Mr. Lin invited to come. Just like that, Lu Cheng successfully entered the villa without any difficulty. On the other hand, Luo Yaxi was happily chatting with Lin Sin. Lin Sin, look, these are the flowers that I told the gardener to plant. There are cloves that you like and hydrangeas that I like. There are also many different types of flowers over there. Lin Sin also had to admire the frame. This beautiful scene. If there were a few more puppies it would be even better. In front of them at this moment was a group of servants. They bowed their heads in unison to greet both of them. Thinking of the prospect, someone would cook and clean the food. Cleaning and washing clothes are all done by servants. No need to go to work. Just playing video games all day makes his heart feel excited again. Lin Sin turned around to express his wish to give Luo Yaxi another supercar. Luo Yaxi of course refused. Because he had already given her too much. In the distance, Lu Cheng saw the two of them so happy and became jealous. By the way, I really wanted to tear that face of hers. Probably my heart was so happy that I almost died. When it was time to have dinner, it was me who laughed. In the evening, Luo Yaxi personally went into the kitchen to cook. The servants saw this and did not hesitate to praise. Mr. Lin is truly blessed. Having such a thoughtful girlfriend, cooking for him herself. Luo Yaxi happily explained, because she liked the look of Lin Sin eating the food she made. The dish was done, and was about to bring it out when Lu Cheng appeared from nowhere. Covered with a mask, her voice trembling, asking me to bring the food out for her. She explained that it was because she had the flu that she had to wear a mask. Luo Yaxi asked again, her voice sour as if so. How old is she? Lu Cheng replied with sparkling eyes. She just turned 18, she said while shaking her skirt as if she was very cute. Luo Yaxi got goosebumps then waved her hand to warn her let me carry the food to the second floor. While carrying the food upstairs, while no one was paying attention, Lu Cheng secretly pulled out the medicine bag from his chest, then pour it into the food tray. That's it, Lu Cheng thought, after eating these dishes, you will go to sleep soon. Then I will be in your bed, in front of you. Man they are all animals with the lower half of their bodies. As long as I let Lin Sin enjoy unlimited pleasure, he will definitely accept me after he wakes up. After bringing in the food, there was suddenly a voice downstairs. Have you seen that maid? Why haven't you confirmed that you let someone into your house arbitrarily? Knowing that he had been discovered, Lu Cheng immediately ran to find a place to hide. But every room was blocked. Locked. She could only hide in the master bedroom just now. Lu Cheng was lucky enough to get under the bed just in time for the door to open. It was Lin Sin and Luo Yaxi. The two of them would enjoy dinner in bed. Lu Cheng was happy like opening a flag. Good opportunity. Quickly eat that anesthetic and go to sleep. Two people happily feeding each other. How cheesy the words sound. Lu Cheng has been lying down for a long time and still see them chatting she wondered. Why wasn't she sleeping yet? Had the medicine lost its effect? It couldn't be. At this moment, a servant came in to announce. The security couldn't find the fake maid. It must have been escaped but she forgot a bag. Miss Lu asked Miss Lu to check. Lu Cheng was startled. Then she remembered there was a bag that she forgot. Luo Yaxi opened the bag. Inside, a pair of rabbit ears immediately appeared. Luo Yaxi sneered. It turned out to be Lu Cheng. I didn't expect to dare to sneak into our villa. Afraid there was some evil plot. Lin Sin's tone was unpleasant. I didn't expect she had already escaped. If not, I will definitely take her to the police station. Lu Cheng just cried silently after hearing this. If I go to the police station, won't I be able to see him for many days? Put that aside, Luo Yaxi also prepared something else special for you. Lin Sin pretended to wonder. This is perfume, smelling this scent is extremely relaxing. After saying that, she immediately got out of bed and changed into her old clothes. With Lu Cheng's rabbit outfit, Lin Sin couldn't help but blush. Luo Yaxi ecstatically approached his face and whispered, If you want to play excitingly, then play until the end. Lu Cheng bit her lip angrily. Wish I could go out and give her a few slaps. Lin Sin seemed interested, 
So that's what this place is like. There is also a tail. The feeling of the hand is very interesting. Lu Cheng is excited and jealous just hearing it jealousy took over again. It should have belonged to her. The two of them continued to play together happily. After a while of struggling, both of them finally stopped and went to sleep. Lu Cheng below also sweating profusely. She slowly crawled out from under the bed. But before she could crawl out, something blocked her back. Shouted Luo Yaxi raised his voice. Wanting to run, it wasn't that easy. Don't be too loud. Do you want to wake up Lin Sin and call the police? I've known you since you were 18 years old. Lu Cheng couldn't believe his ears. And Luo Yaxi was extremely gloating. Then I designed this trap for you. You really fell into the trap. Listening to me and Lin Sin having sex at the moment how do you feel? Are you angry? Lu Cheng lost his temper and jumped up. By the way, I have to kill you. Luo Yaxi pretended to call the police. Lu Cheng was scared and could only grab his bag and run away. Go. She took the risk of jumping out through the window. Thanks to her hunchbacked grandparents. Or maybe it's because the author of this series didn't study physics. So she had no injuries other than scratches. Luo Yaxi stood by the window and said goodbye to her. Lin Sin heard the noise and suddenly woke up. Luo Yaxi softly explained. It's nothing. The mosquitoes have finally been chased away. Let's go back to sleep. Lu Cheng quickly ran away. Filled with resentment, they lived happily, and I was like a bereaved dog. Am I really not as good as that bastard? She was crying and was about to search her bag to see if there was anything to wipe her away when she picked up Yaxi's underwear. Realizing that this was Lin Sin's item, she became perverted and sniffed. And her heart was happy again. Her favorability level increased by 0.5%. Her favorability level was now up to 99.5%. Lin Sin, who was sleeping, was also startled awake by this notification. What's going on? Why did the favorability suddenly increase? Moreover, 0.5%. Since when does the system even have decimals? Like this. Also, where are my underwear? Next week, scene change to Yan Jiang University Sports Festival. Zheng Hao standing on the podium. I'm very honored to be able to stand here, representing the whole the student body said. Today, we gather here to organize a solemn sports festival. This is the stage for us to show our spirit of solidarity, effort and continuous improvement, and hope to everyone can learn from each other, progress together in this process. Let's try our best for the brilliant success of the sports festival. Now, invite everyone to enjoy the parade of each department. The history department came out. The boys were howling excitedly. Next was the literature department. With the appearance of Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi, the two most beautiful beauties in the school, the girls from other departments were screaming and calling Lin Sin's name, hoping he would look towards me. Lin Sin smiled smiling and greeting everyone. Next was the physical education department. The girls saw them coming out and couldn't help but scream loudly. Peng Han is confident. Today will be my day. Peng Han is a star new member of the athletics department, physical education department, heard that he tested in the best condition, can run 10.2 seconds in 100 meters distance. The school considers him as a national athlete and trains him. Lin Sin wondered why Wu Ji knew so well. Wu Ji made a bored face. I will soon have to run 100 meters with him. I don't know how many meters I will be left behind. I can't even be a background. Count. Lin please cheer for you. Why think so much? Just try to run your best. A moment later, the track and field competition was about to start. Everyone gathered at the track field. This side, the cameraman was receiving a complaining phone call from his lover. His lover said he had arrived at the school door so he quickly threw the camera over to Lin Sin to go pick up his lover. Lin Sin didn't even understand what was going on when the loudspeaker announced. The 100 meter track and field competition was about to start. The participating players please enter the track. Lin Sin sighed and opened it herself. Camera, it looks like that cameraman won't come back anymore. I'll be a good person to help him film. It's convenient to give Wu Ji an extremely handsome starting angle. Lin Sin sneaked out to call. Son, Wu Ji turned around to look at him. His classmate in the physical education department saw this and immediately called him over. Hey, the cameraman over there. It doesn't matter what he's doing with the camera. Do you know who the main character is? The female fans who were having their breasts autographed by him also chimed in and said. Of course it was Mr. Han. 
If he almost couldn't film the handsome scene of Mr. Han's departure, he would be responsible. Lin Sin calmly jokingly, it seems like I haven't pressed record yet. That classmate was very angry. Peng Han held him back. Let him go. Wait until he runs a few streets ahead of him. Let's discuss the main issue first. Those three new female fans look quite good pretty. We can go out tonight. Just in time we have three people. The important thing is that they all have boyfriends. The feeling of being squeezed in will be very exciting. Right at this moment, the speaker makes an announcement. The players should get on their track. The competition is about to start. The starting gun rang out. All the players have started. Peng Han is of course the leader. The ladies think he's cool like that I just want to ovulate all my eggs. Peng Han has an incredibly confident demeanor. Very good condition. Feels like he can run 10.25 seconds. Wait a little longer for the handsome face that broke his record to appear on the screen. The picture is another fan attraction. However perhaps he did not expect that Lin Sin, dressed neatly in a shirt and trousers, holding an orange in his hand could run and cheer for Wu Ji at the same time. Peng Han opened his eyes and looked behind. He was indeed far ahead of everyone. But what about this cameraman? Didn't he also run from the starting line with everyone? Peng Han was still very surprised and wondering why Lin Sin could run faster than him. He was wearing his shoes but also held a plane weighing more than 10 pounds in his hand. And then the competition ended. The team naturally belonged to Peng Han with a time of 10.55 seconds. But there was a big surprise on his face. As for Lin Sin, he always held the camera towards Wu Ji and teased him. Teased him for filming his handsome appearance. Even though Peng Han was the winner, he was very desperate. He didn't believe in his own abilities. He couldn't believe that Lin Sin could run so fast. Followed by whispers from people around. Thinking that Lin Sin could run faster than Peng Han. Lin Sin was still bewildered when someone told him to take the camera to the starting line to film for the competition. The 400 meter race is about to start. Then in the 400 meter and 1500 meter competition, the champion continued to be surprised. But the one who always ran first was Lin Sin. He also thought that being a good person is tiring, waiting for the cameraman when he comes back. He must definitely ask him to pay for a meal. The guys with Peng Han in the physical education department didn't believe that humans could run that fast. So they went and reported to the referee that someone was using stimulants. The referee even thought it was true. Got angry and yelled at any player. I will take away that person's right to play and will be very strict and will not hold back. Peng Han's group did not hesitate to point at Lin Sin as the cameraman. Upon hearing that, the referee stood stiff-faced and wondered why the physical education department had so many mentally retarded people. He also said a rude sentence. If there's nothing, you guys should quickly go eat or go somewhere else. Stop doing these nonsense things that make Peng Han and his friends so angry that they can't help but vomit blood. Couldn't do anything and the coach didn't believe what they said. After that, the three of them went to find the three girls from before to shoot him down. But at this time, the three girls' attitudes had changed 180 degrees. I also consider Lin Sin as my ideal model. He is so handsome and talented. No one can compare. Peng Han is very confident with his beauty and ability to conquer beautiful girls. So he immediately asked the match is over. Let's go quickly. But he received a bitter ending. A straightforward refusal. Sorry, we're busy. Let's leave next time. Peng Han is still busy bewildered didn't understand why they changed their attitude so quickly. But the three continued to talk excitedly about Lin Sin. The girls even felt that they were an eyesore because they stood there and lost sight of the beautiful Lin Sin. Their boys. All three of these guys collapsed and fell into despair. How could this be Lin Sin? We ask you. Scene changed to the 50-meter swimming competition of female students. Luo Yaxi and Lu Cheng tried their best to wear a swimsuit that couldn't be more seductive. The cheering guys were extremely excited, falling in love with the beauty of the two girls. Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi walked while walking, not forgetting to tease each other. Luo Yaxi also boasted that he practiced swimming in the villa's swimming pool every day. So his skills had improved a lot, making Lu Cheng extremely angry. So he wanted to make a bet. If whoever wins can participate in foot jogging with Lin Sin's class. Luo Yaxi is not easily fooled. She proudly replied that no matter who wins, Lin Sin will join her. At the same time, Ruo Ruo also appeared wearing an equally sexy swimsuit and challenged. If anyone loses in this competition, 
they will not appear on the sports field again. She is very confident that he will be the winner and join Lin Sin in the next competitions. Luo Yaxi was quite surprised to see his sister appear here again. And Lu Cheng was very surprised. This untouchable is she your older sister. And the guys in the stand seemed to explode when they saw Ruo Ruo's sexiness and charm and couldn't hold back. This beauty is so stimulating. Then all three got into position preparing to leave. Luo Yaxi is very confident because he thinks Lin Sin can't pay attention to anyone else but him. Ruo Ruo with his bravery as a son of a millionaire. He is very confident that he will be able to make Lin I love you forever. As for Lu Cheng, no one can take Lin Sin from me. The swimming competition inside was going on. Lin Sin and a group of friends passing by also heard the passionate cheers outside. There was a guy who rushed in because he wanted to watch Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi compete. Wu Ji also suggested to him that he should go inside and take a look. Because this is also an opportunity to see the school beauties wearing swimsuits. Lin Sin quickly refused because he thought that Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi would not meet each other. Nothing is good. If it can be avoided it would be better. The young man who was rushing in just now bumped into a female student who was carrying a bucket of water going in the opposite direction. Causing that bucket of water to fall from the stairs face down on the ground. Zhou Tong and Wu Ji rushed over to ask. Are your classmates okay? In the middle of the schoolyard Yuan Yuan was lying on the ground. Next to her was a spilled bucket of water. Three boys ran came and shook her while calling. Classmate. Classmate. Lin Sin put two fingers on the girl's pulse. The pulse was weak. Stagnant chi was a sign of heart disease. Then he helped her up and helped her with acupuncture points. Then he immediately told everyone around to quickly call an ambulance. Wu Ji nodded and took out his phone to call an ambulance. Everyone outside didn't know. Stop whispering. What happened? It seems like someone fainted. Yuan Yuan's eyebrows furrowed slightly in pain. Her mouth let out a moan. Everyone kept getting excited. Zhou Tong shouted. Awake then. Zhou Tong looked at Wu Ji. He woke up so quickly. Did he have hypoglycemia? Then he looked at Lin Sin again. Grabbed Lin Sin. I didn't know you still knew how to do first aid. You just wanted to catch the moon. To save the beauty or something. The whole hospital heard the sound of abacus. Wu Ji was excited. Coach I want to learn this. Lin Sin just coldly replied. No. Then he looked at the girl. Asking this girl's heart problem is quite serious. I just temporarily revived her. In an emergency situation, I took her to the hospital first. Everyone around heard this and was extremely panicked. At this time at Jiang Pu Hospital. In front of the emergency room. Yuan Yuan was lying motionless. Now the doctor gave him a paper. Is it a family member? Please sign here. Lin Sin denies. No. I. Before he could finish speaking. Yuan Yuan's mother cried and ran to her mouth. Constantly shouting Yuan Yuan's name. Yuan Yuan. Don't scare me. Lin Sin was surprised. You are the aunt last time at the Fan Guo Bao Festival. Right. Yuan Yuan's mother, bewildered, master, why are you here? Lin Sin explained I saw this girl fainted and brought her here. Yuan Yuan's mother bowed, oh my god, master you are truly the family's benefactor I last time, asked you to expose that fraudster fan Guo Bao so that I could get my money back. I offended you that time, please come to my house and I will invite you to dinner to officially apologize to me. You, Lin Sin waved his hand, no, let's forget about that. At this moment the doctor walked over. Hey, are you the patient's mother? Come and sign. Yuan Yuan's mother looked at the paper bewilderedly. Sorry doctor, this is to sign here. Right, you're worried. This, this is to go to the intensive care unit. The doctor explained. Your daughter's heart disease is very special. The treatment technique and equipment the Chinese equipment cannot be cured now. Only the high-end European machine GJC 888 can save her. Please pay the 1.500.000 deposit first. Yuan Yuan's mother was stunned. Is it that expensive? At this moment, behind Lin Sin as he left, he scratched his head. It seemed like it was none of his business. He walked away but heard the doctor's voice from behind. What do you think about my heart synchronization treatment? This device is very advanced. He turned around and saw Yuan Yuan's mother suffering. But my whole family's assets were only 1000.000. At this time the doctor became impatient and had no money to treat the disease. What? 1.500.000 is still just a deposit. 
The entire next process will be at least 3.000.000. Lin Sin heard this and spoke up. That's not right. The cardiac synchronization therapist was targeting ischemic cardiomyopathy. But this girl's situation was heart blockage due to cold condensation. The treatment direction should be used as a warm spice to dispel the cold and clear the yin and yang. The doctor looked at Lin Sin with eyes full of doubt. Who are you? Yuan Yuan's mother looked at him with eyes full of admiration. Master, also understood Hey, At this time Lin Sin continued. Is your daughter often heartbroken? Having a heart attack, back pain, chest tightness, difficulty breathing, asthma, unable to lie down. Yuan Yuan's mother was surprised. Yes, yes, master, how do you know that? Then he looked at the doctor and that's right. The doctor here made a wrong diagnosis. The doctor heard you blaming him and shouted. Where did you come from? That kid, you dare to doubt me. Do you know, who am I? At this moment Lin Sin crossed his arms over his chest. An unscrupulous doctor who will stop at nothing to get rid of money. The doctor was extremely angry at this moment. He pointed his finger and shouted at him. When I became a doctor you're still in diapers. If you don't go away, I'll call security. I, Yuan Yuan's mother, am in a very awkward situation. Doctor, please calm down. This master must be truly qualified. Just now he said Yuan Yuan has it all. At that moment, Yuan Yuan's heart suddenly ached. She clutched her chest in pain. At this moment Yuan Yuan's mother was extremely panicked. Dr. Yuan Yuan, please save my daughter. The doctor was a bit angry just now. Didn't you just say help this kid? If this kid is so powerful then why are you looking for him and looking for me? Yuan Yuan's mother was confused at this time. What? I'm not there what does that mean? The doctor pointed at the direction where Lin Sin stood. What does that mean? Yuan Yuan's mother was confused. I... The doctor who refused to save people, continued to blame, that boy is a master, right, so then quickly invite the master to take action. At this time Lin Sin heard the entire conversation. He smiled mysteriously, it was so funny, the doctor heard it and immediately frowned and looked towards him. Huh, Lin Sin leisurely said with his hands in his pockets, that's what he's talking about. He's as kind as his mother's but I only see the dark heart from his body. Did the patient become dangerously ill when he paid the price or what? Dot. At this moment the doctor heard loud whispers behind him. He shouted angrily. Damn. You. You dare to cause trouble in the hospital. Now I will. Lin Sin waved his hand. I don't have time to talk to the important lifesaver. Then he said to the surrounding nurses. The nurses. Please ask if anyone has silver acupuncture needles. Hearing that. The doctor was extremely pleased. He laughed loudly using silver needles. Don't be kidding me, silver needles are small in traditional Chinese medicine. But if you want to treat an illness, you need high-end European treatment machines to be able to treat it. He extended his hand towards Yuan Yuan. Okay, okay, I also want to receive the master's acupuncture teachings. Please, please. Then he put his arm around Lin Sin's shoulder and whispered, I'm dying of laughter, no one will lend you silver needles and any other tools come on. If you kill the patient, wouldn't that make you an accomplice? Now there are so many people watching. You can't ask for help. At this moment a voice said, Mr. Lin, where I have silver needles. The other doctor turned around in panic. What? At this moment a beautiful nurse walked up to Lin Sin wondering. She is Luo Yaxi's aunt. Then she gave the box of silver needles to brother. It turns out she is a nurse. You also know how to do acupuncture in traditional Chinese medicine. At this moment her eyes are affectionate. Although there is no basis. But my intuition says I should trust you. You have helped me before I'm willing to shoulder any consequences and responsibilities with you. Lin Sin turned around and left. Looked back and said. Thank you. Then you open the box. Then I will start the treatment. This side a series of nurses ran to Lin Sin in panic. Hearing that anything. Someone is competing in medical skills with Dr. Lu in that hospital. I heard it was a young boy, taking silver needles or something. Shen Dong put his hand on the shoulder of another nurse. Over there okay, the nurse pointed her finger. It seemed like the doctor and the patient were having a dispute. Someone was arguing with Director Lu. By the way which department are you from? At this time everyone outside the door was shouting gossip. Go, go see the excitement. It's noisy over there again. Shen Dong stood outside his hands touching his pointed chin and his face full of thought. 
At this time Dr. Lu spoke up. Master, doctors do doctors like us need to stay away to let you develop normally. Lin Sin coldly replied, no need, if you want to steal then you can. At this time Dr. Lu stood outside angrily. Mother damn it. Shen Dong stood outside and looked in. Seeing Lin Sin, he immediately thought to himself, why is it him? At this time, Lin Sin raised two fingers high, then used his strength to point at Yuan Yuan's acupuncture points. His speed became faster and faster. He used both hands to treat. Outside the nurses stood looking at him in surprise. Wow, I can't look at this young face. Two other doctors also hotly discussed. The techniques look very skillful but they are very normal acupuncture points. That's not right. The acu points are all very normal acupuncture points. But the technique is extremely special. Dr. Ma, sir is the most senior Chinese medicine doctor at Arjian Pu Hospital and he is also one of the best at acupuncture. A young method that can even surprise you. Dr. Ma was startled when he heard that. With this technique of his, Lin Sin continued to demonstrate his ability, causing Dr. Ma standing outside to scream in surprise. The dragon soars and the tiger leaps acupuncture technique. The nurses outside even though they didn't understand nothing but eyes full of admiration. At this moment Shen Dong stood there with his arms crossed. Thinking, he was so powerful, Dr. Ma was outside in shock and kept shouting. Exactly, it's the dragon soars and the tiger leaps acupuncture technique, which has been lost for a long time. Now, only half of its fragment remains. While acupuncturing, there's a slight but rapid vibration in the wrist. Even if the same acupuncture point is used with different techniques, the effect will be different. He was surprised to discover. Maybe it was that he's the young master of a prominent family in traditional Chinese medicine. Dr. Lu was surprised to hear that. At this time, Lin Sin was still coldly treating the patient. His long, pink-white fingers gently put the silver needles back in the box carefully. Then he wiped the sweat from his forehead and sighed. Dot. Yuan Yuan was still lying motionless. Everyone outside wondered, had the treatment finished? At this time the nurse stepped forward to use a blood pressure monitor for her. Her heart rate had recovered. Her condition was normal. Her blood the pressure has also decreased. Lin Sin walked out to Yuan Yuan's mother, adjusted her sleeves and said, Next, I will give her acupuncture. Once a week, and she will be completely cured in about a month. I will prescribe another medicine and take it for five days. Yuan Yuan's mother knelt down and bowed. Master, the master's great kindness has nothing in return for that thousand of mine. I will give it to you. Lin Sin is cold. There is no need. It wasn't my intention to save her. Dr. Lu was extremely angry when he saw that. He gritted his teeth. This seems to be better on the outside. Who knows if it will leave any after effects. Who knows. Later used this to threaten the patient's family. Then he pointed angrily at Lin Sin. You don't have a medical certificate. I've already reported to the police. The police are coming. You wait in jail. Lin Sin is not afraid at all. The cold hand said, that's just fine. I also want to report you. Perhaps the hospital is involved in using fake foreign high-tech equipment to scam money. Dr. Lu's eyes were full of hatred. Okay, you report. He thought in his mind. Stupid untouchables. Basically don't know how hard the back of our Jian Pu hospital is. At this moment, Dr. Lu took out his phone to call the police. Hello, JC, I want to call the police. You guys come here immediately. Outside everyone was whispering, what's going on? Is it possible that Dr. Lu is really the truth is? Maybe this man is just lucky. Don't talk nonsense. The equipment is a high-end product imported from the hospital. Is it fake? The director didn't check it. But the treatment fee is too much. It's expensive. In the past, some patients had to pay sky-high prices. But in the end, everyone told themselves, stop talking. Shen Dong was full of thoughts at this time. There is more to this hospital than what you see. That's why I disguised myself as an undercover agent to investigate but the appearance of this little brother on the contrary made the department the scene opened up a bit. This time she tried to contact her teammate. As soon as her teammate picked up the phone she turned around and left. Whispering as she walked. Captain, next follow my instructions. This side Yuan Yuan's mother helped her sit up. Mr. Lin, rest assured we will be on your side to help you. Ro Ro's mother also said. Lin Sin, don't worry about this. The police will definitely investigate. Lin Sin waved his hand. It's okay. It's okay. Then I'll make a phone call first. 
he walked out thoughtfully, he had to tell Zheng Hao and the others about the situation here. Maybe the school was very worried. He happened to see Shen Dong talking on the phone. He was surprised. Ah, oh, isn't this the prostitute? He walked over excitedly. What a coincidence. At this moment Shen Dong was startled and surprised to see him. He happily asked. She was in disguise again. Not being a waitress but being a bodyguard. She she forced a smile. Her hands gently covered her face. But in her mind she thought. Who is the prostitute? Why does this guy always misunderstand me? Then she politely replied. Yes. It's still thanks to you. Everyone around me. Hearing whispers. Working as a nurse is quite good. The official job spreading love is getting better and better. Not bad. Not bad. Indeed the prostitute can also return to justice. She was surprised to hear these things. Gossip. Why is it being seen? Lin Sin is shamelessly continuing to speak in front of many people. But she is constantly looking for a new job. She must be short of money. Right. Her family is in debt is it too much? If you don't want to do it, I'll pay it directly to you. Don't be shy. I'm nothing. Just enthusiastic. At this moment, Shen Dong couldn't bear it anymore and grabbed your collar. You should shut up. Mouth for me. At that time the police had already arrived at the hospital. Someone called the police. Two people followed us. One trip both sides wanted to report and disturb the coordination. The doctor was full of anger. Let's go. Let's go. The two of them were walking and suddenly there was a voice calling from behind. Mr. Lin and Dr. Liu were walking in front and couldn't help but feel uneasy. This won't affect me. It's okay. We've done things before. Hey, how could these policemen know? Lin Sin turned around. The nurse walked over and said worriedly. You don't need to worry. No matter how much money you need I will definitely help you spend it. Lin I'm full of doubts. You sponsored me. You suddenly realized you said something wrong and panicked. Sorry, you don't need my help if you have that much money. What stupid thing did I say? Lin Sin smiled. No why, I'm acting for justice. The police even gave me a banner. See you next time. The nurse nodded. Okay. At this time, Lin Sin turned around and walked away. She also walked home. Her hands were clasped together thoughtfully. She still wanted to invite him to dinner. But she couldn't open her mouth. Next time, she must say it. Okay, this time at the police station. Dr. Liu sat in front of the interrogation table full of anger. Why don't you take a statement for me quickly? I'm reporting the case. At this time Lin Sin and the policeman were at the police station. On the outside, Lin Sin was full of thoughts. Why only bring him in? What about me? This treatment is completely different. On the inside Dr. Liu was full of impatience. Otherwise I would like to find a lawyer. This time the police turned around and said to him. Please answer our captain's phone. She wants to talk to you. Then held the phone towards him. Lin Sin took the phone. Hello captain. Would you like to ask? What's wrong? A voice rang out on the other side. Mr. Lin. Over here Shen Dong whispered. We need your help. It turned out that the captain was none other than Shen Dong. Lin Sin was full of confusion. Help. In his head he couldn't help but think the captain was. The voice seemed a bit familiar. On the other end of the line continued. You reported Jiang Pu Hospital. There is indeed a problem. We will investigate behind this hospital colluding with quite complex forces and companies and one of the Feshiang Company or another name Flying Company showed that he held 40% of the shares. Lin Sin was shocked when he heard that. Now at Feshiang Company headquarters. In the room three people were sitting leisurely. Surrounded by their servants. Ma Da Da Sheng was the one who held 15% of the shares. He held a young girl and raised his voice. How has the car betting luck been recently? Then he laughed and said. This is my trophy from the other day. His hands squeezed the girl's shoulders. She immediately trembled with fear. Uncle Chang who holds 25% of the shares saw that and immediately teased teasing. Is it legal to look so small? Ma Da Da Sheng refuses to leave it alone. Uncle Chang is it legal in your hand? Uncle Chang laughed his hands lightly touching the armrest of the chair. I like to play illegal. You still Ang Den again holds 20% of the shares. He crosses his arms across his chest. His eyebrows furrowed in annoyance. Uncle Chang. Is that Mr. Lin really coming? Uncle Chang laughed loudly. He had already called. He would be here soon. That guy called Lin Sin was just an ordinary college student. He thought he would get 40% of the shares and come here to share the money. Because he thought that Feshiang company was a normal company. 
He did not stop and continued to speak proudly. The most ridiculous thing is still Lao follow along. You guys don't go overboard later. It's not good to scare our new shareholder into peeing his pants. Ang Den too. Regarding this matter, accountability will be pursued to the fullest extent. And neither the Chia father nor son can evade it. At this moment, the door was pushed open and a voice rang out. Someone peed their pants. At this moment Lin Sin walked in with a leisurely attitude. He spoke clearly. Hello shareholders. I am Lin Sin. I heard that a shareholders meeting is about to be held to divide the money. I feel a little I was embarrassed to be paid for doing nothing so I brought everyone a coconut. At this moment, the three people simultaneously looked towards the door, their eyes full of contempt. The young man, Ang Den, smirked, just coming to know the new shareholder. At this moment a guy walked up and held a piece of paper in front of Lin Sin's eyes. Ma Da Da Sheng said, sign this contract. Lin Sin looked at the paper. This is a share capital transfer contract. You want me to transfer the shares unconditionally. At this time, the other guy became impatient. If he didn't sign, he wouldn't even dream of leaving this place. Lin Sin turned around and behind him were two strong guys. At this moment, the young girl in Ma Da Da Sheng's arms looked at Lin Sin. Ah, oh, so it's like the Hong Men banquet. At this moment Lin Sin snatched the paper and threw it away. His voice full of humor. I didn't sign you bite me. At this moment the guy didn't look anymore he rushed forward intending to give Lin Sin a punch. Please don't drink alcohol, want to drink alcohol as punishment. Saw the fist about to hit his handsome face. Lin Sin immediately caught him. He grabbed his wrist tightly, causing the opponent to tremble and unable to move. He was afraid and bent down to beg for his forgiveness. The three remaining shareholders. He couldn't bear it any longer and gritted his teeth in anger. The reckless guy, at this time surrounded the defenders. They all rushed up. Together they held their right hands and signed. Seeing them rush towards Lin Sin just sighed. I originally only cooperated with the police to come here to get some evidence and information from Feshiang company. As expected the situation is not that simple. Lin Sin right now threw a coconut at them. Then come, the coconut hit one of them in the face making him scream in pain. The coconut continued to fly towards Ma Da Da Sheng. Everyone raised their swords to slash Lin Sin's eyes were full of hatred. Lin Sin immediately dodged. The knives they swung gently. At this time the three shareholders were stunned and everyone's mouths were open. Lin Sin used all his strength to punch the opponent so that he had no time to fight back. After dealing with that guy behind him, he immediately sent another guy. That guy was swinging his knife and he observed. Then he bent down and held the leg of the person who had just was defeated by him. In his mind he couldn't help but think. If the system assigned to someone who was proficient in Chinese martial arts and swordsmanship, it wouldn't be so sleazy. Then he held one person up, spun around, and flew, all over their teammates. The teammates immediately fell to the ground. The other person stood rooted to the spot, constantly panicking. They couldn't believe how he could do that. How could that be possible? Lin Sin had now defeated all the bodyguards. He turned around and looked at the three shareholders. Only you were left, right? He held up a person lying on the ground and boldly walked towards the three shareholders. The three of them trembled in fear. Petty little bandits. I have been a strong man for 30 years. Do you think I would be afraid of you? At this moment Ma Da Da Sheng picked up the coconut and shouted loudly. Intending to throw it at Lin Sin but he immediately changed his expression. Mr Lin, you really are. Why do you need to be so polite when you come? Even buy me coconuts. Ma Da Da Sheng, I'm the first one to welcome you. Lin Sin smiled and pointed towards him. Ma Da Da Sheng this IQ is quite high. Ang Den clasped his hands together and forced a smile. That's right, that's right. At this point Lin Sin changed his tone. He held out three shares transfer papers. So everyone knows what to do. Right, the three people trembled in fear. Knew, we knew, right after forcing them to sign. Lin Sin was satisfied and left with 100% ownership of the shares. Not bad, this shareholder meeting was perfect. Then he waved his hand, ended the meeting, leaving three people kneeling behind watching him leave indignantly. They gritted their teeth, hateful. At this moment Uncle Chang clenched his fist and his voice became hateful. Brat, you do you think Feshiang Company is a small company? Are you sure it's okay? Hearing that, Lin Sin turned around and exclaimed in surprise. 
At this time the three of them continued. Feshiang Company is just a subsidiary. The parent company is actually in Myanmar. Then Ang Den continued. The supply chain in there. You can't imagine how many forces behind it. Big. Lin Sin imagined the free time next to Myanmar with sparkling sunny and windy scenery and beautiful girls. What a wonderful place he thought to himself. Myanmar, what a sunny and windy subtropical landscape. See if I want to get key evidence. I have to go on a trip. Lin Sin stroked her chin thoughtfully. Will the police pay for this trip? Maybe I can save some money. Activating a beautiful money-making tool from another country is amazing. Lin Sin turned around and laughed loudly. Really good. So good. Seeing Lin Sin acting like that the three people behind were bewildered and didn't understand what was going on. Then Lin please wave your hand. The three people on the other side. In response to the confusion of the three of you. Continue to speak. I have many things for you to help me take care of the company. Those people immediately objected. Our industry is two important words. Loyalty. What do you think we will do about this kind of thing like betraying the boss? I even blocked a knife for the boss. Do you want to casually say something? Before they could finish, Lin Sin smiled and said, Every day, I work five hours a day. Get two days off on weekends and holidays. My salary doubles. The three of them heard that and immediately changed their attitudes. Starting starting from today you are our boss. I am willing to block bullets for you I am willing to be a buffalo and a horse for you. It is true that matter determines consciousness. At this time the three shareholders heard the betrayal of those who close friends immediately became angry. You white-eyed wolves did this job. Immediately after that they lowered their voices and changed their facial expressions like flipping rice paper. They should have let us do it. At this time Lin Sin like a king lying on a bed. Surrounded by servants who fan him and bring fruit for him. Lin Sin excitedly lay down and thought. In a few days, after collecting enough evidence, I will slowly deal with you guys later. In the yard, flying to Myanmar, Lin Sin landed safely. He happily walked amidst the crowds. Myanmar, it was finally here he was so excited. He wholeheartedly experienced the foreign landscape. Instant reality as if pouring him a bucket of cold water. A guy walked over and held out a piece of paper and said, Hello, entry application for 20 Chinese yuan. Lin Sin heard that and immediately froze in place. It was difficult. It was very difficult to leave the airport. He was immediately stopped by a security guard. Hello, a little fee. He went to the room to ask for a stamp. A girl gently smiled at him. Hello, no fee it's not easy to pass. At this moment the money in his body just flew away. He couldn't hold it in any longer. Got angry and walked out quickly as he walked. He thought, is this Myanmar all charging so much? It's not much but also very obnoxious. Then he randomly chose a car he wanted to quickly leave this place as quickly as possible. Master, go to the Solden Pagoda scenic spot. At this moment a luxury car stopped. Getting out of the car was Wei Schumann was full of aura. Behind her was a bodyguard. At this moment a fierce argument was heard. It was the voice of Lin Sin and the driver from earlier. Lin Sin shouted loudly. 50 yuan, foreigner going such a distance with me. Why did you only give me 25 yuan? The driver replied, we in Myanmar set the price like that. Wherever you go it's the same price. You must give me this amount of money. Lin Sin is helpless. This country's double standards really opened my eyes. Hearing the argument, Wei Schumann was surprised she walked towards the two people. On this side the two people were still arguing fiercely Lin Sin hot-tempered specializes in tricking us perfume people. Right, I'll only give you 25. You can take it if you like. The driver won't give up. If you don't give 50 yuan then don't leave. Wei Schumann spoke up at this time. Let him go. The driver was now confused. Mrs. Wei. But, Lin Sin was confused, not knowing who this person was and why he was helping him. Wei Schumann crossed his arms. Just think of it as accumulating virtue for Mr. Chanu. Hope he can enter the cycle of reincarnation smoothly. The driver replied, Yes, Mrs. Wei. At this time a ding sounded. That's it it was a signal to discover a beautiful girl. When she started the play mission, it turned out that this girl Wei Schumann was 27 years old. 172 centimeters tall. And weighed 52 kilograms. Seeing this, Lin Sin was startled. She was the target, playing around. Then he pieced together the information. The other driver called her mom. 
Plus her funeral outfit also had some kind of reincarnation cycle. Then he raised his hand chin thoughtfully, just in time to test his SS level feng shui divination skills. He looked at her from top to bottom and couldn't help but think. Looking at her face, the lines were black, she had recently lost a relative moreover. Today she had a disaster of bankruptcy. And then you were proud. So strong, worthy of an SS level skill. Saw the two of them leave. You immediately followed. Is it because of the disaster of bankruptcy? Is it a coincidence? The more serious your bankruptcy, the happier I am making money. At the jade selling area, Lin Sin following him couldn't help but exclaim. It's really amazing. Selling jade is like selling radishes. Wei Shuman stopped at a stall. The owner looked at this stone. The shop owner immediately brought out the tools to try. The beauty really knows how to look at the goods. This stone is from the Moonar area. It is definitely high quality. Is my shop's talisman. She looked at the stone and suddenly thought. This green color is indeed of good quality. But I can't be 100% sure. Now that I don't have much money, I must buy it. Only good products. The boss saw her hesitation and continued. This green color must be at least half a finger deep. At the very least it must be worth several hundred million in Myanmar money. A person standing behind the boss chimed in. Buy it now, beauty. Quote the price. Wei Shuman wondered. A few hundred million in Myanmar money probably wouldn't be 8,000, 10,000. So maybe think a little bit. The boss gave a mysterious smile. 8,000 thousand. Low price my best price is 100 million. In honor of the beauty 8,000 thousand can also be sold to you. Then he brought his dirty hand to your chest. But you have to play with me a little bit. The bodyguard immediately she caught his hand and bent it back. His claws trying to touch his wife. The boss cried out in pain. It hurts. Let go. Let go. At this time Wei Shuman spoke up. Don't broken. He also had to transport rocks for me. Hearing that, the bodyguard let go. At this time, he straightened his painful hand full of anger. I know. You're Chanu's lady. The boss of the pay gang. No wonder you're so feisty. Then he continued to say. It's a pity that Chanu died early. I heard that pay gang is about to be unable to survive anymore. Why did you come here to bet? Oh you're out of money. Right. Listen so Wei Shuman's eyes turned angry. Looking towards the talkative boss. She immediately gave him a slap. There was a loud slap and the slap was so strong that he fell backwards. He fell on the stones causing them to crack. After the powerful slap. Wei Shuman was upset. Giving you have a face. Right. The boss held up a stone and shouted loudly. Hey. This woman intentionally broke my stone. If she couldn't pay the price of 100 million. She wanted to smash my stall. See attracting the attention of the people around him. He shouted even louder. Come on. Chanu is bankrupt. You guys don't have money and you still dare to come and bet. What are you acting like? You poor bastards. What are you doing? If you're brave enough, buy it for a hundred million. Damn it. At this moment there were a few people filming behind. Wei Shuman was worried. If it wasn't because of gathering money, then I would. But now if I don't pay, then this group of people will use an excuse to cause trouble until then. While she was still thinking, Lin Sin immediately spoke up. 100 million M coins. Right. That also means 350.000 Chinese money. Let's swipe card to go. This made her extremely surprised. The boss at this moment gritted his teeth angrily. Who are you? A Thai person. Lin Sin smiled lightly. Going without changing his name. Sitting without changing his last name. Perfume person. Those the people in the stall and the boss immediately looked down on Lin Sin. There's no place for you to talk about perfume here. Don't you hurry up and go away. Perfume man. As long as it's a perfume man. You'll be charged urgently. Dude. You have to pay 200 million M coins to get this stone. Lin Sin frowned. His eyes also became uncomfortable with the people in front of him. Originally intended to play around to make money. How much money to spend it's okay to play around. But now the money can be earned a little late. At this time Lin Sin stepped closer to the boss. Now breaking his face is the most important thing. The boss fell down and backed away in fear later. At this time Wei Shuman spoke up. Who are you? Stop worrying about how much money you have. The rules of this market can't be messed with by a Chinese person like you. Lin Sin frowned and looked at the woman. Now is there something wrong with you? Wei Shuman felt guilty and didn't know what to say. Lin Sin excitedly said loudly. Double the price. 
Right. Okay. I'll buy more. Take out all the stones from your store. I if you see it. You will buy it all. The boss shouted loudly. Do you hear anything? Bring all the stones here. The servant quickly brought all the stones to Lin Sin. Yes. Boss. The boss thought excitedly. The fat pig offered his head. For me. Killing my luck today wasn't bad. He chuckled. This batch of goods has been appraised by experts. They all look very good on the outside but in reality they are not worth the money. Simply put, it's scary, otherwise I would have opened it myself. Then specializes in fooling stupid people like that a little more to see his jokes. At this time Lin Sin walked over and picked up each stone to choose. Crystallizing the texture of this one and the shell of that one is very luxurious. This one could be purple green. Then with him, he chose eight stones. He sat down and crossed his arms to look at the stones. But his appraisal skills could only see the outside. How deep the color inside was. How many cracks were all impossible to guess. Although it can increase the rate of getting good goods. But not 100% sure. But at this time feng shui fortune telling can completely compensate for this gap. Then he sat cross-legged and clasped his hands together to do feng shui fortune telling to toss the hexagram. He flipped two coins up in front of each stone. The first one is a coin with one flower and one number. Holy number. Yes. The second coin is all negative flowers. No. The third bullet continued. Then he kept tossing like that until he ran out of kicks. Outside the boss stood with his arms crossed and looked on with disdain. Pretending to be a god and a demon. Wei Shuman stood outside not understanding what he was doing. Later then he stood up and pointed at the stones. Okay. These five stones will be cut now. The boss was excited, no problem, pay in advance, a total of 700 million M coins, which is also 2300.00 currency. Right after he transferred money, T received 2300.00 in flower money. Everyone around talked non-stop, the most interesting thing was looking at the perfumer's expression. You guys pretended to try it but in the end you couldn't open it. What, you stupid kid bought some nonsense, and got tricked, right, I'm telling you, those pills that look crystalline, have a very good texture, are all fake, boss at this moment, when I heard it, I immediately said, don't talk nonsense, I'm not deceiving people, they bought more than 200.00 worth of flowers from the golden pig, looking at the way he dresses, he must be a fortune, okay, Lin Sin now smiled complacently, oh, if you're curious, now open the stone, open your dog eyes and look. Then everyone used their cutting eyes to open each stone. The boss sighed at this time. It was all a waste of time. Some people even laughed at Lin Sin. The perfume person is so stupid, and doesn't know how to be confident where did you get it. At this moment the boss was about to turn around and leave an employee panicking. The boss was all. He didn't turn around and raised his eyebrows and said, what's wrong, everyone left right. At this time they brought the cut pieces of stone, all of which were already on the shelf. Seeing the colorful green and purple pieces, the boss was surprised and couldn't believe his eyes. Two purple jade stones, two jade stones, green jade crystal, an imperial green stone. Everyone outside, both Wei Shuman and her bodyguards were panicking. At this time everyone was surrounding Lin Sin. You are handsome, you are handsome. Jade crystal I pay 2000.00 flowers for that purple jade. I pay 3000.00 flowers for purple jade. 4000.00 flowers to sell that green crystal jade to me. Please. Green crystal I pay 6000.00 flowers. This time an elegant man walked up. I bought all the flowers for 7.500.00. Wei Shuman was now soft spoken. I. Lin Sin was full of excitement. You all paid very high prices but I decided to give them all to the predestined beauty. This one time meeting with me. He said while pointing his hand at Wei Shuman. This made the people around him extremely shocked. What? More than 7.00.00 jade stones. Free flower money. At this time Wei Shuman was extremely upset. Unexpectedly, with Lin Sin's decision, the people around kept talking. Probably wanting to get acquainted with the pay gang high rise. Right? Casting a long rod is good at catching big fish. Wei Shuman walked closer to Lin Sin. I don't know what purpose you helped me for, but now I really need your favor so. She took off her necklace. This jade card is Wei Shuman's promissory note. I give it to you. 
in the future, in Myanmar, no matter what trouble you encounter, just take out the jade token, and of course someone will respect you, I will definitely attribute the gift you gave me, cash, will pay double later, Lin Sin reached out to receive the jade card in surprise, then she and the bodyguard left, she said again, never to see her again, at this time her excitement level had already decreased, increased by 10%, Lin Sin happily took the jade card, the warmth had a slight scent, in the big square, the giant colorful yellow towers these structures looked so strange, at the foot of the tower everyone was having fun taking pictures, Lin Sin was now standing on the big stage, he used binoculars to look towards the tall building that was Pei Gang's headquarters, he looked at the building with his mind full of thoughts, Lean according to information and documents of Feshiang Company. Pei Gang Group controls four major markets. Feshiang Company is only one of them. The structure of the Pei Gang General Management System will be divided into three parts. On top will be the Pei Gang Management Layer. The bottom includes three small branches, primitive stone mining, human organ processing area and real estate control area. These three departments are all controlled by Fei Gang. At the bottom is Feshiang Company Jiang Fu disease. Looking at such a diagram, Lin Sin couldn't help but think. The management consists of the boss and several senior elders. The internal relationships within the group are complex. While there appears to be a trend towards whitewashing before, inexplicably, they have embarked on a spree of reckless wealth accumulation and committed numerous crimes during this time. You remember the conversation with the police. You wanted to go to Myanmar to participate in the Pei Gang's corporate congress. Actually you got the evidence just keep committing crimes and the Pei Gang company's documents have helped us a lot. Lin Sin crossed her arms in front of her chest with a face full of indignation. As a young man with ambition, I was extremely I hate Myanmar's scam. This rare opportunity let me contribute a small part of my strength. I will definitely not refuse. The police officer touched his shoulder. Well said. We need enthusiastic young men like him. Another person held his hand tightly. No matter what, his own safety was the most important thing. If there was danger along the way, he could withdraw from the mission at any time. Come on, Lin Sin is full of confidence. Rest assured, now he closes his eyes and thinks about what's coming next. Completes the mission and then goes out for a few days. If there is a romantic encounter, at Hay, he turned around and saw a young girl with a smooth white waist. He couldn't help but peek. This girl was Ah Mang. She was taking a selfie. With this pure and innocent beauty that was hard to resist. Okay again. Lin Sin looked up at her. Her voluptuous appearance. This hot body made it difficult for him to take his eyes off. He opened his eyes wide to look at this strange girl. His mouth constantly exclaiming. Suddenly she slipped and fell down. Lin Sin reacted very quickly and rushed to help this beautiful girl into his arms. She fell into Lin Sin's arms. He kindly asked her. She was not bleeding anywhere. She immediately reacted. She stood up and bowed to thank him. It's okay. It's okay. She threatened me to death. Fortunately you saved me. But at this time Lin Sin's eyes were focused on into the chest of the girl in front of him. It seemed like he didn't hear what she said. He thought to himself. Oh my gosh. It was actually a vacuum a Myanmar girl's really that open. Then the girl excitedly introduced. My name is Ah Mang. What is your name? Lin Sin now coldly replied. Call me Lin Sin. She was surprised of course. Did you come to travel? Lin Sin's face was impassive. Um. Then Ah Mang pulled Lin Sin's hand. Then you definitely can't miss this. Follow me. You two go everywhere people were splashing water on each other. It was extremely bustling. Wow. This is a water festival. It's so grand. Lin Sin suddenly had a bucket of water thrown in his face. Then Ah Mang looked at him and winked. During the festival if you splash this water, people who don't actively attack others will become targets for everyone to attack. Then he immediately picked up a basin of water with an excited expression. Very good. Then he fell on Ah Mang. Two people laughed and joked very happily. Then someone sprayed a water hose on her making her startled and screamed. Another person splashed water on her face in surprise. Then Lin Sin looked at her wet face immediately laughed loudly. His face was also wet at this time and they played together until sunset. The two walked in a small alley. Ah Mang held Lin Sin's arm. They looked like a newly in love couple right now. Ah Mang was a bit angry at this moment. He still laughed. I fell so miserably and he didn't protect me. 
Lin Sin calmly said, isn't it you who taught me? There are only people who attack and are attacked. Labor. Then Armang rubbed his hand. Are you happy today? He replied excitedly. Very happy. Still thank you for taking me to the water festival. Then she smiled. Happy is okay. Suddenly the two discovered that the street was a dead end. Right at this moment a car stopped behind them and they were startled and turned around. Two thugs with cigarettes in their mouths got out of the car. They probably had weapons in their hands. Not a good person. Not bad Armang. At this moment Armang no longer had the innocent look from before but became scary. Exaggeration. I'm a professional. This is our reward golden pig it's doubled. Lin Sin heard that. His face turned pale. At this time Armang used his index finger to gently touch Lin Sin's chin. Brother, are you very disappointed? Are you very surprised? Just the performance that he was looking forward to the most was gone. Lin Sin was cold at this moment. Surprise was not surprising. Perfumers basically knew that traveling to Myanmar would be at risk of being caught. I lost my kidney, but it's a pity that a beautiful girl like you has to do this kind of work. Ah Mang now looked at Lin Sin affectionately, her hand gently loosening the collar to reveal her white chest. Or is it, like this, you give me a hundred million in flowers and I can let you enjoy it before you die. At this time a guy with a gun said, Ah Mang, if he dares to give it, do you dare to accept it? The boss knows you stole it. Pig's money. You will have a layer of skin peeled off. Okay do it quickly. Then he tied Lin Sin's hands. Lin Sin now voluntarily got into the car and the guy pointed the gun at him and laughed. Also obeyed. Ah at this moment. It's full of sharpness. Wasting words. Being held at gunpoint but can't listen. Lin Sin sat in the car and looked out the window thinking. I heard that everywhere in Myanmar is a scam. Sure enough. No very surprising. Although there was a slight deviation from the plan, there were still a few hours until the shareholders meeting. Let's just play with them for a while. A factory. The faint lights reflected through the window. In front of the yard, two trucks were parked with a few people. The car rushed to open the door. Three people got out. Lin Sin with his hands tied heavily followed the other guy shouting. It's here. Get off. Two people stepped out aggressively. One was Dao Tuo. Next to him he is a henchman who is giving water. That is the owner of the ice shop from the other day. The boss is really effective. Dao Tuo put his hands in his pockets and laughed loudly. Brother, your ice shop was attacked by this kid. Damn, looks very chicken. Lin Sin surprised. Huh, isn't this that obnoxious boss? The other boss aggressively pointed his finger at Lin Sin shouting loudly. The perfume boy is very arrogant. Right, now it has fallen into my hands. Boss Dao Tuo gave me a knife. Dao Tuo patted his brother's shoulder and smiled mysteriously. What's the hurry? Brother don't forget the terms of this transaction. Wait until I drain all his money then everyone belongs to you. At this time Lin Sin looked at the man in front of him and thought. According to Feshiang Company's documents, this black pig is one of the elders of the Pei Gang. I didn't expect to meet him here. Boss. Behind the organ processing area his name is Dao Tuo. The ice shop owner laughed loudly. Does the kid know the outcome when he pokes me? Continue come experience the most painful moment of your life. Lin Sin stood still without saying anything. The inside was now like a detention area. The warden shouted. Men on the left. Women on the right. Women beautiful. Then check the people arrested here all share the same fate as Lin Sin. Everyone has tired and sullen faces. The screams of the manager and the screams of the girls with fate the tragic fate created a terrifying scene that made everyone scared. This side in the operating room. Everyone was doing surgery. A young man's blood was splattered everywhere. The scene was so scary. The hallway. Everyone was taking Lin Sin on a tour. Ah Mang spoke up. What? Are you afraid of peeing your pants? Now give me your bank card password. Then call all your relatives and friends to borrow money. The boss walked in front and spoke to the back. Maybe he could avoid physical pain. Lin Sin smirked. A person behind him said. So he can still laugh. Lin Sin smiled coldly. Because I thought of something quite interesting. He remembered the police's advice. It would be very convenient for these traffickers to be handed over to the Myanmar police. This is a custom made tracking device. With a credibility layer on top. Even if the signal is a tester. It can only be considered a normal metal button. The police officer said, when you are in danger, open the signal insulation layer. We will immediately find the location of you and quickly go to the rescue. 
Lin Sin thought to himself. Observe them all first and then notify the police. Well just follow the ten cruel punishments and finish the sentence to deal with them one by one. Dao Tuo shouted loudly, don't talk nonsense and execute him right away. In front of the big burning pan, the gunman smiled smugly, okay, boss, I also want to see his miserable scream. At this moment, Ah Mang raised a piece of heated iron close to Lin Sin's face. What is the bank card password? Lin Sin was not afraid, but instead smiled lightly, come over here a little later, I'll tell you, I'll bring the burning hot piece closer, if you dare to use any tricks. I will press it on your forehead. At this moment the gunman is holding Lin Sin's neck with one hand and the other hand is holding the gun to his head. He is not playing tricks okay. Lin Sin was not afraid at this moment. He thought to himself, come a little closer, it only takes three seconds for everyone here to have to. At this time because his neck was being tightened, the jade pendant that Wei Shuman gave him fell off. Out, the jade pendant fell to the ground in front of everyone's surprise. Ah Mang was surprised, she pulled the hot iron back, at this time Lin Sin didn't understand why, Ah Mang bent down to pick up the jade pendant and looked at him with wonder I'm sorry, why is this thing on your person, at this moment, Dao heard it and immediately ran to him in shock, he pushed the henchman away, this jade card is, at this moment a long slender hand opened the car door, that person was Wei Shuman she and her bodyguards walked over, dare to touch my person, Wei Shuman walked over and they moved to one side in fear. The atmosphere was extremely tense at this time. She asked Lin at this time Sin. She's not injured anywhere. Lin Sin was bewildered. It was her. At this moment, Lin Sin moved her hand to break the bracelet that was tied tightly on her hands. Her voice full of reproach. She came at the wrong time. She almost missed it. Then I reached the precept of killing and you forcibly cut me off. Wei Shuman smiled. What should I say or I have ruined your good deeds? Aren't you afraid? Lin Sin sighed. It's just a bunch of miscreants. Wei Shuman thought to himself. He also has guts. At this time her excitement level has increased by 1%. Dao Tuo's eyes were full of anger. It turned out he was as the eldest sister's person. No wonder she has such audacity. The boss shouted loudly. It turns out it's because of a rotten woman. You're here to deal with me. Right, boss Dao Tuo. Don't be so polite to her anymore. After that a series of people on Mrs. Wei's side raised their guns and screamed. What kind of thing are you talking to the eldest sister-in-law? Dao Tuo's people on this side are no less. I'm afraid you're coming. This time Wei Shuman shouted loudly. Put down all the guns for me. Have I forgotten all the rules that Chanu set out? At this moment Dao Tuo raised one hand. Now show the big sister face. The conference is about to start. I also hope you can always be our big sister. See you soon. At this time Wei Shuman's people turned around and left. Let's go. At this time Wei Shuman said to Lin Sin. You find your own opportunity to leave. Lin Sin was surprised. Wei Shuman walked to her luxury car and thought to herself. Will things go smoothly? She sat in the car and couldn't help but think. Chanu you died comfortably. But when I chose to be your woman I also I predict that one day. At worst. The fish will die and tear the net. At this time Lin Sin suddenly sat on the car, making Mrs. Vi extremely panicked. Why did she get on the car? Do you want to die? Lin Sin's voice was full of teasing tease. This deserted mountain, where should I go to find a car? Give me a ride. At this time Wei Shuman shouted. Don't misunderstand. I only saved you, because you were implicated in helping me. At the jade market, I came to save you just to repay the favor. I almost have to go to a more dangerous place so don't get out of the car quickly. Lin Sin closed her eyes. Even if she let me go now, she would think it was something named Dao Tuo and that Jade Boss will forgive me. Why is it safest to follow you now? Wei Shuman didn't know what to say. Helpless before the young man. Drive. Good luck to you then. At this time, at the Pei Gang headquarters building, the sparkling lights inside were holding an extremely exciting shareholder meeting. At this time Geden Wei put his elbows on the table, his face full of tension. Feshiang company, what are you doing, but until now still cannot be contacted. I wonder if there is a meeting today. He is Geden Wei, primitive stone excavation site. This side Chin Pleiades, real estate control site. Not angry at all, he is against the back of his hand on his cheek. It's okay, they're just making a bridge abroad. 
If it doesn't work then change it and tell them if they don't come today then they won't have to show up again in the future. At this moment Dao Tuo spoke up. Why care about those small things? Why is the main character here today? At this moment Lin Sin smiled softly and thought. All the actors have arrived and the good drama is about to start. At this time, Wei Shuman slammed his hand on the table impatiently. If everyone has arrived then let's start. Pei Gang's traditional annual corporate benefit meeting should be led by the leader. Chanu presided, but unfortunately five days ago he was killed by an explosion on a private train. At this time her eyes became even sharper. So, today's meeting with you elders is basically a Hongmen banquet for me. You're aiming to usurp power, aren't you? At this time Geden Wei burst out laughing provocatively. I just like people with straightforward personalities like Big Brother, so I won't beat around the bush anymore. Although Big Brother Chanu passed away, we are very sad, but Pei Gang cannot be without a leader for one day because of the stability of Pei Gang. Today we must choose a new gang leader. Chin Pleiades frowned. This word usurpation should have been isn't it right to use it on the eldest sister-in-law. The three of us are all elders who built Pei Gang and old Chanu unfortunately passed away. Isn't it natural for us to take over? At this time, Mrs. Vi shouted angrily. She remembered the explosion on that boat. Unfortunately passed away and was able to plant explosives on Chanu's private yacht knowing his itinerary the only person who could. Do all this was only three people. Yes yes, I can confirm that the murderer is one of you. At this moment the three people looked at her in panic. Dao Tuo clapped his hands. The sister-in-law said it well. Let's do this. Wait until I become the gang leader then we'll definitely mobilize all of Pei Gang's resources to coordinate with her to investigate the real culprit behind Big Brother Chanu's death. At this time the whole hall laughed loudly. Lin Sin couldn't help but think. Then Sir Chanu is their boss and this person is already dead. Originally planning to arrest this mysterious boss and hand it over to the police. It's true that the plan can't keep up with changes. Lin Sin looked at everyone. Observed more let's go. Wei Shuman shouted angrily. Have you all forgotten? That year Chanu built Pei Gang. Building a career with nothing is a country where everyone lives and dies to have. Her remember the painful images when people were arrested and shot to death. But also because of the violence. Countless brothers were killed and injured. And also arrested and shot to death. Now times have changed. What we do is no longer about robbing by force, but about protecting our inheritance, finding the right path, and our last wish before Chanu passes away is to hope that Pei Gang will return to the right path and do things. Legal business. Although he was also killed, because of that, I will carry out his will and find the culprit to revenge him. At this time everyone outside shouted loudly, we support you. You said, yes, the era of fighting and killing has passed. At this time Lin Sin's eyes were opened. He exclaimed in surprise. This big sister's aura is really top. Chin Pleiades couldn't hear it and immediately became angry. Has Pei Gang's stance changed for many years just because of her one sentence? Geden Wei sat with his arms crossed and looked at her with thorny eyes. Wei Shuman hasn't been married to Chanu for a year yet. Chanu already wants to purge. Have you whitewashed Pei Gang? Everyone, think about it. This is not suspicious. After all this is all because of you playing tricks. Right, so to speak, your suspicion is the biggest. You want to destroy Pei Gangwei. Wei Shuman couldn't sit still anymore she clapped her hands and shouted loudly. He said it again. Dao Tuo smiled proudly. Sister-in-law, I heard that today you ran to the jade market to bet on stones because you had no money right. No matter what business we do, it's all about making a living. How do you rely on making everyone eat well and drink well? Just rely on your diligence in assessing that cat scratching kick. Chin Pleiades also added side note. Women are women, and want to do business with Pei Gang. In my opinion, whoever becomes the new gang boss, you will follow that person, and you can still keep your position as big sister. This time guard her officer got angry and immediately raised his gun to his mouth and shouted. Chin Pleiades, how dare you talk to the big sister like that? Suddenly a gun pulled the trigger and shot out with a bang. The bullet shot straight into the eye the bodyguard's left side was splattered with blood. Shocking Wei Shuman. The one holding the gun was none other than Chin Pleiades. He placed his feet on the table majestically. A bodyguard dared to point at me. At Hei Geden Wei walked towards Wei Shuman and smiled smugly. Wei Shuman you don't need to investigate anymore. Chanu was killed by me. 
He's about to go into the coffin and he still wants to whitewash Pei Gang. If he doesn't die then how much? Pei Gang's thousands of brothers all no longer have food to eat. Then he approached Wei Shuman and reached out his dirty hands to caress her beautiful face. It would be a pity for her to be such a beautiful widow. Be my woman, I can make you forget Chanu for just one night. At this time Wei Shuman's eyes were full of hatred. Her hand pulled out a remote control. He finally admitted it. She shouted echoed throughout the building. I already knew that all three of you had a part in killing Chanu. Dao Tuo, where do you think I would use the money? I bought all the explosives. She continued to scream with the confusion of the three of you. Put in this whole building Pei Gang either die or withdraw from Pei Gang. I give you 10 seconds to decide. At this time the bodyguards outside are extremely scared. This what? Damn, I don't want to die. At this moment Lin Sin was bewildered. Oh my god, is this woman so evil? But if we really blew up this building, it would save a lot of trouble for the police. I have do I need to run out the window. This level 7 physical strength can still withstand jumping from the 5th floor. Geden Wei looked at her challengingly. She pressed it away. Her eyes were now shocked and didn't know what to do. The bodyguards who had been bribed by the other side. All left to clear the mines. I'm so sorry big sister. Boss Geden Wei gave us more. It's true white-eyed wolves. At this time three men surrounded Wei Shuman. She kept pressing but couldn't. Geden Wei smiled smugly. Wei Shuman don't press anymore. You know tell your little brother to go if I set explosives. I also know how to buy your little brother to remove the mines. This money is well spent. Lately, if you want to be a boss, you have to have money. Wei Shuman knew that her plan would not succeed. She helplessly slammed her hand on the table and gritted her teeth in anger. Geden Wei stood in front of Chin Pleiades, with an arrogant and cocky attitude. Although Chanu was the boss, his prestige was still there. But the three of them if I join forces, the person with the right to speak is still in my hands. He stretched out his hands, as if he could grasp the sky. And the most important thing is, the brothers who follow me have money and meat. We I followed you. These words are really very attractive. Aren't they delicious bait? Dao Tuo touched his bearded chin, looking a bit wobbly. Geden Wei took a few steps forward, punching his chest confidently added, my rough stone quarry business earns 870 billion a year. I should be the boss of the gang, there should be no problem. This amount of money he converted into flowers is nearly 30 billion. Dao Tuo was immersed in the dream of wealth, smiling happily, sticking out his tongue. Of course he supported it. He was a bit hesitant. It's just a pity that my sister-in-law is so beautiful. I also want to taste it. Geden Wei knew that Dao Tuo would say that so he added, it's easy, I'll let Schumann take turns serving us. A burst of laughter erupted, as expected of a big brother. Wei Schumann sat still like a place doll, inside the glass display case. He was really angry to the point that his forehead was covered in blue veins. His face was dark, his hands were clenched into fists, but he could only stand still and listen to that group of disgusting men laughing and joking with each other. Dao Tuo, Mr. How long has it been targeting Schumann? Let's be honest. The other person grinned and showed a very lewd expression. It started from the day she married Chanu. When Chanu was young, he didn't know how to control himself. So he screwed up. A long time ago, Schumann married him probably hasn't used it many times. He was so happy that his legs wanted to jump. So isn't it almost intact? Hey, the gang leader you already married. Shumung should let me go first. Will you? Schumann used force. His nails pierced his skin to the point of drawing fresh blood. Suddenly, a man's voice came from the top of her head, and at the same time, she felt the temperature of a man's hand on her shoulder. It's not the time to despair. No matter what I say, I'll cooperate. With me, Lin Sin jumped over the table. He was wearing a simple black t-shirt with shorts, sandals on his feet, comfortable as if he were at home. He walked up to those three fat guys. Asking to join, I want to join too. As the leader of the Pei Gang, Geden Wei looked at him with contempt. Motherfucker, who are you? Everyone around was surprised, so tense that they forgot to breathe. Dao Tuo spoke first. This is the person Wei Shuman just took in. Very arrogant. Geden Wei coldly snorted, pointed his finger and shouted. Reckless guy, kill him. Lin Sin slowly pulled out a contract agreement. I am Wei Shuman's man. Open your dog eyes to see what this is. 
Chin Pleiades held the contract in his hand. Dao Tuo glanced over, both gasped. In unison, you, you are the new shareholder of Feshiang Company. The surrounding viewers also shouted. What? Even Armang and Wei Shuman were shocked beyond words. Chin Pleiades secretly wiped sweat. Even though it's a photocopy, this contract is real. Dao Tuo angrily banged on the table, glaring at you. Kid, I don't know what trick you're playing to deceive us all. But I can tell let me tell you clearly. Even if you are a shareholder of Feshiang Company, the position of gang leader is not your turn. Feshiang Company is just a foreign company. Making that little money is not enough to fill your teeth. There is no place here. Let you talk. Go away about your perfume. There is no place for you to talk here. Lin Sin lowered her eyes. Her attitude up until now has been extremely calm. Even though public opinion is and has been Dao Tuo pulled towards him. What does a perfume person look like in our pay gang? If you don't go anymore I will break your eyebrows. Wait for them to finish. Then he will answer. Each sentence and each word uttered. It's so light. It's like just eating a cake and drinking a cup of tea. So I just need to make a lot of money to be a boss. So I can just support my sister-in-law. Wei Shuman was stunned people. Their cheeks suddenly felt hot. Geden Wei gritted his teeth. What do you mean? Lin Sin started to attract allies. Completely ignoring the expression on his face. If you can make the brothers earn money to eat meat. Buy new welfare. Is the king. Then you should choose me with your sister-in-law. He put one hand in his pocket. The other hand raised into five fingers. Because in my hand there is a big piece of cake. And moreover, I am the one with the real power to lead. The guys went together to make money. The whole hall was silent for a while then burst into laughter. Geden Wei held his stomach and laughed like he was losing control. Some people even shed tears. Most of them were mocking laughter. I had big piece of cake. Your Feshiang company has more strength than me. Dao Tuo clenched his fist, pointed his thumb at himself. His face wrinkled like a crumpled piece of paper. Then I will let you die clearly. Open open your dog eyes and look clearly. My organ processing area, the annual income is 1.8 billion in flower money. Chin Pleiades also follows suit. My real estate control floor, every year 2 billion 5 in flower money. Geden Wei stands in the middle. He holds his head high. His back is as straight as a column. He holds out his hands. Extremely arrogant. Geden Wei I am the place that earns the most money in the four districts. Income per year reaching billions in flower money. Wei Shuman took a deep breath. She thought to herself. It's over. Feshiang Company's annual financial report only earned 100 million in flower money at most. Chin Pleiades crossed her arms. You guys take it again. Several security guards outside also followed the command and ran over. Lin Sin was not surprised nor showed any other emotions on his face. He waved his hand at the crowd. He was in charge of the financial department. There, you come here, he pointed blankly at himself, then slowly walked past. Lin Sin pulled out a black card with a shiny gold border. Put it on the payment machine. The transaction amount was 5 billion in flowers. He held the card with two fingers. As if the winner looked at the generals. Defeated at my hands. This five billion is the sister-in-law for the brothers to drink tea. Everyone has a share. Chin Pleiades. Dao Tuo. Geden Wei are frozen on the spot. Even Wei Shuman is stuttering. I invite you. Even the people around me were listening. Not knowing if they had heard wrong or if that kid really had such high prestige. Five billion in flowers. Tea. What the heck? I figured. The math is not good. Can anyone tell me how much is divided? Another person immediately took out the phone and pressed frantically. Let me calculate. The entire pay gang has more than 3,000 people. Each person can be divided. More than 1,400.000 in flowers. Some people are talking nonsense. Damn it. Being a little brother can't earn that much money in your whole life. Lin Sin approached the three of them. Smirking. What? You guys someone also took a few billion for the brothers to drink tea only to see those guys let out a few indistinct sounds. Lin Sin clenched his fist, one hand pointing to the sky, as if the captain was steering his ship out. It's so far away, you can't get it out. So I said the person drawing the cake was right. You guys follow the big sister. From now on we will all be able to eat meat plated with gold. There will be no more danger. There will be no more. No one will be arrested anymore. No one will be in jail. There will be no more internal fighting and killing each other. From now on we can get high salaries. 
Enjoy life. This is the path that the big brother will take. And old brother Chanu wants to take everyone away. Now how do you choose? Such a beautiful prospect. Who wouldn't want to experience it? Not to mention the 5 billion in flower money already given. What reason is there to unbelieving? The whole crowd rushed out like bees from a hive. Big sister, you will always be our big sister. Big sister, I was wrong. Just a temporary confusion. I will follow you until the end of my life. Feeling the fat rising to the mouth and being scraped off with the upper hand. Of course the anger of the three old men couldn't be swallowed. Everyone's face was stewing as if they had just been in a sauna. Wei Schumann couldn't believe her eyes. She had regained her prestige. Soon many people were surrounding her. She looked towards Lin Sin. Just one or two words from this man had changed the whole world. The situation was changed. What background did he have? Lin Sin looked at the whole situation being turned around by him like a pinwheel. He couldn't help but laugh. His chest was heaving. The black gang is the black gang. Right, any meaning is just words on the lips. As long as you have money you will immediately turn into an idiot. Dao Tuo covered half of his face, restraining himself so as not to go crazy. He growled every word. Big sister what a master. No wonder Chanu listens to you like that. This Lin Sin must be the chess piece you've been arranging for many years. Right. Okay, we've all been plotted by you. Wei Schumann blinked. A question mark in his head. What the hell is this crazy guy talking about? Chin Pleiades stood in the middle, pointing, shouting until his voice was hoarse. Why are there more words to her? Now there is only force is the only way to be moral. Come up for me. And then a group of people with iron rods ran out. They must have been prepared for this situation. Lin Sin raised his eyebrows. He came at the right time. He put his hands in his pockets pants, pointing at the other person, and I block in front of Schumann, the brothers avenge boss Chanu. The life of those three guys is a 100 million reward. Sister-in-law said to do it now. She stands behind as weak as a little rabbit. Her heart was frantically refusing. When did she ever say to give 100 million in flowers? And the brothers around were really rushing in to avenge the boss or for that 5 billion cup of tea. No one knew. One was using a gun. The other was holding a knife. Every time they saw it they stabbed. Every time they saw it they shot. The whole hall turned into a war zone. The minute fresh blood soaked the floor. The fishy smell rising up made people extremely nauseous. Lin Sin held Schumann's head. Hugged her and lay down on the ground. Carefully. She was pressed to the floor by him their two faces facing each other. The atmosphere became strangely wonderful. One leg Tan Tan leaned against Wei Schumann's thighs. This intimate action really made her startled. He looked at the other person and explained, I can't care about your life or death in the current situation. Take care of yourself. Take good care of yourself. Geddon Wei suddenly came from behind. He pointed a gun at Lin Sin's head. You two dogs, go die. He immediately passed by tossed a few coins at him. Geddon Wei withdrew his hand. The gun also fell out from his unconscious hand. A series of lightning fast actions. Lin Sin picked up the other gun. Without hesitation, he shot at the old man. He skillfully pulled out the bullet box. In Wei Schumann's eyes, this man was somewhat trustworthy and worthy of her reliance. His favorability increased by 20%. Him, looking around, I saw a few sneaky people at the door planning to run away. Lin Sin jumped up, using his whole body to slide a long way while aiming and shooting. Until he ran down the stairs. A guy standing next to him. Then he pulled out his gun. Motherfucker. But before he could do anything, Ah Mang stabbed him in the middle of the stomach. Dao Tuo was surprised. He shouted, Ah Mang, you, the girl with pink white skin is now tinted bright red blood. Ah Mang without hesitation stabbed Dao Tuo. Lin Sin took small steps towards. Hey, stop, don't kill. She held the bloody knife with both hands. Knelt down like the puppy obeys when he sees his owner. Sir, if you hate me, you can kill me if you want. Lin Sin looked at the girl who was excitedly hugging her leg in doubt. Hating her, why? Ah Mang put her bloody hand on her face. Her whole face smiled crookedly. She shook the knife in her hand. Don't you blame me for tricking you. Thank you sir, I, I want to follow you. Be my most loyal, most obedient dog, because I'm really cool. Her tone is not like an ordinary person, like someone with a mental illness. Lin Sin looked at Ah Mang confused. Oh my god, this girl's personality is really crazy. 
He looked towards Dao Tuo. He had already passed out. I don't know if he was still alive or not. Let's put it aside for now. She had more important things to do. The door suddenly opened wide. The police rushed in from outside. Ah Mang was restrained. A member of the Pei Gang was discovered. Next to him was Dao Tuo. Shen Redong, mobilized manpower, found the spy, immediately protected him. She frowned, extremely worried for his safety, and blamed herself. I should not have agreed to let him participate in this dangerous mission. What if he, Lin Sin, don't let anything happen to you? Your favorability will also increase by 10%. Wei Shuman stood next to his junior. In the large hall the dead bodies were piled up looking like dried fish. Lin Sin ran in from outside, bending her legs, as if she had encountered something dangerous. A group of policemen were at the main door downstairs. You quickly go. Shuman looked in the direction of his hand, nodded. What? So let's go quickly. Lin Sin is at the head of the group of brothers. I and all the brothers are behind to support you. Take advantage of the time you have to get on the helicopter on the rooftop and go. They also in unison, swearing to the death to protect the eldest sister-in-law. Wei Shuman's eyes moved slightly. His heart actually fluttered a bit. Favorability plus 10%. Current favorability is 41%. Lin Sin feels I'm so talented. This arrangement is really perfect. I stood still, silently smiling to myself. It's so embarrassing guys. After all, none of you are clean. If you commit a crime, you should be punished. So you guys just stay here, under the pressure of the police. As for Wei Shuman, if she stays here, her life will be in danger, in case a fish slips through. Net. Moreover, I spent 5 billion on her. If she's already in jail, how can I spend the money? The remaining young men looked at him in confusion. Mr. Lin, his smile is so scary. While Lin Sin was in thought, someone grabbed her collar and carried her away. The quiet night was torn apart by the sound of the helicopter. The wind blew loudly. The helicopter flew away, successfully escaping. Wei Shuman leaned back in his chair. Sorry I couldn't let the benefactor save my life. I can't stay in danger. Pressed his hand against the door again. In his eyes were the colorful sparkling lights of the brilliant city. Now the Pei Gang was considered to have been completely destroyed. That was fine. Well, compared to blowing it up yourself. Now, she put her hand on her chin. Thoughtful, there is one more thing. No matter what, I want to know, why did you help me? You in the end who is it? Lin Sin put her hands behind her head. Comfortable position. Oh this is not important. Thought to herself. If I let you know that I am a spy for the police. I will definitely scare you falling from the helicopter. Schumann blinked and repeated his words. It doesn't matter. She lowered her eyes. Sadly. Yes. It doesn't matter. She moved closer to Lin Sin. She raised her body above him. Their eyes met. The tip of her nose seemed to touch the tip of his nose. The atmosphere became extremely dark. You know why I married her. Chanu no. Because I like men who are truly strong, ambitious, scheming and crazy. Wei Shumeng I was born to be the woman of such a man. She put her hand on her chest you. Unfortunately I didn't meet you at the right time. Lin Sin was cold. We wouldn't see each other again after getting off the plane. Suddenly the helicopter wobbled. Something broke on the window glass that was shot to pieces. What? Everywhere shook violently. The upper rotating part was also shot off. The plane crashed and then, night surrounded the forest. The helicopter was stuck on the treetops engulfed in flames. Lin Sin and Wei Shuman were lucky to escape before there were any casualties. He clicked his tongue. This time it's troublesome. A few hours ago, when Wei Shuman was lying on top of Lin while still on the helicopter, there was a huge explosion outside. The windows shattered. Chin Pleiades held a long gun in his hand. Even though his whole body was covered in injuries, he still kept aiming at the helicopter. Flying in the sky, dog men and women, even if I die, I have to drag you with me. Shen Dong also ran, aiming accurately at the person in front. Chin Pleiades was shot through the heart. He spat out some the last mouthful of blood was forcibly taken away by the police. The helicopter wobbled, couldn't keep its balance, and lowered its head. It was dead. The rotor was on the tail. Lin Sin ran to look through the window away from the cockpit and saw that the operator was not breathing. There were a few people around. Long trail of blood. The operator was also hit. Schumann shouted. What? The inside was shaking crazily. Schumann grabbed his arm, wrapped his arms around the opponent's neck. 
his eyes carrying some regrettably. It seems that today it will be difficult to escape this fate. If I have to die anyway. Finished speaking, she used force to force Lin Sin to bend down, while she herself stood on tiptoe and placed her lips on his face. A kiss. The unexpected kiss made him widen his eyes in surprise. The tail of the helicopter sparked a few sparks, spreading everywhere. The two lips lingered for a few minutes. After a long time they regretfully let go. Out. Schumann was satisfied. Now doing this, it's not bad to be a ghost. Lin Sin quickly regained his breath and calm. He took her hand that was still on his chest. The other hand wrapped around his shoulder hold on. Whether it's life or death, I can't say for sure yet. Schumann was stunned. His cheeks were unconsciously burning. Was there a need to act so cool? Favorability plus 10%. Wei Schumann's favorability now it's 51%. He kicked the door, hugged the other girl in his arms. His voice was drowned out by the sound of the propeller but because the distance was very close. She could hear it. Hug her a little tighter. I'm ready jumped here. Wei Schumann followed his instructions and used more force. She screamed in fear, jumped out of the plane. But even if it was above the sea level, she would die. I don't want to turn into a meat cake on my face where is the sea. He prepared his position, now at a lower altitude of 30 meters. Lin Sin jumped down without hesitation. Her hair was blown up by the wind. Schumann buried her face in his neck, so scared that the soul was lost screaming until it was hoarse. 30 meters below, both fell into the sea, destroying the peaceful calm of the sea surface at night. Schumann fainted in his arms, on his skin, only a few scratches. If asked what's worse, it's just my body being soaked. A few minutes later, she opened her eyes and glimpsed half of the boy's face. He held her and walked a part of the way from the sea to the forest. When he saw the person below moving, he asked. She was awake. Schumann's heart felt like it was hanging on a fire. Just now she really bet with death. She stammered, we're not dead yet. Lin Sin nodded, yes. It's also lucky, the water falls near this deserted island, completely hiding the fact that he has a level 7 physical condition and is proficient in swimming. He put her down, pointed to the top of the tree above. The helicopter had completely broken down. Look, up there, come back now, they after spending a cold night in deserted island. Lin Sin sat down on the grass, looking dejectedly at the pile of things left with her. I've already checked. The operator is dead. The radio power is also broken. And the bridge signal can't be sent out. Rescue outside. There is no food. I'm afraid we have to prepare here for a long time. Wei Schumann was not worried. She sat on a large rock, carefully observed the map, and combined it with the map. Map and flight route of the helicopter. We are probably currently on an island northwest of Lilan Island. Here occasionally there will be fishing boats passing by. We just need to make a signal for help at the beach. Her voice was a bit choked. Her breathing was uneven but more rapid than before. Lin Sin noticed something unusual and immediately went to touch the other person's forehead. Not to mention the fact that her face was as red as a gauze. Her whole body was hot. Like a furnace. He felt her pulse and frowned slightly. Like a cold. Hey, it seems like he was scared by life and death and then fell into cold water. He stood up, put his hands on his hips and looked around, wanting to find firewood to burn for warmth. When Schumann saw it, he quickly grabbed Lin's shirt. Sin, she panted, come here, looking at her like that Lin Sin is a little embarrassed. What's wrong? I'm just going to find some food and firewood. I'll be back soon. Wei Schumann pulled his collar came down towards her. She suddenly kissed her. I don't know if it was because of her bad illness or what but she kept doing embarrassing things like this. Schumann's eyes curled, looking at him deeply. Now, go away. Lin Sin touched her cheek. Their temperatures were opposite. He warmed her and cooled her down. Half joking, half serious. This is the eldest sister-in-law's way of showing concern. Top her nose seemed to touch his. Smiling softly, she was about to die. Why did she still care about so many rigid rules? If God wanted me and him to be together, why didn't I do something? that I want to do. Now I just want to be your woman. Favorability increased sharply, plus 20%. Wei Schumann's favorability was 71%. Lin Sin sighed, hugged and carefully kissed the other person's forehead. Schumann vaguely felt those soft lips rubbing against my skin. It turns out my sister-in-law is so generous. If I want to be my woman, I have to wait for her to recover and then say, 
Her face is already red and she's still trying to resist. Now she's here waiting for me. Be good. Is that okay? Being coaxed. Wei Shuman also nodded obediently. Okay, then I'll go home quickly. Half an hour later, Lin Sin walked around in the forest and luckily found some firewood. He I pulled out the tracker to observe, but there was no hope that the police would follow this signal and save me. It seemed that the tracker had been damaged by seawater, but the police would probably go looking for me, soared along the direction of the helicopter crash. To be optimistic, he could be rescued in a few days. He turned his eyes and saw a bamboo bush growing in the distance. Ha, huh, there is bamboo, it's convenient to take some. Bed. Lin Sin squatted down. Fortunately, he had recently watched many videos on how to survive on a deserted island. This type of bamboo the size of a thumb is the most suitable for making a bed. Meanwhile, he not paying attention to the dangerous creature that was stalking her on the tree branch behind her. Wei Shuman drank water, her body temperature rose, her whole body was covered in sweat. Her breathing became hotter and hotter. She wiped her mouth. It's too hot. No, I can't just lie here forever. Time is precious. I have to do something. Schumann walked barefoot, with the other hand pulling a tree branch and walking with small steps. Because he was sick resistance is extremely weak. Daily activities also take a lot of effort. Next to the beach is a sandy beach. Struggling for a while and finally able to write so's. The signal for help is very loud. So it must be in the opposite direction. It could be seen from afar. Wei Schumann went to the beach to find some food. Saw his whole body covered in mud. So he carefully placed his work on the shore. Then slowly unbuttoned his shirt. It was so dirty. It's convenient to take a shower. She sat on a large rock. Took off her clothes. Suddenly a big wave came. She screamed. The moss sticks all over my body. Huh. Wei Schumann panicked. Reached out to get her clothes back. It was true that God was teasing her. Otherwise why would he bring that wave to let it wash away her clothes? She turned around and around. Using the moss cover your body. Find some leaves to make clothes. Although it will probably be very uncomfortable. Lin Sin came from afar. He climbed over some rocks. Called out. Finally found her. Seeing a naked shoeman with his back facing him. He exclaimed. Ah, are you taking a bath? She bent down. Curled up to cover herself. I was not careful washing clothes and lost them. Don't look. Lin Sin put her hands behind her head. Just now she said she wanted to be my woman. Now now I'm embarrassed again. He walked to the side. And immediately saw a large leaf nearby. There were a few crabs and snails of all kinds on it. It seems like he won't die of hunger today. Lin Sin said oh. No can't help but praise. These are all the things you're looking for. You're really good. You have a fever. Why are you still doing these things? Wei Shuman clung to the rock, looking thoughtfully into the distance. Since I was a child having grown up by the sea, a poor child has to take care of housework from an early age. What does fever mean? Lin Sin silently observed the other person, for a moment not knowing how to answer. She turned to Lin Sin. That's right. Why did it take you so long to pick up firewood? Lin Sin exclaimed, pulling something again, out. Oh, this python is so long. It takes a bit of effort to drag it back. The entire large sand beach is imprinted with traces of the python. About more than 10 meters. Fortunately it is dead. Otherwise, I don't know what would have happened. What's going on? She stood up straight and wanted to see clearly. This scene was too absurd. What? What? Realized she was doing something embarrassing and immediately sat down. Shyly hiding it. Lin please sigh. That's not the way. I'll give you a set of clothes. The poor python was chopped into pieces. Lin Sin tore off its outer layer. A series of operations. Finally gave it to her. Try it. I've washed it. The python skin just like that became a dress. If it was displayed, how much could it sell? She was surprised. Turned around. I didn't expect it to actually be able to be worn. It also fits very well. He was satisfied looking at his masterpiece. After all, these large pythons can swallow an adult whole. Wei Schumann saw as if she had escaped a lifetime. She happily grabbed his arm, smiling brightly like a flower. He was really good. Her liking also increased by 10%. The sky gradually changed color. A brilliant orange-yellow color. The two of them pulled back together, laughing and talking. Let's go. Tonight we'll eat python meat and seafood. Schumann sat on the two-story bed that Lin Sin had made in the morning. 
his hands fondling the meat skewers. I was very curious about he. He was munching on food when he stopped. Hmm, what should I say? Her long hair fell out. Under the light of the campfire, it made her look even more beautiful. Schumann held her chin and looked straight. Suddenly jumped out again, accepted Feshiang company, pretended to be a tourist and followed me to blend into the pay gang hall. Easily turning the situation around, but caring about the pay gang being destroyed. What kind of person are you in the end? Lin Sin calmly continued his job of gnawing meat. I'm just an ordinary person with money. Schumann didn't mind. She leaned close. It's okay not to say anything. A strong man must always maintain maintaining a mysterious feeling. I like it. I can say these things. Lin Sin is really helpless. At night it suddenly started raining. The fire was also extinguished. She raised her hand. Regretfully, the fire. Lin Sin was preparing a place to sleep. There was no way. This tropical island often rains. Also just in anticipation. After eating, go to sleep. Two people lying in the same place. It's raining heavily. The night dew is very cold. Wei Schumann curls up, shivering like a kitten caught in the rain. I'm so cold. Lin Sin wrapped his arms around the girl next to him. I hugged her. Schumann gasped, slid his hand into the other person's shirt. He was so warm. Her voice was gentle and sweet. Really warm. Suddenly she kissed Lin Sin's collarbone, slowly moving her damaged hand all over her body. The teenager's body was exposed. His muscles were strong. Hey, hey, you're sick now. Wei Schumann turn over and lie on top of him. Put your hand over each other's mouth. Don't talk. Warm me up. Just like that the two of you stayed up all night warming each other. The women's wet cries mixed with the sound of falling rain creating a sound. Strangely stimulating sound. Three days later, a crew member saw a signal on the island and immediately announced that the captain on the island had a distress signal. They let the boat move closer, quickly come to the rescue. It might be someone in distress who has been starving for several days. Quickly help them eat. They were kind enough to send a small boat to the rescue. But until when they got on the big boat, both people's faces were radiant, especially the woman next to them. Her skin was rosy and full of spring. Extremely grateful for everyone's help. The captain thought he had encountered seven things. It's a mystery on a deserted island. Everyone looked at Schumann and Lin Sin in dismay. This is someone who was lost on the island for several days. Lin Sin scratched his head, thinking to himself, fortunately he can reach level 7, otherwise can't hold back a young woman who has been in need of love for a year. The system screen appears. Wei Schumann's favorability has increased by 20%. Wei Schumann's favorability has reached 91%. Completed. During the first gameplay period, Spent 5 billion game money on Wei Schumann. Got a 10% refund. 500 million Chinese yuan was transferred to your personal account. Reward is plus 1 for all attributes and ranks. All attributes are currently level 8. Reward. Choose one of 3 skills. Make your choice within the time allowed. Proficiency in cooking skill level A. Proficiency in dancing skill level B. Mastery jumping rope skill level C. At Jiang Pu Hospital. Thank you. Thank you Dr. Lu, you really have magic hands. He looked at the mother and son leaving and was so happy he wanted to jump up and look again after receiving a large amount of money from the idiot. The hospital corridor heard the sound of rapid footsteps. A few policemen walked over. He put a piece of paper in front of him, with a serious face. Based on the complaint of the public, our police department checked and verified that the director of Jiang Pu Hospital Director Lu and other doctors seriously exaggerated the patient's condition in order to gain personal benefits and committed illegal acts for medical fraud, forced transactions, colluding with Feshiang company to smuggle human organs, and many other crimes. Starting today, sealing the hospital, he panicked, sharp his face suddenly changed. What? When I remember that time, I held my head and cried. It was the acupuncture boy that day. A week ago at the film and television facility in Yanjiang City. Miss Shi, there was a boss. The Zhang family wants to cooperate with you. Shi Luo Bing held the script in his hand. Nodded. Well, I'll go see him now. There was filming in the room. So the two of them went to a corner of the room and said hello to boss Zhang. Wondering what kind of cooperation he wanted to discuss. Mr. Zhang grabbed her hand. Unconsciously smiled. Thinking to himself. This Shi Luobing's hands are so soft. 
He clasped his hands behind his back and walked to the studio. This was the filming location of Miss Shi. As expected, it wasn't a big project at all. The scene was set up in a small room, followed by lights and a few other miscellaneous things. He squinted, compared to the other scene. The other scene was much more advanced. He said contemptuously, if I'm not mistaken, Miss Shi's production capital for this movie is 2000.00. Right, if you want to make money, it's very difficult, thinking about it, it's obvious that you took the opportunity to search hot search to earn it. Hundreds of thousands to film this project. It is true that poverty can be seen with the naked eye. Having had to listen to him ramble for a while now, Shi Luo Bing was really upset in her heart. She looked serious. Boss Zhang just said whatever he wanted to say. Just say it directly, as if pressing a switch. Boss Zhang turned back to look at her, patting his chest firmly, being told frankly by an honest person, I won't beat around the bush anymore. I invested 800.00 in this movie of yours as propaganda capital. Miss Shi also knows that right. Right now, good filming is not as good as good propaganda. With my capital, I guarantee you will earn a lot. Shi Luo Bing was a bit dumbfounded. Repeat, 800,000. He chuckled, waved his hand as if telling her not to be so polite. His face was very smug. I know, I know, this money came very timely. Right, there's no need to be so moved that you cry. Come at that time divided 3-7. My third aunt is 7. That's fine. The other person smiles cunningly. His eyes looking at her from top to bottom. Of course. It's not impossible for Miss Shi to get a higher share. Everyone is in the world. Miss Shi, understand. Her lips pursed into a curve. Shi Luo Bing crossed her arms, arched her body and looked at him with pitying eyes. It's so embarrassing. The investment capital for the network movie is 5.000.000 Vietnamese dongs from me. This sentence hit me hard. Into his brain. Is playing around like this just bringing humiliation on him? Shi Luo Bing waved his hand. Seo Lin, saw off the guests, leaving boss Zhang frozen in place. Seo Lin walked over and bowed. Mr. Zhang, please, he shouted later, still unable to believe his ears. How is it possible, the small company's investment in network movies has never been that high? I know, you want to raise the price. Right, this small scene also wants to cheat me of 5.00.00 capital. Get out of the way, if you tell me to go. I will go, I won't go, Seo Lin frowned in annoyance. Name this guy really has a thick skin. She pointed her finger, he was wrong. This entire video studio was covered by the company. This entire room several hundred meters wide had countless scenes being filmed. Boss Zhang gasped. She added, all the scenes here are the sets of our movie. So if you don't leave, you are committing the crime of arbitrarily breaking into someone else's personal space. Shi Luo Bing returned to the room. She took out her cell phone, happily sent a message. Mr. Lin Sin, CEO Lin's phone is closed tomorrow. Will you come over? The other person sent a selfie saying that he was preparing to go to Myanmar. It took a few days before I could return, and I told him not to miss any money for film propaganda, and asked to transfer some more money. Shi Luo Bing quickly texted to refuse, saying that there was more than 300 million left. Lin Sin advised her not to save. This time she must use all 200 million of the propaganda money. And then propagate the next episodes. Which were originally propaganda. The next episode must cost at least 100 million. If she lacks money, she will find him. After texting, she will already be on the plane. She looked at the chat box in dismay. After all, is a person with power in the movie world. So she has to run. Traveling all over the world. How could he have time to attend the closing ceremony of a small network movie? So, I can't let him down. I have to film this movie more perfectly. She clicked on the chat history. Saw herself doing anything and reported it to him. Lin Sin even responded. Lin Sin did not hesitate to pour all his resources into her. The photos she took of herself while wearing her high school uniform. He also praised her very beautiful. All the internal conflicts. Lin Sin did not hesitate at all. But followed all your opinions was engrossed for a while when Seo Lin's voice rang out. Miss Shi, Miss Shi, Shi Luo Bing raised his head, in an extremely good mood. Hmm, you called me, Seo Lin leaning against the wall, smiling teasingly. Wow, this smile of yours is even more difficult to force. It's your boyfriend, 
Shi Luo Bing awkwardly turned off the phone. It's not there. Why are you calling me? Xiao Lin reluctantly no more joking. The last two scenes are finished filming and it's time to get off work. Shi Luo Bing went out into the hallway, remembering Cha Cha and Lin Sin and thinking. That Cha Cha is his girlfriend. Right. Thinking as much as so what to do. What I need to do now is to film this movie well. Then Pei Lin Sin. I've had this script for a long time and can't fail. Shi Luo Bing spent the whole day today. They're at the studio to film and discuss the script. Everyone on the set was also very serious. Everyone gave 200% effort. Time passed quickly. Very quickly it was the fifth day of the movie announcement countdown. The host looked at the paper in his hand. Then turned to Shi Luo Bing sitting in the seat next to him. Dear viewers, this girl is Shi Luo Bing, the most recent famous star that Endless Entertainment invited to this episode. Welcome, she sat up straight, smiling gently. Hello everyone, I am Shi Luo Bing. The the host shouted, Bing Bing, I feel like you're even more beautiful. As expected, the girl who works seriously is the most beautiful. In fact, I'm just one of those ordinary people who realized my dream. This time also because of the help of noble people. The other person exclaimed, heard that there are many people who want to sign a contract with her. She nodded, did not refute, yes, but now I have my own film and television company. Although not big, but will also try to produce good films to respond to the audience's support. Shi Luo Bing clasped his hands and tilted his head to smile. The movie Little Han Resilient will soon be broadcast. Everyone must watch it, somewhere else. On the big screen, Shi Luo Bing's image is being interviewed. On television, looking at her smile, Yan Jian Zheng angrily threw the wine bottle at the screen. Motherfucker, clearly the prey is coming to me. He stomped his foot, kicking the girl in the face below me. But I don't know where the rich man came from to save her. Another girl dressed as a bunny, was lying down to serve as a wine table for him. Her voice trembling, Mr. Yan, don't be angry, this time you won. You received 100 million in contract cancellation money. What did that bastard Shi Luo Bing do worth so much money? He frowned. The corners of his lips twitched. Luo Bing. Luo Bing. I didn't expect that she would secretly seduce a wealthy person and then sell her body. I thought she was very pure. But the target Yan Jian Zheng I've set my sights on has never fallen before. He grabbed the chain and pulled hard. That girl was dragged by the neck to her feet. Secretary Li. Use that 100 million to take care of everything no matter which rich tycoon he is. Dare to rob my people. I will use his money to attack him. His face. The girl replied. Yes. Yes. Two days ago in the film editing room. Everyone was still editing and completing the rest. Shi Luo Bing exhaled. Tomorrow the film will air. Everything has to be checked and rechecked. It's impossible for problems to recur. Suddenly Xiao Lin burst through the door. It's over. Miss Shi. You. You quickly read the news. The bolded title is Shi Luo Bing's true identity posted by an unknown account. Shi Luo Bing for the top position took the initiative to request the use of hidden rules. Oppress new people, used lower class tricks, so she was soaked by the company. Now she has found new riches to support her, so she cancelled the contract with Tian Huang Entertainment Company. Also had an interview online. That girl cried on the air, and when she spoke she had a nasal voice. At that time we were in the same batch. My strength was even better than hers. But Shi Luo Bing relied on her family's authority. So she always spoke harshly to us. Ordering us to work for her. We couldn't compare to her family background. So we didn't dare to resist. The other person wasn't much better. Her eyes were swollen. She was crying. One time she told me to go to a very far place to buy her a cake. Causing me to miss a very important opportunity to try on glasses. In the end I found out that she did it on purpose. And moreover, she relied on hidden rules to get that role. Then, in order for me not to reveal the truth, she slandered me everywhere, causing my reputation to be tarnished. Destruction. A series of comments condemning Shi Luo Bing appeared. Disgusted and even tried to whiten himself. Even selling his pure image. He must have played for four minutes behind his back. Right. Then started insulting the department her movie hasn't even been released yet. She's being raised by a sponsor but she's also filming to cheer her up. It's really ridiculous. Remember what Teacherla said. If you're being raised by a sponsor, don't say anything but have an independent personality. 
Shi Luo Bing widened his eyes and scrolled back and forth on the screen. Why? Why is this happening? Xiao Lin held out the phone. Her whole body couldn't help but tremble. Even Yan Ying Ying also stood up to testify. The above video lasted more than two minutes. Yan Ying Ying dressed neatly, looked seriously at the camera. I can guarantee that what COC and Xiaodi said is true. Just stand from their perspective to think. You will know that they have how pathetic. Everyone was once a person with a dream. But in the race to pursue their dream, they were kicked out of the competition by others using despicable tricks. I don't know what they have endured over the years. No matter how I endure, I only know that I must be a strong support for them. Giving them courage to expose this truth. These words were like adding fuel to the fire. Netizens erupted in a wave of condemnation. Vegetarian. Shi Luo Bing no longer has a name that fans admire. Now people only know her as an evil woman. I hope Shi Luo Bing gets out of the entertainment industry soon. Xiao Lin frantically checked the information. Cold sweat on her hands. Her fingers slipping all over the place. A list perfume star, who won the national TV series viewership rating championship and was voted the best actress of the character award. Entertainment of 2020. Why did Yan Ying Ying do that? Obviously we have never offended her. Moreover, there are a few first line and second line actors who all like this video. Inner Shi Luo Bing almost collapsed in an instant. Was Mr. Yan. When Yan Ying Ying first debuted, it was thanks to Mr. Yan providing resources that she became famous. So this matter must have been arranged by Mr. Yan. Honestly, Shi Luo Bing was a little scared in her heart of the man with unable to cover the sky with one hand. She suppressed her voice. I also thought that Mr. Yan would not ignore me so easily. But I did not expect that he would choose this right moment. Xiao Lin quickly invite the professional PR team first. The girl quickly followed. Xiao Lin shouted loudly, What 2.000.000 PR fees? It's not necessarily something that can be resolved. This is really blocking people's way of life. Xiao Lin gave phone Shi Luo Bing. The other end of the line continued. Miss Shi, we are professionals. Frankly speaking, this incident is too noisy. There are many A-list artists speaking out. Money cannot solve it. We can only try our best. Shi Luo Bing has no choice. Can only rely on them. So I leave it to you. The bottom of her eyes flickered. Remembering Lin Sin like a straw to save her. Network. Should I look for Mr. Lin Sin? She held the phone tightly in her hand. Her heart was confused. No. Besides looking for him to ask for money. What else could I do? Moreover, I couldn't get involved at this time. To him. I have to face this difficulty myself. The cell phone vibrated slightly. Shi Luo Bing hesitantly picked up. The other person's voice was cold. Miss Shi, I'm from Art Love Platform, now calling to announce that her movie had to be taken down. And the contract clearly stated that if the reason the movie couldn't be released was because of her. She had to compensate us 1 billion for breach of contract. Xiao Lin rushed over. Miss Shi, it's over. Both Teng Zun Video and Yuka Platforms have cancelled the contract with us. But not only can the movie not be broadcast, but we also have to pay compensation for breach of contract. A series of bad news came to her right before her heart was released. Shi Luo Bing immediately collapsed. Her shoulders were heavy. Miss Shi, Miss Shi, returned to the present. Shi Luo Bing locked herself up not wanting to meet I. The lights in the room weren't on. Everything was dark. She closed her eyes. But the sound was still ringing in her ears. Miss Shi our movie has been removed from all platforms. Miss Shi, sorry we I've tried my best. Maybe someone spent a lot of money to buy a navy. So online opinion can't be reversed. Miss Shi, half of the people in our company have already resigned. After paying it all, we've run out of money for breach of contract for the platforms. Suddenly there was a knock on the door. Is Secretary Li, the secretary next to Yan Jian Zheng. Shi Luo Bing, I know you're inside. I also know that you are very desperate now. The current you has been thrown away by the whole world. And you don't have a penny left anymore. Shi Luo Bing did not answer, still maintaining the curled up position, face down, on the knee, but Mr. Yan can still give her a chance. Mr. Yan is willing to let go of the past, accept her as an artist for his Tian Huang Entertainment Company, and even arrange for her some role for you to play. Don't you really like acting? Isn't it great to hear this news? Of course the current you is no longer worth the money. You know what Mr. Yan wants. 
think to clarify, I called Mr. Yan, the secretary didn't hear back, just said a few more words then left. Shi Luo Bing opened her cell phone, the light shone on her face, inside was her image, and Lin Sin kiss in their roles. If in the end I still can't escape the fate of being a toy. She was silent, then at least I have to give my precious thing to the person I like the most. On the other side, Lin Sin stuffed both hands pockets, cheerfully singing, saying goodbye to troubles, saying hello with all joy, returning home, happily, remembering that night, Wei Shuman nestled in his chest, she said she wanted to go to the Philippines to hide for a while. She raised her head, the shield on her body slid down to reveal her curves. That's right, anyway, I'm wanted now, I need to to avoid this storm. I dare to work again. Do you want to come to the Philippines with me? Lin Sin shook his head. I'll just let it go. Anyway, I won't be wanted for perfume. Schumann dived come on, you're so good, you're truly the man I'm looking at. Let's keep going. Lin Sin walked to the airport exit, thinking back at that time. He conveniently gave her 200 million, hoping she would not arrest it in the Philippines. At that moment my cell phone vibrated in my pocket. Hello, Shi Luo Bing, you called at the right time. I just returned home. A girl's voice rang out on the other end of the line. The voice was clear but suppressed. Mr. Lin Sin, sorry to bother you, can you come to my house now? I have something important to do. Trong wanted to tell him. Lin Sin was dumbfounded. Hmm, okay, I'll go there now. When he arrived at the apartment it was getting late. He looked up at the building in front of him. Tu Bang's room was 306 on the third floor. When as he was about to enter, there was a dark shadow in the distance. Lin Sin turned his head. Who? The mysterious person suddenly disappeared. He rushed forward, wanting to run. Suddenly the cabinet next to it fell down. Lin Sin quickly jumped onto the wall and quickly escaped. In front of him was a stranger with a camera on his chest. He was in the elevator. When the elevator door closed it and stuck out his tongue, raised his middle finger in challenge. He smiled complacently, huffing, wanting to catch me. Suddenly a hand was stuck in the gap of the elevator. Lin Sin used his force to pry the door open, revealing the mold. His face darkened. Why run? Let's talk. He shouted loudly. It seemed like this life was over. After getting out of the elevator in the third floor hallway, his name was Zhao Wei. He was a paparazzi, specifically sitting here to watch Shi Luo Bing. But for the past two days she hasn't left the house. Zhao Wei walks obsequiously behind, covering her shorts, because she was scared of peeing in her pants. So she only took off her pants. Long story short, don't you know about the recent big drama? I felt like I could definitely hunt down some big secrets so I came here. Lin Sin frowned and turned around to ask, what's the big drama? Let's talk in detail. Zhao Wei is also honest. It's like that. Outside the door of Shi Luobing's room rang out. Co Bing, it's me. She pulled the door handle. Lin Sin's eyes widened in surprise. Shi Luobing was wearing a tight red dress that hugged all take the body. This outfit really only covers what needs to be covered. Everything else is exposed. She looked away, a bit embarrassed. Mr. Lin Sin, you trust me like that. Invested so much money in me. But I betrayed your trust. Moreover, I can't pay you this amount of money in my whole life. I really don't know if I can what can I pay for. The me now has nothing left except myself. As she spoke, she lifted her skirt to reveal her white thighs. If you're willing, I can use my first time. Dot. Lin Sin blushed and stared at Shi Luo Bing. Oh my god, this figure is so sexy. That's not right. Quickly say something to stop her from taking off her clothes. Little Lin Sin spoke first. I am martial artists are not good at talking. It's true that these thoughts should not be shared with other girls. Quickly think. Suddenly Zhao Wei popped out from behind Lin Sin. Still holding the camera. Excited. What what? So the two of you still haven't used the hidden rule. Shi Luo Bing panicked and quickly turned away to cover your body. Lin Sin grimaced, poked the other person in the eyes. Don't look, followed by a scream by Zhao Wei. My eyes, outside the apartment building were tinged with the dull yellow of the sunset. After calmly the three people sat down together to explain everything. Ah so that's it, Zhao Wei he put his hands on his hips and looked at Shi Luo Bing who was sitting on a chair. At that time, he had wrapped his whole body in a towel. He was so young, but he didn't expect that he was the mastermind behind Shi Luo Bing. 
but the two of them were in a normal investment partnership. Usually, this soap story was arranged by Mr. Yan of Tian Huang Entertainment. Lin Sin breathed a sigh of relief. That's it. You said you were a famous paparazzi. Then you can write news about the event. Really no of course I won't let you work for free. After all, this article of yours will offend the boss of a famous travel company. Zhao Wei thought for a moment. This is a good opportunity. In my hand I have documents from many years ago because I was afraid of Yan Jian Zheng's influence in the world so I didn't dare to publish them. Now I finally have a place to use them. Zhao Wei looked serious and smiled wryly. On the one hand, he looks like a villain in a story. Actually coincidentally I also have black information about Yan Jian Zheng and Yan Ying Ying many years ago. About blowing up that house. But I have to warn you before releasing the news. If this happens, he will offend Yan Jian Zheng. His anger is not something that an ordinary rich man can withstand. So these documents are very expensive. Not even one or two million is possible. Where can I buy it? Then the pressure of big platforms also needs him to pay to solve it. He originally intended to try to scare. See if Lin Sin really has such ability. Look at Shi Luobing's face to make matters worse. The things you just mentioned above are not something a normal person with money can solve. Yet, Lin Sin's eyes were bright. As happy as catching gold. And there were good things. So ready. Buy. Buy immediately. Things that can be solved with money are not a problem. Both of them were shocked. They decided so quickly, without hesitation for a second. Luo Bing quickly stopped them. Mr. Lin Sin, don't. Lin Sin calmly put out three fingers. There are also COC and Xiaodi's black documents. I bought them all, casually said the price. Zhao Wei's phone vibrated, received it Lin Sin 6.000.000. Zhao Wei learned for the first time what the unlimited power of a person with money looks like. He counted every zero on the screen. His hands shaking. 6.000.000. Without bargaining it was transferred already. Lin Sin looked at him with half an eye. Before saying it so seriously. I thought he was going to push the price to hundreds of millions more. But it was only 6.000.000. Disappointed. He really thought a lot. Okay. He didn't wait for Zhao Wei to calm down before saying. The materials are all there. You arrange for people to spread the word. Then hire a navy to lead the rhythm. The more the better. He looked towards Shi Luo Bing, and towards Bing Bing, without capital, one more round of propaganda. When the time comes, invite major media to announce. She hesitated not to say anything. I, I'm out of money. Felt extremely self-blame. Because of this all the money was paid to compensate the movie broadcasting platform. The company staff had already resigned more than half. Lin Sin loudly. What? Shi Luo Bing was so scared that he lowered his head closed his eyes tightly, whimpered, me, me, Lin Sin laughed cheerfully and patted Shi Luobing's shoulder, constantly praising him, even giving the other person a million likes, good job really, C.O. Bing, in two days I spent more than 300 million, not bad, not bad, I really need talented people like you, but this strange action of yours surprised the two of them, is this your golden boss, is there a problem, Lin Sin held out five fingers, firmly, Give her another 1 billion to renegotiate with the company platforms. Recruit new employees. Buy more navy. No need to save. All the money is spent. Give the enemy a fatal blow. Shi Luo Bing seemed to be revived. The corners of her lips moved. Her hand pointed towards herself. 1 billion. Me. Am I worth that much money? Zhao Wei was even more shocked. That's right. Is she worth that much money? Lin Sin's face remained unchanged. Her voice was as light as a feather, but to Shi Luobing's heart, it carried a weight like nothing else. I can't stand it. Who talks about money with you? Now I'm talking about dreams with you. Shi Luobing's heart is throbbing. Her cheeks are hot. Lin Sin, favorability plus 30%. Degree Shi Luobing's favorability is 82%. Zhao Wei feels like he has found his golden thigh. He must cling to it quickly. He patted his chest loudly. Mr. Lin, I am very professional in this matter. Just leave it to I, I guarantee I can make things right for you. Lin Sin came to accept him. Just smiled and asked, didn't you just want to erase your relationship with me? You denied it. That's it. Just now. Yan Jian Zheng is not even better than the guy carrying sandals. What am I afraid of him? Said then slammed the door and ran away. You two just wait for my news. 
The results will be out tonight. Working neatly like this really wins people's hearts. Lin Sin smiled and clicked like for him. Not long after, everyone was excited. Zhao Wei had new hot news. Everyone go look at Weibo. Reverse the dynamic. God, I still have to watch Mr. Wei when I'm looking forward to the drama. The person at the top based on the hidden rules is not Shi Luo Bing but Yan Ying Ying. Below the post is also attached a 7 minute hot clip of Yan Ying Ying. Children should not watch it. Just hear her moaning and calling Mr. Yan. Please be gentle. It makes people's eyes hot. The commenters below still don't believe it. This is Yan Ying Ying. Only her back. It's fake right. In response to her wet moans then there was the man's soft laugh. Slow. I saw that she was criticizing me for not being fast enough. The online community was buzzing. Who is Mr. Yan? The boss of Tian Huang Entertainment. Right. I realized heard this voice. It was Yan Jian Zheng. A moment later Yan Ying Ying in the other clip turned around. Embarrassed. Mr. Yan. I gave it all to you. You can't do it. Female led and center of descending autumn mountain I wanted. Some people immediately recognized. Descending Autumn Mountain is her debut movie 10 years ago. Seeing her voice is not as good as seeing her face. Only now do people really believe Yan Ying Ying. The idol they worshipped was kneeling like a puppy under her golden master. It turned out that she was the one at the top based on the hidden rules. Yan Jian Zheng held onto Yan Ying Ying's shoulder, using force. Okay, come at that time. I will tell the other two female actors to wear red clothes and you to wear white. Can you... Yan Ying Ying used her watery voice. Mr. Yan is so great. The comments below increased rapidly. Explain isn't Tian Huang the company that signed a contract with Shi Luo Bing before? This time I understand. Yan Jian Zheng told Yan Ying Ying to falsify evidence to frame Shi Luo Bing. A few minutes later, Zhao Wei also posted the news new. Just as hot as the hot clip just now. The two 18th tier actresses and the wealthy gentleman performed a royal affair in the hotel staying until noon the next day before checking out, with a photo of the two of them holding their arms of a fat old man entering the main door of the hotel. Public opinion changed direction to realize the truth of the matter. Indeed, these two girls were also actors that Yan Jian Zheng invited, harming others to help the golden master. His acting exploded again. That's right, an actor. He should be assassinated. Yan Ying Ying should also be assassinated. Yan Ying Ying stood with his arms crossed watching his assistant check the post. And the second 18th tier. COC and Xiaodi are kneeling down and crying miserably. Mu Ying, please save me. She said that as long as she cooperates with me in acting. She can get good resources. She didn't say there would be consequences. Like that. Yan Ying Ying shouted angrily. Get out. I can't even take care of it myself. Who has the free time to take care of you guys? Her assistant is also eager. Mu Ying can't do it. We've wasted 200 million Chinese yuan to buy a navy. Even using AI to post comments. Still unable to control public opinion. According to our PR team's analysis. The other side spent at least 500 million to buy comment marines. Moreover, they have more advanced AI technology. And there are also hackers. Quite a few Chinese naval companies. We were all hacked by the other side. Yan Ying Ying was sweating. How could that be? Who exactly was the other side? She got mad. Her face turned black. She kicked everyone out. Everyone get out. Come out. Leave me alone. The phone on the table vibrates. It's Yan Ying Ying calling. Yan Jian Zheng is wearing a nightgown. What's wrong? The other person begged. Mr. Yan I've tried everything but still know it worked. Mr. Yan saved me. He clicked his tongue. What use is saving you to me? She snapped. What? We're on the same boat. If I collapse, you will also be hurt. Involved. Yan Jian Zheng calmly replied. Don't misunderstand. I'm not an actor or a public figure. What use is fame for me? Have you ever heard of any rich people playing for a few decades? Has half a star caused the business to go bankrupt? I didn't expect that when he said he would turn over. She would turn over right away. She was angry. What? Yan Jian Zheng. That bastard. He pressed impatiently, button to turn off the call. The girls who used to wait at his feet were now lying in a pool of blood and covered in wounds. The room around them became a mess with broken wine bottles and glass shards. Yan Jian Zheng slowly stood up, holding the phone tightly in his hand. His robe was stained with red wine stains and a few drops of blood of unknown origin. 
He gritted his teeth. Shi Luo Bing, I underestimated that golden master. You're too much. Dare to confront me Yan Jian Zheng. I will make his entire family regret ever being born into this world. Dubin review of the movie Seo Sin does not give up 8.3 stars. People also rate this movie very positively. No excessive advertising, no actors to attract views. Only sincerity. Real it's very good that the female lead's growth doesn't need the male lead's self-guidance. Shi Luobing's acting is very good. She should be the poster child and crush traffic stars. Seo Lin looked at the recent sales and couldn't stop laughing. Jumping up and down, laughter echoing so that people outside could hear. Miss Shi, the box office revenue in three days has already reached 100 million. Expected to reach 1.5 billion. After deducting expenses, from the foundation money, the distribution money and the money distributed to the actors, we made a profit of 300 million. Shi Luo Bing looked at the computer screen and smiled briefly. How about that? That's so good. Seo Lin walked over, puzzled. It seems that Miss Shi is not very happy. Shi Luo Bing looked down at the table. His ears turned red, a bit shy but still honestly shared. Like this I have a friend. She met a man. That man treats her very well. Good. Helped her a lot. She wanted to repay that man but didn't know how to repay. Every story she herself started with the sentence I have a friend. Seo Lin resisted he put his hand on the table and smiled as if he understood. Oh, what a big help he was. She shook her head. Money cannot be measured so the gift normally. Inviting her to eat cannot express one tenth of her gratitude. Seo Lin thought for a moment. If that's the case, then you have to see what the other person likes the most. And just follow that person's wishes and give them a gift. A thoughtfully prepared gift is definitely better than any expensive gift. Luo Bing was stunned. What did the other person like the most? She suddenly remembered that she was wearing a sexy outfit and wanted to dedicate herself to him. I shyly covered my face. I was too bold at that time. He probably wouldn't think I was that kind of woman. No, I had to change my impression. When I got back to the apartment, Shi Luo Bing sent Send Lin Sin a long message. Mr. Lin Sin, Seo Sin is very successful. We can make a big profit. Are you free? Conveniently choose the next script for me. Please also politely send a message sent a congratulatory message and said he would come right away. Lin Sin excitedly knocked on the door. Unexpectedly there was a big profit. This is the first time I spent money on so many playful goals. Earning money without having to rely on the system's refund. And there are also beautiful women having dinner together. Wonderful. Lin Sin smiled and thought in her mind Shi Luo Bing was wearing low-cut clothes the other day. She was holding a plate of food. What did she say? Hidden words. Mr. Lin Sin, do you want to eat first or eat me first? I'm really curious how Luo Bing will dress. Last time I didn't see clearly. The door opened. She smiled. He Lin Sin and Shi Luo Bing are still as radiantly beautiful as ever. But today she's wearing many different layers of clothing. And also wearing a warm skirt and long sunscreen. Actually, other than her face, every place was sealed. Lin Sin looked at him and turned into a statue on the spot. It seemed like his fantasy didn't come true. Luo Bing led him to a seat. Please sit down, the food is about to be cooked. There are also fruits here. What kind of fruit do you like to eat? You walked in and looked at the other person from above and felt a bit awkward. Ah, are you very cold? Why are you dressed like this? Shi Luo Bing nodded. That's right today it's a bit cold now. While he was panting, his forehead was sweating like rain. He touched her forehead. Did she have a cold? He pressed his face closer. Shi Luo Bing was so embarrassed that tongue tied. No way. It's too close. The temperature is rising. Then she falls to the floor and faints. Lin Sin panically checks her pulse. She has a heat stroke. Even if it's a fever and sweating. It's okay it's a bit too much. He unzipped his jacket, needing to reduce his body temperature immediately. The young woman's body was exposed. Inside she was wearing thin underwear. Her body curves were visible, rising and falling with her breath. Each the drops of sweat sliding down made her appearance even more of a reason to commit a crime. Lin Sin was stunned. So cute. He used a wet towel to wipe her body. Shi Luo Bing opened his eyes. Saw himself lying on the sofa, wearing another outfit. Lin Sin was standing kitchen, saw movement and immediately said, you're awake, just now you had a heat stroke. I turned down the temperature and changed your clothes. She was surprised, 
Ah, I changed your clothes for you. She face palmed down on the pillow. Oh God, so embarrassing. Lin Sin asked again, why are you so thick faced? Making yourself so hot that you get a heat stroke. The pillow covers your entire face. Only showing your eyes. The other person hesitates. Ah hesitated. Before you dressed like that. I must have felt that you were a careless person. That's why this time you wore so much. Unexpectedly. Finished speaking a bowl of porridge was still steaming brought to her side. He squatted. Still smiling. I understand. At that time she was attacked like that. No one would be able to withstand it. But I see that she is very resilient. Just listen to a few words this is yours. Shi Luo Bing seems to give you strength. Favorability plus 3%. Shi Luo Bing's favorability is 85%. Luo Bing hugs you, thinking, Mr. Lin Sin, it's lucky to meet you him. But Lin Sin also gently complied and caressed the other person's hair. The next day, Lin Sin was sitting in a taxi. The driver drove to the side of the road. You had arrived. He looked at the surrounding decoration. Couldn't help but admire it. It looked very grand. Lin Sin opened it. Moved. The screen showed Yan Bao's chat frame smiling. The general content of the conversation was that he wanted to thank her for her help in reversing Shi Luobing's situation. The other party agreed to meet. Then sent the address where he was buying things at the science museum. He followed it and came to this place. The museum is installed with modern advanced equipment. LED lighting system. There are also many visitors. Lin please step in. Was completely attracted to this place. Next to it there were several robots performing. Interested viewers gathered in a closed circle. He looked sideways. Has technology advanced to this level? He opened his phone. This area is too big. Let me see what the name of the product Yan Bao is looking for is. On the screen is a data table with detailed information. All in foreign languages with data. His head was spinning because of the unknown letters with this set of graphs. He was scratching his head. Wafer factory. Clean level 1. Unit filter. Suddenly there was a voice. My unit filter is clear clearly meets the standards. How could you? Lin Sin glanced over. Huh. The man with an angry face kicked the other person under his feet. The papers fell all over. Get out. The other girl quickly helped. Dad. The person who just got kicked and sat on the ground shouted. Why did you say something and not keep it? Now my product has been packaged for shipping. Now you are forcing the price by 50%. Mr. Are you still human? He laughed with a disdainful tone. But your product does not meet my requirements. Who can blame this? The other party is angry. He said, clearly obviously. Suddenly the other man held his chest tightly. Cried out several times. The girl was so worried that she cried to help him. Dad, your heart is not good. Don't be so angry. He's bored I hate looking at the father and son of that family. Pretending to be pitiful anymore is useless. I don't have time to mess with you. If I don't do business anymore then get out. That girl gets up. According to the contract, you're breaking the contract before. He laughed and waved his hand. Sister also knows the contract. Now it's not your place to be an adult talking. Get away. Get away. The father clutched his chest and panted. The daughter stood in front of her father. Firm tone. On the contract your requirements are 0 0.1. 0 0.12 micron particles. The filtration reaches 99.909%. My father's factory produces filters that reach 0.1 micrometers above 99.99%. You tell us where we did not meet your requirements. You must purchase these 2,000 filters at the contract price. He was startled but quickly regained his composure. You have the guts to admit what you did wrong. Your sister is also good. Even if you say it's not wrong. So what? Other companies don't need this unit filter. You can only sell it to me. Sell it half the price. You can still recover some of your losses. If you don't sell, your hundreds of millions will be in vain. The girl asked in surprise. You want to cancel the contract. Don't you America? Shouldn't he pay close attention to the spirit of the contract? He put his pants in his pocket and went to force the girl. You yellow skinned people are third class citizens. And have no right to discuss the spirit of the contract with us. The father recognized this guy's face and blamed himself a bit. He didn't expect that this grass that he always thought would save his life would turn into a grass to oppress our family. Chair, I'm sorry to both of you. The girl burst into tears. Her father did nothing wrong. In the past the economy was not good. He accepted this foreign business deal in order to survive. 
How could he know that they were so despicable? The one who is wrong is this Mexican. The other person shows a cunning face and laughs happily. Ridiculous. The whole world is wrong. Only us Americans are not wrong. Sister, remember this truth. So can we trade now? He suddenly trembled. His spine tingled. Why did he suddenly feel so cold? Lin Sin stood behind him with a cold smile. A few minutes after the loudspeaker reported, the latest OIC level clean room ensures a finished product rate of over 98% with a lower price than the previous generation. Him, Addison is satisfied. 300 million, technical support, leading the world world. Jiang Shi Yan walked closer and held out his business card. Smiling friendly, hello, I am Sin Yan Science and Technology Company of Perfume. Interested in buying your company's clean room? Addison looked at the business card. Perfume, Miss Jiang, after observing, immediately threw it back. Superficial, our clean room is at least 3 billion a thousand square meters. Then there are annual maintenance fees and materials. You're surprised. Wait, 3 billion, just now I heard you quote the price to the Japanese people of 300 million. He raised his chin, grinned, you said it too, he is a Japan, you are a perfume person, can you compare, Jiang Shi Yan is not willing, do you do business like that? Addison raised his hand to introduce, the smug look on his face was very suggestive, dealing with people with value are doing business, dealing with you is doing charity, another foreigner also agreed, Mr. Addison is right, that's it, perfume people still don't know their position clearly, after that, Everyone burst out laughing. Jiang Shi Yan suppressed her anger. She crossed her arms and said, TSK TSK, for a few times. It's a shame that he is also the person in charge of a famous American science and technology company. Using prejudice to do business. It's true that it makes others doubt his strength and upbringing. Addison's eyebrows furrowed to show his displeasure. He pointed his finger at the other person and said loudly, What is strength? We have the technique. You guys don't have it. This is your real strength. Others are following suit. People with low intelligence still want to gain rights with us. What kind of business is a woman learning from a man? Not doing it. Okay, then call your man to come here and talk to us. She clenched her fist. You guys doing business like that are no different from barbarians. Another person came to interrupt. Enough. Have you made enough trouble? I already feel embarrassed for your father. Jiang Shi Yan was surprised when he saw him. Uncle Fang. The awkward man, raised his voice to admonish. Please go home quickly. My father has said it many times before asking a woman like me to learn what business people do. But I just don't listen. She bit her lip and pointed at Addison. This American is targeting us perfume people intentionally raising prices. Mr. Fang was annoyed and openly criticized her. Isn't this your fault? You came here to discuss business with foreigners. This is something a woman like you can fight. How can I help it? I'm so embarrassed that even foreigners. These people are women in one sentence. Women in two. It's obvious that the distinction is too extreme. Those foreigners see the two of them arguing. Laughing loudly. This perfume person is finally a bit reasonable. Jiang Shi Yan inhaled heavily and growled at Mr. Fang. They are making fun of our perfume. He can't help but be angry. And even lecture him. Train you to help them. He put one hand behind his back and pointed outside. What else can you do besides cursing here? Our perfume is not comparable to America's. We don't have money either without technology. How much money has this science and technology company of yours invested in? 300 million, 500 million. What have you researched? By the time you go bankrupt, your whole family won't be involved. What's wrong? Jiang Shi Yan was so angry that he stamped his feet. You don't understand anything. We perfume people will not lose to them. Those Americans see you too as comedians. Perfume women don't know the sky is high and the earth is thick enough to dare to provoke Mr. Addison. Who is Mr. Addison? One of the largest scientific and technical goods companies in the United States. With countless products, just exclusive inventions alone have more than 2,000 categories already. What can you compare perfume with? What can they have? No money, no technology. Mr. Fang felt extremely embarrassed. He grabbed his nephew's arm and pulled him forcefully. Go. Suddenly a controlled plane flew right into him, causing him to fall face down on the floor. Jiang Shi Yan looked around, saw Lin Sin holding the controller. He was bored and threw the controller away go away. I kinda hate that toy just now. My god, this Japanese drone is really bad. It suddenly lost control. 
It's really dangerous. If it falls on someone, it will be what? It's almost like he bumped into trash. He leisurely went to face the group of people and wanted to confront them. Just now I heard someone say, we perfume people have no money and no technology. Addison crossed his arms and didn't deny. That's right. I said, do you have any ideas? You can take him out now. Lin Sin laughed. Today let me let you bunch of scum brain people befuddle enlightenment. Let you know, even if we perfumers spend very little money, even if it is a small factory, even if you are holding our necks, we can still research level one unit filters. Lin Sin snapped his fingers. Okay, in the air a data information board appeared. They were startled and quickly covered their faces. Oh no, Addison looked up. A little girl coming down the stairs is the daughter of the man from before. She stands in the middle holding a stack of papers. A guy next to her holding her stomach and laughing. A kid, a kid with a unit filter. Have you seen Mr. Addison? Mr. Addison, different from everyone's reaction, Addison was a bit nervous when he saw the other person. This is the data of the unit filter for our clean room design. The other people also cheered. That's right, it's exactly the same. Onlookers around also gathered. After checking they also agreed. Why is it like that? The few key figures are exactly the same. Moreover there are also data inside that can be calculated. Silicon Science and Technology Company has never published. Addison points the finger. Want to change white to black. Change truth to fake. You guys stole the research results of Silicon Science and Technology Company. I have to report it to Court International Trade Project. Suddenly a familiar voice rang out. Thief, what you America can't make. Where should I go to steal? The man who was kicked down just now ran over. Your Bob purchasing staff dare you stand here to verify. This is the result that several hundred employees of our factory worked hard for years to achieve. All of which we independently researched. The evidence is clear. If you have the courage, go and report it. We don't want to steal the spirit of perfumers. Mr. Addison stood on the stage arguing with the people below. This is ours. But as soon as he finished speaking, someone came up. Announcement. Mr. Addison. Sorry, I failed. His face was marked with a red hand. He pointed at Lin Sin. The man suddenly knocked me out from behind. Unit filter. The purchase has failed. Addison gritted his teeth. A waste. Thanks to his words, everyone implicitly understood that this unit filter was not invented by him. Everyone has one surprised. What? Lin Sin spoke up and recounted the story. The self-researched and invented product of this silicon science and technology company was actually a product purchased from our small perfume factory. They take advantage of the information distortion and take the opportunity to force small enterprises to sell all of this technology. Then apply for a patent. Then this technology will become theirs. This is a trick, commonly used by them. My plot was exposed in an instant in front of many people. Addison glared, his forehead sweating like a waterfall. Several viewers also raised their voices to boycott. Despicable, shameless, strong Dao. Addison walked up to the other man, his face calm. The contract is still valid. Right, the transaction can still continue. Based on the price on the contract, I bought it all. The other party raised his head, looking at him seriously. Through the glasses one could see a bit of resentment in his eyes. You buy, I don't sell. Addison shouted loudly, you're crazy. You don't sell to us. Do you think someone else will buy it? I tell you, with just one word from me, no one in any country dares to buy products from you. Lin Sin as if nothing happened to you too. People, oh, I will buy them all back. How will you respond? Addison stammered. You. Then he held out two fingers. Frantically, the price of the contract is one billion. Right, now I'll pay double. Two billion. Don't you even want to earn money? Lin Sin looked at him going crazy like a crazy person and slowly raised four fingers. Uncle Ma, I'll pay four billion, sell it to me. Addison held his head and collapsed. He looked at him, smiled defiantly. Why don't you raise the price again? Famous American science and technology company. Can't compare with our technology. Come even if money cannot be compared. What else do you have? Addison's eyes flashed with blood. His clothes were disheveled. He was almost unrecognizable until now. You, who are you? Major manufacturers in the world of science and technology. I know, I've never heard of you. Lin Sin held Jiang Si Yin's hand. Coldly, Sin Yan Science and Technology Company. In the future the whole world will remember this name. Everyone around shouted oh up. 
happy as if I had caught gold. Thank you everyone, today we have regained our perfumer's face. What a relief, the light of perfume, well said, no money, late start, being pinned by the neck, even if that's the case, we can still get back up, we thought it was the neck, but it turned out that the sweater was worn backwards, turning around, it turns out that America is the thief, robbing the city, someone else's result, registering it as your own patent, isn't it Mr. Addison's favorite trick? After the discussion, Lin Sin happily pulled out a yellow card and gave it to Uncle Ma. Uncle, take this card. Inside there is 5 billion. 4 billion is Sin Yan Science and Technology to buy 2,000 of my products. An additional 1 billion is to invest in your factory. We will cooperate in the future. For a long time, the other person accepts happiness with both hands. Thank you, Mr. Lin. Really thank you. We agree to sell all of this latest technology to you. Lin Sin mastered the division. 2,000 sets our filter units don't use that much. Let's sell the rest to domestic companies. After all, as a science and technology company, we don't represent anything. Thousands and thousands of workers. The new perfume science and technology company can make perfume hold the leading position in the world. Of course, not exporting is not very good. Doing business with foreign businesses still has to be done. And we also won't increase the price 10 times but the quantity is limited. Whoever sees it will sell. Your words are like a delicious piece of cake thrown out. Those people's eyes lit up and immediately rushed forward. Mr. Lin, I'm the one of Japan. Upon hearing this word, Lin Sin immediately bluntly said, Japan, get lost. The others were also jostling each other. Don't, please. Mr. Lin, look at me. I'm President Kim of Bangkok. We really need this newest clean room. Dad look at me. Lin Sin was startled. You even call me dad. Do you have a limit? They kept pushing back and forth, causing Addison to fall over. Lin Sin hugged Jiang Shi Yan. I thought they would crush me to death. Hey everyone don't jostle. You can't even call dad. The others explained. I have no choice but to flatter Addison. Please understand me. Me too. Lin Sin pulled her into his arms. Is it okay? The other person nodded shyly. Suddenly she hugged him. Favorability plus 5%. Jiang's favorability Shi Yan 92%. System notification. Completed the first stage of gameplay. Spent 6 billion game money on Jiang Shi Yan. 10% refund. 600 million yuan transferred to your personal account. All attribute bonus plus 1. Current all attribute level is level 9. Reward for choosing one of 3 skills. Choose within the specified time. A level skills are fine in Go. B level skills are fine learning parameters. C-level skills are crystal clear. Not brainwashed. Lin please come and rotate. I'm really happy. I wanted to learn Go but always didn't have time. Still the system understands me. Ding. Chose the skill of mastering Go. The big screen in the museum lit up. The silicon science and technology company stole the research results of others. The world science and technology exhibition will investigate clearly. Obviously, during that time, his eligibility to participate in the exhibition was revoked. Addison was dragged away by security guards. He didn't even have the heart to scold me. You perfumes have no right to detain me. I will be detained in the future. See you again. Lin Sin nodded. Of course. You have stolen a lot of things from us. We still need to make clear calculations with you. After everything was finished, Mr. Fang woke up. He rubbed his head, groaned. Why did his head hurt so much? He looked around the museum. There was no one familiar. Then looked up at the huge notice above. Big screen. Where is Jiang Shi Yan? Where have all the people surrounding him just now gone? Ah, silicon science and technology theft. What exactly happened just now? He looked out into the distance and saw his grandchild my daughter is cuddling with a man. Huh. Mr. Fang's eyes widened in disbelief. Jiang Shi Yan, who only thought about making a career as a chip maker all day yet hugged a man like that. He walked behind and followed the two people, even secretly capturing the moment they were laughing and talking. The photo was immediately sent. Lao Fang, this is what I took at the science and technology exhibition. This kid Jiang Shi Yan really can't put people at ease. Do I need to go over there and curse him? Or not? When Jiang Shi Yan's father saw it, he immediately gritted his teeth in anger. Who is this person? He looks like a poor college student. He called. Lao Chen, the other person quickly replied. Mr. Jiang has something to say. 
He lowered his voice and whispered in his ear, avoiding the other person to hear. This wretched daughter of mine is becoming more and more impertinent. Not only is she stubborn about wanting to do something, but the chip. Now she's also looking for something. Such a boyfriend. I see that he wants me to die. Investigate this man for me. Lao Chen looked at the photo on the phone and nodded. Yes, old man. But his appearance these whispers between the two were witnessed by Mr. Miao. He caressed the glass of wine in his hand. Said nothing. Just smiled. After a while, the two of them raised their glasses. Uncle Jiang, let's cooperate happily. Mr. Miao finished his glass. He sat comfortably with his back, one hand resting on the edge of the sofa, from the colorful way he dressed to the gold rings on his fingers. Everything showed this guy's immense power and power. Mr. Jiang, whom we worked with, also showed not once or twice. Your family is the one who knows best. I also know that your family members urge you to get married a lot. But your eyes are very high. Girls with low general qualities cannot get through. In my eyes. But I really like Jiang Shi Yan. Jiang Si Yin's father was silent. Although Mr. Miao is a wealthy man, who is not a young man, this girl Jiang Shi Yan is too rebellious. She really needs to get married to be at peace. The most important thing is that the financial resources of the two families are equivalent. In the future they will join forces. Thinking of that, he immediately stood up, put his hand out in front of the other person. He raised his head. Uncle Jiang, what you mean? He immediately understood. The two of them shook hands to propose cooperation when Lao Chen panicked. Rushed in. Old man. Mr. Jiang frowned slightly. What are you doing? You didn't see me and Mr. Miao there. Lao Chen brought the iPad in front of him. Quickly look at this. This is a personal document. His face immediately became unpredictable. Mr. Miao didn't understand anything so he asked. What's going on? The two were still shaking hands. Mr. Jiang still didn't let go. As he spoke and pulled. Mr. Miao on this side. He staggered backwards, still laughing. Fast so we discussed the good day. Of course I'm also very happy as soon as possible. But his attitude turned 360 degrees. He closed the door. Goodbye for next time cooperation. Leaving one side asked why. He knocking on the door repeatedly. Mr. Jiang. Mr. Jiang. Trying to find an explanation. Mr. Jiang picked up the phone to call Mr. Fang. Suppressing the excitement in his heart. Mr. Fang about Jiang Si Yin's love is his freedom. I am very donate. The person on the other end of the line was about to ask why. But he shouted. I advised him to stop worrying so much about money. Mr. Fang panicked and covered his ears. He almost lost the ability to hear. Dad Jiang Shi Yan recognized that strange man. This was even more fun than catching a gold mine. He touched his chin. It must be said that he was extremely proud of his daughter. It turned out that man was Mr. Kian in the legend. The good girl is really good. She seduced him. Mr. Kian also invested in that chip company. This is fine. This trip must be celebrated quickly. Mr. Quickly go get the Mao wine I have been storing for 30 years out here. I will treat Mr. Kian very kindly. Towards Jiang Shi Yan, she transformed into the role of a guide to welcome Lin Sin. Jiang Shi Yan pointed her finger towards the room in front of her. Arriving at the experience room, he looked around. There was only a very large machine in the middle of the room. That was all. She pressed a few switch buttons. The whole surrounding room changed scene, carrying blue light sparkling like the starry sky. Lin Sin held her hand. 3D projection. Jiang Shi Yan proudly showed off. Even more advanced than that. This is what the top science and technology companies are country researchers and develops. Combining artificial intelligence and virtual reality interactive 3D image projection technology. Creating a complete, intelligent virtual reality projection. The scene is transformed into an atmosphere. The outdoor air is fresh. There are a few people playing with their dogs. He wants to feel the sunlight and breeze. Normal 3D projection can only show what is presupposed. This smart virtual reality projection has can calculate and create a scene that is not preset immediately according to the user's request can even interact with the scene. The sunlight is so realistic that even people looking at it are dazzled. Not I don't know if he was mistaken or not, but he still felt the warm rays of sunlight warming his skin. It was wonderful. Jiang Shi Yan was happy to see his reaction. Right now its biggest problem is the chip's operating function is still quite weak. But as long as we develop the science and technology of making perfume, 
We can lead compared to other countries in this technique. I have great hope for it. It. He looked at her appearance when talking about this issue and was amazed. Yan Bao is so cool. She shyly turned away, playing with her hair. Lin Sin, try using this IVRP technology. He pressed pull the control button. Um, then create a romantic scene. Scene change. They stand in the middle of the stage. Below there are a few people watching. Next to is the priest. Lin Sin was startled to see the suit on his body and his clothes have also been transformed. Jiang Shi Yan is wearing a pure white wedding dress and a veil on her head. Looking extremely gorgeous, he burst out laughing, so shy I thought it would be cherry blossoms all over the sky. Or something else, I didn't expect this IVRP machine to be so direct, even leading them to the altar. The priest holding a prayer book in his arms. Bride, do you agree whether you are healthy or sick? Rich or wealthy, will the poor stay with the groom forever? Jiang Shi Yan blushed and suddenly didn't know what to do. The people below shouted, marry him, marry him. She was confused. This matter, Lin Sin never stopped compliment. Oh my god, who can be like this? So amazing. And she hugged her face, whispered, I, I agree. Her voice was as small as the sound of a mosquito. Lin Sin was startled. Huh, what did you say? What? The bell rang. The bride stood on tiptoe and gently placed a kiss on the groom's lips. This was the most romantic scene, more so than anywhere else. Lin Sin bowed her head to receive her lover's sudden kiss. Fung, the tip of his tongue entered, warm and slippery. Jiang Shi Yan gasped, blushing. Lin Sin, you, suddenly regained consciousness, turned away embarrassed. What are you doing? Sorry, he laughed. It's okay, it turns out Yan Bao also has a side like that. The wedding ended, the scene was moved again, brought into the wedding room. Everything in front of him was simply the large bed was fitted with a thin pink curtain, decorated with heart-shaped balloons. The outfit was also changed. Jiang Shi Yan wore a tight dress with her back exposed and long white stockings. Lin Sin was stunned. What? She looked at him embarrassedly. Ah, this. Then grabbed her clothes and ran away. Everything went back to the way it was. Sorry, I really don't know who would become like this. It's so embarrassing. Lin Sin reached out to hold her back but couldn't make it in time. She could only look at her back from afar. Yan Bao, running really fast, Lin Sin stretched her arms. Let out a long breath. Let's go. Go back to school first. At Jiang Si Yin's house, the two gatekeepers saw her and bowed solemnly, saying hello to the young lady. But what they received in return was just a hasty glance. It seemed like their lady thought she was encountering something. Miss jumped on the bed, covered her face and cried. Why am I like that? Why did I have the audacity to kiss him like that? She remembered the moment before. She was so embarrassed that she wanted to crawl to the ground. Trying to struggle, the machine that IVRP is also real. How can I look at him in the future? Jiang Shi Yan took out her phone, sighed. It's so annoying. Everything is out of track today. The screen shows a chat box. She took the initiative. Yu Xuan, since I like that person, it has become impossible also like me. What should I do? The other person quickly replied. What's wrong? Jiang Shi Yan honestly declared. I kissed him today. Yu Xuan immediately sent a congratulatory message. She continued texting, but something else happened. Now I'm very embarrassed. Yu Xuan comforted me. I completely understand because I also did many very bold things in front of people. I like it. Jiang Shi Yan laughed and told her to be careful, listening to you talk for so long. I'm curious what kind of person your other boyfriend will be. The other person also quickly replied. I also really want to know, who can make our female CEO go crazy? In the men's dormitory, on the plate are countless strings of sugar-coated fruits, eaten on a summer day, both sweet and refreshing. Joe Tong carried that pile of candy into the room. Brothers, the gourd candy is here. Wu Ji crossed his arms and frowned in disgust. After eating it for three days in a row, you're not bored, I'm bored, Lin Sin added. You eat it yourself. Zheng Hao is not that friendly. He was disturbed while playing the game so he directly shouted. Go away. Zhou Tong put the food on his head and knelt down to beg. Don't you guys. One I can't eat that much alone. Lin Sin oh, then why do you still buy it? Zheng Hao pointed his finger, honestly declaring. This is not something Zhou Tong would normally do. I already feel something is wrong. Usually, Wu Ji said. 
He scratched his head and smiled shyly. That's because. Of course it's because of the person he likes. Her name is Seo Hua. She is a first year student at Yan Jiang University. When he told her, his eyes lit up with interest. She studied while working. Recently, she took advantage of the time after school to set up shop and earn some money. Living expenses. Even though it was the first time I met her, her gentle smile immediately enlightened me. In that minute, I had already thought of the name of our two children. It would be best. Twins. A boy. A girl. He remembered Seo Hua when they first met. Her hair tied neatly behind her head. Smiling politely. Hello. Which flavor do you want? Zhou Tong looked the skewers of gourds were smiling stupidly as if they were sick. So every day I went to buy gourds candy to find a chance to talk to her. And even made her a WeChat friend. That's why I started. Found out about her home situation. It turns out her father recently had a broken bone. She wanted to reduce the financial burden on her family. Zheng Hao put on his headphones. It's been three days. Your grandchildren also gave birth. Right? Lin Sin looked at the computer screen. Casually complimenting a few words. That's not bad. What a resilient girl. Zhou Tong is happy. This touching reason. Now you will definitely eat the gourd candy for me. Right? Wu Ji was cold. Continue the unfinished work. Eat it yourself. Remember not to waste the food. Talking for an entire day will end up with no one. Wanting to help him. Zhou Tong grimaced and exclaimed. The changing seasons. The tree branches began to change leaves. Turning bright yellow, every passing wind would make an extremely pleasant rustling sound. But in contrast to the gentleness of today's weather, on the street appeared three thugs with bulging shoulders and scars all over their bodies. The leader also had a slash across his face from a knife. As soon as they arrived, the vendors on both sides of the street immediately trembled and did not dare to breathe. Seo Hua put the sugar-coated strawberry skewer into the paper box. His almond eyes curled up. This is my strawberry gourd candy. The other leader walked over and touched the shoulder of the customer who was shopping. The candy string fell out. Cold. Bared his teeth looking at the white Seo Hua in front of him. Business is not bad. Beautiful girl. Give me a skewer of first love. Seo Hua hesitated. In the end still gave him a skewer. Ah. Love first love. Here are hawthorn candied haws. Sour and sweet. Do you want to have it? The other person opened his mouth to show he wanted to be fed. Grabbed her wrist. Let's feed it to him. His face was already not good friendly. Now even sticking out his tongue and approaching other people's daughters. Even though black and white is impermanent. Sometimes he's afraid to run away and doesn't dare to appear again. He. Let go. Seo Hua struggled for a while and was able to pull his hand away. Dot. Her wrist was throbbing. A red mark appeared. She trembled as she looked at the guy eating the gourd string deliciously. You guys. What exactly do you want to do? He swallowed the candy. It didn't taste bad. No wonder business is so good. After finishing the string of candy, use a wooden stick to clean your teeth. You're pretty. You've been setting up your stall for three days. You should follow the religion. Pay 2,000 yuan for cleaning every month or else. The sentence was left unfinished but everyone understood. Suddenly appearing and disrupting her business like that. Seo Hua was dissatisfied. Why do you collect cleaning fees? He slowly walked to the side. You what is the basis for saying that? I'm here selling without even saying hello to brother I other juniors are also surrounding me. I really don't understand the situation. Seo Hua doesn't want to lose money unjustly with these thugs. The young woman's voice trembled. I don't know who this brother A is. Besides, it's legal to sell things here. What right do you have to charge cleaning fees? A follower laughed loudly. This street this is the territory of our Darjiang gang. You tell me if I have the right or not. The rest also followed suit. Yes, it's legal. The bustling onlookers gathered even more. The henchmen came and smashed the counter a certain man's goods. Hey, whatever you say is legal. That person also reluctantly bowed his head. Brother A is the law here. He was satisfied when he heard that. Have you heard? Anyway she's just a girl. She can't fight against three men twice her size. She can only go into the water. Me. I don't have that much money. I'm selling just because I want to make more money to live. You guys hey. You don't have any compassion to listen to what you have to say. That guy picked up a handful of sand. Then threw it at the other person. If you don't give money. I will come every day to add seasoning to your gourd candy. 
Seo Hua suffered forced to choke, burst into tears. My god Candy, why are you like this? The viewers next to me are also hot-eyed. Isn't this making things difficult for girls? This is really too much. But what can be done? These hoodlums have someone backing them. So no one is willing to come forward to help her. Suddenly a step ran from afar. Joe Tong used his body to block in front of her stall. Seo Hua, what are you guys doing? Bullying your daughter in broad daylight. And robbing her. What a bastard. She wiped her tears. Softly calling out Joe Tong's name. He walked over and pulled his collar. Child damn it. Who are you? The juniors laughed scornfully. Joe Tong was quite small. Compared to these thugs. He was just like an egg against a rock. He cracked his wrist and made a cracking noise. Preparing to act. It seemed like you're very brave. Aren't you? Learning how to be a hero to save a beauty. Don't consider yourself a hero or a sun bear. He grabbed the other person's hand and wanted to break free. Let me go. Seo Hua pulled out the power call. Threaten. Let him go. I have to report to the police. The leader is not afraid at all. Considering them to be a group of kids who are still at the age of playing with toys. Their words have no weight. Oh warning hey. Do you want to accuse me? Fighting. No. I just saw his clothes were wrinkled so I helped him brush it off. Is he hurt? Are you hurt? Them boldly denying his harassment. That's right. Have we done anything illegal? Do you still want to go to the hospital to get checked? Cheetahs of money. This is the quality of students. University student. Joe Tong was let go and collapsed. He urged. Let's go to the police station to make a confession together. We will go with you. After all, we have a lot of time. How about going back? You guys still have to go to school. Sell things. You're really busy. Seo Hua was as motionless as a statue. The words she wanted to say were stuck in her throat. If you really report to the police today, these guys will accompany you to the end. Seo Hua held the phone tightly in her hand, helplessly shedding tears, honestly not knowing what to do. Joe Tong's trembling legs still tried to stand up to shield his girl. A bystander wanted to rush in. Damn that's disgusting. You'll be stopped. Don't be rash. If you poke those scoundrels you might get bitten back. He turned to look at them, pointed at himself. They were all surrounding what are you doing? Are you angry and want to hit me? Come on, hit me. He stood in the middle of his two juniors and turned around to look at Joe Tong and Seo Hua behind him. Considering himself a big man who could cover the sky with one hand. High authority, university students, a group of kids who have never been beaten by society before. Money, connections, backing, what do you have? You are all useless. 2,000 yuan a month is still enough. I don't have enough for you to eat two meals and collect so little toilet money that I have already shown great compassion. Furthermore, I have to thank you for teaching you a lesson that school did not teach you. Don't you understand? A bunch of poor cowards. Finished speaking and immediately went to push and shove them away, behaving like uneducated people. A bunch of cowards get out. The people on the street ran away. He raised his eyes, seeing Lin Sin standing there eating stinky tofu. The stinky tofu was really delicious. The leader shouted angrily, where did the deaf boy come from? Get out quickly. He pushed Lin Sin's shoulder but it didn't seem to move at all. Lin Sin put down the bowl of tofu. Frowned. What are you doing? Can't you see I'm eating? Can't your head grow? Dogs also know how to take detours. You don't know. He felt a tingle down his spine. His brain seemed to send out an emergency signal. But he ignored it and cursed back. I advise you to quickly get the hell out of here. Otherwise, before, could finish speaking. The person in front of him opened his mouth and let out a long belch. Smelling of scent. The magical smell of stinky tofu rushed straight into his nose. He quickly covered it, reacting as if he had just inhaled toxic gas. It was so stinky. The leader rushed forward and wanted to throw a punch. Damn it. Lin Sin glared. As soon as the two collided, a scream rang out. He held his red swollen hand and rolled on the ground a few times. This person was so stiff. A few of his accomplices immediately ran over. Boss, it's okay. Lin Sin on the other side screamed even more miserable than him. He rolled his whole body covered in sand, held his head and cried pitifully. It really didn't look fake at all. It hurt so much. He hit someone, grabbed him. This punch as big as a punching bag hit me in the face. Everyone saw it right. My head was concussed. Which car should I take next time? Where did Zheng Hao come from? 
still carrying it in his hand. With the camera, you run around in a circle to make sure you can capture all the most beautiful, most honest angles. Rest assured, I have recorded the process of you being beaten by the thugs. Lin Sin, guaranteed to be sharp. Dot. The bully was the one who got hurt. The whole group of them were stunned. They couldn't have done anything to that kid just now. The people around heard the loud screams and also came to see. When they saw him they recognized him. Is the student council president Zheng Hao, and the person lying there is the student leader Lin Sin. Lin Sin suddenly stopped hurting. He stood up, pulled out a half full bottle of wine from his pocket, shook it in his hand and smiled. Distorted, I'm not afraid to tell you that when I came here just now, I brought a bottle of white wine worth 2,000 Vietnamese dongs. I still have the receipt here. You suddenly attacked me. The white wine was all spilled. Hey, look, so this could put you in jail for several years. He became cowardly. He turned his head and cursed back. Damn it, don't mess with this idiot. Then took his juniors and left. Go, get out out. What are you looking at? The people who are often bullied by them nodded and looked at each other. I understand then blocked the road in different directions. Simultaneously pulled out their phones to record. It turned out they were playing like is that so? We also came to try. He was nervous. What to do? What do you want to do? Wu Ji suddenly appeared and sat down on the ground. Tears streaming down. Why did you push me? The leader doesn't understand what's going on. When did I push you? He pointed at him, staring at the camera, look quickly, students of Yan Jiang University were beaten by hoodlums at the school gate. Is there still a king's law? His fist as big as a sandbag directly hit someone. Even we gathered around to watch but did not forgive. The guy holding the phone also followed suit. Quickly look into the camera. Cry even more miserably. Everyone look quickly. This is the scoundrel who beat someone. He knocked the other person's phone away. He was so angry that he was angry. Damn it, he even got to put his foot on top of his head. It's your turn the guy filming earlier sat down. My arm was broken. Another friend immediately shouted pointing at the broken phone. Oh my god, isn't this the new phone you just bought yesterday? It's worth 20,000 yuan. It's definitely ruined. There's medical money. Compensation for injury. Compensation for mental damage. Brother, I'm so miserable. I'm so jealous. You tell me can he hit me? The leader gritted his teeth. He was so angry that he was talking wildly. I, he continued to swing his fists trying to hit people. The scene became chaotic. People were lying on the ground crying. Even though there was not a scratch on their body, a female streamer also turned on her computer to prepare for a new clip. If everyone started acting, I would too, just to try it out. The noise in the cell phone rang out, used to seeing the light of the blade shining brightly in the dark night. How can one distinguish between the core or the demon heart? The live room was opened. She danced a leaf village dance. Smiling brightly like Hoa, it's really bustling here, although I don't know what happened. I just jumped to the leaf village first. But it seems like everyone is only concerned about why there are three men surrounded by people over there. Someone replied to the comment. I was at the scene. These three people are hooligans. Robbing money and even beating people. In broad daylight, I didn't expect there to be such a bold person. There was also a philanthropist tag the Yan Jiang police station directly. Conveniently report it to the police. Passing students hate these hooligans who bully others. Donate 50 yuan of traffic to support the room owner. The video of the Kanoa dance with dad the thugs who blocked and beat people went viral on social networks. Attracting many people to boycott. Those three guys were surrounded and had no way to retreat. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Do you understand? Ro, hundreds of thousands of lenses pointed straight at him. Teasing anyone who wouldn't poke fun at us university students. If it was during the Republic of Korea era, our president's office would have been shocked. I don't know if university students would have you can retreat and kill the enemy. Go forward and make things right. Fix the workplace. Correct the social atmosphere. It's okay. If you provoke us, you're considered to have kicked iron. Zheng Hao said loudly, you guys don't make us angry. If we're satisfied then don't leave. Those guys pulled out the knife hidden on their body. Damn it, don't think we're really afraid of you. Guys, come on. Suddenly school principal Yan Jiang came. Behind was a team of police. Who dares to bully my students? All three said in unison. He is the principal of Yan Jiang school. 
His eyebrows wrinkled, looking at the knife in their hands. I don't know who you are, whose subordinates you are. Yanjiang University is a place to teach and nurture talents. We are a formal school built by the state, not a place for you to earn money, called illegal cleaning fees. From today onwards all areas around Yanjiang University, other than the stalls licensed by the school, are not allowed to sell goods to anyone. As for violating the law, if you do it, go to the police station to explain. Police Department Captain Yan Jiang gave the order to take these three people involved away. They were mute and couldn't do anything. Were finally led away. Everyone around shouted, Get away, don't come again. Yan Jiang University's area, open your eyes and look. Turn to comfort Seo Hua again. The incident just now must have scared her into fainting. Sister Hua, rest assured, all of us students will protect you. As long as those hoodlums still dare to come, we will continue to fight with them. Seo Hua sobbed, swallowing her tears, thanking everyone. Zhou Tong quickly ran to the principal. Principal, how to apply for a booth permit? Seo Hua, he looked at the little girl standing with Zheng Hao and Lin Xin in the distance. Coughed a few times, the matter had been resolved. His facial muscles relaxed a bit and looked much more gentle. His tone was gentle as he looked students. As long as you follow the correct procedures, you can just apply for a booth license. The school will also have startup instructors to help everyone, especially for active students. Starting a business, families in difficulty can also apply for startup support and subsidies. Everyone shouted excitedly, that's great, the principal is so cool. The principal turned away and secretly chuckled. With such a treatment, Lin Sin must be satisfied. Right? Seo Hua stirs the sugar in the pan. The sweet scent spreads in the air. Thank you everyone for your help. Thank you very much. Without your help I definitely won't be able to display my goods anymore. My mouth is so clumsy that I can't fully express my gratitude. Today I invite everyone to eat gourd candy. It's completely free. Everyone is fresh. Smiled and nodded. Thank you. The girl is really beautiful. That guy even liked Seo Hua. Your business will get better and better. Joe Tong raised his glasses. Shy, let me cook sugar syrup for you. Seo Hua looked at each other gently. Her cheeks blushed. Thank you Joe Tong. I'm lucky to have you today. You coughed. It's nothing. Lin Sin ran over with two branches of cassia flowers and wanted to join. Jia, I'll help too. I also understand a bit about cooking techniques. Seo Hua was surprised. This is cassia flour. He nodded, skillfully separated the flowers, washed them with water. On the way were all plants. Cinnamon flowers are in the blooming season. Put the washed cinnamon flowers on kitchen paper to dry the surface of the water. Then put them in a pot of sugar syrup to cook together. You turn on the heat and toss the pan like a chef. Career, while cooking the sugar syrup, stir fry another portion of cinnamon flowers with a little cooking oil. Seo Hua and Joe Tong admired. The smell of cinnamon flowers is so fragrant. Even the people around me inhaled it. It was so fragrant. He took a dried candy cane and spread a thin layer of cinnamon flower syrup on the outside. Then sprinkled in fried dried cinnamon flowers. After a few minutes of hard work, a table of cinnamon flower syrup candies has been made. One person can only get one for free. If you think it's delicious, you can reward with some money. The color of the golden syrup layer with the addition of cinnamon flowers is even more brilliant. The cinnamon flower smells so good when it's being stir-fried. When it's finished eating it with sweet and sour gourd candy. How amazing is it? Everyone rushed forward. I took one. I also want it. It's so fragrant. Fragrant wow. I've never eaten cassia flower candy before. Seo Hua took a candy and gently took a bite. The syrup layer on the outside was crispy and melted when it touched the tip of the tongue. It was sweet and sour. Add the flavor of cinnamon flowers makes this candy even more special. Seo Hua felt her tongue tingle. How could it be so delicious? It was so delicious that it made my whole body weak. Let's begin. Everyone, jostle. Give me one more skewer. I'll pay. Give me three more skewers. I'll pay six yuan each. I'll pay 30 yuan to buy two strawberry skewers. Don't jostle. I haven't eaten yet. Let me try with. Suddenly a pair of red high heels appeared. A woman's voice rang out. I paid 100 yuan give me a skewer. Yu Yan showed the paid picture. I have already transferred the money. Seo Hu a hard treat. The first skewer is free. I'll refund you. Yu Yan pushed her glasses. There's no need. 
She took the candy, took a bite. Her sweet mouth had a slight sour taste on her tongue numb. Her whole body felt like it was melting. What is this? She has never eaten such delicious gourd candy before. She looked at the layer of sugar wrapped on the outside, licked her lips. This layer of cinnamon sugar was thin but even. Crispy but it doesn't stick to your teeth. This requires the fire to be extremely precise to be able to do it. Dried cinnamon flowers sprinkled on it give the strawberries an extra layer of rich flavor. Yu Yan held out the string of candy towards her. Co Hua, her voice was a bit nervous. This gourd candy was made by you. You are still young and have mastered such advanced techniques. Co Hua pointed towards the stall. Ah, oh, it's not me, it's someone else. Teach me, he was there just now. Where has he gone now? The guy opposite pointed in another direction. It seems like he went to the other side. Yu Yan left a little disappointed. Gave the other person a business card. Thank you, that's right, in case I don't find it. If you still see that person next time, tell him to contact him. I, Co Hua squinted at the words on the card. Blinked a few times to be sure I wasn't mistaken. Michelin, that internationally famous food review facility. Yu Yan ran in the direction indicated. If it's this person, maybe there might be some chance. Because the lady must find him. That night in a warehouse far from the city center. Several people around were working. Mr. Ren and a few of his juniors looked at the group of three thugs. Wanting to kill these bad guys in front of them in one blow. It was useless. They couldn't collect the cleaning fee and even went to the bureau. Causing such a big problem. Above. I've also paid attention to this side. From now on we'll all work carefully. Do you know how much money it will cost me to bail you guys out? He knelt down and explained the situation in a low voice. Normal kids. When Thung and that university student saw me, they were all scared. I don't know why today it's like I'm crazy. I'm sorry Mr. Ren. I'll definitely pay attention next time. Mr. Ren snorted coldly. This time you take all the responsibility on yourself and don't reveal it to me. And it's handled quickly. There won't be a next time. He bowed his head. Thank you Mr. Ren. Mr. Ren don't be angry. In fact we are I've already thought of a way. A little later I'll bring 10 more brothers to wait for that girl to collect the goods and go home. Find an opportunity to tie her up here and slowly talk. At that time no matter what request she I will also agree. He opened his mouth. His lips curled up to his ears. It also had the effect of a warning. The cleaning fee of that street will still be charged the same. As for those students, they are a bunch of people. Oh hey, we also learn that people protect girls. Very soon they will know the consequences of fighting with us. Mr. Ren nodded. Not bad. Suddenly there was a strange voice above the warehouse. Not bad right? You guys as villains really didn't disappoint me. There weren't many lights in the warehouse. The other side was standing against the moonlight so we couldn't see who it was. The whole group was in a commotion. Who? Lin Sin sneered. I came to eliminate society's trash. The thug quickly announced, it was you, Mr. Ren, it was he who intentionally provoked us to beat him that made the students' students gathered together. Mr. Ren crossed his arms and did not move, not knowing how to control himself. There are twenty of us here. Once you arrive, don't leave. Lin Sin cracked his knuckles. There are so many people just let me. They all pulled hidden knives from everywhere, quickly climbed up the boxes to the high window where Lin Sin was standing, but still managed to laugh grabbed him, regardless of life or death. Dot. Lin Sin, but with just his bare hands he could knock down a group of muscular young men several meters tall. Knives and corpses fell all over the sky, making Mr. Ren tremble and lean close to a corner to hide. Lin Sin looked at the opponent a bit disappointed. There was no one he could fight. He walked slowly. The sound of footsteps was like a drug that stimulated his heart. Mr. Ren took the initiative to go into the water first. Hero, no, good guy, I don't know when he was a great minister. We offended you, what happened before we willing to compensate and apologize? Lin Sin's whole body was filled with murderous aura, making him so scared that he peed his pants. 500.000, no 100.000, from now on we will disappear. Okay, he was sweating like rain, clasped his hands and begged. He did not hide anything from you. I and I are small business people but there are no great people behind us. How good it would be for everyone to cooperate in harmony and make money. Are you right? Lin Sin's face darkened. His voice was deep. Today I beat you just to tell you a truth. If you have money you can earn it. 
You have earned it but you don't have a life to spend. If like this is a world where if you have money you can do whatever you want. Then you are definitely the enemy who will kill you beasts. Seddon then used all his strength to punch Mr. Wren in the face. He spat out a mouthful of blood. Fainted on the spot. The moon was high. The police sirens echoed. When the police arrived they saw this group of criminals lying dead like straw. Captain Shen. The person reporting the crime could not be found. The scene only had unconscious suspects and evidence. Including a person named In Hat Tai. Who was the captain of the market management department. He considered this warehouse as a lair. The confiscated goods he hid here. Now he has been caught red-handed. Shen Adong looked around the scene. Reported to the police. Is it recorded? Let me listen. Put your ear to my ear. Hello. I wanted to report a case at the warehouse on the riverbank. Her eyes widened. It was Lin Sin's voice. She sighed and looked up at the small window high up. He had come to be an urban knight again. After he escaped from Myanmar safely. I always wanted to find him to thank him. Favorability plus 10%. Shen Adung's favorability was 37%. A few days later at the entrance of Disneyland's. Loudspeakers notice. Tourists buying tickets please go to the left of the ticket counter. Tourists with free tickets please go to the right of the ticket check gate. The ticket checker spread out five entrance tickets. Friendly. Greeting the five guests. Hoping that Disneyland's will bring you joy. Zheng Hao crossed his arms and looked at everyone. After all, it was the first day of opening. There was a lot of advertising and there was also a lucky draw to give away free coupons. Wu Ji happily put his hands behind his head. It was so exciting, and he also got five free tickets. He really used up all his luck for ten years. Zheng Hao looked at Zhou Tong and Xiao Hua who were lovingly holding hands and was a little jealous. Maybe pursue a good girl like Xiao Hua I'm afraid I've used up all my luck in life. Five people walked to the ferris wheel. He looked up. It was so big. It could reach the sky. Suddenly a bear walked up to Lin Sin. Welcome to Disneyland's. All three people behind suddenly looked at their phones in surprise. Only Xiao Hua was bewildered and didn't understand what was going on. Wu Ji pointed to the ice cream shop near there. The queue is crowded. The ice cream stall over there is so crowded. It must be delicious. Lin Sin, please go in line to buy some for us. Let's go buy other snacks. Zheng Hao and Zhou Tong also said in unison. That's right. That's right, thanks to you Lin Sin. I also agree. Oh okay. While queuing, Lin Sin saw a girl. She was holding a balloon and giving it to a child. Holding make sure you don't let the balloons fly away. Baby, take it with both hands. Thank you. Lin Sin looked closely. Luo Yaxi ran her hand through her hair. Accidentally saw him also looking at her. Lin Sin, what a coincidence too. Behind him there was also a girl. This person was wearing a black dress. A big black hat with a tight brim. She held up her phone. The weather was beautiful. I was at Disneyland. When backing up I accidentally bumped that's right. Lu Cheng grabbed his hat. Lin Sin. What a coincidence. Walked a few more steps and was bumped by someone else. Su Ruo Ruo stuck her tongue out. Her mouth was full of strawberry ice cream. She almost missed it. Biting my tongue. Lin Sin. Are you coming to play too? Lin Sin looked around. It seemed like he was surrounded. He bowed his head. Was it you guys? Luo Yaxi shyly poked two fingers in each other. I sent Zhou Tong 100 yuan in lucky money. Asked him to help me. It felt very romantic by chance. Lu Cheng pressed his hand to his cheek. His cheeks turned red. I gave Wu Ji 200 yuan to know okay where are you today? Lin Sin. Am I beautiful today? Su Ruo Ruo smiled happily. I didn't spend money, I went directly Zheng Hao forced him to reveal your schedule today. His three brothers from afar must be waving and smiling. Lin Sin, thank you brothers for giving me this blessing. We are so thoughtful. Lin Sin gritted his teeth. Damn it. Luo Yaxi spoke up to mark sovereignty first. Sister Ruo Ruo, even though you are two years older than me, love affairs still have to follow the rules. As for Lu Cheng, while Lin Sin is not angry yet, go away. Su Ruo Ruo raised her middle finger. What kind of person are you? I heard my mother say that you are not even Lin Sin's girlfriend. While the other two were arguing over who would go with Lin Sin. Lu Cheng quickly more legs. Hug his arm. Hitting is love. Scolding is love. Lin Sin hits me scolds me. Do you have this deep-seated feeling? He is upset. 
Talking about Luo Yaxi, gentle and thoughtful men will get bored quickly. Men need stimulation and newness. Can you provide that? Su Ruo Ruo is no different. As for racing girls like you, don't come here to cause trouble. Most men will also just playing with her a little. Su Ruo Ruo pushed Lu Cheng's shoulder away, growled, then pressed her chest against his body. Bitch, get out. You and Luo Yaxi are the same type of person. See whoever has money sticks to that guy. Unlike me, I've determined a person and won't change. Lin Sin, let's go ride the roller coaster. Your other arm was also taken by Luo Yaxi, hold on. Lu Cheng, you really need to wear glasses. I can't believe you didn't see Lin Sin's disdain. Lin Sin, let's go on the merry-go-round. The boys nearby saw three girls close to a man. Their eyes wide open, their mouths open. What's going on? Three beauties fighting over one man. Each of them is the best. Damn, so admirable. Lin Sin don't enjoy it like that. I'm so pressed that I'm suffocated to death. Stop it ladies. It's too annoying. Let me go. He rolled his eyes. Accidentally saw a billboard. That is, the flow of excitement take your life. The most exciting and dangerous flow project. Note that this project has some dangers. Tourists who are not physically strong should not try it. Need to sign a life and death commitment form before participating. No there is no doubt that this is a good thing. Lin Sin bent his legs and ran towards the stimulating flow. Conveniently throwing the life and death commitment paper to the inspector. Her father stuck to it to the end. The inspector, seeing the beauty, he was stunned, then quickly stopped. Apologizing that if you want to play the game, you have to sign the life and death certificate. The three people said in unison, if you sign then sign. Isn't it just a life and death certificate? For Lin Sin, mountain of swords and sea of fire. I also went. They ran quickly into the flow area, crushing the controller who was still in a high at that time. Is this the feeling of being trampled by a beauty? Lin Sin sat leisurely dong on the floating boat, laughing silently, seeing how the girls were still following me. It was considered quiet for a moment. Suddenly they jumped off the boat. The boat lost its balance and wobbled. Lin Sin was also startled. Me, you guys. In the end it turned out to be four people at the four corners of the boat. He leaned against the wall. Aren't you guys afraid? It's about to start. There's still time to get off. Luo Yaxi grabbed the railing tightly, trembling as he did so. Said, no, no, not afraid. Lu Cheng is no better. Absolutely can't let this racing girl be proud. Su Ruo Ruo leaned on his arm. Triumphant. Afraid. How could it be? Mr. Lin Sin, you know I like to play stimulating games. You deliberately chose this game to play. Right. Favorability increased by 3%. Su Ruo Ruo's favorability increased by 73%. Lin Sin come bear it. Forget that Su Ruo Ruo is not like normal girls. The liver is especially loud. Chance rang out. 3, 2, 1, let's go. The boat went down. Lu Cheng's wide-brimmed hat was blown away by the wind accompanied by Su Ruo's excited laughter Ruo. The boat hit the rock hard. Lu Cheng and Luo Yaxi elegantly rushed out. Her short skirt accidentally moved up with the movement, revealing her white thighs. I don't want to die. They cried. It was too scary. Su Ruo Ruo it was like watching comedy. Belly patting and laughing. Lu Cheng hugged Lin Sin's leg. Lin Sin save me. I'm so scared. Su Ruo Ruo got itchy so he took off his seatbelt. Clicked his tongue. You fake green tea. Just showing off acting weak to gain the sympathy of men. The water splashed loudly into the air. She sat in the middle of the boat without any protective gear. With her spirit, when pursuing a man, she would only use the most direct method. Lin Sin grabbed the railing and cried out in worry. Hey, you're going to be very dangerous like this. The boat plunged to the bottom of the waterfall. Su Ruo Ruo fell out of the boat. Before the words could be said, I wasn't afraid. There. Her body was floating in the sky. Falling into the water would only result in broken flesh and broken bones. Lin Sin pulled out the protective rope. Took a stance to catch Su Ruo Ruo. She sank into the water. So scared that she screamed Harrow up. I don't know how to swim. I'm sure I'll die. Then saw himself holding Lin Sin tightly in his arms. And the water under the waterfall was only waist high. Huh. His face was buried in her chest. It was difficult just spoke up. The water is not deep. Can't drown her, but I'm afraid it will be very troublesome if she falls into the water and faints. 
Su Ruo Ruo happily smiled brightly. You, you saved me. Current favorability 2%. Then directly pulled the guy in expressing her passionate feelings that she had never hidden. This scene made Luo Yaxi and Lu Cheng's eyes extremely teary. They quickly got out of the boat to separate them. Hey, hey. Three strange men accidentally passed by at the foot of the waterfall. Seeing this rare scene gave rise to admiration. That man really made others admire. Three extremely beautiful people. Too exaggerated. Lin Sin felt excluded and had no privacy. So I was very unhappy and used every means to cut off these three huge tails. Don't make trouble anymore. Don't follow me anymore. But the other party listens. Still calling your name like a chorus. The whole group goes to the haunted house. The scene outside is scary to say the least. Hard to hear it's like hell in the preview version. Dark clouds cover the sky. There's also the sad cry of crows. Looking at the bloody poster outside. The soul book. Brings you Lin Sin's satisfaction. Where this is okay. Let's see if they still dare to pass here. Year the next minute. The hallway was dark. There was no darkness. The damp space had only the girl's moans and weak voices. Lin Sin was held by both hands. Helpless. Weren't you afraid? Luo Yaxi hugged him. I'm scared. But you're here. Su Ruo Ruo opened and closed her eyes. Stammering. Ah, I'm most afraid of ghosts. Don't let go. It's true that you were careless. A haunted house is truly a suitable place for mistress play. Lu Cheng suddenly trembled. She took small steps behind and looked at Lin Sin who was being dragged by two love rivals. She was a minute late when signing the contract. So now her position was taken by the other two. She was angry to death. Dot. Suddenly a ghost jumped out. Scared her to the ground. But after looking closely at the sneakers on the other person's feet she was relieved. It turned out to be a human. Lu Cheng pulled out a wad of red money. Want to exchange. This friend pretending to be a ghost. I will use 500 yuan to borrow this outfit from you so I can ask you a little. Three people walked across the wooden bridge. Luo Yaxi was grabbed by someone's leg. That person forcefully pulled her down into the black hole below. A ghost pulled her leg. The second after passing through that room. Su Ruo Ruo was also taken away by a stranger. Lin Sin did not understand anything but saw completely relieved. He went to a room according to the script. The TV sound was distorted. Ha, huh, this scene. Could it be that Sadako was about to appear? Sure enough there was immediately a figure of a young woman appeared behind the screen. She crawled out of the TV. He marveled. She really crawled out. The other person crawled to the floor. Her long hair falling down to cover her face. Her white outfit hugging her body tightly vaguely exposed curves. Lin Sin was interested. This figure. He waved. Hello. Suddenly Sadako reached around her waist to grope Lin Sin's butt. He was startled. Hey, hey, you touch it somewhere. He was pushed down on the chair. The other person lifted up her dress close to a sensitive area. Right in the eye like that. Lin Sin was confused and a little shy. Ah, oh, is Sadako like that? Isn't it? Maybe what I saw was the cut version. But before I could do anything, two female zombies appeared from behind. The two of them pressed Sadako. Girl, it's time for the injection. Sadako the ghost girl was so scared that she burst into tears and quickly hugged her. Take Lin Sin. The horror nurse battle with Sadako. Great visual effects. Lin Sin pushed her away. Only saw Lu Cheng's tear-drenched face. It was her. Luo Yaxi and Su Ruo Ruo don't act like a zombie nurse anymore. Just point the finger and say it straight. She bribed a ghost impersonator to pretend to be Sadako. Used a trap to chase us away. Just to create a chance to be alone with you. To take your comfort. We were taken out of the trap by other employees. Only then did we know the cause of the incident. So we used her own methods to punish her. Lu Cheng was pressed down. Not wanting him to misunderstand her so she tried her best to explain. Lin Sin. Just because I love you so much. I don't have any other thoughts. I just want to hug you. Smell your scent. Already satisfied. Lu Cheng's favorability plus 0.1%. Lin Sin was not scared by this haunted house. The ones who were scared were definitely these people. This woman is truly poisonous. The door the room suddenly opened wide. There was a girl in a white dress. Probably a haunted house employee. Running in. Behind there was a big man. Ghost sister don't run. I'm too scared let me catch one walking. Running while looking after her with lewd eyes. She shouted. Sir, this is harassment. Please stop. 
he raised his hand, his cheeks were red, and his mouth was drooling. What? I was just scared by your haunted house so I ran around to defend myself. Do you want to be prosecuted? Be careful I will make this business of yours no longer open. Let me what if you just touch it? You women who work in the service industry aren't meant to be touched by others. I even criticize your normal figure. You close your eyes and nose. Don't come over here. When he saw Lin Sin and the others in the room, it was as if he had found another gold mine, but it was a creepy nurse. And there was Sadako who loved this person. This haunted house really knows how to play. I'll play with you guys for a while. Is it okay? Su Ruo Ruo's face is covered with bandages. It's a mysterious and horrifying beauty. You're slow. I'm afraid you won't be able to enjoy yourself. Ladies and gentlemen. He laughed, wanting to go over and hug marry a beauty. It's so scary. So horrible. It scares me to death. I will enjoy it very much. Su Ruo Ruo picked up the iron rod. The man was stunned. Ah. The other person glared. His head tilted to the side one side is full of strangeness. This way of her scared that fat guy into running away. Save his life. There is a ghost that wants to kill me. The sound of high heels chasing behind me. I'm just playing tag with him. It's just you, sir. Please stop. He held his swollen head as he ran and cried. Was cornered and started to fight. Don't come over here. You intentionally hit someone else injured. I have to report you. I have to report to the police. Su Ruo Ruo tapped his cane on his shoulder. Smiling. Oh is that so? Do you have evidence? He pointed at the camera on the wall with a challenging voice. In this haunted house there are cameras everywhere. The evidence of you beating me and injuring me has been recorded. Not only did you lose your job but I also denounced you to the court so you have to pay until you have no money left. What bag? She stuck out her tongue. Her eyes were bright like a wildcat. Is that so? Scare him a little. Su Ruo Ruo immediately smiled with satisfaction. Don't forget the camera has also filmed his face. The boastful article disappeared you posted this on the haunted hammock. Right, the process is very clear. It has caused chaos in quite a few haunted houses. You scrolled through the post on your mobile phone. Let me see. You live in the West. Right. Oh. And you're a small leader of a company. Are you married? I wonder what it would be like if you sent the video from earlier to the company and your wife. Do you want me to post a big advertisement in your house? He's creepy. What? What? How do you know? Su Ruo Ruo used a stick to point at the opponent's face. This lady has been struggling for so many years. I'm very familiar with catching a trash guy like you. Later on, you fucking retracted your hand and gave it to me. When I saw a woman, I got excited. This woman cut off your hand and fed it to the rats. She kicked him fiercely, but he didn't go away. That guy also obediently ran away. Sorry, I was wrong. I'll go away now. As soon as he finished speaking, he pulled out a knife that he already had in his possession. Grimacing. Dot. By the way, then you go die. The knife blade collided with the metal bar with a shrill sound. Lin Sin used an iron rod to block Su Ruo Ruo's body. He was startled. She exhaled one breath, happily looked at him, Lin Sin. Later then he used her hand to swing the stick and hit him on the head. This fat pervert fainted to the ground, even losing several teeth. Su Ruo Ruo looked at him with worshipful eyes. Lin Sin then jumped on him and wanted to smell good. My god. He's so handsome. He's so strong. I love him so much. His favorability increased by 5%. Lin Sin used all his strength to avoid her kiss. Hey. She came out. The haunted house staff also rushed in. Quickly control that man. Dare to use a knife to harm someone. Take him to the police station. He screamed. Let me go. His mouth was full of blood. Su Ruo Ruo clicked his tongue. What a chaos. Later when they were done. The three of them looked around and didn't see Lin Sin here. It seemed like he had escaped in the chaos. Lin Sin. We. Where is Lin Sin? Still here just now. Su Ruo Ruo laughed stupidly. No matter what. Just now Lin Sin has already had intimate contact with me. He must have touched me. These words make Lu Cheng's ears tingle. Wanting to pull down the ends of your hair. You slut. Just like you and yet dare to seduce Lin Sin in front of me again and again. Su Ruo Ruo is not suitable. Your dog glue sticks to Lin Sin every day, and doesn't look to see what virtue she has. That's it then they started fighting again. The girl from the haunted house staff was not there yet just in time to remind. 
To be careful there is a secret agency room over there. Then a hidden door appeared. Pulling both people inside. The big door slammed shut. Luo Yaxi slowly pushed it open. Hesitant. This. Lu Cheng and Su Ruo Ruo pressed against each other. How did they end up kissing? I didn't expect to be able to see this scene. Without waiting any longer, Luo Yaxi quickly took out his cell phone and took some photos with very beautiful angles. Two people rushed at you. Luo Yaxi, don't take pictures. Don't move. You're on top of me. Where did Lin Sin go? After struggling for a while, it was late afternoon. Lin Sin sat on the big Ferris wheel in the middle of the amusement park. And it seemed to be quiet. Suddenly a message from Cha Cha was sent. Mr. Lin Sin can you help me with this? Over the next day at the Go competition hall, Cha Cha put his arm around Lin Sin's shoulder. Happily, finally meeting Kim Ju Hyun in real life. He used to do public service and agreed to fulfill the fan's wish of getting the autograph of the chess genius girl Kim Ju Hyun. He was wearing a dark shirt. Smiling. No, I didn't expect you to still do public service activities. Cha Cha's cheeks turned pink. Since I met you, Mr. Lin Sin, I also wanted to become better. So now my live stream has also begun to change its type. Doing public service, going to the countryside, helping helping more people is my goal. Do you like this change of mine? Lin please give me a like. Very good. If you have any difficulties, just let me know. She laughed. I heard that this Go competition is sponsored by you. So aren't I looking for your help? Lin Sin thought back. Thinking back, it seemed like someone in the group shouted a Go competition. I needed sponsorship, so I conveniently transferred a few tens of millions. But I've always liked Go, so I came to see the Masters play in person. The host called out my name. Please come next. The players of the Korean team came to the stage. The captain led, followed by two rows of more than a dozen people. They smiled and waved to the audience below. There was a girl who looked extremely outstanding. Her face was delicate and lovely. She wore a sweet yellow dress. Her arm and eyes were curved. Really beautiful. Cha Cha introduced. That was the Korean girl Go Genius. 13 years old was chosen. Selected to join the Korean national Go team. And at the same time beat the consecutive winning record many times. Loved by many fans. Some loved it. Some hated it. His peers who were not as strong as each other were extremely jealous. Racing with her, when going down the stairs he even intentionally bumped her down. She lost her balance, suddenly had a pair of handrails. Lin Sin asked, are you okay? The other person was a bit sad. Towards a stranger like you are very polite. I'm fine, thank you. The system beeped, detecting a beautiful female student. Starting the upstream mission. Full name Kim Ju Hyun, age 24, height 168, weight weighs 46 kilograms. When the favorability with the host exceeds 90%, refund 10% of the upstream cost spent. Deposit it as the host's personal wealth. When the favorability with the host surpasses 100% will change the identity. And at the same time change the dependence relationship of the host and the target. The immediate sympathy will be 0%. Lin Sin thought, oh, starting the mission again, but this girl is a Korean professional player. I'm afraid it's not easy to hack. Cha Cha peeked his head out from behind Lin Sin. Greeted friendly. Hello Ms. Kim Ju Hyun. Can you sign my autograph? There is a Korean Go fan who likes you very much. Her dream is to get your autograph. Their coach stood in front of her. Interrupting the conversation. It's so embarrassing. Our players need to rest. Why don't Kim Ju Hyun immediately follow? Kim Ju Hyun hesitates. That. Training. If it's just signing. He pressed the other person's shoulder and whispered. Don't you understand what I said? Kim Ju Hyun immediately bowed his head and said yes. Sorry. Lin Sin awkwardly scratched his head and watched their backs leave. Just like that. Go. This coach is really strict. The person following the coach noticed the badge on his chest and immediately reported to the coach. Coach Kui. That guy is wearing a VIP guest card. He must be big person. Maybe he knows the person we want to meet. He shouted. You said he knew Mr. Kian. Of course big people can't offend. He immediately pulled Kim Ju Hyun back on the contrary. With Lin Sin, my friend, it's not that I'm being strict. It's just that I just arrived in Korea. The players need time to adapt to be in playing shape. But if this girl really wants an autograph then we of course I want to help. He roughly pushed Ju Hyun's shoulder forward, raising his voice as if to command. 
Ju Hyun didn't even hurry to help sign. She was confused. Oh yes. Then smiled and looked at Lim please. I don't know if you know Mr. Kian. He raised his eyebrows. Oh, it seems like we know each other. He immediately took out his business card from his pocket, respectfully handed it with both hands. He was in Korea before. He heard my friend say a few things. Story about him. I am the head coach of the Korean team. Kui Yong Hyuk. If there is a chance, I hope you can help introduce me to Mr. Kian. I will take the business card. No problem. Look at the information above. I thought again. Has Korean heard of me? Somehow, I feel like it's not a good thing. Kim Ju Hyun gently gave the autograph to Char Char. It's signed. Thank you for loving me. This time I will do my best. Char Char nodded. Also thank you on behalf of the fans. Keep it up. Kui Yong Hyuk used force to push Kim Ju Hyun away and gently said goodbye. So we'll go first. Let's go Kim Ju Hyun. Watched the two of them leave. Lin Sin was silent, feeling like something wasn't quite right. Korean's restroom. Kui Yong Hyuk was at the top, speaking loudly. This time we must win the championship in Korean. Two exams we have all won the championship before. If we win this time, it will be an unprecedented three consecutive championships. The success or failure of Korean Go's World Heritage application depends on this. Do you have faith? Everyone shouted. Yes. Kui Yong Hyuk put his hand on Kim Ju Hyun's shoulder. Her face darkened. She shrank in fear. Ju Hyun, you are the player I have the most hope for this time. You won't have any problems. Right? She quickly turned away, avoiding his hand. No problem. Nervous. I will definitely practice hard. Absolutely will not betray the coach's training. He placed his hands on her shoulders again, with a serious face. If you have such determination, then half an hour later you will come to the private chess room in the hall. I will guide you one on one. Several boys in the team immediately grinned happily. When Kui Yong Hyuk left and said loudly, Coach Kui, you must teach well. After all, Ju Hyun is our champion seed. He scolded. The brats quickly disperse. Ju Hyun, don't be late. You sit in the room, with the hidden gazes of the girls around you staring straight at you. Ju Hyun, you're lucky to be able to make the coach teach you alone. Your words are full of hidden meaning. That's right. The coach has never had such high expectations for us. Nor has he ever given us personal instructions. How can we compare to Ju Hyun? She is a genius girl. We what is it? She burst into tears. Her eyes were red. No, it's not like that. She waved her hand. I still have many points that are not as good as my seniors. The other person grabbed Kim Ju Hyun's collar. Being spiteful, stop trying to show off. Your senior taught you a lesson. It's your blessing that the coach can teach you privately. Remember, you're weak. Yes. Then all of them looked at Kim Ju Hyun burst into tears and ran away. Saw this scene and was extremely happy. She asked if she knew what would happen next. The person next to her looked disdainful. Normally, she would bury her head and hit her. Chess. How can you know? But you don't know if she is pretending. What if the other person answers? What if you know? What if you don't know? We've been through it before. How did she escape? The stage of the world go playing competition. Lin Sin and Cha Cha took an extremely fun tour. You have to observe go closely to feel the fierce fighting atmosphere under the calmness. As expected of a competition between gentlemen. Fighting with cunning. Wonderful. Wonderful. Suddenly there was a loud conversation behind him. People said. Can Coach Kui be successful this time? He turned his head. A group of young people in the Go team were gathering to smoke. That guy shouted, laughing a bit. Isn't this certain? Every time he fights against a female player, he doesn't use this trick. Keep his voice low. The other guy nudges his shoulder. What are you afraid of? There's no one around here. Silence. At this distance. If it weren't for the system's physical optimization, I really wouldn't have heard clearly. The other three continued to whisper. But the coach had never fought Kim Ju Hyun before. Right now, tomorrow is the competition. Isn't he afraid that that woman's spirit will collapse? The other person clicked his tongue. Because of the competition, she didn't dare to resist at this time. Let's learn a little. And if we only use that, the champion this time will definitely still be us. Persuaded by the other side, he nodded, saying it was right. And Kim Ju Hyun's body shape was right. It's really good. Wait until the coach gets bored. Then we all burst out laughing. Lin Sin surprised. The person they said was Kim Ju Hyun. 
At this moment Kim Ju Hyun is playing chess one on one with Kui Yong Hyuk. He held her hand and put the chess pants on the table, constantly looking for excuses to touch her body. Lately, her chess playing has gotten a lot worse. Tomorrow's match is very important. Don't be nervous. Like that. Relax. Then pat her shoulder. Kim Ju Hyun is extremely negative towards him. Thank the coach for taking care of me. I will adjust. Kui Yong Hyuk held her waist. Slowly slowly stroking. She's still too young. Doesn't have much experience in competition. I don't feel secure about letting her adjust herself. This is it. I'll massage her acupuncture points to help her relax. She shivered quickly threw his hand away, shouted loudly, no need to train, I will definitely adjust the situation well. He lost patience and slapped Kim Ju Hyun hard. Her cheeks were secretly painful, hot, he said in a low voice. Ju Hyun, is it normal that I've been too gentle with you? Made you feel self-righteous? You stepped back. What? He brought his face closer. You thought it was I didn't know that before going to war. You secretly reported my matter to the Go Association to tell you the truth. In the morning you denounced me, and in the afternoon the president called to inform me. Kim Ju Hyun covered his face, extremely frightened. He told me to take good care of you, so that you don't go around talking nonsense. Kui Yong Hyuk grabbed the other person's hair and pulled it up. The entire Go world of Koreans are all related to me. Why are you fighting with me? Besides, everyone else is volunteering. Do you understand? Now all of Korea is expecting you to win the champion including your family members. Miss, if you fail, do you think they can still hold their heads up as people in Korea? He reached out his hand to touch the other person. You also don't want your family members to be humiliated because of you. Right, think about her dream. Think about why she learned go. Be obedient. It will be very comfortable in a little while. She was pinned down by him right on the chessboard. Kim Ju Hyun begged in vain. Don't, please, someone save me. He lifted her outer shirt, revealing her thin bra. Things have come to this. I advise you to still listen. No one can save you where. The room door was kicked open by someone. Lin Sin put the phone in front of Kui Yong Hyuk. Look what I took a picture of. He quickly pulled up his pants. Confused. This is not a guest. Just now. I think there must be a misunderstanding here. I was teaching the players how to play chess. He looked at Kim Ju Hyun who was hugging himself and crying but was surprised by his appearance. For laughter. Teaching. Teaching players but need to drag the female players' clothes. Korean teaching tradition is truly eye-opening. Ju Hyun sobbed, trembling and not daring to open his mouth. Kui Yong Hyuk patted his shoulder. Laughed it off. Just a small punishment. This distinguished guest. Stop turning around. Let's go somewhere else to talk. Lin Sin kneeled him in the stomach. I there's your head somewhere else. You pervert. The evidence is so clear. Even hitting someone's daughter. It's really disgusting. He used all his strength to kick that sick guy. Suddenly got hit someone held her hand. She sobbed. Her voice choked up. Stop fighting. Go away quickly. Several guys from the Korean Go team also rushed over. Still holding a camera. Planning to fight. Something happened what? A perfume guy beat our coach. Damn. The perfume guy is infamous because he really won't stop at nothing to win. The reporter didn't call the reporter here. He recorded it all and posted it online. Kui Yong Hyuk screamed, called the security guard and called the police. I am the general coach of Korean team leading the team to participate in this competition. I did not expect to have to endure such humiliation in perfume. I am teaching the team. My players in the room. Who knows this guy kicked in the door and said I was showering bad things on the players. The other guys followed suit. Loudly cursing. Are you guys afraid that tomorrow's competition will be lost? Shouldn't they intentionally send people to sabotage our training session? Not only that, but also destroy the reputation of our Korean team. You perfumes are really shameless. The girls when just now also laughed evilly. Ju Hyun, normally the coach cares about you like that. You can't eat porridge. That's right Ju Hyun, you have to prove your innocence to the coach. Ju Hyun, coach trainer placed such high hopes on her. She couldn't disappoint him in Korea. Kim Ju Hyun didn't know what to do. Me, me, Lin Sin watched them create their own performance. Couldn't help but laugh. It was truly an eye-opener. I've long heard that Koreans are good at brainwashing others and themselves. Changing black or white is very suitable for this type of shameless person. Truly no one in the world can compare.
not only bullying others, turning around but also wanting her to prove the pervert's innocence. It's truly amazing, the other guy screamed, less bleeding spit it out. The coach is not that kind of person. Ju Hyun, you should talk quickly, you were forced to the end by them. You could only helplessly cover your face and cry. Me, Kui Yong Hyuk spoke up. Kim Ju Hyun, think about what I said earlier. She suddenly remembered when she herself excitedly showed off to her mother. Mom, I really like playing chess. Her grandfather even sent his wishes. Ju Hyun, don't be too pressured to compete. All friends, Kim Ju Hyun must win. But when did your dream become like this? Kim Ju Hyun, you are truly a genius. We all look forward to her winning the championship. Kui Yong Hyuk's harsh, loud voice rang out again, like a nightmare she never wanted to face. She wanted to destroy her dream. Me, Kim Ju Hyun. Kim Ju Hyun burst into tears. Me, Lin Sin speak up. I can take you away. You raise your head. What? He looked at her firmly. I can make you leave the Korean team and start from the beginning. If playing chess is your dream, then where can it not be realized? The most important thing is your first heart. When you like go, don't be polluted by these disgusting people. Otherwise then she was killing herself. His words were like a ray of light that lifted her spirit and pulled her out of the storm. Kim Ju Hyun was stunned. The bottom of her sparkling eyes looked at him as if hoping for a path. New, a road strewn with roses just for her. Kim Ju Hyun's favorability increased by 30%. She clung to him. Can you take me away? Lin Sin nodded. Okay. Kui Yong Hyuk showed the contract in front of him. He smiled provocatively, thinking this kid was just a braggart young master. Why would he act like a hero to save a beauty in front of me? What a pity he pretended to be him. You also need bravery. Do you think you are Mr. Keon? This is Kim Ju Hyun's contract. If you have bravery then swipe your card now. I will tear up the contract immediately. Kim Ju Hyun holds on took the hem of his shirt. The guys around kept saying bad things. Just like you, they also want to take Ju Hyun away. Her contract violation fee is 2 billion. Can you pay it back? Even the financier, it's not yet possible for his tycoons to take out that much money. Let alone a poor perfume kid like you. Lin Sin calmly pulled out a black card with a gold border. His throat moving up and down. Forgot to tell you, Mr. Keon that you asked me to nominate. It seems it is indeed me. Said and swiped the card through the machine. The payment machine rang. Successfully swiped 2 billion. Then one surprised. What? There's no way he really has that much money. Isn't it said that the perfume is poor and torn? How could a passerby swipe 2 billion? Kui Yong Hyuk took it the copper in his hand trembled. You. You are Mr. Keon. Lin Sin said nothing. Directly snatched Kim Ju Hyun's contract. Tearing it apart before his eyes until everything was just pieces of debris. He threw it into the sky. It was over. Ju Hyun nervously watched his movements. Tearing up the contract was equivalent to tearing her chains for a long time. Starting today she was free. Kim Ju Hyun's vision blurred. She was truly free. Kim Ju Hyun's favorability also immediately skyrocketed. Plus 20%. She placed her hand on the other person's back. Bowed her head and leaned in. Thank you, older brother. Lin Sin held the phone in her hand, smiled the smile of a winner. If there's nothing else, we're leaving. That's right. Coach, I advise you to be honest. I filmed quite a few things just now. If I see any unfavorable words about Kim Ju Hyun on the internet, you know the consequences, right? She timidly followed his footsteps in the disdainful eyes of everyone on the team. Before at the door, Lin Sin turned his head. His words seemed normal but they made people tremble. Most importantly, I am the person you cannot provoke. Understand, this sentence seems to clearly state about his sky-high position and power. Something like him will never be able to touch. Kui Yong Hyuk hugged his stomach. The knee from earlier still hurts. He is Mr. Keon. How is it possible? That guy opened his mouth. Coached. Do we need to contact the reporter? He angrily slapped the other person's face. Why contact the reporter? That's Mr. Keon. You know him how much money do you have? He alone in Japan caused Kamida Group to go bankrupt. Why should I fight with him? That guy hugged his face. So, so we just have to endure it. Kui Yong Hyuk how can I swallow this anger? He curled his hands into fists. How can this be? Don't forget that we also have tycoons behind us. The president of Four Star Group wants to get to know Mr. Keon. So I took advantage of this. 
when he came to China and introduced him. Now he dares to take Kim Joo Hyun along, which is also a sin against Four Star Group. A sin against Korea. Wait for the competition to end. Four Star Group will let him know what is called true strength. He can't help but worry about tomorrow's competition. But training, that kid Kim Joo Hyun is gone. Tomorrow's match, he is calm and assured. I have my own way. This time the champion is definitely our Korean. Taxi on the big intersection. Lin Sin sat back in the chair and smiled. You just stay in the hotel I arranged in advance. Get some rest the other day. Kim Joo Hyun is still not used to it. A bit reserved. Thank you Lin. Why did you help me? I have nothing to repay. He looked out the window. As if demanding justice for himself. He was indifferent. I just don't like to see those people doing this kind of dirty things in the fair competition of gentlemen that's all. In competition he may not be as talented as other people but his dignity is the most important thing. That coach on the outside seems polite but his nature is so disgusting. Kim Joo Hyun can't see what he's thinking inside. Head. The girl's voice is clear and small. You must be thinking why I didn't report him. Right. Actually, I have tried. But training in Korea has a very high reputation. Several champions were trained by him. In the eyes of Koreans. He is an existence like the father of Go. Everyone protects him. What a small person like me can have. What kind of power is there to tear away the loincloths of all Koreans? Lin Sin rested his chin on his hand. His face unchanged. If you need help, you can call me at any time. Having said this many times, he felt that he was I'm about to hang this sentence on my lips. Kim Joo Hyun doesn't want to receive too much favors. I can only be polite. You've helped me too much. Tomorrow I plan to return to Korea. What about the money? Violating the contract you paid me. I will definitely think of a way to repay you. Kim Joo Hyun rarely meets a good guy willing to stand up to protect and help her. Her heart fluttered slightly. Thank you, Lin Sin. Kim Joo Hyun's favorability plus 8%. The final match arena. The host announced. This time the international Go competition has entered the final match in the end. The strong Korean player Woo Ji Chang won consecutively. Like a tiger coming down the mountain. The atmosphere was fiery. The people below held their breath waiting for the result. Wu Ji Chang saw the situation very quickly. Everyone every move is very precise. The genius representing perfume in battle this time is Chi Jia Wen. His superior skills have always been considered a hope in the Go world of perfume. But this time the match for her. It seems a bit difficult. Some guys in Korea cheered enthusiastically. Korean Go. Ranked first in the world. Worthy of our Korean Go team. Although I don't know why Kim Joo Hyun didn't appear but other people of our country are also very strong. Our Korean Go is an intangible cultural heritage of the world. You all are trash. I don't know if it's promoting or insulting people other than that. None of their words were meaningful. The perfume students were all secretly holding grudges. Lin Sin looked at the two people on stage. Thinking. It's strange. It's normal for the Korean team to practice practicing is very normal. But every time I come to an official match, it's like changing to a different team. The go skills are impeccable. Attacking like no one else. Like opening the sky. That's the label. Very unusual. Chi Jia Wen after a stressful time also bowed his head and admitted defeat. Wu Ji Chang was satisfied. That's so good. The Korean team spirit seemed to be more heated. And the flower team had nothing left. What? Trash. Trash. Talent is not equal to other people. Don't go out and embarrass yourself. Go home and sell sweet potatoes. The host shouted his name in congratulations. So let's congratulate player Wu Ji Chang. Using amazing strength and overwhelming superiority to win this competition. Chi Jia Wen stood up and wanted to shake hands with him. You are very strong. I lost. But in the future I will continue to try. After the other guy won. He became arrogant and threw away his opponent's hand. He was defeated and did not deserve to shake hands with me. Wu Ji Chang left the mark unlike and laughed scornfully. You guys think wearing perfume isn't a very good skill. Wouldn't you still be trampled under my feet? The first time Chi Jia Wen met a strange guy like him. She looked at her hand. Shocked speechless. Being humiliated like that in front of everyone. Chi Jia Wen was embarrassed and cried and ran away. While running down the stage. She bumped into Kim Joo Hyun who was dragging her luggage. She covered her mask tightly and quickly apologized. Just in time to see the strange girl burst into tears. 
the perfume team members did not feel embarrassed. On the contrary, they comforted and cheered Chi Jia Wen. C.O. Chi, there is no need to put too much pressure on yourself. You have already exceeded your training level. Whether you win or lose, you have already defeated yourself. C.O. Chi, try your best. Don't fall because of one failure. We will always support you. Chi Jia Wen wiped her tears. Her voice still had a nasal tone. Thank you everyone, I will definitely try harder. But that scene was witnessed by Kim Joo Hyun. Lin Sin was surprised. Kim Joo Hyun, haven't you returned to Korea? She panicked and quickly pulled down her hat. He recognized her, it was obvious that I had hidden it very carefully. So why did she come here? Kim Joo Hyun was silent for a while then said, I still couldn't sleep well last night. I wanted to tell you something. So I came here. I was originally very worried. But seeing them, the people on the perfume team, even though they lost, they were all happy and full of laughter. I decided to tell you this. Lin Sin asked, what is it? Kim Joo Hyun was honest. The reason Wu Ji Chang was able to win was because he used a granular electronic device inserted into his anus to participating in the competition. This is an important secret of the Korean team. Only a few people know. She came closer and covered it with her hand, whispering, who is behind that bead? It is because of this cheating that the Korean Go team is in a fog. Because it only needs to flatter the coach. That she could have a chance to compete. That way she could stand out. Lin Sin's face fell. She felt that inserting that seed into her anus was extremely scary. Everything she said was true. Inserting a seed into her anus in the anus. Do they keep competing like that? Doesn't the anus hurt? Her eyes became blank. What about the truth? If the team wins consecutively, Korean will always protect the Go team. Protecting this arrogance, the host's voice rang out, followed by the award ceremony, inviting General Coach Kui Yong Hyuk of the Korean team to represent Korea on the podium to receive the award. He stepped up, smiling slightly. Isn't this Mr. Keon? Thank you for sponsoring this competition. I'll take the prize. Seeing him Kim Joo Hyun immediately looked away. He waved his hand, arrogant. Pity too bad, even though you have money, you can't make the perfume team win. After all, your strength is limited. After all, Go has always been a traditional Korean culture. I, your perfume is just a bunch of clowns jumping out to imitate us. His laughter echoed far away, as if he was very happy. Lin Sin smiled. Wait. He bumped into his shoulder, put his hands in his pockets and walked straight up to the stage. Without any hesitation took the host's microphone. If the Korean team is that good, then I also want to take the teacher and watch Kui's training. Yong Hyuk how good are you? Korean team member shouted, mostly negative words, objections, who are you to dare to fight with us? Get down, you are not an opponent officially, there is no qualification to fight against the world champion team, and this match has already ended a long time ago. Doesn't the organizer care, do perfume people still have rules? Lin Sin did not show anger but deliberately encouraged her, oh, no, no, even the world's top trainer is afraid of me, this competition is over, now I will open it directly, one more match, a cry rang out, it was the sound of money, you spent one billion, he pulled out the card, this is the world chess competition I organized for Kim Joo Hyun, called Cup Joo Hyun, the champion can receive a bonus of one billion, how about, Coach Kui, we only have one member on our side, which is me, don't you have the guts to lead your champion team to participate? Reporter the member below was shocked by him. Oh my god, they turned close to the stage. The hero suddenly appeared at the Go competition, personally challenging the world champion. Hot search topic, if the Korean team that just won the championship doesn't dare to participate. Wouldn't it be scary, this billion will go to perfume. Right, the turbulence of the Go competition. A reporter who loves his job ran to give the mic to Lin Sin. Sir, did you ever think that all this money would be taken away by the Korean team? May I ask what is the purpose of organizing this contest? Lin Sin pointed at the tube, respectfully, and told a shocking truth. My purpose is very simple, which is to expose the truth that the Korean team cheated by using electronic granular devices inserted into the anus. They just despise others like that. It's cheating that's why I can win the world. Today I'll let all of Korea know. Even if you guys use something as low as this particle device. I want to win easily. The audience and reporters had another hot news. Everyone was excited. Particle device. 
Did Korean cheat using a particle device? This matter, if Korean did not dare to accept the challenge, wouldn't it be tacitly admitting to cheating? Kim Joo Hyun quickly ran up to the stage. Mr. Lin, don't act so rashly. Wu Ji Chang has someone to back him up. You. Coach Choi stared at Kim Joo Hyun. His face darkening. It must have been this bitch Kim Joo Hyun who revealed. Thinking that if you climb a high branch, you can defeat me. Kim Joo Hyun, the Korean team is undefeated. After returning to Korea I will make you live it's better than death. Choi Yong Hyuk accepts the challenge. Sir, I agree that you have money. But Go is not something you can play if you have money. I can originally refuse to encourage the general this nonsense of yours. But it has something to do with Korean's reputation. If you want to be humiliated, I can only pay for you. He has conditions. But, if you lose, you have to bow your head and apologize. We blame our Korean team in front of the whole world. You have to admit that Korean chess is the best in the world. How? Lin Sin never thought he would lose. His lips pursed into a line, unable to see his emotions. Excuse me, if you can beat me then I can completely follow suit. If you lose then you have to do the same. The host's voice rang out again. Then okay. The competition begins match. Wu Ji Chang sat opposite Lin Sin. This match was probably even more tense than the previous ones. Kim Ju Hyun was so worried that he couldn't sit still. Lin Sin. He nodded, reassured, remembering that at that time, his Go skills had been acquired a long time ago. There was still no place to use them. This time he had to give them to the others. This Korean opened my eyes. MC signaled. The Juvion Cup competition officially started. Wu Ji Chang put down the chess piece. Even if he took the corner, he didn't know if he still wanted to defeat me. Now please forgive me. It's not too difficult to let him die look. Lin Sin don't look at the chessboard. Go directly to the next move. No matter how shameless you Koreans are, stealing the culture of my perfume is just like painting a tiger into a cat in the end. Not able to comprehend any of the essence. Competing in Go is pretending to surround and destroy every square inch. The comparison is not only the skill but also the mentality. If not in the end, you will never know who is who. Is the winner. The other side laughed coldly, pretending to be a god and pretending to be a ghost. Lin Sin don't care much. Being arrogant so early will only make you lose even more miserably and unsightly. Wu Ji Chang placed the chess piece firmly on the table. Wait until you kneel down and beg for mercy then let's see your mouth can he still be that tough. But look at how Lin Sin's army still has the upper hand. Wu Ji Chang gulped, thinking, he can actually see through my intentions. Blocking my position, I have to divide how else to cut his territory. Lin Sin stood up, placed the last pawn, one in the middle lane, took the hit and received no return. He rested his chin, his deep eyes shining again, as if waiting for your prey. Can you accept the death situation that I set for you? Wu Ji Chang panicked and thought to himself. He was actually able to take advantage of the corner under the siege of I'm inside. I can still fix the hole. If I want defeat me in one move. The people monitoring them through the surveillance machine shouted in surprise. His thinking speed was able to surpass our AI. What kind of monster is this? Every move is very accurate. What kind of monster is he? Wu Ji Chang's trainer worriedly thought. It's over. Ji Chang is completely at a disadvantage. This man can actually fight against I. What kind of god is that? Wu Ji Chang trembling. He was breathing heavily. He had difficulty moving, thinking to himself, I can't lose. I must win. At this moment, the eye system suddenly warns. 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 The data is overloaded. It can't be resisted. Stop the game immediately. On this side, Wu Ji Chang also suddenly convulsed. The device in his body seemed to have electricity. His face darkened in pain. His whole body trembled and thought. It hurts. I can't stand it. Lin Sin moved the last pawn and said proudly. He proudly told Wu Ji Chang. He lost. Wu Ji Chang also suddenly jumped up. He screamed. From behind his back hole. Through his pants. A round lump flew out that was constantly surrounded by electric rays. He lay down on the ground his whole body convulsing in pain, his eyes wide open, swearing, coach, save me, the crew and the audience were horrified, their eyes of disgust and contempt pointed at him, said, I didn't expect the Korean team to really cheat, it's so rotten, oh my god, I'm about to vomit all the rice I ate yesterday, someone covered their nose and said, 
This ugly appearance is really great. There are many more. Unknown fluid. Wu Ji Chang's coach shouted at the group of people over here. No, we did not cheat. It was all the perfumer's plot. We were wronged. The crew members of course did not believe his words. I said, a person holding a camera said to him, Coach, that electronic particle device was shot from inside the body of your team member. Do you still want to make excuses? Look at the audience above. Is the whole world stupid? When the coach heard that, he was immediately angry. He pointed at Lin Sin and shouted loudly, That device is not ours. You perfume people deliberately forced that particulate electronic device into it. The Wu player arranged this situation to harm the Korean team, wanting the whole world to think that the perfumer had great skills. This was arranged. Kim Ju Hyun was their accomplice. Last night, she even wanted to harm a member of the team. I found out and kicked her out of the Korean team. The journalists at the scene were able to do it for us. Unexpectedly, today she colluded with a foreigner. In addition to doing this kind of thing, you guys, the Korean team is really being wronged. Kim Ju Hyun had been bowing her head silently without speaking, suddenly raised her face, her eyes widened, she shouted, extremely shameless. After saying that, she threw away her baseball cap and mask. She took a step forward. Her face firmly patted her chest and said, I'm Kim Ju Hyun. I used to be a member of the Korean team. I've had enough. I want to tell the truth. I was harassed by the coach. For many years. Yesterday he tried to brutalize me but failed. And kicked me out of the Korean team. And it's normal for the Korean team to cheat. The last two times. It was also the Korean team that cheated by stuffing new particle electronic devices. If I can win the championship. I want to fight cleanly. Not the kind of transaction full of dirty and deceitful things. Our Korean team should be a united and fair team. Not be defeated like that. Choi Yong Hyuk pollutes. I want to regain more benefits and respect for female players who are treated unfairly. At the same time, I also hope that the Go competition can return to its true nature. A, a comparison of technology and intelligence. Her eloquent words could not help but make the onlookers outside stand still. Gasping in surprise. At this time, Kim Ju Hyun also braced himself and shouted to the surrounding people. Coach Choi's evil behavior cannot be hidden anymore. Everyone does not need to be afraid of him anymore. On the contrary, now everyone still if you cover up for him. The only outcome is that your future will be ruined. Mourn with him, stand up, tell everyone the truth, so that the coach can receive the punishment he should receive. At this moment, suddenly a female voice rang out. She said, I testify, followed by other female contestants who also received strength. They all said, I testify, some even shouted angrily up. I was also threatened and harassed by the football coach for a long time. We didn't want to use that electronic electronic device. But the football coach said, if we don't listen, he has a hundred ways, so that we can't continue to live. The words of these girls drew no small amount of indignation. They turned towards the coach. Some cursed, others grabbed everything that could be thrown in their direction. He kept saying, oh my god, the biggest drama of the year. I said how could Korean win? It turned out to be a cheat. A failure. Some people let out harsh words and shouted at him. The country was the main thief. Is a country of thieves. Not only stealing someone's championship, but also stealing someone's innocence. I spat. Some people shouted angrily. Beat him to death. This time the security team escorted them further another group of people came in. They said, according to the signal emitted by the particle electronic device. We found members of the eye development team of the particle electronic device. They admitted that it was a scam. Yong Hyuk brought them in. Who can guarantee that the Korean team will win the championship in today's match? The coach saw that the incident was revealed. His face turned pale. At this time, the program's MC also said loudly, We just received information from the International Go Organizing Committee. The Korean team violated the regulations. Using electronic particle devices to cheat is true. Photo having a negative impact internationally. All Go competitions that the Korean team participated in and their achievements were completely cancelled. And all players participating in the competition were blacklisted from the International Go Association. Of Korean will be banned from the competition forever. Coach Choi and others heard that and immediately knelt down. Holding their heads, they said with tears in their eyes. Don't. We were wrong. We really knew we were wrong okay. No. Please. Give me a chance. I know I'm wrong. 
I agree to be punished. I can't lose my career. I can't let the Korean team lose their honor. It's me if he returned to his country like that. He would be killed. Choi Yong Hyuk knelt on the ground with tears and snot falling down. He tried to beg, but no one paid attention to him anymore. Because these words were too worthy of him. The crowd outside heard this and cheered happily. They happily told him, evil will be rewarded with evil. What a gloat. Choi Yong Hyuk quickly crawled to Lin Sin's feet and said, Mr. Kian begs you, give I have one chance. Can I return the champion to you guys? I beg you go perfume is the best in the world. I was wrong. I was wrong. You shouted at him angrily. You dirty thing. Get out. Then he raised his foot and kicked him hard in the face. Pushing him away from him. A few days later, at the apartment building, I obviously invited you to eat. But I still needed your help. It was so embarrassing. This talking sound is coming from my aunt's house. My aunt told me to sit and wait to eat. So it's embarrassing. Lin Sin held the cucumber in her hand and turned to ask. Aunt, is this cucumber cut into pieces or cut into strips? Bai Ji turned to smile and said to him. Cut into strips. Go, be a mannequin. I must say that although your aunt is still old, she still maintains her beautiful beauty and impeccable figure. Bai Ji continued. Classmate Lin Sin actually you can call my name. She didn't turn around and spoke to Lin Sin who was busy cutting cucumbers. So he couldn't see her sudden face when she said. My name is Bai Ji. You didn't notice Bai Ji's strangeness. Lin Sin happily took the plate of cucumbers and said to Bai Ji. Muz Bai Ji, the chopping is done, where is the soy sauce? But in his mind he thought to himself. Bai Ji, it seems like he's heard of this name before. Bai Ji, hearing that, I quickly said, I gave it to you. I don't know if it was because I was too hasty or for some reason. When Bai Ji poured the soy sauce, it accidentally spilled out and coincidentally got on your crotch. Bai Ji quickly knelt down and used a towel to wipe and said, Why am I so clumsy? Lin Sin looked at Bai Ji so flustered and calmly said, It's okay. Bai Ji's innocent face suddenly looked up for some reason, looked at him, then stood up and ran while saying, I'll go find another set of clothes for you to change into. Lin Sin looked at Bai Ji like that and could only scratch his head in confusion. He didn't understand what was wrong with Bai Ji. Not long after, she came back. In her hand was a set of clothes. Bai Ji gave it to him and said, You try wearing this to see if it fits. Lin Sin shyly said, Thank you, I didn't expect it to be new. Bai Ji continued, He couldn't wear Ro Ro's father's clothes. But Lin Sin didn't seem to hear this. Because he quickly took off his t-shirt, revealing his toned abs. Bai Ji also didn't expect him to be so comfortable. Looking at his toned body, she was shy and couldn't take her eyes off. Bai Ji thought to himself, his figure is so beautiful. Lin Sin quickly after changing into new clothes, he happily turned to Bai Ji and said, okay, sister Bai Ji, let's continue cooking. Bai Ji went to fix Lin Sin's collar. She gently said to him, you wearing these clothes is much more handsome than Ro Ro's father. The distance between the two of them is getting closer and closer. It seems like they can feel each other's breath. This can't help but make the air hot. The two people's faces blushingly looking at each other. Suddenly a banging sound broke the atmosphere. The two were startled and turned their heads to look. At this moment the purple-haired girl and the man accompanying her were both injured. Thing ran over. They hurriedly said, Miss, quickly go find big brother Lin Sin. Seeing that you were also here she immediately said, Boss, Sister Ro Ro something happened. Bai Ji said in surprise. What what? A few hours ago, on the main road, a group of motorcyclists rushed down the road, closely followed by two police cars. They excitedly spoke to the police cars behind, wanting to arrest them. Okay with us. Keep dreaming. The purple-haired girl also said excitedly. Useless thing. After 50 years you won't be able to catch the boss. Su Ruo Ruo even raised her middle finger provocatively behind. You shouted with joy, then laughed heartily. At this moment Su Ruo Ruo walking behind suddenly said, The alley in front has no lights. Let's immediately turn off the lights and go in. The people walking behind heard that immediately said, Yes, boss. They hid in the alley watching the police just pass by. They happily said, This trick is really useful. Boss is so cool. I admire so sister. Suddenly at this moment, a voice rang out in the dark alley next to it. Su Ro Ro curiously turned her head to look. 
A voice said, there are so many people in the men's dormitory, you can definitely find Lin Sin. A person standing sideways and whispering to another young man who was trying to climb the wall. The person standing and observing whispered, should we go straight to the big door and ask someone? The other guy climbing the wall is stubborn. He frowned and whispered back, you came to find your friend. We are now was kidnapping. If someone saw his face, he would be dead. But the person standing below was timid, afraid to say, I'm afraid I'll recognize the wrong person. The person climbing the wall said, Lin Sin looks poor. You will how could I get it wrong? One person was busy worrying the other one was busy climbing the wall. Both were talking back and forth without paying attention to Su Ruo Ruo who was silently approaching. Suddenly she opened her mouth and said, Son, find what did Lin Sin do? The sudden appearance of she scared the other two guys to death. They were startled and screamed loudly. Not long after one of those two guys was brought out. He was forced to sit with his legs spread out in front of the spinning motorbike wheel. He was scared and had tears in his eyes and nose. Poured out like rain and shouted loudly. Don't, don't, no, no, I said it all. A long time later, Su Ruo Ruo was calmly licking a lollipop while listening to the other guy's report. That's exactly what happened. I've said it all. Please forgive me. She leisurely leaned against the big bike and told him. You are a follower of the Twin Saints Society cult in Yanjiang City. Your cult leader plans to kidnap Lin Sin. And the two of you I came here tonight to investigate. So why did he want to arrest Lin Sin? The man panicked and stammered. I, I don't know the leader's orders. We just obeyed. He won't tell us other information. Su Ruo Ruo said with him. I believe you. Of course after that he could not avoid the same fate as the previous guy. Being beaten to death. The purple haired girl looked at the scene before her eyes. She asked Su Ruo Ruo. Boss, what to do next? Su Ruo Ruo smiled and said to her. Some evil cult actually wants to kidnap Lin Sin. It really wants to die. Let's take advantage of the late night. Kidnap on the contrary. This leader is friendly and convenient asked about his purpose. Hearing this Bai Ji was both worried and scared. Her whole body trembled and said. Little girl, are you crazy? Yet you dare to come to the headquarters of the evil cult. When you guys should call the police. Right. The purple haired girl holding her wound was helped by Bai Ji to sit on the sofa. She said. No. Boss fighting power is very strong. A baseball bat flying around in the room. Evil cult. She alone defeated several cultists. Besides, our own problem can of course be solved using the rules below. There is no need to call the police. The guy sitting on the side heard that and immediately agreed to say. Yes. Bai Ji didn't know what else to say. Can only be silent. At this time Lin Sin finished listening to this conversation. He crossed his arms and frowned and asked the purple haired girl. Please continue. How was Su Ruo Ruo captured? You listen naturally interrupting in this matter. She angrily shouted. You are the one. Who? Bai Ji next to me heard that and immediately said to me. Didn't you say you were looking for Lin Sin? It was him. The two of them immediately gasped after hearing this. Their faces were filled with disbelief. They said, the boss has always told me that her boyfriend Lin Sin is handsome and has a lot of money. Is strong, and knows how to point acupressure points. In their imagination, you are like a thug. Tall and powerful, two people, a half-burnt cigarette in his mouth. One hands in his pockets. One hand holding a baseball bat full of sharp spikes. His whole body exuding a scary and dangerous look. More accurately a gangster or like a school boss. She said that's not what she should look like. Like this. Why do you look so ordinary? Lin Sin's face was speechless when he heard that. He said, So I am like that in her eyes. Knowing that the person she was looking for was you. She quickly said, Forget it. In general, the five of us originally intended to kill the evil cult. But I didn't expect that they would take the same thing. The boss risked his life to let me escape. Some of them were unfortunately arrested. What should we do now? The young man next to him holding his wound also said, I have also heard of that twin saint society cult. During the day he has a positive eye. Cult follower, what do you mean by doing spiritual yoga and also being able to cure infertility? But unexpectedly it was actually a terrifying organization. Lin Sin rubbed his chin in thought. His expression quiet as he spoke to them. Is that so? Muz Bai Ji, I'll teach you a way to protect yourself. Then you go change into nice clothes and go with me to the evil cult. 
Bai Ji was a little scared when she heard that, but she wasn't. After a bit of hesitation, he nodded and said okay. Lin Sin continued talking to the other two people. You, continue telling me the information you know. Noon at the Twin Saints Society cult mountain site. The people in the church were sitting neatly on the meditation cushion. Everyone turned to focus on one person sitting in the center. The leader of the Twin Saints Society cult was sitting and talking to those sitting around. In the heaven and earth universe filled with light energy. Morning. As long as we regularly receive light energy. Even if we don't go to the doctor, we can still cure all diseases. He was talking. Suddenly a teenager ran in excitedly and said, The leader, the leader. He ran to his side and whispered. There was a big customer coming and sat at the Rolls Royce long table. He leisurely spoke and invited them in. At this time the two people walked entering. Bai Ji took Lin Sin's arm and the two of them walked in like two pairs of bronze fairies. The Twin Saints Society cult leader's eyes narrowed slightly. The teenager from before stood up to introduce him to the two. Lin Sin and Bai Ji. He said, this is our leader. He bowed slightly and said, do you two have any difficulties that cannot be resolved? Lin Sin and Bai Ji also bowed slightly to respond. Bai Ji said to him, sect leader please save us. She said with a sad and pained look on her face. My husband and I have been married for many years but still can't get pregnant. He said it was a problem of me. I have been receiving treatment for many years but still cannot be cured. I heard that the patriarch can use light energy to cure all diseases. I wonder if he can help us. Looking at his successful attitude, by Ji's urgent request, he closed his eyes and softly said, Is that so? At this time a follower behind him happily said to Bai Ji, This lady, you have come to the right place. I also used to because of an unexpected event. The doctor diagnosed me as not being able to give birth. But the patriarch used the energy of that day to treat me. So that I could have my own child. The patriarch allowed me to become a human being. Mom, the head of the Twin Saints Society cult heard that and raised her hand as if she had nothing to say. My credit is only half. The other half is the power of everyone's belief. Only these two streams of power combine. Only together can we create miracles. Lin Sin heard that and thought to himself. He's really good at bragging. Using his toes to think and also know his treatment method. But thinking like that. Outside he immediately changed color. Clinging to his shoulder. Appearing to need his help. Lin Sin said. Patriarch. My wife is definitely very sincere. Please use your magical powers to save us. No matter how much money it costs. It's not a problem. Suddenly he asked you in doubt. You too trust me. Of course I will try my best to help you. But. Your age. You two are really husband and wife. Lin Sin heard that and shouted at him. What do you mean? My wife is a few years older than me. What do you have to say? Suddenly Bai Ji stepped forward. She lightly kissed the shore his lips said. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. Don't be angry in front of the leader. You have to be sincere to be able to cure my illness. He very cooperatively put his hand on Bai Ji's hip. Making her shy. Tell you. The hateful cardinal is looking. He looks at the two of you without hesitation showing such affection just stays silent. After a while, Bai Ji immediately turned around and bowed his head to apologize to him. Bai Ji said, Sorry, my husband is a bit sensitive about age issues. He lives in my house. So Bai Ji acted harshly. Said so say no more. The leader of the Twin Saints Society cult heard that. One hand clasped behind his back. One hand raised in front of him. He closed his eyes and said to the two people, so it's like that, it's okay, but just to make sure if the two of you are sincere, you need to pay 300.00 energy reception fee, then every week for two consecutive days, within a month you can cure the disease, I don't know if you two can accept it, dot, Lin Sin heard that, you took out a black card and said loudly to him, money is not the problem, it's just that the time is a bit long, I pay 500,000, the leader can shorten the treatment time. Can it be cured? When he heard that, a halo of light appeared behind him, making him look like a god. He gently told the two people, Money is not important, but I can see it. Have the strength of faith in you sir. If that's the case then leave your wife here for a week I guarantee she will be cured within a week's time. Said then he extended his hand tell Bai Ji, Mom, please go this way. Lin Sin was also told by the young man just now, Sir, Go this way to donate energy reception fees. It's already noon. 
It's better to stay eat a vegetarian meal. Then I took him around for a tour and then returned. He answered him with both hands in his pockets. Okay, in the back. The Twin Saints Society cult leader smiled evilly. Mister, I thought to myself, another big fish, not only money, but also being able to fuck his beautiful wife. That's really great. In the large room, Bai Ji sat silently on the bed. Opposite her was the head of the Twin Saints Society cult. He took off his shirt in front of her. Even so, he still said so vilely. Mom, now I will perform the Dharma transmission. The energy of the universe for you. All the next actions. You may have doubts and misunderstandings. Don't ask any questions. Just trust me completely. Understand. Bai Ji sat blindfolded on the bed. Listening to him say that. Bai Ji said nervously. I see. The church leader finished with a shameless face. He licked his lips and then came to stand in front of Bai Ji. His eyes looked at her as if looking at a prey. He told her, now I will touch your shoulder. Bai Ji reached out and pressed his face to his face, making him misunderstand, so he was happy thought to herself. How proactive, not bad. At this moment Bai Ji finally found the acupuncture point that Lin Sin had taught her. Bai Ji pressed it and sure enough, he only saw his eyes widened and he couldn't say anything more. Immediately fainted. Bai Ji heard the sound of people falling to the ground. She took off the blindfold and thought to herself. It was really successful. Returned to the time before starting. Looking at the purple-haired girl being acupressured by Bai Ji immediately she fainted and fell down on the sofa. Her image couldn't help but make everyone laugh. Lin Sin smiled happily and told her. Great job, Muz Bai Ji. She learned it in a few minutes. Bai Ji was also very surprised. Muz Bai Ji, excitedly told Lin Sin, it's miraculous. Pressing this acupressure point really makes people go into a coma. Only when the other person is in a quiet and motionless state can we accurately press this acupuncture point. So we should determined, played his role well, deceived the sect leader. After dealing with him, finding the surveillance room, he could find out where Su Ruo Ruo was. Back to the present, the leader of the Twin Saints Society cult was quickly tied up in the corner of the room by Bai Ji. Bai Ji groped her way out. She finally made it to the surveillance room. Bai Ji was happy, and was surprised and thought to himself. It really is. Lin Sin is really good. He guessed this kind of heresy. The leader will not trust any follower. So in addition to the security room's camera, surely there is a larger central monitoring room with many hidden powers. Outside here, Lin Sin and that young disciple are walking around here. Suddenly a phone call came in. Lin Sin had to stop and answer the phone. He said, Hello, Boss Lee, what's wrong? Inside the phone was Bai Ji's voice. She worriedly looked at the monitor screen the police said to Lin Sin. Lin Sin, the plan is going well. I'm in the surveillance room. I found Ro Ro. She's in the wine cellar on the west side of the manor. She's being interrogated with torture. Tun. There are a lot of people there. How about we call the police? On the other end of the line, Lin Sin's voice calmly said. The fastest the police can get here is 15 minutes. There's no time. I go save people first. Now I'm calling the police. Conveniently film the whole process. These are all evidence. How many people are in the wine cellar? What weapons are they holding? Then you quickly run over in the wine cellar of the Western Manor leaving behind the unfortunate student who was knocked unconscious by him lying on the ground. On the phone in his hand, Bai Ji continued to tell Lin Sin. There were 18 people. Picture the photo was too blurry so I couldn't see clearly what weapons they were holding. I couldn't even see their faces clearly. At this time in the wine cellar on the west side of the manor, Su Ruo Ruo and the others were tied tightly to X-shaped posts. The brothers next to her were also brutally beaten by them. She herself could not escape one guy continuously punching her in the stomach with his fist. Su Ruo Ruo clenched her teeth. The other guy couldn't hear the answer. He angrily punched her in the stomach and shouted. Still not talking right. Su Ruo Ruo was not afraid at all. She raised her face to cover the wound. Smiled disdainfully at him and said. What's wrong? Haven't you eaten yet? What? That guy should come up too. What's the point of bullying my juniors? That man was angered by Su Ruo Ruo's words. He grabbed a needle and rushed to tell her. Damn it, there's news that I spit on you. Can you get rid of all your teeth? Su Ruo Ruo wasn't scared when she heard that. She closed her eyes and calmly opened her mouth wide and said to him. 
I just found out that I have two wisdom teeth. It's convenient to have them extracted for me. Looking at Su Ruo Ruo casually looking down on him like that. Another man walked up and hit the guy standing in front of Su Ruo Ruo. He shouted loudly, you useless person, he said and then went to strangle Su Ruo Ruo said, do you want to die? He said in a local accent. Su Ruo Ruo smiled disdainfully and said to him, I don't understand dog language. Speak human language. He heard that but it was different from the previous name. Name hearing that. He just laughed cruelly and said to Su Ruo Ruo, You want to die. It's not that easy for you. Me and my brothers take turns playing you slowly until you die. A guy standing next to him hugged his crotch. He licked his lips and said excitedly, Of course these juniors of yours won't be idle. Everyone comes to play. After all, we men and women all eat. Su Ruo Ruo's two brothers behind heard this. Their faces turned pale. A guy standing in front of Su Ruo Ruo kept questioning, saying, What kind of mysterious background does Lin Sin have? Why does an ordinary college student have so much money? Su Ruo Ruo remained silent and pointed. She bowed her head without speaking. A brother next to her couldn't stand it anymore. He kept screaming, Boss, say it. I can't stand it anymore. That Lin Sin doesn't even consider you his girlfriend, sister, because he's not worth it. Su Ruo Ruo heard his words. She was angry. Her face was fierce and said, You, you useless person, I looked at you wrong. Said Su Ruo Ruo turned around turning to the other man. She smiled strangely and said to him, Do you want to play a game? If I reveal any information about Lin Sin, I will call you dad. Otherwise you are the one. Is my nephew heard such beneficial things. He of course agreed without thinking. After saying that he showed a lewd look on his face, his hands began to touch her, trying to pull down her shirt. Looking at Su Ruo Ruo gritted his teeth and lowered his head as he continued. I started watching above first. At this moment outside the door, the people standing outside were all kicked in one by one. The remaining guys were inside. Inside, he was also startled, panicked, and frightened. Looking out, on this side, Lin Sin juggled stones in his hand, one hand in his pocket and leisurely walked in. Looking at them inside, he smirked, one corner of his lips said, What a bustle, Twin Saints Society cult is still having a party. Let me play too. Su Ruo Ruo was happy as soon as he saw it. Tears that had been suppressed for a long time also rolled down. Long on the cheek, Su Ruo Ruo called you, Lin Sin. Su Ruo Ruo immediately remembered after calling, looking at the expressions of the men here gradually becoming happy. Su Ruo Ruo shouted worriedly to Lin Sin. You, run away quickly, it's very dangerous here, but it was too late. A voice suddenly rang out. Unexpectedly it came to the door. At this time the Twin Saints Society cult leader and his followers walked over. He clasped his hands behind his back and said to you, it saved a lot of my effort. Thank you for coming to give your life. Seeing it was him Lin Sin couldn't help but shout in surprise. Isn't he? He raised his head, his expression showing slight shock. But then, as if realizing something, he smiled sinisterly. Again, the endless talk about illusory things began. He said, I am the representative of the universal holy leader. I am the gathering of cosmic energy. I can appear anywhere, anywhere. I can know everything. Why do you earthlings want to fight with me? Then, with a despicable expression, he looked down at Lin Sin from above. But this cool image didn't last long before a stone was thrown hard at his forehead, causing him to suddenly fall backwards, leaving the two followers unable to defend themselves. Lin Sin was the culprit of that stone. He still kept the throwing position and said to him, Twins are twins. You act even more than a trash bag. You were really scared by him just now. Not more than two minutes. Not much. The idea here means that the Twin Saints Society cult has two twin cult leaders. His followers saw their leader being attacked. Of course they refused to leave it alone. They were angry and rushed to attack Lin Sin. They shouted loudly, dare to harm the leader. Go and die. Lin Sin was standing silently, seemingly unconcerned, until some guys came very close. I only saw him use his foot to make a circle on the ground. The cultists fell to the ground in pain. Some of the cultists in their hands were also equipped with automatic crossbows. Very quickly two arrows were shot. Su Ruo Ruo saw this scene and shouted in fear to warn him. Lin Sin. Of course the previous scene his eyes couldn't help but make people fall in shock. 
Lin Sin only used two hands. Gently used his bare hands to catch two sharp arrows. Su Ruo Ruo saw that and immediately happily shouted to cheer him on. So cool. Guy the man who was torturing Su Ruo Ruo quickly regained his reason. He quickly ordered the other cultists to control the hostages. Su Ruo Ruo was quickly controlled by two cultists using two sharp knives held to his neck. At this time, Lin Sin's arm seemed to appear in many illusions. Only seeing his hand passing by. Nothing. A number of small stones shot at the two men next to Su Ruo Ruo. Causing them to fall. The remaining followers saw that the key leaders had all fallen. Immediately like a headless snake. They hesitated and did not advance. Attacked Lin Sin but still had a tendency to retreat. Lin Sin did not make things difficult for them anymore. So he gave them a way out. Lin Sin said, no more fighting, then I will give you a way. Opportunity, now immediately leave the Twin Saints Society cult. Don't come back again, those who still stubbornly stay. I won't be polite anymore. Your expression is gloomy, your words are powerful, the rape was very loud. As if killing someone was easy for him. The remaining cultists heard that and immediately felt like they were pardoned. They ran out in droves, running desperately and shouting loudly as if he had just escaped from death's door. Only the two remaining followers were still standing there. Lin Sin looked at the two of them. He boldly asked, You two aren't going, are you? One of the followers was using foreign language answered him. Interesting. Finally met a perfume master. Go away. I went to several perfume boxing gyms. No one dared to fight. Two men at the same time. The man on the left said proudly, One kick takes one life. One kick blocks the way. The man on the right also said to Lin Sin, no matter how you hide, you will still have to suffer a kick. Dot. But the painted image is so cool. But in reality, Lin Sin just calmly walked forward. The man on the right actually flew past him. Not even a strand of hair could be touched. And the man on the left raised his foot to kick. Only saw him gently raise his hand to block. I couldn't see how much force he used in this slap. I only saw that this cultist had already done nothing already falling down in pain, on the ground, lying motionless. The cultist on the right from before was still not resigned. He rushed towards Lin Sin shouting loudly, Sibba. Lin Sin turned around and raised his hand. This man seemed to predict you will do that again. He curled his mouth and smiled smugly, raising his hands to block. But contrary to his thoughts, Lin Sin punched him hard in the stomach, causing him to fly away in surprise. Dot had already lost miserably in his hands. So it was inevitable. After a few punches, Lin Sin calmly told them, this type of martial arts of yours has big flaws. It's all loopholes. It's used to express don't come compared to the martial arts of perfume. Said Lin Sin went to untie Su Ruo Ruo. She was so excited that her face turned red. Su Ruo Ruo said to him, thank you for coming to save me. You're really so cool. Lin Sin suddenly stopped slightly. Lin Sin was just standing close and saw the blood rolling down Su Ruo Ruo's forehead. She didn't seem to feel the wound. Su Ruo Ruo still smiled at Lin Sin. Looking at her like that, Lin Sin couldn't help but feel guilty. He gently lifted Su Ruo Ruo's bangs. Lin Sin looked at the still bleeding wound and said to Su Ruo Ruo, Sorry, I'm sorry for harming you. Hearing Lin Sin's words, Su Ruo Ruo's face became even redder. She softly called his name, Lin Sin. Having said that, before Lin Sin could react, Su Ruo Ruo jumped on top of him and kissed him for a long time. Lin Sin had no time to stop her. She could only stare and stand motionless. No, don't stay there. Su Ruo Ruo was still there. Even more forcefully, her hands gently slid into the back of Lin Sin's pants, startling him and shouting, Hey, hey, stop for me. At this time the system sound also sounded. The feeling was good. Of Su Ruo Ruo plus 8%. Her bold action not only made Lin Sin shy, but also made her brothers blush shyly and be surprised. Just staring at the two of them. Suddenly at this moment Lin Sin reflected. He quickly pressed a pressure point on Su Ruo Ruo's arm, causing her to hug her hand and scream in pain. It was so numb. Lin Sin also quickly pulled back his pants and rubbed his butt that was touched by Su Ruo Ruo. He told Su, Ruo Ruo, quickly go untie yourself let my accomplices go. We have to go. It won't be long before the police arrive. Su Ruo Ruo was still immersed in the passion of the kiss just now. 
she happily chased after and asked Lin Sin. Lin Sin the technique is your kiss good. This is your first kiss. Lin Sin closed his eyes and frowned. He thought to himself, why are there so many beautiful girls? If a guy goes out, he really needs to protect himself. Dear, suddenly Lin Sin's phone rang go up. He turned on the phone and looked. Lin Sin thought to himself, it was my aunt calling. On the other end of the line, Bark Waiteep was sitting next to the head of the Twin Saints Society cult. He had been tied up by her, and was now lying on the ground. A puddle of dirty water could be seen seeping out from under his crotch. His whole body kept convulsing. Bai Ji was scared and quickly called him. She said, Lin Sin, I'm scared in the middle of the sect master woke up so I pressed his coma acupuncture points a few more times. As a result he began to convulse out of control. On the other end of the line Lin Sin cried out in panic. Bai Ji continued, this is still not the point. He as he convulsed, he began to talk nonsense. As if talking in a dream. He said Mr. Yan, don't worry, I will definitely catch Lin Sin. Who is that Mr. Yan? Lin Sin couldn't help but be surprised when she said that. The blue sky and white clouds. The beautiful scenery, at the Twin Saints Society cult mountain site. The three of them finally gathered together. Su Ruo Ruo jumped into Bai Ji's arms and called out to her mother. At this scene of mother and daughter reuniting, Lin Sin just stood beside them and did not bother them. Bai Ji was now face to face with Su Ruo Ruo. She was worried, looking around. Bai Ji asked Su Ruo Ruo, does it hurt? Why are you so stupid? It can't be like that in the future. Su Ruo Ruo frowned slightly. She stubbornly told her, it's okay, it's just a little, just a mistake. If it weren't for them having bows. Seeing Su Ruo Ruo so stubborn, Bai Ji couldn't speak so she helplessly turned to Lin Sin for help. She said, Lin Sin you said help me. At this time, Lin Sin was busy checking on the leader of the Twin Saints Society cult. He knelt down on one knee next to him, looking at the leader of the Twin Saints Society cult. His eyes were white and his mouth was full of foam. Lin Sin turned to ask her, Muz Bai, where is Ji's computer? Bai Ji answered him suspiciously. She said, in the surveillance room. Lin Sin didn't say anything more and just left, leaving Bai Ji and Su Ruo Ruo alone together. At this time Su Ruo Ruo curiously asked Bai Ji, Mother, is your relationship with Lin Sin so good? He even called your name. Bai Ji heard that, her face suddenly turned red. She hesitated, didn't dare to look straight at her and say, This, this, it's nothing. A moment later, Lin Sin was thoughtfully sitting in front of a laptop in the surveillance room. Su Ruo Ruo followed him here. Su Ruo Ruo entered the door. She saw Lin Sin and asked curiously. Lin Sin found what he needed. Su Ruo Ruo walked up behind Lin Sin. She looked at the computer screen. Above the screen there is a short text message from the leader of the Twin Saints Society cult with another man. Specifically, the other man texted the leader of the Twin Saints Society cult saying, Bring me Lin Sin. I want him to disappear. Into a living pig. The leader of the Twin Saints Society cult saw that and replied to him. Mr. Yan can rest assured. I will definitely do it. The man named Mr. Yan saw that and replied. Why are the followers growing? So slow. The Twin Saints Society cult leader replied to him. I'm working on it urgently. But perfume people are not as easy to fool as us Koreans. Mr. Yan's tone seemed more grumpy. He texted, Twin Saints Society cult leader. I brought you here from Korea to make money for me, not to listen to you make excuses. Shi Luobing's secretary Seo Lin is more useful than you. Twin Saints Society cult leader replied again. You arranged such a big show for Shi Luobing. She should feel honored. Mr. Yan saw this and laughed loudly and replied. Tomorrow's auction is a trap designed for her. The item I see that they can never escape. I want to play to my heart's content. Destroy her and sell her for noodle soup. After Su Ruo Ruo read these disgusting messages, she couldn't help but be surprised. She stammered and asked him, Lin Sin, this is. Lin Sin did not answer Su Ruo Ruo. At this time he smiled slightly. Lin Sin said, interesting, sent an evil cult to arrest me. Moreover the secretary next to Shi Luo Bing is actually his commercial spy. This Yan Jian Zheng can die. Said that he took this laptop and left. Before leaving, he said to Su Ruo Ruo, you stay and wait for the police to come. I have something to do first. 
Su Ruo Ruo asked Lin Sin, Where are you going? Lin Sin calmly answered her, The bidding session in the message. It was mentioned that tomorrow. I still have a lot of things to prepare. I have to take advantage of the time. The next day, at the Yan Jiang City Film and Television Facility, in front of the dressing room, the secretary Seo Lin gently knocked on the door of the room. She gently said to the people inside, Miss Shi, you have to leave, otherwise you won't be able to make it in time for the bidding. Such a gentle tone, the people inside won't knowing. On the outside she had an evil look on her face and thought to herself. Everything is ready, Shi Luo Bing don't blame me. Mr. Yan really gave me too many benefits. Inside the room, Shi Luo Bing was in a hurry she finished wearing the dress. Hearing Seo Lin call her and quickly answered, Come here, come here, she thought to herself, If I only succeed in this bidding, I can earn more money for Mr. Lin. At that time, he will definitely praise me. Shi Luo Bing chuckled, suddenly her phone rang. Shi Luo Bing happily answered the phone. She said, Mr. Lin Sin, on the other end of the line, Lin's voice please speak quietly and seriously. There's something wrong, I'll listen to you. Shi Luo Bing went first and did not forget to say to Seo Lin who was still standing behind her. Shi Luo Bing said, let's go, go participate in the bidding. Behind, Shi Luo Bing did not see. Seo Lin secretly clicked on the headset. On her ear, she whispered softly, Shi Luo Bing is on the way. On the other end of the line, Secretary Li was wearing pajamas. Her hips were up and her face was facing the computer. Her hands were still moving nimbly, working on the keyboard but her face was unusually red. Secretary Li shyly turned around and said to the man behind her, Mr. Yan, the plan goes well, Shi Luo Bing will be instigated by Secretary Lin to buy land. With the highest budget, ensuring that her company would go bankrupt, the Archbishop of the Twin Saints Society cult also sent news saying Lin Sin had been arrested. Mr. Yan was wearing a bathrobe. He was breathing, he was sobbing. He didn't need to say anything to know what shady things these two people were doing. Hearing Secretary Li say that, he smiled and said to Secretary Li with satisfaction, Very well, prepare the car, I will go there to see the manifestations with my own eyes. Shi Luobing's feeling of despair when he knew he had been deceived. And that Lin Sin told the people below to gouge out his eyes first. Said this his face became fierce. Mr. Yan said, wait until the time comes. I will bring Shi Luo Bing back. Then slowly torture Lin Sin in front of her. I am very curious when in that state. What will it taste like to play Shi Luo Bing? He said then laughed loudly. At the bidding hall, Mr. Yan appeared in an elegant white suit. If anyone didn't know, they would think he was very kind and polite. And Secretary Li now quietly followed him. This time a group of people. Mr. Xu, Mr. Xuan and Jiang Shi Yan came over, saw Mr. Yan, they immediately greeted him politely. Mr. Xu smiled and said to him, Mr. Yan, I had heard his name for a long time. Mr. Xuan was right in front and quickly asked. Mr. Yan also came to bid. What item did he see? Said Mr. Xuan went to shake hands with him. Mr. Yan told him, you are Mr. Xuan. He laughed loudly and continued, once the first time we met. I just came to have a look. Mr. Xuan heard that. He smiled back at him. Then that's no good. He must have seen something. Mr. Xu in the back heard that too. As an aside, that's right. Mr. Yan's strict corporate industries include entertainment, hotels, real estate and other businesses. Worth tens of billions of dong. A true vision. Peak. Mr. Yan heard that and slightly tilted his head to look at Mr. Xu and said, so today you came here to look down at some piece of land. Mr. Xu heard that, his eyes avoided, he quickly denied and told him, no, the location of those pieces of land is different, the price is also expensive. Mr. Xuan next to him also shyly added, that's right, we also came to take a look. Mr. Yan heard that, his eyes narrowed slightly, dangerously saying, oh, is that so? But no one noticed his strangeness, because they were attracted by a crowd nearby. Mr. Xuan pointed to the other group of people. He I told the rest. It was so noisy over there. In the center of the bustle, Shi Luo Bing was surrounded by a group of paparazzi. Looking at her beauty, they couldn't help but shout. It's Shi Luo Bing, so beautiful. Some people want to capture every moment of her. They keep shouting, Miss Shi, look here. Some people are curious to ask. Luo Bing, please ask for your next movie. 
What is your topic? Someone asked, Bing Bing can you reveal a little about the reason why you came to the bidding today? In response to these interviews, Shi Luo Bing winked and playfully answered them. I plan to take photos of a piece of land and use it as a filming base. But specifically which piece of land is temporarily undisclosed. On this side, Mr. Yan heard Shi Luo Bing say that. He lightly licked his lips as if waiting for a prey to fall into a trap. He looked at Shi Luo Bing longingly and thought to himself. After not seeing him for a while, he became even more attractive. I feel more and more tired. I want to taste her taste more and more. At this moment, Secretary Li suddenly walked up to him. She bowed slightly and said, Mr. Yan, the VIP room is ready. At this time, he withdrew his eyes and answered her in an annoyed tone. Go. While walking into his room, he was suddenly surprised to see three people from Mr. Xuan's group entering the same room. As they walked, they chatted loudly, as if he had a bad feeling. Mr. Yan secretly walked to their door, eavesdropping on their conversation. He thought to himself, those people are billionaires of Yan Jiang. Normally they were definitely not a few pieces of trashed land that appeared in person. It seemed like this place had been arranged for that. Perhaps, suddenly at this time a whisper rang out in the room, saying how much they admired that Shi Luo Bing. Such a good piece of land in the western Yan Jiang district has been gone the back door. Another person said, yes it is a key project that needs to be developed in the national planning. Another person said, if I can get the land N931, it would be good. Heard these whispers, Mr. Yan outside could not help but be startled and surprised. He thought to himself, the land N931, Western Yan Jiang district is a key national development project. This is not fake news. I bribed the Western district director to keep it secret what's going on. Now he remembered, the day before Xiao Lin introduced Shi Luo Bing. Miss Shi, I've been waiting. Within two years the Western Yan Jiang district will be a key development area country. By then house prices in surrounding areas will have increased many times. The land N931 is currently very cheap. There are 10,000 acres of land, selling for only 20 million, even if bought at the highest price. There will still be can earn money. Here is the document. After saying that, she gave Shi Luo Bing a few spreadsheets containing documents. Shi Luo Bing looked at the documents. The teacher said thoughtfully, but I use it for filming. I don't really understand the investment aspect. And moreover if there was a loss. Shi Luo Bing had not finished speaking. Xiao Lin directly interrupted her and continued. This is the planning plan report personally announced by the district director. There will definitely be no problem. If can get land N931. After five years we can triple our profit. In sync with the above to establish a film and television facility. In short, this is definitely a profitable business. I heard her excitedly say. So, Shi Luo Bing also happily said. You're right, this report can't be fake. Then do as you say. We'll use all our strength to bid and get that piece of land. Thought come here, Mr. Yan thought angrily, gnashing his teeth silently. How did Xu and the others find out about the false information? And why did they believe it? And what does it mean to go through the back door? At this time inside the room, Jiang Shi Yan was holding a glass of wine in her hand. She turned to Mr. Xuan asked, such a good piece of land as a gift for Shi Luo Bing. That person is too arbitrary. Mr. Xuan heard Jiang Shi Yan say that. He laughed loudly and said, stop dreaming, that person has already said so. Whoever dares to rob, who has the ability the only person who can rob that person is Mr. Yan. Mr. Xu heard that and said unwillingly, it's a waste, if I can take it, I don't know how many billions I can earn. Outside, Mr. Yan has so worried that he broke out in a cold sweat. He called Director Bao of West County, constantly telling himself, it's not normal, it's not normal, but no one picked up the phone on the other end. Forever. A moment later, a surprised voice rang out on the other end of the line. Mr. answered, Old Yan, what wind blew you here? At this moment, Mr. Yan had one hand on his hip. He was suspicious and asked Director Bao of West County, Old Bao, the land N931 if there was any new news. The man on the other end of the line quickly replied, What is the news? When will you come to my place to have a cup of tea? Mr. Yan heard this so urgently that he shouted angrily, don't joke with me, what's the matter, you still have this director position, do you want to do it again? 
On the side of Director Bao of West County, he sat on the ground, sighed and said to Mr. Yan, there old Yan, stand up quickly, I said, isn't that okay, the land that we informed about before fake rumor, isn't it already planned to be a landfill, but last night, above just sent the documents down, you guessed it, it has been planned as a key development area in the future, the economic value will directly increase 50 to 100 times, hey, I didn't think it would be like that, hey, I was also about to tell you that it was land N931, Mr. Yan heard that and couldn't help but shout in anger. If I hadn't called, you wouldn't have said it. What do you mean? Are you afraid of the person behind it? Shi Luo Bing. A light shadow covered his whole face. Director Bao of West County quickly said, Mr. Yan, Mr. Yan, you heard my explanation, but what he received in return was a series of angry words of Mr. Yan. If that piece of land is taken away, I will kill you, said Mr. Yan turned off the phone. His voice trembled, shyly said, like this, okay, girl, now is the time, I could clearly see his face. Director Bao of West County's face had been beaten until it was swollen and his whole face was bruised. He was lying on the ground being kicked by a pair of familiar pink shoes. Su Ruo Ruo held a baseball bat in her hand and slung it over her shoulder. She looked at him and smiled. Based on his performance just now, she didn't hesitate to give him a compliment. Not bad, full of emotions, great acting, great, enough to defeat big idols. Hearing Su Ruo Ruo say that, he timidly said, then, can I go now? In response to his words, Su Ruo Ruo calmly turned around and left. Su Ruo Ruo told her juniors to tell the homeroom teacher to get some sleep. The evidence of his bribe had been left in a prominent place. Reported to the police, scattered, her juniors like that before leaving, they enlisted the beaters and kickers to satisfy themselves. At the bidding hall, gathered the second and richest people of Western Yanjiang district. On the big screen displayed a piece of hill land. Looking very normal, the host now loudly told the people around. The next piece of land to be auctioned is land N931. Located at the foot of the mountain, West Yanjiang district. Although the location is normal, but the possibility of future development is very high. Starting price is 20 million. Maximum increase is 5 million. After hearing this, the people below immediately offered their prices. 20 million, 25 million, 30 million. Suddenly Shi Luo Bing shouted 50 million. Other people around couldn't help but be surprised. But very quickly someone else bid. 55 million. Seo Lin saw this and whispered to Shi Luo Bing. Miss Shi, it seems that person also knows the value of this land. Definitely will not let go easily. Shi Luo Bing heard this with a determined face. You told Seo Lin, I will directly quote my estimated price okay. 200 million. The rest of the people heard Shi Luo Bing shouting the price. They couldn't help but stammer in surprise. 200 million. A man saw this and clicked his tongue and said, Is it crazy? Isn't it just one it's just him? But many other people are whispering. They say harsh words. Is there something wrong? The geographical environment is poor and the traffic is not convenient. Besides working what else can you do with the fruit garden? In Yan Jiang's climate, you can probably only grow sugarcane. In 10 years you may not even be able to recover your investment. You are Shi Luo Bing. Right, you can't film for me. Seriously, why run there to plant sugarcane? Faced with these objections, Shi Luo Bing just silently bowed her head, not knowing what she was thinking. Seo Lin next to her saw that. She was afraid that Shi Luo Bing would change her mind. Immediately whispered to her, It's okay boss Shi, those people don't know the hidden value of this land. If 8 or 900 billion can't be recovered, Shi Luo Bing just quietly said yes. Dot. At this time, the person in charge of the bidding session did not see anyone else speaking. So he immediately knocked on the table and said loudly, 200 million times 1, 200 million times 2. At this moment Seo Lin below showed a scary smile. She he proudly thought to himself. Successful, Mr. Yan's mission, I have completed it. At this moment suddenly Mr. Yan stood up. He hurriedly shouted, 300 million. Not only the others surprised. The most surprised person at this moment must be Seo Lin. Mr. Yan assigned her the task of seducing her into buying this land. When it seemed like he was about to complete the task, he stood up and did something like that. Eyes wide, she widened her eyes, her mouth gaped open in an A. 
the beam, Seo Lin held the clown face in her hand. Her face did not shyly turn to Mr. Yan and whispered, Boss Yan, what happened? Mr. I whispered back to Seo Lin in front of everyone's surprise. He said, I want to buy this land back. But of course Shi Luo Bing was fascinated by Seo Lin. Such seduction of course he wouldn't let go easily. Gave up. She pushed Seo Lin down and said loudly to Mr. Yan. Boss Yan, we can't lose like this. And then Shi Luo Bing continued to bid. 600 million. The most pitiful was Seo Lin, who was hired to do the job. But now he's like a clown. And now he's confused and doesn't know what else he should do. He's really selling himself to the capitalists. Next to Mr. Yan and Shi Luo Bing who are fighting fiercely. Mr. Yan bid. 800 million. Shi Luo Bing refused to give up and continued to bid. 1 billion. Seo Lin. Take all our money here. Mr. Yan whispered to her again. Seo Lin. Immediately immediately stopped her. Poor Seo Lin stood in the middle of two people. On one side she quickly said to Shi Luo Bing. No way sister. You don't have a billion. On the other side Mr. Yan angrily said to Seo Lin. One billion. Seo Lin. Don't you dare lie to me. Didn't you say Shi Luo Bing only had 200 million left? Seo Lin heard that and hurriedly whispered to him. Boss Yan heard me. She didn't I don't really have a lot of money. I didn't lie to you. In the end Seo Lin was spun around so much that he fell to the ground foaming at the mouth. Pouting on the spot. At this time Mr. Xuan's group also came up behind Mr. Yan. Laughing mocked. Jiang Shi Yan smiled and said to him. Perhaps Mr. Yan also sometimes sees wrong. Spending so much money just to get a piece of nonsense land. Boss. Do you want to build a landfill? Mr. Xuan also asked him suspiciously. I, Mr. Yan, what are you doing? At this moment, Mr. Yan looked proud. He turned to them contemptuously. Do you guys really think I don't know anything? Mr. Xuan didn't understand what he was saying. He asked Mr. Yan in doubt. What are you talking about? Mr. Xu also asked him in confusion. That's right. I don't really understand either. Mr. Yan didn't pay attention to them anymore. I had one hand in my pants. A triumphant look on my face. Okay then, you guys just keep acting like a bunch of clowns. Mr. Yan didn't pay attention to the darkened faces of Mr. Xuan's group behind him. He turned around and used a threatening voice to say to Shi Luo Bing. Muz withdraw for me immediately. Otherwise you won't be able to meet the person you want to meet. Shi Luo Bing shouted angrily. She told him, what did you say? What did you do to him? Mr. Yan smiled fearfully. Now he looked at her like an animal at hand. He spoke in a teasing tone. He slowly hummed each word as he spoke to Shi Luo Bing. You say it. Shi Luo Bing hearing that. Her whole body felt like she was falling into a bottomless cold abyss. She grabbed her other arm tightly with one hand to control her trembling. Shi Luo Bing lowered her head. Her voice trembling as she told him. Forgive him. You can do anything to me. But don't touch him. Said that Shi Luo Bing mustered all her strength. She angrily raised her head. She shouted directly at Mr. Yan and said. It's not that you want the land is this really okay. Let him go. I will stop competing. The two of them stood facing each other. He sneered. He knew Shi Luo Bing could do nothing now but cede to him. Looking at her still stubborn as ever. So he said. You still dare to threaten me back. Aren't you afraid of him dying? Suddenly a resounding slap rang out. It seemed that Mr. Yan also did not expect Shi Luo Bing to attack him. This one blow included so much of her anger. So Shi Luo Bing's force was not light. Her one blow made the people standing around surprised. Their eyes widened in disbelief. Appearing in front of them like this. Some people even held their cheeks in pain for Mr. Yan. And Mr. Yan did not expect to dare to hit him. It took a while to regain his composure. And he held a red cheek. Shouted loudly. Bitch. What do you want to do? Suddenly Mr. Yan was surprised. Shi Luo Bing was extremely calm at this moment. She smiled sinisterly and said to him. Yan Jian Zheng. My grandfather's attitude it's already obvious. Even if I stop competing with you. You will still take action against him. Isn't that right? Shi Luo Bing suddenly laughed loudly and continued. I no longer care about it. If he is about to die. Then I will drag you to die with me. She calmly raised her hand and said. One billion years. To his surprise. He probably did not expect Shi Luo Bing to be able to quickly she quickly regained her composure. The words she said immediately caused an additional shock to the people around her. They shouted. 
What? Mr. Yan also shouted angrily. How dare you, bitch? At this time, the battle between the two of them became more and more fierce. The two of them were sworn enemies. Shi Luobing's momentum was sky high. She said without mercy, at the very least, I will destroy what you want. Not why, let him go, otherwise I will continue to bid. Shi Luo Bing knows what he wants. You use that as a weakness to threaten Yan Jian Zheng. The two of you are like water and fire. Both can be revived. Xiao Lin had been teasing a while ago. She crawled up, afraid to tell Shi Luo Bing. But exam boss, our account doesn't have that much. Shi Luo Bing heard that and turned angrily to Xiao Lin. So then sell the movie rights. Sell the company. Sell the house and jewelry. I must save Lin Sin no matter what price we have to pay. At this time Mr. Yan is also completely official was angered by Shi Luo Bing. He shouted, you bitch. At this time Mr. Xuan's group of people who were ridiculed by Mr. Yan also spoke up in support of Shi Luo Bing. Jiang Shi Yan told her, they don't have money I can lend you a loan. Mr. Xuan heard that and agreed. He went behind Shi Luo Bing, said to Yan Jian Zheng, I lend 300 million. Mr. Xu is not inferior. He said, I loaned 500 million. Jiang Shi Yan heard that and smiled softly. She turned around and laughed at Mr. Yan. But she told Shi Luo Bing, I loaned 600 million. I can't help it. Who said I owe someone a lover? Yes. Mr. Yan heard that. His face darkened. He clenched his teeth. His eyes were big and small. Blood streaks appeared in his eyes. He said in fear, you guys. The host immediately heard that said, one billion five times one. One billion five times two. Does anyone else want to bid? Shi Luo Bing now showed a sinister smile. She said again, two billion nine. Yan Jian Zheng was surprised to hear that his eyes widened and he couldn't close his mouth. Other people heard about this sky high price. They held their heads. Their eyes widened in surprise. He stammered and shouted, two billion nine. Piece of natural talent or something. One person's eyes kept twitching. He shouted, am I dreaming right? It can't be real. One person's eyes were white and said, come and hit me. One person just gasped. He said, who exactly is that person they are talking about? How could Shi Luo Bing spend two and nine billion for a man just to force Mr. Yan? At this time, Mr. Yan remembered what the director told Yan Jiang Tei to say. This land will only be able to increase 50 to 100 times in the future. He chuckled. Mr. Yan gritted his teeth and said, You guys, very good. Do you think 2 billion 9 is a lot? 2 billion is it I don't dare add more. Suddenly he raised his head to the sky. He is now like a crazy man. Blue veins on his bald forehead Mr. Yan shouted loudly. Do you want to compare money with me? It's ridiculous. Even if you put them all together, it's still not as good as my Yan group. He continued to bid. 4 billion. Secretary Li heard that and immediately spoke up to stop her. She said, Mr. Yan, this is a very big danger. It's almost all the group's money. If a problem occurs, the group will. Mr. Yan heard that. Crazy. Slapped Secretary Li hard on the face. He shouted loudly, since when is it your turn to question me? Or do you also want to stand next to Shi Luo Bing? Secretary Li fell to the ground with a slap. She was scared. So she quickly opened the iPad in her trembling hand and said to him, I'm sorry, I will mobilize all the group's money. The person who chaired the bidding meeting also quickly spoke up. Four billion the first time. Four billion the second time. Does anyone else want to bid? Four billion. Sell. Looked at Shi Luo Bing sullenly bowing his head without speaking. Mr. Yan happily laughed out loud. People in the company were suddenly surprised unexpectedly. The black haired man said, Oh my God. Mr. Yan just spent the entire corporation's money on this land. Does this land really have that much potential? Then the blue-haired man immediately said, No matter what, Mr. Yan is really rich. It's terrible, the girl also suddenly exclaimed. That Shi Luo Bing wants to compete with him. He really doesn't know his own strength. Dot. Mr. Yan held Shi Luo Bing's small chin and said to her with a dangerous face. Bing Bing, I'm so sorry for you. Your last resistance was very good but it was still a failure. He smiled sinisterly and continued. You know, I really like you in this way. You look weak, but you're strong. Wait until I get to bed. I also hope to see this side of you. Miss, if you dare to refuse, I will gouge out one of his eyes and give it to you as a gift. Do you understand? 
If you perform well, I can spare his life. Her face darkened. She pushed her hand hard. Out of his face I said. Is that so? I'm now very suspicious. He's not in your hands at all. Right. You're just trying to put on a show to provoke me. Mr. Yan held the phone rang as if calling someone. He looked at Shi Luo Bing and laughed loudly. Is this your last dream? Okay, I like the feeling of destroying other people's dreams little by little. Come on, go. I'll stop the car so you can see him. But I can't guarantee that he'll be completely dead. After all, I've already prepared someone to beat him to a point where he's not even visible. As soon as he finished speaking, he suddenly must change immediately. Huh, can't call. At this moment, there is a step coming. That person's voice rang out. Guess when Lin Sin appeared there. This made him panic and scared. Lin Sin, CEO Lin and Secretary Lee behind him knelt down at some point. He called your name, clenched his fists and said, Why are you okay? Could it be that? Shi Luo Bing along with Lin Xin, Jiang Shi Yan, Mr. Xuan and Mr. Xu looked at him with proud faces. I mean, Lin Xin said, exactly this is all just an act. Then he turned to pat Shi Luo Bing on the shoulder. You acted very well, Bing Bing. She told him happily, I'm still a little worried. If you try too hard, he can see it. When you called me to talk about this, it really scared me. When he saw this scene, he couldn't accept it and wanted to scream. No, no, impossible, since when, he angrily grabbed Seo Lin's collar and shouted at her. You motherfucker, you colluded with her to play with me. Right, Seo Lin cried and said. No, I don't know anything, I don't know anything. Lin Sin looked at him and smiled and said. It's true, I have to let you die to understand. Jiang Shi Yan immediately said. You talk too much about that stupid heretic. Enough for me following the clues. Yan Bao's technology company, hacking his phone only took a few moments. The director said the person secretly contacted him. It was easy to find. He is a very suspicious person and conceited. So I told you the fake news directly. You won't believe it, but what if that's what you judge for yourself after you hear it? Before that was when Mr. Xu and Mr. Xuan talked to each other. At that time he was behind him as if he had eavesdropped on what they said. At this time his face turned black and he gritted his teeth and said. These people were all doing it on purpose. Mr. Xu, Jiang Shi Yan and Mr. Xuan happily smiled and talked to him. Mr. Xuan said, the group of public characters is very good. And it's not us who advised you not to buy it. You did it all yourself. Well, at first he was just skeptical. However, when he heard Director Bao's words, he completely believed in the value of this land N931. He was now so angry that he was vomiting blood. Under the direction of according to experts, Director Bao was quickly resolved. Before Su Ruo Ruo and his accomplices left and said, I'll go for a bit and then come. Then they continued. Of course, his power and fortune don't have to lose several billions to go bankrupt. It's no surprise that he has so much evidence of crimes such as tax evasion, violent gangs, murder, and robbery, other people's property and more. Yan Jian Zheng widened his eyes and worriedly said. No, that's impossible. He shouted at Lin Sin. You want to scare me? Do you think I believe it? Property of others I'm so big. But you think it'll be done in just a few hours. He stood with his arms crossed and calmly said. Yan Bao can now block the signal. Jiang Shi Yan clapped his hands and said. It's time for Mr. Yan. Have you seen the real world? At this moment the phone notification rang. He immediately took out his phone to see there were many notifications. Mr. Yan, the corporation's stock price has fallen below the lowest, and the group's market value evaporated hundreds of billions within half an hour. All of our formal factories were blocked indefinitely by the police in the name of investigation. Several billions of sources your working capital. Quickly transfer it to a foreign safe account. The board of directors has already run away. Mr. Yan, how come the working capital has all evaporated? Lin Sin looked at him and said, Give it up a few billion bought a piece of land worth 20 million. So it's like doing it yourself. Now he doesn't have any money left. He's completely bankrupt. He's crying, holding his head and screaming. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. I haven't lost yet. Okay, I can't lose yet. He looked like he was about to collapse. That's right. I still have money. I can borrow money from the bank. I also have a lot of relationships. At this time Lin Sin's side continued. Still if you're not convinced yet, 
It's okay. Please take a look on the screen. Char Char is currently live streaming. Audience. Currently, we are live broadcasting Mr. Yan's unethical behavior. Mr. Director of Yan Group. The entire process of him threatening Bing Bing during the live stream has been recorded and broadcast live to you as clear as day. Right, next. Char Char. How about telling everyone about what happened? The bad thing that Mr. Yan did. Everyone is welcome to join in. Below the screen, many people are sharing photos of the live stream. The image of him screaming and grabbing Seo Lin's collar is being shown. No, it can't be. When was this? The comments kept jumping. The moment broke. Take a screenshot. This time I'm dead. Fat pig. So cool. I can't die anymore. No help. Then the image of him kicking Secretary Lee in his shorts. Reported to the police. Oh yeah. So happy everyone. The image of the Yan Group company being sealed. Lin Sin said from behind. A small reminder for you. This live broadcast has been broadcast since the moment you stepped into this bidding hall. He angrily rolled his eyes and gritted his teeth. There are still more notifications on the phone. Mr. Yan, you violated our cooperation contract. Stop here, Mr. Yan. We are sorry you owe our bank 200 million. We hope you will hurry up. If you don't repay the debt, we will pursue legal liability. I didn't expect you to be that kind of person. Disappointing. Block. I am the person in charge of an, an insurance company. Mr. Yan, your reputation is has completely collapsed. I, on behalf of the company, immediately liquidated all of your company's assets. He angrily threw his phone to the ground, rushed towards Shi Luo Bing. It was all because of you. I'm dead. Then you have to die with me. Seeing him like that, she was a little surprised. At that moment, Lin Sin kicked him in the leg and fell down to kneel in front of her. Shi Luo Bing quickly fell off his feet. Kick him in the face. Death is too cheap for him. He will have to bear the crime for the rest of his life. He was lying on the ground even peeing in his pants. Crazy. Laughing and talking unclearly. I I won't die. I will live until the end. I still have tens of billions left but. Seeing him like that. Everyone around him immediately covered their noses. It was too bad. He was out of control. Trust was like his dignity. He lay down on the ground laughing crazily. Style. I will kill you to take revenge. At this time the police also arrived. Mr. Yan, there is a case that you need to cooperate in investigating. Then he was arrested and put in a police car in handcuffs. The policeman outside was on the phone. Captain Shen, Yan Jian Zheng was arrested. Do you need us to go over there to assist? Shen Adong said, no need. This place it's over. The captain is so powerful. Such a large crime ring was easily solved. The minister is about to be promoted. The scene next to her is a group of people lining up to go out because they were arrested. She turned back to look at them and thought. In fact, because the information the reporter sent about this criminal was extremely detailed. Carefully prepared as if on purpose. It was possible so easily. Why is it that every time that person reports a case, it is aimed at me, and the evidence is presented to me. It seems like I don't need to do anything and just solve the case. It's really the type of food that is brought to my mouth. After all, my identity what's his? She thought of Lin Sin. The system rang at this time. Favorability plus 15%. Shen Adung's current favorability is 52%. Glass of red wine is now up. Lin Sin happily said to everyone around him at the party. Thank you for everyone's excellent acting. Now I announce. Close the camera. Everyone happily raises their glasses with you. Lin Sin turned to say to Jiang Shi Yan. Yan Bao. Thank you for your help. I'm bothering you again. Jiang Shi Yan now smiled with a red face and replied to Lin Sin. I asked you for help. I'm even more happy. And then the two hugged each other together. At this time, suddenly she got a phone call. She immediately answered the call and quickly left. While leaving, she also said to him. Hello, what? Research Crystal Products is there a new breakthrough? I'll be right there. I'm sorry, Lin Sin. I have to go first. Next time, let's meet for dinner. He also smiled and watched her leave, silently saying, what a fierce female CEO. Shi Luo Bing immediately called Lin Sin. Mr. Lin, he immediately turned around and happily replied, today's female led, I'll buy you a drink. As soon as he finished speaking, Shi Luo Bing immediately hugged him, making him feel a little startled. She blushed looking at him and said, Lin Sin, thank you for doing so much for me. Yan Jian Zheng was arrested I'm very happy. Really very happy. 
Finish the system notification came. Favorability plus 8%. Shi Luo Bing favorability 90% completed the first upstream stage. Upstream amount paid to Shi Luo Bing 1,660,000,000. 10% refund 166 million yuan. Already transfer to your account. Bonus all attributes plus 1. All attributes are now level 10. Bonus one of three skills. Please choose a skill below. Skill B can master billiards. Skill C can master dancing. E-level skill, Kegel exercises mastery. At this moment he immediately said to the two people next to him. I'll find a place for her to rest. The black haired man said to you. It seems like she can't drink at all. One glass makes her drunk like this. The brown haired man continued. I have a room on the 18th floor. Mr. Kian can go directly up there. Then you immediately took Shi Luo Bing away. As soon as he entered the room he couldn't help but suddenly think. Wow, a historical lover's room. It's worthy of Mr. Xuan to create a lavish banquet. This aspect is so thoughtfully arranged. Lin Xin put her on the bed. Still thinking, but Mr. Xuan has thought too much. Shi Luo Bing and I are not in a relationship. He was about to leave when she pulled the belt of his pants back. Shi Luo Bing puffed her cheeks and said vaguely. You can't go, he asked again in confusion. Ha, huh, bing bing. Then she immediately said loudly. I want drinking cow's milk. Lin Sin also gently answered her. Okay, I won't go. I'll go warm up cow's milk for you. After that, he immediately went to warm up milk for her in the microwave while leaning on the table and watching. The glass of milk in their thought. There was a glass of water with ancient style. And also jade. This themed room is really high class. Even she is now deliberately drunk and making a fool of herself. He was skeptical. After warming the milk, Lin Sin immediately brought it to Shi Luo Bing. The cow's milk had arrived. He immediately saw a scene that was difficult to describe in words. Shi Luo Bing had changed clothes. On her body was a set of underwear designed in the style of County Fong. She was lying on the bed waiting for you. Lin Sin walked over and blushed and exclaimed, Wow. Shi Luo Bing winked and smiled at him. Aren't you dressed very beautifully? Just wearing it for me to see. Lin Sin blushed and gave her the milk and said. Very beautiful. Come on. She sat up and took the glass of milk that Lin Sin gave her. Shi Luo Bing drank the milk but his eyes were still looking at him. Lin Sin's face turned even redder and he swallowed a mouthful of saliva somewhat worriedly. Suddenly her leg froze. Hold his leg tightly. Shi Luo Bing looked at Lin Sin with dreamy eyes and said. Kiss me. Hearing her say that he immediately leaned down to kiss her. Both of their hands held each other tightly. The glass of milk has been lying there for a long time on the floor. The next morning, the light shining into the room Shi Luo Bing pursed her lips and stretched. Suddenly her feet felt like they were hitting someone's face. Causing her to sit up in surprise. Neither of them at this time wearing clothes. Having exactly one blanket, lying in each direction, her feet on top of him. She was startled, holding the blanket and backing away, her heart blushing in panic, thinking, why are you like this? Mr. Lin Sin, look at you while sleeping soundly. She had a few kiss marks on her body and immediately remembered something. I remember, the image of her entwined with Lin Sin appeared clearly in my mind, making her blush. My eyes were a little teary. My thoughts were still vague. I slept with Lin Sin. It turned out it wasn't a dream. What did I do? Shi Luobing's mind flashed the image of me telling him to kiss him and thought. Don't do it. Why do I look like a pervert? She held the blanket on her body and got out of bed. Silently crying in her heart. I don't have the face to see Lin Sin anymore. He also has a girlfriend. How could I I don't so he got drunk. The sound of the door closing suddenly startled Lin Sin awake. He opened his eyes and sat up to look around. Where was Shi Luo Bing? Suddenly, he saw something on his body so he picked it up to see consider. Uh, here it is. In it is a letter and a yellow bank card. In the letter it says, Mr. Lin Sin, you will definitely hate me. Making such a mistake, even if I ask it's okay to be wrong. There's 500.000 on this card. Although it's not much, it's my apology. Please accept it, and please don't look for me. I need some time to calm down. At the end of the letter was her name. Shi Luo Bing. Lin Sin looked a little happy. A little confused. Her face was a little red. Thinking, why does it feel wrong? Then why? Shopping center. It's hard to get a break. 
I must play today. Playing racing with Lin Sin at the amusement park. Wu Ji said, Lin Sin, you won in the last game of rat smashing. This time I will definitely not lose to you. Come, whoever loses will get milk tea. Racing Wu Ji's toy car was sweating profusely. He bent down and saw a pink phone studded with sparkling stones. So he picked it up and said, Guys, who dropped this phone? Lin Sin looked a bit disgusted. Said, the phone cases are all studded with stones and all that. Do any of you guys use this style? The other two people who came along shook their heads. Wu Ji looked at the phone and said, I'm afraid it was dropped by some girl. Right, dot. Then he turned on the phone wallpaper on the phone which was a photo of a girl. Wu Ji exclaimed, Wow, the wallpaper is the owner of the phone. It's so beautiful. The other three guys gathered to look. Lin Sin said, It seemed like he was filtering a bit too much thanks. Suddenly someone called the phone Wu Ji almost dropped it in panic. Hello. He blushed and stammered. The other end of the line answered. Hello, may I ask if you picked up my phone? Wu Ji replied. Yes, I picked it up at the gaming area. How did you come over here to get it? He thought. Her voice is really nice. Lolo immediately replied. Thank you brother, you are such a good person. I am in the billiards room next to the gaming area. I still can't go. Can you help me bring it over here? Please there, I invite you to drink water. She smiled and said. Wu Ji on the other end of the line also agreed. Okay, no problem, I will bring it over there. Then he quickly ran away and said. Brothers, that sister wants to invite me for a drink. Wu Ji I'm about to start a wonderful meeting. Joe Tong said nervously. Hey, let's run slowly. Lo Lo stood next to a guy and said. That idiot really wanted to bring his phone here. She hugged young master Zhang's neck and continued. As expected of young master Zhang. Even playing games is different from ordinary people. Young master Zhang smiled and said. Any game cannot compare to the joy of playing with this hanging rope. Until then, remember to pay attention to his expression when being played with. It's extremely funny. On the table there were many people lying around billiards. Lo Lo replied to him. Young master Zhang, you have money and are handsome. Your billiards playing skills are also number one Yan Jiang. You know how to play like that. I really convinced. He turned around and happily said to her. How to submit. Heart submission or verbal submission. He held Lo Lo's chin. She blushed and stuck out her tongue and said. Wait a moment. Verbal submission. Okay. Dot. He said with a sinister smile. The words were set. She pointed out the door. They were here. How should we go next? He and she glanced outside. Those poor losers looked at like college students. Wait a moment we will. At this time, C.O. Hua, the billiards waiter, came out and asked, You too, your time is up, do you want to order again? He immediately swung his hand and slapped her down, shouting loudly, I'm new here, right, this slap will make you remember. I'm about to become a shareholder of this billiards room, and you're still looking for me to ask for money. Just a little look, no, get out. Seo Hua warmly wiped her tears. At this time Wu Ji went into the billiards room. Lo Lo immediately waved him over. Brother, here. Wu Ji nervously gave her the phone. Hello, this is her phone. Lo Lo said, thank you, brother, you are so kind. Wu Ji heard that and couldn't stop laughing. Then she immediately changed her attitude. So dirty, on you're all sweaty. My phone is dirty too. Are you feeling nauseous? Wu Ji immediately looked blank. Ha. Huh. Then she turned around and said to him. Young Master Zhang. Phone I gave it to you and it's dirty. What should I do? Wu Ji could only exclaim. Miss. He grabbed the phone and said loudly. Are you sure it's just the phone that's dirty? Then he held up the phone. Why don't you see the necklace on the phone anymore? Wu Ji said. Pendant. What pendant? He replied. Hmm. On the case there was originally a diamond pendant. It was a gift I gave it to Lolo for her birthday. Worth more than 10,000. He looked at her and they both smiled evilly. She said angrily, that's right, there was a diamond there. Surely it wasn't you guys who stole it. Right, Lolo looked at the four of Lin Sin. Joe Tong then pushed the glasses and said, you're bleeding, spraying people. This phone was already like that when we picked it up. Zheng Hao continued, we have never seen any pendants like you said. Young Master Zhang and Lolo Lo said while laughing evilly, quickly pay back the money, or pay Lolo Lo a new phone. Wu Ji waved his hand nervously. I really didn't steal your phone, let alone your pendant. He came close Wu Ji. 
Lin Sin looked at his proud expression and frowned a bit. He said, in the end, whether you guys take it or not, let everyone decide a bit. The two people in the back whispered to each other. That guy just looked at me and knew he was poor. Stealing the pendant is not strange. The blonde girl covered her mouth and laughed. A bunch of poor people, making the air polluted. Wu Ji heard feeling even more worried. Zheng Hao stood behind Wu Ji and said to the people playing billiards. You guys should stop paying no attention to anyone else. We picked up the phone and didn't bring it here. We didn't expect to do something it's good but you still get bitten back by some people. The man holding the billiard stick said, This is just an argument on one side of you guys. Really the pendant attached to that girl's phone is gone. Lin Sin immediately said, Why say so many words? Just check the camera directly. Young Master Zhang immediately objected. The camera there has many dead angles. Who knows that behind your back you secretly stole the pendant, pretending to pick up the phone to be a good person or not? Lin Sin also responded, saying so, do you want to cheat money? At this time the people in the back spoke up for young Master Zhang. What is young Master Zhang's identity? How can he cheat you guys of money? That's right, he can easily earn tens of thousands just by playing a few games of billiards in the billiards room. No matter how you look at it, you guys are secretly stealing electricity this girl's phone and pendant. Lolo started to brag. Young Master Zhang has won three consecutive championships in the national billiards competition. His appearance fee alone is already high it's already several hundred thousand. Enough to support you for several generations. Do you understand? The people in the billiards room began to want to oppress the four people of Lin Sin. They shouted pay, pay, CO Hu and now scream, it's not. She pointed straight at young Master Zhang's face. It wasn't these students who stole the necklaces. I heard it all today. They were intentionally teasing others for fun. He cursed angrily. By the way, Wu Ji immediately stepped forward to block Seo Hua. Why? Because he was exposed. He wanted to hit someone. He crossed his arms and said, Oh, so this bitch is in the same group as those others. You speak up. I know. Lo Lo stood aside and looked at Seo Hua smiling. Just now she was always flirting with young master Zhang wanting to seduce him. As a result young master Zhang noticed her so she slandered him. How shameless. Seo Hua refuted Lo Lo's words. I really don't have any. The people behind immediately said. Why talk so much? Pay the money. As expected of the poor people. Young master Zhang holding a billiard stick pointing straight at Lin Sin and the others. Looking at the poor students. They probably don't have much money. Give you guys a chance. Play a game of billiards with me. One ball is 10.000. The shadow is 100.000. Whoever loses will pay back. Dot. Then he thought, you poor devils. Today I won't make you lose a layer of skin. Don't expect to step out of this billiard shop. Lin Sin looked at him and thought, after all, it's leisurely and tasteless. Let's play with you a little. Lin Sin immediately said, it turns out it's young master Zhang. I've heard about it a long time ago. Actually, I've always been interested in billiards. When he's flattered, he pricks up his ears and says, don't think you don't need to flatter him a few times. Money, or, you guys don't dare to bet. Lin Sin told him dangerously, it's just a game of billiards. It's nothing to bet with Trong less than one game. He thought, I really don't know how high the sky is and how thick the earth is. He said, if you lose first, don't regret it. You also said definitely, absolutely no regrets. Wu Ji immediately worriedly said to Lin Sin who was looking towards young master Zhang. Lin Sin don't be impulsive. Zhou Tong also advised him. That's right, opposite is the billiards champion. You can't beat him, Lin Sin said with a happy face. Rest assured. Then at the billiards table, Lo Lo placed the ball. Then she blew him a kiss and said, young master Zhang, the ball is finished. You must convince me. Lin Sin behind erased the chalk, the tip of the billiard stick and then hit. He missed on purpose and then said. His hand slipped a little. Young Master Zhang looked at Lin Sin like that. He was proud. He saw that he was out of the industry. Lo Lo came over. Then he immediately showed her how to play and said. To deal with outsiders like you. I just need to bring Lo Lo to play with me. Three consecutive balls went into the hole. Lo Lo saw that and was immediately happy. Young Master Zhang, you're so manly, he immediately felt proud. Lin Sin said again, no hurry, continue. Then he hit number two stopping right near the hole. 
He smiled, not bad luck, unfortunately a little short skillful. The people behind him then quipped, I really don't know how high the sky is. How dare I dance like that in front of the billiards champion? Don't let the end result in losing to the point of having to sell your body. He immediately called her to lie down, on the billiards table, then let the billiards stick pass through her cleavage. Lolo, this stick of yours is a bit painful. Please bear with it, she said happily, hateful young master Zhang. Then two more balls rolled into the hole one after another. Wu Ji saw that he wanted to clear the whole table and worriedly advised him. Lin Sin, to leave. Young master Zhang happily looked at them. Then he smiled contemptuously and said, Bored to death, far behind, loser, you have already lost 30,000. As long as you kneel down and ask me, I will give you a 20% discount. Lin Sin just replied leisurely, Ah, oh, um, so it turns out to play billiards like this. He immediately said with a dangerous look in his knuckles. Just observing a little bit now finally learned. Come on, let's officially start young master Zhang. He gritted his teeth angrily. You, you pointed at the number 8 ball and said. But 10,001 ball is not interesting. How about 1,001 ball? The last light bulb is 10 times more. 1,000,000. Heard that the friends behind immediately started to stir. Zheng Hao said. Lin Sin, are you crazy? Wu Ji panicked. 1,000.00. I have never seen so much money in my whole life. Lin Sin turned to look at them. Don't worry, I have calculated. He immediately told him, such a big number, verbally there is no evidence. You have to sign a contract. Lin Sin immediately agreed. Okay, then both of you signed the contract. Dong. Young Master Zhang took the contract and said. Everyone saw it. Today's chess game was a voluntary game by both sides. I didn't bully him. Don't regret it when the time comes. Then he turned to look he thought. First time seeing the idiot. Today he made a lot of money. Then he immediately let Lolo lie on the billiards table and put the stick over her back. Lolo, come on, let's continue. Then young master Zhang and Lolo took another pose lying on the table. She lay on her stomach and used her legs to hold the stick for him. Not only that, she also stuck out her tongue to lick the stick and said. It was so stimulating for young master Zhang. Him hit the hole two times in a row. The people around the billiard room were shouting. Young Master Zhang really opened our eyes. Young Master Zhang cleared the table in just one beat. If there was no mistake in the middle if you miss, you will always be able to hit the ball. That kid will have to repay Young Master Zhang's debt for the rest of his life. Young Master Zhang turned his head to look at Lin Sin sarcastically said. I advise you to quickly call your parents and ask them to take money come here. Lin Sin replied indifferently, you go ahead, I'm not short of money. Hearing you say that he immediately said, this is what you said, unless you can hit the black ball, but the ball the black ball is in the dead corner, it will take at least three chances for the world champion to hit it. Now that you admit defeat, your debt is still small, the black ball in the middle is surrounded by other balls, around, the brown haired man said in panic, and he's still playing like that, young master Zhang is sure. Then he passed by Lin Sin. He immediately said, thank you for your reminder. You're ready to go in but don't forget to tell him. Today, I will let you open your eyes. The white ball line moves extremely skillfully, going all over the billiard table like creating a whirlwind. All the remaining balls are left. On the table, they all fell into holes. Even the last black ball on the table was a spinning ball that fell into the hole in just one shot of Lin Sin. Lin Sin's friends shouted, one, Lin Sin you won, Wu Ji said the loudest, damn, is that a god, young master Zhang, Lolo and the background dancers in the billiard room all widened their eyes as if they wanted to pop out, Lolo expressed that surprise, with just one stick the ball went into all the slots, there's a hole in the table, after all, who is a god, he had to cry out in pain, it's impossible, it's definitely not possible, you cheated, Lin Sin leaned against the billiard table and looked at them said calmly. Young Master Zhang, minus the 3,003 I lost to you at the beginning. You owe me a total of 10,970. Put the odd number behind I will forgive you, and the remaining 10 million you will decide when let's pay. When he heard you say that, he broke into a sweat and shouted. What 10 million? This time it doesn't count. You happily replied. Oh, young Master Zhang wants to pay off the debt. 
he didn't pay attention but started to brag. In the entire billiard industry in Yan Jiang, my big brother Mr. Li is the most vocal person. You dare offend me. Don't expect peace in Yan Jiang in the future. People around started to advise you. Young man, leave. Young Master Zhang's background is very strong. You can't offend him. That's right. The billiard rooms in Yan Jiang all belong to Mr. Li. I heard that Mr. Li is also good known as Yan Jiang's most mysterious billionaire. Legendary characters. Not something a college student like you can touch. I advise you to take it back. He was proud. Why are you scared? If you know what to do, go away quickly. Lin please ignore what they say to challenge young master Zhang. If you have the courage, call your big brother Mr. Li here. I will stay wait for him. Young master Zhang immediately called. You are looking for death. He thought, wait for my big brother to come. I will tell you. The person on the other end answered. What's the matter? Boss Hey, there was a group of people causing trouble in the billiard room. And they said they wanted you to come here. A moment later, there was a group of people with sticks coming. Mr. Lee said loudly, what brat dares to cause trouble in my billiard room? Mr. Young Master Zhang pointed at him. Big brother, that's him. Lin Sin turned his head and looked at him. Startling Mr. Lee, Young Master Zhang didn't pay attention and continued to say, you, that's him. You're playing dumb. Made me lose more than 10 million. You have to take control of me. Mr. Li immediately moved his hands and feet with young Master Zhang. Take control of your mother. Just throw him away. He kicked him to the ground. Then walked towards Lin Sin. Mr. Kian, why are you here? If I had known, I would have sent a car to pick you up. Lin Sin immediately said, Mr. Li, that person said you were a shareholder of the billiard room. And you protected him. Really? He immediately explained, Mr. Keon, he is just a gambling dog who owes me money. He always wants me to let him manage this billiard room. He is not considered a shareholder. Right, he deserves it. He put his arm around Lin Sin's shoulder and continued, Mr. Keon, you're not happy today. This billiard room, I gave it to you. Just consider it all as I came for you. Lin Sin said, this billiard room, I'm not unusual. Just now you were oppressed and said a few words for us. This billiard room was given to you. Lin Sin said and looked at Seo Hua. She was extremely happy. Mr. Li on the side could only agree. Yes, this made young Master Zhang and Lo Lo feel miserable. When listening to Mr. Li say, not only the billiard room, but also Yan Jiang, you will not see them again. Then he shouted loudly, and these people, acting like snobs, standing here will only dirty my floor and Mr. Kian's eyes. Now, go away give me this immediately. They all looked down and left. Sorry, it's all because young master Zhang wanted us to cause trouble. We'll get out. Get out right away. Lin Sin looked at young master Zhang and Lo Lo knelt down and said. Do you have anything else to say? Pay the money. He said, big brother, it's me who has blind eyes. Big brother, don't accept petty people. Please forgive me. I, I really don't have money. All like this. How about you pay this girl back to me? even though she's just a shameless king who rode all over a bunch of people. But it's okay. Lolo immediately slapped her. Mom hey, you're a liar, but you want to marry this lady to pay off your debt. Before you pretended to be rich, sleep with her for free. Stop it. Still borrow 10 million from her. You bastard. Pay it back quickly give me money. She sat on him and beat and shouted. He didn't lose even under him. Get out. Whore. Your money is gone. There's no money left. If you blame yourself, blame yourself for being greedy wanted to blanket the rich man. Then she turned to grab Lin Sin's shirt. Mr. Keon, I knew it was wrong. It wasn't my intention. In fact, from the moment I saw you I knew you were not a normal person. I can follow you. You can do whatever you want to me. She cried and begged. Lin Sin immediately kicked her to the back. Get out. Wu Ji saw that and said. Photoshop makes her look like a fairy. Unexpectedly it was rotten from the inside. Zheng Hao said, someone who uses others to entertain themselves. A heinous crime. Mr. Li's people immediately came forward. Mr. Li said, pulling him out, even if how come, I have to get 10 million from them to pay Mr. Keon. Then turned around and smiled at him. Mr. Keon, let me take care of this. Lin Sin immediately left, so we go first. Lo Lo in the back looking at his leaving figure. He kept whining. Mr. Keon, I know it was wrong. Please forgive me. On the road while stopping at a red light. 
Behind him there was a supercar stopping to act as a delivery person. Startled, the fat man followed a short-haired woman and said, What are you doing here? Get out of here. Then the fat man beeped the horn continuously. The delivery man also turned around and argued. To him, Can you clearly see what lane this is? This is a non-motorized lane. The fat man shouted angrily. Right, you didn't even move aside. The delivery person also argued in worry. Can't you understand human language? This is a non-motor lane. You're breaking the law it's a traffic rule. Let the delivery man say he rushed past causing the driver to fall. Not only that he also threw out a wad of money. Said 1000 yuan for medicine. More later if you ever see me again. Be obedient and step aside. Another man went to the delivery man and said. It's great to have money. Another man helped the delivery man up. No have any sense. The fat man and the woman drove away. The woman looked at the fat man's scratched car and said. What a pity. The delivery man's car was hit and it was damaged. The fat man immediately laughed and said. That's nothing. He's comfortable here. You poor people want to lecture me. Damn it. Ridiculous. I bought car insurance for more than a hundred thousand. Directly and it must be okay. That girl immediately leaned on that fat guy. Brother, are you too strong? The fat man immediately said. It's nothing. Let me show you what it means to be strong. Then he said I sped up. She immediately exclaimed. Ah, oh, so fast I'm scared. He saw her like that and laughed loudly. Suddenly, a delivery person passed by. He saw that and immediately rolled his eyes. What a mess. Cage. Seeing that the other girl said. Oh my god. That person is so fast. He angrily said. Damn. There is a poor delivery guy pretending to be in front of you. Daring to overtake your car. Looking for death. After saying that. He immediately accelerated to 120 kilometers per hour to chase. He exclaimed. Fuck. Where are you? The other girl immediately said. How is that possible? Wasn't the delivery person just riding the tram? Why? Why are you going faster than my car? Hey, you haven't stepped on the gas pedal. Right, you should quickly chase him. He shouted angrily, scaring the other girl. Shut up bitch, you'll be so noisy. Then he looked at the electronic board on the car. There was a red light in front of him. That poor guy can't run. Still like that he parked the car right behind the delivery person. It turns out that delivery person is Lin Sin. He shouted loudly, Hey, that rotten delivery guy in front. Lin Sin immediately turned his head to look. He cursed madly, That poor guy, get away from your mother. Quickly, driving a scabby warhorse and daring to block the road of a supercar that can accelerate to 100 km per hour within 8 minutes. It's my second, don't blame me if you crash into it. On the side of the road next to there was another car with a man drinking inside. The green light turned on you immediately drove away. He saw that also followed but unfortunately was hit by a car with a man drinking alcohol. He flew out of the car screaming. Why did someone run the red light? Lin Sin happily smiled looking at the explosion behind him. A, a speeding driver coming in is not mobile. A person runs a red light. They belong to the same species. In your next life remember to obey traffic rules well. That fat man only knows how to lie on the ground his head was bleeding. His teeth were broken and he was crying. Lin Sin suddenly stopped at a high-rise building. He looked up and said, So it's here. Then he thought, Because it's relatively close to the Dragon Court Villa. Number 1. Where Luo Yaxi lives. Luo Yaxi and I have also eaten here before. This restaurant seems to be a membership-based dining place in the Dial First Class Villa area. Lin please call Wu Ji and say, Hello, Wu Ji. I've already arrived at the COE building. About to go in and get my stuff. Wu Ji suddenly said, What? It's only been 10 minutes. How did you do that? You, damn it, used that plane. Lin Sin calmly replied, No, use your electric car. My broken electric car has a speed limit. How is that possible? In fact the speed limit can be solved manually. Plus a little more skill. Practice driving. He thought, that's why he can write at a speed of over 130. Wu Ji continued in surprise. That's strong Lin Sin. This time I'm lucky to have you. Who knew I could deliver halfway there? The tour guide took me away. Tomorrow. No. Breakfast for three days is all mine. Lin Sin happily said. Looks like you know what to do. Then you go inside. The scenery is amazing there was a group of women taking pictures together when he happened to be in their frame. The pink haired girl said. Hey. That delivery guy. Can you please stop appearing in front of my camera? 
So, he pointed at himself and said, What should I do? The three of them crossed their arms angrily. The blonde girl said, What do you say? This is a high-end restaurant with a per capita consumption of 2,000 yuan. If you just stand there, how can we still take pictures? Our dining experience will be affected by you. The short-haired girl added, Yes, we still have the face to ask again. He looked at their food table and said in wonder, Experiencing it for a while, I think it affects the structure of girls' friends who often live in fantasy in their circle of friends. Right, the pink-haired girl banged on the table and stood up. You, what are you talking about? Huh, who is the virtual girl? Lin Sin said calmly, I have heard before that there are people who live in virtual reality. Gathering in a group, today I finally met it. That pink-haired girl screamed come up. Everyone is gathering in groups. It's funny, the mood is really low. No wonder you're just a delivery guy. Manager, manager, quickly pull this delivery guy out. The waiter is coming at this time. Sir, dear customer, may I ask what's going on? The pink-haired girl pointed in your direction and said, It's because of this delivery guy. He smells of poverty. I'm rotten to death by him. How can I eat? Okay, the short-haired girl continued. That's right. Moreover, he spoke rudely to us. Your COE building is a Michelin three-star restaurant. Can even dogs, cats and cats enter, quickly chase him out. Hearing that, the waiter immediately snapped his fingers and stood close to Lin Sin saying, Where are you? At this moment, those three girls saw such actions and smiled sinisterly, as if they had achieved their goal, destination, but the waiter said something else. Invite these girls out. The bodyguards stood around the girls. They raised their hands to invite him out. The girls didn't understand what was going on. Everyone's faces were filled with questions. Manager clasped his hands, standing respectfully in front of Lin Sin. Very sorry, Mr. Lin, for making you experience such unpleasant things. The orange-haired girl was stopped by the bodyguard and asked in confusion. Manager, I want you to quickly kick that delivery guy out. What are you doing, Mr. Lin? This is the noble owner of Dragon Court No. 1 Villa area. We are also CO's Golden Dragon members. Ye house. You guys ordered a pot of tea and a piece of cake and sat here for several hours. Our CO Ye house is a high-end restaurant to enjoy delicious food. Not a hot face gathering place. Go away. The manager seriously raised his hand to introduce Lin Sin. At the same time his angry attitude towards the girls. What? The villa costs hundreds of millions. He is also a Golden Dragon member of CO Ye house. Why? Maybe. Then why is he still delivering? Is this the special hobby of people with money? The girls were surprised and startled. The blonde girl clasped her hands. Her eyes sparkled. Her cheeks blushed. Hong. Um. Actually you were looking at me just now. Right. I knew you wanted to talk to me so you purposely stood there to attract my attention. It was all a misunderstanding. Actually, we can get to know each other. The purple-haired girl blew kisses. Winked. Posed seductively towards Lin Sin said random things clearly he was looking at me, and the pink-haired girl immediately took out a piece of paper with a number on it. I gave him my phone, with her lipstick mark on it, first time meeting such a handsome delivery person, he really has an extraordinary aura, this is my phone number, she winked, call me, the girl surrounded and clung to Lin Sin, the manager's face turned black, indignant, stop being so slow, go away quickly, Lin Sin tried to avoid, showing an unpleasant attitude, stay away from me, the girls were immediately thrown out by the bodyguards, my super fake bag, my parada shoes, let's go, what's wrong, the manager clasped his hands in front of Lin Sin, sorry, Mr. Lin, we I guarantee that this situation won't happen again in the future, it's okay, I'm coming to pick up the food, number 86, are you ready, that's it, at that moment in the kitchen, Yu Yan stood with her hands on her hips looking at the chefs he was clasping his hands in front. Slightly leaning towards her, Yu Yan said forcefully, Your monthly salary should not be less than 200.00. CO family is treating you poorly. Give me this chance. Other times, foods from all over the world are for you to choose from. As a result, what do you make for the second miss? It's really disappointing. It's not like you guys feel that the second miss is imparting nutrients so there's still time to slowly research. The lady said, today is the last day. If you can't make a dish that the second miss can eat, you can imagine what the consequences will be. That's it. You and the manager hid behind the door and sweated. 
You wanted to scold me at some point. Why can't you just cook? You might have to wait a while. I'm in a hurry. Side that's the kitchen. Right. An idea popped into my head. Ah, oh, that's right. He walked into the kitchen. Rolled up his sleeves. There were 15 minutes left. This order was crab and egg noodles. Luckily this was a quick dish. He quickly beat the eggs. Chopped the shrimp. Stirred the noodles. Both hands were nimble. Skillful. No one can compare. Done. Crab egg noodles are completed. Eye catching yellow color. The fragrance blends beautifully. Now have to go quickly and deliver the goods. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It's almost the money was deducted. He quickly carried the food out the door. The manager looked like he only knew three points. But that was okay. Yu Yan raised his voice. Manager, what are you standing here? Who just touched the kitchen? You let outsiders into our kitchen. Manager was shocked. He nervously replied. Is. A guest with the status of a golden dragon member. Just now he came in wearing delivery clothes took the form. Saw that she was teaching. Well, there was no one in the kitchen. So I went in to cook food myself. Just left. What are you talking about? I don't understand. Yu Yan looked at the manager with glasses on her face. The fragrance from the pan that Lin Sin had just finished making wafted up into Yu Yan's sense of smell. Smelling something fragrant. This crab egg. She used her chopsticks to pick up some of the scattered crab bricks and put them in. Mouth. So delicious. Even better than real crab bricks. How could this be made? Who was the cook just now? Quickly tell me. She put her hand on the manager's shoulder. The other hand pushing up his glasses. Oh, okay, okay. At the Dragon Court number one villa. In the middle of the room with lingering echoes of love between the couple. The messy room with clothes and adult toys. Luo Yaxi woke up sleep. Rubbed his eyes and looked at Lin Sin who was getting dressed. Lin Sin, do you have to go back to school? Um, this morning there was a fourth level foreign language test. Lin Sin put on a shirt and looked at her. She sat up. I see me out the door. There's no need. Just go to sleep. You've been tired all night. You're so good. Love you. She blew a kiss. Happy in her heart. Being with Lin Sin every night made me so happy. Lin Sin walked out of the villa. Hands behind her head. Enjoying herself as she walked. Please occasionally coming to the villa for one night is not bad. Finally found you. Oh, she is. Yu Yan appeared like a god. She stood in front of him. Showed her introduction card. Hello, fairy Lin student. I've been looking for you for a long time. I'm the homeowner's secretary CO family. Housekeeper of CO Yi house. Three star Michelin critic Yu Yan. Would like to invite you to help us make a dish for the young lady. Just say the price. Look at the slightly familiar girl in front of him. He thought to himself, now I remember, what a wealthy person, tormenting so many people every day just to make a dish for the noble lady in the house. Enough to see that that young lady is a difficult mistress to serve. Please sorry, I have to take the exam. Please invite another chef. Sir putting his hands in his pockets. Turning around and walking away. Yu Yan quickly raised his hand to ask him to stop. Please wait, Mr. Lin. As long as our young lady eats the food you make. CO family will reward you 1000.00. Cold. Not short of money. Yu Yan panicked even more. Wait. Sorry. Very sorry Mr. Lin. My attitude was not good just now. I know you are very busy. But human life is very important. I hope you'll give me a chance to explain. He tilted his head and said go. Mr. Lin must have heard about CO family. CO family operates CO Yi house which is a restaurant with 50 years of history, always with only one store. But 10 years ago, CO Yi House suddenly expanded, opened more branches, and it received a three-star recommendation from the World Food Organization Michelin two years ago. CO Family has also become the most high-end gourmet family. In addition to its capacity CO Family's business, important cause especially the eldest lady of the CO Family possesses a food god tongue. A normal person has from 5.00 to 10.00 taste buds on the tongue. A food god's tongue has more than 20.00 taste buds. And can easily taste defects of each dish. The taste buds, the senses of taste, distributed on the surface of the tongue used to distinguish flavors. Relying on the young lady's tongue to constantly improve the dishes. CO Yi House can only broadcast developing and growing as strong as they are now. Master Seo and his two daughters have always had a pleasant life. Normally, at home, Master Seo cooks for himself. But, 
Ten days ago old master Seo was unlucky. Died of illness. Since that day, the second miss could not eat anything. The eldest lady was very worried. Forcing chef Seo Yi House to step up research and development of delicious dishes that could satisfy the palate of the second miss. Although the dishes that the eldest lady makes color very outstanding, but can't cook well herself, can only tell the chef to keep trying, she's also because of the second miss. Huh, Lin Sin suddenly heard the story. The second miss is about to become one I haven't eaten anything for a week now. Completely relying on nutritional support to survive. If this continues, I'm afraid. The second miss is a very good person Mr. Lin. I beg you to help. Save her. Your eyes are pitiful. Sorry, so it's like that. He laughed and scratched his head. But I don't I can guarantee that she won't eat the food I make. I'm just helping out of humanitarianism. Doing my best. Do you think that's okay? Yu Yan shed tears of joy. Really, very grateful thank you Mr. Lin. I have tasted the dish you made. I think I can definitely make it. But, you have to wait until I finish the exam before leaving. Besides the dish I make, whether she eats it or not, is fine. You have to pay me the indispensable 100.00. He walked away and waved his hand temporarily by Yu Yan. You think just consider this as earning some pocket money. Okay, Lin Sin agreed. Yu Yan happily replied, at the CO family hall, Yu Yan respectfully, I'm so sorry, chefs, please leave this side, a chef complained, looking at the chefs leaving one by one, Yu Yan worried in my heart, how disgusting, this is the last turn, even the three star famous chefs invited by Shanghai have failed, the last hope can only be thanks to Lin Sin, hearing the sound of entering interrupting his thoughts, Yu Yan speculated whether it was Lin Sin coming, feeling happy, as expected the main character always appears last, second young master Shi, and also the first young master, two people also come here, looking at their arrogant appearance, Yu Yan's face darkened, a bit uncomfortable, these are two young masters of Shi Food Import and Export Company, they have had a cooperative relationship for many years, Seo Yi House is here, this second young master Shi is often close to master Seo, wanting to marry the second miss, but the second miss doesn't like him. So Master Seo has married him. Rejected them. Mr. Shi put his hands on his back. Raised his voice in front of Yu Yan. What kind of relationship do our two families have? The second miss had such a big thing happen without telling us I know. It's really heartless. Yu Yan bowed. The two gentlemen are thoughtful. After all, this is Seo family's private matter. So I don't dare to bother you two. Stop talking politely. I heard that you guys used 100.00 to find a famous chef. Right, why is it so complicated? These two people are both top French and Japanese chefs invited by my brother. The first young master just I reached for the two chefs behind me. Just directly told them to cook the food. Okay, go inside quickly, you are must be starving. They passed by and ignored Yu Yan and went straight. Come inside, sorry you two gentlemen, I still have to wait for one more person, she pushed her glasses and said seriously, Mr. Shi turned his head in annoyance and said, who else do I have to wait for, oh, really it's so noisy, Lin Sin walked in, I just saw you guys outside the door seeing off the chefs, why have they failed, you walked in with one hand in your pocket, Mr. Lin, you're finally here, hurry up, please come this way, Yu Yan happily welcomed, the two Shi brothers were surprised at her attitude. The two of them looked at each other with eyes wide open. At the cooking place, Mr. Lin, behind here is the food warehouse, where all the food is fresh and delicious. In addition to ingredients from China, there are also famous ingredients from more than 10 countries. Any other family, no matter what you want to make, we can satisfy you. Yu Yan respectfully and enthusiastically guides you. What kind of background does that kid have? Why doesn't he look like his head? He doesn't even have a kitchen. And he's still poor and impoverished. Why does Yu Yan respect him that much? Mr. Shi doesn't like it. He crosses his arms and says. Young Master Shi just glanced. Hmm. Just a poor guy. What are you so proud of? I've told you. Why don't you understand? You have to do whatever you want regardless. Understand. Mr. Shi raised his voice with one hand on his chest. Brother. I don't understand nothing. Yua is a simple golden lady. You have to capture her heart to be interesting. I will marry Yua. You will marry her sister. Isn't that perfect? After that, all of the CO family's assets will be ours. 
Ha, huh, you keep spinning around like a pinwheel. It's really useless. Young Master Shi, calm down. I've already planned this a long time ago. Already. There's an echo coming. The eldest and young misses have arrived. Above are the two young ladies' CEO family. The eldest miss of the CEO family. CEO Xiang Ying, sitting cross-legged. Noble but sharp. Miss looking at the situation below. He sighed in boredom. It was so boring. Next to him was the young miss of the CEO family CEO Xiang Yu sitting in a wheelchair with a nutritional bag next to him. His face a bit lifeless but still can't obscure her gentle, beautiful and heart-touching appearance. You are. You don't have to worry. I brought you here with these two world-class chefs. You will soon have a real meal that's good. Mr. Xi stood below and shouted. Why are you guys here? Besides, we're not close. Don't call me that intimate. The eldest lady looked down. Why did you say that? Close or not close. The first time is acquaintance. The second time is close. Young Master Shi laughed, even licking his tongue in a wicked way. The eldest lady was upset. Angry. Stop talking too much. There is no limit on any dishes or ingredients. Whoever can make dishes that my sister can eat deliciously will receive a reward of 1000.00. Let's start. She shouted. The two foreign chefs started to compete. Cooking your favorite dish. Observing from above, the young lady silently assessed. As expected, they all chose the best ingredients. The French chef was sure he was making caviar fresh. And the Japanese chef is making king long stew. As for the person specially invited by Yu Yan, it seems to be Mr. Lin. The ingredients he brought are chicken eggs and rice. Looked at the bowl of eggs and rice in his hand and Mr. Shi held his stomach and laughed breathlessly. He smiled with tears in his eyes and pointed at him. What is this person doing? Is he here to be in the background? Maybe he is the chef of a certain school canteen should also be. Young Master Shi stood with his arms crossed and laughed to join in the fun. You intend to use these ingredients to cook for the second miss of CO family. This is an insult to her. Do you understand? He did not refute just gently smiled at them. Not only that, he also sat cross-legged, scrolling through his phone and humming. Yu Yan looked a little serious and worried. Done. The two dishes from two foreign chefs are so eye-catching and attractive. Yu are. Let me bring him to you. Wait. Yu Yan single-handedly stopped me. The first one to taste is me. What? The next person to taste is the Grand Master. Only after being approved by the two of us can the second miss be given to eat. Why is it like that? The second miss is currently very weak. We have to making sure her food is the most delicious and safest. The two chefs proudly watched Yu Yan taste her dish. Ordinary, so ordinary. They all reacted in panic. Couldn't believe their ears. The ingredients were top class and the chef was classy. Yet they were only able to create this one plus one effect for the dish. It really made people disappointed. Kind of. Yu Yan used a tissue to wipe his mouth pointed at their food and said decisively, What? You motherfucker really understand this? Mr. Shi was angry while holding the food in his hand. Cursed. Next dish. Come here. Come here. Egg fried rice. Lin Sin brought up his dish. Get out of here. Who the hell let you come here? Just now I didn't pay attention to you because at that time, I was in a good mood. Now do you believe it's me? Even if you have a bowl of fried rice with eggs, you dare to bring it over here. This idiot, second young master Shi placed his hand on his shoulder to stop him, threaten him, and ignore his reaction, his, Yu Yan still took a spoonful of rice, just finished eating she was happy, oh my god, the rice grains were rich, the smell of eggs was overwhelming, the feeling was so complete, just an average bowl of egg fried rice it's normal to reach this level, she feels delicious and excited, her whole body is numb, seeing Yu Yan's reaction, Second young master she scolded unwillingly. Cheating with us. She doesn't rate the famous classy dishes as worth a penny. The trashy fried rice is praised so much that someone will give her that courage. That's right. A housekeeper like her still considers herself a golden lady. Ah, oh, dare to be picky with me. The eldest lady looked down coldly. Yu Yan is the only judge I can confirm. Her professional level doesn't need to be said much on the contrary. Mister, I also don't know how good or bad food is. Miss, are you cheating? Don't you know immediately after just eating a bite? Or do you not dare? Yu Yan gave the fried rice first the two people's faces. What a plan to provoke them. It won't work. I casually ate a piece and judged it wasn't worth a penny. 
Wow, why is it so delicious? The two young masters tasted it. Found it delicious my whole body feels numb. You, did you put something in there? You two feel so delicious that you can't stand. Foreign food only focuses on high quality food. High quality ingredients. To when introducing each item. It's very tasty, but we have to look at basic cooking skills. And ignore the fact that cooking is cooking for the masses. Not high-end dishes that some ordinary people can't afford. Throwing out the difference. Lin Sin stood with his arms crossed looking at the two. Said it well, but ordinary people are only worthy of eating low-class dishes. Because they simply don't know how to appreciate the wonder of high-class ingredients. Grant. Although your egg-fried rice surpasses Yu Yan's taste, I absolutely will not allow this low-class food to enter my sister's mouth. The eldest lady said sternly, I also don't plan to let your sister eat fried rice with eggs. Because what she has now is not this. What do you mean? You walked up the stairs. In your hand was a dish for the second miss. Your demeanor like a professional employee. Wait, who let you up here? Don't misunderstand. I received money to make the second Miss CO family open her mouth to eat food. Not to cook to please her. What? Muz Yu Yan, the eldest lady. I believe in Mr. Lin's strength. He can probably cook a dish that the second Miss can eat. Please let him try. Yu Yan holds my hand to sincerely in front of his chest. Lin Sin stood in front of the two young ladies. Don't blink. Come here. Here. He slowly opened the lid. Bright light emitted from the plate. This is something more delicious than rice roasting the eggs. The brothers looked nervously. What would it be? Why was he so confident? Could it be the Italian red silica mullet snack? Or the gooseberry from Madeira or the squid? France. The young lady is also eagerly looking forward to it. Come on, eat it. Eggs. Chinese eggs. Chinese eggs. Northern Chinese eggs appear. Everyone opens their mouths, looking embarrassed. Try eating look. He bent down and gave it to the second miss. Stop. You're so bold. I spent hundreds of millions researching the menu but still can't make her want to eat. You dare to bring the herbal eggs. My sister will come later. This will also awaken the dirty tongue. Eating this trash food will hurt her taste buds. The eldest lady quickly stood up to stop. Ding. The system appeared to detect high beautiful women. Starting the upstream mission. Full name Xiao Xiang Ying. Age 23, height 165, weight 49 kilograms, when the target's favorability towards the host has just passed 90%. Refund 10% of the upstream amount the paid line becomes the host's personal property. When the subject's favorability towards the host reaches 100%, it will change its identity and at the same time change the submissive relationship between the host and the target. The current favorability is minus 20%. You feel helpless. This system specifically finds this type of girl for you. Right, mister. But there was nothing visible in the cooked food. There must have been something wrong with the egg fried rice just now. And then it was colored there. Young master she also agreed. That's right. And just now it was just accidentally let our chef try again. Don't forget these two chefs are also Michelin 3 star class like your COE house. He sighed. 3 stars. 4 stars. Five stars. Whatever. I've eaten your COE house several times. Actually, one taste is normal. Too much emphasis on the origin of the ingredients takes a lot of effort to present. Plate. On the contrary, forgetting the essence of cooking is to make people eat happily and be full. The eldest lady put her hands on her hips to refute. It's ridiculous that the common people still want to judge us COE house. Wild pigs don't eat the buffalo was good. He calmly smiled and explained. Why is CO Yi House always losing money? Before I came, I looked up CO Yi House's financial statements for two consecutive years. Profits have decreased, more than 25%. That's why you guys recently had to open a food delivery service. Right, it seems like your good buffalo is not being eaten by more and more people. You dare question the food my dad and I eat I was studying together. She reached out towards him. He quickly grabbed her wrist brought his face closer, sharp eyes, why question, I was denying her dish, he, hearing the movement behind them, both of them looked back, the first lady was surprised, the second miss was eating delicious Chinese eggs, she used her hands to put each piece into her mouth, chewing happily, you are, you, what are you doing, the two young masters of the Sioux family gasped, how could this be possible, 
And Yu Yan was so happy that she cried, although he couldn't feel his pulse. Looking at Yu Yan's expression, he still had and her sister could also guess the symptoms of the second miss's illness, poor spleen and stomach movement. Insufficient yin, liver qi stagnation due to the death of a relative leading to mild depression. Anorexia, botanical eggs contain many amino acids, many minerals and alkaline vitamins, which can also neutralize stomach acid very well. Lin Sin slowly explained. The second miss looked at the empty plate in her hand. Praise, praise. Delicious. Delicious. He brought her more soup and melon. You can eat it. Let's eat some crushed cucumbers and green bean soup. Yu Yan brought those two dishes and knelt down in front of the second miss. Extremely happy. The second miss has finally won. Okay. My mission has been completed with the appearance fee and reward. Remember to pass it to me. You turn around. Yes. Yes, I will pass it on I'll give it to you. I'm just lucky. This dish has no qualifications at all. If it's not related to your life, then absolutely don't let you eat these common foods. Miss boldly say, if the money I've taken isn't worth playing with you for a bit, I'll cook a popular dish according to your words. You can choose poorly or say it's not delicious after eating it. It's all my fault. If I lose, I will pay you this 100.00.00 reward. But if I win, how about you give me 10,000 more? He calmly replied, Don't, you have a godly tongue. Your taste buds are twice that of normal people. You, you it's impossible to cook a dish that will satisfy her. The second miss picked up her chopsticks and warned you in advance. You are why are you courting an outsider? The young lady looked at her angrily. Okay, the conditions are so completely favorable to me. Why wouldn't I bet? I can't help but say you're very brave but unfortunately you're an idiot. She said contemptuously, then I'll start. You start getting the tools and ingredients. The dish I make now is hot pot. A hot pot on a boiling stove is exactly stepping on my forbidden zone. Hot pot is a dish with no formality. The broth is scattered everywhere. All the food is cooked in one place. The original taste of the pot was all ruined. What else can you say that's delicious? The first lady covered her mouth with her hand and laughed. First young master she was surprised and second young master she was extremely upset. The second miss and Yu Yan I feel a bit worried about you. Lin Sin is a skilled cook. He cooks like he's dancing in the kitchen. Skillful, agile, skillful, finally finished. The fragrance started to exude. So fragrant. What the hell? Everyone is flowing salivating, drooling over the newly released dish. The young lady was also very surprised and covered her mouth with her hand surprised how does this fragrance work in addition to these common flavors there are many types not often used in hot pot cooking la han k patchouli there are more than 30 types there can't be more normally the aromas will hide cancel and bury each other but the aromas in this person's hot pot stand out as if they overlap each other exaggeration this requires exact proportions to be done she seemed to want to stick her tongue out to taste that unique flavor Lin Sin skillfully cut the meat. Finished he put one hand in his pocket. The other again. He gestured as if inviting him to come to the dish yours. I finished the spicy heavenly hot pot. Miss Seo wants to refuse or wants to try eating it. She brought her chopsticks. Her heart was confused. Thinking. That fragrance structure is already very powerful. The water if you boil it. It will make the fragrance explode in waves. Just smelling it is hard. Almost impossible to resist. If I eat it, I really can't imagine what I will become. No, if I eat it, it's not is it no different from admitting defeat directly. At that time, Yua looked what about me. Saw her sister and Yu Yan immersed. Captivated like a hungry tiger wanting to rush to eat that rich hot pot. She was helpless. They, huh, as expected, I was the only one awake. How can this kind of common food make me admit defeat? I just need to eat a little bit. Just a little bit to taste it. Just one bite and she feels like heaven and earth. Oh my god, I have never tasted anything like this. A piece of meat it's not often that the hot pot broth brings out such a high class aroma. No, I have to hold back. I absolutely will not lose to this low class dish. Her whole body wreathed, feeling delicious and sore in her armpits. That's just it. I admit that you have some qualifications. The food you cook can only be barely eaten. But if you want me to say it's delicious, it's far from delicious. I've won this bet. Lin Sin smiled, scratched his head, pointed at her. Um, 
Do you want to see what you're doing? Why is this? My body is so arbitrary. My mouth says one thing but my hands do another. She eats greedily. Her mouth is full of hot pot. It's bad. Eating so much at once feels like this spicy and numbing feeling. No good. Stop quickly and keep chewing like that. My tongue will. This type of spicy and numbing is pepper. Horseradish. Mustard. Chili buffalo horn. Instant noodles. Ginger. Pepper black and white mixed together. The amount he used too much was a trap designed specifically for her. Her tongue was numb and numb. She stuck out her tongue twice as long as a normal person. Her eyes were filled with tears. Her body like it was hot. Twisted yet seductive. Her tongue. He pointed out in surprise. That's right. This is a real tongue that's twice as long as a normal person's. So the taste buds are also twice as long. Can taste more details in flavors. Good and bad are equally magnified. So many times. Moose Yan. Don't explain anymore if you've already lost. Maybe it's our turn to eat. Yu Yan and the second miss said but their eyes kept looking at the hot pot. They couldn't help but crave it. Okay. Finally. The two of them decided to use chopsticks to eat. Yes. Yes. The second miss. Let's eat quickly. Don't. This hot pot is too scary. If everyone eats it, they will become slaves to the man's food. This guy cooked it. The young lady tried to stop in vain. It's so delicious. There's nothing more to say. Take 1000 point oh and come here. You look at the young lady. I don't mind. I don't mind. How could I lose to this commoner? She felt bitter and said. Notification system. Favorability plus 50%. Co Xiang Ying's favorability 30%. Brother. We I lost. The food this person cooked was so powerful. Mr. Xi held his head. Worried. Hum my useless brother. From the beginning I knew you would fail. So I already had a plan. The plan is more perfect. Young Master Shi smiled sinisterly. What? This play is really excellent. Not bad. Not bad but it's time for the curtain call. He clapped his hands. Looked at him and the girls. This is the contract of our Shi Import Export Food Company and Co Yi House Co Family. Because they don't have enough money. Constantly research our high quality food products. In addition he entices them I invested in the risk and it was his responsibility. Now if the investment fails, we must compensate us for all the capital. Yu family is already facing bankruptcy. He took out the contract paper and pointed at Yu Yan. Look, no way, you said nonsense. The eldest lady was angry. But Yu Yan worriedly told the truth. It was the truth. These contracts were all signed by Mr. Seo. Total debt to the export food company imported Xi 1 billion 5. The first miss said loudly, I don't believe it. Dad never told me this. The second miss said gently and worriedly. Then can we split half of CO Yi House's profits to no debt? After all we have 50 establishments nationwide. The two Xi brothers laughed loudly. What kind of developments are your CO Yi House's profits really living in? CO Yu Yi House has lost several billions in the past two years. It's better to give up the establishment and have to close it. Now you have only one way. Which is to pay the entire CO family to me to repay this 1.5 billion debt. After that, I will remember the long-standing friendship between the two families and take care of you and your sister. Young Master Shi looked triumphant and extended his hand towards the two young ladies. Mr. Shi approached the second miss. You are no no need to be afraid. I will definitely take care of you. The second miss panicked when she saw it. Scared. Don't. Seo Xiang Yu pulled her hand back not to let Mr. Shi touch her. She quickly hid behind the eldest lady. Sister, save me. I don't like this person. The eldest lady stood in front to shield her sister. She pointed at her cousin. I will sell the entire Seo Yi house to pay off the one and a half billion debt. But even if I will not sell to anyone I sell to you. Young Master Shi smirked. Put his arm around his younger brother's shoulder. Oh my god. Are you so arrogant? You still think you're a young lady. Now you're just a pair of beautiful sisters. We're bankrupt. We brothers are ready to accept you too as lovers. It seems like we still have some respect for you too. We'll be sold in less than three days before the compensation period is due. Let me see for a while. How much money can two people make in such a short time? At that time, don't want to kneel down and beg for us brothers. He was interrupted before he finished speaking. Anyone can do it. Right, I'll buy it. Lin Sin holding a card in his hand. There were two billion in this card. Sold all of Co Yi building. 
a total of 1.5 billion and 500 left was the development investment fund for COE House. Yu Yan suddenly swiped the card. You have successfully spent 2 billion. Yes, there is really 2 billion. Isn't he just a trash? How can he have so much money? The two Xi brothers' eyes widened. Mouth opened. His face turned black. Who exactly is he? The two CO family sisters were equally surprised. You, mother, who are you? Dare to come here to ruin my good things. Mr. Xi couldn't stand it anymore. He wanted to rush in. Up with you. Quickly shut your mouth. Retreat first. Young Master Xi sensed that the situation was not good. Immediately covered his younger brother's mouth and dragged him away. Let him go. You are is mine. Mr. Xi doesn't mind. Screaming. The second Miss Xiang Yu bowed gratefully. Mr. Lin. Thank you. If it weren't for your help. I really don't know what to do. Today you saved me twice last time. Miss. Didn't believe it and asked. Why do you have to help us? You smiled gently. If you felt dissatisfied on the way. Just help. No need to thank me. Dai. The young lady stood in front of her sister. Her face serious. Could it be that you looked at my sister? I tell you. You want to use money to buy Yua. I will absolutely not let you get what you want. The second miss immediately stopped. Sister. What are you talking about? Yu Yan went over and gave the contract to the eldest lady. This is the contract to buy back Co Yi House according to Mr. Lin's wishes. Please see. Miss. Received the contract. Read it in surprise. The business rights and all other rights of Co Yi House were kept unchanged. All belonged to Co Xiang Ying and Co Xiang Yu. Lin Xin was the investor and enjoyed 20%. Co Yi House's profits. The second miss came to see. Excited. Wow. You, Mr. Lin is indeed our great benefactor. The eldest lady is still skeptical. Why did you do that? Why did it happen? There can be good people who don't need to repay like that. Sure enough, he saw you were right. Huh, she continued reading the last line of the contract, along with additional condition number one. Xiao Xiang Ying became the secretary of investor Lin Xin. Come at any time. Condition number two. She raised her voice. What do you mean by additional conditions here? Do you really think I will sign this contract? Brother dreaming, you cross your arms and calm down. Is that so? But this matter is not up to you alone to decide. You are, the first lady shouted loudly. The second miss is quickly signing. This contract if even only if you and your sister sign together is it considered legally valid. Now only you are missing. The second miss quickly came and hugged her sister fondly. Sister, sign it. Mr. Lin Sin is a good person. He will definitely not do bad things. Heard his sister say that plus what happened just now. Now, the eldest lady also softened her heart. Decided to sign. The names Co Xiang Yu and Co Xiang Ying appeared on the contract. Held the contract in her hand. Lin Sin was satisfied. The operation was still completed. Such beauty. A restaurant chain that is losing money like crazy. A person who is not swayed by money even sees himself as an extremely unpleasant counter-attack target. Is there a more perfect card swiping tool like that? Moreover, she signed the additional conditions and is considered my slave. I really like seeing her uncomfortable appearance but having to obey my orders. In that atmosphere, in the afternoon sunset, on the black four-wheeled vehicle, making a grumbling, annoyed sound, why did you drag me away just now? Obviously I can beat him up, force him to give up his purchasing rights. I don't. What the hell do you understand? That person with the surname Lin can casually take out 2 billion in working capital. Which proves that his ordinary appearance is all fake. We can't confront him head on. I got it. Mr. Xi was at a loss. So should we just run away humiliatingly like that? I can't swallow this anger. You are almost got it. Young Master Xi smiled sinisterly. Impossible head on confrontation. Not to mention that we can't play tricks. That idiot dares to take over such a loss making COE building. As long as we secretly add fuel to the fire, by then the loss will be no less than a year. Two billion, let's see how much money he has to make up for the loss. You're so amazing, I admire you so much. Young Master Xi looked out the window, smiling full of intrigue. It was late at night. Why, CO family villa, the eldest lady was covered in sweat. She was panting, lying on the dining table and writhing. Her eyes were fascinated, her face was red and her tongue was sticking out. On the table was hot pot, that Lin Sin had cooked in the morning. She was still eating them. It was so numb, so hot, 
That bastard Lin Sin obviously had the ability to make a high-class menu, but he deliberately made himself addicted to certain foods. Eating this low level, eating this kind of food is simply an insult to my god's tongue. And he also wants me to be his secretary. This hatred must be reported. His favorability CEO Xiang Ying added 5%. The system announced again that Lin Sin was lying on the bed playing with his phone. Hmm, he couldn't sleep in the middle of the night. So why did he increase his favorability for no reason? Message in the phone notification. It's a chat group of a chivalrous and upright brotherhood. You guys I'm coming to Yan Jiang tomorrow. It's my good high school brother Pang Yu. Long time no see. He left a message. Tomorrow guys I will welcome you. It was Zheng Hao's message. Zhou Tong also joined in the fun. Mr. Yu, I miss you so much. Pang Yu immediately texted back. Are you guys still not sleeping? Another brother Wu Ji replied. Sleep fart. Don't get drunk tomorrow. Don't come back. The next morning, at Yan Jiang Station, the Lin Sin fraternity is welcoming Pang Yu. Here, Mr. Yu, Pang Yu appeared with a huge backpack. His face is haggard. His eyes are dark. His beard is awkward. His hair is long. Pang Yu, why did he suddenly come to Yan Jiang this time? Is it because he misses his brothers so much? But why do he look so tattered? Like this. The black pants on the eyes are clearly visible. Day and night. Right. Lin Sin put his arm around his shoulder and asked him. Another friend also said. I heard that you are working as a laborer. You are also very famous in the industry. Right. I'm just trying to make a living. Pang Yu touched his head. Actually this time I came to Yan Jiang. It's because of Xiao Lian. He smiled. I'm about to meet my wife's parents. Delicious. You kid. What's going on you're so old and you're hiding from your brothers. You and Xiao Lian met on the internet. At that time, I still thought you two weren't very good. I didn't expect that you would achieve such righteous results. Let's go. My brothers will take you up. Map. The brotherhood each contributed each sentence. They walked happily together. At the dormitory, Lin Sin was excited. Here, try this. Zhou Tong held the white shoes. Put these on. Much more temperamental. Wu Ji picked up the perfume bottle and sprayed it on his neck. Sprayed some more perfume. Full of romance. Burst. The previously haggard Pang Yu transformed into a bright young man. More handsome. Neat hair. Wearing the clothes his friends gave him. White shirt. Blue shirt. Trousers. White shoes. The expression on his face also brightened. He looked at the person inside and couldn't believe it. That's me. Zhou Tong touched his chin and assessed. Like this. Going to meet Xiao Lian and her parents. There must be no problem. He happily replied, well, thank you brother, then I'll go. Pang Yu rushed over with the gift and bouquet of flowers. He remembered the text messages between the two of you. Co Lian, why didn't you reply to my message? Transferred 5,000 yuan, received 5,000 yuan. Pang Yu, parents I know our story. They criticized me for being a gamer for hire. We won't contact each other anymore. What? Your parents already know. Co Lian, don't worry. I will go to Yan Jiang. I will definitely make you two look at me with different eyes. Because in the future I will receive a lot of money to bring you a better life. Even more simple. I only sleep two hours a day. I will definitely be honest and take you home. Pang Yu. I'm so sorry but we should still consider the long term. Not in a hurry. Touching crying face emoji. I've arrived at Yan Jiang. I've arrived. Xiao Lian's house is upstairs. Xiao Lian didn't read the message. Maybe he's still sleeping. He stood below looking up at the apartment building with anticipation. Now he will go up to find you. If she knows I'm coming, she will definitely be surprised. He opened WeChat. The conversation between the two of them appeared. Blushing faces. With a beautiful bouquet of fresh flowers. Right now at Xiao Lian's house. The phone on the bed is ringing. The name Pang Yu appears. Mr. Yun, you're really ugly. You want people to dress like this and play with you. It's disgusting. This will bring more feelings. Xiao Lian and a person named Mr. Yoon were flirting around on the bed together. She was wearing this outfit. The clothes of a character in the game. Revealing in all kinds of places. Looking sexy. The two of them were having fun but the phone on the bed kept ringing. My phone is ringing. My boyfriend Pang Yu is coming to find me. Don't even answer the phone. But. I told you to listen to his phone. Didn't you hear it? He made a commanding face and ordered. Xiao Lian to lie down and hold the phone to his ear. Hello, Xiao Lian. 
Yu under the door of her building. Pang Yu was picked up by Xiao Lian, so he quickly showed off. At the same time Mr. Yun went deep into Xiao Lian's body, causing her to scream out loud. Pang Yu didn't know what was going on. Something happened to her. He hurriedly carried the bouquet of flowers and gifts, answered the phone and ran upstairs. Xiao Lian, what's wrong with you? Do you feel uncomfortable somewhere? Let me go up there. Xiao Lian, you try your best. I'm coming right now. She was continuously being pounded by Mr. Yoon and answered him on the phone. With a look of pleasure on her face. I'm playing League of Legends and got wrecked by the enemy EZ. His ultimate move is so powerful. I can't hold on anymore. I was confused when I answered the phone. Why is Xiao Lian's voice so strange? Mr. Yoon was lying on top of Xiao Lian. You're so aggressive. I'm still trying to play with that poor guy how long until that? She lay on the bed rocking, breathing heavily. Mr. Yoon has only you in my heart. It's because he's brave enough to keep clinging to me. I can't let go. Mr. Yoon smiled happily, then let her mind completely die. The two continued to climax. Xiao Lian hugged his neck and cried out happily. Both obeyed him. Pang Yu had gone up to her house. He stood in front of the door and knocked. Xiao Lian opened the door. I'm here. Open the door quickly. I've brought a gift for you and aunties. Wait a moment. Will. The door that opened was not the person he had been longing for day and night. It was a man with a welcoming face. More importantly, his pants were left unzipped and half closed. What's more painful inside is the appearance of Xiao Lian sitting on the bed. Holding the blanket covering her body. Her chest and neck are full of kiss marks. She sits cross-legged, smiling and looking at him. Expressing feels like it's nothing. Both gifts and flowers immediately fell to the ground. Pang Yu was stunned. Xiao Lian, you, you, I'm sure you understand now. Mr. Yoon walked over and lifted Xiao Lian's body close to his. He kissed her with his lips. He sat down on the ground in shock. It couldn't be. Xiao Lian wasn't you who said he would marry you. Xiao Lian leaned on Mr. Yoon. Pang Yu, at that time I was just joking with you for fun. Mentioning my parents was just because I wanted you to find it difficult to leave. I didn't expect you to be stupid come to this. Actually running here, there is no way. Now you can see clearly. I am Mr. Yoon's woman. Pang Yu crying. Holding on. Don't you treat me well. Do you know, the moment you say you need money, I'll exhaust all the money I've accumulated for half a year. Every day. Every night. I don't play video games at all. I eat dumplings and pickles every meal. If if you're hungry, drink a lot of water. Why do you treat me like that? She not only didn't feel moved, but also leaned closer to Mr. Yoon. Standing in front of you. Pang Yu, I'm with you. There's basically no relationship. But Mr. Yoon is not like me. He is the hottest streamer on the internet. Just live streaming a match can earn hundreds of millions. While I am just a low-class gamer for hire, an order only costs $10. How bad? What can you compare with him? Pang Yu collapsed on the floor. Tears streaming down his face. So you always considered me like that. So why did you care then? Come to me like that. Ask after me. Kindly make me love you completely. That's just me being too honest. Caring about my friends. Pang Yu, you don't bring me a future. She raised her hand to her face and said, let's break up. Pang Yu it sounded like lightning struck ears. Two tears kept falling. He stared blankly. It was already night. At the dormitory, Lin Sin and the others were worried. Strange. Why didn't Mr. Yu reply to the message? Guys I was planning on inviting him to dinner tonight. You are you done with work yet? Let's go out for dinner tonight. Bring your sister-in-law along. We invited guests. Where is Mr. Yu replying to messages? Messages in the chat group keep appearing. Calling for Pang Yu. Lin please hold the phone but your hand keeps twitching. Your right eye keeps twitching. You keep feeling like something's wrong. He called back. It's Pang Yu calling Lin Sin. Hello, are you a friend? This is the owner's number. Right. He jumped off the bridge I saved you. I'm in Yan Jiang Central Hospital now. Come here quickly. What? Jumped off the bridge. Everyone screamed in panic. At the hospital, Pang Yu was wearing a hospital gown. Was receiving fluids and oxygen on the hospital bed. Now he is out of danger. Unexpectedly he died because of that girl didn't deserve to die. The whole group of friends couldn't help but look at him with worry and pity. Only Lin Sin's face darkened. Lin Sin what should we do? Of course it's an eye for an eye.
he took out his phone to call someone. A few days later, at a luxurious party, everyone was dressed splendidly, dresses and vests appeared one after another, under the shimmering yellow lights. Everyone happily chatted, it could be gossip, it could also be business. I heard, my good-for-nothing boyfriend went off a bridge. Why, I don't really know, but he probably wanted to use suffering and humiliation to get revenge. Hold on to me, it's just that now my heart is in Mr. Yoon's place. No matter what he does, it's useless. Your little mouth really knows how to comfort. Mr. Yoon and Seo Lian also have it present at the party. Each person held a glass of wine and chatted happily. This party was, it is said, Mr. Zhu of the eSports group. Held to congratulate player P the new mysterious team member. Recruited into the team and all the people who could participate were high-ranking insiders. Mr. Yoon, but he was able to get an invitation. What a bravery. Seo Lian waved his arm as he walked. Flattery, that's natural, in this eSports world. Who would dare not respect Mr. Yoon? Wait until that player P comes out later. You can help me get an autograph worth a lot of money. Mr. Yoon you are the most powerful. Someone spoke up. Here, player P is here. The big door opens. Seo Lian looked forward eagerly. The people who came out of the VIP waiting room were all big guys. Player P was Pang Yu. The figure of Pang Yu and the others came out of the VIP room together. Seo Lian was so terrified that he was delusional. Damn hey, to chase me. Did you come all the way here? The three people Lin Sin, Pang Yu and Mr. Zhu were coming. But in front of them was Seo Lian. The assistant immediately came to push her away. Please get out of the way. Please do not block the way of distinguished guests. Pang Yu, I didn't expect you to be so stubborn. I told you, now that I am Mr. Yoon's person, I will absolutely not be with you. Seo Lian hugged Mr. Yoon and looked at him contemptuously. Mr. Yoon also hugged her back and looked at him. Today is a high-class party. No matter what tricks you use to cause trouble, this is not a place you can step into. Go quickly. Don't let people have to be kicked out. That would be very embarrassing. Pang Yu's eyes were sharp. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Seo Lian looked upset. Mr. Yoon saw someone's silhouette. Immediately smiled. Walked over and raised his hand to start a conversation. Mr. Zhu. Long then we didn't see each other. I'm Wang Yoon. We met before at a social party. Mr. Zhu also politely shook hands again. Mr. Yoon. How can I help you? You probably don't know. In at your party. I'm afraid there will be some people with unknown identities coming to cause trouble. For example, Mr. Pang Yu here, I want to ask you, the minimum condition to participate in this high-class party is to be a millionaire. A poor guy like you, where did you get the invitation? Pang Yu answered truthfully, I didn't have an invitation, it was my friend who brought me here directly. Seo Lian puffed out his chest, disdainfully, don't be a dead duck and still be stubborn, you're just a poor gamer for hire, how dare you be rude to Mr. Yoon. Now now he can protect the eSports world and kill you. Go quickly, otherwise you will be thrown out. Lin Sin calmly spoke up. Maybe the people who will be thrown out will be two people. There, throw me out. Do you believe that all I have to do is shout? And you will immediately be pressed down to the floor. How dare you show off in front of me? It seems to me that you are tired of living. Mr. Yoon, anger pointed at him. Sentences like that of every villain I said it once. I'm tired of hearing it. Please change the script. Lin Sin pretended to be calm. You, Mr. Zhu you see. He immediately turned to sweet talk Mr. Zhu. It's about time. Mr. Zhu doesn't care about him. What? The hall lights turn off. The spotlight shines on the MC. Thank you for taking some of your precious time to come join us while you're busy. To attend our party. Tonight, I take the sincere precepts introducing everyone. Player P just came out to join the Dragon Soul team saw the MC standing there. Mr. Yoon turned to Mr. Zhu and rubbed his palms. Cautiously, in fact, the party was more important. Why would it be? I can't make Mr. Zhu lose interest because of those poor guys. Who is player P? That's right. I also want to find him for an autograph. So I can join the team. Mr. Zhu's key leader is definitely a great character in the future infinite. Seo Lian and Mr. Yoon. The juggler, Mr. Zhu crossed his arms and looked at the stage. Wait a moment and you'll know right away. Below is everyone's discussion. I heard that that player won the championship three times in the United States and then retired. 
Did Mr. Zhu have to spend a lot of money to sign with him? Dragon Soul is the number one team in the country. How can anyone join the team without going through the screening process? This player P can directly debut. Definitely an international giant. The sound of MC went up. Now, please give me everyone's warm applause. Welcome player P Pang Yu stepped up. The lights shined on him. He waved. Pang Yu, that's not a place where you can stand. Go down quickly. Don't embarrass people. Seo Lian raised her voice below. And after speaking, she turned around and saw everyone looking at her with unpleasant eyes. Dot. She was a little panicked. Why didn't anyone stop him? What did he want to do here? It probably didn't mean he wanted to confess to me on stage. If that was true, it would be too awkward. She thought about her power. MC happily said loudly, welcoming player P to join the Dragon Soul team. Mr. Zhu gave Pang Yu a certificate and was equally happy. Player P joined and fought. Dragon Soul team is like a tiger growing wings. The annual salary is more than 50 million. Really worthy. Everyone below is constantly cheering. This is the new key player of Dragon Soul Team. Isn't it? Looks so young. Oh my god. The superstar player is worth more than 50 million. This is the first time in the history of esports in the country. The world of esports was born. Take a lot of pictures to wrote an article. Both Mr. Yoon and Seo Lian suddenly panicked. Shit. What is this? A key player. A million dollar status. How could this be possible? Looking at Pang Yu shining on the field stage. The two of them couldn't believe their eyes. He's a P player. It's impossible. He and I have been in a relationship for two years. He's just a gamer for hire. It must be because he wants to holding you back. Wasting money to find someone to perform this play. Right now, everyone is surrounding Pang Yu. I represent Ponzi Real Estate. Want to give player P a villa in Dongcheng Lake. Invited player P to become a brand representative for Ponzi. Others said, do you live sincerely invites player P to come. We will prepare a hundred million appearance fee for you. Seo Lian upset. Loud voice. That's enough. Pang Yu, even though you didn't have the courage before, at least you were honest. She pushed away the people surrounding Pang Yu. Stepped forward and pointed directly at him. But now, you have become a lying god from beginning to end. Because you want to hold on to me. Yet you find so many people like this to act. I look down on you. Don't have false hope that I will come back to you. You too. Pang Yu. Don't pretend how much money it cost you to hire these people. He paid 10 times more. Told them to go away. Mr. Yoon was as brainless as Seo Lian. And also followed her. Dot. However, Mr. Zhu in the back crossed his arms solemnly. He told someone to go away. Mr. Zhu. He's really just a gamer for hire. You find him to be a player. So it's not ridiculous what's wrong. You must have been deceived. Mr. Yoon is a bit cautious with you. Mr. Zhu is even more serious. I was deceived. The strict requirement to join the Dragon Soul team is to defeat all other members. Pang Yu joined the team based on his strength. No way. How could he have such technique? He listened and was confused. Lin Sin stood next to Pang Yu. Satisfied. Mr. Yu was originally a talented person. He only accepted the job because he wanted to make a lot of money. I didn't expect that he would be looked down upon by others. This time, I only gave him Mr. Yu. To Mr. Zhu's team, he relied on his own strength to stand in that position. He is just a streamer who relied on advertising to get famous. Trash techniques. Bad character damn. You still dare to insult people in the team. He pointed his finger at Mr. Yoon. I. Him immediately froze, thinking angrily. Unexpectedly, I'm ready to hit the wall. This Pang Yu really has luck well. But I don't care. After all, I'm still a big streamer. The big guy of the Do You platform. Waiting for me to live stream and create scandals for Pang Yu. Using him as my goose to lay golden eggs. Come at that time. He couldn't help but come and beg me. Let's go. He pulled Seo Lian's hand through the crowd. Who let you go? Mr. Wang. Mr. Li. Why are you two here? Mr. Yoon. You see what this is? These unique photos of you have been posted online. In the agreement you signed with Do You, we clearly stated. The streamer is not allowed to commit any violations what's the law. You've tarnished the image of our Do You. You have to compensate us 10 times the cost of the contract. Mr. Wang raised his hand and threw up the photos in his hand. Contemporary cloud and rain photos by director Yoon. As expected of Mr. Yoon. The eldest streamer is playing such a mess. 
this fruit has collapsed. A female student has already gone to the police station to report the case. This fruit is definitely dead. Online is a post about clouds Mr. Yoon's rain. Everyone actively commented under the post. And Mr. Yoon seemed to collapse. His eyes stiffened. He couldn't do anything more. No, that's not it. How is that possible? The pictures were was hidden well in my computer's hard drive. How could it have been exposed? Seo Lian quickly scrolled through the article. She was equally panicked. This. This is. Damn. This is awesome. Really awesome. Looks like this girl's name is Seo Lian. I have her WeChat. She's always hooking up everywhere. She's a top tier whore. This time she's famous. Female player in the eSport world gather. Bastard. I heard that she even harmed her ex-boyfriend to go jump off a bridge. What a shameless image of her having fun with Mr. Yoon. The comments are all insulting and laughing at her. Stars it's become like this. I'm done. I'm really done. She couldn't hold back her emotions. She covered her face with both hands as if she couldn't believe it was true. Felt like the sky was about to collapse and crush her. Mr. Yoon immediately ran to where Seo Lian was kneeling down. He grabbed her shoulder and shook her. Seo Lian, this is all your fault. If it weren't for your ungrateful betrayal and hurting Pang Yu, he would also won't treat us so cruelly. He's my ex-boyfriend. He definitely still likes me. Go beg him. Beg him to help us. That's right. Pang Yu still likes me. Now he is a star. His future is wide open. As long as he agrees to marry me, my life can still be saved. She stood up, walking slowly towards Pang Yu. Grab my arm. Pang Yu, congratulations. You finally made it. I know you put all this effort into wanting to marry me. After all, you are so beautiful. Who likes you? I can't tell you too much. Who knows if I'm sincere or not. So before I was just testing you. Now, I've passed the test. I can propose to you. She looked seductive and approached him. Pang Yu looked extremely uncomfortable. My god, this is the first time I have met a shameless girl like this. Someone witnessed it, but covered his mouth in surprise and said, Pang Yu, Seo Lian called out sexy, even moved her lips towards him. Pang Yu coldly avoided, that's enough. Ah, you, Seo Lian lost her momentum and fell to the ground. Now she craves vain glory. That shameless, vile appearance really makes me nauseous. Now get out of my sight immediately. He said fiercely, go, go back to dinner. Mr. Zhu led him and Lin Sin out. Outside there is a supercar waiting for you. The driver respectfully, please get in the car. Seo Lian followed. Wow, supercar. Her eyes glowed. Her face was dirty. She hugged his legs. Pang Yu is sitting in the car. Don't go, Pang Yu. It's obvious that I still love you. Isn't that right? You're so thick faced that you're holding me back. Mr. Zhu spoke up. Quickly pull her out. Remember her face I in the future don't let her come even half a step closer to Pang Yu. Yes. You guys let me go. Pang Yu, look at me. Please. Pang Yu is mine. The other 50 million is mine. Why am I so unlucky? Pang Yu, please come back. I was wrong. I really know I was wrong. She was dragged around very miserably. Not only that, she also used crocodile tears to hold him back. But it was useless. The car had gone far. Pang Yu glanced at her figure in the back. Before I was still a little attached to her. This evening, I saw her true face she's so unsightly. I've completely let go. She's not worthy of me. It's good that you can think like that. Lin Sin sat with his arms crossed. Looking at him with satisfaction. Lin Sin, thank you. If it weren't for you, I might still be struggling in that dark corner. Mr. Yu, it's you I've worked hard to get to where I am today. If you didn't really have the strength, Mr. Zhu wouldn't have signed a contract with you. I'm just helping you open that gate. No matter how I say it, the most valuable thing in my life is to be a brother to you. Mr. Zhu just informed me. Next week I will compete in Iceland. This time, I will definitely win the championship let you see. I believe in you, Mr. Yu. You will definitely do it. The two of them clasped hands. Their eyes resolute. A few days later, the boys' dormitory. Thank you Mr. Keon, I will show you my talent. The sound came from Lin Sin's phone. The screen showed a beautiful girl dancing. There were many comments. No, I can't stand it. Also, thank you very much. You were fascinated looking at the girl on the screen. Her dancing looked very attractive. If you have time you can ask Cha Cha to dance privately for you. And you said that Cha Cha's favorability rating is already 92. 
Wright quickly donates some money. The screen shows a notification again. Xi Jiang Electronic Music Festival. Famous hosts from four major live streaming platforms will also perform live. The night's guest the final is Kun Kun from the United States. A week later waiting for you to come. Xi Jiang Electronic Music. Apparently Cha Cha is also from Xi Jiang. Sure enough, in the show's performances there is a dance performance of her. Based on according to her personality, if there is any new activity, she will run to tell me but this time there is no movement. See if there is a chance to spend money. I texted Cha Cha, Cha Cha, I, I saw that the Xi Jiang Electronic Music Festival had a performance with me participating. Lin Sin, did you see it? I also wanted to ask you to come see me perform. But that dance performance only served to heat up the stage. Just stage. The organization's budget is very small. So the overall effect will be very normal. Plus being placed on the other side. My dancing is basically not bad. I should be qualified to stand. In the center position. As a result, there is a tycoon who is the editor and through relationships. Gave the center position to someone else. So hateful. So poor that he only has money. Transfer me 50 million. Mr. Lin please why did you suddenly transfer me so much money? Cha Cha was surprised. She has a big sponsor. And you have me, your top supporter. This money is enough to buy me a central location. To use it. He's so good to me. Spending millions just to get me the center spot. She was happy. Her cheeks were pink and she thought. Notification system. Favorability plus three. Cha Cha's favorability 95%. Mr. Lin please be nice to me. Love you. I will definitely work hard to arrange beautiful choreography. I will definitely I have to come see you. She replied coyly. Then I will take you around Xi Jiang to play for a few days. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. A week later, at Xi Jiang airport, Lin Sin walked in. Oh, Cha Cha booked the plane ticket for me. Moreover, when she came here these past few days, she even let me stay at her place. It's so nice. Mr. Lin Sin. Here, Cha Cha is sitting in a red car waving towards her. Hey, look at you wearing sports clothes like this. Are you wearing them for rehearsal? He put one hand on the car door and looked at the driver and said. These are yoga clothes. To practice stretching before practicing dancing. Wait a bit and I'll show you how flexible you are. You live in a rented house in this bad neighborhood. The car stopped. In front there was a girl struggling to carry a big black bag. Sister Sio, why are you throwing away so much trash? Preparing to move house. Cleaning the house today. Throwing away some unnecessary things. Huh, you're about to move. The condition of this building is so poor. Dignity the landlord also has a problem. I can't stand it anymore. Besides, won't you move out in two days? I can't bear to leave you at all. Cha Cha hugged Sio Jin. Lin Sin walked out get out of the car. Walked towards the girls. Oh my god. Isn't this the big brother at the top of the list that Cha Cha often mentioned? Finally meeting a real person. Quite handsome. Cha Cha raised his hand to introduce. Mr. Lin Sin. This is my neighbor, Seo Jin. We often play together. Every time there are cockroaches in the house I ask Seo Jin for help to save my life. My boyfriend ability explodes. Every time I kill a cockroach that you all invited me to a feast. Seo Jin put his hand over his mouth and smiled. I love cockroaches so much. At that moment there was an echo from behind us. Are we still talking? Before 12 o'clock in the afternoon I have to check out. I have to pay more if I'm over time. Co Jin. The image of the landlord appeared. Looking at her with a greedy face. Don't worry. It's definitely on time. I don't want to stay any longer. Co Jin walked away uncomfortably. Cha Cha turned to say to Lin Sin. Let's go upstairs too. Cha Cha unlocked the door. His room she appeared. On the table was a computer. Next to it was an exercise mat. Just talking downstairs took too much time and didn't have much time to practice stretching anymore. So I won't do it anymore. Lin Sin walked towards then replied. She went in and pulled her jacket off. Tilted her head to look at him. If she didn't do it it wouldn't work. Just do a few simple movements. Stretch faster then Cha Cha's figure in a yoga outfit appeared. Round come out that round. Correct. She started practicing yoga, with both hands on the ground, both legs in the air to maintain balance. Her whole body was shaking a bit, stretching her muscles in a hurry like that was not effective. Let me help you stretch your whole body, both of your hands touching her waist, cha-cha's waist, through the new movement, cha-cha. 
Put your head on the floor. Bring your whole body upward. You have one hand holding one of her thighs down. His hand also touched her foot. One more time. The last two movements were really effective in stretching the muscles of the whole body. Char Char's whole body was sweating. He raised his hand to wipe his forehead. Mr. Lin, please. Why are you so professional? I often learn from BNP station. You are proud. Teach me a little more. She cooed, holding his hand. Then he pressed her legs again. He pressed her down, pressed her legs towards her head. Char Char felt a little pain. Only a little pain would be effective. Suddenly her lips touched his chin. The atmosphere was loving. I was interrupted by the alarm. Oh my god. Rehearsal time is here. Please bother Lin. Please be patient. I'll play with you again tonight. Must come on time to watch me perform. Hey, I choreographed this performance for you. She quickly opened the door with her bag and walked out. He waved. Sure enough. I heard that water and food at electronic music festivals are expensive. Tin doesn't even let people bring in water. We should still eat something and go. He opened the refrigerator to look. There was a loud argument outside. Don't you think what you did was too much? Do you still have any shame? He opened the door to probe. It was Char Char's neighbor's voice. Stay away. Don't bother me to assess the damage for the homeowner. He opened the door and walked out. Saw a group of people including Char Char's neighbors. What are you looking at? Wait a bit and have to come to your house to collect that money. The landlord just pointed at everyone standing around and said. Everyone heard that and immediately picked up their sandals and ran away. Son, this girl is very sour. You keep her and don't let her I was disturbing. The woman looked at the boy standing next to her and said. Don't you dare touch me. Seo Jin was upset. Lin Sin leaned against the door with one hand. One hand in his pocket. Isn't that right? In broad daylight like this. Someone dares to commit such a despicable act. Like this. We should call the police to arrest them all. You. Mom. Who is he? Angry son. Seo Jin surprisingly. Big brother ranked first on the list. Heard the host family thinking to themselves. Isn't the big brother at the top of the list the kind of stupid guy with lots of money who gives gifts to streamers? What are you guys arguing about? You come closer to Seo Jin. Who is when I checked out? I would assess the damage. But this landlord was looking for trouble. I argued with them. They pushed me again. She put her hands on her hips angrily. It wasn't just a normal damage assessment. Usually, what is there to argue about? I don't understand that this dog owner is very perverted. The owner is holding a bright lamp. Both of them are dazzled. What is this for? Assessing the damage. That but also don't know. The owner and the woman from earlier went into the room to evaluate. She pointed at the cabinet. There were two scratches. And he turned the chair upside down. Looked at the light and said. There were three dents on the chair legs. Dot. Then continued ten bars with horizontal stripes. Four bars had cracks. The total damage to the entire house was 365 seats totaling 57.400 yuan. The room was covered with red paper marking the damage. He concluded even raised his hand to ask for money. Sam Nang, why don't you just go rob it for more than 50,000 yuan? Seo Jin angrily pointed at him. Robbers. Robbers don't get this much money. You guys. Items and compensation for losses are clearly stated and all have clear evidence. In the rental contract. It is also clearly stated that all damages caused by the tenant must be compensated to the landlord according to their needs. According to the extent of the damage. He smiled greedily. Those are called damages. Obviously all of your rooms are already there. Even if you want to ask me to pay even a penny. Seo Jin is patient. Determined to fight back against them. The homeowner stood blatantly. Arms crossed. I don't know where you got so much money. But if you have it. Let your boyfriend pay it. You know I have money. Lin Sin happily asked. You are her number one boss. Right. Even though you didn't watch the live stream. The news was that the number one boss donated so many things to the room owner. I heard a lot. Don't waste any more words. Quickly give me the money. I also have to go clean the room. I'm very busy. I'm not as idle as you two. I'm impatient. Oh. The money to trap your tenants is also good. I have to let myself breathe first. Lin Sin paused scoffed. What are you nosy about? Don't you see I'm assessing the damage to this room so tired that I'm covered in sweat. I'm not standing around like you. Renting a room is like that. A tenant just need to be in charge of expenses. But there are too many things the homeowner has to think about. He and his wife. A toss up. 
have a good mind and the cunning. You bastard, I absolutely will not pay money. And moreover, you have to return my house deposit. Seo Jin angry, raised his middle finger towards them. The landlord said again, definitely not paying, right, okay. The boy carrying Seo Jin's suitcase walked out. A sinister look on his face. My luggage. You were prevented by the other two people from taking your luggage back. Not respecting the compensation contract. I have the right to search your bag. Oh my god. Oh my god if you move your hand again I will call the police to arrest you. The boy opened Seo Jin's luggage. He rummaged through the luggage her underwear just fell out. He pervertedly lifted up her bra to show off. Oh, I can't see it. He normally looks like a man but the underwear is so lewd like this. You really know how to pretend. At the same time the landlord stopped her and took the opportunity to touch her butt. Don't move around like that. Let me go. She raised her hand and stroked his face. Bitch. You dare to scratch my face. He raised his hand wanted to physically impact Seo Jin's body. Lin Sin behind him quickly stopped his arm. The landlord's strength was weaker than that. Looking at you. The first-ranked big brother finally wanted have you already paid. You grabbed his arm and looked at him. No, you can't get even a penny from that compensation money. Ha, every other tenant said the same thing when they first started. In the end, aren't you still obediently compensating? If you say so, mister is there a way? This entire building of mine doesn't cost a penny. The landlord smiled cunningly. You say, oh, Lin Sin squeezed his arm harder. The homeowner shouted loudly, cursing. The boy quickly ran to stop. You dare to hit my father. But Lin Sin quickly dodged away, making him accidentally slipped and fell to the ground. Accidentally touching the chair, blood flowed. Seo Jin picked up his suitcase and walked away, leaving big brother. Let's go. The deposit is like giving it to the dog. Those old foxes. Me, I can't provoke you, and I don't want to get you involved. You think you can go? Come here quickly. Someone is causing trouble. The homeowner picked up the phone and called someone. A bunch of people someone immediately appeared. Lin Sin also calmly took out his phone. Called someone. Who wouldn't know? Brothers and sisters. Does anyone know the shabby neighborhood of Xi Jiang? Hear his voice are you from another area? Calling people from our area. Do you want to make me laugh to death? He put his hands on his hips and smiled. While the other woman crossed her arms. Welcoming. Welcoming. It's best to call more people in. Dare to cause trouble in our Dongguo village. If you don't lose a layer of skin then don't leave. Let's go quickly. Seo Jin was a little worried and quickly pulled the new forest away. There was no time. The landlord's group had arrived. Full of people. Lin Sin still calmly looked at them. The rule of law society still finds so many agents like this here. It's really tyrannical. An old man wearing a white shirt walked out and laughed loudly. I'm the homeroom teacher. Of this neighborhood. Young people should not be so hot-tempered. The landlord quickly pointed at him and Seo Lian and whispered. The homeroom owners are these two people. Not only will they not compensate for damages when renting. In our room and even hit people. The village head is right. This house has charged unreasonable fees of tens of thousands of yuan when inspecting and assessing the damage of the room. It's best to specifically re-educate him. Don't let he alone affects others. Lin Sin pointed at the homeowner and explained. The image of our village doesn't need someone from another area like you to care. You just care about yourself first. Go, hand over the compensation money. Everyone doesn't need to make a fuss and be unhappy. The village head looked at him and said. No wonder this landlord is so arrogant. It turns out he has his back. He doesn't are you afraid that we will call the police. The village head and his people laughed loudly and called the police. When this city was not yet developed. Our ancestors of Dongguo village already lived here. This is our area, the police can't take care of this place. Even if the market comes, we have to respect our Dongguo village. If you know how to be reasonable, please obediently give me money. Of course in addition to compensation, I still have to give our brothers 20,000 yuan for their hard work. Seo Jin panicked, hugged Lin Sin's arm, weakly, I, I have no money. She trembled, alone one day, I went to a big city to do business. Left early and came home late. I was tired of working and dying. I originally wanted to earn some money for my grandmother's medical treatment. I didn't expect to encounter this kind of landlord. How could you bully me? Someone else like that. She felt like she wanted to cry. The woman put her hands on her hips and laughed at Seo Lian's face. 
Oh look weren't you still so sour just now? Why are you crying now? Finally scared. Huh, it's late. No matter how much you cry, the money still has to be paid. The boy also joined in and said, Workers like you are the easiest to make money. If you don't make it then who will make it? The landlord looked at Seo Lian hiding behind Lin Sin's arm. Happily, hey, big brother is ranked first. So let's get out of your pocket. The compensation fee plus the fee for delaying your work here. Total 200,000 if you feel uncomfortable. Then go back and tell Seo Jin to pay you a few nights to pay off the debt. Right, he laughed loudly. Quickly come and give me the money. We guys are very busy. Still holding on. If we wait any longer, the cost of delaying the work will increase a lot. Seo Jin was worried, held his arm. Sadly, sorry, I bothered you. He held her hand. Don't worry, it's okay. No need to be afraid. The landlord hugged his stomach and laughed loudly. No need to be afraid. It turns out this top-ranked big brother doesn't understand the current situation. Son, let him wake up a bit. The boy used his foot to kick down Seo Jin's luggage. My luggage. Seo Jin panicked. The boy became even more aggressive, crushing her suitcase. His expression fierce. Now it was clear what the current situation was. However Lin Sin smiled coldly but calmly. Who was still I don't know the current situation. It's you. The sound of a police car rang out. A series of police rushed in. A captain shouted loudly. Everyone stood still. Their eyes turned oh and their mouths a. Eh? Panicked. Lin Sin walked towards the police. Put the phone in front of them. Hello I'm the one who reported the case. These people are involved in intimidation. Blackmail. Threatening others. Suspected of having illegal construction along with many other crimes. There are witnesses with complete evidence. The phone plays back the recording of the conversation just now. Aren't you afraid that we will report to the police? This is our area. The police can't take care of this place either. If you know what to do, then obediently hand over the money. The homeowner's family looked tense. But the village head smirked. Put his arm around the police chief's shoulder. And pushed Lin please come out. Even take out the cigarette box. Oh isn't this Captain Chen. Long time no see I was thinking of finding you for tea. The landlord whispered in Lin Sin's ear. Sorry, this is it is that what you call calling that person. You want to make me laugh to death. What a pity. Our relationship is something you can't imagine. Remember what I said before. Even if the mayor came here. That's right. He didn't finish his sentence. The captain over there shouted loudly. Don't do that to me. He raised his hand and blew away the cigarette box in the village head's hand. The captain bowed respectfully. Mayor, the situation is under control. Please. The mayor appeared majestically with his hands behind his back. The village committee went to cover for the cruel and organized landlord. Evil forces are oppressing the people again. Quickly arrest suspects and bring them in for investigation. Mayor. They all gasped as if they couldn't believe their ears. The mayor frowned, seriously looking at the village head. Dong Guo Village People's Committee will abolish the position of head of the village from today. And bring him back. The bureau continues to accept the investigation. This time there is no bail. Don't, mayor. I gave you wine two years ago. Have you forgotten? The deputy mayor is also my good brother. You see, the village head was sweating profusely, holding out a pack of cigarettes in front of the mayor with both hands. But the mayor was even angrier. But he dared to slander a state official and add another crime. Otherwise you would be fine. Listening to me, he clasped his hands together in supplication, looked at Lin Sin who had already smiled victoriously and gritted his teeth. Bastard. You. He rushed towards Lin Sin as if he wanted to hit you. Suspect tried to commit a violent crime against another person, and resisted arrest. Arrested. The mayor gave the order. The policemen opened fire on the village leader. He screamed in pain. The homeowner was also shot. Why was even me? The homeowner's wife and son panicking, shouting loudly, Dad. The wife rushed to beg the mayor. Stop quickly again. It's obvious that my husband didn't do anything. How could you guys shoot a gun? Lin Sin spoke up. Didn't the person renting the room also do nothing? You guys impose and cut him down. When I suck someone else's blood, I'm still very arrogant and proud. But when I'm bleeding myself, I start to open my mouth and talk nonsense. If you guys use lights to evaluate the damage, then I'm talking nonsense. To assess the crime, the wife and son were indignant. You, you are from another area. What the hell are you arrogant about coming here? Who do you think you are? 
Immediately the two of them were held at gunpoint by the police enclosure. The mayor ordered that the homeowner's family intentionally destroyed other people's property, intentionally caused injury, threatened others, caused psychological harm, and also wasted work time. So compensation must be made. Give this girl 200,000 yuan. No, mayor, please listen to my explanation. The assistant gave the mayor a stack of evidence papers. He turned it over, according to the information about this house. It was determined to be illegally built. In addition, some people also reported that he owed them wages and construction materials. Now, he was fined 1 million. Yuan at the same time demolished the illegally built house. They cried, held their heads in disbelief. No, why is it like this? In the past it was possible to set a trap. Why is it this time? Dot. Lin Sin came over, the mayor shook hands with him. Fortunately the mayor came forward, otherwise we would have been bullied by these people and could not clear our name. Mr. Kian has been famous for a long time. Then that person was even more frightened when he heard his name. Mr. Kian, what kind of god is this person? Why does even the mayor have such a good attitude towards him? It's rare for you to come to Shi Jiang to play and yet leave you with such bad memories. I'm really sorry, actually, my goal is to turn Shi Jiang into a famous tourist city. So so I wonder if you are interested in investing in a cultural tourism project. The mayor held your hand tightly. Well, you can think, wait for me to investigate. You think, maybe there is a tool to swipe money. Then I will contact you. The mayor with joy in my heart. Secretly, if it wasn't for Mr. Fei of Yan Jiang and Mr. Shuru calling together to tell me the situation here. I would have really offended this rich man Mr. Kian. I originally wanted to turn Shi Jiang into a if a famous tourist city gets investment from such a rich man. The mayor thought with joy. And the others lost hard. It turns out we were blind. Kicking ourselves in the iron plate. In the end let's get them arrested. Thank you for helping me. Let's add friends on WeChat. Okay. Your screen shows you sent money. Aren't you short of money? Why send it to me? Seo Jin looked at him a little shyly. I know that money is very little and for him. This amount of money is not enough to buy gifts. But today's matter was solved thanks to you coming forward. So I have to show off a bit. Although I lack money, I still know the morality of gratitude and gratitude. Lin please be happy. Because that dark-minded landlord is really not a good person. I, I can't stand it either. So I accept this 800 yuan. Seo Jin suddenly pounced and kissed his cheek. Don't misunderstand. I didn't mean to dig Char Char's corner. I simply wanted to express just thank you. Anyway, we won't have a chance to see each other again in the future. Bye bye. Finished talking. Take your luggage and go. He chuckled. What a straightforward girl. Now there's nothing left to do. Okay, let's go to the performance hall. At the performance venue, the lights were sparkling. There were so many people. Lin Sin looked at it and exclaimed. The stage was so big. It was more bustling than I imagined. As expected of an electronic music festival supported by four major platforms. When will Cha Cha's performance start? Before your eyes are couples who do not hesitate to show their affection for each other. A girl sitting on her boyfriend's shoulder cheering. Or couples hugging each other passionately. The atmosphere is really not bad. On stage the orchestra is on fire. The sound is noisy. Below is the constant cheering of the audience. Not only that you also see a couple who are a bit too affectionate momentum in public too. He just smiled and looked at it. Oh he saw it but shouldn't say it. At this time the MC introduced the guests present in the final. One of the guests of the final DJ was in top 100 globally. Kundi walked in excitedly. Hello everyone. Outside his fans were screaming loudly. Is Kundi. Kundi. An extremely bustling scene right now. Are people crazy about him? I couldn't help but push the fence and step forward. These beautiful hot girls rushed over without noticing and collided with the people around them. They shouted excitedly. I finally met someone. Really, Kundi, I really like your music. Kundi is now hugging the girls running to him. His hands are uncontrollably touching sensitive parts. But the girls are still very happy about it. Kundi you're beautiful so handsome. I prepared a gift for you. His eyes became even more lecherous. Oh yeah, I really like your gifts. At this time Lin Sin's eyes became disgusted by that action, of him. He was more surprised to see a man boldly walking towards him. Quickly get rid of your rotten hand for me. A hand grabbed a girl's arm, then pulled it away from Kundi's body. 
That was Zhao Wei. He pulled the girl towards him and angrily pointed at the other man. Hey damn, do you want to make fun of my girlfriend? At this moment the girl was shameless and instead pulled her shirt and blamed Zhao Wei. Zhao Wei, are you crazy? This is a foreign cultural ritual. See you kissing the cheek is a sign of politeness. Only a despicable person like you feels that people are gossiping. Besides, when did I agree to be your girlfriend? Don't be here talking nonsense. Misunderstanding, Zhao Wei saw the person he loved like that and was bewildered. You, the girl who didn't care about Zhao Wei immediately left him and ran towards Kundi. Kundi wait for me, Zhao Wei is hotter than food right now chilly. He couldn't help but swear. At this moment Lin Sin walked over and patted his shoulder. Zhao Wei, is that girl your girlfriend? Zhao Wei turned around in surprise. Mr. Kian. Then he hugged his head was full of helplessness. That girl was someone I had known a while ago. Unexpectedly she was a western fanatic. He couldn't control himself but lost his temper and shouted. That Kundi is not just the one who three years ago ranked top 10 in the global DJ top 100. Damn it. In the end it's still because he's American. Lin Sin smiled softly to comfort Zhao Wei. Thinking about it, at least look, knowing someone so early is also a good thing. At this time the MC introduced the stage, followed by the performance of five famous female streamers of the Leopard platform. Below everyone was excitedly shouting. Only Lin Sin and Zhao Wei stood still without emotion. Lin Sin thought to himself, Cha Cha is about to perform. It turns out he only came here today because of Char Char, even though the MC introduction was done. But there was still no one in sight. On stage, no one knew why. At this moment a silence covered the entire place. The audience below were constantly shouting and screaming. Why haven't we seen anyone on stage for so long? Oh hey, where are you? Hurry up and perform. The stage is so deserted. At this time the host shyly bowed and apologized. I'm so sorry everyone. There was a slight technical adjustment backstage. Please welcome Sexy Fox's performance. The audience below couldn't sit still anymore. They became even angrier. What are you doing? Please hurry up. After the female streamer's dance performance is over. It's Kundi's turn. Don't waste time. We want to see Kundi perform. It seems that the leading dancer in this performance is that Cha Cha girl. Right. I found a big brother who ranked first and then appeared on the news several times. So now I'm arrogant. Damn it. Go to the platform to complain to her. If she doesn't come out I'll ask for a refund of the ticket. Lin Sin saw that the situation was unstable and was a bit worried. Strange. Went backstage to see what was going on. He walked towards the backstage where no one was there. He pushed the door himself in. There was no one there. Security guard. At this moment he saw Cha Cha and two other people standing in front of the door. Inside the room there was very exciting music. Cha Cha was full of anger. He was probably inside and then broke the door and left. The young man pulled out the key. Don't, don't, don't. I got the key. I can open the door now. Lin Sin walked over full of wonder. Cha Cha what happened? Cha Cha turned around. Mr. Lin Sin, our performance team has a member named Hei Mei. Before going on stage to perform, she was nowhere to be seen. As a result she ran into Kundi's room and refused. Went out. At this time the other person was using the key to open the door. After knocking for so long but no one opened it. Kundi what are they doing inside there? As soon as the door was opened. The three of them stunned speechless. In the lively music room. Cigarette smoke everywhere. Kundi was hugging two naked girls. The soft features of their bodies were all on display for him to see. At this time Kundi, who was in a state of ecstasy was immediately startled. He widened his eyes and stood up. Fuck, who are you to dare to barge into someone else's private room? Get out. The two girls cried out shyly. At this time, the clothes were scattered everywhere. The security guard was confused. Kundi isn't he about to go on stage? Why? Cha Cha couldn't believe his eyes. Hey Mei, you quickly get dressed. You're going to be late of the performance. Hey Mei didn't listen and instead blamed Cha Cha. You're so annoying, I still want to be with Kundi. Then she turned and used her long, soft legs to rub Kundi's legs. Smiled in satisfaction, we still weren't happy enough. The short-haired girl next to me also used her chest to press against the Kundi and moaned happily. That's right, after this girl was happy, it was my turn. At this time, both girls' ankles had the symbol of a spade. Cigarette smoke was still billowing around them. 
Lin Sin and Cha Cha were both uncomfortable and had to cover their mouths. Cha Cha grimaced, Hey Mei, what have you eaten? At this time Lin Sin pulled her back. Don't come too close, inside this room are all smelly things. So smelling too much will cause problems in people's brains. At this time Hey Mei doesn't know bad things on the contrary. She put her clothes back on and said in a provocative voice. Hey, don't you really admire me? Because I can be with Kundi. He's American. Moreover, Kundi agreed later. Hey will take us back to the country together. Then she turned to ask Kundi coyly. Isn't that right Kundi? He pretended. Yes, my baby. With momentum Hey May's imagination became even richer. Coming when I'm famous in America. I'll be in America making money from the Chinese audience. I admit that in the past I really admired her for having a top-ranked big brother. But compared to Kundi, it's nothing. Mr. Hoa Kwok is so low. The short-haired girl next to him also chimed in. Yes, my wish is to be able to give birth to a child with American blood. Lin Sin smiled lightly. Sister, you two still really believe in the theory of elite mixed-race children. Being brainwashed is enough. Then Lin Sin explained. Because the IQ of Chinese people is also the highest in the entire world. In order to take care of high-ranking people who only have lower IQs. The admission scores for American schools for Chinese students are dozens of points higher than other schools. With that expression, they always promote the culture of equality. It's really ridiculous. Not listening. Hey Mei shouted. These are all news that I want to blacken on the internet. I don't believe you guys. Go away. Don't be here to prevent me and Kundi from playing together. It's a waste of time to explain. With that kind of person. At this time the girl next to him didn't care and caressed the Kundi. Wow the Kundi has two heads. At this time the Kundi suddenly raised his voice. Wait a minute. Then he walked up to Cha Cha and extended his hand to get acquainted. Pretty girl. Cha Cha you are very beautiful. I like you very much. Want to stay and play with me? This time he said as he reached down to signal. You still haven't tasted my premium Armstrong gun yet. Right, the two girls saw that and immediately whined. Kundi is obnoxious. There are two of us and that's not enough. Then you are full of confidence. Moreover I can help you deal with the anger of the outside audience. Let's just say that I asked everyone to help coordinate the performance. Which is why it was delayed. The audience outside will surely forgive you. For performing so late. At this moment Cha Cha said the fatal sentence. Please sorry he's too small. Then she raised her hand to show how small it was. Making the young man next to her laugh. At this moment she stood close to Lin Sin. Even my Lin Sin's little finger was bigger than his. Kundi was shocked when he heard that. What? Then he raised his foot to shoot a blow at Lin Sin even though the other person stopped him. Are the men of the country more powerful than me? Don't be ridiculous. So now now I'll show you how weak the Chinese men are. Kundi punched Lin Sin in the face and laughed loudly. I told you, the Chinese men are a bunch of soft eggs. Just seeing me threaten not daring to move. Lin Sin stood still. He used his forehead to fight back. Kundi screamed in pain. He screamed so much that the phlegm in his throat flew out to heaven and earth. I don't understand why the women are so fascinated. Lin Sin's strength did not expect to be so formidable. He shot far away and fell onto the sofa. The chair fell out immediately. Two girls screamed. Kundi. Two girls ran to help him up. Kundi are you okay? And he was in pain when he touched his nose. It hurt so much. This lowly Chinese man broke my nose. Then he roared. How dare you Chinese people scold cursing and injuring someone like me who ranks fourth among black, white, and brown in America. Call your manager here. I want to call the police. I have to chase you away. Chase Cha Cha away let all the outside spectators be violent. At this moment a voice rang out from behind. No need to be so annoying. The voice came from Boss Lay of Leopard Tooth Platform. The same two the bodyguard walked over. I had already reported to the police. At this moment Cha Cha was surprised and couldn't help but think. Boss Lay, the big boss of Leopard Tooth Platform. Why did he come here by himself? Kundi was not embarrassed at all he shyly spread his hands and said excitedly. You guys understand what is called international status. Right now he is acting cool. Boss Lay right. I have a resort villa in Palm Beach, Florida. Flower periodically. Every three days. I hold a party. With all kinds of stars and internet celebrities attending. For the ordinary rich people of China. It is simply a dream scene. I don't even dare to dream. 
If you came here today I would make you the first guest of the flower country to be invited by me. At this time, those two brainwashed girls widened their eyes. Oh my god, Palm Beach that's the area where there are many millionaires in America. If you can just walk there for a while, your life will be worth it. At this moment Boss Lay waved his hand, apologizing to this black customer who didn't know what to call him. What? I still haven't finished talking. Just now I said that I reported the incident here to the police from the beginning. Then Boss Lay couldn't keep calm and pointed at him and shouted. You blatantly using illegal drugs in China, beating Chinese people, raping Chinese women, maliciously sabotaging music festivals, cheating on contracts. These crimes are enough for you to sit down. Already in jail, everyone who heard it was surprised. At this moment Boss Lay ignored the Kundi. His voice and face immediately changed. He reached out to shake hands with Lin Sin. He had heard Mr. Kian's name for a long time. Still I wanted to meet you but I couldn't find a reason. I didn't expect to meet you at this unpleasant scene. It's really embarrassing. Just leave it to me to deal with from now on. There's no need for Mr. Kian to deal with these types of trash. Dirty hands. Lin Sin shook Boss Lei's hand and smiled lightly. Then he was bothering Boss Lei. At this moment Kundi walked over in anger and shouted. Boss Lei, you made a mistake, right? It's obvious that this guy rushed in on his own, came into my private dressing room, even raised his hand to hit me, yet he called the police to arrest me. Boss Lei couldn't bear it anymore. Arresting you is arresting you. In the area of the country want to arrest a guy even though you're black. You still have to tell the time. Look what you've done. You dare to play with toys at my place. At this moment, the two girls were lying on drugs, laughing with satisfaction, on the table scattered cans and pills. Kundi is truly fearless. He crossed his arms over his chest and argued, this drug is legal in America, because your country is a backward country. That's why you put such drugs on the list. Ban, this stupid and ignorant country still wants to arrest me. I am a noble DJ from America, has won an award in the top 100 DJs in the world. This trash program of yours has paid extremely high prices to invited me to perform. I had to reluctantly do it. At this moment Boss Lay's face was full of contempt. Wherever you go, you must respect the law there. You are an American and you don't even understand morality. That's it. Besides, it was your manager who begged me to give you a position. So we reluctantly agreed to let you participate in the electronic music festival. Do you think we are very valuable? At this moment the short-haired girl shouted angrily. What are you talking about? Kundi is a DJ in the top 100 globally. Worth more than billions. World famous and also American. Can go to replace this little guy's performance is already saving face for us. But he's not even grateful and wants to call the police to arrest him. I don't know what kind of intoxicating drug he gave this girl. Lin Sin suddenly force. This girl, if you have assumed that Americans are one level higher than others. Then you can see clearly what happened next. Then he called Zhao Wei. Zhao Wei, making the girl bewildered. I don't understand what's going on. At this time, Zhao Wei walked in holding the phone in his hand. Mr. Kundi was scared at this moment but still tried to argue. What secret news? You're talking nonsense. At this moment he held up the phone in front of the two of them. Open your eyes and look carefully. It's all news about Kundi's crime. At this time, Kundi and the two girls were both shocked. At this time the two girls were still stubborn. Kundi, those things were all fake. Right, I don't believe it. They must have created fake news to smear you. At this time, Zhao Wei immediately gave proof. Just say it with your mouth. Don't believe it. This is a US credit rating website. Kundi's credit rating in the US is currently in a level D violation state. By the way, this website is public. You can access it to see the credit ratings of American citizens. Hey May, close your ears when you hear that. I don't believe this is all the work of you low-class people teaming up to harm Kundi. The short-haired girl pretended. Kundi can you refund the 100 yuan green card fee to me? I want to think more about going to America with you. At this time Kundi shook her hand so. Relying on your strength to cheat money. How can you return it? Knowing that he was deceived. The two girls shouted loudly, hitting him repeatedly. Those things are all real. He is not just a poor poor guy and he also has an infectious disease. You killed me. Quickly give me back my money. At this time he physically affected two beautiful girls. Go away you motherfuckers. At this time the police have arrived. 
Who is it? Reported to the police. There is someone using banned substances here. Boss Lay quickly replied. It's me. The evidence is all here. These two girls are also suspected of being involved and brought in for questioning. Look it up. At this time, the three of them were all given silver bracelets. Hey May cried. I was wrong. I was really wrong. I was tricked by this American so I did this. I am innocent. Cha Cha on this side laughed lightly. It's really good to know Americans. In less than a day I was given a pair of silver bracelets and also provided free food and accommodation. At this time the police took Kundi away but he was still stubborn. Wait yes. I want to make a phone call. I have the right to make a phone call. The manager quickly notify the embassy to come rescue me. I want diplomatic immunity. On the other end of the line rang. I watched it live at the music festival. Kundi I've told you countless times. Why don't you listen to my advice? I can't help you anymore. Don't be brainwashed by our country's propaganda. You do you still think that Hoa Kwok is a country that you can easily bully? Think about it. If Hoa Kwok is really so easy to bully, then why does our country respect them so much? Moreover you it's okay to commit a crime against anyone. So you just go and commit a crime with the secretive rich man Mr. Keon. Mr. Keon made the Kamida tycoon in Japan go bankrupt. And that day, Kamida died of drug poisoning. Overindulged. I told you not to cause trouble when you come to the flower country. But you didn't listen. At this moment he looked at Lin Sin with fear in his heart. What? He is Mr. Keon. He is the secret rich man in the legend of the country. Kundi realized at this moment that he had offended the person in front of him. He begged bitterly, Mr. Keon, I was a bit harsh on you just now. Because I was stupid. I begged don't kill me. Lin Sin raised his hands in embarrassment. Who wants to kill you? Don't talk nonsense. That Kamida was suicide and has nothing to do with me. At this time you pointed your index finger at Kundi. Then who would be angry with a clown? It's just a pity that the small group of people outside who come to see him perform. In order to repay their expectations. To him. Asked him to stay inside. Trying hard to write music. Keep it up. At this time the police took the three of them away. Boss Lay crossed his arms over his chest and told everyone. The electronic music festival can continue. How about audience? Since I walked in, my bodyguard used his phone to broadcast live to the big screen outside. All the audience knew what happened. Online forums. Society at this time is filled with news about Kundi. The black DJ Kundi. For crimes such as using, carrying, inciting others to illegally use drugs. Defrauding people of money. And kidnapping many people. To smuggle into the country. It is expected that he will have to spend 30 years in prison. Below the post, many netizens left critical comments expressing their attitude towards the guy. At this time Boss Lay and Lin Sin walked exited the room. Boss Lay was enthusiastic. Mr. Keon, everything has been resolved. I have something to tell you. Lin Sin was cold. What's the matter? On this side, Cha Cha stood up full of spirit. I also have to prepare to perform. Zhao Wei stood behind her and shouted. With Mr. Keon's help, Miss Cha Cha will definitely be able to become the most famous star on the internet. At this time, Zhao Wei approached her, this time, if it wasn't for that black guy who missed her performance. Mr. Keon would not have given me 200 million to investigate documents about that black guy. This matter, it was the scene where the CEO silently paid for the female lead. Cha Cha was surprised to hear that. What, does Lin Sin love me like that? At this time, Lin Sin and Boss Lei were chatting and suddenly Cha Cha called then came. Mr. Lin Sin. She ran to hug him. Mr. Lin Sin. I love you. Cha Cha's enthusiasm level has increased by 4% and reached 100%. Congratulations to the host for achieving 100% attack achievement for the second time. Successful comeback. Cha Cha and the host's relationship has changed. From now on she will be devoted to the host and never betray. The second phase of the counterattack costs 250 million. And the host gets back 25 million in his personal account. All attribute bonus plus one. Current all attribute rank 11. Can choose any skill. Lin Sin looking at Cha Cha hugging me tightly. I thought, success again. This time Cha Cha came closer and whispered in Lin Sin's ear. Tonight I have prepared a very big gift for you. Wait until then. You see, on the stage. Electric lights sparkle and music plays. Thank you for your understanding here. We have made you wait for a long time. Next.
Please enjoy the dance performance of four famous female streamers. The sound from the Leopard Tooth platform. Below the audience was excited, screaming, exciting music was playing. Four girls in gorgeous costumes, swaying their slender and flexible bodies, made the audience's hearts flutter. Dynamic. Lin Sin below was also excited. He raised his hand to make a like symbol. Seeing that, Cha Cha also made a heart shape and puckered her lips at him. It's true that no one is normal when they fall in love. The male fans below their eyes were shining brightly. Cha Cha I love you. Scene change. At this time the TV was replaying performance scene that night. In front of the non-stop swaying and dancing, the two people were now lying on the ground embracing and kissing passionately. It was truly a treat for the viewers. In front of the seductive butt toss on the TV screen. Cha Cha also reenacted that scene at this time but on Lin Sin's belly. Didn't stop there she continued to reenact seductive scenes for Lin Sin to see. Who could stand this thing before the screaming in the act TV? Cha Cha I love you. Cha Cha waiting for you to live stream I will give you a golden dragon. My goddess. Lin Sin looked at Cha Cha with joy. Never thought it could be like this. TV still replayed the screen that performance has never stopped. My god. No one is watching. Cha Cha showing off all her curves. Her butt rubbing against Lin Sin. Mr. Lin Sin. Love you. Do you like it? Lin Sin right now unable to resist. He kissed Cha Cha greedily. I like it. You always surprise me. Lin Sin's hands wouldn't stop moving all over her body. Crushing her. The music echoed throughout the building. What a wonderful day. A few weeks later at the dorm the sounds of screaming. Fighting. Must try. I went to shoot it. It turned out they were playing a game. The guy was interested. Yes. In the room Lin Sin and Zheng Hao each sat in a corner playing games. Suddenly Zheng Hao's alarm rang. He regretfully I'm sorry. Oh my god. I haven't finished playing yet but I've already set the alarm. I forgot. I still have to take the exam. At this time Zheng Hao opened the computer to prepare for the exam. Lin Sin came closer and was curious. What subject was he taking? Do it directly on the computer. Zheng Hao pointed at the computer. This is a biology and physics test. For international university students, you can take the test directly on the web. This is an open test and you don't need to register. Just have a student card. If you are in the top 10.00 you can get extra credits. If you accidentally get in the top 10.00, wouldn't it be nice to write on your CV? Lin Sin now returned to his desk. 10.00 people can add credits. Trying a little won't cost anything. Half an hour passed. Zheng Hao scratched his head. It's so difficult. There aren't many questions I know how to do. He discovered that on the other side, Lin Sin Dan was sitting and playing games. Had he given up? That's right. This problem was indeed very difficult. Lin Sin on this side yawned thinking. The problem was so boring. I still thought how difficult it was. But, it's too simple. Don't waste it. Just writing random things can probably make it to the top 10.00 people. Suddenly he looked at the computer. A. The last question is a bit interesting. I don't know if it's possible can you do it. It's a bit of a challenge. At Shikatsu University, the bright sunlight penetrated every building. In the room three professors were discussing in front of the computer. Professor, the last problem was a bit overwhelming for university students. Right, that was a question asked by Professor Nottingham and I thought it was a bit difficult. At this time Professor Nottingham walked up. I did that on purpose. He walked over leisurely. Times have changed. Need for college students the level of study is a bit more difficult. In fact, the question does not need to be answered correctly. Just having the correct solution can give you many points. At this time the other professor looked thoughtfully at the computer screen. No wonder Professor Nottingham. The exam questions were also very detailed. At this moment a student ran up in a panic. The professors had the scores. They all picked up the tablet and whispered. Now AI the development is really great. Using AI to scan very quickly. Who is in the top 5 this time? Must be a student of Shikatsu and Sisal Science and Technology. Every time they take the top 10 exam. They all take it. At Hay, they were surprised to discover that the person in the top 5 was none other than Lin Sin. A student of Yan Jiang University in China. They were all shocked. Who is this person? Yan Jiang University is a university. Study. Never heard of it before. Professor Nottingham looked it up and gritted his teeth. Found it. This person can't answer many of the basic questions above. 
logically speaking, in the top five impossible, but he answered the last question, and it was completely correct. The people next to him were full of surprise when they heard that. What? The four students in front of him couldn't do it. Why? This person can do it. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. If the above basic questions are all answered incorrectly, then on what basis can the last question be answered correctly? Don't tell me you intentionally didn't do the above questions correctly. At this time Professor Nottingham shouted angrily, Why do you still need to ask? This is definitely cheating. This kind of thing definitely cannot be tolerated okay. He must have used some trick when doing the last question. This has to do with the fairness of the physics competition. Yan Jiang University College student right, causing pressure to the Physics Research Institute in Huaguo, telling them to find that person. At this time on social networking sites, the fact that Lin Sin entered the top five of the international physics competition has become the main topic. Many Chinese people left compliments and congratulations for him. At Yan Jiang University, at this time a white car from Yan Jiang Physics Research Institute stopped in front of the school gate. At this time some people walked out. Led by Professor Tang of Yan Jiang University of Science and Technology and Professor Zhang of the Institute of Physics Research. The students of the school saw this and were talking loudly. What's wrong? Who are these people? Picture it was as if some big person came looking for someone in the dormitory mail. The principal is responding. Professor Tang raised his thick glasses. The principal of our research institute came to find someone. If you still want to hide it, it won't be very good. The principal is holding a cane in one hand and the other leaning back and laughing loudly. Professor Tang, listen to me, there must be some mistake. After all, there are hundreds of thousands of people taking the same exam and it is very normal for the system to accidentally miscalculate. Well, Professor Tang frowned. No need to delay. Great Shikatsu School in the UK has directly contacted the physics department to come find you. Only give us two days time. If we can't find that cheating student, then the entire Yan Jiang, even China, we will become a laughing stock. The principal laughed lightly at this time since it has something to do with the school's students. Then I will definitely coordinate the investigation and check to the end. But what if there is a mistake? What should I do if it's harmful to students? We should discuss further and draft the rules. Even so, he couldn't help but worry in his heart. The person you're looking for is Lin Sin. How can Lin Sin have money to participate? The International University Student Physics Competition was okay. But if he cheated, there must have been a mistake somewhere. Then he thought to himself, Lin Sin is the legendary rich man Mr. Kian. Why is such a character like that? Being able to be arbitrarily investigated by outsiders is not easy for me I just felt proud in front of him. In case, if I offended him because of this, I would suffer losses that are hard to estimate. Lin Sin was drinking milk while passing by and saw a lot of people he was curious about. Curious, why are there so many people? At this time two classmates walked in. Lin Sin, are you here? Can you really do that question in the exam? It's amazing. At the Yan Jiang Physics Research Institute send someone to investigate you. The principal is blocking it. You it's better to run away quickly. Lin Sin panicked. What? On this side, Professor Zhang shouted impatiently. Principal, you deliberately delayed the time. I see that you also participated in the cheating. Maybe it was you who planned it. Then he said contemptuously. Beggar, with a principal like that, your Yan Jiang University's reputation will deteriorate. Then take away Yan Jiang University's official status. And that Lin Sin, quickly report him to the police. Just when Lin Sin leisurely walked in with his hands in his pockets. Everyone wanted to find you. Right, you're here. The students outside saw Lin Sin coming in and were extremely shocked. The principal was also full of surprises. Lin please. Professor Tang turned around. You are Lin Sin. Professor Zhang at this moment did not distinguish between right and wrong and went to point at Lin Sin. Don't hide anymore, I have checked your grades. Clearly pointing as a literature student. My scores in every subject in the last semester were at a normal level. And I could be in the top 5 physics exams for international university students. Who would believe it? This time, the principal behind was angry. That's enough. This is the matter of our Yan Jiang University. It has nothing to do with this University of Science and Technology. Professor Zhang smiled disdainfully. Why is it unrelated? I am also among the members of the Yan Jiang Physics Research Institute. 
Moreover, the elite students of Shikatsu and Saisal were not able to take the high-ranking exam. But an ordinary student can get into the top five. Do you know the price? The real value of this competition? Then he turned to Lin Sin. Believing that he could make it to the top five is better than believing that I am Qin Shi Huang. Lin Sin smiled lightly at this time. I was just doing the test at will. But why did you feel like your tail was stepped on? Surely you are not the owner of the European Physics Academy. Right, Professor Zhang heard that very much. Annoyed, you dare to say such words to me. You poor students all have this type of appearance. Then he pointed at Lin Sin and shouted loudly. Now take the test here immediately. If you if you don't dare, then it proves that you cheated. Don't dare to do it. Right, as expected, you cheated. Lin Sin shook his head and laughed. If the teacher wants you to do it then you have to do it. At best it will cancel your achievement. Who cares? Mind. At this moment Chia Yuxuan stepped forward and said loudly, I believe Lin Sin, which school one studies at does not represent whether a student is excellent or not. Which country one lives in does not represent whether that person is one level higher than others. Then she looked at Lin Sin with affectionate eyes, recalling the moments when she saw Lin Sin attentively studying a certain subject. Lin Sin is the most outstanding person I have ever met. You he always studies quietly and seriously, surprising everyone, so I believe he must rely on his own strength to create achievements. With her surprising appearance, the students whispers in school, Chia Yuxuan is a talented woman, a beauty queen of the literature department, and has delivered many essays related to literature. It is said that she is also the director of the Yan Jiang Museum. Se Young, to have the affirmation of such an excellent female student, Lin Sin is definitely really capable. I feel a bit jealous of Lin Sin. Professor Zhang shouted angrily, you are no matter what. A literary beauty queen is just a flower vase. Other than looking pretty, there's nothing left. Chia Yuxuan was impatient. Mister, the teacher is too much. Lin Sin gradually became uncomfortable. He crossed his arms over his chest. He did not expect that he was a teacher with a successful career. His mouth was not so clean. Just starting out he did not believe that the country can have someone in the top 5 exam. Why do you have to come here to talk nonsense? You can accept the test but if you pass the teacher will have to apologize. Admit your mistake to Chia Yuxuan. Sorry students nationwide, do you dare to do it? Professor Zhang put his hands on his hips. Oh my god, I'm so scared. If you pass the test, I will not only apologize but also bow my head to the ground and apologize. Lin please be cold. Okay, Professor Zhang feels proud. Then we are ready to see a good play. Professor Tang walks forward now. Okay, Professor Zhang, time is tight. We had already prepared the location, so we immediately started going. They walked to the lecture hall together, and three beautiful girls walked in. Lu Cheng gently rubbed his chin. Hearing that Lin Sin accepted to take the test from the Physics Research Institute professor here. Su Ruo Ruo was surprised. Lin Sin still knew physics. Lin Sin said nothing, crossed his arms coldly, while Professor Tang was talking to a student below. It rang out. Oh my god, it's true. Su Ruo Ruo was excited. Lin Sin knows everything. This is so perfect, isn't it? It will be more difficult to pursue him. But I'm even more interested. Lu Cheng is full of disdain. Such an elite Lin Sin will attract even more shameless scumbags. We have to protect he's better than that. Then she thought to herself. If I were his girlfriend it would be even better. As if reading her mind Luo Yaxi teased. Lu Cheng don't think about it anymore. Then Luo Yaxi turned to said. Lin Sin can be accepted by everyone. Only you are not okay. Until now you still haven't come to your senses. But Lu Cheng didn't listen at all. She looked at Lin Sin passionately. At this moment her pride had increased by 0.1 and reached 99.7%. She looked at Lin Sin longingly. Why did I only discover such an excellent person until now? Before I really I'm blind. But I absolutely won't let go of Lin Sin. I really love you. Lin Sin is confused right now. Ha, huh, Lu Cheng is crazy. The boys next to him saw three girls I can't help but be jealous of Lin Sin like that. At first glance, that guy looks stupid and incompetent. How can he be favored by so many beautiful girls? At this moment, the exam question appeared on the screen. Professor Tang looked at Lin Sin. This was the exam question. Lin Sin said nothing and looked up at the exam question. Everyone below shouted in panic. 
What? This question is not something a college student can do. Okay, I heard that in the national physics exam. The last question is also a question outside the scope of the textbook. But it was also perfectly answered by Lin Sin. Professor Tang extended his hand to invite you. Let's go. Professor Zhang stood behind proudly. Kid, you're done. This is a question that took three years for Professor Tang to solve when he was young. The difficulty level of this question is much higher than the last question. At the international student physics test, below Su Ruo Ruo shouted angrily. Hey, that's not fair. Professor Tang looked at Lin Sin. I also know how difficult this question is. So there's no need for you to answer everything. As long as you have the solution, it's considered that you passed the test. Lin Sin looked at the question thoughtfully. It was indeed identical to the last question. Both extremely interesting. Professor Zhang couldn't help but be impatient. Even pretending. Up to this point you're still pretending to me. Solve the problem quickly. If you can't solve it, the disciplinary action will be expulsion. It will be recorded on the report card. This time it will be effective. The leader standing behind couldn't see any more. Professor Zhang. After all, this is also the matter of our Yan Jiang University. Please don't overstep the hierarchy. The students below are also extremely upset. That's right. What are you doing in a Yan Jiang University? Professor Zhang turned around and shouted loudly. Domestic university students are inherently poor. Isn't this obvious? I know it's because of guilt. Lin Xin just coldly said. The emperor is not in a hurry. But the eunuch is in a hurry. Making Professor Zhang extremely angry. You. Damn it. Finished speaking Lin Xin's hand quickly took off to write down the lecture on the board. So fast that it looked like a programmed robot. Then he threw the chalk out and shouted loudly. Done. Made everyone overwhelmed. Wait. Wait. Stopped for about two seconds. The atmosphere in the lecture hall at this moment. It was as quiet as lightning. Everyone couldn't believe their eyes. The students below were buzzing. What is he doing? How come he finished writing in just a few minutes? He wrote so fast. I don't know was solved correctly or not. Was his answer correct? Professor Tang shouted in surprise. Absolutely correct. Professor Zhang was speechless. What? Lin Xin now helped cheer Yu Xuan up to the podium. Yu Xuan come here. Standing here is the best position. Then he looked towards Professor Zhang who was now extremely scared. To receive the teacher's sincere apology. Professor Zhang was shy at this time. It was definitely necessary to apologize. But when he lowered his head to the ground, he turned down under the hundreds of thousands of sharp eyes looking at him, making him even more scared. Then he turned away. The girl clasped her hands. Sorry, before the teacher was a bit hasty and spoke too quickly. He was also for the face of physics in the country. Surely this girl wouldn't calculate. Right. Chia Yushuen pondered. Seeing this made his stomach flutter. These university students are very shy. As expected. You just need to be a little polite and soft and they won't pursue you anymore. Right? Immediately Chia Yushuen changed his tone. It's so embarrassing. Teacher, I think it's not you who owes I apologize. The person you should apologize to here is Lin Sin. Then she pointed her finger at Lin Sin. Professor Zhang was stunned. Huh? Chia Yushuen became impatient. Just now you were said a lot of excessive things to him. Shouldn't I say that I bowed my head to the ground? If it was just such a superficial apology. I'm sorry. I don't accept it. The students below also vehemently objected. That's right. Don't you still look down on the students of the Chinese nation? Saying that we are not students of European schools. At this time, everyone couldn't control themselves and rushed to Professor Zhang. Apologizing. Go. Bow your head to the ground and apologize. Professor Zhang panicked. What are you doing? Don't. Stop. Lin Xin said to Chia Yushuen. I didn't expect you to be so tough. Chia Yushuen was shy. It's not like that. Suddenly Professor Tang walked over to shake hands with Lin Sin. Classmate Lin, you are a once in a hundred year genius. How lucky I am to be able to meet you. There is no need to doubt your strength. Teacher I will announce the results of this test to the European Physics Agency along with the national media. Please make sure you participate in the finals. I also want to invite the city to give you a reward. My level has surpassed most professors. Do you want to come to me to do research? I will definitely give you the best. Lin Sin immediately waved her hand shyly. No need. No need. I should still be a normal student. Moreover, I didn't intend to make it to the finals. The purpose of taking that exam was just to get some credits. 
At night at Chia family's house, Chia Yushuen was talking to his close friend. So, he's heading to Lu Jin University tomorrow for the final round of the physics exam. Isn't that impressive? The other side rang. Isn't the person you like majoring in literature and literature? Why would he take the physics exam? Chia Yushuen was a little angry. I just said so much. You didn't even hear a word. I wonder why you're still working. This side Jiang Shi Yan is still working. Assistant she brought a stack of documents. Miss Jiang, look here is the latest data. She reached out to take it. Still talking to Chia Yushuen. The latest research has made new progress. I'm so excited. Excited. Can't stop at all. On the other side Chia Yushuen complained. You seem to have been working overtime for several days. No wonder you are completely unaware of the huge uproar on the internet. Shi Yan teased. I don't usually watch news about these competitions. It's just you and that person you like. Two nerds who smell like each other. Chia Yushuen was excited. A workaholic like you continue to work overtime like this every day. Be careful there will be many wrinkles. You won't be able to pursue the person in your heart. Shi Yan is full of excitement. Now my relationship with him is better. I just need to do it achievements. And then confess your love in a favorable situation. Absolutely the water will flow like a river. On the contrary, you bookworms. If no one helps you, you will probably never dare to confess your love in your whole life. Chia Yushuen got angry. Okay, let's see who can escape being single first. Shi Yan saw that and smiled lightly. Okay, she thought to herself. I hope my provocation works. The next morning at the airport lounge. At Yan Jiang Airport. At this time, the principal was sending Lin Sin off. He advised a few things. Classmate Lin Sin, do your best. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on yourself. It's okay if you don't get any rank in the competition. Lin Sin politely replied, thanking the principal. Unexpectedly, the school also included air tickets and food and accommodation for me. The principal replied, you are for the sake of the school, for the country to win glory. So these this must be complete. At this time Professor Tang and some other students shouted loudly and cheered. There was also us. Classmate Lin Sin, you are our hope. This time we absolutely cannot lose. So we also went over there to see. Who dares to bully you in front of you? Lin please have fun. Thank you for the support of the Physics Research Institute. Then let's go. This time Chia Yushuen walked over. Wait, I want to go too. Lin Sin was surprised. Chia Yushuen. Chia Yushuen saw everyone looking at her in bewilderment and quickly explained. Principal, I was an exchange student in Lu Jin halfway years, and is very familiar with Lu Jin, so I can also contribute a little effort for my classmate Lin Sin. Please let me go too. The principal was supportive. Not bad. It's rare to see classmate Chia Yushuen being so kind. After arriving at Lu Jin, he immediately bothered the guide. Chia Yushuen was happy. Thank you principal, for the purpose of this trip is that she wants to be with Lin Sin. The plane has now taken off into the sky. The principal is standing below looking up. Classmate Lin Sin, wish you all the best. On the plane Professor Tang gave Lin Sin a folder. Classmate Lin Sin, these are the questions in the previous physics competition and this is the content of this year's physics exam. There is a lot of information so you can choose some parts that you are good at. Lin Sin picked up the pile of documents and immediately activated the passive ability of level 2 mental ability. Learning quickly. Normal people have to study knowledge for several years to acquire. I could finish learning this passive skill in half a day. Then suddenly I didn't see Chia Yushuen anywhere. Chia Yushuen went to the bathroom for a long time. Why hasn't she come back yet? I'm a little uneasy. Then he walked towards the restroom area and knocked on the door. Chia Yushuen are you there? Inside Chia Yushuen's voice rang out. Lin Sin save me, making him extremely panicked. Inside, Chia Yushuen tried to open the door latch. I don't know why the toilet door was broken. I couldn't open it no matter what I did in here. Lin Sin immediately used level 1 power. The structure of this door is convenient to push from the outside. Let me try. Finally the door was opened. Lin Sin was worried. You weren't hurt, were you? Chia Yushuen was embarrassed. No. It was just that in a situation like this. It was very embarrassing for him to come to the rescue. Suddenly Chia Yushuen slipped. Lin Sin cried out in panic. Be careful. At this time outside the flight attendant was calming everyone before the shaking. The plane encountered strong turbulence. Passengers please buckle up. 
seat belt. Then she discovered that there were two empty seats. She thought, where are the two passengers? At this time in the toilet Chia Yushuen fell into Lin Sin's arms. The two of them were embarrassed. Lin Sin lifted her up. The airflow must have been disturbed. Did she hit something? Chia Yushuen immediately said, no, no, her mind was full of embarrassment. Oh my god, this position is too stiff. The plane continued disturbed, swaying in the sky. Lin Sin picked her up and sat on his lap. Before the air current passed, we were still safe to sit down. This made Chia Yushuen blush. She remembered the words of her best friend said last night. It's only you and that person you like. Two nerds who smell like each other. She was annoyed. I'm not a nerd. Then she hugged Lin Sin's face. Giving it to her, he kissed him passionately. At this time her excitement level had increased by 3% and reached 93%. She took his hand and placed it on her smooth white thigh. Surprising Lin Sin, Chia Yushuen did why are you so proactive? Then he touched her butt and slid his fingers through her sexy outfit. This feeling, she moaned with satisfaction. The two looked at each other passionately without looking away. Suddenly transmitted from outside the doorbell rang, making both of them extremely startled. Passengers, are you inside? The faces of the two of them were now getting closer and closer together causing Chia Yushuen's face to suddenly turn red. She looked at him and said, Oh no, the flight attendant found us. Are we going to be detained? Lin Sin said. He looked at her and smiled and said, Don't be afraid, let me. Then he opened the bathroom door, looked angry and said, and she hid behind him looking weak. The quality of the facilities was above your plane is really worrying. My friend was locked inside and encountered a lot of turbulent airflow. If I hadn't used force to rush in, the consequences would have been unpredictable. Hearing that, the flight attendant suddenly felt sick, feeling scared, then immediately lowered his head and apologized. Sorry customers, we will make appropriate compensation. And then the two of them walked out, revealing his red cheeks, and he went ahead and said, Okay, I will wait for you to give me a perfect explanation. The air outside right now is cool. Clear, the breeze blowing gently makes each branch trees and leaves gently pass by. The white university exudes nobility and dignity. This is Lu Jin University, where the final exam of the international physics competition takes place. In the exam room, a professor stands there. The class podium said, Welcome all contestants to the final round of the 30th international physics competition. Everyone listened attentively. He said with a serious voice. This is a competition organized by the physics organizations of the European Union. It aims to select the best talents and promote the advancement of physics. It turns out this is Nottingham, professor at Lu Jin University. The examiner gave the physics competition question. The contestants at this time were all seriously listening to the other professor's speech. He continued carefully, three people, the highest winner in this competition will receive his own honor will also have the opportunity to join the European Institute of Physics and participate in the most important research work of humanity. In terms of rewards for the championship, enemy, let's ask the previous champion Eston, to announce it to everyone. At this moment, Eston suddenly appeared with a face full of confusion. Without waiting for him to react, Professor Nottingham continued, Eston is also one of the judges in this competition. Eston, the voices suddenly started whispering more and more. After he finished introducing, Eston said bewilderedly, fame is just an attachment, just something that will allow me to get more research grants. Nothing is more important to me than overcoming difficult problems and researching topics. It turns out you are heir to the Rockefeller family genius physicist. Last year's international physics competition champion, he then continued, the reward for this championship is to join my team. On behalf of my family I will give the winner $5 million. The topic I'm researching is geocurrent changes and earthquakes, and I included it in the exam as the last question of this contest. Finished speaking, he quickly left that place and said, it was like that's it. I don't like to say too many meaningless words. I wish everyone a smooth competition tomorrow. The contestants below were all happy and exclaimed, calling your name, Eston, Eston. This time the man wearing the yellow shirt leaned forward and said, Oh my god, a direct reward of 5 million. This is quite a lot of money. Hearing that, the other person quickly replied. Eston is the heir to the Rockefeller family in the country. America, the family is rich so they can spend so much money on prizes. Oh my god, 
how can someone be so good? The other girl said again, I really want to join his team. The words of the three people they had already caught Lin Sin's attention. He listened from beginning to end. Outside the exam room, Professor Nottingham chased after Eston. He quickly said, Eston, you really don't consider being my student. I can give you more research materials. But before he could finish speaking, he quickly left with his words. It was unnecessary. He didn't have time to say anything. But, he thought to himself uncomfortably, geniuses are always arrogant. It can be explained. At this time, Lin Sin also just left the room with Chia Yushuan, making him pay attention to him. Then suddenly remembered something that thought to myself. Hmm, that is. As soon as Lin Sin stepped out, everyone around him was gossiping about him, making Chia Yushuan next to him look uncomfortable and look at the two of them. The other guy stood from afar looking at him and said, that person is the student who passed the exam, fifth place in the country, actually came, taking the exam at the same exam location with this type of person. It's really annoying. The last question in the exam was given by Professor Nottingham. This question of his was criticized. This Chinese liar used it as a stepping stone to get fifth place. He was probably the most annoying person. Then the person next to him also said the same thing. After all, after so many years, there hasn't been a Chinese person. Whichever country gets the ranking, this time will be no exception. At this moment, the professor suddenly raised his voice and said, rest assured, after tomorrow's exam ends, all faces will be revealed. Then he continued with a slightly disdainful tone. In the academic world it is impossible for someone to be so ignorant as to make a fool of himself. His words at this time made Chia Yushuan angry. She shouted, sir, but before he could finish speaking, Professor Tang came to the end with a tone mixed between serious and angry. He said, it turns out this is Mr. Nottingham. If the representative has the quality of Lu Jin University, then I'm only sorry. The brown-haired girl also agreed and said, aren't you guys showing off your status? This is really too gentlemanly. Then Professor Tang quickly continued. Today, it was like I had my eyes open to see how the world's top university students behave. No matter what, any evidence, slandering other players, defaming their character, we don't know what would happen if this story were posted online by us. The words at this time made the man defame Lin Sin was extremely frustrated just now. He said, you guys, you just wait. The competition is based on strength, not words. Hearing that, Chia Yushuan also triumphantly quickly smiled disgustingly and said, you guys also know how to rely on your strength. Tomorrow, don't lose too much. It will be unsightly, making the other person not know what to say other than two words. You guys, this side, that Professor Nottingham said with a look his voice seemed to want to reconcile. He said, don't talk too much. You are all top geniuses in Europe. Tomorrow you will be in battle to defeat your opponents. You know. After saying that, the three of them quickly walked away with eyes full of disgust. The other person said, I know, Mr. Nottingham. Tomorrow we will definitely let the country understand what it means to crush IQ. Making Professor Tang was furious. He said, tomorrow will open your eyes. A bunch of bastards. Then Lin Sin happily praised him. Thank you Professor Tang. So handsome, mister. I adjusted my glasses then smiled and said, Lin Sin, you just need to concentrate on thinking about the competition. We absolutely won't let those people influence you. Then he quickly replied, okay. This time Chia Yushuan quickly kissed Lin Sin's cheek. She said, I have a feeling you will do well in the exam. My intuition is always very good. Because I got a pretty girl. He happily replied, thank you. At this moment, Chia Yushuan was so happy that her cheeks were red. She said she would wait for you to finish the exam. I have something to tell you. Hearing that, you happily replied, oh, I'm a bit curious. Said, then, he raised his clenched fist and said happily. Thank you everyone for supporting me like this. Tomorrow will definitely open up these foreigners' eyes. Then they happily shouted, Lin Sin, come on. On exam day, when the candidates have settled into their seats, surrounded by exam invigilators and under the podium are judges sitting seriously in their seats. At this time the announcement suddenly goes up, handing out the exam papers. Then, Professor Nottingham immediately raised his hand to make a sign. He said, start the exam, on this side. Eston was secretly thinking, depressed and tired. Last night he stayed up all night to do the experiment but still couldn't solve it. 
that difficult question, if anyone can answer it when he got the last question of today's exam. He thought about it again, I actually thought that someone would be able to do that question. I'm really crazy, it's basically impossible, at this time that Nottingham professor was also surprised to see Lin Sin appear today. He thought to himself, that guy, even if he dares to come, he won't give you a chance to cheat. At this time the examiner sitting next to him suddenly said, Professor, no problem as for the security check. According to your wishes, I specially arranged for two security inspectors to check on him. His hair, ears, ballpoint pens, belt buckles, shoe soles, were all checked. Investigate carefully, he couldn't have brought any cheating tools with him. Hearing that, he immediately asked, what about CCTV? At this time, the other man immediately said, don't worry, I've arranged place him in the middle seat and the four CCTVs in the room will monitor him 360 with no dead angles. Along with the patrol of the supervisor, even the slightest suspicious move will be caught immediately. The professor now smiled cunningly. He chuckled. The liar of the country was extremely desperate. At this moment, no matter what everyone was talking about, Lin Sin was still fiercely focused on doing his exam, making the two people sitting next to him suddenly think, silently, writing so fast. So did the other person, him think, he must be scribbling nonsense. This cheater is giving up fast, not even trying to pretend. Lin Sin now looked at the blue-haired guy, teasingly said, what are you doing, do you want to peek, will you cheat? He was disqualified from taking the exam. Your sudden words made him suddenly surprised and then angry. I peeked at him, because the voices of the two of them now caught the judge's attention. He quick reminder, this candidate should pay attention to the rules stop the competition. Then the blue haired boy was scared and focused on his part. After that, he got angry and cursed under his breath. Fuck, fuck, you're being led by that clown. Don't worry about him, do well on your question first. Eston said yesterday that the last question would be about changes in ground currents related to earthquakes. And then, he immediately put pen to paper thinking about the last question. So I contacted some professors who researched the issue this night. If there is anyone here today who can answer the last question. When his hand just turned over the last question, he excitedly silently affirmed, then it must be me. But life is not like a dream. He was suddenly stunned by the question of the test. So much so that he was sweating and thought to himself, hmm, how, completely incomprehensible, this, this, is beyond the scope of life. Already in the textbook. How could anyone write this question? Eston himself couldn't go. At this moment suddenly Lin Sin's voice spoke up with a bit of arrogance in his voice. Well, the last sentence this is a bit of a challenge. Hearing that, the boy next to him immediately thought in surprise. Shameless. Didn't wait long. Lin Sin put down his pen and quickly answered the question. This time the system board also appeared along with the use of words. Giving motivation to add 11. After getting the extra point. He took the test at a speed as fast as the wind, making people feel like there were sparks coming from the pen. Dot. He stood up, finished his homework, thought happily, completed it. Seeing that, the two people who were in awe of him just now quickly felt surprised and couldn't believe their eyes. At this time, Lin Sin quickly left, coming to the examiner who submitted the exam. Everyone here was surprised and started talking around. What? The exam has been submitted. Huh. It's been less than 30 minutes. Have you given up already? The bald examiner at this time he took Lin Sin's exam paper. Then panicked in disbelief and said. Here, at this time that Professor Nottingham was still thinking that he had given up early on this exam. So he said proudly, many people are very curious about the achievements of this Chinese fraudster. So it's just that I came to grade his papers. Hearing that, Lin Sin immediately responded freely as if he knew in advance. Fine, then mark it on the spot. Then, his face suddenly changed from when he picked up his exam paper to grade it. Couldn't believe what was happening in front of his eyes. He turned his face again, later to watch again, but his face was still the same. He suddenly became so worried that he was sweating then immediately called out to the surveillance room to check the monitoring and confirm that he was really not angry. Cheating in any form. On this side, the other examiner was equally scared. So he quickly replied. Ha, huh, okay, okay. At this time the students below who were taking the exam were equally surprised. Suddenly Eston suddenly standing up. He spilled the entire cup of coffee on the table. 
he thought in surprise, could it be, then quickly grabbed Lin Sin's exam paper from Nottingham, then said, give it to me, at this time Eston was extremely surprised panicked again by his answer, Nottingham's face became worse and worse, he was angry when suddenly a voice came from the machine he held on the rail, the surveillance room had repeatedly affirmed that there was no space, cheat, the previous questions were all answered for a few seconds, the person on the other end of the phone continued, all correct, making everyone surprised, huh, what, Eston walked out, holding Lin Sin's exam paper, still in his hand picked up the phone again and said loudly, not just the front, but the idea of the last question, I think it's very feasible, then he quickly continued, sorry, I need to call the lab immediately angry and in love with you, they verified based on this data, I would like to be absent for a moment, after listening, all the contestants were now depressed and worried, saying so, saying so, ending there is only one argument, this Chinese male student, was able to get this score based on his strength, on this side, that Professor Nottingham was very angry, he thought, no way, he, he really the question is how to do it, and over here, Lin Sin happily said, the exam is over, let's go home to sleep, but unexpectedly, Nottingham suddenly stood up as if to stop him from leaving, he said with no more disdain, he didn't expect that he had real talent and knowledge, now all the previous questions have received maximum points, just waiting for Eston to announce his score for the question, finally, according to the rules we have to wait until everyone has finished the test before we can give you the final total score, then he continued speaking, but based on my personal appreciation, for you, I can make an exception and officially invite you to join the highest physics academy in Europe, Lin Sin immediately said in confusion, huh, didn't wait for you to say anything, teacher, the other monk continued to extend his hand with sweet seductions, as long as you have the status of our physics facility, no one will dare to doubt your strength, you spent so much time to studying physics, coming here to fight under pressure, isn't it because of this, still shows no signs of stopping there, he continues to speak as if pouring honey into his ears, the dream of many researchers research is to work in the highest scientific research facility in the world, as long as you have certain contributions, I can register to help you change your nationality, from here, but before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by Lin Sin's laughter, saw him laugh in disgust, leaving him speechless, not knowing what else to say, then he immediately said, sorry, I don't I can't help it, your joke is too funny, first, I don't need you to confirm my strength, second, I have no intention of lowering my status by changing my nationality, teasing words his teasing at this time made the other professor angry, he slammed the table and shouted loudly, do you think that with only such test scores you will be recognized by the world, it's useless, if there is no proof, the reality of our organization, based solely on achievements like this, you will not be able to find, a good position in Europe, let alone receive research funding, without money, you are nothing, everyone, hearing that, Lin Sin pointed at Nottingham and said frankly, it's so embarrassing, your European rules don't apply to me, I came here with only one purpose, which is to hit you in the face, said that he quickly walked out the door and said goodbye, the other professor also chased after him loudly saying, he was just an ordinary genius, he actually thought he was very rare, why, we don't lack at all, this time when he chased closer to you, he couldn't help but say, we still have Eston, we have both money and ability, this is the real thing, just finished talking, then the voice came from Eston's phone, it was successful, Eston, the experiment was successful, the data is real, at this time Lin Sin walked towards Eston, he asked, what are you doing, just then Eston had because of the shock just now, he suddenly dropped his phone, suddenly, Eston suddenly knelt down, clasped his hands, looked at Lin Sin and said, still hoping for the master, to accept me as his disciple, words what he did at this moment made everyone witnessing this place shocked, the other person couldn't help but say, oh my god, the girl next to him couldn't believe it either, what, genius Eston our number one, knelt down with this person, even Nottingham was surprised at this time and said, what are you doing, Eston, at this moment, Lin Sin was suddenly confused by Eston's words, he said, promise the master, upon hearing that, Eston immediately said, your creation of knowledge is truly extraordinary, in such a short period of time, you have solved a problem that we couldn't solve in a year, 
he continued talking with his hands clasped together, I thought there weren't many people in this world who could guide me until I met you. I saw my own mediocrity and shortcomings. I really want to improve. Said then he held a golden card with a lot of money in it. He said, Master, 500 won in European currency this is the championship bonus agreed upon before. I will give you another 500 won as a tribute to the master. If the master needs anything in the future, the Rockefeller family will do their best to help you. Lin Sin looked at him with a somewhat unexpected look in his eyes. He said, I, but there was no time to instruct others. Hearing Lin Sin's refusal, he quickly knelt down and bowed to Lin Sin, his voice expressing pleading look. The fifth generation head of the Rockefeller family, Eston, please accept me as a disciple, master. Lin Sin was holding the yellow card at this time. His voice seemed to be thinking about something. This saw that he was willing to hold his card. Eston was a little happy, grabbed his hand with both hands and said, Master, you don't need to open your mouth. My current strength is too low. I really don't have the qualifications. As your disciple, in the future I will improve my strength and then go to the door to worship the master again. I understand. At this time, Lin Sin was a little speechless. He opened his mouth to say, not a brother. Just at this moment, suddenly a group of people came to record and speak. We all heard it outside. It's a candidate who got the maximum score. May I ask which university in the United States are you studying at? Can you accept our exclusive interview? I have customized a recording plan for you. Others jostled each other to compete for Lin Sin as a gift. Causing Eston to be pushed out fell down. The other person walked up to Lin Sin and said, Sir, our first silicon science and technology research group is in need of talents like you the most. I am willing to hire you with an annual salary of 2.000.000 TNO. Do you want to take a look? At this time, Eston also crawled up and saw that Nottingham was also pressed by the group of people so that he was injured everywhere. Cried loudly. Then Eston angrily stood up and shouted loudly. Hey, you all get out of the way. You guys finally know. This side Nottingham thought Eston was trying to protect him and said. Eston, thanks. But before he could say anything, Eston said, finally there was do you know what comes first and then last. I bow to you first. Master, if you want to join the research team, it's mine first. Your words at this moment made him speechless and petrified. At this time, all three of Lin Sin's relatives also came to chase away those cameramen. Professor Tang said loudly, we are from the Chinese Institute of Physics. This is our Chinese talent. You all go away, go. Nottingham side is also tired. He lamented and said, my ribs are broken. Lin Sin's side is still in trouble amidst a bunch of people coming to record. The country is back like, is your salary the same as ours? Yes. Whoever pays the highest salary will work for them. Chia Yushuan on this side was looking at Lin Sin with loving and gentle eyes. She thought to herself, Lin Sin, this is so awesome, the system panel now appeared. Favorability plus two. At this time, the other young girls were all surrounding him. The blonde girl came closer to him, held up the pink card and said, this is my room number. Tonight at eight o'clock, the reporter girl also blushed shyly and looked at Lin Sin and said, can I have a private interview? Let's discuss your research on vibrations. Seeing those girls keep surrounding him made Chia Yushuan somewhat uncomfortable and frowned. Lin Sin now saw that the situation was not very good. Kept being bothered by those girls. He panicked said, don't come and bother me. I don't want to go anywhere. Get the hell out of here. Said, he used his tiptoes to jump out. Surprising everyone around. Everyone discussed chatting. What was that? How did he do it? And he walked away with a calm expression. At this moment the people surrounding him were suddenly startled, happily saying, that was Kung Fu, Chinese Kung Fu, it turns out it's all real, everyone in China knows Kung Fu. Eston didn't give up at this time, he pushed those people away and pointed at himself and said, master, me too want to learn this. Lin Sin felt a bit annoyed when he heard that and said, get lost, you want to learn everything, but suddenly an arm grabbed him. It turned out that Chia Yushuan was trying to help him escape from that place. She said, Lin Sin, go this way, I understand Lu Jin quite well, know how to escape, them, and Professor Tang stood there to shield the two of them from this place. He quickly said, I will help you stop them. Classmate Lin Sin ran quickly, the others immediately chased after him, 
They didn't say anything. Mr. Lin, I bid 30 million euros. And Esten immediately chased after him and said, Master, right now in the drama room, there are two employees inside using flashlights but looking for someone, but couldn't find any clues. They went out then spoke into the receiver, reported, all rooms were meticulously checked, no target detected, likely running from the back door, everyone chased after them, the employee on this side added, clearly saw them running in, how could he not see them anymore, strange, right now in the room were pictures of Lin Sin and Chia Yushuan was pretending to be a standing statue and kissing like a couple, then they stopped, Chia Yushuan blushed a little shyly and said, it's safe, Lin Sin also happily said, impressive, Chia Yushuan, the fake plastic model trick fooled the security guards. Then Lin Sin opened the door and went to another room. At this time the two of them were stuck together like a couple. Chia Yushuan followed closely behind and smiled happily. And Lin Sin said, this place for the time being. There will be people who won't come back to check. So just avoid here for a bit. Hearing her laugh, he immediately turned to look at her and asked him, what are you laughing at? At this moment, Chia Yushuan pressed close to Lin Sin, shyly said, in this situation, it felt like an evil dancer was seducing an honest scholar. He seemed to understand what she meant, then immediately cooperated, suitable to chat with her. This scholar wanted to challenge his weakness. Hearing that, Chia Yushuan immediately pushed Lin Sin down on the chair with his hot body and said, okay, then she he picked him up with his finger. His voice was a bit seductive at this time. Mr. Lin, I heard that you are a gentleman who reads books and sages. And will never change what you have decided. Yu Xuan doesn't believe it. Immediately wanted to convince him. Then Chia Yu Xuan took the initiative to hold his hands behind him and took the initiative to kiss him. The steamy scene at this moment gradually appeared. Chia Yu Xuan's face was red at this moment. She felt my body started to sweat. At this moment Lin Xin suddenly said. Chia Yushuan, but before he could finish speaking, she covered his mouth with her hand. She continued, today I'm not a good girl Chia Yushuan, I'm a dancer Yushuan, and you're a scholar. Mr. Lin, finished speaking, Chia Yushuan quickly leaned against him, then ran her wet tongue all over his chest. She said, you have no way to resist, you can only let me trample on you. Chia Yushuan's actions at this time make Lin Sin feel embarrassed. He blushed and thought. Chia Yushuan is a bit different today. Suddenly Chia Yushuan is now sitting on his lap trembled a bit. Revealing half of her white breasts and long, slender legs. He looked at her and asked. Chia Yushuan, what's wrong with you? Chia Yushuan was a little nervous at this time and shed tears as if she wanted to be a baby to him. She said, I, I don't know what to do next. Hearing that, Lin Sin was a little surprised and happily said. It's okay, then. He immediately pushed Chia Yushuan's body down on the chair while he put his hands down and looked at her and said, I'm not pretending anymore, actually I'm not not a scholar, but a special agent. Chia Yushuan looked extremely seductive right now with her flawless white skin. He continued, Yushuan, you can't escape. After speaking, he grabbed her legs tightly. Chia Yushuan also cooperated and said, I can't escape, I won't be able to escape soon. And so the steamy scene between him and her appeared. She kissed him and said, Lin Sin, I love you. At this time, the system panel suddenly appeared. A series of plus points were displayed. Favorability plus 5. Chia Yushuan's favorability 100%. Congratulations to the host, achieving 100% of the strategy. 3. Successful play. Chia Yushuan's relationship with the host has changed. From now on, she will be devoted to the host and will never betray. The second phase costs zero counterattack money. And the cashback is zero. All attributes add one level. Current attribute level 12. Host please choose any skill you want. At this time Dusk showed signs of appearing. In the room at this time. Chia Yushuan held the phone in an excited mood. And Lin Sin brought her a can of water. He said, Chia Yushuan, come drink some water. Buy it from the vending machine. At this moment. Chia Yushuan was lying on the chair holding the can of water that Lin Sin bought. She happily said, thank you. Lin Sin immediately saw her happy sat down and asked, what was so funny about talking? Seeing this, Chia Yushuan immediately held up the phone in front of him and said, he's my good friend. Before coming here, I made a bet with her to see who confessed to the guy. I like first, I win. Lin Sin looked at the message. 
he was a little worried and thought to himself, Yan Bao, they, it seems like they all know me. Then suddenly she kissed his cheek, happily said, waiting to return home, you and I should meet her. She's so angry, Lin Sin thought a little worriedly, is the Shura field finally coming? Chia Yushuan is 100% but Yan Bao is still not there. What will happen when these two good friends meet? Is the system 100% reliable? Then suddenly there was a message from Cha Cha sent to you. Brother Lin Sin, have you seen the news? After Kim Ju Hyun returned home, Korean netizens scolded her for being a traitor. After reading it, he frowned a bit.